To tell you the truth, I'm an extremely attractive and handsome youth. Ooh-wah. People who don't know might think how wonderful it must be to be handsome, but have no idea how annoying it really is. Didn't I change my WeChat number? Why are there more than a dozen girls trying to add me again? Who is it that spilled the beans? They just want me for my looks. If I were to have a chance encounter with one of them by the side of the road, they would do everything in their power to lock me up somewhere at night and put some sleeping pills in my drink. Sometimes, I even start to wonder if I had a different life if it would be this annoying as well. I died. It's quite a cliché to die by getting run over by a large truck. What's even more clichéd is that I didn't die completely, and my soul crossed over into another world. How could such a pathetic crossing be worthy of someone as attractive and handsome as me? Hmm, don't tell me that this is the person that I'm about to possess. His clothes are a mess, and there's even a silly smile on his face. He looks exactly like me. Could it be that he's the other me in this world? Huh? Is this his memories? This man has the same name as I have. He's also called Xie Yin, and he's the son of a government official from a small and remote village in the Han Empire. During a spring trip, he met a beautiful woman named Qin Qingxi. Due to his love for her, he recklessly followed her to the Mo Zong sect, thousands of miles away. From then on, he got intoxicated with the gentle countryside and with Qin Qingxi's nightly debauchery, thus unlocking all kinds of poses. Thanks to Qin Qingxi's day and night cultivation, Xie Yang gradually started to lose weight, but just as before he continued to listen to Qin Qingxi's every beck and call, and finally one night he went to sleep and never woke up again. Isn't it obvious that this is a honeypot trap? That vixen is a practitioner of the demonic path and is draining his life force. Creek. My lady, there has been no changes to child CS since this morning. He should be taking his last breaths. But my lady certainly drew the short end of the stick with this one. Even though he's handsome, this man is really dull and unsophisticated, totally unworthy of my lady. What do you know, Ueru? He has a virtuous body that's hard to come by even in a hundred years. Once he started cultivating, his advancement to the innate realm would have been inevitable. If he wasn't raised in such a remote place, he would have already been discovered by various major martial arts sects and accepted as a core disciple. Now that I've used the secret double cultivation method to drain his life force, once I've extracted his life force until he dies and his soul is extinguished, I'll be able to seize control of his virtuous body, thus truly fulfilling my plan. If he isn't dead, then it means that his virtuous body still hasn't been completely wrung dry, and I'll have to drain his life force a few more times. If he's dead, then I'll just dispose of his body. Wait a minute. What gives? Come on, how am I going to? I won't be seen through, right? Uh, let me try to recall how the original owner would have spoken to Qin Shinsi. Lady? What are you doing? I just heard you were saying that my dear was unwell, so I came to take a look. Now that I know that you're all right, I can set my mind at ease. The head of the sick needs me to go somewhere for a bit. You should take a nice rest. I'll come back again tonight to give you some company. Oh, okay. My lady, what we said just now, don't worry, he didn't hear anything. He has a weak character and is incredibly naive. He would never lie before me. Since his virtuous body hasn't been completely wrung dry yet, I'll just have to drain his life force a few more times until it is. Right. Fortunately, my acting skills are superb. I managed to fool her for now. The memories have almost been completely merged, but this indigenous person is really hopeless. He's been asleep for such a long time and doesn't even have any decent amounts of information. I only know that, 
This is a world where martial art strength is extremely valued, and apart from the mortals, there are practitioners who can freely fly in the sky. These practitioners are divided into the acquired innate and the heavenly realms. The ninth layer is the highest layer in the acquired realm. Acquired, innate, heavenly realm, the original owner, didn't know of any other realms. Although I deceived that bitch just now, she'll obviously come to drain my life force again tonight. I must hurry, pack my things, and run away. If I stay here eventually, I'll be done for. Whoa? Flick this, my waist is sore and my legs are numb. This body is too weak. Please don't tell me that I can't escape, I'll die in that bitch's bed tonight. Isn't there any way to save my life? Doesn't everyone who crosses over have a special ability a cheat, a system, or something like that? Where the heck are my cheats? Note, literally golden fingers. I'm here. System loading is now complete. You're welcome to use it. Starts up. System level, level 0, name, CAN, realm, none, skill mastery, expand, origin points, 0, number of times you've entered another realm, 0. So I really do have cheats, but what's this for? Current system level, level 0, unlock basic functions, skill enhancement, you can upgrade your current skill level by using up origin points. Depending on the skill, the amount of origin points used will be different. This is awesome. What skills do I have now? Do I need to expand this tab to see them? Skill mastery, Gu Yang Gong, current level, level 0, current effect, somewhat effective at increasing vigor. Gu Yam Gong? So it was just a worthless method to increase sex drive. It seems that it was Qin Shinsi who taught it to the original owner. But I only have this one, so I'll just upgrade it. Sorry, you don't have enough origin points to upgrade. This system prompt is really user friendly, huh? Hey, system, how do I acquire origin points? Origin points are spent when system functions are used. These are generated when the system absorbs and transforms user-caused disturbances to the natural world. The underlying theory is very complex. In short, the system can collect strong emotions that others have towards the user to acquire a small amount of origin points. Strong emotions towards me? I can more or less make out everything else. Then, what does this countless realms mean? Note, literally endless heavens and countless worlds. This term is sometimes used in various Chinese novels to loosely represent the realms existent in that story world. Typically, the types of realms include the main world and its sub-worlds and other main worlds with varying levels of power, some being more powerful or higher level than others. The countless realms encompass the entire natural world. The user can make use of the system to temporarily leave the main world and randomly explore other worlds. Holy shit, this is even more amazing. Wait a moment. Is this main world that you're referring to the present world? Isn't it Earth? This world has already been locked as the main world. Life is too short. I want to go back home. By upgrading the system, you'll unlock the realm travel function. Each time the function is activated, the user will randomly be sent to a different world, among which one of them might be Earth. The realm travel function will be unlocked once the system reaches level 1. The current system level is level 0. Then how do I upgrade the system? And how do I use the origin points? To upgrade the system, the user needs to find scattered system fragments. When the system fragments are discovered, the system will prompt the user. System fragments are scattered throughout the various realms. The user must be close to a certain distance before the system can discover them. In other words, it all depends on luck. Thank you for using the system. When using this system, please call System Panel to bring up the display. Upgrading the system and unlocking the Realm Travel function depends entirely on luck, so I don't need to ponder over it for the time being. Skill Enhancement is the only thing that I can do right now. As for the Origin Points, it will be a piece of cake. What are you doing outside? 
I was starting to feel claustrophobic inside the room, so I decided to come out and take a walk note, literally irregular heartbeats and chest pains. But, the lady told you to. Impudent. He hit me. Is that how you address your betters? Call me senior. Note, literally husband of the father's sister. In this case, this term is being used as a term of respect for someone who is older or of higher social standing. Origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points, ueru. You, how dare you hit me? As I thought, anger is the most likely to trigger strong emotions. What? Could it be that you actually dare to retaliate? I'm all and my body is frail. In case something happens to me, would you be able to bear the responsibility? Note, literally chi deficiency. I wouldn't dare. Origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points ueru, the servant girls are this strong. It seems that if I want to get out of this mess, I have no choice but to harvest more strong emotions. You really don't have any foresight, you still aren't helping me go for a walk. Origin points obtained joy, 0.01 points ueru, wait a minute. What the heck? Joy? Don't tell me that this wench is an M? Note, for those who don't know M stands for masochist. Elder Sister Ueru, why do you have so much time on your hands today? Good to see you, Elder Sister. Uh, well, my senior wanted to come out for a walk. Aren't you the Elder Marshal Sisters, Lang June? You're certainly handsome. I really want to take a bite. He he he, aren't you afraid that the Elder Marshal Sister will tear your dirty mouth off? As expected, they're all just a bunch of wicked bitches. If it weren't for draining the life force biz, we might have been able to get along quite well. Yo, isn't this the elder Marshal sister change, pretty boy? Hasn't he been inside of the house for several days? I thought the elder Marshal sister had already, he he he, it's only a matter of time. Looking at his wretched appearance, I don't know how many more times he'll be able to handle her. You three punks, did you come here to wash your mouths? What did you say? Your mouths are so full of shit, don't tell me that you rinsed them with it too. You're just a scum who doesn't even know any martial arts, how dare you be so rude. Why I ought, whoa whoa whoa, you actually dare to do it. Yesterday, my lady told me that she hated how cowardly I was, that from now on I had to be tougher, and that if there was anyone who dared to pick on me, Ching Shinsi is the direct disciple of the M.O. Ching sect master, so she must enjoy a privileged standing within the sect, however she never protected the original owner, therefore the people who dared to be rude to him. She'd take it out on whoever did it. Do you think that's wise? Elder Marshal Sister, Ching? You piece of garbage, you're afraid of a single woman? Aren't ashamed of yourself? Is that thing between your legs just for show? Ha ha ha, but as long as Chin Shinsi still wants my virtuous body, she'll definitely put up with me for the time being, so I'll just use her name to get things done. Origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points, Lee Sanjin, what a bite-sized meal, but little by little I'll get there, I have nothing to lose anyway. Note, literally mosquito leg meat. Note, literally many little things add up to something great. Today, I swear on my lady's name that I won't curse at you sons of bitches. Literally, I'll write my lady's chain character upside down. A derogatory term used to describe that something is utterly impossible. In this case, it is used to make fun of them. Origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points, Zhang Dingyu origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points, Wang Irma origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points, Li Sanjin. Sons of bitches, gigolos, minute mans. I won't let anyone from the sect who humiliated and mocked the original owner get away with it. Now who's next? Martial arts training field, BA La BA La. Mountain entrance, B.A. La, B.A. La. You don't like it? If you don't like it, go and take it up with my lady. She'll cover for me. System panel. Origin points, 2.012.
I cursed at all of the guys that I encountered on the road who had bullied the original owner. As a result, my throat is hoarse, and I only got two points to show for it. These origin points are really hard to acquire. No matter how it is, I can finally improve my skills. I'm getting a little bit excited just thinking about it. Gui Yam Gong Upgrade Oh, my body feels so much better. Huh? I only upgraded one level and it's already at the max level? It's indeed a worthless martial arts technique, origin points remaining, 1.012, skill mastery, Gu Yang Gong, current max level, level 1, max level, current effect, slight improvement to physical fitness. Mildly effective at increasing vigor. There's still one origin point left, so why don't I try and see if I can continue to upgrade it or not? It worked. Origin points remaining, 0 0.012, skill mastery, Gu Yang Gong, current level, level 2, level cap exceed, current effect, small improvement to physical fitness and physical endurance. Considerably effective at increasing vigor. Note, this is a term that means something like to break through the constraints of the original specifications, or in other words, to break the rules. System prompt, your cultivation realm has advanced. Current realm, acquired realm, first layer. I can't believe it, I actually leveled up. I never imagined that upgrading Gu Yang Gong would lead to this. HM? CAN? I heard about what you did today. My lady. You have arrived. CAN? What are you, my lady? I've been pondering over some new tricks recently. I'm certain you will like them. Oh? Like what? Although this brat is good looking, he's always been dumb. Is he starting to understand how things work now? Then let me have a look. At how much my dear has improved. So be it. He has a nice set of abs anyhow. It would be a waste not to bite. He he he. The next day. I never thought that, my dear, would have improved to this extent. And it's all thanks to the Guyam Gong. As I continued to practice it, I suddenly found that I was a lot stronger than before. It's truly a miraculous skill. Phew, and it's a good thing too. If I hadn't upgraded the Guyam Gong, I'd probably be a corpse by now. From now on, try to be a little bit more modest. Don't give me any more trouble. Behave yourself and do as you're told. Yes, honey. I also want to keep a low profile, but unfortunately, the system doesn't allow me to. Later, I'll come back and continue from where we left off, my dear. Take care, my lady. She only patted me slightly and dislocated my shoulder. The difference between our martial arts is too great. Moreover, she started to become suspicious of me. This just now was just a warning. Yet, I can't falter. I must meet this challenge head on. Before that bitch loses her patience, I have to collect enough origin points to strengthen my skills and find a way to get out of this mess. Congratulations, my lady. You've released your internal energy. You've now stepped into the ninth layer of the acquired realm. The innate realm is just around the corner. I never thought that by raising the rank of the honeypot, the virtuous body could be further improved. A single night of joy is better than half a month of bitter practice. I gave up on my maidenhood in exchange for this opportunity, but it was all worth it. My lady, Mr. Siat seems to have suddenly become smarter. We had best be on our guard. So what of it? As long as he can't practice martial arts, he has to obey me until death do us part. Note, a Chinese poem. Literally, the silkworm's silk is exhausted only when its life is spent. So in words, until he's sucked dry and dies, he has to obey her. A few days later, what bad luck. Why did I have to run across that bastard again? Don't mess with him. Now that the sect master is seriously ill, Elder Marshal Sister Chain is making rapid progress, and once she breaks through to the innate realm, she's very likely to succeed him. He's nothing more than a plaything. There's no need for us to stoop to his level. I came knocking at the door of everyone in the sect who had previously bullied the original owner, and one by one I repeatedly made their lives a living hell. 
As a result, I've gathered nearly 10 origin points. Since I've been exploiting these suckers all this time, it appears that they have grown numb to me, seeing as I haven't seen the origin points rising anymore. How lonely it is to be invincible. However, there's no point in only collecting origin points but not using them. Since the Guyan Gong has exceeded the level cap and can't be upgraded any further, I must learn some new martial arts techniques. But even when I tried every trick in the book to cheat someone under that bitch's name, I still wasn't able to learn any new cultivation techniques. Hey, you can think about this in any way you want, but my dear Chin Shinsi has asked me to seek your advice. But the sex cultivation techniques can't be disclosed to outsiders. Instead, she's becoming ever more vigilant. Although that bitch didn't say much, she's been draining my life force more and more fiercely every night. Does my dear have any pleasant surprises in store for me today? If not, I'm going to punish you for the things that you did during the day. Damn it, if things keep going like this, even though my Guyan Gong has exceeded the level cap, my body won't be able to take it. It's a good thing that God hasn't forsaken me yet. When I was strolling around here yesterday, the system gave me a prompt. Here I go again. System fragments were found. Please go to collect them as soon as possible to upgrade the system and activate the next function. If God gives you something but you don't take it, then you only have yourself to blame. Note, this is a quote from the Shirji historical records relating to the royal family of the King Yugojin. So fight. The Mo Ching Ancestral Shrine is a restricted area inside the sect which is dedicated to the statues of the previous sect masters. The system fragments are inside of it and the system has marked them for me with a light. Fortunately, no one else can see it. Halt! This is the Mo Ching Ancestral Shrine. Any trespassers shall be put to death. No one is allowed here except for the sec master, not to mention someone as lowly as me who is only used as a honeypot for draining life force. This is a misunderstanding. You got me all wrong, elder sisters. Who would ever dare to break into the ancestral shrine? How could there be two such beautiful elder sisters standing besides the ancestral shrine? You two have skin as beautiful as white jade, a waist as thin as a willow, pretty as peaches in spring, pure as nine autumn golden flowers, and every smile and gaze that you make leaves me so speechless that I couldn't help myself. Note, in Chinese numerology one of the meanings for the number nine is everlasting. Note, literally chrysanthemum, a flower native to Asia and Northeastern Europe. By the time I got back to my senses, I had already unconsciously walked to your side. You're Cien, right? You're so handsome and sweet, and completely different from the rumors. No wonder Elder Marshall's sister Ching spoils you so much. It's just that I have to guard the ancestral shrine right now. You can come to my room tonight. Cien? What, you don't want to? The two of us can also do it together. Yes, of course I want to. But why must we wait until tonight? Eh? But we must guard the ancestral shrine. Huh? Isn't that Yi Gutsuin, enforcer of the sect? The original owner had quite an impression on him. He was terribly bullied by him when he first entered the sect. This guy is not afraid of Chin Shinsi. I haven't messed him in the past two days, but now, he's a godsend. You, get over here. Guard the ancestral shrine for the both of them. I beg your pardon? What are you staring at? I'm talking to you. You're really a worthless piece of shit. Here I am eagerly waiting to have a good time with these two elder sisters, and you still haven't hurried up and rolled over to replace them. Stop. Don't say anything else. That's Enforcer Yi. He has a special standing you can't offend him as you please. What Enforcer? Isn't he more of a dog? My Lady Chin Shinsi said that, except for me all the men in this sect are nothing but a bunch of dogs and slaves. Chin Shinsi? How dare Chin Shinsi humiliate the Enforcer of the sect like this? Time is running out. The bitch is coming. Fight. Origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points, Yi Gutsuin, origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points, Yi Gutsuin, origin points obtained anger, 
0.01 points, Yi Gutsuin. Hey Flunky. If you have the guts come and hit me. Hit me on the chest. You're looking for death. Ah. What a powerful punch. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Stop. Did I even hit him? Don't tell me that I've already advanced to the innate realm. Step aside, Enforcer Yi. I'm going inside the ancestral shrine. God damn it. I still need a few more days to completely drain his virtuous body. Chin Chinsi, are you actually looking down on me, the enforcer of this sect? I'd like to see who dares to enter the ancestral shrine to save that wretched scumbag. I, I'm not going to save him, Elder Sister Chin. The ancestral shrine is not a place where you can break into at will. You'd better ask the patriarch to come. Pantu, pantu, pant, I finally got inside. Fortunately, my Guyam Gong improved my physique. Otherwise, it would have been impossible that a collision like this wouldn't have broken my bones. It's a good thing that he didn't really hit me, or I'd be a dead man. What about the system fragment? Grand Sect Founder, Yushio Luo? So the system fragment is actually the jade statue of the founder of the M.O. Ching sect. The system fragment has been merged. System upgrade is complete. The current system level is level 1. The realm travel function has been unlocked. System level, level 1, name, C.A.E.N., realm, acquired realm, first layer, skill mastery, expand, origin points, 10.012, number of times you've entered another realm, 0. Travel. Travel now. The random world finder has found the world of Yunshan to travel to this world. Eight origin points will be spent. Note, literally Cloud Mountain. This term might be a concept that refers to a place far away from the earthly world where monks and hermits live. Activating the realm travel function. Calculating route. Do you wish to travel to the discovered world of Yunshan? Yes. No. Yes. Fortunately, I mustered 10 origin points beforehand otherwise it would have been back to Sparta for me. 8 origin points have been used, realm travel function activated. City of Yunshan City Lord's Mansion Both the Xie and the Luo families are joining in marriage today. What a remarkable scene. Luo Xiaoyun is indeed the most beautiful woman in the city of Yunshan. It's a pity that she's going to marry that fop Yan. Sa, stop talking nonsense. World of Yunshan, son of Xiaoyu, city lord of the city of Yunshan. Yan, soul replacement succeeded. Ha ha ha. I made it. My soul crossed over. But why does the original owner have the same name as me again? Unworthy son, this is a day of great joy. What nerve you have. In all likelihood, the city lord's son is overly excited. There's no harm done, none whatsoever. Let us continue with the proceedings, ha ha ha, my bad. My identity in this world is the son of a city lord and I'm also getting married. It's really not a bad start. I pay my respects to my wife-to-be. Now, I just have to find some cultivation techniques that I can practice and use the system to upgrade them completely. When I go back, whether it is that bitch or the M.O. Ching sect dealing with them will be a cinch. Huh? What's going on here? Just you wait. My brother Pan Wei won't let you get away with this. Huh? Aren't I the one who's getting married? Who's this Pan Wei? Why does it feel like there's green on my head? Note, this probably is a reference to wear a green hat, which in Chinese is a term for a guy whose wife or girlfriend cheats on him. If you don't let me go, you'll soon be peeing on your pants. My elder brother, Pan Wei, is a heroic young man. A degenerate shit stain like you could never even hope to match his little toe. I, Luo Xiaoyun, would never in this life ever fall for a scumbag like you. Origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points, Luo Xiaoyun. What in the world did the original owner of this body see in this girl? She's way worse than Chin Chinsi. My daughter just got a little excited and blurted out some nonsense. 
there's no need for anyone to take it to heart. All right. Send the newlyweds into the bridal chamber. And prepare the feast. What a vulgar and ill-mannered woman. If my son hadn't been set on marrying her, I would have already broken off the engagement. Wait. What's the rush city lord see at? I, Pan Wei, haven't even paid my tribute yet. Brother Pan Wei, I knew you would come to save me. Eh? What's going on now? New guests? Pay tribute? My sweetheart is getting married today. How could I not come to offer her? The heads of all of you people in the Sia family. Impudent. What the heck is the matter with him? If you want to fight, just fight amongst yourselves. Don't come anywhere near me. Memory import starting. The user spent 8 origin points to enter the world of Yunshan. Xia Yin is the only and spoiled son of the city lord of Yunshan. A good-for-nothing profligate who isn't too keen on practicing martial arts. He was betrothed to Luo Xiaoyun, the daughter of a rich businessman in the city. Note, literally to propose a marriage by pointing at the stomach, an old practice of proposing marriage on case two pregnant women give birth, respectively to a son and a daughter, the children shall unite in marriage when they grow up. However, when she grew up, Luo Xiaoyun fell in love with someone else and eloped with the handyman Pan Wei during the engagement banquet. Both the Xie and Luo families sent a large number of men to hunt them down. Although they captured Luo Xiaoyun and placed her under house arrest, Pan Wei was able to escape. Though no one expected that whilst Pan Wei was on the run, he'd inadvertently come across the legacy of an ancient sword demon and in a single bound would become an expert. And over the next three years, Pan Wei became a man of great fortune, constantly running across fortuitous encounters, growing stronger and stronger, and the men that the two families sent to capture him were either killed or seriously injured. Fearing that an undue delay might bring misfortune, the Luo family made up their minds today to force Luo Xiaoyun to take vows and marry. And when Pan Wei got the news, he alone with his sword, killed his way all the way to Yunshan. It's indeed worthy of being called the Xia family's Vidrafinger's special martial arts skill, however the stronger the opponent, the stronger I get. On the contrary, I've gained quite a bit from this battle. I'll come to destroy you all in one month. Note, from Wiki, a Vidra is a weapon used as a ritual object to symbolize both the properties of a diamond, indestructibility, and a thunderbolt, irresistible force. The Sanskrit word has both these meanings. He was no match, yet he's still unwilling to admit his defeat. He overestimates himself. In a month's time, Lord Sia's Vidra finger can be used to seal the enemy's internal power. People who are struck by this finger will not be able to move their internal power for half a year. Holy Moses! Where the heck is this long audience plot taking me? Why does it feel like Pan Wei is the protagonist and I'm just a pretentious little villain used to make him look good? Anyway, it's a good thing that this convenient old man is amazing to the point of beating him back. This way, I can remain at ease gathering skills, and then once I've brought together enough origin points, I'll hit the road. Why didn't Lord Sia take the opportunity to capture him? I guess he didn't want to see blood at the wedding? But his son will certainly be a cause of endless troubles in the future. City Lord Loading quest, you've provoked a son of God you're done for. Find a way to get yourself out of this mess, kill Pan Wei within one month, and save the Sia family. After the quest is completed, you can return with all the power you've gained in this world otherwise you'll get nothing. Holy shit! Father! My dear father! Are you alright? In the Yunshan world, most of the martial arts and cultivation methods are controlled by the royal family and other local noble families. By cultivating their internal and external power, exercising their body functions, those strong cultivators can split a stone with a single punch. I see. So that's how the power system works in this world. Yunshan Martial Arts Compendium 
Based on the description, it seems to be a low-level martial world, far less powerful than the main world. But it doesn't matter. It's still martial arts. So long as I can get to the entry point, level 0, I can use the system to upgrade myself. It could improve my combat power by at least a bit. An hour later. These books, I know every single word, but I just can't understand when they're all together. How can the martial arts in this world be so different from men in the main world? This damned Xiaoyan in the Yunshan world. He's really ignorant. Besides the Yunshan Martial Arts Compendium, which talks about the history of martial arts, are there any other books here that I can understand? The heavens have abandoned me. Young master, the Lord is in the reception room. He asked you to come over. I see. It's not about whether I can complete the mission, but it's a question of whether I can stay alive. My soul alone has traveled here, so my current body is powerless. Otherwise, with my strength from cultivating the art of yang stabilization, I can fight Pan Wei. Art of yang stabilization, extra level, I sense you are in a state of soul traveling, it is prohibited here. I heard that Pan Wei defeated our lord yesterday. He even said he would come to kill all the Xia family members in one month. I have come to pay a visit to Lord Xia. How is he recovering? Go back. Our Lord won't meet anyone at this moment. Looks like I can't make it on my own. But now is also too late to have someone teach me martial arts. I guess I still have to rely on my father in this world if I want to solve the problem. Father, I've come to see you. You are also here, Mr. Luo. Ah, here you are, Yin. We were just talking about your marriage with Xiaoyun. What else is there to be talked about? Everything has been settled. The final wedding banquet got a bit mixed up, but we'll just make up for it another day. But, but Pan Wei said, Ha ha ha, Luo, don't tell me you believe my golden days are over, just like what those ignorant bumpkins think. That brat Pan Wei has indeed made a lot of progress in the past few years. I indeed underestimated him, so he got a chance to hurt me. But my finger of Vidra also got him seriously injured. Ha ha, if he really dares to come back again in a month, I'll make sure he never returns. I see. Wait, Luo, I've thought about the words you just said. You didn't come here today to break off the marriage, did you? You've misunderstood. I watched Yen growing up. How could I break off the marriage since he is such a nice son-in-law? I see. I was thinking too much. Yes, yes. Ha ha ha. Then I'm going back. I'll entrust my Xiaoyun to you. Will do. Let's grab a drink when my wounds recover in a few days. So your wounds are not as serious as rumors have it. If Pan Wei comes back in a month, how much sure are you to defeat him? Yin, hurry. Help me stand. Let's go back to the room. Are, are you all right? Should I call a doctor? Yin, Pan Wei has seriously injured my heart, causing me to lose all my power. I have three days at most to live. When I die, those vultures, including your father-in-law, will immediately turn against the Xia family to please Pan Wei. So tonight, you must run way through the secret passage on the back mountain. Father, and take this. This is the biggest secret in our family. A hundred years ago, an ancestor of our family saw a fallen meteorite. He found what turned out to be this magical jade tablet. Once you hold it and feel it, it will transport some kind of inexplicable martial arts to your mind. But only the first few words were taught. Unfortunately, though it passed through a few generations, no one was able to reveal the secret of this tablet and master the complete martial arts. However, with those few words, our family has cultivated the one and only finger of Vidra and laid the foundation of the family. Now, I'm giving it to you. What is this feeling? You have found the ancestral heavenly jade tablet, number of uses 1 slash 1. A product of an advanced level celestial civilization and a one-time use item for ancestral secret martial arts. 
Traces show that it has been used several times by lower life forms, but because their spiritual power failed to meet the standard, it wasn't consumed. The spiritual power of the host meets the standard, the transport begins, martial arcs collected, level zero. Go now. I will get you at least three more days. Don't think about avenging me. Just live your life. So long as you have this tablet, our family will one day rise again. But, this jade tablet is already broken. Father, are you okay? Origin point gained anger, 0.01 points, Siezhen. Although Siezhen, the city lord of Yunshan City, is extravagant and arrogant, he doesn't exploit his people at the bottom ranks. He has been taking a risk-averse policy to guard the board, which is pretty low-key. Yunshan City. His son, Xie Yan, lingers in the red light district, but he doesn't do anything outrageous. People regard him as a spoiled scum and secretly despise him, yet they never complain. However, within a day, countless notices were posted in the city listing Xie Yan's crimes. Xie Yan is really going too far. Not only did he abduct women, but also tortured them in every way. He's worse than a beast. He had even stolen Wang's chicken. Young master, we have posted notices all over the city as you requested. And now citizens are angry. Thank God that the Lord is cultivating in seclusion, otherwise, I can't imagine the consequences. Young master, why did you put so much effort in smearing your name to become infamous? It's still not enough. Still not enough. All right, you guys continue. I'll think about some more crimes to write about. Yes, young master. As a rich, spoiled kid myself, why didn't the original Xia Yin bully people more often? I have to make up for things now. Since it's not face-to-face, -face, the origin points gained by getting people angry are mere 0 0.00001 points at a time. The points do accumulate due to the mass amount of people, but it still took a long time to barely gain one point. Origin points, 3.12345. I can live with three points, but I'm not sure if I could upgrade my finger of Nirvana to another level. Although the martial arts I obtained from the tablet was just a kind of medical skill, it's actually within the immortal domain. I haven't heard of it even in the main world, so I don't know why it appeared in a low-level martial world. But anyway, it's a great help to me. Remaining origin points, 3.12345, skill mastered, finger of nirvana, current level, level zero, current effect, cure some common injuries and diseases in a low-level world. Back then, when I only had two origin points, the system said there weren't enough points to upgrade. Let's try it again this time. Done. To upgrade one level, three points are enough. Remaining origin points, 0.12345 skill mastered, finger of nirvana, current level, level 1, current effect, cure some common injuries and diseases in a low-level world. It feels pretty warm, and it seems I don't have to activate it with my internal power, how mysterious. No wonder it's an immortal skill. When I was at level 0, I could only use my skill every 12 hours to barely support my father's life. Let's see if I can cure him, now that I'm at level 1. Father, I've come to see you again. Brad, get out of here. Father, please don't say that, I'm here to cure your wounds. I've already told you, poking at my wounds all day will not do any good. Father, please stay still. I'm using the martial art I've learned from the Jade Tablet. I mean it. I appreciate your kindness. But, stay back. Stop struggling. Take this. Finger of Nirvana. Humph, naive old man. My technique is rough, and I don't know anything about acupoints, just poking at the wounds. So what? As long as it can work, who cares? However, although I'm at level 1, I could only cure the wounds and save his life. I have no way to recover his lost power, looks like I need to upgrade more if I want him to have a full recovery. At this point, I don't have enough points to upgrade. Even if I do, the finger of Nirvana doesn't give me any combat power. 
Remaining Origin Points, 0 0.12345, Skill Mastered, Finger of Nirvana, Current Level, Level 1, Current Effect, Cure Most Injuries and Diseases in a Low-Level World. Although the Finger of Vidra adapted by the Sia family has a much lower level than the Finger of Nirvana, it's still a kind of attacking martial art, so when it comes to fighting and killing, it's far better than the original version. If only I could master the Finger of Vidra. Never mind. It's already a blessing to inherit the Finger of Nirvana. Don't think too much. Servants. My father doesn't need my help to support his life now. Let's move on to the next step. Young master, what can I do for you? Go. Give me the most popular erratic books on the market. Ha. Huh? And prepare a carriage. Take me to the best brothel in the city. The next day, Yunshan City. These are all crimes committed by that brat, Sia Yan. Did someone realize that his father is dying, so people are treading on the Sia family right now? But why do I feel that no one cares about it? Does the Sia family have that much prestige in the city? What are they doing? Come on. Tell us another one. Yeah. I was late today and missed the previous story. Okay, I'll tell you another one then. It is said that when the young hero Pan fled all alone, his lover, Luo Xiaoyun, was abducted by Xia Yan. Xia Yan imprisoned Xiaoyun in the dungeon and tortured her in every way. Together they have practiced more than a hundred positions. Now let me tell you how they practiced the 33rd position. Are you for real? How could it not be? Xia Yan said it himself. Ha ha ha, these rich spoiled kids really know how to have fun. Then Pan Wei is really cuckolded. We Yan. I swear I'm going to kill you. Origin point gained anger, 0.00001 points. Pan Wei, origin point gained anger, 0.00001 points. Pan Wei. He is indeed the chosen one in this world. The origin points gained from him are much more than others. I could gather enough points to upgrade very soon. Then I'll have all the pieces I need. Seven days later, why is it still not enough? Sorry. You don't have enough origin points to upgrade. It took three points to upgrade to level one, then ten points to level two, and it needs more than fifteen points to upgrade to level three. Looks like this finger of Nirvana is going to drain my points. Forget it. I can't wait anymore. Anyway, the finger of Nirvana at level 2 is still enough. I'll give my father the last round of pokes today. That should be enough for him to fully recover. Remaining origin points, 15.00045, skill mastered, finger of Nirvana, current level, level 2, current effect. Cure most injuries and diseases in a low-level world. Revitalize people to their peak states. Gradually, the effect weakens in middle-level and higher-level worlds. Father, I've come to see you again. Father, am I having a hallucination? Why do I see Buddha's light behind you? My child, I have reached enlightenment. All the items are forms of nothingness, whether it's happiness or sorrow. Just go ahead in your way. Then I'll get straight to it. 18 Pokes of Nirvana Ah! Ah! Father, do you feel good now? Would like a few more pokes? Four days. It only took you four days to fully restore my power. The martial art from the Jade Tablet is really impressive. Son, I have a crazy thought. If you poke me a few hundred more times, will my cultivation reach another level? Father, do you think it's like those magic supplements that could improve internal power? It's impressive enough to fully restore your power. Alas, it seems I'm a bit too greedy. However, I might have fully restored my power, but I'm still no match for Pan Wei. Relax, Father. As long as you follow my plan, with your current power, you can easily kill Pan Wei. Bravo. You're my good son. Now we can just wait for that bastard to come and meet his doom. Oh my poor silly father, ahem. You are so honest. Why must we stay and wait for him to come? 
I've already got a plan. Luo Xiaoyun must have a way to get in touch with Pan Wei. So why don't we? My lord, young master. Bad news. Mr. Luo heard that the young master is spreading rumors of Luo Xiaoyun being tortured, so he's coming to demand an explanation. Is that true? Well, father, I can explain. I did all of this for you. Brett, you have ruined my entire reputation. Take my finger of Vidra. Father, I was wrong. I will never do that again, Mr. Luo. I have already punished this brat. Please forgive him. Since it's just a joke, there is no need for you to punish him like this. It's getting late. I'm leaving. See you then. All right, you can stop acting now. Or he couldn't feel our sincerity, right? Although he doesn't care about his daughter, he cares about his own reputation. I bet you will find a way to get Luo Xiaoyun out of this misery. Seven days later, CS Dungeon. Who is it? Xiaoyun, it's me. Father. You've come to rescue me? I've been looking for opportunities these past days. Today, I finally took the chance to drug the guards. Now they are all asleep. Xiaoyun, you have suffered a lot. It was all my fault. Father, I don't blame you. I only blame that wicked Sia family. Xiaoyun, I can only take you this far. Leave now. Father, I have to go back and calm Sia Jin and Sia Yin. So I can't accompany you. Take care of yourself. Father, rest assured. I'll definitely find Pan Wei and ask him to destroy the Sia family. Pan Wei. I've finally come back to you. Xiaoyun. Xiaoyun, did that bastard Xia Yan really torture you? Xia Yan? I have been in prison and haven't seen him. I see, then how did you manage to escape? My father couldn't bear to see me suffer. He secretly helped me escape. Your father? Haha, -ha, looks like my father-in-law finally realized that the Xia family is worthless and acknowledged me instead. Don't say that. Xiaoyun, I have been practicing my martial arts these days. I will kill every member of the Xia family next. You won't blame me for that, will you? How could I ever blame you? I hate the Xia family with all my soul. Today let me tell you how I got laid with Luo Xiaoyun. This voice, it's Xia Yan. I was just about to show her my capacity at that time. Shut up. Xia Yan. How dare you stand in front of me? How the hell did you even find me? You want to know the truth? The truth is. Bitch, you sold me out. So you've been Xia Yan's bitch all along. Pan Wei, I'm not. I didn't do that. Get lost. Hey, don't be so hasty. I haven't had the chance to explain my ingenious plot yet. If everyone is like you, the world is going to end. Haha, <laughs> in fact, I have already unleashed the internal power sealed by your finger of Vidra. I even learned the method to circulate my internal power, which made me several times stronger. Your family martial art is indeed unique, yet you are too useless to fully master it. Now I have fully mastered it, and I can just test its power on you. Pan Wei, you bastard. Don't you know you are about to get killed? He is indeed the chosen one. He's progressed so quickly. Luckily, I've got ready for it. Guys, now is the best time to take your sweet revenge. Mountain Splitter of Hua Yunxiong, as a loser, how dare you show up in front of me? Wow, he just tore the house apart. No wonder people call him Mountain Splitter. He is really strong. How many more people are ambushing me? Show yourselves. I, Zhang Yang, have come here to get my revenge. Pan Wei, you intruded into the prince's mansion at night and stole the Qingfeng sword. My name is Luo Yuxiang, and by the order of the emperor, I'm here to take your life. Go to hell, Pan Wei. Pan Wei, you're doomed. Pan Wei, 
hand over our secret treasures. C.A.N., you bastard. What the hell have you done? How is it possible for you to gather them all? It's very simple. I cured their wounds, and they already had a grudge against you. As the chosen one, Pan Wei must have made progress by fighting his opponents. He would surely have countless enemies, so I just searched for them one by one. After this round, the internal injury that Pan Wei caused will fully recover. Excuse me, are you Hero Zhang Yang? I wonder if you're interested in fighting Pan Wei. Why don't you make everyone know who is the best genius in Yunshan City? I heard Pan Wei dared to intrude in the third prince's mansion at night and steal the sword. I, Xia Yin, am just a common civilian, but I also have a grudge against Pan Wei, so I would like to get that sword back for the third prince. Pan Wei, I've gathered all your enemies here. Even if you're the chosen one, I believe you won't overcome this situation. Fighting with so many people alone with no fear, Pan Wei is really worth remembering. However, it's already difficult to fight two people alone, not to mention more than ten of them. Pan Wei's injuries are getting more and more severe. His power is also getting weaker. It's settled. Looks like I can complete the mission very soon. System panel. It's really hard to gather these origin points. I suppose my reputation has already spread to other cities, yet there are still so few points. But, remaining origin points, 25.00045, skill mastered, finger of nirvana, current level, level 2, current effect, cure most injuries and diseases in a low-level world, revitalize people to their peak states. Gradually, the effect weakens in middle-level and higher-level worlds. I can't believe it would take more than 25 points to upgrade Finger of Nirvana to level 3. I wonder how advanced it is. But it doesn't matter. I have plenty of time. Novel. Anyway, I can leave here at any time. I don't have to worry so much as I did in the main world. After I complete my mission, I'll travel across the world, ruin my reputation everywhere, and gather a bunch of origin points. These free points will be wasted if I don't gather them. Then I can learn all the martial arts I can possibly learn in this world, and upgrade them all to the highest levels. When I become invincible, I'll go back to the main world and crush M.O. Ching sect. How perfect! Pan Wei, go to hell. Impossible, it's impossible. I'm the chosen one. No matter what I managed to do, I always made it. Now, now I'm defeated. Oh, Pan, you look terrible. Do you have something to say? C.A.N. You son of a bitch. Come fight me alone if you dare. I have conquered you with my wisdom. There are so many people here. And why should I fight you alone? Never mind. Time is up. I will send you to hell. I can't die like this, ah. Uh. Fuck, he's still struggling. Someone. Hold down his leg so I can take his life. He's finally dead. Why is it getting dark? Did the lightning just strike? He's indeed the chosen one. Even when he was getting killed, the sky casts the lightning in response. Pan Wei is dead. You finished the mission. The reward is 70 origin points. Good. Now I'm sure I can bring back my rewards. I didn't expect the system would reward me with origin points after I completed the mission. You will be sent back to the main world in 10 seconds. Please get ready. What the hell? Fuck. You didn't tell me I would be sent back immediately after I complete the mission. My free origin points. My plan to become the king of the world. Fuck you, system. My soul is back, so this transport is not really reliable at all. Can't it just transport my whole body? I'm back to hell again. Sect leader. Ching Shinsi's toy boys intruding into the ancestral shrine is unforgivable. You can't be partial towards him because of Ching Shinsi. Guardian Yi, why are you so harsh? Luckily, the time lapse between the small world and the main world is different. 
I don't think I've traveled for much time here. Otherwise, I would have been executed by now. All of you, get out. When I seize this man, I will bring justice. Yes. Someone is coming in to capture me. Based on the conversation, it should be the leader of the marching sect. There is no chance for me to escape. As for fighting him, how can I fight him with my power of the first level and the post-celestial stages? Previously, I heard the disciples saying the leader is seriously ill. Yusholua, the founding matriarch of marching sect. Got it. How dare you disturb the ancestral shrine of the marching sect? Come out now. This is... Bastard. How dare you damage the sculpture of our founding matriarch? Who is that? You have woken me up. Who's there? I'm Yushiolua. Judging by the power circulating in your whole body, are you my descendant who has inherited my marching cultivation methods? Your whole body is leaking internal power. Among your twelve meridians, two of them are almost broken, and less than a half of your acupoints are damaged, not to mention the several cracks in your internal power pool. No matter how hard you cultivate, your power will only become weaker instead of stronger. Is he trying to deceive me? But how did he see the details of my wounds? As far as I know, no one in my sect knows about this. Alas, after all, you are a descendant of my marching sect. I'll teach you a medical cultivation method. I've never heard of this martial art. But in terms of the sheer amount of power it has generated, this is definitely not something a cultivation vessel could ever achieve. Could it really be Lady Matriarch's doing? I'm tired. You're on your own now. Lady Matriarch, don't go. My lady. My lady. Fortunately, my finger of nirvana has been upgraded enough that I can now see the cause of people's illness. Otherwise, I would never be able to convince her that I'm the founding matriarch. Ugh, where am I? Huh. Ma'am, please get your hands off me. What exactly did you see after you came in? Answer me now. Hmm, I might have bumped into something after getting thrown into the ancestral shrine. Then my mind went blank. When I was only half conscious, I heard a woman's voice. She said she wanted to teach me a medical martial art. I think it was called the Finger of Minerva. You mean Finger of Nirvana? Oh, yes, Finger of Nirvana. She asked me to use this art on the sect leader, promising to not hold me responsible for breaking into the ancestral shrine if I complied. Well, ma'am, are you that sect leader she had mentioned? What do you think? Uh, sect leader, I will start massaging your shoulders according to that medical art now. Cut the crap. Finger of Nirvana. I'll try three forces of it first to convince her of the effect. What is this? A warm and impressive power is coursing through my body. It's not internal power, but its healing effects are much better than internal power. I can't believe it has repaired my wounded meridians with such ease. It really was the Lady Matriarch. Don't stop. Keep going. That's just the blood of stasis in my body. I've just spit it out. As long as this power keeps coursing through my body, even my incurable internal injuries will be healed at this rate. Didn't I tell you to continue? Why did you stop? Es sorry, madam. This medical martial art is very energy consuming. I have only learned a little art of young stabilization before. Now I don't have the strength to perform the finger of Nirvana again. I can't cure her straight away. Otherwise, I will be of no value to her and I'll be left to die. He is the cultivation vessel captured by Qin Shinsi. He is too weak to be able to perform Lady Matriarch's healing skill to the fullest extent. Then I'll have to. Ah, uh, sect leader, why did you hit me? Trespassing at the shrine is a major offense. I cannot pardon you, even if I'm the sect leader. Don't wipe the blood from your clothes. It's crucial to your survival. What? She's trying to save me? What exactly is she thinking? I haven't completely seized his corpus ascentetum yet. It would be a big loss for me if my master really killed him. Master. 
How's it going with Xie Yan? Sect leader, if you can't bring yourself to execute this man because of his ties with your only disciple, I can help. Xie Yan's violation of our ancestral shrine is unforgivable. I have already dealt with him myself. You don't need to bother, Guardian Yi. Master, what did you do to Xie Yan? He will be here soon. You can ask him yourself. Th thank you, sect leader, F for sparing my life. Xie Yan. Master has O castrated him? I won't have any chance to get his corpus asentetum now. Serves you right. I'll give you a swift death and free you from your suffering now. Wait. Guardian Yi, we should be fair and open about our delivery of punishment. I have punished Xie Yan for his trespassing. No need for further actions. After the death of Peng Min, I need a new person to be my servant. Xie Yan shall be her replacement. Huh? Sect leader's residence, marching sect. Damn it. And here I was wondering what she meant by spilling blood all over my crotch. Turns out she was going to fake a castration? I've got to play eunuch now? All right. I can be her eunuch. Since then, I have temporarily settled down as the sect leader's personal servant. Now I use the watered-down version of Finger of Nirvana to heal the sect leader every day in the name of serving her. I found her to be quite easygoing once I got to know her better. However, alas, how come this righteous cultivator, Ching Shuani, fell in love with the evil emperor Chu Quamren who knows nothing but power? I can't believe she's obsessed with romance novels. She even sympathizes with the righteous heroine. Weren't you supposed to be a merciless woman who cultivates evil martial arts? A few days later. Guess I really can't help being so charming. I am still so attractive to women despite them thinking I'm a eunuch. Xie Yin is so handsome. What a shame that he's already claimed by Wen Xingzi. I don't care. I can share. Same. Same here. You insufferable women. Xie Yin has been castrated already. He is now a eunuch who serves our sect leader. Stop fantasizing about getting into his bed. Xie Yin can no longer satisfy you without his thing. You fools. So what if he is a eunuch? He's still more handsome than you ugly bastards. Indeed. I still want him. Me too. Make your picking when flowers are in bloom. Wait not till out of bloom to pick on twigs and sprigs in vain. Lady, please don't move. Flowers are meant for beauties. My lady, this peony flower suits you. Wow. So romantic. What about me? I want one too. Envy jealousy, envy jealousy. Origin points gained envy, 0.01 points, Li Sanjin, origin points gained envy, 0.01 points, Zhang Danyu, origin points gained envy, 0.01 points, Wang Irma, origin points gained adoration, 0.01 points, Li Xianlian, origin points gained adoration, 0.01 points, Luo Xiueyu, it's such a great feeling to earn origin points with just my appearance. I can't believe that not even 100 origin points are enough to upgrade the finger of Nirvana. It is just too expensive, isn't it? Remaining origin points, 100.01245, skill mastered, finger of Nirvana, current level, level 2, current effect, cure most injuries and diseases in a low-level world. Revitalize people to their peak states, gradually. The effect weakens in middle-level and higher-level worlds. Plus, people in the sect have gotten used to my handsomeness now. It's almost impossible to get any origin points now, even if I go out and try to incite some reactions from them every day. That evil woman, Qin Xingxi, is a cultivator on the ninth level of post-celestial stage. I will never be able to take revenge at this rate. I have to think of a new way to earn more points. How about? Two weeks later, somewhere in Maqing Sect. Are you that person named Blue Joker who has a book about a secret cultivation skill for sale? Indeed I am. Here's a word of caution before you read my book, 
though, this book is so powerful that many disciples of our sect could hardly get out of bed after reading it. Is it really that good? The writing is breathtaking. It's got illustrations, too. You will understand once you've looked at a few pages. Oh, damn. People will go crazy over this. Fifty tales of silver for one copy. How expensive. Huff, forget it, I'll buy it. A strange book titled Shinsi the Young Maiden has been circulating within the Maching sect. The book is about the stories between Chin Shinsi and a cultivation vessel, and it's full of exquisite details. It's said that the book has even been introduced to people outside the Maching sect. Many young righteous cultivators who normally despise such an evil sect are offering a lot of money to get a look at it. She really is a demon. She's so good, ahem, I mean, she knows no shame. Yes, indeed. We must read it through a critical lens. Chin Chinsi's residence, how dare they? My lady, what is this? Oh no. How audacious, how dare they fantasize about you? I only have one cultivation vessel, C.A.N. This writer even knows about that red mole on my waist. Who else could it be but him? Hey, finally. Origin points gained anger, 0.00001 points Chin Chinsi, origin points gained anger, 0.00001 points Chin Chinsi. I haven't earned so many origin points in a row for such a long time. Chin Chinsi is giving me as many origin points as that pan way. Plus there are even pirated versions of my book now. It's being sold everywhere. I can understand why. The pornography in this world is nothing compared to what I've read before. But I am a bit unhappy to have my work plagiarized, huh? Origin points gained appreciation, 0.00001 Yuhong Yin. Who is this Yuhong Yin who's giving me so many origin points? She must appreciate me a lot to generate this many origin points. Origin points gained appreciation, 0.00001 Yuhong Yin. Origin points gained appreciation, 0.00001 Yuhong Yin. Origin points gained anger, 0.00001 points, Chin Chinsi. Origin points gained appreciation, 0.00001 points, Gao Lian. Origin points gained appreciation, 0.00001 points, Fong Minger. There are also some other origin points of appreciation. They seem to be all women. Are female readers beginning to take interest in me? I didn't know I could achieve this. Alas, I'm still so charming even when I'm only a character in a novel. I should hurry up and publish the second episode. Better take advantage of the first book's current popularity to collect even more origin points. Then I can sit back and watch origin points pile up. Much easier than earning origin points in person. Sect Leader's Residence, Marching Sect, Sect Leader, I will use Finger of Nirvana on you now, wait. Huh? What's wrong with her today? She used to come and have me use the medical art on her immediately. I need to get ready. I see. Should I take my leave now and come back when you're ready? No need for that. I'm ready now. Okay. What is happening? She is acting weird today. Thirty minutes later. After I used the finger of Nirvana on her for a while, the sect leader said she would cultivate alone to heal her injury and told me to give her another treatment later. Phew, I've got to find something to do to kill time. The sect leader is really a big fan of novels I see. There are so many books. I will choose a random book to read. Hey, this book is the wrong way around. I can't stand how messy it looks. You're becoming increasingly disrespectful. Don't mess with my stuff. Sect leader, have you finished cultivating? My injury is recovering well. You have worked hard these past few days. You may rest now. I see. I'll take my leave then. Good. I can have extra time to write my new book. By the way, I've heard about a novel that tells the story of Chin Chinsi and her cultivation vessel being popular in our sect lately.
Although I have not read it myself, are you the author behind it, Blue Joker? Sect leader, I'm wronged. I have such a handsome face. Why would I ever write porn? It is a tasteless erotic book, but apart from those smutty sex scenes, the writing is actually really good. That Blue Joker knows women well. In particular, the story of lovers being separated by death, starting from the third paragraph on page 71, it's very moving. As I said, I have never read it myself. I just heard people discussing it. Wait, I know the sect leader's surname is Yu, but I never learned her first name. Is she Yu Hong Yin? It's good that it wasn't you who wrote it. Otherwise, I would have to punish you for the sake of Shinsi. You may leave now. If you have free time, you might as well write more, ahem, I mean, read more books. Yes, my lady. Is she implying that I should not reveal my real identity and should write more books for her to read? I never thought that sect leader would enjoy my erotica too. I've really earned myself a special reader. This blue joker, no C.A.N., does have some literary talent. I can't get enough of his writing. Jesus Christ. It's still not enough. Just how many freaking origin points does it take to upgrade the finger of Nirvana to level 3? Sorry, you don't have enough origin points to upgrade. The finger of Nirvana is really awesome. I can't believe I actually got it from a low-level martial arts world. Apparently, there are still a lot more secrets to be unearthed in these smaller worlds. That being said, the finger of Nirvana is a healing skill completely useless in a fight to the death. If I come across any danger, even if I can heal myself, wouldn't I just die in a single hit? My top priority is to obtain a martial art that will allow me to fight. Hmm, I have to figure out a way to get one from the matriarch. One week later, pant, pant, Miss Matriarch, I, I can't hold on much longer. Lately, when I put the finger of Nirvana to full use, my back and legs hurt, my limbs go weak, and my body feels drained. Then you should stop for now. You must be suffering from a shortage of energy. I practice the Guyang Gong taught by Shinsi every day. How can I not have enough energy? And what use would an ability meant to reinvigorate a honeypot have? At most, you would only reach the first layer of the acquired realm by practicing it. It can't be helped. Since you've been here all these days to heal me, it's time to give you some kind of reward. Reward? The gods are smiling upon me. These last few days of dropping hints weren't in vain. I'll pass on to you one of our finest martial arts so as not to dishonor the legacy of the sect founder. One hour later, skill input successful, skill designation, heavenly guard skill introduction, in the entire world, no matter how powerful someone is, none can surpass the heavens. With the heavens as your shield, there's no one who can break your defense. After cultivating it, you can expand your innate energy and strengthen your physical defense. Current level, not started, dang, I like the sound of that. But if it's just a passive martial art, won't I be unable to attack? Never mind, it's better than nothing. And I also managed to discover one of the system's benefits. As long as I can grasp and understand a skill, it can be inputted directly into the system, thus there being no risk of me forgetting it. Although this martial art is an entry-level skill of the M.O. Ching sect, the more you practice it the more challenging it becomes later on. No one in the whole sect has been able to fully master it, but it is easier to practice than other entry-level skills, making it more suitable for people like you with a shallow foundation. It's fine if you only practice it up to the introductory level, since you still need to focus on practicing the finger of Nirvana. Uh, Miss Matriarch, I have another favor to ask of you. What is it that you seek? Yesterday, Miss Matriarch told me that someone in the sect had written a romance novel which is corrupting the atmosphere of the M.O. Ching sect. I checked into it and might have found a lead. Oh? Then what is it that you want? Miss Matriarch, you have been so kind to me that I'll never allow anyone to ruin the reputation of the M.O. Ching sect. Please grant me a token and supervisory authority. I'll definitely ferret out this troublemaker. You really have some nerve. With just one glance, she put me under such enormous pressure. 
I almost forgot that she's the master of a sect, not just an ordinary young and avid reader. Catch. By holding on to this Mo Ching Arcane Command token, you'll have the same level of authority as me. I'll lend it to you for three days. Phew. You're now my personal servant, and you're also someone who's close to me. If you need anything else in the future, just tell it to me straight. There's no need for you to beat around the bush. Remember, I'm not fond of people by my side engaging in petty intrigue to try to outweak each other or myself. I understand the sect master is nothing like the other bitches in this sect. In return, it'd sure be great if the second volume of that novel got written a bit faster. I have a friend who would love to read it, after all. Understood. Once I catch the venerable stable lad, I'll whip him until he finishes the manuscript. As far as origin points are concerned, I always haggle over every penny. So it only stands to reason that in regard to my foes, I'll also not let anyone get away with it, even for the smallest grievance. Yo, isn't that Unixia? Unixia, besides running your mouth off, what else are you good for? Move along. Oh, Unixia is sure to have many other uses, such as making women happy and making women happy, but how's he supposed to please women? His toy is missing. Ha ha ha. He can still use his hands, can't he? Ha ha ha. Hey there, Unixia. Come over and have some fun with us. Where are you going in such a rush? Didn't you hear me when I told you to move along? Stop acting high and mighty, Unixia. You're just the sect master's servant, while we're disciples of the sect. The difference in status between you and us is beyond comparison. You have no right to order me around. Since you absolutely insist on dying, I'll be more than happy to oblige. I'll freaking kill you. 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 C-A-N, you fucking bastard. What the hell do you think you're doing? You dick less piece of shit. You actually beat up a disciple of the sect? Have you gone mad? The supervisor envoy of the M.O. Ching sect is here to enforce justice on behalf of the sect master and you're still not on your knees? I harbor suspicions that you're the group who's been writing pornographic books under the assumed name of Venerable Stable Lad from the famous Autumn Mountain. Now I'll enforce justice on behalf of the matriarch and mete out your punishment. Venerable stable lad from the famous Autumn Mountain? That isn't me. I'm Enforcer Ye's eldest disciple. Do you dare to hit me? Enforcer Ye? Then I need to smack you up a bit more. Origin points obtained fear, 0.01 .01, Wang Chang. Origin points obtained fear. 0.01 Li Sanjing, origin points obtained fear, 0.01 Pan Yong. The feeling of using my position to take my revenge is so rewarding. The supervisor envoy of the M.O. Ching sect is here to inspect your water meter. Welcome back home, my dear. It seems that news travels fast around here. At first, I wanted to play the same old trick to set her up, but she kept such a low profile that I'd better come up with something else. Enough, don't waste my time with pleasantries. I'm here to investigate the case of the recent trend of pornographic books, not to have tea. My dear, if you'd like to inquire to me about something, then by all means, please do so. I'll be more than happy to tell you everything that I know. First question, what are your three sizes? Three sizes? What's that? Naturally, it's the size of your bust, waist, and hips. My dear, why don't you use your hands to measure my three sizes inch by inch? Preposterous. The sect master charged me with the heavy responsibility of seeing this investigation through. Please, show some self-respect. If you dare to use your feminine wiles to obstruct me again, I'll have you hanged. To be honest, I don't really understand what these three sizes have to do with the current case. Then I'll change my question. This book is so painstakingly detailed that it's impossible that it wasn't written by someone close to you, isn't that right? How many honeypots do you have? Just one. Oh, I see, you have eleven, that's enough people to form a football team, no, wait, a kuju team. 
Not eleven. Just one. Twenty-one? Dang, you're good. You didn't even leave out the bench? Don't play dumb. I've only ever had one honeypot. And that is you, my dear. The one I gave my virginity to was you. Ninety-one? Good God. C-A-N. You've gone too far. Whoa there, Ching Chingsi. Could it be that you're trying to defy me? There's no one else here, so let's not beat around the bush. Clearly, it was you who wrote that book. Be careful, my lady. You don't have any proof. I'll sue you for slander. Earlier, I was just having a little joke with you, my lady. Now we get down to business. I have a little favor to ask of you, my lady. Of course, if you don't want to help me, then please don't blame me for it. Ha ha ha. Inside the M.O. Ching sect. There are a few guys at the fifth and sixth layer of the acquired realm who I still haven't acted out my revenge upon. If I fought them, I wouldn't even leave a scratch on them, but with Ching Shinsi by my side, I don't need to be afraid anymore. Long Sihai, Ching Lioha, and you guys are really shameless. With a single glance, I can tell that you aren't good people. So it must have been you who wrote that book. Ching Shinsi, get them. How dare you pirate romance novels? Ching Shinsi, smash it. Ching Shinsi, give them hell. They closed up shop. Ching Shinsi, I choose you. Where are we going now? You're not going to force me to beat up the whole sect, are you? How could you think such a thing? I only have your best interests at heart. Regardless of what it is that you're doing now, it's all on the sect master's instructions. You should catch my drift, right? By the way, do you remember Enforcer Yi? Enforcer Yi's residence. Yi Gutsuin. Get your ass out here. Ching Chinsi. I didn't go looking for you, but now you've come to provoke me? Yi Gutsuin. This is all your fault. Because of you, my honeypot's virtuous body is gone. Now, I'm going to bring you to justice. Wonderful. Ching Shinsi drew that bullshit enforcer away without a hitch. I hope there's something valuable in this guy's room. I'll swipe it all away and give him a heart attack. No one would be so stupid as to disguise the switch of a secret compartment as a trinket on top of a bookshelf, right? H.M.? What's that sound? Holy crap, there really is a hidden compartment. This guy is so vulgar that he even hit some women's underwear here. Even if I grab everything here, that guy wouldn't dare to tell anyone. If I don't take it all now, I'd be a fool. But what's up with this letter? Why was it put together with all these other valuables? This is. Wu Lingxian, the great elder of the M.O. Ching sect, was the elder martial sister of the former sect master, and because of that one can even say that she holds a fairly high position. So you're saying that she along with Enforcer Yi and others are engaging in dealings to force me to abdicate? Do you have any proof? Miss Matriarch, everything I told you is true. Enforcer Yi must be sucking up to the Great Elder. He's even secretly collecting her underwear. I didn't dare to take the secret letter for fear of inadvertently raising the alarm, but the underwear was quite odd, so I made a drawing of it from memory. And because of her, I ended up taking a big loss, since I had to put back all the valuables I got. Note, literally beating the grass and scaring the snake. Also, the underwear doesn't appear to have been made of silk, but of animal scales. As expected, it's Wu Lingxian's. She's the only one in the whole sect who wears this kind of snakeskin underwear. Me and the Great Elder have some differences in opinion, but I didn't imagine that she would dare to do such a thing at the risk of splitting up the sect. Wu Lingxian is completely delusional. As long as Miss Matriarch gives out the order, she'll be apprehended in a fraction of a minute. Things aren't as simple as you imagine, Sai. My master, the previous Matriarch, passed away prematurely. When I was young, I ascended to the position. In addition, there are four elders in the M.O. Ching sect whose martial arts are just a little inferior to my own. Each of them have their own factions and control most of the sect's valuable assets. They also pay lip service to the sect master. 
Great Elder Wu Lingxian, in particular, always felt that I had robbed her of her position as matriarch. Wai Lingxian is the head of the four great elders, and although I'm the matriarch, my actual power is severely limited. Miss Matriarch, you looked after me all this time, so I'll definitely stand by your side. I'd never imagined that at the moment of truth, I could only rely on a honeypot like you. In view of your words, if I'm able to bring the factions under control, I promise you that no one in the M.O. Ching sick will pick on you ever again. Miss Matriarch, I'm not sticking with you on the same front just for the sake of benefits. Since I'm just a humble honeypot, I can easily deceive anyone in the sect. You alone, Miss Matriarch, for all your grace, were the only one who never looked down on me or regarded me as a slave worse than a dog. It was thanks to you that I was able to see that there's still a shiny glimmer of light in this merciless world. If I don't show my gratitude, how can I call myself a man? The queen is a boulder, and I'm but a reed. The reed is as tough as silk, and the boulder is unyielding, note, this saying comes from the poem The Peacock Flies Southeast, and it's a metaphor for unwavering devotion. Though in this case, the author reversed the roles, the man is the reed instead of the king. You, your mind is quite set on this. You should go for now. Then I'll be taking my leave now. I know that my cultivation is low and I'm of no use, but I'll do everything in my power to reach the point where I can help the matriarch out of her plight as soon as possible. The reed is as tough as silk, and the boulder is unyielding. Why does it sound like a love poem? Fuck, I was finally riding on her coattails, and now I've been dragged into the sex plot again. I don't seem to have any more time to waste writing porn. I have to quickly improve my strength, otherwise if I get caught up in this, I won't be able to fend for myself. Note, literally hugging her white thigh. A few days later, on the latest chapter of the young married woman's Chintzi Ching Chintzi's vermilion lips gently opened letting out a lovely moan, her whole delicate body enveloped the honeypot, Xie Yin, and then. Suddenly a meteorite fell from the sky and killed the both of them whilst on the act. Isn't it wonderful when the end of the book reaches a happy ending? The M.O. Ching sex matriarch's personal servant, Xie Yin. Your ass. This latest chapter is a load of crap. Not only that, how dare the author disclose his identity? He must have a death wish. For a while, the readers who couldn't accept how the eunuchs the young married woman's chintzi turned out were furious. Even the disciples who were stationed outside the sect rushed back and brought with them boxes full of death threats to demand an explanation from Xie Yan. That son of a bitch died in the novel, so let's make sure he dies in real life as well. Note, literally the box of blades. Generally speaking, fans of all kinds of cultural and creative works, such as anime, novels, TV series, movies, etc., send a box with blades to the creator to express strong dissatisfaction with the trend of the plot. However, what they didn't know was that Xie Yin was a eunuch who was castrated for trespassing into the ancestral shrine. And so, with nowhere to vent out their rage, the disciples became dumbfounded and annoyed. Fuck. Xie Yan's residence. Excellent, I've gathered a great deal of origin points in one fell swoop. My preparations are almost complete. The next challenge is to practice the heavenly guard up to the introductory level. M.O. Ching Sek Martial Arts Training Field, although the system can instantly upgrade my skills, the most basic level, level zero, must be practiced in person, so I have no other choice but to work up a bit of a sweat for a while. A few days later, the M.O. Ching Sect holds a regular sect meeting every month. In the past, the four great elders seldomly attended and only sent their disciples on their behalf, but this time, the great elder Wu Lingxian came in person. Gosh, if I want to quickly reach the introductory level of the Heavenly Guard, it would be best to get an expert to give me some personal guidance. It's too troublesome to practice it by myself. I'm very pleased that Elder Wu is willing to attend the meeting this time. Matriarch, I've returned to the sect to fulfill my duty as an elder. If the Matriarch is handling her affairs in an inappropriate manner, it's only right that I should speak up and admonish her. 
Your personal servant Xie Yin intruded into the ancestral shrine without permission, but was only castrated. Aren't you afraid that if word gets out it will be hard to convince the masses? That's right, matriarch. Your handling of this affair was biased. Ha! What a load of crap. They only want to further crack down on the matriarch's prestige, so that the neutral factions think that she can't even protect her own personal servant. If you don't kill Xie Yin, how will you appease the masses? I suggest that Enforcer Yi carry out the sentence. The matriarch has her own reasons. I don't think it's necessary to kill Xie Yin. Great Elder, what do you mean by this? Don't you care about the rules of the M.O. Ching sect? It's because of this internal strife that the sect has been gradually falling into decline. The sects in the Han Empire are known as the nine major sects and our M.O. Ching sect has been at the bottom for many years. Enough. All of you, shut up. Although Xie Yin trespassed into the ancestral shrine, with his virtuous body he has a natural aptitude that is difficult to find. So I decided to take him as an external disciple. It's difficult to come by such a gifted disciple. How could I possibly kill him without a moment's thought? Virtuous body? Gifted? How do I know that you aren't exaggerating to protect your servant? When did the M.O. Ching sect fall so low as to consider a honeypot a treasure? This is Shimer, my last direct disciple. She has only been practicing for three months, but has already reached the third layer of the acquired realm. In three days, she'll have a match with him. If he can hold a candle to her, I'll accept that he's indeed gifted and won't pursue this matter any further. Note, there are four kinds of disciples. External, inner, core, and direct disciples. Direct disciples are mentored personally by their master and their number is finite. Three months? Third layer of the acquired realm? When it comes to practicing martial arts, Xie Yin has only just started, and it hasn't even been a month since he was used to drain life force. Hence, it would be rather unfair, so why don't we? Matriarch, we can't give in. I, Xie Yin, am unable to stand anyone being so disrespectful to you. Compared to that, whoever chickens out is a coward. The next day, M.O. Ching Sect Martial Arts Training Field. My lady, bad news. That guy is coming. It's you? Hey, my lady. Have you been practicing hard? Some time ago, you seemed to be having a great time writing you the young married woman's chintzy, so why don't you continue to do so, my dear? My lady, again with your jokes. It's obvious that someone set me up on purpose. Quit your nonsense. What do you want from me? Then, I'll get straight to the point. I hope you can offer me some guidance in practicing the heavenly guard. I have no other choice. Personal guidance requires deep kinship and Miss Matriarch was reluctant to do it, so I could only go to this bitch for help. My lady, Xie Yin made a bet with the great elder that he would compete with her last direct disciple tomorrow. If Xie Yin loses, he will be punished in accordance with rules of the sect and be beheaded. It appears that you want to get something out of me? You shouldn't say such a thing. The two of us are in it together for better or worse. Note, literally like grasshoppers tied together with a piece of string. Woe is me. After they're done with me, you as the matriarch's lineal disciple will be Wu Lingxian's next target. So that childish silly you from before was really just an act. There's no harm in me teaching you, but what would be in it for me? Well, open your hand. How about I give you this for you to play with it? You. Don't get mad. I was just kidding. But I can promise you that there won't be any more sequels of the young married woman's chintzy. How about that? I don't want to continue to write porn anyway, so I'll just use that as a bargaining chip. Deal. Then let us start. By the way, return the grasshopper I gave you to me first. Now that it's in my hands, it's mine. Well, aren't you an odd one? You even covered a puny grasshopper? Just how greedy are you? What I just told you is how to circulate internal energy. You should get better at it with experience. My lady, you seem to have grown bigger again. If you have time to crack a joke, then it means you understood. 
Note, laterally Xiao Chang. Unlike a major achievement, De Chang, which means the full mastery of a skill, a minor achievement is a minor breakthrough in the mastery of a skill. In terms of the system, it's probably represented as leveling up. But even if you understand the basics, you're still no match for Shi Yinner. Only if you achieve a minor achievement will you have a chance to keep up with her for a few minutes, but how could something like that ever happen? Minor achievement? Chin Chin Si, you don't seem to get it. My martial arts talent is just like my face unparalleled in the whole world. My heavenly guard has finally reached the introductory level. Now let me have a look at my achievements as porn writing eunuch. Not bad. System level, level 1, name, Cien, realm, acquired realm first layer, skill mastery, expand, origin points, 154.00500, number of times you've entered another realm. 1. Realm travel function is on cooldown. Let me take a look at my skills. Skill mastery, Gu Yang Gong, current level, level 2, level cap exceed, current effect, small improvement to physical fitness and physical endurance. Considerably effective at increasing vigor. Skill mastery, finger of Nirvana, current level, level 2, Current effect can cure the vast majority of injuries and diseases in low-level worlds. Allows people to gradually return to their peak state. Its effectiveness weakens in middle and higher level worlds. Skill mastery, heavenly guard, current level, level zero, current effect, uses innate energy to nourish the body and slightly improves the body's defensive power. The Gu Yang Gong can no longer be upgraded. The finger of Nirvana can't be upgraded for the time being so I can only choose you. Heavenly, guard. Give me my upgrades. Holy shit, I can feel it welling up all over. That was scary. Just now, it felt like I ate 50 kilograms of rice all at once. I felt incredibly dizzy. My whole body feels a little numb probably an after effect of upgrading too fast. My god, holy crap. Poo, poo, poo. My strength changed so much that I'm having a hard time controlling it. Oh, no. The mirror? Where's the mirror? I have to look at myself. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Jesus Christ, holy shit. Mamma mia, this is some upgrade. I can barely recognize myself. Generally speaking, when a martial art that strengthens physical defense is practiced to the extreme, it will cause some changes to the body. A person's whole body will expand by one or two sizes, his muscles will grow all over the place and things like that, but it's not so bad. At least, I didn't become a bodybuilding freak and my extreme handsome is still there. Even though my appearance hasn't changed much, I've definitely been reborn. System Panel System Level Level 1 Name Cien Realm Acquired Realm Third Layer Skill Mastery Expand Origin Points 14.00500 Number of Times You've Entered Another Realm 1. Realm Travel Function is on cooldown. I reached the third layer of the acquired realm. Just like that? Expand. Let me see how many levels the heavenly guard has gone up. Skill mastery, heavenly guard, current level, level 6, level cap exceed, current effect, heavenly guard converts the innate energy that permeates the inner body into an invisible essence which acts to ward off physical attacks. Until the innate energy runs out, it can withstand any physical damage. After exceeding the level cap, there is no need for conscious action. The essence protecting the body has the ability to automatically defend it. I can't believe it upgraded all the way over the level cap. Looking at the effect description, it's indeed very powerful, and I won't take any damage until I've used up all of my innate energy. Even better, it's a passive skill. If I can learn another martial art that quickly recovers innate energy, I'll truly become invincible. Even though this cost me 140 origin points, it was completely worth it. If in a single night, 
I broke through two layers and reached the third layer of the acquired realm. How much further will I go next? The next day, did you hear? Both of the parties involved in this competition aren't trifling on any account. One of them is Xie Yan, the matriarch's personal servant, and the other is a great elder's lineal disciple. Do you mean that genius who reached the third layer of the acquired realm with only three months of practice? The very same. Why is that dick less bastard Xie Yan fighting with the great elder's last direct disciple? Who did you say was a dick less bastard? You guys are just jealous that Xie Yan is more handsome than you. No matter how handsome he is, he's still a eunuch. Incredibly, no one has found out that I've reached the third layer of the acquired realm. The system conceals its power quite well. Hey, the match is about to start. Stop drifting off. Also, you, you'd better give up now. Once I start fighting with other people, I turn into a completely different person. I don't want to hurt you. The M.O. Ching sect is packed with all kinds of sluts, bitches, bookworms, and now there's even such a pure, gentle, and adorable little miss. Little miss, feel free to attack me. Even though your cultivation level is relatively high, I'm a man after all, and I'm sure I can handle you for over a stick of incense. Here I go. Don't fall over so soon. I'm just getting started. Let me enjoy myself to my heart's content. Great Elder, this is, it's true that Yenner is exceptionally talented, but what's most remarkable about her is that she seems to possess a very special bloodline. Once in combat, she'll enter a berserk state, turning her into a natural fighter worthy of being called a goddess of war. Miss you had to jump on me. Is it over? The fight is really ruthless, but when I think that the one who's being thrashed is Xie Yan, why do I feel so at ease? He he. Poor Xie Yan. Yeah, Xie Yan is too cruel. How could she hit Xie Yan like that? He's so cute. Why? It hurts a little bit, but with the heavenly guard protecting me, I haven't suffered any major damage, it's just that. When I was taking a beating, why did it feel so rewarding? Could it be, that's the martial art intent essence that only appears when one fully masters the heavenly guard? How's that even possible? He didn't even know the basics last night. It's no wonder that Xie Yan managed to withstand the beating. He's fully mastered the heavenly guard. That's really odd. I read in a book that when a person fully mastered the heavenly guard, a heavenly gate would appear before one's very eyes. Why the heck are there three of them behind this guy? Didn't you say that he sucked at martial arts? Little Miss, come on. I, Xie Yan, have never hit a woman in my entire life. So you can fight at ease. I'll not hit back. Let me give that a try once again. Wow, how cool. So manly. Xie Yan is the best. I think so too. What's this bull about never hitting a woman, my lady? Xie Yan clearly hit me. Yeah, that's the stuff. As expected, it's just as I felt before. Because I've just advanced to the third layer of the acquired realm, my innate energy is in turmoil and my foundation is unstable. Her attacks calm the turmoil and the flow of my innate energy and make my foundation more stable. So much so that after the pain is gone, the place where she hit me feels wonderful because the flow of energy gets unblocked. It's just like, I'm being massaged by a veteran of traditional Chinese medicine. What's up with that face? Come on. Keep going. More. 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 Even though Xie Yan is the one being beaten up, why does it appear that Miss Yenner is the one getting pushed back? Not only did he fully master his heavenly guard, he's also advanced to the third layer of the acquired realm. That went Yu Hong Yin. She hit him quite well. Don't stop. Keep going. Oh no. The stick of incense ran out. Finger of Nirvana. I've been fighting him for so long and yet it's already over. Huh? What happened to my hands? I've also recovered most of my innate energy. 
I've healed your hands and recovered your innate energy using my finger of nirvana. Now come get me. I, I think I'll pass. Little miss, you're so young, why are you being so lazy? If you can't even beat the crap out of me without me even moving, how are you going to fight against outsiders for the sake of the sect? Come. Smack me right here. The M.O. Ching sect doesn't need kind-hearted people. If you don't dare to fight me, you're not worthy of protecting the sect. Why, you bully? I don't want to fight you anymore. Yin or Xia Yin, you disgraced my disciple. Go to hell. Wu Lingxian, how dare you be so impudent? H.M., your injury has healed? And you even made further progress? The stick of incense has already burned out a long time ago. Hence, this battle is Xie Yan's victory. Who else has any objections? The sect master is without equal. Who would ever dare to disagree? This Xie Yan was able to master the heavenly guard to such an unprecedented level. How could he only be a trivial pawn? Matriarch, you duped me big time. My lady, Xie Yan, he. Didn't that dick less scumbag Xie Yan know nothing about martial arts before now? So how did he Shu? Keep quiet. Now I get it. Xie Yan must be a pawn that the sect master prepared long ago. The matriarch's wisdom is as deep as the ocean, and this punk is terrifying. Origin points obtained astonishment, 0.01 .01 points Wu Lingxian, origin points obtained astonishment, 0.01 .01 points Yu Hong Yin, origin points obtained astonishment, 0.01 .01 points Qin Xinxi, origin points obtained fear, 0.01 .01 points Yu Eru. This time, because of Shuyinner's trashing, not only did my foundation completely stabilize, but I also gained a heap of origin points. It was really a good haul. What's up with the matriarch? Today's martial arts competition ends here. All disciples, return to your practice. Henceforth, none is to voice any complaints against Xie Yan. M.O. Ching Sex Matriarch's Inner Court. Miss Matriarch, I did a good job today. Miss Matriarch? What's wrong? Cough, cough. At first, 70% of the injuries had been healed, but today when I went all out against Wu Lingxian, my internal injuries acted up again. Don't worry, Miss Matriarch. I'll heal you right away. Xie Yin, your finger of nirvana has become stronger. This time, I recovered much faster than before. Probably because I mastered the heavenly guard and reached the third layer of the acquired realm, the power of the finger of nirvana also improved. Oh, shit. I carelessly used it at full power. The heavenly guard is famous for being easy to learn and difficult to master. No matter how much of a genius you are, it's impossible to achieve full mastery in such a short time. Well, about that. Maybe it's the sect founder's blessing. She couldn't stomach seeing the great elder humiliating you like that, so she stepped up to help me from behind the scenes. Is that so? Then, I'll believe you for now. Fuck, I overdid it with the drama there. Fortunately, she didn't dig any deeper. Miss Matriarch, what are you thinking about? I was thinking about what I should do next. Currently, the sect is in a state of unrest. Miss Matriarch, your injuries are getting better. So what does one trifling great elder matter? That old hag is just cowering in fear and trying to keep afloat. Otherwise, you would have destroyed her in the twinkling of an eye. Note, literally hiding one's body and covering one's head and begging for food and clothes. It's a quote said by Luo Guanzhong of the Ming Dynasty in Chapter 92 of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Since you are an official who goes by using flattery, you can only shrink your head and beg for food and clothes. You make it sound so simple. First off, Wu Lingxian was exercising forbearance because I was seriously injured and had not yet recovered. 
Now that she found that I'm in better condition, judging by her personality, it's very likely that she'll join hands with the other three elders to take decisive action. Secondly, even though my martial arts in my heyday were better than those of the four elders, they were only so by a small amount, I'd be no match for them if the four of them joined forces. Lastly, my injuries aren't as trivial as you think they are. There's no way for the finger of Nirvana to heal the root cause. Every time you use the finger of Nirvana on me, I can feel its effect getting smaller and smaller. This time, you managed to heal my internal injuries, however, I only fear that its crux is getting used to the finger of Nirvana's power. For a long time, I've lived indoors in order to recover from my injuries. This has led to me drifting apart from the people of the sect. Up until now, the severity of my injuries has gotten worse time and time again, making me unable to fight for long periods of time. At this time, if the Great Elder wins over power, you and I will be in grave danger. Don't worry, Miss Matriarch. I'll do everything in my power to heal you. No matter what that old hag does, we'll face it together. As expected, the finger of Nirvana at level 2 is far less powerful in the main world than in the world of Yunshan. However, if level 2 isn't enough, then I'll just upgrade it to level 3. If you really mean it, then I'd be very pleased. I have the same surname as the sect founder, Yu, and my maiden name is Hong Yin. Later, when no one's around, you can call me Sisyu. Sisyu. So the mysterious reader was the sect master all along. This time, you went all out to defeat the great elder's direct disciple, which gave me a lot of prominence within the sect. What would you like as your reward? Sisyu is indeed being very generous to me. If you want to reward me, you might as well grant me another set of martial arts skills. If the great elder gets up to no good, I can be of help to you. So you've made up your mind. However, the martial arts I have here are all for the women's side of the sect, so they aren't suitable for men to practice. The only one I had which was, is the heavenly guard I handed over to you before. Take it easy, I didn't say I wouldn't give you anything. Here, take this. This is the token for the Sutra Pavilion. If it's a skill from there, you can choose anyone you like. Note, literally Tripitaka. From Wiki, Tripitaka 16, the traditional term for the Buddhist scriptures. And, is composed of three main categories of texts that collectively constitute the Buddhist canon. The Vinaya, Sutra, and Abhidhamma. Thank you, Sisyu. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. C.A.N., do you understand this principle? Note, laterally when trees in the woods grow tall, the wind blows them away, and it means that if one stands out too much, others will get envious and attempt to destroy them. This excerpt originated from Y. Kang's book Analects on Fate. He was an inhabitant of Wii during the era of the Three Kingdoms. The full sentence is, when trees in the woods grow tall, the wind blows them away, when they pile up on shore, the current sweeps them by, and when they tower over the people, many cease to be. Of course, I understand what you mean, Sisyu. You'd better keep a low profile from now on. After all, you've offended Wu Lingxian. If she finds a reason to kill you, even if I go find her to get revenge afterwards, I won't be able to save you. Don't worry, Sisyu. I'll be careful to not provoke the Great Elder any further. I hope you really understand. I'm in a pretty dangerous situation right now. Even I'm worried about my life. Will we get the last laugh and hang on until the end? I understand, then I'll be heading back now. Leave. I thought Yu Hongyin's injuries would never get better. I didn't expect her to somewhat recover her strength now. Is it possible that she ran across a fortuitous encounter? Master, Cien has a fingering technique which allows him to restore the vast majority of another person's innate energy and injuries. Is it possible that he? Cien, that bastard. It seems I can't have him running around any longer. After I was done with Qin Xingxi, Wu Lingxian appeared and she's even more ruthless than her. When it all comes down to it, I'm just not strong and powerful enough. Now that I've been marked by that old hag, I can't get anything done in the M.O. Ching sect. 
I can't soak up any origin points so my back is against the wall. The system's roam travel function has been on cooldown this whole time and I don't know when I'll be able to use it. And the origin points that I was harvesting due to my lofty win against Trianer have also stagnated. Huh? System level, level 1, name, CAN, realm, acquired realm, third layer, origin points, 24.00217, number of times you've entered another realm, 1, cooldown has ended. The realm travel function's cooldown period has ended. Do you wish to use it? I have to quickly find a far off place to use it. Secluded location, the random world finder has found the world of Qian Ming. To travel to this world, 18 origin points will be spent. Activating realm travel function, calculating route, do you wish to travel to the discovered world of Qian Ming? Yes, no. I seem to recall that a while ago, the world of Yun Shan only used up 8 origin points and now the second world is using up 18 origin points. Will the price go up even higher later? Forget it, whatever the price, I still have to go. The main world is too dangerous. I'll lie low until the wind blows over for now. Click. 18 origin points have been used, realm travel function activated. In this vast world, there's a tremendous empire with a 700-year-old history, the Qian Ming Empire. The Qian Ming Empire was founded on military might on the Lanxing continent and exclusively enjoyed the vast majority of the land and its abundant resources. However, the Qian Ming Empire's hundreds of years of dominance made it rest on its laurels, and eventually it lagged behind the rest of the world in science and technology. Ten years ago, a country founded on science and technology from the other side of the ocean, the fast rising to prominence Union of England, found this decadent empire. Under the bombardment of the Union's gunboats and artillery, the Empire suffered a crushing defeat and was forced to sign various treaties, forfeiting their sovereignty under humiliating terms. Among the Empire's foreign concessions, many of them have already become more open-minded, and the city of Haijiao, the largest on the coast, is undoubtedly the one where the Union most exerts its influence. Xie Yin is the contemporary hall master of the city of Haijiao's God Fist Hall, where he has honed his fist techniques. His accomplishments in martial arts are unmatched all over the city. At the same time, he also has exceptional martial arts ethics. He's well known throughout the entire country and is the key figure of the city of Haijiao. Rumors say that once the Union of Ingluen invaded, he assassinated many Union officers during the upheaval within their ranks. Unfortunately, a single person's power could not remedy the situation and the land still fell. After the Union vanquished the Empire, it always sought to prove the ignorance and backwardness of the Empire's martial arts, and that only the Union's science and technology was the light of civilization. As a result, they fixed their sights on CAN. As long as they publicly knocked down the martial arts Grand Master in the Challenge Arena, it would be tantamount to thoroughly crushing the backbone of the people of Qian Ming. CAN, you. We invited you out of courtesy, and you do this? Is this your country's so-called etiquette? Our people's custom has always been to offer good wine to good guests and chase away evil dogs with clubs. That said, your union's so-called cyborgs only amount to this much. Humph, Mr. Xie, have you taken into consideration our proposal for our Ing Qian Grand Competition half a month from now? As long as I'm open and just, I'll go to the Challenge Arena to show you all the true martial arts of Qian Ming. Ha, I'm looking forward to your performance. Master, that was a beautiful strike. That's right, Master. When will you teach us that move? What were those union pricks saying about choosing the three strongest martial arts grandmasters and facing them off in a competition against their cyborgs to determine who was the most powerful? When it comes down to it, they're nothing much. Master's punch would strike someone's mug right in. Master? Master, Pant, Pant, these Union cyborgs are very powerful. No matter how strong someone is, there's always someone stronger. Don't underestimate the cyborgs. Even I, your master, struggled with all my might and sustained a few injuries before I could bring him down. Note, literally the universe is without limit, and so are people. 
Things aren't looking good for the competition in half a month, but we can't falter. The Union wants to make use of this match to suppress the spirit of our countrymen. We must fight and show our country's might. The next day. I can't believe that yesterday's match injured my heart meridian. Just a single cyborg is already this powerful and I've heard that there are tens of thousands of them within the Union. Master, the medicine is ready. Eldest disciple of the God Fist Hall, Lu Yuntao, this is the internal injury medicine prescribed by the doctor. Master, please drink it while it's hot. Yuntao, how thoughtful you've been. In recent days, you as the eldest disciple have helped me teach the disciples how to fight. Alas, yesterday, when Master had returned to his room to rest, someone shouted that martial arts are out of date. No matter how much you practice, you can't compete with science. Some of the disciples have even left the school for fear of the Union's reprisal. Is it? No wonder the teachers. The medicine, there's poison in the medicine. Master, it was me who put it. Yuntao, I've always done my very best to hold you in the highest regard. How could you poison me? Master, times have changed. Master, you really did treat me well, and I've never had any intention of killing you. This medicine will only make you lose your strength. I'll give Master the antidote once the Ying Qian Grand Competition is over. The Empire is destined to be vanquished by the Union. No matter how powerful our fists and feet are, they can't surpass their aircraft and artillery. It's better to surrender as soon as possible and focus on our new lives in the future instead of wasting them on a meaningless struggle. Not bad, not bad at all, Mr. Liu. You're so young, but you already have this fine sense of ideological awareness. Much better than some old fogey who don't allow for progress. It's just that, Mr. Liu is still being too indecisive. Xie Yin, surrender now, or I'll blow your head off. Me? Surrender? Pooh. You little punk, how stubborn. I'll murder you right now. Wait. Don't shoot. Please, give me one more day, just one more day. I know my master's temperament best. Let me persuade him. For Mr. Lu's sake, I'll spare you this time. Take him back to the harbor base. Master, please understand that this is the only way to save the empire. By surrendering to the enemy and selling out your own country for power and wealth? How is this to save the country? We've seen with our own eyes how the Union's giant warships and artillery, like a hot knife cutting through butter, take our cities and conquer the land. Although our martial artists are strong, they're only made out of flesh and blood. Learning martial arts can't save the Qianming Empire. And is it okay to kneel down and beg like a dog like you? To submit to the Union is to allow the country to perish, but to not do so would be genocide. The fall of the Empire is already set in stone and can't be stopped. Please, Master, for the sake of future generations, submit to the Union. If we show our worth, collaborate with the Union and wait for an opportunity, we might be able to save our country. Lu Yuntao, you might be proficient in all kinds of martial arts, but why don't you understand such a simple principle? The country might fall. The people might perish. But never should you submit. As long as a nation stands, there's hope for a comeback, but by submitting, it will no longer rise up ever again. Get the fuck out of my sight. From today on, our master and disciple relationship is over. Time has run out. Master, won't you take a moment to think it over? Later, I'll come by again to try to convince you. Lu Yuntao, oh, Lu Yuntao. You want to save the country by collaborating? That's just a spineless excuse to cling to your life. In my generation's creed, there's no mention of giving up. If we can't have that, then. We'd rather stand honorably than walk on a crooked path. Note. This is a quote from the Investiture of the Gods, from Wiki, a 16th century Chinese novel and one of the major vernacular Chinese works in the gods and demons genre written during the Ming Dynasty, by Su Zongen. 
In the book when the future king one of Zhou saw Jiang Zia fishing by the Wei River with a fishing rod without bait. He was puzzled by this and asked him why he did it. Jiang Zia said these words, It's better to use a straight rod than to seek wrong, and it means that it's better to be upright and live an honest life than to be evil and live at someone else's expense. As long as all my countrymen have the courage to resist and to never bow down, one day, we will drive out the Union and rise to our former glory. It's too bad. I won't get to see that day. World of Qian Ming, Imperial Grand Master Xie Yan. Soul replacement succeeded. Beginning memory import, memory import completed. We'd rather stand honorably than walk on a crooked path, is it? Well said. Die rather than submit. I've received your will. The original owner was indeed worthy of being called a national hero. I just came here and haven't even done anything yet but I'm already harvesting a bunch of origin points. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.00001 points Mahuading. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.00001 points Mayun. The level of martial arts in this world is very low, far inferior to those in the main world, but to me it's like taking candy from a baby. The original owner was really determined. I can't stop the blood. Let me start by using the finger of Nirvana. Namaha. Incredible. All the toxins and injuries disappeared with a single use. Not only that, I can't believe it feels so good no wonder the matriarch found it hard to contain herself. Wait a minute. That's not right. Since I'm in a state of soul crossing, shouldn't my abilities from the main world be sealed? Why was I able to use the finger of Nirvana? System panel, come out. Show me my skills. Skill mastery, Yang strengthening method, current level, level 2, level cap exceed. The subject is in a state of soul crossing. The use of skills from the main body on this body is forbidden. Skill mastery, heavenly guard, current level, level 6 exceed. The subject is in a state of soul crossing. The use of skills from the main body on this body is forbidden. Skill mastery, finger of nirvana, current level, level 2, current effect, can cure the vast majority of injuries and diseases in low-level worlds. Allows people to gradually return to their peak state. Its effectiveness weakens in middle and higher level worlds. Skill Mastery, Fist of God, Current Level, Level 2, Current Effect, a fighting technique that purely relies on the body's physical strength. Slightly improves endurance, strength, and agility. As expected, I can't use the Heavenly Guard or the Yang Strengthening Method, but why can I use the Finger of Nirvana? What could be the reason? Since the Finger of Nirvana is a secret immortal method, it is imprinted into the user's soul and is therefore not subject to any restrictions. The Finger of Nirvana is incredible. It really does seem I was extremely lucky in getting it in the world of Yunshan. Hold on, what the hell is this thing? Current title, National Soul. How come I've never seen this National Soul title before? What does this mean? Soon after the user switched with the target in the world of the Son of God, the title system was unlocked. In this world, the user can obtain a title if certain conditions are met. Each title has its own unique and powerful abilities. Sounds interesting what are the conditions for the National Soul title to be unlocked? And what will its effects be after it is? The user should find that out by himself. Loading Quest when the Ying Qian Grand Competition half a month from now, make eldest disciple Lu Yuntao regret his betrayal from the bottom of his heart and make the Union dare not invade the Empire ever again. After the quest is completed, you can return with all the power you've gained in this world, otherwise you'll get nothing. Are you fucking kidding me? How am I supposed to find that out? And you gave me so many quests under the guise of a single one. First off, let me upgrade the skill that the original owner of this body used. If I can increase my combat power, then I should do so as much as I can. Current origin points, 1.90,365 skill mastery, fist of god, current level, level 4, level cap exceed, current effect, 
a fighting technique that purely relies on the body's physical strength. Modestly improves endurance, strength, and agility. It only took six origin points to go over the level cap. The martial arts in this world are really cheap. But I suppose that even though I upgraded the Fist of God over the level cap, it still can't stop bullets. They have no idea that my poison has been detoxified, so maybe I can. Master, have you finally come around? Dash. There's an old saying in your Qianming Empire that I'm quite fond of. And it's known as, he who is wise knows the times. I welcome you. Many years from now you will rejoice in the decision you made today. Rejoice, rejoice your ass. Hey, tell them to give me a way out, or I'll crush your throat. Let him through, don't shoot, don't shoot. Master, see calm down. Hey, you. That's right, I'm talking to you. Why are you still standing about? Do you want me to kill your officer? All of you, listen to him, step back. Looking at my surroundings, the base was built into the harbor, so as long as... Shit, there was a sniper lying in wait. Thanks to the finger of Nirvana, as long as they don't blow my head to smithereens, I won't die. Open fire. Open fire now. Colonel, he, he's actually, what about him? He's nothing more than a backward Qianming martial artist. Although the Fist of God is far inferior to the martial arts in the main world, after upgrading it above the level cap, it has increased my strength by a substantial amount. Here you go. Origin points obtained hatred, 0.01 .01 points Roosevelt Cecil, origin points obtained hatred, 0.01 .01 points Khan nor George, origin points obtained fear, 0.01 points Robert George, origin points obtained fear, 0.01 points Daniel Baker. What a stunning amount of origin points. Awesome. Fist of God piercing wooden kick. Fist of God Iron Mountain Thrust. We, we hit him. Pant. Pant, it freaking hurts. But you can't kill little old me with only this. Guns don't kill him? Is, is this the martial arts of Qian Ming? I'll smash your head in before I make off. Someone, someone help me. Fist of God gobsmacking force. There's, there's no way that Master's Fist of God is this powerful. Traitorous Disciple, your Fist of God is pretty good. You've almost fully mastered it. It's too bad that... It still falls short. Wonderful. The cyborgs are here. Get him. Grab that monster. Don't let him get away. My body is already having difficulty coping with those ordinary firearms. Now with these bunch of cyborgs on top of that, I'll be in trouble if I get in a confrontation with them. Looks like I have to give them the slip, however. I will return. That guy jumped into the sea and escaped. Get on the speedboats and look for him. He crippled my hands with a single punch. This can't be unless... He broke through the bottleneck and reached the legendary realm of God of Martial Arts. What God of Martial Arts bullshit are you on about? You people of Qian Ming really like to exaggerate. At best, he's reached the cyborg's level and, like a craven dog, took advantage of the chaos to escape. Had he escaped a little bit more slowly, he would have met with the top-class cyborgs in the Union and turned into dead meat. Mr. Liu, I'm going to open your eyes today. Open fire. THTH this. Not only are our Union's guns immensely powerful, but we also have impenetrable defenses to match it. Not only that, but the Union also has far more powerful weapons than mere handheld firearms. Mr. Liu, let me open your eyes once again. This, even if we were to reach the realm of God of Martial Arts, we could never hope to match this power. 
Mr. Liu saved me just now and has proven his loyalty, and the Union is always generous to its friends. Mr. Liu, martial artists such as yourself will only become stronger after becoming a cyborg. Besides, only by accepting the transformation can your arms be restored to their original state and not become disabled. I, I, I accept. That's right, Mr. Liu. When the time comes, you will represent the Union and thoroughly crush the martial artists of Qian Ming. Modern firearms are still a handful to deal with. If I didn't have the finger of Nirvana, I would have died ten times back there. The level of power in this world is very low. I reckon that even though that same level of power can topple mountains and rend the earth here, it would only peel the paint off a few walls in the main world. Looking at it from another angle, the main world has its merits. In this world, the Heavenly Guard may be able to stop bullets. Though I'd still need to practice the Heavenly Guard once again. The good thing is that I have already practiced it once before, so there's still time to reach the introductory level before the competition. Origin points obtained, Hatred 0.00001 points, Abraham Lincoln, Origin points obtained, Hatred 0.00001 points, Donald Trump, Origin points obtained. Fear 0.00001 points, Barack Hussein Obama, origin points obtained, Fear 0.00001 points, George Walker Bush. Since I ran amok in the base, even the enemy is providing me with origin points. Not bad, not bad at all. Half a month later, Inchian Grand Competition, go get him, Master Ching. Hit him. Teach that traitor a lesson. Ah, uh, Master Qing was defeated in a single round. After Lu Yuntao accepted being turned into a cyborg, he could instantly dispatch such an accomplished Grand Master as Master Qing. It looks like it's up to me to teach the traitor a lesson today. Old fools should stay in their graves. And not crawl out to make a fool of themselves. Lu Yuntao. You, you brute. What do you think you're doing? Oh my god, that was an instant kill. He didn't even have the chance to do anything. Look, this is the power of the Union Science and Technology. Two of the finest martial arts grandmasters selected from all over the city of Haijiao can't even withstand a single move from the Union cyborgs. The Empire is really done for. We should heed Liu Yuntao's advice and surrender as soon as possible. No, we're still not done. We still have Master Xie Yan. In the city of Haijiao, he's known as the strongest. At a young age, Master Xie Yan had surpassed everyone in martial arts. Give it up. Didn't Xie Yan turn tail and run when he got hit by firearms half a month ago? And Xie Yan hasn't shown up for such a long time that he's either dead or too afraid to come. Nonsense. He's only a mere cyborg. On that day at the Union's base, I was alone face to face with hundreds of people, hundreds of guns, but was I ever afraid then? That voice. Look. Over there. Master. I'm sorry, you too. In order to gather enough origin points to upgrade the Heavenly Guard, I was late. I'll carry on your will to overthrow the Union, to win back our mountains and rivers, to restore our land, and to show our country's might. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. It's Master Xie Yan. He's here. Don't shoot. He came just in time. The more people put their hopes on him, the more despair they'll be in when he's knocked down. We just have to calmly wait for Mr. Lu to bring us the good news. Lu Yuntao. Look at yourself. You're not even human anymore. Is this what you wanted? So as to bring about a quick end and force everyone to give up their resistance, I was left with no choice but to do this. Now that it has come to this, I can't look back anymore. Make your move, master. You only know how to use brute force after becoming a cyborg? Whatever happened to everything I taught you?
the strong can topple ten martial artists. In the face of absolute power, the so-called techniques are meaningless. I couldn't take your punch last time, but now that I'm a cyborg, I'm not afraid of your power anymore. Pant, just the power I gained from the mere half a month it took me to become a cyborg would take you 20 years of excruciating practice to obtain. This is the power of science and technology. Foolish disciple, don't get too full of yourself. Fist of God's hands of the demise. You only became a little bit stronger and you got so proud of yourself. You lost every speck of humility of a martial artist. Yuntao, you are a disappointment for your master. Pant to pant. Mr. Lu, use this weapon. Shameless. That's cheating. Isn't this a martial arts hand-to-hand -hand competition? Why is he using weapons? No matter how strong martial arts are, the body is still only made of flesh. Under this kind of firepower, no matter who it is, they will only be ripped to shreds. Heavenly Guard In the past half month, I managed to gather more than 100 origin points. Although it wasn't enough for me to upgrade the Heavenly Guard above the level cap, it was more than enough to upgrade it to level 5. With this world's level of power, the defensive capabilities of the Heavenly Guard at level 5 are far beyond those in the main world. As such, I'm no longer afraid of bullets. No, this can't be happening. Even the city tower can't stop guns. How could anyone resist them with their bare body? Even though guns are powerful and can be used to conquer cities and take over the land, they're only outside aids after all. A truly powerful person is one who has a strong and unyielding will. With such a will, even an old man can move mountains. Note, this is a reference to the fable The Foolish Old Man Who Removed the Mountains. It was written by Heasy, a philosopher during the era of the Warring States and is an allegory for the confidence and perseverance of the working people in ancient China. If you do not bend your will, only then you will be ever victorious. This is the realm of God of martial arts. Do you understand? Well said. Grand Master Xie, well done. The Union's technology can't stand a single blow. The martial arts of Qian Ming aren't as backward as the Union of England make them out to be. They still hold promise, enough for the Qian Ming to hold sway over the whole world. Heavenly Guard Grand Master Xie Do you see? Even if you practice martial arts to such a degree, you can't beat the Union's technology. Everybody, this pointless struggle shouldn't go on any further. If you don't resist, you won't have to sacrifice yourselves anymore. Submit to the Union as soon as possible and accept their enlightenment. Finger of Nirvana. Damn it, they even have such shady technology as handheld railguns? Ha ha ha. What god of martial arts? Before our union's railguns, everything is but trash. What a despicable sneak attack. There's no need to talk about chivalry with you lowly races. Titan, he shouldn't be dead yet. Go finish him off. Roger. I won't allow you to hurt Grandmaster Sia. Little girl, even your god of martial arts was already half killed by our titan's railgun. How dare you stand in front of him? Aren't you afraid you'll die? I'm very afraid. But I'm even more afraid that I'll lose my will to fight back. Grand Master Xie said that only when someone had a strong and unyielding will would they be unstoppable. Now I'm no longer afraid. Go to hell. What can you change with your little body? You still have me. And me. I, Song Shaokong, have never done anything worthwhile in my entire life. But this time I'll become a man. Count me, Su Yang, in two. What's going on? What's happened with these ignorant Qianming people? 
Weren't they as docile as cattle before? Why are they acting like this today? Origin points obtained reverence 0.01 points Liang Min origin points obtained reverence 0.01 points Shen Xian origin points obtained reverence 0.01 points Wang Daming origin points obtained reverence 0.01 points Shen Urqian origin points obtained reverence 0.01 points Su Yang origin points obtained reverence 0.01 points Song Shaokong I've finally gathered enough origin points to reach level 6. Look at the sky. What's that? The color of the sky is changing? Thank you everyone for standing in front of me. Now, leave the rest to me. Oh my god. That's just an illusion. All of you, on your feet. Open fire. Get rid of all these heretics. Do you think the same trick will work on me twice? Fire. Keep firing. Don't let up. Don't let him come any closer. What's the matter? Is this all your firepower? It's not even enough to tickle me. Ha, huh, the Union's so-called world-dominating firearms only amount to this much. The Union's so-called invincible cyborgs are nothing more than chicks when faced with the martial arts of Qian Ming. People of the Union, do you see it now? Our dignified country is one of tidy clothes and courteous manners, but in our moment's neglect, you barbarians took advantage of us whilst we were soundly asleep. Now that we're gradually waking up, it's time to sweep away you vile fiends and rise once again to the top of the world. So it turns out that there was such a realm of martial arts, our empire's martial arts won't lose out against the Union science and technology. Yun Tao, do you repent? Master, I was wrong. I'll get the people of the empire back on their feet. As for you, atone for your sins with your life. Title unlocked. Huh? Why did it unlock? Title, National Soul, Unlocked, One Half, Current Effect, You've Accepted the Belief that a Nation Should Protect Its Country. The cost of all your defensive skills have been reduced by 90%. Unlock Conditions, 1. Punish a National Traitor so as to awaken the Nation's Spirit, Completed. The cost of defensive skills is reduced by 90%? What an incredible effect! Just recently, I was still worried that if the Union had enough people and guns, I'd be swarmed by shelling and die sooner or later. Now there's no need to worry about that anymore. Grand Master Xie, you're really God's chosen, the hero who was sent from heaven to aid the Qianming Empire. Grand Master Xie, this is, this is the manuscript for the skill I just used. A moment ago, you were the first one who had the guts to step forward. Not bad at all. From today onwards, you are the chief disciple of the God Fist Hall. You need to spread this martial art, the Heavenly Guard, to every martial artist within the Empire to make them as fierce as dragons. The level of martial arts in this world is really too low, and I'm going to be leaving after all, so leaving them the Heavenly Guard can be seen as a small contribution. This, how could I accept such an important assignment? I'm sure you can handle it. Now go. The battle just now made me gain some insight, so let me circulate my energy and meditate here for a little while. I'll definitely live up to your expectations. It'll take time for them to cultivate the Heavenly Guard. In the meantime, I have to completely obliterate the Union's military bases in Qianming. The nation's practice of high-level martial arts will only allow martial artists to gain the resolve to rebuild the nation's confidence. For the people of Qian Ming to live a better life, the power of science and technology is also indispensable. If Qian Ming wants to hold sway over the whole world, they'll have to, along with their martial arts, either develop their own technology or invade the Union and steal theirs. I really don't know what this world will be like in the future, but the name of Xie Yan, God of Martial Arts, will live on in legend. 
Commander, there's an incoming call from the lab. Commander, we've figured it out. Unbelievably, he can use an unknown energy to form a defensive force field around him. The Empire's martial arts really does have its wonders. I didn't ask you to come here to study how powerful the Empire's martial arts are, but to find a way to deal with him. When he was hit by the rail gun, the defensive force field around him showed a visible change, so there's definitely a way to defeat him. If we take a closer look here, when he was hit by our rail gun, the defensive force field protecting his body suddenly dropped by 25%. As long as the same attack hits him four times, no, five times. Five times will surely breach his defensive force field. Relay my orders to all personnel. Immediately mobilize 10 top-class cyborgs to form a special task force to encircle and annihilate CAN. If they're not enough, then just dispatch some more. This person has become a thorn in our union side and must be eradicated as soon as possible. Reporting, sir. All soldiers of the 1st and 2nd Battalions have been assembled. Good. I believe all of you have already received the order to eliminate CAN. You may wonder, why do we need to mobilize so many forces to deal with a single Imperial martial artist? Before now, I too would have expressed such disbelief. However, it was this very man who killed all our soldiers and cyborgs, who were present during the Ancient Grand Competition. As such, we didn't hesitate to deploy 10 Thunderbolt-class cyborgs here to encircle and annihilate CAN with us. We can't let our guard down. We're going to have to pull out all the stops to finish this one. Everyone, get out of the way. What the hell is going on? It's CAN. CAN is here. How's it going, my friends from the anglo Union? CAN, you're digging your own grave. Fire. Pound him with everything we got. Bring him down. It seems that my friends from the anglo Union are all fired up. How could we have such a spectacle without some background music? How is it possible that bullets don't hurt him at all? What kind of monster is he? Is he a cyborg too? I'll sing it myself. How about the Great Wall Shall Never Fall asterisk? It sounds appropriate for the occasion, no? My countrymen had been sleeping, but now they're waking up. Where the hell are the Thunderbolt-class cyborgs? Why aren't they here yet? Take a close look. Whose slave do you think we are? Open your goddamn eyes. They're here. The Thunderbolt class cyborgs are here. Because we cowered and were forbearing your arrogance rose day by day. All Thunderbolt class cyborgs, follow my orders. Take aim at CAN. Blast him. We got him. No, it can't be. He's still singing. Monster. Monster, open your mouths and loudly shout. This is a land of warriors. No, this can't be happening. All of you, advance. Kill him. Kill him. You bandits who dare to invade our land will finally meet their demise. Stop him. Stop him. Send out the tanks. The Great Wall shall never fall, the Yellow River shall keep on raging. CAN, this is a Union military base, and you're but a single person. There's no way for you to contend with our entire army. Our land is dotted with beautiful mountains, rivers, and groves of lush frieze, so where does my country look sick to you? The tanks are here. Your fate is sealed. Oh? It doesn't look very strong. Do you think we're going to let our country get trampled upon again? My God. The sleeping lion is waking up. All right. 
I finished singing the background song. Now, let me tell you something. What you're standing on isn't a Union military base, but the land of the Qianming Empire. Remember we're the hosts here, and you're only uninvited guests. Now, on behalf of the millions of people of the Qianming Empire, I just want to say one thing to you, get the fuck out of our land. The Air Force branch had all bombers take off carrying Hellfire bombs. Their destination is our military base in the city of Haijiao. The target is Xie Yan, a man from Qianming. Don't worry about anything. Once I catch sight of Xie Yan, I'll immediately blow him to pieces. Origin points obtained fear. 0.01 points June Emily. Origin points obtained fear. 0.01 points Alexandra Budica. Origin points obtained fear. 0.01 points Claire Thompson. Origin points obtained fear. 0.01 points Spark Young. I'm receiving a steady stream of origin points. Looks like all that trouble is paying off. I fear that if I hadn't shown powers far beyond human limits, I wouldn't have got this many origin points. It's too bad that I won't have this unprecedented opportunity to play God and grind these mobs once I return to the main world. However, the quest is to keep the Union from invading the Empire, and with the Union's power, I suppose that their desire for the Empire's land won't disappear unless they're beaten back to the Stone Age. This will be a long war, and no matter what I do, I'll still have to stay for another four or five years, so there will be plenty of opportunities ahead. The original owner's identity has been a huge asset to me, so as a matter of course, I'll fulfill his last wish. Now, let me cut off the Union's tentacles slithering across the Empire. I've killed almost all of their soldiers, as long as I get rid of their commander as well, the first step of my plan will be a flawless success. I interrogated this officer a moment ago and found out their commander is hiding below ground. An air raid? Humph, they don't have enough firepower on the ground, so now they've called in the Air Force to try their luck at bombing? I surely won't be able to defeat the planes by running around, and it seems that I've already demolished everything I could use as a bunker in the surrounding area. I still haven't unlocked the fight against guided missiles with your bare body achievement in this world. So let us see which is tougher. Your union's bombs. Or my fist. What? Goodness, it didn't even explode. Don't tell me that your union's bombs are just for show. Phew, I take back what I said. They're the real deal. Sure enough, it's really easy for the grinding to get to your head. Now is not the time to play around fighting guided missiles with my bare body. I can't believe that my innate energy was used up in an instant and my heavenly guard was blown away. And this is with the 90% usage cost reduction effect of national soul on the heavenly guard. Fortunately, the finger of nirvana can also recover my energy, otherwise it would have been game over for me. Finger of nirvana. I can't believe it, he's still not dead. Pulverize him. Drop all of the remaining bombs. Damn it. They're throwing so many of them at the same time. For the sake of killing me, they don't even care about their own base. Under this kind of relentless bombardment, I don't have enough time to cast my finger of Nirvana and will get blown to smithereens. It seems that it's time to call it quits on the quest and return to the main world. Shit, I refuse to accept this. This trip was for nothing. I was really blinded by my greed. Because I wanted to show off in order to harvest more origin points, I almost lost my life. I'll be sure to learn my lesson next time. Title Unlocked Title, National Soul, Unlocked February 2nd, Current Effect, You've Accepted the Belief that a Nation Should Protect Its Country. The usage cost of all your defensive skills have been reduced by 90% and their power has been doubled. Unlock Conditions 1. Punish a national traitor so as to awaken the nation's spirit. Completed. 2. Defend the nation's honor from foreign invaders and make the country's might known. Completed. The title has been fully unlocked.
and the power of all my defensive skills have been doubled? In that case, the situation now is completely different. Since I can't run off, then I shouldn't. After all, I still need to calmly clean up this god-awful mess in Qian Ming. The combination of the finger of Nirvana's ability to heal my body and recover my energy without limit with the now doubled power of the Heavenly Guard means that, in this world, I'm invincible. There isn't even any ashes of him left at the center of the blast. This is the end of your opposition against the Union. Muhahaha. Impossible. Is he a demon? How the hell could he still be alive? No, I haven't lost yet. Xie Yin may be powerful, but it will still take him some time to breach this underground base. That's right, our great union still hasn't lost yet. This is only a temporary retreat. As long as we can figure out how Xie Yan's body produces such power, we can immediately. It looks like the underground base where the commander is hiding is here. Are you ready? Here I come. Still not enough. If I want to catch that commander, I have to go deeper. You, you. What the hell kind of demon are you? I'm the harbinger of your doom. Done. Later, as soon as I unify Qian Ming, I'll invade the Union and completely beat them back to the Stone Age to thoroughly complete the quest. The user has completed the quest. The reward is 200 origin points. In 10 seconds, the user will be returned to the main world. Please make preparations. What? The quest is done? The hell? Without me, the people of Qian Ming have no hope of standing up against the Union? How could the quest be completed? The user single-handedly destroyed the Union's military base, struck down its supreme commander, overturned this world's bleak fate, and changed its natural law from suppression of martial arts and promotion of science to the opposite. Thus, from now on, the Empire's martial arts will completely supersede the Union's science and technology, and the Union will dare not invade the Empire ever again. Hereby, the user has completed the quest. Crap, I did too much, no. Don't take me away. I still haven't amassed enough origin points. My precious harvest. My magnificent sustainable development plan. Note, literally garlic chives internet slang for someone who can be repeatedly deceived and exploited, especially by the government or the stock market. M.O. Ching sect. Pant, I'm a grand master, the great white jade pillar that supports the sky and the purple gold beam that bridges the sea, the one who leads his fellow soldiers to champion his country's might and puts to death its invaders. It was really a heart-rending experience. Note, this is a metaphor used to describe outstanding people who play important roles and are capable of shouldering heavy tasks. This phrase is often used in Yuan Dynasty dramas to describe talented generals. One such example can be found in Chapter 3 of Romance of the Three Kingdoms said by the Luo Guanzhong, My dear brother, you have the ability to support the sky and bridge the sea. There is none in the four seas who doesn't admire or respect you. I have no idea what the Qianming Empire will be like when I return. Will Liang Min manage to lead the people of Qianming to recover their place back at the top of the world? Seriously, system... Couldn't you have let me stay in that world for a little while longer to eliminate the Union? That way I could have spared myself a whole lot of trouble later by harvesting those suckers dry. Open System Panel Let me take a look at the gains I got this time. System Level, Level 1, Name, Xie Yin, Realm, Acquired Realm 3rd Layer, Skill Mastery, Expand, Origin Points, 666.23333, Number of Times You've Entered Another Realm, 2, Realm Travel Function is on Cool Down. I actually got over 600 Origin Points. The Harvest this time was pretty good. Huh? What's this? I brought the National Soul title back too. Current title, National Soul title effect. The usage cost of all your defensive skills have been reduced by 90% and their power has been doubled. Awesome, I'm so big and strong. I'm invincible. 
how lonely it is, to be invincible how hollow is to be invincible I'm standing. A. Who dares to sneak attack this grand? Master. Damn it, as soon as I started putting on airs a little bit, someone gave me a ride. Just my rotten luck. Note, literally severity shown by an official on assuming office. My dear, oh, my dear. How the hell did you practice your martial arts to have fully mastered the heavenly guard overnight? I hit you with 40% of my power just now, but to my surprise you came out completely unscathed? Fuck, so it was Chin Chinsi. And it's no wonder too since the power of her attack was stronger than the Union's bombs. This world truly deserves to be called the main world. Its level of power is far higher than that of those smaller worlds. Her strike at 40% power nearly broke through the Heavenly Guard upgraded over the level cap combined with the effect of the National Soul. If we went all out, I guess I would have immediately dropped dead. My lady, is there something you want? Nothing. I'm just a little bit curious. My dear has become a little deep and difficult to understand recently, and I just can't wrap my head around him. Chin Chinsi has every right to be curious after all, it must be incredibly shocking for someone to fully master the Heavenly Guard in a single night. It's quite unlikely for someone to be that formidable. Note, literally professional killer. The sentence isn't clear, but I think that in this case, this term is used as a metaphor for a person who is highly skilled and makes his opponents fail miserably. Or it's the literal meaning and he's saying that she isn't there to kill him. What is there to understand? If we're talking about being deep, then my lady should also be on the same boat, right? The daytime is long. When will the good nights come? Note, literally spring nights. Probably a reference to one half hour of a night in spring is worth a thousand tales, part of a poem written by Su Shir, a great writer during the Song Dynasty. In this case, however, it's probably a pun on something like every minute of a wedding night is precious. Why, are you that anxious to get back to the matriarch's side? Don't blame me for not warning you. The great elder will do you in at any time. You'd better not foolishly wander around outside. You'd better be a good boy and stick to the master like glue. I'm just the matriarch's manservant. How could I possibly pester her all day? Huh? My lady, could it be that you're jealous? You can't possibly believe that I have that kind of relationship with the matriarch, right? I've been falsely accused. There's nothing going on between the matriarch and me. I'm completely innocent. You're my one and only true love in this life. This punk is getting smarter and smarter as of late. He's not as gullible as he used to be. What a glib tongue you have. But with my dear's current condition, I'm afraid you're only all bark and no bite. Shouldn't my lady know my tongue best? How could you say I'm all bark and no bite? This bitch wants to deceive me? Does she take me for a blockhead, just like the original owner? Chin Shinsi is right. Right now, my strength is not enough to contend with the great elder. The matriarch is my biggest coattail, note, literally thickest thigh. Now that I have a decent amount of origin points, I can upgrade the finger of Nirvana. My best bet right now is to completely heal the matriarch's injuries. Current origin points, 526.23333, skill mastery, finger of nirvana, current level, level 3, current effect, can cure all injuries and diseases in low-level worlds. Completely restores people to their peak state. Its effectiveness weakens in middle and higher-level worlds. So expensive. It took 140 origin points to upgrade the finger of Nirvana to level 3, and looking at the description, it doesn't seem that much has changed. I have no idea if this is enough to heal the matriarch, so why don't I upgrade it once more? Sorry, you don't have enough origin points to perform this upgrade. I have more than 500 origin points left and it's still not enough? Just how many of them are needed to upgrade the finger of Nirvana to level 4? I'm going to give it a try whether the finger of Nirvana at level 3 can heal the matriarch or not, but I can't be hasty about it. The time lapse between those worlds and the main world is different. 
For the matriarch, I just left a moment ago. I just came out a moment ago. It would be too much of an overstatement if I returned right now and said I had found a way to heal her. I'd better postpone it for a day or two. And then make up an excuse that the sect founder came to me in my dreams and furthered my knowledge of the finger of Nirvana before I go to her. With so many origin points on hand, what's most important right now is to turn them into actual strength. Is this the elder who's in charge of guarding the Sutra Pavilion and is second only to the sect master and the four great elders? He looks a little bit pocket-sized. Well met, elder. It seems that the sect master looks upon you with high regard. This is the highest level cultivation token. You can choose the most precious innate realm skills in the sect. The more than hundred martial arts books you see here are the sect's most prized collection. From the acquired realm up to the innate realm, you'll lack nothing. Note, literally considered valuable and collected appropriately. As long as it's a skill I can understand, I can record it in the system by looking at it once. There are so many martial arts books here, my efforts have finally paid off. The Great Reversal of Heaven and Earth Ooh, let me write this one down first. The Great Reversal of Heaven and Earth has been recorded. The Peach Blossom Tome of Knowledge? It looks very obscene. I'll take it. Note, this is the name of an Ekimanwa. Peach Blossom is sometimes used as a metaphor for love affair. The name of the Tled series is the Treasured Sakura Tome or How to Get Lucky depending on which group you read it from. The Peach Blossom Tome of Knowledge has been recorded. The 18 Subduing Dragon Fists? Shouldn't it be Palms? I'm not a chivalrous martial artist, but I'll write it down for later. The 18 Subduing Dragon Fists has been recorded. Note, this is probably a reference to the MC in those novels that use their martial arts for chivalrous deeds, like for instance, Chao Fong in the novel Demigods and Semi-Devils. From Wiki, at Shaolin, the truths behind all the murders are revealed and the guilty parties receive their just deserts. Chao Feng also successfully proves his innocence and reconciles with the one before returning to Liao. Ed, a god-level martial art, the great ode of joy of the crossing over between heaven and earth and Yin and yang asterisk. Wow, now I'll truly become invincible. Note. This is a secret ode of martial arts where the collection of the seven kinds of the most terrible and evil martial arts in the world are recorded. It's mentioned in the novel The Blade of the Bright Moon at the Other Edge of the World written by Gu Long, a Taiwanese wuxia novelist and screenwriter in the middle of the 20th century. It said that when the book was finished, it rained blood and the ghost shrieked during the night. The people who wrote the book also coughed up blood and died after they wrote the last word. However, the author changed the sorrow of the original name, The Great Ode of Sorrow of the Crossing Over Between Heaven and Earth and Yin and Yang to joy making the events of its creation and its purpose the complete opposite. With the system in hand, not only will I bag all of the secret skills in the Sutra Pavilion, but I'll also perhaps come across some unexpected joy. Isn't this how it usually goes in sexual fantasy novels? What's this little brat thinking? Laughing silly like that. This is the M.O. Ching Sex Secret Ledger. It contains a record of the names and a brief introduction of all the skills in the sect. Now, hurry up and choose. Can I go through these classics with my own hands? The information I can glean from only looking at the introduction is limited. There's no way for me to find a suitable skill for myself. That used to be the case, but it hasn't been possible since when Ting Yun, the 48th sect master, secretly learned all the skills in the pavilion with his extraordinary knack for memory retention. I don't think a little punk like you is very honest. I won't give you any opportunities for any sleights of hand. You can only choose them from here. Fine. Fuck, what a crafty old fox. Still, what's up with that one, Ting Yun? Why didn't you secretly have fun and be done with it? Why did you have to spread the word around and ruin the younger generation's prospects? I'm going to practice the strongest martial arts, and since there's innate realm skills here, I won't pick any of the ones for the acquired realm. 
List of Innate Realm Skills, The Maiden Scripture Rank is 1st, The Secret of Joy Technique Rank is 9th, The Demonic Mantra for Aim Rank a 16th, The Finger of Flowery Swords Rank a 20th, List of Acquired Realm Skills, The Mantra of Compassion Rank b 30th. The Maiden Scripture is the main canon of the sect. When practiced to the extreme, not only can one freely change between immortal and demonic cultivation, but it also allows its practitioner to maintain their youthful appearance, and the more you practice it, the more beautiful you will be. The matriarch should be practicing this one. Unfortunately, it can only be practiced by women, so it has nothing to do with me. The secret of joy technique is also a skill that can only be practiced by women. Its practitioners can not only follow the way of the taking of life force, but also the way of wickedness and virtue, to constantly hone their sexuality by utilizing their appearance of a loose bitch, yet at the same time maintain their body lofty and unsullied. Chin Shinsi was supposed to be the latter, but then she met me, alas, I'm such a handsome, vibrant, and sinful man. Eh? Wen Ting Yun? Wasn't this the guy who paraded his extraordinary knack for memory retention all over the place? I didn't expect that out of all the past generations of sect masters, he was the only one who was male, and also came up with an innate skill by himself, the finger of flowery swords. With this skill, a person can use their fingers to shoot sword energy at their foes whilst in combat. This is exactly the attack class martial art that I've been sorely lacking, say, isn't this attack method similar to the Six Miles Holy Sword? A certain innate realm skill that was automatically ignored because it would make its practitioner uglier the more it was practiced. The Finger of Flowery Swords Created by Wen Ting Yun, the 48th sect master. The practitioner must be an elegant and handsome man, otherwise please don't hurt yourself. God, this skill was tailor-made for me. Perfect, this is the one. Oh, the finger of flowery swords? Yes, looking at your profile, I'd say that you're qualified to practice it. If I'm not a fit for it, then none of the male disciples in the whole sect are. The finger of flowery swords is not only a cultivation method for improving internal strength, but also a fingering and sword technique to wound and kill an enemy. One might as well say that it's a collection of ten martial arts in a single book. Finger of flowery swords. However, there are some troublesome bits in the basics of this martial art. You need to be in the company of beauties all day, be romantic but not obscene, be passionate but not abusive. Only when the innate energy in the body is stained with the smell of young beauties, transforms into flowery energy, and the fingers are compelled to expel a sore tip like essence, will the basics be learned. But to be with beauties all day long, there's only so much time I can meet with the matriarch every day, so there's no point in thinking about her. Chin Shinsi would do, but she's a very dangerous woman, and she's really not all that fond of me. Shiryena hates me to the bone, and the other girls in the sect are also avoiding me because I offended the great elder. Don't go. It's written in the manuscript that there should be at least five beauties, but the more the better. Don't tell me I'll have to hook up with girls from other sects. The next day. Huh? Your finger of nirvana today seems to be quite different from before. My injuries are healing at an astonishing rate. My innate energy is full and overflowing. I even called laps the bed by accident. How could my injuries have been completely healed? In only two days, your finger of nirvana has progressed to the point of completely healing me. Is it possible that you lied to me last time? Sisu, how could you say such a thing? These last few nights, the sect founder appeared in my dreams and instructed me on how to level up the finger of Nirvana. Do you see these black circles around my eyes? I haven't slept for several days. Fortunately, the finger of Nirvana at level 3 worked, otherwise it would have been troublesome. It really does seem that you went through a great deal of hardship. Fortunately, you were blessed by the sect founder. I'm in high spirits today. Speak, what other rewards do you desire? Sis you, I haven't the slightest clue how to practice this martial art. I would like to ask you for some advice. Oh? The finger of flowery swords? You really did choose this martial art. It's not very easy to get started on this martial art. 
Actually, there's a very suitable place for you to practice this martial art. This is the place the third elder runs in the nearby city of Jianling. I Ching Establishment. Is this the brothel run by the third elder, the I Ching Establishment? It's told that an artist doesn't sell his own body but his craft, yet when I look at that name it doesn't seem like it. The third elder has always been neutral within the sect therefore she won't make your life difficult because of the hostilities between you and the great elder. And you're of great use to the third elder, so if you practice there, she'll probably lend you a hand. I'm of great use to the third elder? What kind of great use? I'm not in a position to reveal that. You'd better go see it for yourself. I have a very bad feeling about this. Now the only thing to worry about is the great elder. If she disregards her status and lays her hands on you, the outside of the sect is beyond my influence so I won't be able to help. For that, I have a way. You have a way? I wrote a new book. No, wait, I mean, I looked into a book that's being handed down on the market recently called Tears on a Beautiful Face, Lesbians. It tells the story about a heartless master who has a taboo love for her female apprentice. In her heart, she regards her as a queen and hopes to be mercilessly stepped on by her. It's an utterly vicious book. You revealed your identity in the ending of the last volume of The Young Married Woman's Chintzy. How dare you come up with a new book? Sis you, you finished reading it? Ahem. Sigh. Of course not. I don't read such decadent writing. I just so happened to overhear some friends mentioning it. Naturally, I'm convinced that some villain must have planted the so-called made by Xia Yin in the book to set you up. Exactly, exactly. This time, the author is a guy called Deja Vu. They even say that this Deja Vu may be Ji Yuntao from the upright Tai Xian sect. I've been hearing for a long time that he's a handsome and elegant man. I don't know how many girls have fallen for him, but I never thought he was such a pretentious hypocrite. However, other people's rumors have said that it was Taoist Nan Hong Ling from Ji Le Guan who took up such a name to conceal her identity. As expected, she's a vixen from a demonic sect who lives by taking life force. She has no sense of shame. Matriarch, aren't you a member of a demonic sect too? Yet it's also told that the booklets began circulating from the towns neighboring the Buddhist Temple of Heaven. So those nuns were all a bunch of whores all along. A few days after the matriarch came to know about it, a pornographic book, The Tears on a Beautiful Face, Lesbians, began being handed down in the areas neighboring the Taishian sect, Ji Le Guan, and the Buddhist Temple of Heaven. Soon afterwards, the book began spreading in the Mo Ching sect. Because of the exceedingly obvious illusion of the content, the great elder, in a fit of rage, drew her sword and left the sect, threatening she could only vent out her hatred after cutting down the one called Deja Vu. Yet the one who she wants to cut down is Deja Vu, so what does he have to do with me? Not bad. This is indeed a wonderful place to practice the finger of flowery swords. Edel note, literally geometrical antique feng shui, treasure land. So you're Xia Yan? The matriarch sent me a letter to inform me of your request. At first, for such a trivial matter, I would have just sent a few servants to deal with it. Third elder of the M.O. Ching sect Yu Xuanji. However, I'm somewhat curious about you, so I specially called you for us to meet, as expected, your handsomeness is quite exceptional. It's just that you don't seem to be an eunuch as the rumors say? To not hesitate to deceive the whole sect and to protect you, has the matriarch's desire for love begun to sprout? The third elder must be joking. I know my own limitations. Even though I'm as noble as a dragon and as handsome as a phoenix, I haven't been able to make the matriarch fall for me. As an elder, she's quite remarkable. She could easily figure out with a single glance that little Xia Yan is still here. She must know a lot about men. Her every move is overflowing with charm, stirring a person's heart. I've heard she practices the secret of joy technique. I tease seems that she has a much greater knack for it than Qin Shinsi. Indeed, you have a clear understanding of yourself. I have always been neutral within the sect, so I will not be partial to the great elder, nor will I swing in the matriarch's way. 
If you want to stay in this establishment, you have to agree to one condition. What's your condition? I seem to recall that the matriarch said that I'd be of great use for her, but she didn't go into any details. Wait a minute, she practices the secret of joy technique while I, the young master, have a virtuous body and am this good looking to boot. Could that be what she wants? Imagination. Don't come. Scream. Scream all you want, but no one's going to save you. Wake up. Stop speculating on your own. My first lineal disciple practices a lower level skill in the same category as the secret of joy technique, the mantra of heartlessness. The way to practice this skill is to clash with men in the field of sexuality. Provided we outdo our opponent in this clash and plant feelings in their hearts, we can rapidly improve our cultivation. Externally, you have a godly appearance. Internally, you harbor a virtuous body. You are a man among men and the best of them all. As long as any of my disciples can plant feelings in your heart, you'll be worth more than 100 men. Sigh. I was considering what the condition might be and it turned out to only be this. I accept. Are you aware what will happen if you fail in this clash and become the person who's been planted with feelings in his heart? I'm well aware. The body and soul of the person who has the feelings planted in his heart will be reduced to a mere slave of the one who planted them and will respond to his every beck and call and grant his every plea. You already knew this? And you still accept it? Have I ever lost in a clash regarding feelings with a woman before? All the times I barely managed to escape with my life was because of my peerless handsomeness. From the beginning, it has always been women licking my boots and it's not now that I'm going to start the habit of licking theirs. What's more? Third elder, you are exceedingly beautiful, enough to cause the fall of a state, and your disciples must also be quite the beauties themselves. If one were to clash with them and lose, let alone being reduced to a love-struck fool, wouldn't death be preferable? If it were an expert like you coming out personally, I might have some reservations, but if it's only your disciples, a bunch of clumsy newbies, I don't give a shit. TL note, on the fan I can still flirt as a ghost. This is part of a large sentence that literally means if I should die beneath a peony, I will still be charming as a ghost. Peony is a metaphor for a beautiful woman. Good. You're really admirable. No wonder you chose the finger of flowery swords. Everyone, come out. Young Lord Sierra, please enlighten us. Mrs., please enlighten me too. Jesus Christ. So many of them. Did they call all the bitches in the building here? But this is also fine. My finger of flowery swords needs the energy of a huge number of beauties and the more of them, the better. When people come across happiness, their spirits soak up high and the young couples timely crowd together. For the next few days, I clash together with these younger and older misses in the field of sexuality. The drunk lane on new buildings inviting in the bright moon, and in their dreams a beauty dancing with a colorful skin. Contrary to my expectations, under the wing of an expert like the third elder, these disciples didn't behave like novices. TL Note, the lines appearing vertically are a poem written by the author Hai Young. The red sleeve adds to the night's fragrance, the spouse's reading is delighted and her desire grows wild. But as proper artists, hand in hand their gaze lingering on one another and the soulmates roam about unhurriedly. What's up with the third elder's tastes? Why are they so similar to the matriarchs? A few days later, although the cowherd and the weaving maid are separated by the Milky Way, they can meet each other once a year, dear Sia, we'll see each other again. Dear Sia, I'll miss you. I'll never forget these past few days I spent with dear Sia for my entire life. Haha, -ha, he's indeed worthy of being called a man who's practicing the finger of flowery swords. All that flirting in his heart isn't even aroused in the slightest. The more difficult a man is to conquer, the deeper the feelings planted when they are, and the better the result. It's a pity that there are too many of us and can only take a turn once a week. These bunch of bitches have some skills. To my surprise, they even know the principle of not trying to win someone over with their beauty for long periods of time and opted for the moving someone with affection approach. 
I only fear that if I fall into their trap, the feelings will become deep-rooted and it'll be hard to get myself out of it. Too bad for them, I've learned quite a bit from the countless bitches in my previous life. I can easily tell at a glance if a girl is sincere or not. Their advances are to no avail on me. What I want is to collect the energy from these beauties, not to have some bullshit feelings planted on me. It is clear that I've always been together with countless beauties every day. So why is the skill making such slow progress? If things keep going like this, when will I reach the introductory level? According to the manuscript, if you want to practice the finger of flowery swords being a peerless beauty is only a stepping stone for success. Only when women wholeheartedly love the practitioner and follow him of their own accord can they produce the energy suitable for cultivation. And only when the practitioner has a large number of beauties admiring him by his side, indulging in his voice and countenance to their heart's content, can they absorb enough rich energy to allow the finger of flowery swords to reach the introductory level. I wish to reincarnate as a butterfly along with dear Sia and fly together through the skies. These days, even though I'm in the company of beauties all day long, I'm not having a good time in the slightest. It's more like we're having a duel with concealed swords, and each of their honeyed words are like the old thrust of a spear. And every trace of love is a stab in the back. At this rate, who knows when I'll reach the introductory level. I won't have to stay in this brothel my entire life if I can't do it, will I? Since my face alone is not enough, I have to think of another way to make these bitches fall for me. If my face won't do, then I can only rely on my talents. I'll use all those Tang and Song Dynasty poems under my belt as my entry ticket. No, no, that won't work. These bitches study the literary arts and are proficient in all kinds of poems, songs, ditties, and odes. Against them, it would be like giving the game away. Now that I'm thinking about it, I guess I could use my finger to send them into a world of pure bliss. A few days later. What are you doing here? The third elder asked me to attend to young Lord Sierra. You'd better give it up. You have such a plain appearance. Even we can't handle young Lord Sierra and you think you can? You're just wasting your time. Tonight the Plum Blossom Boat Festival is going to be jointly held by our I Ching establishment and the Yunyu County Hall and several elder sisters will be taking part in it, so the third elder asked me to look after the young lord. T.L. Note, figuratively a nickname for a famous beauty or courtesan. T.L. Note, literally clouds and rain. Figuratively sexual intercourse, so that's how it is. Younger sister, you're going to be spending time alone with young Lord C.F. pitting yourself against him, so you must seize the opportunity, you hear? Who knows? Maybe the young Lord will take a bit of a liking to you. Ha ha ha. Miss, you look quite unfamiliar. Is this our first meeting? Whoa! Watch out! Hey, this is my chance. I can take advantage of this to run into his embrace. Ah! Uh, girl, are you alright? You seem to be preoccupied. Is there something on your mind? TL note, literally spirit not in one's body. It's rare for a martial artist to be so clumsy. I, I, ah, why are you crying? Did someone pick on you? Ah, uh, I really want to take part in the boat festival tonight, but I'm not as beautiful as the others are. TL note, literally lovely as a flower. Even the Gucci, the only thing I'm good at, is completely unoriginal and in no way better than my sister's gracefulness. So I'm not worthy of participating in the boat festival. TL note, a seven-string plucked instrument similar to the zither. Looking at your facial features, it's just that the inner line of the outer tip of your eyebrows was pulled back a few cun too much, which led to a somewhat poor appearance. TL note, ICUN equals 3.33 centimeters. What's more, you don't appear all that different from them. In fact, you're better suited to be the heroine rather than such a delicate little girl. 
but it's too bad that the current you is such a flawed piece of precious jade. What a pity. Then what should I do? Actually, I have a way to shave off your blemishes and brush off the grime covering you. With it, not only can you take part in the Plum Blossom Boat Festival tonight, but you'll also be able to shine more vividly than all the other overwhelming beauties. I wasn't born into a life of immorality. It seems to have been karma that made it. If only one day I can live a life in the countryside, then you needn't ask where I'm going. TL Note These are the first and last verse of a poem written by Yen Rui, a poet during the Song Dynasty. The story goes that Zhu Eleven ordered the arrest and imprisonment of Yen Rui in Zhujiang. He tried to force a confession out of the poet by torturing him, but the poet would rather die than submit. After Zhu Eleven was posted for another office, Yu Lin was appointed to the prison. He ordered the release of the poet and asked him where he was going. The poet then answered him with this poem. The other two remaining verses are briefly about how one's life isn't in one's hands, but at the mercy of one's rulers, and if he were not to go now, when would he be free? That's Lady Chi Lu from the I Ching establishment. As expected, the music was so melodious and her voice so mellow. Her singing is beautiful, and she is even more so. Every year, the Flower Boat Festival is jointly held by the I Ching establishment and the Yunyu County Hall, along with all the brothels in the city of Jiangling, to allow their girls to ride in the flower boats across the arch bridge and show off their talents at the same time. Lady Chi Lu, I love you. I'll always love you, Chi Luo. You're my waifu. No matter who it is, as long as you sprinkle flowers on Lady Chi Luo today, you'll be my sworn brother. TL Note, literally different father and different mother. If the people on the bridge have someone among the beauties who they especially admire and want to elect them as the queen of flowers, they can buy baskets fitted with pink petals to offer to them. At the end of the festival, whoever obtains the most petals will be worthy of the title of Queen of Flowers of the city of Jiangling. It's Lady Meng Tang. As expected, Lady Meng Tang's dance moves me even more. Lady Meng Tang, I love you. You're my waifu. Huh? Aren't you the guy who just called Chi Lu his waifu? Why did you have such a sudden change of heart? Don't mind those small details. Tonight's trip was really worthwhile. As expected, these beautiful women are indeed noble and worthy of praise. Above all is the I Ching establishment. It just feels like that if their girls didn't exist, the four arcs wouldn't either. TL note, literally, like clouds and rain. Clouds is a metaphor for a noble character and rain is a metaphor for moving one to tears. TL Note The Four Arts Zither, Go, Calligraphy, Painting The Accomplishments of a Well-Educated Person What do you want? We're all disciples of a demonic sect, and now that we've caught you, a awe-inspiring, inviolable, and righteous lady, what do you think we're going to do? I, Xia Dao Yun, am a follower of righteousness and vow to not live under the same sky as a bunch of demons like you. I shall never allow you to touch a single strand of my hair. Xia Dao Yun, isn't that the descendant of the Buddhist Xingjai, the most long-standing righteous inheritance of the Han Empire? TL Note, the doctrine of Xingjai means something like to get rid of worldly desires and make one's mind pure. She's the most outstanding righteous practitioner genius of the younger generation. She's killed who knows how many demonic sect disciples. How could she have been caught? Are you guys blind? It's clear this woman is a lead actress from the Yunyu County Hall, the very best one. Ah, uh, I recognize her now. It's really her, but what is she doing? Is she acting out a play? Shishishi. Do you still take yourself as holy and pure, Miss Righteous? Now that your cultivation is crippled, you can only let us, demonic disciples, do as we please. Save me. Isn't there a young chivalrous knight who can save me? Scream. Scream all you want, but no one's going to save you. Come back. Don't go. I really want to know how it ends. Isn't it petals that you want? 
I'll give them all to you if you come back. How shameless. Your county hall actually used such an underhanded trick. Acting out a play is also a kind of talent. We're still having a fair competition, and the visitors are enjoying it. Master of the Yunyu County Hall Elder from the Blissful Temple by Su Yuen. TL Note, G. Liguan. At the back of the Yunyu County Hall stands the Blissful Temple, which is in no way inferior in power to the M.O. Ching sect. These bunch of Taoist nuns practice the Yunyu double cultivation method, so they are very open-minded and in many cases more popular with men. I've carefully mentored Qi Luo and Ming Tang. I thought I could beat her this time, but I didn't expect that she still had such a trick up her sleeve. Humph! What's that sound? It seems to be the zither. All of the famous beauties in Jianling have already showed up. Who's playing it? Is that Xie Yin? The sunset rays leave the sleeves of my dress. Passing by the people on the flower boat reminds me of the beauty of my hometown. I was skilled with my sword and good with my fists. It was common for me to brave danger. I met a beauty south of the Yangtze River, made love, and pledged my undying love. But my passion itself wasn't willing to give up the world. So I mercilessly cut down our relationship like a sword. My troubled youth only left me with a scar. But my spirit will never grow old and the tune of my zither will go on. I only want to come and go freely as a madman and... Not as a chivalrous knight. TL Note this song, Not as a Chivalrous Knight, was sung by Xiao Yiching Alex for the net music album Zhao Sound Diffusion, released in 2017. The author heavily modified a few parts, but since the song doesn't make much sense anyway, some people online say that the song is just a jumble of random words put together. Others think it's a masterpiece and can make out all kinds of character storylines from it. I picked a few things from a blog of one of the later and modified the song even further. Buy me 50 kilograms of flowers and scatter them for me. TL note, 1,000 tail. One tail equals 50 G. I didn't get about half of that song, but it has a unique charm. What kind of song was that? I've never heard such a strange and pleasant tune before. Is that young man in white and immortal banished from the heavens? Why does he look as elegant and bright as the moon? TL note, this a metaphor for a person with outstanding talent. It is often used to refer to lead by a poet during the Tang Dynasty who is considered one of the most outstanding romance poets in Chinese history. If that young man is a banished immortal, then that girl with a mask on her face must be a sword immortal. Her sword dance was as graceful as a flying swan and as refined as a roaming dragon. TL Note This is more or less a quote from Chao Zhi's The Ode of the Goddess Luo, one of the three Chao who established the Wei Dynasty. Well met. Ladies and gentlemen, this is young Lord Xie Yan. The song you just heard is called Not as a Chivalrous Knight and was specially written by him for myself. As for my maiden name, it's Meng Qinglian. So beautiful. She's indeed worthy of being called a sword immortal. Wow. What a nice name. Zhuo Qinglian doesn't sound the slightest bit evil. It's so exquisite and refined. Much better than those from those other coquettish sluts TL note. He got her surname wrong. Zhuo means something like cleanse evil. TL note. Her maiden name means pure lotus. TL note. Literally cheap goods. What's even more impressive is that her eyebrows are as dashing as those of a hero. Her eyes shine as though they were stars. Her manner is neither bewitching nor seductive, but only natural and dignified and hasn't the slightest trace of the pretentious and pampered attitude of other women. I've never seen a woman with such a valiant and heroic bearing. Don't go. I'm willing to spend thousands more gold to buy flowers. Please play another song. I never thought there'd be such a woman in this world. Sigh, if I don't get to see the sword immortal in the future, I'll surely lose my appetite for food and drinks.
Now that I saw Deercia today, there's no room in my eyes for other men. Looking at him was the biggest mistake in my whole life. At first, I thought the show I had prepared was unexpected enough, but I didn't imagine that you actually had such a couple lying in store. You may not believe it, but that woman's real name is Meng Xiaohua, and she is the most ordinary girl in my establishment. Bullshit! Yu Xuanji, you actually dare to humiliate me like this? I'll never forget what happened today. I'll be sure to pay you back. I didn't humiliate you. She really is the most ordinary girl in my establishment. But how did she become so beautiful and why did she change her name to Meng Qinglian? The beauties of the M.O. Qing sect are so noble, there is no way I could allow the Yunyu County Hall, an underling of the Blissful Temple, to get the better of us. T.L. Note, literally like clouds. I wonder if this gift is to your satisfaction, Third Elder? C.A.N. You did all of this? Was it you who wrote that performance just now? And is it also because of you that Meng Xiaohua's appearance changed so much? How on earth did you do it? My finger of nirvana can heal all kinds of wounds instantaneously, and although my sword finger is still weak and hasn't reached the introductory level yet, it's still sharp enough to be used as a scalpel. With the two of them combined, I can completely imitate South Korea's plastic surgery, which is one of the four modern-day magic arts in Asia. TL Note, Thailand's transgender, South Korea's plastic surgery, Japan's makeup, and China's Photoshop. Add into the most popular ancient songs enjoyed by hundreds of millions of people as well as a sword dance which integrates elements from popular dances and you end up with something quite mundane. But in an ancient world like this, which lacks the pop from the entertainment industry, wouldn't it astonish the whole audience? Now all the bitches within this building are finally within my grasp. TL Note, literally no way not to enter my pot. The pot is probably a reference to a turtle in a pot, which is a metaphor for catching something that has no way of escape. Thank you very much, young lord. What are you doing that for? Stand up. Young master is extremely skilled. He reshaped my appearance, taught me that sword dance, and made my name famous throughout Jiangling. Your kindness gave me a new lease on life. I, Ching Lian, shall never forget this for my whole life. Since the Flower Boat Festival, the names of Xie Yin and Meng Ching Lian have spread all over Jiangling and have become the dream couple of countless girls and young men. The day when Dear Xie disappeared. The real, real, real one. Without Dear Xie, she's been getting thinner with each passing day. South Korea's facelifting is indeed a weapon of mass destruction, enough to make a girl feel lost and desperate. And so, all the bitches in the building went crazy one after another, abandoning their reserve, wanting me to check up on their bodies, uh, I mean, the flaws on their faces. There are also those who come to me to ask for advice on music and dancing, hoping that I, the great master of both of them, can tailor a tune fit for them. When beauties seek for me, naturally I can't be insensitive. Fortunately, I came from the information age and have seen countless celebrities with aesthetic much higher than what the girls of this world could possibly fathom. Young Lord Sia is the best. As such, several old-fashioned beauties with a mix of modern elements were born, and I created tunes and dances in line with their temperament for each of them. Because of this, the bitches have even begun to address me as Master Sia. We servants greet Master Sia. In this way, for the following month, I've been comfortably practicing in the I Ching establishment, writing and composing songs for the girls, and giving counsel to the third elder. It didn't take long for the I Ching establishment to overwhelm the Yunyu County Hall, for my reputation to begin to spread throughout Jiangling, to become the object of the wet dreams of numerous maidens, and to gain a heap of origin points from all the admiration and worship. On your guard. After so many days of hard work, the finger of flowery swords has finally reached the introductory level, however. Because the innate energy in my body has been transformed into flowery energy, not only did my realm not advance, it receded. But this is fine. 
the first layer of the acquired realm with the flowery energy and the third layer with the previous inferior quality innate energy are about the same. Moreover, my heavenly guard has become even more powerful than before now that it's being driven by the flowery energy. Oh, someone there? I heard that Master Xie is leaving. The reason I came here was to practice the finger of flowery swords. Now that I have not only practiced it, but also came to know your sisters, it's time to go back. But I still haven't had time to repay Master Xie yet. Could it be that we sisters aren't good enough? Why is Master Xie so determined to leave? What's up with this situation? Don't tell me this girl is infatuated with me. This isn't good. If she can't restrain her feelings and devotes her life to me later, things will take a bad turn. Be it before or after the crossing, I made a commitment to keep my hands clean. What happened with that bitch Chin Chin Si wasn't my fault. However, the skill of refusing a girl who throws herself into my arms is a technique I'm quite proficient in. I can't lose the style of an extremely beautiful man, nor can I brush away her honor. Ahem. People have joys and sorrows, partings and reunions. The moon may dim or shine, wax or wane. Nothing is perfect. This has gone on since time immemorial. TL Note This is the seventh verse of the book The Moon May Dim or Shine, Wax or Wane written by Shin Mei Wan. Silly child when living life in this world, to go suddenly on a long journey and leaving another side is inevitable. TL Note The middle part of this sentence is the second verse of one of the poems in the book 19 Ancient Poems written by various unknown authors. Would that we could live a long life and together share the moonlight even though far apart. TL Note This is part of the last verse of the song Would That We Could Live a Long Life Song by Teresa Tang, a Taiwanese pop artist. So that even if we were separated by the numerous mountains and streams, we would all at least be under the same moon. Basking in the same moonlight. Would that we could live a long life and together share the moonlight. According to my experience of being a man who barely escaped death, if you want to chop off an artistic girl's idea of lust for my body, just pour in a few random words into the scheme of a proper poem. TL Note, literally wolf and tiger words. Master Sia is right. It was I who was losing sight of everything. People with a free and natural character such as Master Xie are just like the moon. Their moonlight should be scattered to all the people in the world to deliver them salvation. I shouldn't be so selfish as to vainly attempt to make Master Xie dote on me alone. I'll definitely do my best to devote myself to spiritual practice so as to better myself, then I'll come together with all my sisters in the establishment to serve Master Xie. As long as you understand, it's fine. Stay away. Don't ever come. By the way, Master Xie, the poem you recited just now isn't complete. Indeed, I'll now recite to you the full poem. Consider this as my parting gift for you. When did the moon begin to shine? Lifting my cup I asked of the heavens. TL Note This is part of the first verse of the song with that we could live a long life. Master Sia's finger of flowery swords has reached the introductory level. He will soon return to the sect. I can't wait any longer. Tonight is my last chance. I have to make sure to gobble up Master Xie. Why are you here? You vampish wench. I can't believe you had the gall to intrude on Master Xie's quarters during the night. How shameless. Aren't you scolding yourself? Don't tell me you're here to admire the full moon when you came to Master Xie's door this late. Bring it on. Only the one who prevails can enter Master Xie's quarters tonight. Wait a moment. What's that noise? Master Sia is mine. Nonsense, Master Sia belongs to everyone. Don't push. We'll line up one by one. Or, we could all go together. We should follow the other's example. Right. An idol group? Yes, there are millions of different people in the world, and each one of them have their particular tastes. Some people like the pure, some like the wild, some like the delicate, some like the heroic. The women of this establishment have all their different styles, so it'd be better to combine them to form an idol group called the 48 Bitches. 
These 48 kinds of women would be enough to scoop up all the men in the world in one go. Though I have no idea if this world will be able to develop an idle culture. How large is your brain for it to harbor so many wonderful ideas? Why don't you just not return to the sect? If you stay here, you can pick any of the beauties in the building you desire. Anyone? Absolutely not. If you want to build up an idol culture, you have to turn the girls into the most perfect goddesses in the eyes of men. It's taboo for the goddesses to get close with them. The 48 bitches is just getting started. It's only proper that I should avoid arousing suspicion all the more. Fuck you, with all the bitches in the building and you, the expert, here as well, if I stay behind, I'll sooner or later be reduced to garbage. You're right. Given the circumstances, I can hardly impose on you. But in return for what you did these past few days, I'll tell you a bit of news. Great Elder Wu Lingxian came looking for me. What does she mean? Don't tell me she's going to do something to me. Don't be nervous. I've held back anything concerning you. Wu Lingxian just came to me to try to persuade me to join her faction and rise in revolt against the matriarch. Then what are you trying to get at, Third Elder? By telling me this intel, it's incredibly likely that this old hag is hinting that she's going to shut me up for good if I don't stand on their side. I told Wu Lingxian that I wouldn't take part in her struggle with the matriarch. I don't think you should go back. If you return, it's hard to say if your life will be guaranteed. You're very talented and I greatly admire you. If you stay in my establishment, not only will you be accompanied by beautiful women, but Wu Lingxian will also show consideration for me and not take any actions against you. In a few years, you'll surely become a wonderful person and reach a cultivation level just like Sec Master One. What do you say? The third elder truly values me. Could it be because of this set of bones and a few other skills not worth mentioning? I think if it was the late Sec Master One, be it this time or place, he would have made the same decision. Third Elder, most likely, in your heart, you already knew the answer. He's such an interesting and wonderful person that even I am starting to show a bit of affection for him. I hope he can survive from Wu Lingxian's onslaught. I Ching Establishment Master Xie, my sisters and I have prepared drinks in the legendary library pavilion and would like to invite you to drink with us and admire the full moon. We wonder if you have the time tonight? TL Note, this is a reference to the mythical library where God stores his books. Master Xie, the Jianling Lantern Festival is tomorrow. I'd like to invite you. I greatly appreciate your kindness from the bottom of my heart, but I've asked the third elder to leave today and will be setting out from the establishment soon. What? Master Xie is leaving? Is it because we didn't take good care of Master Xie? With Master Xie gone, what are we to do? I came to Jianling as a guest. I thank you ladies for the care you've shown me in these last few days. Now it's time for me to return to the sect. Master Xie, you're, you're leaving. The scenery in Jiangling is so beautiful, and with us to accompany you, you'll never get lonely. Master Xie, wouldn't it be much more enjoyable staying with us and keeping us mortals company? It's better to forget others and seek out a better life than to stick together and face untold hardships. TL Note, literally instead of them moistening themselves with spittle, it would be far better for them to forget each other and head back to their native rivers and lakes. The idea of this idiom, found in the Zhuangzi, is that once the spring where fish live dries up, instead of them spraying each other with water to survive, they should be more concerned with themselves and just go back to the river. When living life in this world, there will always be some regrets. I hope you ladies will take good care of yourselves. In the beginning, I just wanted to secretly depart in the dead of night, but who knew that at the ferry crossing? To my surprise, Meng Qinglian and the newly formed idols troop were waiting there to see me off. Master Xie, other than today, I don't know when I'll be able to see you again. So I asked all of my sisters to bid you farewell on your journey. Since ancient times, the saddest thing for lovers is parting and even more when it's in the bleak of autumn. How's one to endure? Where will I be when I wake up tonight? 
I'm afraid it'll be on a willow bank, facing the cold morning wind and the warning moon of dawn. After the years have gone past, even if the weather and scenery were to become more lively, it'll still be just as rain. Even if I'm filled with love, who can I share it with? T.L. Note, this poem, The Mute Melancholic Tinkling of the Heavy Rain, was written by Lu Yong, a poet during the Song Dynasty. Origin points obtained longing, 0.01 points Lu Rushi. Origin points obtained adoration, 0.01 points Peng Minmin. Origin points obtained appreciation, 0.01 points Li Shirsi. One by one, these girls actually became quite infatuated with me. It's hard to predict what will be lying in store for me when I return to the sect, and the third elder's proposal was indeed really exciting. It even made me consider staying in this land of warmth and tenderness. However, the matriarch has shown me favor, and it'd be much too dull for me to only run away this time. Besides, the matriarch has already recovered. I'll feel more optimistic in this game with the great elder with her around. In this trip to Jiangling, not only did I make waves, but I also gained a big lump of origin points and reached the introductory level of the finger of flowery swords without a hitch. When I leave Jiangling, I'd better find a remote location outside the city to upgrade it. When I was still in the I Ching establishment, I didn't dare to casually upgrade it. The matriarch might believe me if I told her the sect founder appeared in my dreams again, but the third elder most likely wouldn't. Is everyone here? Wind style number 11, here. Thunder style number 7, here. Earth style number 14, here. Wind style. Excellent, everyone's present. As the one in charge of the Jiangling region, I've gathered you here to give you an important assignment. Xiuei Lu Heaven Style Number 3 What the hell kind of assignment is it for it to require the gathering of all the assassins in this region? The Blissful Temple has spent 500,000 tails for us to assassinate one of the elders of the M.O. Ching sect. The M.O. Ching sect is one of the nine great demonic sects in the Han Empire, and even though they're at the bottom of the scale, they're still a force to be reckoned with, and she's an innate realm expert, to say the least. I'm afraid this may not have been a good deal. TL Note The use of the tail was discontinued in China in the early 20th century with the introduction of foreign monetary policies. To give you an idea of how much it would be worth today, if we only take into account the worth of the silver content, it would be about I tail equals $20. However, this is only the bottom line value. As a currency, it would probably be worth twice as much. The sphere of influence of our clan only revolves around the Jiangling region, so this will be an opportunity to show our worth. Even if we take a few losses, it will be worth it. Moreover, the Blissful Temple also forked out an additional 5,000 tails for a secondary assignment. They want us to murder a man named Xie Yan. Who's this Xie Yan? Is there such a person in the M.O. Ching sect? Recently, a handsome young man named Xie Yan appeared, who's known as the star of the city of Jiangling, but I don't know whether it's him or not. There's also a servant by that name in the M.O. Ching sect. It's said that he was personally taught by the matriarch of that sect. His power should be around the third layer of the acquired realm. The relevant details on Xie Yan are all on this scroll. It will be fine for just a few thunders to stay behind to deal with him. The rest of you will follow me. Since he's such a beautiful man, I'd like to have a little meeting with him. Commander, please allow me to stay. Very well, it's better to go all out, even when fighting an insignificant enemy. You, Thunder Number 8 and Number 17 will stay behind to slaughter him. With you at the fifth layer of the acquired realm and the other two at the third, there shouldn't be any problems. He he he. You little rascal, you really do enjoy your BL you've already toyed 180 men to their deaths. I thank the commander for this gift. Perfect. So this is the power of the finger of flowery swords at level 1. It can be turned as long or as short as one pleases with unstoppable force. And to my surprise, with a cost of only 10 origin points, it was really a bargain. 
At present, given the amount of my innate energy, the sword tip can only reach a distance of 5 chi, so calling it unstoppable might be a bit of a stretch, though ordinary weapons definitely aren't a match for it. TL note, 1 chi equals 33 centimeters. Uh, my innate energy ran out so quickly. With the first layer of the acquired realm, I can't even maintain it for half a minute. Isn't this thing a little too energy consuming? Since it only took 10 points to raise it to level 1, level 2 shouldn't be all that expensive either, so let me continue upgrading it. Origin points remaining, 653.63443. Skill Mastery, Finger of Flowery Swords. Current Level, LV1. Current Effect, a sword finger made up of concentrated energy. It can be turned as long or as short as one pleases with unstoppable force. Upgrade the Finger of Flowery Swords to level 2. Whoa, what a strong response. System Prompt, your cultivation realm has advanced. Current Realm, Acquired Realm 3rd Layer. To my surprise, the upgrade of the Finger of Flowery Swords to level 2 allowed me to return my cultivation realm back to the 3rd layer. Just one level up was enough to advance my cultivation realm by 2 layers. It's indeed worthy of being called an innate realm skill. If I keep it at around 3 chi, I can fight against other people for a quarter of an hour without any problems. But this isn't the most important thing. I can send out the sword tip to hit a target in the twinkling of an eye. Not bad, not bad at all. This is just like the six miles holy sword where you can release the sword energy from your body. Origin points remaining, 453.63443. Skill Mastery, Finger of Flowery Swords. Current Level, LV2. Current Effect, one can send out a sword tip to instantly hit a target. What changed in the upgrade to level 1 was the usage of the skill, but its nature didn't in the slightest. On the upgrade to level 2, the skill sharply improved, and my cultivation realm was advanced by two layers. I'm guessing that most of the 200 origin points were used to advance it. No matter, let me see if I can upgrade it to level 3. Origin points remaining, 53.63443. Skill Mastery, Finger of Flowery Swords. Current Level, LV3. Current Effect, one can bend it and turn it as one pleases and move its energy as one wills. Your cultivation realm has advanced. Current realm, acquired realm, sixth layer. I went through a lot of trouble for this upgrade. It actually took me 400 origin points. But the results are impressive since I advanced to the sixth layer of the acquired realm. And the best of it all is that I was finally able to grasp the meaning of bending and turning it as one pleases and moving its energy as one wills. With the Finger of Flowery Swords at level 3, I can maintain control of the sword energy even after it's shot out. It's basically impossible for an ordinary person to defend or hide against it. Return With my Cultivation Realm advancing to the 6th layer, the Heavenly Guard's defense has also developed accordingly. Even if it were Qin Shinsi, she might not be able to break through it. TL Note, literally when the tide rises, the boat floats high. But unfortunately, I'm now short on origin points. Now that my whole body is coursing with boundless innate energy, I really want to find an opponent to have a friendly competition with, since I only have these flowers and trees on hand right now. Alas, this is probably that lonely feeling of being invincible. It's too hot to travel on foot today. I'd better find a fast horse when I get to the public road. According to the third elder, Wu Lingxian is establishing ties everywhere. She must have lost her patience. I have to pick up the pace. Is he Xiaoyan? Yes, that's him. He's the one I saw leaving Jiangling by boat. He's a handsome man indeed. Yet he's just a pretty boy at the third layer of the acquired realm, so why don't we just capture him alive and let you play with him, boss? No way. It's a taboo for we assassins to turn self-indulgent and underestimate our enemy. Let alone the practitioner at the third layer of the acquired realm, 
Even if the target were an ordinary person, we must wait for the right moment, when the target lets his guard down, to kill him with a single strike. You're completely right, boss. We were being too arrogant. He's indeed worthy of being called our Wind Emblem Senior. With such a strict bearing, it's no wonder that he, with another two assassins at the fifth layer of the acquired realm, succeeded in assassinating a martial artist at the ninth. When we assassins of the Shiwei Lu undertake a task, stalking our quarry patiently and cooperating appropriately is key. Without this kind of professionalism, none of U.S. would live for long. Besides, it doesn't matter if we catch him alive or not. As long as we dig in while he's still warm, it'll be fine. Late morning. It's so hot today, even within the seclusion of the countryside, I can't ward it off, TL note, literally mountains and fields. It's such a hot day, but you still came out to chop firewood? The ordinary people in this world are very hardworking indeed. Excuse me, young lord, H.M.? What's up? Is the city of Jianling in this direction? That's right, three or four more days along this road, and you'll reach Jianling. Young lord, your assistance in pointing me in the right direction has been most helpful. I'm but a man of the countryside and am unable to repay your kindness. Given that it's so torrid today, I'd like to offer you some refreshing spring water from the mountains. Thanks. Xie Yan. Prepare to die. The one who killed you is the Wind Emblem number 12 from the Xue Lu. He could react in such a short period of time and perform a body protecting skill? And the three of US couldn't break through it with an all out strike. The intel was wrong. His cultivation exceeds the third layer of the acquired realm. Don't be afraid, he's already drunk the poisonous water, and after it takes effect, even if he was at the ninth layer, he'd be hard-pressed to withstand our attacks. Finger of Nirvana. I've seen right through you long ago. Do you really think I'd dare to drink your water without taking precautions? Impossible. How did you figure it out? It's very simple. I have a mind-reading skill, so I knew what kind of twisted scheme you were pulling at a glance. Their hostility towards me was strong enough to provide me with origin points, I'd be a fool not to notice. Mind reading skill? Haha, <laughs> I guess you're one of those kinds of people who are naturally sensitive to killing intent. But it doesn't matter. The previous scheme was just the our clan style of exercising caution against our target. Since you saw through it, then that's that. Now I'll give you a taste of the hard way. Fist of God Instant Punch Fist of God Revolving Elbow Strike As expected, he's full of openings. Given this boy's vigorous innate energy, he seems to be at the sixth layer of the acquired realm, but other than the Heavenly Guard, he doesn't know any other martial arts. His attack moves are nothing but parlor tricks. TL Note, literally, Farmer Wushu. In a dogfight like this, no one's innate energy would be infinite. The moment this boy runs out of it is the moment he dies. In the world of Qian Ming, the Fist of God could sweep everything in its path, but now that I'm back in the main world, everyone couldn't care less. Even if I use it at 100% power, not even 20% comes out. The level of power between the two of them couldn't be further apart. This punk's martial arts are unremarkable indeed. I got used to the Fist of God, so I subconsciously fought you with it, and now you're thinking I'm some kind of pushover? Thunder 8, attack his lower parts. Thunder 17, attack his left. Haha, -ha, in my eyes, he's a dead man. Dead man? The only dead man here is him. He killed him with the force of his finger thrust through empty air? No. There's no way something like that could have such penetrating power. You released your innate energy. You pretended to be a fool, but you're actually an innate realm expert. TL Note, literally dressed up as a rig to eat the tiger. 
a metaphor for trickery, to deliberately pretend to be a fool to make one's opponent let his guard down and then seize the occasion to win. You were too full of yourselves just now. Ultimate Demonic Bliss, May Hell Be Your Afterlife Arg. Win 12. Win 12. It was your plan that went awry. Arg. Win 12. I'll haunt you for all eternity. Oh. Not bad you've even got human bombs. Though thanks to my sturdy body, I'm not afraid of explosions in the least. TL Note. Literally rough skin and thick meat. Don't run, old buddy. I underestimated this punk. I never expected him to be so powerful, but in a forest like this, no one can catch me, wind number 12, the iron palm skimming on water. TL Note, in one of Gene Yong's novels The Legend of the Condor Heroes, this is the nickname of the leader of iron palm sect, Chiu Chinren. Don't think you've won just yet. I, an assassin of the Shui Lu, will not rest until my quarry is slain. Next time. There won't be a next time. Talk, why did the Shui Lu want me dead? Humph. Just kill me. There are no ill feelings between us, and I gave you medical treatment just now. Can't you even tell me why you wanted to kill me? Don't even think that you're going to pry a single word out of my mouth. It seems I'm being too gentle. You must have already witnessed with your own eyes how these fingers have the ability to heal and to harm people. You wish to die, but I'm afraid I won't be giving you that pleasure. What are you going to do? Finger of Flowery Swords Finger of Nirvana Finger of Flowery Swords Finger of Nirvana Kill me one hour later, come on, come on, come on. Tell me what 1000 minus 7 is. TL note, according to some Chinese commenters, this line is said in the anime Tokyo Ghoul. That idea seems to be that if the who's being tortured answers 993, he admits defeat. I'll talk, I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. It turns out these guys are from the most mysterious killer organization in the Han Empire, the Shui Lu. The leader of the Shui Lu is a man shrouded in mystery, rarely does he show up, and he's known for pulling the strings from behind the scenes. The only thing outsiders know about him is that he's known as the Elder of Bliss. He's an expert at the ninth layer of the innate realm and is said to be only one step away from becoming an immortal at the heavenly realm. The assassins of the Shui Lu are divided into four classes, heaven, earth, wind, and thunder. Heaven emblems are experts at the innate realm, earth emblems are practitioners from the 7th to the ninth layer of the acquired realm, wind emblems at the 5th and thunder emblems at the 3rd. Heaven. Earth. Wind. Thunder. This man is a practitioner at the 5th, wind emblem number 12. Currently, the person in charge of the Jianling region accepted an assignment from the Blissful Temple to assassinate an elder from the M.O. Ching sect. Killing me was only a secondary task. It looks as if the Blissful Temple is getting ready to take action against the M.O. Ching sect. The M.O. Ching sect is still in a state of unrest and its people aren't united. Plus, I don't know if the Great Elder has anything to do with this. Even if the Matriarch has recovered, the current situation is very dangerous. The difference in strength between the two sides is so great that this won't even be a fight. Should I just run away? Or should I hurry back and inform the matriarch before I do? Let me ask you, what was the meaning of that catchphrase ultimate demonic bliss? May hell be your afterlife you shouted a moment ago. And just what kind of weird martial art was that inexplicable human bomb? That, that's the Shu Wei Lu's unique mantra skill, the ultimate demonic bliss technique. It's similar to the ultimate demonic disintegration technique, which can unleash one's full potential. TL Note, this is the name of a martial art used in various novels. The aim of this martial art is, instead opening up the acupuncture points and meridians so that one's true chi can flow through one's body unhindered and unleashing one's full potential, this martial art does the opposite.
By blocking one's acupuncture points and meridians, and locking one's true chi in them, the internal force in the whole body will accumulate in a single part. The more powerful the accumulation, the more powerful it will be. This can cause severe damage or even destroy the enemy in an instant. However, if the user hasn't reached a certain realm, he or she will suffer from the internal force backlash after using this move, ceasing or endangering one's life. The assassins of the Shiwei Lu come from all around the world and have almost no contact with each other in their daily lives. Moreover, because we live a life of cloak and dagger, the transition from old to new members happens very frequently, so we oftentimes barely know each other. But by practicing the ultimate demonic bliss technique, we assassins will be able to sense and judge each other's identity and rank thus preventing spies. Hold on a moment there. Are you saying that if you practice this technique, you can enter the Shiwei Lu as an assassin? Yes. That's exactly right. Then what's the deal with that human bombing thing? That's because, uh, that's because his practice wasn't enough to keep it under control, so he blew up. If it were me, at most it would only greatly undermine my vitality, but I wouldn't explode. Is that so? Yes, of course. How could I ever dare to lie to you when I'm like this? I want to learn this skill, teach me. Of course. Of course. I'll teach it to you. Nightfall. That's it? I just can't help but feel that there's something missing. That's all I know about the ultimate demonic bliss technique. Buddy, you don't seem to be telling me the whole truth. This skill isn't complete, right? Skill input successful skill designation, ultimate demonic bliss incomplete. Skill introduction, a fragment of a mysterious martial art which allows one to instantly bring out the full potential of one's body and release it to perish alongside one's enemy. Within a certain range, you can sense your fellow practitioners and order those who aren't as powerful as yourself to self-detonate. This fragment of this technique is its most basic chapter. Current level, not started. It isn't complete. The ultimate demonic bliss technique is divided into four classes, heaven, earth, wind, and thunder. The highest level is only known by our leader, and the one I taught you is the wind emblem class, which I've learned. Wind emblem class? Are you sure? Isn't it the thunder emblem class? How could you think such a thing? What I taught is indeed the wind emblem class technique. Apart from allowing everyone to sense each other, the ultimate demonic bliss technique is also a means for a superior to control his subordinates. Within a certain range, those who've practiced and have a better grasp of this martial art would be able to control others more lacking in it to blow themselves up. The higher one's level is, the more complete the martial art will be, and the higher one's control would be. You've imparted me with the Thunder Emblem class technique, and since you have practiced the Wind Emblem class, you wanted to wait for me to learn it so that you could control me, am I right? No, no. How could you possibly know that? Too bad you won't have the opportunity. You got me all wrong. This is all but a misunderstanding. You were given a chance, and you're still trying to play tricks on me? You can go to hell now. No, no. If it weren't for the system's skill introduction, I would have almost fallen for it. In theory, if I could upgrade the ultimate demonic bliss over the level cap, I could control the entirety of the Shiwei Lu and solve this trouble easily. But what I have now is only a fragment, and the system's upgrade function may not be able to make up for it. This a double-edged sword that must be practiced carefully. In the event I fail to upgrade it to the highest level of its full version, I'll be controlled by others. Therefore, the best solution is to go to another world to practice the ultimate demonic bliss technique. System Level, LV1 Name, CAN Realm, Acquired Realm, Sixth Layer Skill Mastery, Expand Origin Points, 53.63443 Number of times you've entered another realm, two cooldown has ended. If I can't do it, I'll just give up on the quest, then I won't be able to bring back the martial arts I practiced in that world. But if I can, I'm going to present an incredible fireworks display in honor of the beautiful matriarch. 
In the world of Kung Xiong, martial arts are ever-changing and powerhouses are abundant. One after another, the strong formed powerful factions to wage war against each other. They are the sole order in this chaotic world. Among them, some rely on effort, some on talent, and some on their family's resources. Whist others rely on fortuitous encounters. Xie Yin was originally a man of the countryside, and by a sheer stroke of luck, acquired a mysterious jade necklace from beyond the void. This jade necklace can deduce all kinds of martial arts from only a fragment of its constituents, and it can also fuse various martial arts of a similar nature. A divine possession in a world such as Kung Xiong where martial arts are innumerable. With this one instrument, Xie Yin rapidly became one of the few top experts in the world. With the support of countless exceptional martial artists, the Taiji sect was founded and developed into one of the top five sects in the world. TL Note, literally absolute or supreme ultimate. The source of all things according to some interpretations of Chinese mythology. Xiao Tian, as my closest comrade, I bestow upon you the title of deputy sect master. In the whole Taiji sect, you'll only be under one and above all others. He even married Hua Nong Yue, the most beautiful female martial artist. With his best buddy at his back and a beauty at his side, what more could he ever ask for in life? If, when the night ends, my love still desires it, I'll spend the rest of my life with you. This was how Xie Yan always felt until that day arrived. This tea is poisoned. Hua Nong Yue, how could you poison me? Xie Yan, you're wrong. It's not just her who poisoned you. I, Long Xiao Tian, did so too. You two were the ones who I trusted the most, so why? Why? Don't you remember what you said to Hua Nong Yue a few days ago after you had a drink and went to bed with her? Dear, I've never seen this jade necklace apart from you. Is it a token of love given to you by a woman before me? Don't be paranoid. I've never had another woman except you. This jade necklace is the treasure that helped me to practice my martial arts and made me who I am today. C-A-N, oh C-A-N. Don't you know the saying, for he who speaks it is trivial, but for the one who hears it is interesting? I can't believe you actually dare tell someone else something so important. T.L. Note, in other words, a careless remark may reveal much to an attentive listener. M. Now your treasure is mine. Furthermore, you got such a powerful divine object, but you got stuck at the top five? The Taiji sex standing should be much higher at the top of the martial art world. So today, I, Long Xiao Tian, will ask for you to step down immediately. TL Note, literally become the supreme of the one. Your disciples are mine, your wife is mine, your power and your wealth are all mine. I, Long Xiao Tian, will take away everything you ever had. After that night, Long Xiao Tian publicly announced that Xie Yan had suddenly passed away from a serious illness and that he would succeed him as master of the Taiji sect. As for Xie Yan, a sinister and virulent poison circulated through his body, his martial arts were completely lost, and all around him was taken away. Long Xiao Tian didn't kill Xie Yan, locked him in a dungeon, and tortured him by any means. Long Xiao Tian wanted to beat out from Xie Yin the martial art supreme impact of Zen, which he had practiced by relying on the jade necklace to fuse together the greatest defense martial arts in the world. Even if you imprison me for the rest of my life, you'll never get the chant out of my mouth. Your supreme impact of Zen is truly extraordinary as it combines several defense martial arts into one. Still, Xie Yin, do you really think I put you in a dungeon for five years just for that? With the jade necklace in my hands, I've learned a wide range of defense techniques and developed a martial art vastly superior to it, the boundless gold body. Even though it doesn't have the reflection capability of the supreme impact of Zen, it can absorb the enemy's innate energy to strengthen its own defense. The longer the battle, the stronger it becomes, thus there being no way for me to run out of innate energy. Even Hong Tong Tian died at my hands half a month ago. I don't need your supreme impact of Zen anymore. That can't be. What? You don't believe me? Oh, right. After all, Hong Tong Tian was the leader of the five peaks of heaven and earth and was known as the number one expert in the world. 
Even if you challenged him in your heyday, you'd lose in less than a hundred moves. As a matter of fact, I have to thank you and your loyal followers for it. Come out sword. This is Demonic Cultivation Sword. This sword is a priceless overseas treasure specialized in breaking through the most vigorous of body protection essences and it only required the blood of a mere few tens of thousands of people. This was yours, but you were too kind-hearted and didn't allow it to drink blood, but I'm not as spineless. I've purged all of the disciples in the sect who were devoted to you, and now the entire Taiji sect is filled with my trusted aides. Long Xiaotian, how could you? How could I not? Not only did I dare to kill your comrades, but I also dared to kill you. Ah, and what can you do about it? My sworn brother. Brother Long, ease off a bit. Don't get any blood on you. I hate the smell of blood. Huanong Yue, how dare you show up in front of me? You venomous bitch. I've treated you so well. Why did you betray me? He really is a naive commoner. He's completely clueless. Why don't you think about it for a sec? Who was it that introduced you to her in the first place? Nong Yue, this is the exceptional and brave man who I often spoke to you about, Brother Xie Yan. Brother, this is a friend of mine, known as the most beautiful female martial artist, Hua Nong Yue. You, you came to my sect to assist me, and I took you in as my sworn brother, whilst you professed to wholeheartedly admire me and to have fallen in love with me. So that's how it was. That's how it always has been. You bunch of adulterers and whores. I'll kill you all. Nong Yue, look at him. Doesn't he look like a dog? Brother Long, you're so bad. For what it's worth, he's still my husband. How could you say that about him? Haha, -ha, so why don't we cuckold him a bit more? TL Note, literally, make the green hat on his head a little bigger. You always get in the mood when you're around him. You're indeed Xie Yan's best friend. What a loser. He actually fainted. If the rattling snake doesn't die, you might get eaten by it. Brother Long, when are you going to send Xie Yin on his way? In a month from now, the martial arts world will choose the new alliance leader in the Five Peaks Sword Competition, and with my amazing power now complete, I'll set about unifying the martial arts world. Once I've defeated the five peaks of heaven and earth in the sword competition and won the title of alliance leader, I'll send my good old brother on his way. Oh, you. You just wanted to show off in front of Xie Yan. Ha ha ha, you know, I was forced to remain subservient for so long, I was bound to feel depressed. The random world finder has found the world of Kun Xion. To travel to this world, 50 origin points will be spent. 50 origin points have been used, realm travel function activated. World of Kun Xion, sect master of the Taiji sect, CAN, soul replacement succeeded. Why am I in chains and all beat up this time? What the hell is going on? Beginning memory import, memory import completed. Not only was his cheat robbed, but all his hard work was taken away, and even his wife was snatched right in front of him, TL note, literally making wedding dresses for someone else originally, this term was a reference to girls from poor backgrounds who, even though didn't have enough money to buy wedding dresses, had to weave them for others, year after year. Later, it became a general saying for someone whose achievements are only for others and not for oneself. That's just too tragic. Master Xie, it's time for your daily workout again. Does it feel good? Are you enjoying it? I want to hear you scream. Cry. Howl. Why do you think I'd want to do such a tedious job as being a warden? I just love seeing you high and mighty pricks wailing in pain under my whip. Ha ha ha. Damn, I almost forgot that there's a psychopath here. The former warden wasn't like this. This pervert was brought in by Long Xiaotian. Enjoying ourselves, are we? Why don't you give me another shot? Finger of Nirvana. 
It seems that our master Shia's stubbornness is back. I didn't use my internal power before, but since you want to be whipped so badly, I'll let you have it this time. Have a taste of my snake bite whip. Supreme Impact of Zen. Ouch, you went really hard with that whip of yours just now. If it were the original owner, you might have killed him with it. It's too bad that you came across this unreasonable supreme impact of Zen. That amount of power you hit me with is the amount that got returned to you. Plus, I still have the national soul title on me, so the power of my defense skills are doubled. If you hadn't died, then who would? The original owner's martial arts are quite incredible. The supreme impact of Zen's magic doesn't lose out against the heavenly guards. Now, let me have a look. System panel come out. Current realm, acquired realm third layer. Origin points remaining, 3.65443. Skill mastery, supreme impact of Zen. Current level, LV6 level cap exceed. Current effect, by abiding to the principles of yin and yang, follow the flow and alter its path. Use another strength as your own and return it back to the one who granted it. After exceeding the level cap, you can return the strength of an attack back to your opponent. Depending on its power, at most you can return it in full or at the minimum 30%. Skill Mastery, Finger of Nirvana. Current Level LV3. Current Effect, Can Cure All Injuries and Diseases in Low-Level Worlds. Completely Restores People to Their Peak State. Its Effectiveness Weakens in Middle and Higher Level Worlds. Skill Mastery, Finger of Flowery Swords Current Level, LV3. The subject is in a state of soul crossing. The use of skills from the main body on this body is forbidden. This body already meets the requirements for the third layer of the acquired realm. Moreover, he also exceeded the level cap for the supreme impact of Zen. He's indeed worthy of being called one of the former overlords of this world. Since both the supreme impact of Zen and the heavenly guard are at level 6 and above the level cap, they should be roughly of equal level. Though one is better at reflection and the other at defense, it's hard to tell them apart. No wonder it took me 50 origin points to cross over. The level of power in this world isn't bad. Oh, I almost forgot. I didn't come here for this. No one comes to this hellhole except for the wardens, so while no one is bothering me, I should practice the ultimate demonic bliss technique. Six hours later. What a strange martial art. The result of the combination of meditation and the circulation of energy wasn't innate energy, but rather some kind of mysterious power, and it feels like all the cells in my body have been tempered. Not only that, this tempering is irreversible. Skill Mastery, Ultimate Demonic Bliss Current Level, LV0 Incomplete Current Effect, with the initial casting of the Ultimate Demonic Body, one's potential will slightly improve, can be sensed by others with the same skill, and can be detonated by those whose practice is more proficient. I can't believe this. Even with the system, I can't practice it any higher? I can only practice it up to level zero? And there's no way for me to get rid of it. It's a good thing I decided to try it out in this world. As long as I give up on the quest and return back to the main world with nothing, then the ultimate demonic bliss will still be untrained. If I had practiced this back in the main world, I'd just be handing someone else a dagger to take me with. However, I still have a shot to salvage the situation, so there's no need to give up on the quest and return right away. After all, this world has the original owner's cheat, that jade necklace. The jade necklace can deduce martial arts, and although I don't know if it'll be useful for the martial arts in the main world, betting on it is my last hope. TL note, literally to give medicine to a dead horse. Figuratively to keep trying everything in a desperate situation. I have the impression that it'd take around 10 days to half a month for the jade necklace to deduce a martial art. I don't know what the quest is yet, but if I don't have enough time to bring anything back to the main world, then it'll be quite the bust. Speaking of quests, why hasn't the system issued one yet? Is it possible that there really is such a thing as free exploration? World scan complete. System fragments were found. 
Please go to Collect them as soon as possible to upgrade X the system and activate the next function. Issuing quest. Within one month, take revenge for the original owner. Kill the cheating couple Long Xiaotian and Hua Nong Yue. Retrieve the Jade Necklace and acquire a new system function. After the quest is completed, you can return with all the power you've gained in this world. Otherwise, you'll get nothing. Acquire a new system function. Ah, so the Jade Necklace is a system fragment. I wonder what kind of function will be added to the system after the merging of this fragment. Will it also be an ability to the fuse and deduce martial arts too? Very well. It looks like I'll have to finish the quest this time. Let me get out of here first. Now that I've recovered my strength and have the national soul title, my current fighting power is even stronger than that of the original owner at his peak. Long Xiaotian may not be more powerful than me right now, but he still has that demonic cultivation sword on him. That sword is a body protection essence's natural enemy. I don't think I can stop it even with the aid of the national soul title. The shortcoming of the supreme impact of Zen is that once it is broken, it can no longer return damage. Otherwise, with the support of the finger of Nirvana, I'd probably just need to reflect up to 17 to 18 sword strikes before I could send that bastard to hell. It's not yet time for me to finish the quest, but I can make some trouble for Long Xiaotian. The dungeon of the Taiji sect has a total of 18 floors, was established by the original owner, and holds an untold number of major demonic practitioners. The original owner had hoped that these demonic practitioners would forsake evil and return to the path of virtue, so that if one day they were released from prison, they'd benefit the world. However, never did he expect that he would be locked up here one day, on the 18th floor at the very bottom. I remember that there's one such practitioner named Wang Ding on the 17th floor of the dungeon, whose strength at his peak was similar to that of the original owner. His practice of the exceptional demonic body was in no way inferior to the supreme impact of Zen. When the original owner joined forces with Long Xiaotian, it took an entire day for them to defeat him and lock him up on the 17th floor of this dungeon. Now, I'll send Long Xiaotian a nice gift with the help of Wang Ding. Senior Wang Ding, long time no see. It's you, Xie Yan? Are you here to humiliate me? I'm here to rescue you. Huh? My injuries, my martial arts. Have been recovered by 80 to 90 percent. Five years ago, you and Long Xiaotian teamed up to put me in this dungeon, but now you're letting me go? And why are you dressed like that? Senior Wang Ding, you've been imprisoned in this dark abyss for so long that you don't know that the outside world has gone through tremendous changes. Shortly after you were imprisoned, I didn't find out soon enough about Long Xiaotian and Hua Nong Yue's plot against me, lost all my martial arts, and was subjected to all kinds of humiliation much like yourself. It wasn't until today that I got myself out of this predicament. How the hell could this have happened? I'm here to make amends to you. Please senior join me in releasing the people in the dungeon to wreak havoc in the Taiji sect and behead Long Xiaotian. All the people you have locked up in your dungeon are people who'd murder in cold blood, but you'd rather the Taiji sect which you painstakingly established be wiped out and all its disciples lying dead? In the last five years, Long Xiaotian has eradicated any dissidents and appointed people based on favoritism. The remaining disciples are all unscrupulous. The current Taiji sect is no different from a demonic sect, so what is there to part with? Fine. Even though you put me in this dungeon, for better or worse, you treated me with respect and today you even rescued me. Let's let bygones be bygones and join hands to deal with Long Xiaotian for now. Ha, Xie Yin is as kind-hearted as ever, in other words, he's nothing but a fool. After I've used him to destroy the Taiji sect, I'll butcher him to get even. I admire Senior for his clear understanding of righteousness and for his willingness to disregard past grudges. I'll let this old wretch go up first and get a gauge of Long Xiao Yin's abilities. Before Wang Ding and myself, who had recovered their abilities, the heavily guarded 18-story dungeon easily fell without so much as a peep. I used the finger of Nirvana to restore all the prisoners' abilities. It took me quite a bit of time and effort, 
but it's sure to cause no small amount of trouble for Long Xiaotian. I told them to scatter and flee as soon as possible, asking them to spread the name of Xie Yan. By saying, Xie Yan, the former master of the Taiji sect, has escaped from his predicament and has vowed to bring justice to Long Xiaotian, the heartless and unrighteous mangy dog who betrayed his own sworn brother and toppled his master. Though some other people, led by Wang Ding, decided to kill their way through the Taiji sect to seek revenge on Long Xiaotian. Where did you go, Long Xiaotian? Your daddy is out of the slammer. Come out and face your death. Damn it, if the sect master hadn't gone out, how would he get so full of himself? The sect master is back. The sect master is finally back. Wang Ding. How did you get out of the dungeon? You must have a death wish. You actually had the audacity to show up in front of me? Die. TL Note. Literally, you don't take the road to heaven, but push yourself into hell where there's no way out. Ha ha ha, you're right on time. Eat this. Demonic Blaze Palm. Bound Less Gold Body. What kind of martial arts is this? Wang Ding, many things have happened during your time in prison. I'm not the same person I once was. Now. Die. Exceptional demonic body. Impossible. How could you break through my exceptional demonic body so easily? Xie Yan, Long Xiao Yan's sword is bizarre. Let's fight him together. Xie Yan? Wasn't he the most kind-hearted of the righteous? He actually fooled me so he could escape? Xie Yan, you set me up, Xie Yan? Didn't all these guys get crippled when they were imprisoned? How could they have all regained their abilities and be brimming with power? Could it be, this is Xie Yan's doing? Does that guy have other treasures besides the jade necklace? TL Note, literally as lively as a dragon and as active as a tiger. Men, give out my order. Hunt Xie Yan down and kill him. Make sure to spread the word to every nook and cranny across the world. Fortunately, I sent that bird brain Wang Ding to test the waters. I can't beat Long Xiaotian with his demonic cultivation sword right now. However, since you're no match for him, don't do anything reckless once you pick up his trace. I'll take care of him once I'm done at the Five Peaks Sword Summit. If I remember correctly, the Five Peaks Sword Summit is the biggest martial arts event in this world. It appears Long Xiaotian wants to win the summit so that he can awe the whole martial art world with his power. Being robbed of his cheat and cuckolded is really not something a man can tolerate. The day I've leveled up will be the very same day I'll take revenge on you for the original owner at the Five Peaks Sword Summit. By the time I finish the quest, you'll have given me a whole score of origin points. A few days later. TL Note on the door sign. Baila Pavilion. Young Lord Xie, you wrote a poem for Lu Yao last time. If you don't write one for me today, I won't forgive you. Young Lord Xie, I never thought you'd actually know this much about melody. I'm very good at playing Xiao. Would you like to try, uh, listening to it? TL Note, an ancient Chinese musical instrument similar to panpipes. Though figuratively playing the Xiao means to give a blow job. Young Lord Xie, aren't you lonely sleeping alone every night? We're performers and don't sell our bodies, but if it were you, we'd. Origin points obtained envy, 0.01 points Zhao Gao. Origin points obtained jealousy, 0.01 points Lu Jin. Origin points obtained jealousy, 0.01 points Wei Zhongxian. Ladies, don't push. I can't handle so many of you at once. Origin points obtained adoration, 0.01 points Lu Yao. Origin points obtained adoration, 0.01 points Hong Chang. Origin points obtained adoration, 0.01 points Huang Wei. Damn it, why are all the girls on his side so beautiful and that one's an ours like this? What the hell is his true identity for him to win the hearts of so many beauties? Young Lord Xie Miao is a genius. He can write poems and music. Yes, yes, yes. 
he can also choreograph, do makeup, has increased business in the Baihua Pavilion several fold in just a few days, and is now the dream sweetheart for all the girls in the city. Shit, is he even human? Nymphomaniacs. Let's not talk about that, let's talk about something else. You girls can go too. You're not needed. They say the former sect master of the Taiji sect, Xie Yan, has escaped from his predicament and released all the demonic practitioners locked up in the 18-story dungeon to wreak havoc in the sect. Ultimately, Xie Yan was nowhere to be found and the rest of the practitioners were put down in full. Humph, ever since Long Xiaotian has gotten the reins of the Taiji sect, under his high-handed rule, the righteous people within the sect were either murdered or driven away. The rest of them are nothing but a bunch of thugs, just let them bite each other. Sigh, it's a pity that he failed in the end. Long Xiaotian is so powerful that he defeated Master Hong Tong Tian, the leader of the five peaks of heaven and earth. Who else in the world can get rid of him? Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 points Zhao Gao. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 points Lu Jing. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 points Wei Zhongxian. Hey, didn't those three guys just look at me like they were pissed off? Why did they suddenly have a change of heart? The other four masters of the five peaks of heaven and earth have sent out word that they're waiting for Long Xiaotian to come to the five peaks sword summit in a few days. If he dares to show up, the four masters will join hands to slaughter their colleague regardless of their status. Another few days later. Recently, while I've been frequenting brothels to practice the finger of flowery swords, I've also been sweeping the surrounding bandit gangs to harvest a generous amount of origin points. TL note, literally cuddle to the red and lean towards the green. The Taiji sex reckless search for my trail is tantamount to doing advertisement for me, and it allows me to get a steady stream of origin points. Though origin points are meant to be used, it's really such a waste to use them again to practice a martial art in this world when I've already practiced it in the main world. System Level, LV1 Name, CAN Realm, Acquired Realm 3rd Layer Skill Mastery, Expand Origin Points, 16.95270 Skill Mastery, Heavenly Guard Current level, LV6 level cap exceed. Current effect, Heavenly Guard converts the innate energy that permeates the inner body into an invisible essence which acts to ward off physical attacks. Until the innate energy runs out, it can withstand any physical damage. After exceeding the level cap, there is no need for conscious action. The essence protecting the body has the ability to automatically defend it. Skill Mastery, Finger of Flowery Swords Current level, LV2. Current effect, one can send out a sword tip to instantly hit a target. It was relatively simple to reach the introductory level of the Heavenly Guard, and when I had enough origin points, I upgraded it above the level cap. In fact, its stronger defense wasn't the only thing it is better at, its automatic defense is an ability which the supreme impact of Zen doesn't possess. But at the same time, practicing the heavenly guard and supreme impact of Zen didn't improve the nature of my strength in the slightest, because, although these two martial arts aren't incompatible with each other, they can't be used at the same time. If I want to add the ability to reflect an opponent's attacks to my invincibility, it will be impossible to accomplish it without fusing them with the jade necklace. In the end, I'll have to rely on the finger of flowery swords to conquer this world. The most advanced skills in this world are all around the level of the supreme impact of Zen. No matter how strong Long Xiaotian's boundless gold body is, his cultivation would only reach about the fourth layer of the acquired realm back in the main world. The finger of flowery swords is an innate skill of the main world and is by far superior to all of the martial arts in this one. And even though I'm still at the third layer of the acquired realm, I've already transformed my innate energy into the flowery kind. I'm convinced that even the finger of flowery swords at level 2 will be unmatched in this world. The Five Peaks Sword Summit is an event that takes place once every 10 years where the world's top experts gather together. Although it is known as a summit, it is actually a martial arts competition. 
Ultimately, the five strongest will be chosen as the five peaks of heaven and earth, and the strongest among them will be known as the emperor of the martial art world, the greatest expert in the whole world. The reason why it is called the Five Peaks Sword Summit is because the summit is held on a peculiarly shaped mountain top. There was a time when this mountain was struck by lightning and its top was carved into an odd shape with an uncanny resemblance to five fingers, which just so happened to correspond to the five peaks of heaven and earth. After the summit, the chosen five top experts will stand on these five fingers and become the five wonders to be admired by all. Ah, uh, all these four masters were among the five peaks of heaven and earth picked in the last event, but even together they're no match for him? The five peaks of heaven and earth were single-handedly killed by Long Xiaotian, who else in the world can defeat him? From now on, who else will be able to go against the Taiji sect and Long Xiaotian? Henceforth, the martial art world will regard me as its master. Does anyone object? I object. Who's that? Sect Master of the Taiji Sect. Cian. Five Peaks. Cian, I'd ask you to watch your mouth. You're not the master of the Taiji Sect anymore. The Taiji Sect now belongs to Master Long. Long Xiaotian, I established the Taiji Sect. When did it become yours? Since ancient times, the winner takes all. And since I've won, your treasures, your wife, and your sect naturally all belong to me. Well said. Then if I kill you, won't the Taiji sect be mine again? Kill me? Then you why don't you ask that to my demonic cultivation sword? In that case. As you wish. What kind of martial art is that? You can actually gather your energy to form a sword? It's the martial art that's going to be your death. You're full of yourself. That's nothing more than a fancy trick and you want to use it to fight against my sword? TL note, literally diabolic tricks and wicked craft. Enough. Since you're seeking your own grave, I'm going to send you there. This, this is really... Intense. I've never seen a fight like this before. The power of both of these men is beyond the level of the five wonders. And it's all thanks to the five peaks being made of special materials that the most magnificent swordsmen since ancient times could only leave behind a few scratches on them and that they could last for thousands of years without collapsing. If it were any other structure, it would have already been cut to shreds by these two men's formidable sword energy. Whoa, they're coming this way. Run for your lives. This is not the supreme impact of Zen. When did you learn this martial art? But it won't do you any good. Though I haven't the slightest idea what martial art it was you practiced, it appears to be better at defense than the supreme impact of Zen. However, my demonic cultivation sword can ignore your body protection essence, but you can't break through my boundless gold body. Cian, your defeat is all but guaranteed. Oh, is it? Why don't you take a hard look at your sword before you speak? This, this is impossible. My finger of flowery swords can cleave through iron as if it were butter, so the demonic cultivation sword is indeed worthy of being called a priceless overseas treasure for it to have held up this long. That is, until now. Shatter. I can't break through your boundless gold body. I was just giving my most sincere regards to your blood-sucking demonic sword. Boundless soul body. And your gold body? Let me break it for you now to show how useless it truly is. It's no use. I'll just absorb your innate energy, making me even. Stronger. And here I'm always telling you people not to mouth off. You'll only get slapped in the face like this. No, this can't be. How could there be such a martial art in the world that could? Not only smash my demonic cultivation sword, but also go through my boundless gold body? He's actually running. Huh? 
Long Xiaotian, your lazy ass rolling is pretty good. It, it went three cun into the stone. The five peaks are supposed to be made out of special materials. The most extraordinary swordsman of old could only leave shallow marks on them. I can't believe he actually cut the whole way in. Long Xiaotian, weren't you so proud of yourself before? What are you running for? I'm not dreaming, right? There's actually someone who can cleave through the five peaks. What are you waiting for? The five peaks are going down. Run. He sure runs fast. But you're not going anywhere. Sword finger tip. I'd like to see you running away again. Xia Yin, you can't kill me. Everyone in the Taiji sect now are my subordinates. Once you kill me, it will fall apart in the turn of a hand. You don't want to see the Taiji sect gone with the wind, do you? As expected, in his heart, he still can't let go of the Taiji sect. Isn't it your greatest wish in life to make the Taiji sect the number one sect in the world? You are naturally indecisive and not ruthless enough. Even if your opponent is the most malevolent devil imaginable, you are reluctant to kill them and instead lock them up in a dungeon hoping they'll turn over a new leaf. So many people in the martial arts world have praised you for your chivalrousness and righteousness, but such a character can't lead the Taiji sect to become the number one in the world. You make a good point. But after I took over, the Taiji sect became decisive and merciless. One might ask, who in the martial arts world hadn't heard of its prowess? Who didn't fear the Taiji sect for its ferociousness? Now that I've cut down the five peaks of heaven and earth, the Taiji sect's majesty will be felt throughout the whole land and it can already be called the number one sect in the world. Isn't this what you've always wanted? Why? You do have a point, but what does that have to do with me killing you? Since time immemorial, the finest of jades are much like beauties and should stay by the exalted gorgeous prince's side. You're too ugly to be the bearer of this jade necklace. System fragment found. Do you wish to merge it? Merge. The system fragment has been merged. System upgrade is complete. The current system level is level 2. The development function has been unlocked. System level has been upgraded. Current system level, LV2. Unlocked function, development spend origin points to fuse your current skills or to deduce an incomplete one which you've already mastered. Current skills, expand. So the unlocked system function after merging the jade necklace was the ability to deduce incomplete skills after all. But not only that the ability to fuse skills is included too. The ultimate demonic bliss technique can be fixed. Hmm, as expected, since both the Heavenly Guard and the Supreme Impact of Zen are defensive skills, they can be fused with each other, but the Finger of Flowery Swords and the Finger of Nirvana aren't compatible with any of the other skills. However, I don't have enough origin points to fuse them right now and what's most important is to deduce the whole Ultimate Demonic Bliss Technique. Develop Skill, Ultimate Demonic Bliss Technique. 1000 origin points are required. Please confirm if you wish to deduce. Holy shit. 1,000 points? But, as long as I don't kill Hua Nong Yue, the quest won't be completed. I only have 10 days left at best, and judging by my current gathering speed of origin points, it will be awfully difficult to collect that many of them within the time limit. It looks like I have to run the original owner's sect properly. After killing Long Xiaotian, the Taiji sick didn't fall apart as Long Xiaotian thought, and his inner circle, like the opportunists they are, flocked towards me. TL note, literally like the grass which sways with every wind. Welcome back, sick master Xia Yan. But I didn't reinstate them, and had them all killed. Just as Long Xiaotian had said, the Taiji sect was filled with his cronies, every last one harboring evil intentions, so there was nothing to be gained by leaving them be. I'm now the head of the five peaks of heaven and earth, Xia Yin, the sword saint. Rebuilding the Taiji sect wouldn't be easy, but with a single summon, countless towering figures from all over the world came to join my sect. At your service, sword saint. 
In just a few days, I rebuilt the Taiji sect and constantly sent my disciples out to purge evil, uphold justice, and spread the name of the Taiji sect and my own as its master. On the order of Xie Yan, master of the Taiji sect, I'm here to eradicate you and bring peace back to the land. In addition to the earth-shattering battle I had at the Five Peaks Sword Summit, some have even started to name me the best sword saint in history. My fame within the martial arts world is so resounding that I'm harvesting a considerable amount of origin points every day. TL Note, literally like the sun at noon. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.00001 points yen shirsi origin points obtained reverence, 0.00001 points xie xiaofeng origin points obtained reverence, 0.00001 points feng qingyang. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.00001 points dugu qiujian. In order to not return to the main world immediately, I can't kill hua nong yue. But it's such a waste only having her locked up, as a matter of fact, even a piece of trash like her is sure to have its uses. The most unbearable thing for a man is to be cuckolded, but why didn't he kill me? And instead put me under house arrest? Don't tell me, he still loves me, so he doesn't want to kill me? He he he, that must be it. We've been husband and wife for so many years, no one knows Xie Yen better than me. He's always been just a naive country boy who had never been with any other women. As soon as he first saw me he thought I was a goddess, lost his mind, and went head over heels in love with me. This is my chance, honest men are the easiest to con, and when I do perhaps he will not only let me go, but also take me back. Being the wife of the sword saint is not a bad proposition. Nong Yue Xie Yin is coming. Nong Yue, I've come to see you. Nong Yue, you've always been so kind, so beautiful, so I never believed you'd join forces with Long Xiaotian to harm me. Did he have something on you, to force you to cooperate with him? Ha ha ha, so he's still got feelings for me. Where's the bravest sword saint in history now? He's nothing but a little pup groveling before my charm. Xie Yin, stop deluding yourself. Long Xiaotian didn't have anything on me. He just made me want to follow in his lofty ambitions, following him made me want to indulge in rapture. Unlike a bumpkin like you, who has neither character nor passion. To deal with a bootlicker like this, one needs to be overbearing. This will inspire their sense of inferiority and make them obey your every beck and call. Are you satisfied now? Why don't you just kill me so that I can go meet Long? Nong Yue, how could you say such a thing? You know how much I love you, I'd never even harm a single strand of your hair. How could I ever kill you? You put me under house arrest, don't let me out and you call this love? I'm sorry, Nong Yue. I was cleaning up Long Xiaoyan's former followers, I was afraid you'd get hurt if you go out. If you're feeling bored, I'll tell them today to stop holding you here. You know very well that my martial arts are meager, but you want to let me out so those people outside can grab me and rape me? Xie Yin, do you enjoy that much when others encroach upon your wife? Right, right, right. Nong Yue, it's my fault for not thinking about it. Nong Yue, although we can't be a married couple anymore, I'm not going to stand by watching you getting taken advantage of. If you practice this martial art well, it won't take long for you to greatly increase your power and become a top-class expert in the martial arts world. Finger of the ultimate demonic blissful sword? Why haven't I ever heard of it before? Could it be that this is the secret skill that not only allowed Xie Yan to regain his power but also master the gathering of energy to form a sword? At first, I was hoping Xie Yan would take me as his wife again, but I didn't expect that he wouldn't even catch the hint. Well, I suppose that with this amazing power, I can set up my own sect and won't have to live with this idiot anymore. You're still thinking of us as a couple. I told the guards to scram. Nong Yue, you can go out whenever you want. But you'd better not go out of the sect. It's a mess out there. I'm worried you'll meet some mishap. Xie Yin, I didn't imagine you'd be so affectionate towards me. I was wrong about you. You're a good man. Ha ha ha, and what good men like me particularly love is to watch some fireworks. Nong Yue, oh, Nong Yue, 
Enjoy the show. One night later. Phew. What an amazing martial art. After only half a day of practicing it, I feel as if I casted away my old self and was reborn anew. The results were instantaneous. TL note, literally set up a pole and see its shadow. It's just that, until now, I've only seen the cultivation method, but not Sia Yan's mysterious sword finger. It appears that he's still hiding something from me. But it doesn't matter, the instantaneous results of this martial art are enough for me to convince those experts who are second only to the five wonders. There's no martial artist in the world who doesn't want to get his hands on Sia Yan's sword techniques that exceeds all others, and there's no man who wouldn't want to indulge in a night of pleasant debauchery with me. Xie Yin, even if you're the greatest martial artist in the world, I don't believe you can withstand the siege of tens to hundreds of first-class experts. Measureless Sword Sect Please inform the sect master of the Measureless Sword Sect that Hua Nong Yue is seeking an audience with him. Zhang Lingfan, sect master of the 24 Crests Hua Nong Yue, you're really a remarkable beauty. As long as the sect master puts Xie Yin to death on my behalf, my body will be yours, and the sect master will be able to enjoy it however, whenever, and for as long as he wants. Universal Helm HM? It actually only took me 12 hours to improve my power and move around my innate energy more in line with my wishes. Just what kind of magical skill is this? This skill is exactly one of the reasons why Xie Yin was able to rise to prominence. Qi Tian, the heavenly sword, the best swordsman just below the five peaks of heaven and earth. Qi Tian, all you've ever wanted in life is to be at the very top of swordsmanship. Don't you want to witness Xie Yan's awe-inspiring swordsmanship which transcends that of the swordsmen of old? There's roughly two days left before the quest time limit is reached, and I've finally deduced the whole ultimate demonic bliss technique and upgraded it to the maximum. Ultimate demonic bliss technique. Current level, LV6 level cap exceed. Current effect, with the practice of such a transcendental ultimate demonic body, your body has been brought to perfection, your potential has greatly improved, you can sense others with the same skill within a certain range and order them to detonate. Arg, the ultimate demonic bliss technique cost me an insane amount of points to reduce, but not that many to upgrade. I spent a total of 140 points to bring it to the same level as the Heavenly Guard. However, it's indeed a worthless skill. Except for the ability to order fellow practitioners to blow themselves up, it actually didn't increase my combat power very much, nor did it advance my cultivation level. TL Note, Literally Chicken Ribs I've been sending people to keep a close eye on Hua Nong Yue, and judging by the time, she must be arriving soon with a herd of livestock primed for slaughter. Sect Master, bad news. The Measureless Sword Sect, the 24 Crests, the Universal Helm, the Mountain Patron Sect, and another 18 top class sects as well as Qi Tian, Xie Xiaoyu, Xiao Wan Hai, and another 36 first class experts have banded together to come and kill us. They're less than three miles away from our sect. Why are your panties in such a twist? Whatever will be next? They're nothing but a bunch of weaklings. I can exterminate them with a single snap of my fingers. TL note, literally clay chickens and pottery dogs. One mile below the Taiji sect hill. Xie Yin, I heard you're known as the greatest swordsman of all time. Today I'm going to see whether you're worthy of such a title. Xie Yin, you actually had the guts to come out of your sect and face us head on. Hand over the mysterious sword technique for gathering innate energy into a sword and we'll spare your life. The five peaks were carved by heaven's thunder. Created by God's will. Xie Yin, by destroying the five peaks, not even a thousand deaths will be enough to atone for your sin. Xie Yin, did you actually think if you let me go I'd change my mind about you? You're so naive. You're just a simp. How could you ever be worthy of me? The more you love me, the more infatuated you get with me, the more disgusted I feel. Letting me go was the biggest mistake of your life. Now that there are so many people here, even if you're the greatest expert of all time, there's no way you won't die. Juan Anue, the naive one, is you. Do you actually believe I let you go because I'm crazy about you? 
I let you go so I could get some more freebies before I left. I never thought you'd actually achieve this much. You really gave me quite the exceptional and wonderful surprise. What? What the hell are you talking about? This. What's happening to me? No. No. Ultimate demonic bliss. May hell be your afterlife. What the hell is going on? Why can't I control myself? Sia Yin, what the flick did you do? Blow, you ants. Boom. It's indeed worthy of being called the ultimate demonic bliss technique. Hundreds of people all exploded at the same time. What a spectacular sight. The user has completed the quest. The reward is 300 origin points. In 10 seconds, the user will be returned to the main world. Please make preparations. I'm back. This trip has finally eliminated the latent danger behind the ultimate demonic bliss technique and allowed me to set off the Shiwei Lu as a bunch of fireworks at any time. Not only that, with the system having its development function activated, I can fuse the Heavenly Guard and the Supreme Impact of Zen. Development enabled. The fusing of the Heavenly Guard and the Supreme Impact of Zen will use up 100 origin points. Confirm. Skill Mastery, Heavenly Guard. Skill Mastery, Supreme Impact of Zen. Current Realm, Acquired Realm, 6th Layer Origin Points Remaining, 349.49846. Skill Mastery, Divine Impact of Zen. Current Level, LV6 Level Cap Exceed. Current Effect, A Defensive Skill Born Out of the Combination Between the Heavenly Guard and the Supreme Impact of Zen, which will activate automatically and reflect the strength of an attack back to one's opponent. Depending on its power, at most you can return it in full or at the minimum 30%. I've finally done it. Now that I've got an armor that reflects damage automatically, my strength has no limit. Sigh, the most annoying thing every time I level up is that I can't find an opponent to try it on. I still have to try it out indirectly like this. It just shot right through. Now, it's time to witness a miracle. Finger of flowery swords. Bend as I please. Return. Reflect. Well, it looks like the reflection returned about 50% power. This guy is a huge letdown. If I come across an opponent at the ninth layer of the acquired realm or even at the innate realm, how would it reflect anything but the minimum 30%? That's all there is to it. As long as I have the national soul title, at least I have something for defense. And in concert with the ultimate demonic bliss technique over the level cap. I wouldn't have imagined there's actually be such a cold pool concealed up on the Zong Yue Mountains in the Jiangling region. It's so well hidden that if it weren't for the blissful temple providing intel, I'm afraid we wouldn't have found it. Are all hands accounted for? Reporting, Commander. Wind 12, Thunder 8 and 17 haven't rejoined the unit. Judging by the time, he's long exceeded the deadline. Even if Wind 12 were to overindulge on his enjoyment, he wouldn't be overdue this long. Is it possible that Wind 12 got smitten by the boy and eloped with him to stay by his side? I told him the Shiwei Lu was an little joke, but the old fool wouldn't believe me, Sai. Just catching sight of guys as clueless as you makes me mad. Who's there? But enough with that, I'll just push myself a little bit more today to teach you losers a lesson in his stead. Where did you come from, punk? How dare you spout that bunch of nonsense here? Hey, isn't that guy the one they were offering a reward for? Humph, I presume Wind 12 got fascinated by his looks and was done in instead. No, Wind may 12th be elect, but he'd never take his enemies lightly. Since he survived from Wind 12's hands, it appears he has some measure of strength. No matter what he did, before my ten swords of prime annihilation, even an expert at the ninth layer of the acquired realm would surely die. 
well said, then I'll have to trouble you to serve as a lesson for everyone else present. Ultimate demonic bliss, may hell be your afterlife. What? How can this guy use the ultimate demonic bliss technique? Not only that, his proficiency is even higher than mine. If he hadn't used it just now, I wouldn't have noticed it at all. Ultimate demonic bliss technique? How does this CAN know it? Is he an assassin of the Shuei Lu too? His proficiency is higher than all of ours. Could he be a heaven emblem commander from another region? Origin points obtained fear, 0.01 .01 points thunder 2. Origin points obtained fear, 0.01 .01 points thunder 5. Origin points obtained fear, 0.01 .01 points wind 3. Origin points obtained fear, 0.01 .01 points thunder 7. Origin points obtained fear, 0.01 .01 points wind 7. I only intimidated the low-end wind and thunder emblems. The high-end combat forces of the Shiwei Lu still maintained their composure. It seems the real CAN is long dead. Your eminence, which region are you in charge of? Could it be that you intend to go against the rules set in the longest bliss? This guy certainly knows something on how to keep those under his command from panicking. And what the hell is the longest bliss? I don't have enough information, so it seems I have to. The thought of the M.O. Ching is as empty as a feeling, and of the longest bliss and endless joy. You don't deserve to know my real identity. However, I can tell you without a doubt that I don't have any interest in becoming a commander, and am currently a member of the M.O. Ching sect. He says he's a member of the M.O. Ching sect, so how can he know our ultimate demonic bliss technique at a level comparable to that of an heaven emblem? Wait a minute, I just remembered something. Rumor has it that although the founder of the Shiwei Lu, the Elder of Bliss, originated from the Blissful Temple, he had quite the relationship with the previous sect master of the M.O. Ching sect. Moreover, the Elder shouldn't have been on friendly terms with the Blissful Temple, otherwise he wouldn't have jumped ship and established his own organization. Relationship? Most of the vixens in the M.O. Ching sect practice techniques for the union of Yin and Yang, could it be? TL note, it's unclear if union of yin and yang is a technique or type of technique. I'll go with the later interpretation for now. Shu, don't say it. It's reasonable to guess that he's the illegitimate son of the elder and the previous sect master of the M.O. Ching sect. That being the case, he being the bearer of a demonic technique comparable to that of the longest bliss, and that he comes from the M.O. Ching sect, wouldn't be that far-fetched. It's just that, there are a lot of rumors concerning the Elder, that he came from the Blissful Temple, and that he was related to the sect master of the M.O. Ching sect, but the Elder has never acknowledged any one of those. Could such a series of events truly have occurred? After all this time, you must have figured it out, haven't you? But I couldn't care less if you did. There are some things that you can see through, but not necessarily tell. What the hell is this guy talking about? I don't know, but by the look of him, it's obvious he's preparing something. Sometimes there are some things you understand that you'd rather not. What is this guy rambling on about? The more I watch, the more suspicious it gets, but it can't be fake that his proficiency in the ultimate demonic bliss technique is even higher than mine. Though I don't particularly dislike the name C.A.N., since you're all wondering how to address me other than that, then. You might as well call me Earth Guardian. T.L. Note Literally Ksitagarbha, a bodhisattva who saves all souls from the torments of hell. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 .01 points earth 6. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 .01 points earth 5. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 .01 points thunder 7. I'm finally seeing some emotion from the earth emblems. They're obviously regarding me as the illegitimate son of that elder. But good old Mr. Heaven Emblem is really something, he hasn't budged an inch. Since it is so, what advice have you come to impart us with, Earth Guardian? A great man must know when to yield, it's inadvisable to get to the bottom of this man's affairs. Besides, the rules of the Shiwei Lu state that those whose proficiency of the ultimate demonic bliss technique is higher are in control of those whose is less, and I'm not one to go against them. So the young are worth teaching too. 
Now, we can get down to business. Business? Who's the person that the Blissful Temple is looking to kill in the M.O. Ching sect? The target this time is the fourth elder of the M.O. Ching sect, Wei Rodeo. Fourth elder? Why her? The power of the elders of the M.O. Ching sect is remarkable, with just you. You aren't aware. Because of the deficiencies in the technique she practices, Wei Rudeo has difficulty regulating her yin and yang, so every year at this time she goes to the cold pool not far ahead of us for three days to realign her body and mind. Due to the secret, she never brings anyone else and always goes there alone. TL note literally regulation of breathing. Refers to pranayama which is the use of consciousness to align the mind and body through the regulation of breathing. Although she's an expert at the third layer of the innate realm, by mobilizing the whole Xue Lu in the Jiangling region, there's a good chance that she'll be slaughtered as her inner energy is unstable. However, supposing the Earth Guardian wishes to safeguard this person, we have no intention of objecting. This guy seems to attach great importance to the M.O. Ching sect, so if we cater to his interests. No, proceed with the assassination. Why is that? An assassination is an assassination, but for the specific details of its process, you'll have to follow my script. Who's there? Life is nothing more than a soul manipulating its body and when the soul leaves it. The body that remains is no more than a puppet whose strings have been severed. T.I. Note, literally life and death come and go. Like marionettes dancing on a table, once their strings are gut, they easily crumble. This is a line said in the Japanese movie. Ghost in the Shell and Innocence. It's a reflection of the fact that the body is no longer important compared to the soul, which has become something that can be easily discarded and replaced at any time. The longest bliss has come. To collect the soul of the fourth elder Wei Rudeo of the M.O. Ching sect. Sightless Fools. Since when did the Xue Lu have the guts to go after an elder from one of the nine great demonic sects? Impressive. A body filled from head to toe with scorching yang energy can seize the nature of the world, reverse yin and yang and use killing moves similar to those of the mysterious yin martial art. The scorching crimson purple technique is indeed powerful. What a shame that your martial art is flawed. The more scorching yang energy you accumulate in your body, the more you have to rely on the cold pool to purge its intense heat every year. Otherwise, your yin and yang would be out of balance and you'd be driven mad. TL Note, literally walk into the fires of demonhood. Your internal energy is unstable, and you just killed those two to assert your power, so how much more of it can you wield now? Ha, huh, in that case, you can give it a try. Kill her. The ones who I sent are all Earth Emblem experts. And with your internal energy being unstable, if you recklessly go for the kill, you will surely die. But in the face of such an encirclement, if you don't do anything, your fate will be the same. Ugh, who the hell hired you to kill me? You are a clever woman. You should know who wants you dead. Sigh. I can't help but sob at the thought that a third layer innate realm expert will fall today. On your journey to hell, think carefully about who it was you've displeased. How dare you? What kind of dog has the audacity to hurt an elder of the M.O. Ching sect? Fourth elder, don't be alarmed. For Xie Yin, the most distinguished and proud personal servant of the matriarch of the M.O. Ching sect, is here. Oh? I can't believe you still had reinforcements. But he alone wants to take away the longest bliss prey? I only have one word to describe this arrogance. Ha ha. You can't even get me to move a single step. You're all truly. Insignificant. Divine impact of Zen. Origin points obtained reverence. 0.01 .01 points win 9. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 .01 points win 6. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 .01 points win 7. 
Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 points thunder 32. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 points thunder 9. Excellent. Though it's an act, and these guys won't dare to give it their all, I can withstand the siege of this many people just by standing still, making it quite the bluff all the same. Now, it's possible to harvest some reverence from the low-level assassins. Unfortunately, the mood of the Earth emblems is still relatively stable. Isn't that skill, the Heavenly Guard? But I've never heard of anyone who can manifest six heavenly gates, and what about the Zen formation under his feet? Don't tell me this person. You're that C.A.N.? The very same. I've come to rescue you on the orders of the matriarch. She will be here at the head of a band of disciples soon. Ha, huh, with such a dashing and heroic rescue, how could I not harvest a heap of appreciation? Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 .01 points thunder 52. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 .01 points win 3. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 .01 points thunder 7. That's odd. How come I don't see the fourth elder's name at all? What should we do now, Commander? It's inadvisable to stick in someone else's backyard for too long. TL note, literally calamity in one's armpit. Withdraw. Phew, that was close. It should be safe for now. Now, miss, we. There's no way there's any reinforcements from the sect. You were merely bluffing with those assassins. What the hell is your purpose? Ugh, Miss Way, please let go of your hand. I'm on your side. On my side? I've always been at odds with you, Hong Yin. You're her trusted follower. Why would you come to rescue me? Besides, how did you even know I was here? Actually, I came to the Jiangling region to practice my martial arts, but I never thought I'd be set upon by assassins along the way. Fortunately, I've mastered my skills and killed the opponents. Then I interrogated an assassin from that organization and found out that they were plotting to kill Miss Wei. What's up with all this ferocity? Since that's the case, why don't I just find a way to harvest a few more freebies while I'm at it? In fact, I intended to mind my own business at the outset. After all, in the face of so many bad guys, I wasn't quite sure how I'd save you. But when I thought that the one who'd be under siege was you, I just... You just, what? I just picked up the courage at once. Whilst serving the matriarch, I often heard her praise you in private, regretting that you weren't on her side. Just thinking about it, I couldn't just stand by and... TL Note Literally put the hands in the sleeves and look on. Watch. So that's how Hong Yin has viewed me all along. Now that I think about it, I should go back to the sect soon. That's right, Miss Wei. Let's go. We need to watch out for the return of the Shi Wei Lu. Impudent. How dare you? Miss Wei, desperate times call for desperate means. Now that you're wounded, let me take you in my arms as we flee. You, cough. Cough. Let's get back to the sect immediately. That's really strange. This operation is running so smoothly, so how come there's no origin points stemming from anger, joy, and such? Is the fourth elder's state of mind too mild? M.O. Ching sect matriarch's residence. Matriarch, I'm back. And I brought you a guest. Opens eyes guest? Hong Yin, long time no see. Rudeo? One stick of incense later. Overflowing glib. And then that commander of the Shiwei Lu unsheathed his sword and shouted, Kill her. Barely after I had seen him pointing his sword at me, 32 assassins of the Shiwei Lu swarmed in battle formation with all kinds of swords, spears, halberds, axes, hatchets, and pitchforks in their hands. 18 kinds of weapons and all came to greet me and the fourth elder. But I, C.A.N., am not one to be trifled with. Thus I bravely stepped forward, and with the heavenly guard at full power, immediately erected an impregnable fortress in front of the fourth elder. And for a spell, I only heard banging and humming until all the weapons that came at us broke apart. Not a single one of the thirty-two assassins had forced me to move a single step. But there was still that innate realm commander of the Shiwei Lu left. 
he was indeed worthy of full praise, as one would expect from an innate realm expert, his swordsmanship was swift and fierce, and his sword overflowing with might. From his sword alone, it was possible to glean how many powerful a foe he had slain. What a shame he came across me, and against my airtight defense, could only look on helplessly, as his sword crumbled in his hand, not able to come even one step closer. Seeing the assassination attempt thwarted, and afraid of the reinforcements as I called them, the assassins of the Shiwei Lu could only leave in hatred. I will return. But even though I, Xie Yin, am extraordinarily brave, I couldn't thoroughly protect the fourth elder in the face of so many people, so I had no other choice but to con them. TL Note, literally to follow the vine to get to the melon. These are basically the specifics of how I was set upon by the assassins of the Shiwei Lu, killed them in turn, interrogated them to find out the mastermind was the blissful temple, and followed the clues to go save the fourth elder. Are you Dao? Is all of what Xie Yin said true? Xie Yin, your exaggerations are full of bull. But apart from the undue exaggeration of the course of events, the outcome is largely true. Origin points obtained appreciation, 0.01 points Yu Hong Yin. Origin points obtained appreciation, 0.01 points Yu Hong Yin. Origin points obtained appreciation, 0.01 points Yu Hong Yin. The fourth elder is really clear-minded, all this momentum, and she remains unfazed. I risked my hide taking a thrashing by blowing the tail out of proportion, and I didn't get any freebies out of her. Instead, the matriarch is the one giving me some sporadically. TL note literally her heart is like a mirror. TL note, literally by adding oil and vinegar to the tail to puff it into a deluge of heavenly flowers. Cien, I actually have to thank you this time. Otherwise, the M.O. Ching sect would have lost one of its pillars. This was all thanks to the matriarch. This event was an alarming thrill indeed, but I kept chanting your name in my heart, as if I had God aiding me the whole way. You're nothing but talk. But looking at you right now, you must have surely learned that martial art, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to fight off the assassins of the Shiwei Lu. He he he. Rudeo, there's something really fishy about the blissful temple hiring assassins to assassinate you. You're right. It's very strange that the assassins knew to ambush me at the cold pool. The scorching crimson purple technique is a special skill that has been improved by the combination of the, the demonic mantra for yin and the, the maiden scripture and for which I need the cold pool to balance my yin and yang every year. It's my greatest weakness, and I've always been meticulous, never letting anyone know about it. Whether it's the Blissful Temple or the Shiwei Lu, it's impossible to find anything about it under normal circumstances. The only people who could possibly know this secret are you and the Great Elder. After all, the Scorching Crimson Purple technique was created with your help in the first place. If one of you had the heart, you could have guessed a thing or two. However, I'm sure it wasn't you who did it, so the only one who would give away my secret to the Blissful Temple would be the Great Elder. But there are no grudges between me and the Great Elder, so I can't think why she would do such a thing. In my opinion, it was the Great Elder who did it. Xie Yan? If my guess is correct, even without my intervention, the Fourth Elder wouldn't have died, but would definitely have been seriously injured. The then seriously injured fourth elder would have only placed her suspicions on the matriarch and the great elder. Given the relationship between the fourth elder and the matriarch prior to this incident, the first thing she would most likely do would be to contact the great elder, who I believe would definitely put the blame on the matriarch. After this battle, the fourth elder would completely flock towards the great elder's side and hate the matriarch to the core. In these cases, whoever ends up benefiting the most is the most likely suspect. Therefore, it could only have been the Great Elder. That's just your speculation, there is no conclusive evidence. Matriarch, we're a demonic sect, you know. What more evidence do you need? Just arrest them, force them to confess, and we're done. C.A.N., things aren't as simple as you think. The M.O. Ching sect has fallen into decline because of internal discord. If internal strife causes it to deteriorate further, it's likely that others will get a chance to step in and damage our ancestors' heritage. 
Indeed, going off the deep end would make all elders feel endangered, I'm afraid. Then even the three elders who've always remained neutral would side with the great elder for their own protection. If there's a conflict at that time, the elders would lead their disciples on a full-scale war, and no matter what the outcome, the M.O. Ching sect would greatly lose its power. But this time, the great elder's crime is to conspire with an outside foe, to collude with the blissful temple, and murder the other elders of the sect. As long as there's some plausible evidence, and the fourth elder, who's on bad terms with the matriarch acts as a victim and testifies personally, then the verdict will be sealed. TL note, literally apparently right, but actually wrong. TL note, literally fix the tone with a single hammer blow. Traitor. The great elder could only be identified as a traitor to the sect publicly condemned, even the second elder would no longer cling to her. Of course, this kind of evidence can't be produced in private, otherwise it would be too easy for people to testify against it. The most appropriate time is next month's general meeting, when the four elders all return to the sect and all disciples are present. Won't that require evidence all the same? Matriarch, I'm speaking of plausible evidence. As long as the great elder is in her right mind, it will be basically impossible for us to find any firm evidence. TL note, literally real hammer. If she casually sent an anonymous letter to the blissful temple, leaking the information about the fourth elder who could catch her in the act? Even the blissful temple wouldn't necessarily know that it was the great elder's doing. It would be best if we had conclusive evidence, but if not, it doesn't matter. As long as it's plausible, we can temporarily fool those watching. As for how we'll get this plausible evidence, once we take up the matter with the four elders, we'll be sure to get it. TL note, literally stretch a hand and grab it. If I step in personally, I'm sure there's some certainty. Since no one in the sect knows about my secret return to meet you, Wu Lingxian will naturally think that I'm still at odds with you, so it shouldn't be difficult to find some dirt on her if I approach her on my own volition. That's true. However, even with all this, how can you guarantee that the sect meeting won't get out of hand he and turn into a melee between the different factions? That won't happen. Even in the worst case scenario, the initiative is in your hands, you know. If worst comes to worst, you can just let the great elder off by saying this evidence doesn't appear to convince the public, the interests of the sect should be put above all else, and the elder won't be dealt with for the time being. If all goes well and you two join forces to subdue the great elder, as long as you don't kill her on the spot, and there's a pretext in front of you, I believe that no one, no matter if it's the other two elders or the great elder's people, will come out to stop it. Once the great elder is imprisoned, her people will be left without a leader naturally everything will come to a rest, and there will be no way for the sect to plunge into chaos. TL Note, literally a host of dragons without a head. Hong Yin, you got yourself a really good personal servant. This all made me feel a little bit excited. He he he, I'm flattered. I still haven't received any origin points, even after all that lip service. Hong Yin, I'm leaving. Now. We'll discuss it again in 10 days. If you need to contact me urgently, just use the ice hairpin as a message and meet me at the back of the SI Yun cliff. Take care of yourself. Xie Yin, have you thought about it? What if we have wrongly accused the Great Elder? TL Note, this sentence originated after the September 18th incident or Midden incident. The Kuomintang chose to suppress the Communist Party first and then resist Japan, while the Communist Party chose to oppose Jiang Jiexue and resist Japan. To resist foreign aggression, we must first get rid of the enemy within. The Great Elder has to be a traitor. There is no other way around it. I can barely tell your age, with you being this cunning. I'm known for being an honest and trustworthy gentleman. Where could this scheming individual possibly be? All right, don't give me that sarcasm. I'll give you an assignment. Whether or not the great elder is up to mischief from behind the scenes, it's absolutely certain that the blissful temple will get involved, so we have no choice but to be on our guard. Use the M.O. Ching Arcane Command token to withdraw 200,000 tails from my treasury and hire the Xue Lu to deal with the Blissful Temple instead. Even if we can't get them to turncoat, at least it would buy us some time. 
The commissioning point for the Xue Lu in the Jianling region is their stronghold at the Jinwan Gambling House in the town of Tsilin. Go down the mountain with Xinxi and let her be your guard. Don't worry, Sisu, I won't fail my task. What's the point of hiring the Xue Lu? Shouldn't I just pocket the 200,000 tails? My oh my, let me leave it at that. I shouldn't get greedy with the matriarch's money. M.O. Ching Sek Ching Xinxi's residence. My lady, what are you thinking about? You look deep in thought. I just was wondering what kind of ploy my good husband used to make my master look at him in a favorable light, not only by not charging him with trespassing on the ancestral shrine, but by taking him on as a personal servant. As for the castration, it's extremely likely that it was just an excuse she found for Xie Yin to get away with it. Could it be because of his beautiful body? What rubbish are you talking about? How could my master be so shallow? Not only that, Xie Yan's progress in martial arts is way too fast. Is it because of his virtuous body? Is it really just because of his talent in martial arts that my master took a fancy to him? Didn't that Xie Yan'er go around saying that Xie Yan had a fingering technique that could heal injuries and restore innate energy? Is it possible that the matriarch is interested in Xie Yan's ability to heal wounds? I heard that the matriarch has completely recovered from her internal injuries recently and is now becoming more and more conspicuous. Maybe this is Xie Yan's doing? Perhaps. There must be something else about Xie Yan I'm not aware of. My lady, I've come to see you. And while I'm at it, I'll tell you about a fine thing indeed. My lady, he's coming for you. This punk has been a completely different person ever since that day. He's got nothing but evil schemes up his sleeve. Last time, he used you to do all sorts of things. It's definitely not going to be anything good this time either. TL note, literally a belly full of spoiled water. Ha, huh, I'm actually looking forward to seeing what kind of fine thing indeed my dear husband has brought to me this time. My lady, you haven't seen me for so long. Did you miss me a lot? My dear, you have been away for a few days, so of course I missed you a lot. I wonder what good thing you're here to talk about. My lady, are you interested in going down the hill with me and blow some cash on dice? TL note, literally stake a thousand pieces of gold on one throw. Eh? Senior, I want to go too. Go have fun somewhere else. Don't interfere with my and my lady's honeymoon. Two days later. Town of Tsilin. So your so-called fine thing indeed was to get me to be your guard when going down the mountain? He he he, my lady, don't say that. Although it was to be on guard against the great elders sending someone to target us, the fact is when a couple is traveling together, they're actually going on a sightseeing tour. Ah, uh, look at these mountains. Ah, uh, look at this water. Ah, uh, look at these boobs. My dear, if you want to look at them, you're free to do so when we're back. But for now, could you not forget what we're here for? Of course I won't. Come on, let's go to the Jinwan Gambling House. The Jinwan Gambling House in the town of Tsilin is one of the Xue Lu secret liaison points and also where it receives its commissions. TL Note, on the door sign Jinwan Gambling House. As long as you say the secret code word to a worker at the gambling house, you'll be able to enter the secret underground chamber and offer a reward for a commission. It's just that. Place your bets. All in on small. I didn't think Chin Chinsi would be such a good gambler. She obviously knows she's on an assignment and in someone else's territory, but she actually wants to gamble around before moving on. Score. One, two, three, six points, small. Who the hell is that? She's won 16 games in a row already. And she's got a very handsome young man with her. Whose family son is he, exactly? Origin points obtained jealousy, 0.01 points Lu rending. Origin points obtained appreciation, 0.01 points Wang Yujiang. Origin points obtained envy, 0.01 points Tao Long Pao. It's really not bad to make some money and get some origin points while you're at it. Let her be. There's no real danger anyway. However, Chin Shinsi's ability at hearing the dice is too high, isn't it? 
She hasn't lost a single time throughout the whole game. There's nothing to win here anymore. Let's switch tables. My lady, isn't it a bit too dull if you keep winning all the time? Isn't winning what gambling is all about? There's nothing wrong with striving to win when it matters, but now, since it's for entertainment, of course you'd want to have some fun, like for instance. Place your bets. Oh no, I couldn't hear the dice just now. You. Say, my lady. Why do you have to force yourself to be unhappy all the time? Sometimes it's fun to just relax, let your luck do the talking. And enjoy the intense thrill of uncertainty. Don't we just have to win? 5, 5, 6, 16 points. Big. The girl has won again. Isn't that amazing? Eh? Bring it on. No more gambling for me. Exchange all this for silver banknotes. TL note, also known as silver certificates. From Wiki, a certificate of ownership that silver owners hold instead of storing the actual silver. You too, don't leave just yet. They're here as expected. I guess it's time to get down to business. Life is nothing more than a soul manipulating its body, and when the soul leaves it, the body that remains is no more than a puppet whose strings have been severed. I'm really sorry for my rudeness. It hadn't occurred to me that we have such an interesting guest. Please come with me, you too. Gene Wan Gambling House Underground The Xue Lu is a neutral assassin organization that will do its job once paid. It wouldn't be too much to say that this quest is in the bag. TL note, literally almost nine-tenths certain it was with this in mind that the matriarch was comfortable enough to allow Chin Chintzi and I to come over here. But how could I come all the way out here just to place a mediocre assignment to kill one or two people and be done with it? Why not spend the same amount of money to kill twice or thrice as many people? Fine guests, it's just past this door. As for Chin Chintzi, just stay and watch me act like a smartass. Wait a minute. We have a long list to go through for our several hundred thousand tales commission, and time is of the essence. Please go ahead and report our arrival so we can speak directly to the one who calls the shots. Hmm? What does Chin Chinsi want to do? Then please wait here for a moment. Cien, listen, don't let them see through you. I'm using the secret technique of the heartbeat to send you a message. Even though I have this trip completely under control, we mustn't get blinded by the sight of victory and always consider what could go wrong. We have to always prepare for the worst. I've already figured out the terrain here, and if things go badly, I'll smash this gambling house to bits while you take the opportunity to escape to the southeast, the best direction to flee for your life. So Chin Chinsi wasn't just having a good time gambling, but also secretly observing the topography of the gambling house? You're actually quite prudent. It's too bad that you didn't realize that the assassins of the Shui Lu are already in the palm of my hand. TL note, literally garlic chives. Internet slang for someone who can be repeatedly deceived and exploited, especially by the government or the stock market. Please come in you too. My lord is waiting for you inside. I'm Heaven Emblem number three, the leader of the Xue Lu in the Jiangling region. I've long been waiting for our two honored guests. Nods. You two must be from the M.O. Ching sect. You really have guts. Knowing full well that we recently attacked your fourth elder, you actually only sent two people to come here. The Earth Guardian must intend for me to cow this woman into submission. Third Heaven Emblem is actually quite good at catching my cues. First, scare Chin Chinxi, and then I'll come on stage to remedy the situation. We're here to talk business, not to take revenge. Moreover, when an enemy uses a sword to kill someone, it is the enemy who holds the resentment, not the sword. An assassin is but a tool, and the one who we have a grudge against is the blissful temple who employed you. Damn you, Chin Chinxi, you stole my lines. Blissful temple? And who exactly told you it was them who hired us? Come on, keep on acting. We have our sources. So will you do business with us or not? If I hadn't said anything, you wouldn't know shit. 
Of course. How could we not? Whose head have you two come here for today, and how much are you willing to pay for it? Just follow the rules and write it on this cloth. Fuck, Chin Chinsi is going to turn everything upside down. This is the stage I set up. Cute. Keep cowing her into submission, is it? Using one's internal power to control energy, harness the wind, and fetch things? That's something only an innate expert can accomplish. Is he trying to frighten me? H.M.? My guest. You must have written this wrong, right? It appears that my convenient way of writing has caused you some misunderstanding. It seems I need to use a bigger cloth. And a lot more ink. So that you can have a good look. The target for our commission is one of the nine great demonic sects in the Han Empire, the Blissful Temple. And not just one of them, but all of them. To this, we're willing to make an offer of 200,000 tails. Are you going to take this deal? Or not? Has Chin Shinsi gone mad? The whole Blissful Temple sect for only 200,000 tails? Does she take the Shiwe Lu for a bunch of idiots? Let me see what you're up to. What the hell is wrong with this woman? Two zero 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 tails for the lives of the whole sect? How could she actually litter that nonsense? I never would have anticipated you two to come up with such an unimaginably astonishing proposal. T.I. Note, literally something no ordinary man could ever think of, just like a heavenly steed soaring across the skies. Angry enough to smile. I really have to admire this calmness, this courage. I'm amused the point applause. You're truly terrific. Let's avoid wasting time with jokes and get down to business. You think I'm joking? You weren't joking? So embarrassing. Heaven is probably raging curses at her in his mind right now. Ha ha, I won't make a sound. I'd like to see how Chin Shinsi is going to play this one out. This proposal of mine is perfectly reasonable and isn't just wishful thinking. You think it's a joke, but you just can't make sense of any of it. Oh? Where in the world does it make sense to buy the lives of this entire sect for only 200,000 tails? Then I'm left with no other choice but to cock my ears and listen. TL note, literally wash my ears and listen politely. It's actually quite simple whoever said an assassin must kill their target. And whoever said that we're here to hire you to kill someone. Now that I've put it like this, do you understand? So that's what this was all about. An assassin's job is to kill their target, a concept that's deeply ingrained in all people. But in reality, assassins are people who do things for money, they're just better at killing. Theoretically, you can hire assassins for anything, even as bodyguards. So that's what you were planning, so what exactly is the goal you're planning for the whole sect? Even if it's just surveillance, 200,000 tails won't be enough. I need you to keep the people in the blissful temple filled with an intense sense of I could be killed at any moment. TL note, literally all hours and minutes. Before the end of the M.O. Ching sect meeting, it's imperative that no one in the blissful temple will be able to sleep or eat in peace. Not even the very fowls and dogs are to be left undisturbed. As for how to fill the target with fear, I'm sure pros such as yourselves have plenty of means. For this, 200000. If you do well, none of you will have to kill. I don't think you'll lose anything out of this deal. However, if you want to frighten the sect master of the Blissful Temple, Dang Hongchen, I'm afraid this silver is not enough. It doesn't matter, as long as you can put the majority of the sect into chaos, it's enough. The deal is indeed profitable, but it will still take up a lot of time, effort, and people to complete. To be honest, I actually want to refuse. But since the Earth Guardian is here, let me see his view. At first, I wanted to use the 200,000 tails to buy the heads of two or three elder level people from the Blissful Temple, but I didn't think there would be such a way to handle it. No more games, let's agree. Chin Shinsi's idea is better than mine. Nods. 
the Shua Ilu will take your commission. Good, you seem like a smart man. They actually took it? I was thinking they'd ask for an exorbitant price and then we'd end up haggling, but in spite of everything the Shue Lu took it just like that? Ching Shinxi is a girl who reached the ninth layer of the acquired realm, is the direct disciple of the matriarch, and she even has some skills indeed. Fuck, everyone else got to act like a prick, but I didn't get to do anything. Before long, stories like this began to circulate throughout the land. That the Shue Lu, accepting a commission from an unknown party, came swarming in full strength to assassinate the disciples of the Blissful Temple. Whether it's when they're eating, bathing, sleeping, or even taking a dump, there's always the possibility of being killed by assassins at any moment, and almost every disciple of the Blissful Temple feels vulnerable outside. The people of the land suspect that the ones behind this commission must be the arch enemies of the Blissful Temple, the M.O. Ching sect. All I can say to that is what do the assassins of the Shue Lu have to do with the M.O. Ching sect? Sis you, that's roughly how it happened. It isn't too much to say that it is all thanks to Shinxi that Blissful Temple shouldn't have the inclination to find trouble with the M.O. Ching sect for a short while. To make absolutely sure that nothing goes wrong, Shinxi decided to take matters into her own hands and work with the assassins of the Shue Lu to enforce a sense of pressure with a few assassinations, so it will be a while before she returns. Why don't you brag about your credit this time? I'd like to hear more on how you kicked up such a huge fuss. You must be joking, sis you. I, C.A.N., always only say what I did. I would never take credit for someone else's work. Dead serious. All right, don't flatter yourself. Just keep on babbling. Beware of the fourth elder, who lurks outside the window, eavesdropping in the cold dead of night or frostbite you might catch. T.L. Note, the first and last part of this sentence is a reference to the song fantasies behind a pearly curtain written in a Chinese romance novel by Cheong Yao in 1973. It was later adapted into a film and television series. Ha ha ha, Hong Yin, aren't you afraid I'll disturb you? Who knows what will happen if you and your precious Xie Yin are overcome by a sudden impulse and it turns into the wonderful situation where he takes on the burden for what must be done T.L. Note, literally his master is having difficulties, so it turns into the wonderful situation of the disciple taking on the responsibility for what must be done. The last part of the sentence is a reference to the Analects of Confucius, Zixia asked what filial piety was. The master said, the hard part is in the countenance. If their elders are having difficulties, the young take on the responsibility for them, and if they have food and wine, they set it up before them, is this not considered filial piety? Jesus Christ, the fourth elder always pops up out of nowhere. If the matriarch hadn't said anything, I wouldn't have found that she was eavesdropping at all. TL Note Literally to appear and disappear unpredictably like a ghost. Don't be ridiculous, Rudeo. Did you come here because you made some progress? After departing here that day, I immediately made an appointment with Wu Lingxian. I said pretty much the same thing as in our previous discussion, but concealed the fact that I had previously met you both. Her tone of speech was really strict, and she was utterly shocked by my attempted assassination when we first met. Then, with a look of concern, she inquired how I had safely gotten away. I was worried that she got the information from the Shui Lu, so I didn't hide the fact that Xie Yin saved me. In that case, how did you explain the rest? Based on facts, of course. That you and I have never gotten along everyone in the sect knows that. And as for Xie Yin, that I could never trust an oily-tongued slick and flashy man like that who fancies anyone no matter their age. Fourth Elder, you are falsely accusing me. In the sect my conduct is very proper. To put it briefly, Wu Lingxian believed my words. Having dispelled her suspicions, I got right to the point and declared that only two people could have been behind this the matriarch or her. TL Note, literally to open the door and see the mountain. As a result, Wu Lingxian's response was unsurprising. First, she swore she wasn't the one who did it, and then she asserted it must have been you who was rooting out dissidents. 
I appeased her by saying that I had come to her secretly because I also thought that you were the one who did it. The great elder took the bait and earnestly made it clear that she wanted to join hands with me to deal with you. I even pretended to agree, and then said that you have completely recovered from your injuries, and that your reputation in the sect has been growing lately, so even if I joined forces with her, it would be difficult to win. And there was no evidence that you hired the Shu Lu to assassinate me, so we still needed to find another way to bring you down. By the way, Hong Yin. To avoid divulging my true intentions, I said a lot of bad things about you in front of Wu Lingxian. You don't blame me for this, do you? You were trying to win over Wu Lingxian's trust. How could I ever blame you? That's odd. Why did it suddenly feel like I couldn't butt an into the conversation between these two women? Fourth Elder, what happened after that? Did Wu Lingxian reveal anything? She was very tight-lipped, and after several attempts, she didn't go into any details, but said she had a brilliant plan up her sleeve. Finally, I made a risky move asking her directly if she was going to draw in support from the Blissful Temple. Although she immediately denied it, I noticed that her expression was unnatural during that split second. It was obvious that she was plotting something in secret, but felt unease for having it nailed to her face. Sigh. Fourth Elder, why are you heaving a sigh? Although I had long expected it, there were still some stray thoughts running through my mind, hoping that everything was just a misunderstanding. Fourth Elder, since it has been established that the Great Elder is indeed colluding with an outside enemy, then our motion to deal with her is all the more justified. Treat your friends kindly and your foes with an iron fist. TL Note, literally heaven's law and earth's principle TL Note, literally treat your friends as warm as spring, and your foes as callous as the autumn wind sweeping away the withered leaves. The last part is a metaphor of a mighty power that swiftly and easily sweeps away that which is rotten and decadent. Right, I'm getting a little too emotional. Hong Yin, I came here to tell you that Wu Lingxian has indeed been collaborating with the Blissful Temple. Next, I'll find a way to collect some evidence and bring it back. Rudeo, I'll entrust this to you. Take care of yourself. Hong Yin, don't worry. Even though I had some friendship with Wu Lingxian in the past, I will never go soft in the face of what is right and wrong. Fourth Elder, let me see you off. I have something important to tell you. All right, haven't we walked far enough? What is it you have to tell me that you had to hide from Hong Yin? Fourth Elder, this is a matter of great importance involving me, the Matriarch, and you. Please stand here and wait, don't leave by any means. I'll show you that important thing immediately. What exactly is this matter of great importance? I snapped off the twigs of the beautiful flowers because I couldn't help but resent them. We had planned to enjoy a drink together when they bloomed, yet I'd never see you again when they did. Huh? This is. The day I first met you in the cold pond, I couldn't think of water, I couldn't think of food, all I could think of was your figure. I fear the wailing foment that loving you will bring, but love you I already do, TL Note. This poem Love Sickness the Snapping of the Twigs was written by Yu Yin in the late Ming Dynasty. It describes the love sickness of a woman after the separation with her lover. And when someone does, no longer can one flee from it. I can't describe my feelings, but my brows show a hint of how I do. Even though I'm the matriarch's personal servant, I perish the thought of strangling my own heart. Fourth Elder, no, Rudeo. I love you. The moon shines brightly. Only here can I have such a heartfelt discussion with you. Xie Yin, did I hear what you said wrong? What's the harm in saying it thousands of times as long as you can understand my heart? With such a perfect atmosphere and my affectionate confession, if it all goes as expected, Rodeo, I love. I'm sure to stir up the fourth elder's emotions, right? How dare you? Xie Yin, I thought you were quite the capable individual, but I never could have imagined that you'd actually have such a degenerate conduct. Seeing as you saved my life, I won't tell Hong Yin about this. Behave yourself. Rudeo. With all the previous flirting, the fourth elder looked very offended by my blunt confession, yet. Isn't it a bit too odd that I can't get any origin points out of her? Origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points ching chingsi. 
Wait a minute, why did Chin Chinsi suddenly appear out of nowhere? Not only that, it's 0.01, a value that can only be harvested in someone's presence. Don't tell me that. My lady, why are you back so early? Why didn't you say hi when you returned? Isn't it natural I missed you, my dear, so I rushed back day and night to see you? As for you, my dear, the fourth elder may look kind, but her way of dealing with skirt chasers is much more ruthless than those of ordinary people in the M.O. Ching sect, so you'd best be careful not to get your fingers burnt. And, if Master knew what happened just now, you must be joking, my lady. The matriarch is very busy with other affairs, so don't tell her about this, okay? Dear Lord, if sis you thought I fell in love with the fourth elder at first sight, knowing her temperament, I'm afraid there would be no way she wouldn't look for an opportunity to bring us together. Just kidding. I'll cover this up for you, but in exchange, you'll have to do one thing for me after we've disposed of the traitors in the sect. Sure, sure. Then I'll go pay a visit to my master and report on my achievements these days. My God, this whole I promised to do this and this after that and that was just like the frickin' lines of a major flag. A few days later recently, the matriarch has been busy with dealing with the great elder to give the fourth elder some room to investigate. And I've had a few rare days to myself. Just in time for me to steady new moves for the finger of flowery swords. The original idea I had with this move was to launch a tiny amount of flowery energy into an opponent's body, and then use the characteristics of the bend and turn it as one pleases to control the sword energy to make them explode. This way, I can directly seriously injure the enemy's insides using the least amount of innate energy and produce the most lethal results. But now that I look at it, the results aren't very promising at all. The sword energy isn't even strong enough to penetrate a stone, much less a martial artist whose body is as strong as iron. And even if it went in, I can't make the sword energy burst out making its killing capability too weak. Don't waste your time, young man. You're not going to get anywhere trying it casually like that. Who is it? Your idea is pretty good, but unfortunately you're going about it wrong. If you want to get the sword energy to enter a body and blow it to smithereens, the key is the word blow, rather than brute forcing it with the bend and turn it as one pleases train of thought. What you're doing now is putting the cart before the horse. The inheritance elder who guards the sutra pavilion? TL note, literally to invert root and branch. Figuratively confusing cause and effect. I've heard someone saying before that the inheritance elder has special standing, and he seems to know quite a lot about the finger of flowery swords. If I can get on friendly terms with him, it will definitely be of great benefit to me in the future. Senior, you seem to have studied the finger of flowery swords as well? Let me try to get acquainted first. If I get along with him well, I might even be able to get into the sutra pavilion and secretly record a few skills with the system later. I can't say I've studied the finger of flowery swords, I only know a few things. Elder. That expression. There must be a story. What are you doing? Although I've dutifully practiced the finger of flowery swords, I'm worried about the complex and volatile situation in the sect. I want to improve my strength quickly. To share the burdens and resolve this crisis plaguing the matriarch, but I fall short in actual combat training, senior, today, I see that you know a lot about the finger of flowery swords. I greatly admire you. If you're not adverse to it, please guide me. Sigh, I can't guide you with the finger of flowery swords. I think you're practicing pretty well. Just change your train of thought. Is that so? However, since you've been able to enter the M.O. Ching sect and practice the finger of flowery swords, it must be more or less fate that brought us together. It wouldn't hurt to point you in the right direction. What did I say? According to novel convention, it's certainly complicated to guard the Sutra Pavilion. But you must remember, never trust a woman. The prettier the woman, the more deceitful she is. Uh, you, you must have definitely had quite the adventure when you were young. So there you are, C.A.N. Chin Chinsi has come to see me. It seems there's something important. Elder, it seems that I have to go now. 
Huh? Where did he go? My dear, who were you talking to just now? Nothing much. I was just having a little chat with the inheritance elder. By the way, my lady, is it possible that the inheritance elder is afraid of women? Why did he vanish as soon as he saw you? I've never heard of such a thing. Anyway, Master has ordered you and I to go meet her at once. Understood, let's get going. Good to see you, Matriarch. Greetings, Master. Huh? Why did they catch someone? Look at how roughed up she is. Matriarch, who is this Taoist nun? I'll do the talking. I have been secretly tracking Wu Lingxian these past couple of days. Finally, last night, I found her sneaking out of the mountain to meet this nun. When Wu Lingxian left, I grabbed her and sealed all the meridians in her body. What's your purpose in catching me and casually calling me someone from the blissful temple? I'll never give in. We have obtained a witness on how the great elder has been meeting with outside foes. Now the key is how to pry more information out of her. That's what I called you here for. This person looks very familiar. At the last boat festival, this woman was standing beside the master of Yunyu County Hall. She must be from the Blissful Temple. I recognize her too. She's Bai Yuyin, the personal servant girl of Bai Su Yuyin, elder of the Blissful Temple, master of Yunyu County Hall. We all know her identity, but we must ask her to cooperate of her own accord, otherwise the follow-up will be very troublesome. Miss Matriarch, leave this to me. My lady, do me a favor, help me get ready. Like this and this, and that and that, didn't you hear what Master said? She's a tough nut to crack, she won't say anything. Oh? I enjoy cracking the hard nuts the most. Hong Yin, there's really no need to bother with that. If you use the ultimate demonic bewitchment of worldly desires to make this guy have a real taste of what it's like to neither live nor die, she'll most assuredly confess. There's no harm in letting Xie Yin try. If he can't, I'll do it myself. Oh? What's this? You want to play the card of using a pretty boy to ensnare me? Bring it on even if you call a hundred or even a thousand men. I'll take them all. TL Note this is a twist by the author of the 31th Stratagem of the 36 Stratagems, a Chinese essay used to illustrate a series of stratagems used in politics, war, and in civil interaction. Also known as the schemes and stratagems for everything. If you are interested in seeing the rest, go to the last page of Chapter 9 of Carrying the Goddess Along. I'd expect nothing less from a woman of the Blissful Temple. Obtaining the 1,000 Manslayer title is a piece of cake for you. However, TL Note, literally behead 1,000 people, is a title given to Japanese samurai in the days of old. Meaning that samurai was so powerful that he killed thousands of adversaries single-handedly. All samurai strive for this title. Though nowadays this term is used by the younger generation mostly for AV to refer to women who've had sex with lots of men. In other words, a slut. I don't need so many people to deal with you. I alone am enough. Since you're acquainted with the third elder, you must know that it's not a rumor that a good deal of the beauties in the I Ching establishment became more beautiful overnight, right? Why are you bringing this up? Did you know there's a wonderful skill in this world called the finger of face modeling? The finger of face modeling has no destructive power, but it has a rejuvenating effect that people around the world can only dream of. With the flick of a finger, even the most ordinary of women can be transformed into an exceptional beauty defying all comparison. So the one that really did those things was you. You guessed it. I rather enjoy your cleverness, so as a reward, I'll put your lovely oval face aside for later. What are you going to do to me? Look at these wonderful luminous eyes. With a few little changes, you'll have a big and a small one, a straight and a crooked one. One will be just like a dead fish, and the other cockeyed. Now look at this modest nose. If I can turn these rhythmical ups and downs into a plane or a ravine, it will surely unfold into something magnificent. You bastard. Shoo! I almost forgot about your lovely little mouth, so why don't I just widen it a little bit, until your lips are as thick as your intestines and as plump as a full moon, so that you can have the fortune of being able to fit a whole lot of stuff into your mouth at once. 
After adjusting your face, I'll sew hundreds of thousands of banners for you, with the words by Yu Yin, a woman whose beauty puts flowers to shame, outshines the moon, and can cause the downfall of a state written on them. TL Note on all the banners by Yu Yin, a woman whose beauty puts flowers to shame, outshines the moon, and can cause the downfall of a state. At that time, I'll escort you and parade a banner through the downtown streets of the Han Empire, so that the common people of the empire can catch a glance of your graceful bearing. This Xie Yin, even though Bai Yu Yin can endure the physical pain and suffering, he accurately predicted that with her personality she would never want to be so thoroughly humiliated, but it just feels like. Before the formal interrogation begins, it is necessary to crush the opponent's spirit and destroy the foundation for their self-confidence. It looks as if Xie Yin doesn't intend to show even the slightest bit of pity towards the fairer sex. He's going to completely beat the crap out of her. T.I. Note, literally pity for a fragrant jade like Maiden. Just imagining it feels good, there's no time to lose, so let's get started. My lady. Bring the mirror. Miss, that beautiful face in the mirror will soon say goodbye to you, so you'd better take a good hard look at it and take notes so you can keep a souvenir. Are you done? Then, let's get started with your eyes, finger or face, no. Stop. Let go of me. I'm from the Blissful Temple. I'll tell you everything. Don't do this to me. Sigh, I haven't even started yet. They said she was a tough nut to crack but it's all over so quickly. By the way, I spared no effort with all my acting just now to get the atmosphere right, so I must have gotten a lot of origin points, right? Origin points obtained appreciation, 0.01 .01 points you hung in. Origin points obtained appreciation, 0.01 .01 points you hung in. Origin points obtained appreciation, 0.01 .01 points Qin Qinxi. Origin points obtained appreciation, 0.01 .01 points Qin Qinxi. What's going on? Why are the origin points only from Qin Qinxi and the matriarch? The Taoist nun is afraid like this, so shouldn't she be spamming me with them? What the hell is wrong with this guy? Don't tell me all the previous terror was faked. Wu Lingxian got in touch with us five months ago. At that time, in order to avoid attracting suspicion, we cooperated with her to put on a play. Five months ago? I still hadn't crossed over at that damn time, who knows what the devil happened then. If we're talking about five months ago, it was said that the great elder got into a confrontation with the blissful temple over an exceptionally gifted disciple. Since the matter had already been settled by the great elder, there wasn't any follow-up. Exceptionally gifted disciple? Five months ago? Holy shit, it's not your yinner, is it? It hadn't occurred to me that Wu Lingxian and the Blissful Temple had hooked up then. Go on, what are the details of your plot? Wu Lingxian made an agreement with our sect master that as long as we help her clear the obstacles and ascend to the throne of the M.O. Ching sect, she's willing to give up the property in her name to the Blissful Temple. The original plan was simply to assassinate the fourth elder who had been in conflict with the matriarch and make the third elder, who has been finding it hard to maintain her neutrality, suspicious of the matriarch, so that she then turned to Wu Lingxian and joined forces with her. Ha, huh, so she's had her eye on me for a long time. But the opportunity never came. And just when we thought that we might have to change our method, Wu Lingxian suddenly came in person to the Jianling region and gave me the time and place to commission the Xu Wei Lu to prepare for the assassination. Wasn't that when the great elder attempted to rope in the third elder and get her to hand me over? So it turns out that was just a side trip. Was her real purpose to notify the blissful temple to cause trouble? But you didn't expect the assassination to fail and for me to have survived. Because of the urgency of the matter, I had to personally explain the situation to Wu Lingxian and discuss our next plan. Oh, I didn't expect to have a moment's carelessness and for you to catch me by surprise. Though it was a simple plan, it hit the nail on the head. It's really Wu Lingxian's plot. It's just that. The Blissful Temple is making great efforts for Wu Lingxian. What will happen when she turns her back on you? As a token of her sincerity, Wu Lingxian gave us her Jade of Pleasant Brightness Jade Amulet as a keepsake. 
Only I know where that thing is hidden. Therefore, what kind of thing is this jade amulet? Can that jade artifact be used as proof of her guilt? Jade of pleasant brightness? Wu Lingxian actually gave that to you. However, judging from the matriarch's reaction, it seems that it can indeed be used to testify against her. I'd better ask Ching Xingxi about it later. Miss, do you still not get your situation? Do you really think you're currently in a position to negotiate? Please. Don't do it. I know you want to topple Wu Lingxian, and now that I've fallen into your hands, I have no other choice. As long as you swear on your sect founder that you'll let me live after you've toppled Wu Lingxian, I'll testify on your behalf and tell you where the keepsake is. What this guy said is exactly what a panic-stricken person should have. But her tone and look were so calm and collected. She even had the leisure to analyze that once we completely find the evidence, she'll lose her value. The situation is a little weird. Hong Yin, what do you think? Sure. I, Yu Hong Yin, swear on this Mo Ching Arcane Command token to the sect founder Yu Xiaoluo that as long as Bai Yu Yin assists me in overthrowing the great elder, Wu Lingxian, I'll be willing to let her live. Hong Yin, I'll watch over this Taoist nun myself, and when the sect meeting begins, I'll escort her out to expose Wu Lingxian in public. The path one takes is eventually the one that one chooses for oneself, and as we gradually drift further apart, sometimes we know strangers better than the ones we're acquainted with. Xie Yin, Xinxi, I'm a little tired. Take your leave. I'll excuse myself, matriarch. I'll be withdrawing, master. Sisu clearly knows that the great elder and her are arch enemies, and this time she finally got the chance to get rid of her, but she doesn't seem at all happy, is it because infighting is often the starting point for sex decline? Excellent, in this way, we'll obtain all the witnesses and physical evidence that is needed. Yeah, if all goes well, the matriarch can reestablish her authority. But, my lady... Can that jade you were talking about really prove the collusion between the Great Elder and the Blissful Temple? My dear has been performing so well recently, and your skill has been improving at such an incredible pace that I almost forgot you were a newcomer to the world of cultivation, TL Note, literally rivers and lakes, and some of the previous chapters. I tled as land or world, and while it's not necessarily wrong, the meaning of this term is much more generic in what it recompenses, one definition being a place where a hermit lives and another a place where one operates independently from. Mainstream Society Very well, I'll tell you in detail about the Jade of Pleasant Brightness. This jade has one characteristic, under the continuous warmth of innate energy, it can absorb a nourishing trace of it and preserve it for a hundred years without dissipating. By making it into a jade artifact, the holder can activate the innate energy contained in it in times of crisis to ward off damage. Doesn't that sound amazing? But this jade has quite a lot of inconveniences. First of all, it can only be used to ward off damage from practitioners at the acquired realm, and will hardly affect attacks coming from those at the innate realm, making it practically useless for an innate realm expert. However, only innate realm experts have enough innate energy for it to absorb. Furthermore, the absorption speed of this jade is extremely slow, and it often takes several years to reach the point where it can ward off damage. It takes way too long to produce, the result isn't any good, so basically no one wants to put the effort into making one. As far as I know, the only person in the whole sect who has racked her brains making one was Master, which she afterwards gave to me as a present. The production of these jade artifacts is extremely time-consuming, and it isn't possible to falsify the characteristics of the innate energy of the maker stored inside it. So if such a jade artifact made by the Great Elder were to be indeed found in the hands of the Blissful Temple, it will absolutely prove that both sides are rather well connected. So that's how it is. By the way, my lady, what was going on with that by Yu Yin during the interrogation? TL note, literally to lose one's head out of fear. She was like a duck in a thunderstorm before confessing, so why did she become expressionless, as if she were a cold puppet, after she started to do so? That's the unique foundation technique of the core disciples of the Blissful Temple, the Taoist heart of Mara. 
It requires the deepest desires in one's heart to be transformed into Tao, while simultaneously discarding all other emotions and fixations, leaving only the Taoist heart to serve the Tao. TL Note, literally the seven emotions and six carnal desires. The seven emotions are joy, anger, worry, thought, sorrow, fear, and surprise, and the six carnal desires are life, knowledge, verbal expression, flaunt, comfort, lust. Provided nothing in nature is enough to cause their Tao to waver, they can look upon everything completely without emotion and with absolute reason. And if their Tao is shaken, no matter what cost they must pay, they'll risk their lives to defend it. The emotions that Bai Yuyin expressed were all fake, and she was actually calmly analyzing the pros and cons in her mind. Your interrogation was successful, presumably because it touched her Taoist heart. Uh, does that mean that Bai Yuyin is so obsessed with her beauty that she chose to give in after weighing the pros and cons? I actually didn't produce any emotions in her. You understood that pretty quickly. That's exactly so. Bai Yuyin's Tao must be the pride of a woman whose beauty has surpassed all others, and by lucky coincidence your threatening to disfigure her was a stab right at her vulnerability. At first, she didn't want to expose herself as someone from the Blissful Temple, so she naturally put on an emotional show. When she admitted her identity, there was no point in continuing the pretense. I can't believe there's a martial art like this. Wait a minute. It can't be. C.A.N., your tone is quite imposing. Even when you're alone with me, you still want to call both the Great Elder and the Second Elder. For a secret rendezvous with the four of us? I can't say whether the Great Elder won't slap you to death. Even if she agrees, the three of us will squeeze everything out of you until there is nothing left. Tonight, I'm here to take the three of you on. It's fine thing to have self-confidence, but... Hey, Third Elder, what are you doing with that hand? Easy now, don't squeeze, it'll explode. You can't even hold your own with me alone, and you want to take on the three of us? I can hold, how could I not? A man can never say he can't hold it. Day of the Sec Meeting Second Elder Yen Miling Great Elder Wu Lingxian Third Elder Yu Xuanji, Fourth Elder Wei Rudeo. Matriarch, all the disciples of the sect and branch representatives are present. Good. So before we begin, I have some good news for you. My direct disciple, your elder martial sister Qin Xingxi, has reached the final stage of the ninth layer of the acquired realm. If there are no mishaps, she will soon break through that realm and step into the innate realm. Xingxi, according to the sect rules, you'll be the fifth elder by then, so don't slack off and break through as soon as possible. The position of elder is only a vain title. As long as I have master's guidance, I'll get all I could ever wish for. That's all I have to say. Next, according to the order, the great elder will be the first to tell us what recent affairs she wishes to inform us of. Humph, there's nothing of note on my end. Expect that my disciple Shi Yinner was humiliated by your personal servant Xia Yin on the challenge arena that day and has never recovered ever since. TL Note, literally, unable to rise after stumbling, after all this time, she should have long stepped into the sixth layer of the acquired realm, but now she has only reached the fourth. Xia Yin, how do you intend to make up for what you did to my Yinner? You're the one who aimlessly made the bet to compete in the challenge arena with me in the first place. In my opinion, Xia Yin was a complete gentleman on the ring that day. By not throwing a single punch or kick. Great Elder, don't you think you're being a little difficult on purpose? TL Note, literally to make trouble without reason. I guess you have a point in this case. But why don't you take a look at what Xia Yin has been doing since he entered the sect? Enforcer Yi, report to the matriarch the final outcome of the ancestral shrine matter. Xia Yin broke into the ancestral shrine and destroyed the statue of the sect founder in the chaos. First of all, we spent nearly 3,000 silver tails to repair her statue. However, this is less important. Most importantly, several disciples in the sect were met with calamity when they were breaking through and either ended up with disability or dementia. 
All this is inextricably linked to Xie Yan's destruction of the sect founder's statue and his influence on the sex form Shui. What does it have to do with me if you guys had a bad break and something unexpected happened when you were breaking through? Is Feng Shui that amazing in a martial arts world? This is clearly a world of cultivation, right? Xie Yin, this is all your fault. Xie Yin, we'll bring you to justice. Xie Yin, you are using your position as personal servant to humiliate us, you've gone too far. The great elder only allowed Enforcer Yi to speak, when did she give you a turn? Shut up. The matter will be noted down for the time being, and the decision will be made when the final verdict is handed down. Second elder, do you have anything to say? What I would like to say is roughly the same as that of the great elder and enforcer ye, so I will not repeat it. But I would like to make my position clear I think the matriarch has been indeed somewhat partial towards Xie Yin lately. I have received reports from many of my disciples that Xie Yin has frequently humiliated other disciples borrowing Qin Qin Xi's and the matriarch's status and authority, hoping that the matriarch would praise him for his insight. TL Note, literally the fox exploits the tiger's might. So, what I'm going to say has to do with Xie Yin as well. Only, on my side, I am not criticizing, but praising him. Before I talk about that, let me show you. My recently established idol troupe, the 48 Maidens. Wow, did the sect have this many maidens before? Take a closer look, they look like they belong to the I Ching establishment of the city of Jianling. Sister, why are you so gussied up? Why are you totally different from the last time I saw you? Whose new rouge did you put on? Or did you develop a new makeup? Sister Hua, I heard you've been promoted and became Lady Qinglian alongside Lady Qi Luo and Lady Meng Tang? It's a long story. My sisters and I of the I Ching establishment were able to become so charming thanks to one person. And that's Master Xie. Master Xie, we haven't seen you for over a month. We missed you so much. Without Master Xie, I simply have no appetite and can't sleep at night. Master Xie, when will you come back to Jiangling and give us more advice? Ladies, I'm flattered, but I just added a few touches to your original beauty. As you can all see, my newly established the 48 Maidens has already crushed the rival Yunyu County Hall in such a short period of time. We have already seized the whole market in the Jianling region. The next step will be to expand this model to other regions. Judging by this momentum, let alone a mere 3,000 tails, even 30,000 tails or 300,000 tails can be earned. In which case, Xie Yan's contribution cannot be left unrecognized. All things considered, I believe Xie Yan's deeds outweigh his faults. So finally, Fourth Elder, what do you have to say? It's not related to Xie Yan too, is it? Even though Xie Yin is not the main character of what I'm about to say, he plays a crucial role in it. It started when I was cultivating in the cold pool and ran up against an assassination attempt by the Xiu Wei Lu. At that time, my internal energy was in disarray, and just as I was about to lose my life at their hands, Xie Yin appeared in time and saved me. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to stand here and speak to you today. And then, when I started to look into the whole story, I found something odd. The only people in this sect who could know about my place of practice are the matriarch and the great elder. In other words, it is only possible that one of the two of you are responsible for this. And finally, after trial and error, the one who let the cat out of the bag was you, great elder Wu Lingxian. TL Note, literally exposed the horse feet. Let the cat out of the bag. You're spewing downright slander. TL note, literally spitting blood on someone. Since I've said this much, naturally I have enough evidence to back it up, bring her up. This is Bai Yu Yin, the maid of Bai Su Yu Yin, elder of the Blissful Temple, which you secretly contacted a few nights ago, and I sneak attacked and brought back for interrogation. At first, she refused to confess no matter what, but later, under Xie Yan's severe torture, she recounted everything in great detail about your dealings with the Blissful Temple. Xie Yan's role in this was not only saving my life, but also getting the truth out. That tone, is the fourth elder giving you all the credit, my dear? 
That's true. Why would she do that? From the very beginning, your intention was to use the Blissful Temple to kill me, sow discord between the Matriarch and the Third Elder, and win over her support. What a load of nonsense. You've said this much, but these are all one-sided remarks. There's absolutely no evidence. You're just trying to frame me. Who said there's no evidence? This is the jade amulet you handed over to the Blissful Temple as a token of your sincerity to join forces with them. All of this evidence was obtained with the help of Xie Yan and the Matriarch. If it wasn't for them, I really wouldn't have been able to get my hands on them on my own. If you want to resort to sophistry, then I'll show you. Great Elder, what's your explanation for this? You didn't even want to give that jade amulet to Shi Yinner. Why do they have it? Ling Xian, what is going on here? I, I don't know either. How can she have that thing? Hey, look at the Great Elder's and Second Elder's reaction. It really does seem like there's something fishy going on. Don't tell me this talk about the Great Elder colluding with the Blissful Temple is really true? What bullshit? Our master is the Great Elder of the sect. She's in charge of a branch and has always been at odds with the Blissful Temple. How can she be in league with them? But the human and material evidence are all there. Even she can't refute it. What else can you say? The Great Elder has no way of turning it around. We need to stabilize the situation now as soon as possible, or the sect will really fall into unrest. Wu Lingxian, what else do you have to say? It's totally baffling. I, I, I just can't explain this. It's time to call it a day. Enforcer Yi? Great Elder, since it's come to this, there's nothing to hide anymore. Gutsuin. Me and Lingxian have long been in love with each other, and we've made up our minds to spend our whole lives together. That jade amulet is clearly a token of love Lingxian gave me. It is the only one of its kind in the whole world. And it would never be handed over to the Blissful Temple as an emotionless prop to show sincerity. Eh? De fuck? So the Great Elder has decided to pledge marriage to Enforcer Yi? This is a tremendous revelation. Although falling in love with another person within the sect isn't forbidden, this is a little too. The matriarch had the fourth elder accused the great elder of betrayal. What the hell is going on? Where did that Taoist nun and the great elder's jade amulet come from? I had kept a few things in my secret treasury. But a few days ago, a burglar broke into it. That person was so smart. He didn't dare to take some of my most prized possessions, so I kept my mouth shut about it. But he couldn't mask the traces he left behind in my treasury. Now that I think about it, that day Chin Shinsi came to me, she was trying to lure me away so that someone could sneak in. And that someone who infiltrated into my room was definitely you, Xie Yan. Matriarch, everything that's happened today is that you're trying to slander the Great Elder. Naturally, the matriarch will certainly not admit it, but I'm afraid this is all true. Bai Yu Yin, let me ask you, when and where did the great elder meet you? And when was that jade amulet handed over to you? And I still have a lot of other questions. We'll bring out the facts one by one right now and see who's lying. Since you wish to confront me, Bai Yu Yin, go give them an honest account. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Hong Yin, so even a bitch like you has its day? You knew that you needed more evidence to get Wu Lingxian to plead guilty, so you had me caught. Did you ever think that this would happen today? Shut the fuck up. You. My bad, on second thought, I can't have you speak out of turn. Wei Rodeo, what have you done? Seeing that the material evidence has been overturned, only the witness testimony has left, but you struck her dead? Is that so? Enforcer Yi just saw your weakness, had a flash of wit, and stepped forward to divert the attention from your disgraceful act. Who the devil knows if you ever sent him a token of love or not? What if this Taoist nun, 
in an attempt to quell her anger at her cruel interrogation, had wrongfully accused the matriarch with her nonsense. Wrongfully accused? I'm the one who's been falsely accused of something that's pure fiction. It's obvious that you silenced her to prevent her from divulging the truth so that the guilt would be forced on me. Not only that, you actually dare to fight with me? Don't forget who's helped made your martial arts possible. You're right, you played a part in my martial arts, but you have nothing to do with the subsequent moves. Is that what you've come up with? Nothing but flashy tricks. All of you, stop. Look at what has become of these disciples because of your skirmish. If I hadn't protected them in time, several of them would have been crippled if not dead. So cease this immediately. Great Elder, now that the witness is dead, there's still a lot of uncertainty left in the matter. Let's each take a step back and make a detailed investigation in the days to come. Yu Hong Yin, you're not the one who's been slandered, you're not the one who's had her personal relationship exposed. Don't put on that noble and saintly facade. I tried hard to persuade you out of it, but you do this to me? You're too presumptuous, Wu Lingxian. Yu Hong Yin, I'm superior to you in terms of seniority, I'm greater than you in terms of merit, how can you be the matriarch? It's because you always have these types of thoughts that Master didn't let you be the matriarch. All, all hell's breaking loose. The matriarch and the great elder are going at it. Run for it. If you get involved, it won't be as simple as getting hurt. We've been plotting to take Yu Hong Yin down from the position of matriarch recently, but I didn't expect that Yu Hong Yin would take the lead. Ling Xian, I'll help you. Second elder, the matriarch and the great elder have always resented each other, so why on earth do you want to join in? Let them fight to there. Heart's content. Or are the rumors true that you hate men, love only the same sex, and have quite the odd personal preferences? Therefore you don't want to be surrounded by the beautiful women of the sect, but prefer to secretly admire middle-aged ladies like the great elder? TL Note, literally beautiful as a flower. This is a reference to the poem The Peony Pavilion written by Tang Xianzu during the Ming Dynasty. It's a pity that the great elder is really not into other women. Your litter bullshit not only damages my reputation, but it also insults my friendship with Wu Lingxian. Oh, did you get pissed off because your intimate thoughts were exposed? Phew, Wei Rudeo, your mouth really reeks of all your bullshit, so much so that I just don't know if it will continue doing so even after beating you to an inch of your life. Perfect timing, let's see who's is stronger, your extreme yam conversion into ice cold innate energy, or my extreme yin transformation into flaming yam innate energy. Oh, no. The second and fourth elders are fighting too. Run for your lives. But over there is the matriarch and the great elder, there is no way out. I didn't anticipate that enforcer you would suddenly jump ship, why did things become like this? Attention, disciples of the M.O. Ching sect. You mustn't get involved in the sect conflict or stay here any longer. Each of the elders' direct disciples will take the lead and return to their respective secondary mansions in all haste. That guy, Xie Yan, is gone in a blink of an eye. He sure runs fast. Ouch. Ugh. Sure Yenner? Aren't you the great elder's precious disciple? Why did you end up in our group? I was planning to gather the master's disciples and evaluate, but Enforcer Yi suddenly appeared and drove me out. That Xie Yin is largely to blame for things getting to this point. Enforcer Yi? What the hell is he up to? The matriarch is no longer who she once was, nor had she ever used subterfuge to incriminate someone. Since Xie Yan's arrival, her methods have become more and more disgraceful. It must have been that brute, Xie Yan, who came up with this insidious scheme to frame the great elder. What's Enforcer Yi doing? Is he looking for trouble with Xie Yan? If it wasn't for Xie Yan, his private relationship with the great elder wouldn't have been exposed, so I reckon he bitterly hates him.
Cien is so arrogant and domineering that he's backed up by the matriarch that he has repeatedly humiliated many of the disciples of the sect in public. He simply couldn't be any more impudent. Will you continue to endure such a sinister villain? We can't judge who's right or wrong between the four elders and the matriarch, nor can we interfere, but this Cien must be eliminated. Now, I'm going to behead the sycophantic courtier and cleanse the emperor's side. I'm going to return purity back to the M.O. Ching. Now is our great chance to put that Cien Yin down. Yeah, and For Yi is totally right. Behead the sycophantic courtier. Cleanse the emperor's side. Death to the dick less bastard. Let's go. It's time for Cien Yin to pay for what he's done. Master Xie, we haven't seen each other since you left Jiangling almost ten days ago. Now that we're all together at last, why are you going away in a hurry again? Don't go, Master Xie, we'll protect you. We can simply set out for Jiangling and enjoy the pleasures of the world far away from strife from then on. Please stay where you are, ladies. And for Su Yi, you haven't taken the disciples behind you to evaluate, why are you blocking our way? We don't mean to stop you in the slightest. It just so happens there's one among you who we have a score to settle with. Leave Xie Yin behind, and we'll let you go. Hand over Xie Yin. Xie Yin, you son of a bitch. Why does a fucking dick less bastard like you get to boss us around all day long? Hey, if it isn't Enforcer Yi. You didn't go help your mistress, and brought these disciples to target me all of a sudden. What kind of game were you playing? Fiend. Come out if you've got the balls, you fucking dick less bastard. What kind of ability is it to rely on women to protect you? Fucking eunuch. Ha, huh, why should I do what you want when a whole bunch of you want to take advantage of the situation? TL note, literally to loot a burning house. This is the fifth stratagem of the 36 stratagems. Besides, the misses of the I Ching establishment are willing to protect me. If I refused, wouldn't I break their hearts? Master Xie is well versed in all kinds of poetry and songs. Even as a eunuch, he's a talented writer and graceful. He's also good looking and much more charming than you repulsive cunts. Hand over Xie Yin now, you bitches. Do you think we'd give you something just because you told us to? Just who the hell do you think you are? Enough. I just took my eyes off you for a second, so how did it turn into this mess? If you're just going to cause further trouble, then get out of here. Whoa, has the third elder really lost her temper? Yeah, I haven't seen Master like this for ages, we'd better go. If we continue staying here, even if we manage to avoid getting involved in the fighting, Master will beat us to death. TL Note, Literally Fires of War Yi Gutsuin, as the enforcer of this sect, how can you actually think of taking revenge in such a critical time? Did the third elder forget that the sect meeting is by no means over yet? If the matriarch and the elders want to fight each other, that's their business. But punishing a wicked disciple like Xie Yan allows no delay. What a bunch of nonsense. How can you actually think that punishing Xie Yin is more important than the safety of the disciples or even quelling the chaos in the sect? I think you're totally out of your mind. Humph, in my opinion, I'm more sober now than all the elders, including you, Yu Xuanji. Yi Gutsuin, you really have some nerve. Gutsuin. Wu Lingxian. You still have time to worry about others? Gutsuin. Are you okay? Third Elder, you actually hit him? Enforcer Yi openly defied his orders and didn't take me, the Third Elder, seriously, so I taught him a little lesson. But Matriarch, how could you just let the Great Elder off the hook when she made such an obvious opening just now? If I wasn't forced by the circumstances, I wouldn't want to fight her in the first place. Lingxian, I'm sorry. I, I wanted to help you but I ended up giving you trouble. Gutsuin, don't talk for now. Get some rest. You Xuanji, look at what you've done. Didn't you hold back? 
That's impossible. My attack would only cause minor injuries to Enforcer Yi at most. Yu Xuanji. Then how about I give you some minor injuries too? This is a misunderstanding. Wu Lingxian, calm down a bit. Calm down? Should I calm down? No good. The Great Elder is too angry to listen. Let's join. Don't think that I'll let you. Lingxian, I'll help you. Humph, what a surprise. Third Elder, you've always been ostensibly neutral, but in reality you've been the Matriarch's lapdog all along. That's not the reason. Then what is? This all started because of the Matriarch. If she hadn't had Wei Rodeo find that pile of so-called evidence and tried to forcefully slander Lingxian, would she be where she is now? Besides, think about all the Matriarch's actions, especially the way Wei Rodeo beat that Bai Yu Yin to death. Who is it that's really got a guilty conscience here? TL Note literally has ghosts in her hearts. No more of this crap. Miling, get her. Third Elder, I won't go easy on you. What's it got to do with me? Why come after me? It's none of her business. If you want to fight, fight with me. It's almost time. Great Sect Formation, activate. The Great Sect Formation? Who activated it? Phew. Wei Rudeo, if you hadn't made a move soon, then I'd worry that the Matriarch and the Great Elder would start fighting for real. It wasn't in vain that we put on this act for so long. Now it's time for you to get a taste of your own medicine. How many people from Blissful Temple will come? I'm looking forward to it. Fourth Elder, the Great Sect Formation isn't something to be activated lightly. What are you thinking? Today's event was just a trigger. The root cause was everyone's long-standing grievances. All of this was inevitably going to erupt sooner or later, and since it's already happening, why not just activate the Great Sect Formation and let them fight to their heart's content? To put it mildly, to activate the Great Sect Formation, you need to exhaust an extremely precious energy spirit stone, and there's only one such stone in our sect. If it's damaged, it'll take a lot of time to repair. Is it really something you should use during infighting? The sect is in turmoil, and everyone's fighting for real, so if outside foes were to take advantage of the situation, without the Great Sect Formation to protect us, could you take the responsibility, Yu Xuanji? Wei Rodeo, you thought this through so well that you're worthy of praise. However, have you ever considered the possibility that the sect would be invaded by outsiders anyway when the energy spirit stone for the great sect formation runs out? Third Elder, you're worrying too much. Even without the energy spirit stone, provided three and eight realm experts gave it their all, the great sect formation can still be activated. Is the M.O. Ching sect short of three such practitioners by any chance? What's more? T.L. Note, literally like the man of Qi who was haunted by the fear that the Sky Knight fall. The Energy Spirit Stone can support the Great Sect Formation for at least a day or two. You think we can fight for that long? Don't you see that the Great Sect Formation has been activated, but the Matriarch hasn't stopped in the least? Doesn't she know more about righteousness than you, Yu Xuanji? It has been many years since the M.O. Ching sect activated the Great Sect Formation, but it is really saddening to think that this time, it was activated for the sake of infighting. H.M.? Wei Rodeo, what's the meaning of this? What do you think? I'm taking this opportunity to settle an old score with you. Don't think I'd forget about how you snatched my disciples so easily. You still recall that kind of ancient history? She's the one who insisted on coming. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't send her back. You call that wanting to send her back? You played a game of cat and mouse with her because you knew she lusted after your body. TL Note, literally in order to capture, one must let loose. This is the 16th stratagem of the 36 stratagems. You Xuanji, you promiscuous slut. You won't even let your disciples off. Wei Rudeo, you psycho. Cut the bullshit. TL note, literally men or women all eat.
Holy shit, I finally got rid of those girls from the I Ching establishment. It just felt like that if I stayed with them and had been just a little bit careless, I'd be beep and beep beep or even beep 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 hundreds of times. I still have urgent business to attend to. This seems to be the so-called Great Sect Defensive Formation. It isolates the whole M.O. Ching sect from the outside world as if it were another dimension. It's truly impressive. It's said that even the strongest of experts will be reduced to a mere pup if they rashly step into the great sect formation. Innate realm practitioners will turn into acquired realm ones, and acquired realm ones will turn into complete greenhorns. Now that this kind of stuff showed up, this world really feels like high fantasy. TL note, literally as good as a chicken, this is a pun on the expression as good as a bird which means new bee. However, since in Chinese culture a chicken is viewed as worse than a bird, by saying as good as a chicken it conveys the meaning worse than a new bee. TL note, literally immortal heroes Xianxia, fictional stories featuring magic, demons, ghosts, immortals, and a great deal of Chinese folklore slash mythology. Protagonists usually attempt to cultivate to immortality, seeking eternal life and the pinnacle of strength. I shot my finger of flowery swords, but saw no sign of penetration, and the formation didn't move in the slightest. Totally amazing. La. Alright, no more playing around. I'd better set my plan in motion. The matriarch and the others have been fighting up there for more than an hour, and I don't know how things are going. Eh? Chin chin si? Chin Chin Si coming down the mountain at a time like this is really suspicious. Will I have to sneak up on her and see what the hell she's up to? Don't be a traitor. That would be bad for my plan. Ow, my lady, don't hit my head. Damned girl. I told you to come back soon after you bought the Osmanthus cake. Did you go to play in town again? I wanted to buy some rouge powder as well. Ouch, that hurts. TL Note this is probably a pun on the TV series The Charm Beneath, a Hong Kong period drama series broadcast in October 2005. Follow me back to the mountain. When the great sect formation activated, I waited for you left and right, but you didn't come back, so I came down to see if something had happened to you outside. Eh? Why has the great sect formation been activated? TL Note, this is a reference to the song Millions of Kisses sung by Chen Mingjin. Master and the elders are fighting. I guess they activated it because they were afraid of being attacked by others. Ah. Uh. Oh, you got some Osmanthus cake? Give me a slice. So it turns out that the reason for her going down the mountain was because of this. I didn't realize that this bitch loved her servant girl this dearly. Xia Yin, you were following me? How could that be? I was just out for a stroll, but I never thought my lady was intending to eat alone. This just won't do. A married couple should treat each other with mutual respect, you know? TL note, literally to lift the tray to eyebrow level, as in a wife lifts the food tray to eyebrow level to show great respect for her husband. Do you take me for a child? But just in time, I have something to ask you. You are you. You go back to the sect first. Right. You sent her away intentionally. My lady, you don't have any plans for me, do you? Isn't it too wild to do something like that in broad daylight? Now that master and the elders are in a scuffle, and I have no idea what the outcome will be, I'm not in the mood for idle chit-chat with you. I've always had this feeling that there's something going on between you and master that you've been hiding from me. My lady is indeed exceptionally smart, but is that any way to talk to your husband? Sigh. My lovely husband, unless you tell me, I'll have to use a secret nighttime technique capable of bringing great pleasure even to eunuchs, my lady. Your face has become too fake. Who dares to sneak up on me? You're Chin Xingxi, you Hongyan's direct disciple at the ninth layer of the acquired realm, aren't you? An innate realm expert. You are Huoliengu from the Blissful Temple. What a cunning girl. She reacted so quickly, 
and didn't even try to match my attack, but rather used its power to get away. Phew, as one would expect from an innate realm expert, there's really a great difference between realms. Even when I used her power to escape, I still got hurt by the aftershock. TL Note, literally as different as heaven and earth. Huo Liangu is the trusted aide of the sect master of the Blissful Temple. Since she showed up, it's highly likely that Dang Hongchen has arrived in person too. I need to inform Master as soon as possible. That's right, Xie Yin certainly can't keep up with the speed of an innate realm expert, but seeing how unfavorable the situation was, it already wasn't easy to seize the opportunity to escape in one piece. How could I possibly ensure his life? Eh? Xie Yin is actually escaping ahead of me. Pant to pant. Luckily, I didn't delay the slightest bit and ran like the wind back to the great sect formation straight away. Straight away? So when I was attacked, you didn't even plan to help me, and just turned tail and ran? My lady, do you think I'm stupid? If you could win, you wouldn't even need my help, but if you couldn't, you still wanted me to conveniently count on you to save me? As the old saying goes, husband and wife are just like birds of the same flock. Each flies their separate ways when disaster strikes. TL Note This sentence is used to describe people who abandon their husbands or wives at a critical time, emphasizing personal selfishness. Ha, that's a good one. Next time, I'll definitely be the one to fly away first. I personally came out, but I couldn't even take down two youngsters at the acquired realm. That man and woman are slippery indeed. Huoliangu, you really need to change your fiery style. TL Note, literally Temple Lord Master, I previously tled this as Sect Master because I thought the Blissful Temple was a sect in a sense, but now it seems that a high rank clergy term would be more appropriate for her position. High Priestess Blissful Temple Huang Tingxian Blissful Temple Bao Pugu Blissful Temple Wu Xiagu Blissful Temple High Priestess Dang Hongchen TL Note, except for Huang Tingxian and Dang Hongchen, all the others' names end in which literally means. It's unclear whether it's part of the name like Huoliangu or if it's an honorific like Sister Huolian. If it's an honorific then, which literally means Divine Immortal and Huang Tingxian might be an honorific too like Diviner Huang Ting. In accordance with the original plan, we should have waited for the great sect formation to crumble, then rushed up the main peak and killed Yu Hongyin and the elders of the M.O. Ching sect. But with what you did just now, those two youngsters will report it, so they'll be on their guard. The great sect formation has been up for so long that they are sure to be greatly weakened by their fight, so even if they know about it beforehand, there is nothing they can do about it. As for those two, they were so lovey-dovey that they might have even had sex on the spot. It was honestly unpleasant to look at, so I couldn't help but want to dispose of them. TL Note, literally five strains and seven impairments. Refers to the five viscera heart, liver, spleen, lungs, and kidneys, and the seven to adverse effects on one's body as a result of overeating spleen, anger liver, moisture kidney, cold lung, worry heart, Wind and rain outer appearance and fear mind. TL note, literally reverse the sky slash heavens, figuratively to reverse a desperate situation. It's all right, our plan is completely foolproof anyway. Once she destroys the energy spirit stone for the great sect formation, we will be able to march straight in. As for you, who hurt yourself to stir Wu Lingxian up, stay here and recuperate. Once we slaughter Yu Hongyin and every elder of the M.O. Ching, I'll put my heart and soul into attending to your wounds personally. Thank you very much, High Priestess. M.O. Ching sect Wu Lingxian, you and Yan Meling can't even beat me together. Who are you to covet the matriarch's throne? What's with all this cockiness? You ended up running out of innate energy fighting it out with the both of us. Now you can only fight using plain hand-to-hand -hand combat. Myling and I are two, and you're only one. I advise you to surrender as soon as possible, so we don't have to beat up your pretty face. Surrender? I think that the ones that should surrender are you two. You're, you're actually still practicing this kind of unsophisticated fighting technique? 
During the time when I was recovering from my injuries, I had nothing to do and couldn't cultivate, so I practiced it a little in the event of any misfortune. I never thought I'd actually use it today. Rudeo, how are things on your end? Hong Yin, even though I can't fight two innate experts at the same time like you, I'm more than capable of dealing with you Xuanji, you don't have to step in. Ha, huh, all your attacks fall apart before they even reach me. Wei Rudeo, that's some bravado you got going there. Yu Xuanji, isn't your power getting too weak to ward off my ice cold innate energy too? Master, elders, please stop and listen to me. Huo Liangu from the Blissful Temple has just appeared. I suspect that the Blissful Temple learned about the infighting in our sect and has come to take advantage of the situation. So much so that Dang Hongqin may even have come in person too. What? The Blissful Temple? So soon? The two of you are definitely not a match for an innate realm expert. Qin Xinxi, you're only slightly wounded, and even Xie Yin is completely unharmed. How did you two manage to escape from her? Xinxi and I reacted quickly enough to spot the enemy's sneak attack and blocked it together, taking the opportunity to flee. All right, the two of them are quick-witted, there's no need to judge. If it was only the blissful temple snooping about, then it's fine. But if in the worst case, Dang Hongqin is really here, then there must be a lot of innate realm experts accompanying her. Third Elder, what's the status of the Great Sect Formation? It will hold out for another day without any issues. Another day, it's not an abundant stretch of time by any means, but it's enough to make do. Everyone, we're now exhausted and seriously injured. If the Blissful Temple does indeed take the opportunity to attack, we won't be able to bear the great responsibility of maintaining the Great Sect Formation. How about we stop for the time being, go back to our respective residences to retrieve healing pills, strive our hardest to recover the energy we used up until now, and then come back to maintain the Great Sect Formation? What do you say? I have no problems with that. Sure. Rudeo, what about you? If you ask me, you're way too optimistic, matriarch. How much can we recover in just one day? At the time the great formation declines, those five and eight realm experts from the blissful temple will barge in immediately, so we're definitely no match. Wei Rudeo, how do you know that the blissful temple has brought five and eight realm experts? You don't sound like you're guessing, but like you're awfully sure. Sai, I got so tired fighting you that my mind went into a trance, and at the last moment, I even exposed myself. But, I purposely kept one last trace of my innate energy. Rudeo, what are you doing? The traitor was actually Wei Rudeo. Never in a million times would I have ever thought it would be you. Now that the energy spirit stone is destroyed, the great sect formation will automatically shut off. If you have any last words, you'd better say them now. Wei Rudeo, I just want to know. You're already an elder of a sect. What could the blissful temple possibly offer you for you to betray the M.O. Ching sect? Preposterous. Dang Hongqin. Allow me to tell you the reason you will die. Wei Rudeo is originally someone from the Blissful Temple. That being so, how could this talk of betrayal be valid? She's been lurking in your sect for over a decade, and now, it's time for her to return. She sure did an awesome job as an undercover agent. If she had stayed undercover, she might have even got the chance to become the matriarch. Xie Yin, you're still in the mood to crack jokes? Rudeo, you were actually from the Blissful Temple from the very beginning? If the fourth elder has truly been someone from the Blissful Temple all this time, then their scheme was way too intricate. Huh? What's Xie Yin doing? Xie Yin, what are you doing? Shake's head. Rudeo, so when you said the Blissful Temple hired the Shiwei Lu to assassinate you, that was something I arranged. I originally wanted Wu Lingxian to think you were the mastermind, but I didn't expect that Xie Yin would disrupt my scheme. So I went along with it, since ultimately the goal was all about having you massacre one another. Finger of Nirvana
So that's how it is, but you've lived here since you were a child. Even if you were a mole sent by the Blissful Temple, your relationship with the M.O. Ching sect should definitely be far greater. How could you betray us? Why would you even need to? What could the Blissful Temple give you? Now that things have come to this point, there's nothing more to say. Matriarch, the M.O. Ching sect will come to an end today. So you really don't have any feelings for me, or for the whole sect. Was it because this Xie Yen offended you that made you have the heart to betray us? I'm fine, go help the others. It's my turn. Finger of Nirvana. I do indeed find that Xie Yen disagreeable, but it has nothing to do with him. If it wasn't Xie Yen, did Dang Hongqin promise you something? Or blackmail you into making such a decision? Yu Hong Yin, you're full of nonsense. No. You're trying to stall for time to sneakily recover your power. Dang Hongqin, you're pushing me too far. There's something wrong with Master. Don't make me drag you to hell with me. Yu Hong Yin, oh, Yu Hong Yin, you still have this much power after your fight. I must say I somewhat underestimated you, but it's a pity that this time you're powerless to reverse the situation. Drag her to hell with you? You're really full of yourself. You're nothing more than a cornered beast. In the throes of its last-ditch struggle, I want to fight such a weak Yu Hong Yin too. Huo Liangu, go have some fun with our beloved Yu Hong Yin, master of the great Yu sect. Yes. I'm good, go help the great elder. So soon? I certainly can't count on you for everything. Yu Xuanji, you want to make one last ditch struggle too? You people from the blissful temple dropped in to kill us, am I not even allowed to put up a fight? Huang Tingxian, go get rid of her. Yes. Good, very good indeed. Villains die because they talk too much. Just give me some more time. Eh? I'm the dignified great elder of the M.O. Ching sect. I have no need for the help of a snot-nosed pump like you. Then the second elder. Holy crap! You all made your own preparations? Something isn't right. All of you, go all out. Too late. Yu Hong Yin, you fully recovered your power? What do you think? It's not just the matriarch who's fully recovered. We'll be in charge of restarting the formation. Leave the people of the Blissful Temple to the matriarch. Did you ask me if you could restart the formation? Blissful Booty is body. Die. Beautiful girls have spirits most divine, and when set ablaze, a previously unseen being soars. Demonic birth of the divine body. TL note, this line is the beginning of chapter 26, The Beautiful Girl and the Yellow Flower of the Book, The Book of Changes, Kinship of the Three, written by Wei Boyong during the so-called Eastern or later Han Dynasty, an early Taoist classic, deemed to be the earliest book on alchemy in China. This part of the book metaphorically expresses the chemical reaction between mercury and sulfur to produce cinnabar. This line is literally beautiful girls on the river, our spirits most divine, when fire makes them fly, and unseen dust emerges. The beautiful girls on the river is a metaphor for mercury liquid. Later in the poem it says that he doesn't know from where or how it appeared, but it seems to have been created because of the yellow flowers, a metaphor for sulfur. In all, this line can be figuratively worded as mercury is volatile, but when sulfur is added and warmed to high temperatures, it turns to cinnabar. However, the author went with the literal interpretation here, so I had to get creative. Whoa, holy shit! A Taoist immortal scuffle. My dear my lady, don't take me by surprise. You scared the death out of me. You're hiding really far away. You're no better than me, my lady. Didn't you come over to hide too? Humph. So the reason I was wondering why Dang Hongqin's martial arts felt so lackluster was because it was a feint. She has long since fled. Great sect formation, reactivate. 
I ask the three of you to maintain the great sect formation. Leave the blissful temple party to me. Hurry, matriarch. Whilst the great sect formation is active, their party strength will be suppressed by at least half. This is the once-lifetime opportunity to wipe them all out that we've been waiting for. If you don't go after them and let them run away, because of all this nonsense you're spouting, you won't deserve to be the matriarch. Just go, matriarch, and leave the great sect formation to us. Rest assured, great elder. They can't escape their doom this time. When I saw the matriarch and the elders fighting each other before, I thought I had seen the full power of an innate realm expert. It wasn't until I saw the fight between the matriarch and the high priestess that I realized that I was just seeing the tip of the iceberg. But compared to this, am I really that unworthy of the elders' trust? You all recovered your power before I even took action. As the saying goes, always be wary of others. How could we of the M.O. Ching sect put our lives in somebody else's hands? Only by having a hidden trump card up your sleeve can you walk with confidence. However, your finger of nirvana is truly wondrous. Although I was prepared for it, I only thought I'd recover by about 60% to 70%. I never expected I'd completely recover with a single use. Xia Yin really has a godly healing technique. Strange, when did he learn such a magical martial art? Could he really be a secret pawn that Master has kept hidden? Xia Yin, you're so young, yet you're in the possession of such a unique skill. I want you more and more. Ha ha ha, you greatly flatter me. Fuck, one of those 48 bitches is already enough to deal with. Now it's a thousand-year-old vixen. This is really too much, Xia Yin. How much longer are you going to fool around here? The second elder and I are very busy concentrating on healing ourselves and maintaining the great sect formation. If you don't have anything better to do, go take a hike somewhere else. Don't wander around back and forth, it's an eyesore. In that case, I'll be taking my leave. It seems that the great elder is venting her anger at me because she was fooled by her sweetheart and can't vent anywhere else. Menopausal women who've had their hearts broken are really not to be trifled with. Gotta slip away. With the protection of the great formation, the sect is very safe now. Do you want to go out for a stroll with me, my lady? No thanks, you'd better go by yourself. I'm going to stay here to guard the elders. Suit yourself. Even though the sect meeting was just an act, the relationship between Xia Yin and the great elder doesn't seem to have improved in the least. Xia Yin, come play with me when you're free. Things on the great elder's side are fairly normal, but when did Xia Yin get so close to the third elder? How many bites did the third elder sneak in when I was only halfway through? Third elder, there's something that's been puzzling me. I wonder if you could dispel my confusion. Speak your mind. I noticed that everyone seems to have been prepared for the blissful temple's assault. And since you just had a conversation with Xia Yin, I'd like to know if Xia Yin and the elders, or the third elder, made any plans. Well, to explain it, let me start from the night before the meeting. That night, Xia Yin came to me and asked me to secretly invite the great elder and the second elder to discuss something very important with us. He said that Wei Rudeo was very likely the mole from the Blissful Temple and that at the sec meeting tomorrow, she was bound to stir up a storm and trigger a riot. So, Xia Yin already knew that the fourth elder, I mean, Wei Rudeo was a traitor. He didn't dare say he was certain and couldn't even provide any evidence. Then you still. We still, what? He just asked us to keep an eye on Wei Rodeo's behavior. If we found something amiss, pretend we didn't know, and if infighting really broke out and we conserved some of our power, maybe we could even give the Blissful Temple a taste of their own medicine and get to catch them like sitting ducks. Why wouldn't we do it when there were only benefits and no drawbacks? That bastard, Xia Yan. He actually didn't drop me a single hint about such a big deal. Come on, you Xuanji, don't make such a big deal out of Xia Yan. Even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. He just had a stroke of good luck. 
I really had never thought of Wei Rodeo as a traitor before, but her performance at the meeting was ridiculous. Even without Xie Yan's advance notice, I could still perceive something was wrong and would never have fought with the matriarch seriously. Whether there was a Xie Yan or not, it wouldn't affect my judgment. I'm not so sure about that, great elder. The abode of immortal soul rejuvenation pill is difficult to refine, and once it has been, it must be taken within 12 hours or its effect will be lost. Would you usually prepare such a thing? In addition, although the second elder's primordial heavenly energy nurturing technique is powerful, the necessary preparations are immense. You must have spent two to four hours before the meeting to get everything properly ready, no doubt. Like I said, if there was no Xie Yan, I absolutely wouldn't have been tricked into fighting with the matriarch. I don't owe Xie Yan anything. Yes, yes, you don't owe Xie Yan anything. But without his warning, we certainly wouldn't have had the chance to scoop them all up in one go. If we hadn't gone those lengths to keep Wei Rodeo in the dark, she wouldn't have fallen for it, and if she hadn't attempted to bring down the great sect formation, how could we give her a taste of her own medicine? So that's how it is. Shinsi, let me tell you one more thing. Xie Yan isn't a eunuch? Haven't you milked such a fine man many times before? Do you want to give him to me so I can have a taste? Please conduct yourself, third elder. How does the third elder know that Xie Yan isn't castrated? Could it be? Xie Yan, you bastard, just you wait until I get my revenge on you later. The fight over at the matriarch side is really lively. I wonder how the battle is progressing. I'd better go check it out. In case something goes wrong, I'll still need to use those goons from the Shiwa Ilu. Origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points Yigutsuin. Origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points Yigutsuin. Origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points Yigutsuin. Huh? What the hell? Why did Yigutsuin start spamming me all of a sudden? Wait a minute. 0 0.01 points, that guy is close by. Huh? What a strong repulsive force. Shit, I was attacked by surprise. It was so powerful that divine impact of Zen almost broke apart. It must have been Yigutsuin. Just as I was baffled why I was being spammed. This motherfucking bully even takes pleasure in sneak attacking others. I'll put on an act and take him by surprise too. Apparently, that odd body protection technique isn't exactly the heavenly guard, but it can actually reflect part of my power. This punk really can't be allowed to live. It's a pity your cultivation realm is so low. No amount of body protection techniques can save you. I knew that the Blissful Temple's plan had mostly failed when I saw the Great Sect Formation reactivate. I wanted to take flight in all haste, but I got really pissed off when I caught sight of a bastard like you. I may never get to quench my hatred without killing you. May you be reborn into a good family on your journey to hell. Don't be such a dick in your next life. Your mother is the one who's a dick. Xie Yin, you're still too green. You thought I didn't know you could use the finger of flowery swords? Long have I been taking precautions against you. Did you think I didn't know you knew I could use the finger of flowery swords? What do you mean? Bending and turning as one pleases? Impossible. Fuck. Hemostasis by acupoints. You guessed it, but sadly there's no prize. Now, the one who should fucking die is you. I just didn't anticipate you could actually practice the finger of flowery swords to that level. Do you really think you can kill me with that kind of power? As one would expect from an expert at the ninth layer of the acquired realm. It's surprising that he can use an attack to neutralize my sword energy. It's a good thing I mounted a sneak attack beforehand. Steps back. Sai, Cien, I admit I underestimated you. Just as the mountains never change and the water ever flows, we're, there'll be ample time for that later. TL note, literally, 
the blue mountains never change, the green water forever flows. This is part of an expression used to indicate that the relationship between two parties will never change and how they'll inevitably meet again. This is a very elaborate way to say goodbye and it's seldom used in China these days. The end of the expression is we're sure to meet again. Is that guy running away? That Xie Yin is too abnormal. I can't keep messing around with him. I'd better run for my life. Ugh, fuck. Hemostasis by acupoints. Fuck. Fuck. That motherfucking Xie Yin. Oh, and here I thought my attack didn't do shit to you, but it looks like you've got quite the serious problem now. Did I cripple your leg? You can't run now, can you? Don't you know what asking for trouble means? It's not that easy to run. When you can't beat them. No good. I'm having trouble with my legs right now. I'd only be a live target, get hit by his finger of flowery swords, and wouldn't be able to escape. I'll beat him to death and then run. He was fine when I punched him a moment ago, but I don't believe he'll be fine every time. It's that repulsive force again. What the hell kind of martial art is this? I've never heard of a heavenly guard that can reflect attacks. And why is its defense so much stronger? Divine Impact of Zen Crushing Flood Dragon Punch Ha ha ha. Your so-called reflection is just an injury for an injury. Then let's see if I break your defense and kill you first, or if you kill me first by reflecting my attacks. Wow, it looks like you've got more than just brawn. You've got some brains too, enforcer ye. But I can heal myself, can you? Finger of Nirvana. Alas, I really have no idea what the great elder saw in you. You're so ugly. But the most important thing is that even if you're hard or not, you'd have no strength left after doing it twice. It would definitely be most unfortunate if the great elder ended lip marrying you. Xie Yin, you am a what now? You think I'm talking about something you can't get hard? I'm talking about your fists. Or what? You're really no good down there. Do you realize just how much of an asshole you are? No one tried to stop you when you wanted to run away, yet you just had to come after me. Hey, I'm this pissed off because of you. You're not going anywhere today, Yi Gutsuin. For long range, he's got the finger of flowery swords. For close range, he's got a completely unreasonable heavenly guard, and he even has a self-healing martial art of unknown origin. Why has this guy suddenly become so hard to deal with? Damn it, I wish I'd just run away in the first place. The three elders of the M.O. Ching sect are maintaining the great formation, and the matriarch of that sect is hunting down the high priestess and her people, so no one would have taken notice of my whereabouts. Why on earth did I have to mess with this C.A.N.? Now it's neither a fight nor an escape. No, if I keep dragging this out, I won't have enough time to escape. I've got to get this over with. I have to gather all my power. Whether I live or die all depends on this punch. You want to hurt my husband? Go to hell. Chin, Chin Chinsi, you flicking bitch. Hey, she beat the wind out of you, but you still have the strength to curse at my wife? Sever. My lady, you didn't keep the elders company and came to me. It looks like you were worried sick about me. Indeed. I've missed you both so much. My dear's little thing is so lively and spirited. You're not a eunuch indeed. Ahem, I wonder how things are going over where the matriarch is at. We certainly can't allow the people from the blissful temple to escape. Judging by the situation of the battlefield, they were all stopped by master and didn't escape from the great formation. Then let's go and have a look. Maybe we can help the matriarch. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yigutsuin may be unconscious, but what if he wakes up midway and flees? 
As a powerhouse at the ninth layer of the acquired realm, let alone with his two remaining arms, he can even drag himself with his thingamabob. Why don't you just cut off his rod, my dear? Why don't you just smash his dantion and cripple his cultivation, my lady? Dang Hongqin, you are my master's peer and have led the Blissful Temple's fight against the M.O. Ching sect for many years. I'll allow you to choose the way you'll die. Yu Hong Yin, I'm well aware you are an indecisive person, short on wisdom and lacking in virtue. Such an extremely risky plan, where just one small moment of carelessness would have made you lose the whole game, is not something your feeble brain could have ever come up with. It's as you say. I don't have the resourcefulness for underhanded trickery, nor do I have the influence to sway the elders of the sect. TL Note Literally turn the hand and its clouds, cover the palm and its rain. Even my late master said that I was only gifted enough in martial arts, and that my ability to manage the sect was no more than average. All I've got is the ability to judge other people's characters, that's all. There is an exceedingly bright member in my sect that I found and nurtured to make up for my shortcomings. Master is talking about you, my dear. I'm somewhat jealous that she values you so highly. Sis Yu, who's usually a cute and adorable little fool, really has the aura of a sect master when it counts. I've always been jealous of you. Why does the M.O. Ching sect always get all the outstanding talents? You're clearly just a youngster, T.L. Note, literally like a tiger that has grown wings. But your progress in martial arts is already comparable to mine, and now that you have a think tank, you're even more of a menace, however. The past generations of incredible talents of the M.O. Ching sect are often short-lived. Whether it be your master or the one Tingyun of old, none of them have lived beyond the age of 40. Yu Hong Yin, you can't change this fate. I'll go first. And wait for you in hell. Rudeo, although you are an undercover agent, you've been in the M.O. Ching sect since you were a child for more than 10 years. I don't believe you really have any affection for the Blissful Temple. Although you and I have had less contact in recent years, we had been best friends practicing martial arts together since we were young. TL Note, literally exchange handkerchiefs. Handkerchiefs refer to female friends who are close and have strong friendships. It is the equivalent of a best friend. In China's upper-class society, homosexuality usually occurs among women, mainly in the form of spiritual love, such as between a young lady and her handmaid, between friends of noble women, etc. for the sake of expressing their feelings. The two women who like each other usually become sworn sisters, and their profound friendship becomes known as a handkerchief friendship. Why didn't you reveal your identity? If you had told me, surely I could have helped? As long as you sincerely repent, I... I'll persuade the other elders to spare your life. Humans are emotional creatures. How could I not know who is good to me? TL Note, literally people are not grass or trees. This line means that people have thoughts and feelings and are easily impressed by external things, unlike grass or trees, which are inanimate and emotionless. Hong Yin, there are some things you aren't aware of. More than 10 years ago, Dang Hongqin conducted a program in which rather gifted young boys and girls were selected and secretly sent to various major sects to become disciples. Most of these children were discovered, but only I, who was sent to the M.O. Ching sect, managed to stay undercover and took the opportunity to assume the position as an elder when the sect was in turmoil over the sect master's succession. But because of this, Dang Hongqin saw me as a trump card to destroy the M.O. Ching sect. When all is said and done, it's nothing more than to do something not of one's own free will. Hong Yin, don't forgive me. How can the crime of treason be forgiven so easily? Otherwise, you'll have a hard time convincing the masses. Purple blood, you took poison? I took the seven flowers and five herbs mystical nether powder. It's impossible to save me now. I originally thought that after the fall of the M.O. Ching sect, I'd atone for my sins with my life, so I took the poison in advance. Hong Yin, I've deliberately alienated you all these years, and sometimes even stood on the great elder's side. Did I make things difficult for you? No, not at all. Just occasionally, 
I cursed you a few times for being a little bitch. It looks like you won't get the chance to curse at me anymore later. When I go to my grave, I'll curse at you the same way. Ha, Hong Yin, you really need to change your nature of not saying what you think. TL note, literally one's nature of mouth not matching heart. Can the finger of Nirvana save her? Probably, just maybe. It can. But just as she said herself, for Sisu's sake, she can't live. Do you have something on your mind? Let's go. It's not good to gather around and watch Master's private affairs. But, Sia Yin. Fourth Elder, do you have anything else to say? Sia Yin, step down. Rudeo doesn't have much time left. Don't disturb her. Actually, the fourth elder has left something out from her disclosure. Anyone who dispatches a mole must have some means of keeping it from betraying them, otherwise, the fourth elder would have changed sides long ago of her own volition. TL note, literally to renounce the dark and seek the light. I just don't want the fourth elder to leave any regrets. Oh, so it's you, Sia Yin. There's nothing I can hide from you, just how smart are you? It's quite simple, my little brother was in Dang Hongchen's hands. If I didn't obey Dang Hongchen, his life wouldn't be guaranteed. When my brother and I parted, he was still very young, so he doesn't even remember he has a sister like me, and now that Dang Hongchen is dead, no one in the blissful temple knows who he is, Hong Yin, promise me, don't let him know, that he has as a sister, lest he be heartbroken, I won't. I promise you. When the poison of seven flowers and five herbs mystical nether powder comes into effect, it will be exceptionally painful as it decays my internal organs, Hong Yin, I'd like you to end all of this for me. Then, farewell. Help me, Lynx Yin. I was wrong. It is all my fault. Gutsuin. I don't know if you approached me, a middle-aged woman, from the heart or for another purpose but I will always remember those days you were by my side. So, may we never see each other again in this life. Lingxian, 4, forgive me. The high priestess of the Blissful Temple and her party were all annihilated, and the M.O. Qingxik were overwhelmingly victorious. It seems we don't need to do anything. Pack up. Commander, did you gather so many of our men today just to watch the battle? That was the order of the Earth Guardian, there's no doubt about it. The Blissful Temple lost so miserably, the Earth Guardian sure has some means. That Earth Guardian guy, if I can't afford to anger him, then I can at least try to avoid him, right? I'd better stay at a respectful distance. The people from Shuei Lu were lying in wait outside the mountain. I thought they wanted to profit from our misfortune, but they just left. Little Hong Yin managed to finish off Dang Hongqing nicely, and here I thought that at the last moment, I'd have to push my weary old body to the utmost, this is fine as well. My old bones certainly can't stand much action. And that Xie Yin isn't that bad either. The M.O. Ching sect has no lack of worthy successors. After the news of the death of the five and eight realm experts of the Blissful Temple, including the High Priestess Dang Hongchen, the sect was in total chaos, and the master of the Yunyu County Hall, by Su Yuen, promptly returned to temporarily assume the role as High Priestess and bring the situation under control. Although there are only about three and eight realm experts left in the Blissful Temple, the great sect formation is completely intact and there is no longer any fear of invasion by outside foes. We are but a shadow of our former selves and can only cower in a corner, not daring to talk about expansion. From then on, the lowest ranking of the nine great demonic sects in the Han Empire was no longer the M.O. Ching sect and was replaced by the Blissful Temple, which originally ranked sixth. M.O. Ching sect. In the past few days, Qin Qingxi has been requesting that I spar with her. For someone as chaste as myself, I was initially going to decline. However, Qin Qingxi solemnly swore that she would never extract my life force again and would instead use the mutually beneficial union of yin and yang technique. I reluctantly gave it a try in order to uncover the truth. As it turns out, she didn't lie to me, but for me who practices martial arts with the use of origin points, the benefits of this method are limited. Not to mention that as the sparring gets more serious, whoever attacks more aggressively will reap more benefits. 
sigh, and I must say, Chin Shinxi is truly fond of throwing her weight around since she fought using her full might. She totally treated me as a punching bag. A single sparring session with you is better than half a month of plain cultivation. I must say, ever since your visit to Jianling to practice the finger of flowery swords, you've sure become quite powerful. Not only did you get the junior disciples of the I Ching establishment as your loyal fans, but also got real close with the third elder. And even your relationship with Master has grown increasingly intimate. You must be joking, my lady. The matriarch and I have just an ordinary master and servant relationship and nothing more. Is that so? Master is more inclined to trust you than Wei Rodeo, whom she knew since childhood. Is this also part of your so-called ordinary master and servant relationship? And here I was thinking what my lady could be thinking about, but it turned out to be this. In fact, when I first said that I was suspicious of Wei Rodeo, the matriarch was a bit angry. However, upon further consideration, Wei Rodeo always brought us some good news whenever we were at a loss. That Bai Yuyin in particular came at just the perfect time. Wasn't this all rather a bit too good to be true? Plus, think about what I did that day, my lady. I just informed the elders in advance that there might be trouble at the sect meeting and raised their vigilance. If Wei Rodeo was indeed a traitor, then the three elders, as I warned them, would inevitably prepare to strike back at the final moment, just as it happened that day. If not, then we would proceed with the plan to bring down the great elder. Ultimately, our goal would be to weaken the great elder's influence without getting our own hands dirty. At the time the human and material evidence were conclusive, the great elder's whole group would have fallen into disgrace, and she would be unable to reverse the situation with her power alone. If that's the case, then it's not surprising that Master believed in you. My lady, are you trying to? To give a small reward for my wise husband, of course. Can't I? Yes, of course, you can. It's just that. I'm the one who's going to be rewarding you, no. The next day. Cia Yen. Which of Wei Rodeo's holdings remains undistributed? Uh, let's see. There's still the Huawan house in the city of Yen and the branch in the city of Chufum unassigned. TL Note, Flower Retreat House. Flick, last night I sparred with Chin Chinsi more than ten times. I'm exhausted. Today is an important meeting to decide the distribution of the holdings left behind by Wei Rodeo. Why did I almost fall asleep? Yet, Chin Shinsi didn't even come for such an important meeting, so it seems that she also had a hard time last night. He sigh, Chin Shinsi, oh, Chin Shinsi, now do you know who's tougher? Since these are the only two left, then, I'm not interested in the Huawan house, and am the only one worthy of taking the branch in the city of Chifung. Who's for it, and who's against it? TL note, rice and salt. Give her the Huawan house in the city of Yen? Second elder, you haven't asked for my approval yet. So, supposing we give you the Huawan house in the city of Yen, you will withdraw your claim for the branch in the city of Chufeng? Why would I withdraw? I remember when the crowd from the Blissful Temple came to our sect to kill us, only the matriarch and I fought them. You two just hid in the back and powered the great sect formation. I was seriously injured while fighting, so the Huawan house should be my reward. As for the branch, it's naturally part of my share too. Oh, you fought, so you should be rewarded, and who will make amends for my honor and innocence being tarnished? A few days ago, they were like comrades fighting against the same enemy. Now, in the blink of an eye, they're having a huge squabble over the profit sharing. What a bunch of old foxes. All of you, stop squabbling. Great Elder, I know how to make up for your losses. Third Elder, I haven't forgotten your service during the battle. In my opinion, the Huawan House should be assigned to the Third Elder, while the Great Elder can choose five highly qualified disciples to gradually further their training. What do the Elders think? I have nothing to say. I suppose that's fair enough. I find it acceptable. As matriarch, I not only hunted down the people of the Blissful Temple, but am also presiding over the general trend of this meeting on your behalf. 
with all that's been going on, I haven't gotten much for myself. Therefore, I'll take the branch in the city of Tufung. No wonder the matriarch kept giving out stuff to others in the first half of the meeting, but got nothing for herself. So she was eyeing the last and most profitable property. What a clever strategy. But it seems that the elders were expecting this. No problem. I'm perfectly content with the Huawan house, so I'll let you take over the branch. When the sect was in chaos, the matriarch was the one whose plans and efforts were the greatest. Naturally, the matriarch tops the list for who's entitled to take the branch. Moreover, I'll send both my disciple Shi Yinner and Myling's disciple Ji Chan Wu to the city of Chifeng to assist the new branch master in taking office. TL Note, literally the only one who stands at the turtle head, explanation, to come first in triennial palace examinations refers to the carved stone turtle head in front of the imperial palace, next to which the most successful candidate in the imperial examinations was entitled to stand. I thank the elders for their kindness. What assistance? I think it's just for the sake of keeping a close eye on things. Now that you've all gotten your share, and this meeting has come to an end, it's my turn at last. My personal servant, Xia Yan, also played a considerable role in this incident. All the elders got what they wanted, but Xia Yan hasn't got his due reward yet. Matriarch, I don't have any lofty ambitions. Besides, seeing that the elders have already got their share of the property, it would be inappropriate for me to poke my nose in. Why don't you allow me to choose another martial art from the Sutra Pavilion? I'm not interested in property or anything of that matter, so it would be better for me to get some more martial arts at the Sutra Pavilion again. Hold your horses. Before we give Xie Yan any rewards, there's an old score I'd like to settle with you. Before the meeting, Xie Yan hadn't achieved a single feat and could only at most learn some ordinary acquired realm martial arts. But the matriarch handed him the finger of flowery swords, which I think is highly unorthodox. What do you mean by that, great elder? Could it be that you're looking to condemn me? I wouldn't dare. But rules are rules, after all. If even the sect master doesn't follow them, how can she convince the masses? That's not true, great elder. The matriarch has always been very strict. Oh? When do you think I found out about Wei Rodeo's ploy? It was after I discovered it that the matriarch granted me with the finger of flowery swords. Don't mistake the relation of what happened before and afterwards, great elder. That's nonsense. Hey, hey. If you say I'm talking nonsense, then take out the evidence. If there's none, then you're the one who's talking nonsense. Consider the finger of flowery swords as your reward. Other martial arts shall not be mentioned again. Dang. She's shooting her own feet. This old fox. TL note, literally lift a rock only to drop it on one's own feet. Snickers. All right. Xie Yin, as the saying goes, don't bite off more than you can chew. The finger of flowery swords is enough for you to practice. You shouldn't waste time with other techniques. Wait until you've advanced to the innate realm, then consider other martial arts. I have a system that can fuse martial arts, so I'm not afraid of biting off more than I can chew, no matter how much you give me. Since the branch in the city of Chufim now belongs to me, you have no authority to question who I appoint as its branch master. That's only natural. In that case, I will grant the position of branch master to Xie Yan. You want me to be the branch master? The matriarch has forced me to do something way beyond my ability, so I'm thankful for the great elder and the second elder not turning their back on me, and having elder marshal brother Chan Wu and junior marshal sister Yinner to come assist me. TL Note, literally to drive a duck onto a perch. I've heard that elder marshal brother Chan Wu is familiar with the branch in the city of Chifeng. Is there anything you can tell me about it? Second elder's disciple Ji Chan Wu. Just call me by my full name. I've been appointed by my master to assist Branch Master Xie, and as one of your subordinates, I can't accept being addressed as Elder Marshal Brother. Very well, I'll call you Chang Wu. Chang Wu, tell me about the city of Tsufeng. 
This guy, I deliberately expressed goodwill, but he didn't even take it. It seems he's not a simple character either. Yes, the city of Tsufeng is quite uneventful to say the least. Tsufeng is located in the Jiangnan administrative region of the Han Empire. The mines there produce a special type of cold iron used to forge magic weaponry, and for a long time, this industry has been secretly controlled by the local power Great River Alliance. Great River Alliance Sphere of Influence Tsufeng the Great River Alliance is an alliance composed of factions from seven or eight small cities near Tsufeng. While it is ranked low among the prestigious houses of the Han Empire, it controls the waterways under the constraints imposed by the imperial court, and as a local bigwig, it is not to be belittled. Just a few years ago, Wei Rudeo had a conflict with a leader of the Great River Alliance for some unknown reason, justifiably injured him, and opened a branch in Tsufeng. Since then, the sect elders used their personal connections to establish contact with important members of the imperial court, forcibly snap the city of Chufum from the Great River Alliance's clutches, and get a portion of the cold iron or mining rights. Thanks to Wei Rodeo's governance, our sect Chufum branch has greatly solidified its place, and all the big and small powers in the city have adopted a fawning attitude towards us. I reckon Branch Master Xiao will get a lot of courtesy from the small powers when you take up office. TL Note, literally as steady as Mount Tai. Is that so? I don't really care if I get any courtesies or not. But now that way Rodeo is dead and I'm taking her place as Branch Master, are you sure I'll manage to do so smoothly, Chan Wu? No matter how weak the Great River Alliance is, it shouldn't take much effort to take down a martial artist like me who's not even reached the innate realm right? You're worrying too much, Branch Master Xia. They can't afford to mess with the M.O. Ching sect. Otherwise, the sect master wouldn't feel comfortable assigning you to the city of Qufeng. I see, but I'm still a little uneasy about the Great River Alliance, so you'll have to keep a close eye on them for me, Chan Gu. Although the matriarch wouldn't put me in harm's way, the more cards I have, the better. The Xue Lu could have been of help. But that old fox, Heaven 3, seems to be deliberately avoiding me, and I wasn't able to get in touch with him before I left, otherwise I wouldn't rely on this Ji Chan Gu. I'll do as the branch master wishes. Elder Marshal Brother Ji, from now on, I'll deeply appreciate you running errands for me. After all, this guy may look simple-mindedly loyal with impeccable conduct, but it's hard to tell loyalty from deception. If I had received any negative emotions from him, I wouldn't have dared to leave him by my side. Shi Yinner is much easier to get along with. She's so simple that as long as I don't piss her off, everything will be fine. A few days later city of Tsufeng. Lakeside Flowing Water Pavilion. Branch Master, these two are the local Luixin money shop banker Zhao and the China clan's head Wu. The China clan controls most of the inns and taverns in the city of Qufeng, and the flowing water pavilion is the property of head Wu. I've long heard of young Lord Xie's distinguished name, but now that I've met you today, I see your reputation is truly well-deserved. You deeply flatter me. In my opinion, with young Lord Xie's talents, I'm afraid that the five beauties and four princes in the Han Empire will soon become the five beauties and five princes. These are the local Huafang Madam Hao and the gambling house's manager Fong. TL Note, literally flower brothel boat yacht. TL Note, Madam as in a woman who ruins a brothel. Long have we heard of young Master Xie's outstanding noble and handsome appearance and natural talent. In seeing you today, I see that you're truly most remarkable. You're too kind. The way these guys are treating me is not so much sucking up but more like pandering. Chang Wu, didn't you say these people would be full of courtesies? But all they did was say some nice words and nothing else whatsoever. I don't suppose the M.O. Ching sect will have to pay for this meal, will it? Branch Master, the conduct of these guys is a bit subtle. But I'm just a newcomer here, so I don't have a clear grasp of the situation. I only know that they weren't like this when Wei Rudeo was in power. It looks like the situation in the city of Chufeng isn't that stable either. But that's good, because if it were too stable, it'd be no fun. 
Branch Master, I'll investigate them after the feast. Yeah, go check them out. By the way, Chan Gu, that thing they were talking about just now, the five emphases and four points of beauty, Ah Pu. The five beauties and four princes, what's it about? TL Note, this is a reference to the requirements for revolutionary culture the five emphases are. Emphasis on decorum, manners, hygiene, discipline, and morals. The four points of beauty are beauty of the mind, language, behavior, and the environment. The branch master is actually unaware. The five beauties and four princes hail from the various sects of the Han Empire and are the most prominent of the young generation in the Han Empire, all of them with cultivation at the ninth layer of the acquired realm. It can be said that these nine people will shape the destiny of the martial arts world in the Han Empire for decades to come. In addition, among them, the branch master's wife, elder martial sister Ching Xingxi, is known as the Magical Dignified Beauty, M.O. Ching Sek, the Magical Dignified Beauty Ching Xingxi. The Magical Dignified Beauty? It turns out Ching Xingxi is really famous. Sounds about right, Ching Xingxi's body is indeed as springy as a konjac. T.L. Note, konjac is an herb that grows in parts of Asia. It's known for its starchy corm, a tuber-like part of the stem that grows underground. The corm is used to make a rich source of soluble dietary fiber. Konjac is used as a gelatin substitute and to thicken or add texture to foods. It's also used in traditional Chinese medicine. In the Western world, konjac is best known as a dietary supplement for weight loss and cholesterol management. Huh? Isn't that Mr. Yenner of the M.O. Ching sect? Elder Marshal Brother Chan Wu, the water lilies here are beautiful. Junior Marshal Sister Yenner has never seen a water lily before, so I suppose she's very excited to see one for the first time. I was wondering where she'd gone, so she went to pick up water lilies. Don't think about it, that girl looks quite pretty this way. A poem should be recited at a time like this. Huh? It's the gentle dignified prince, Ji Yun Tao. That woman with the mask on, ah. I heard that the divine dignified beauty recently came to the city of Chufum with the gentle dignified prince. She must be the divine dignified beauty Xia Dao Yun. It's the gentle dignified prince. It's my most beloved gentle dignified prince. I can't believe I'm seeing him in person. Ah. How embarrassing, he'll find out I'm infatuated with him. He here you go, a very beautiful water lily. That'll do it, right? Thank you for your gift, miss. I like it very much. The beautiful and young girl from a humble home parts the cold water on her magnolia boat. The lotus flowers reflect her looks, and their leaves by her fragrance died. Holding a lotus flower in her hand, to the gentleman she offers it, wishing to wear a beautiful dress made from them. TL Note, this poem Plucking Lotuses was written by Xiao Yi, one of the emperors during the Liang Dynasty, though the author altered a few things. I gift you this poem as a token of appreciation from my humble self. Oh, you're too kind, young Lord Ji. The poem was very lovely, and I liked it very much. I'm glad you like it. Forgive my rudeness, but may I know your name? My name is Shi Yenner, and I'm the last direct disciple of the great elder of the M.O. Ching sect. That's the gentle dignified prince, Ji Yun Tao. That guy's style is similar to mine, as the main character, the most annoying thing is when there's a character clash. But compared to Ji Yun Tao, that masked woman Xia Dao Yun seems to attract me more. Not the kind of attraction between male and female, but rather a dim feeling that there's something about her that's calling out to me. Young Lord G, what brings you here today? Young Lord G, greetings, fellow seniors. Young Lord G, I haven't seen you for a few days, Young Lord G. You look even more elegant than ever. I heard that my fellow seniors would be gathered here with the newly appointed Tsufeng branch master from the M.O. Ching sect, so I came along with Junior Marshal Sister Xia to pay my respects. You were looking for me? This is Young Lord Xia, the new master of the Tsufeng branch from the M.O. Ching sect. Who is this? 
forgive me for my lack of courtesy. But I didn't come here to meet Branch Masters yet, but to ask my fellow seniors for a favor. Young Lord G, you actually have a favor to ask of us? Why don't you tell us about your request, Young Lord G? As the contemporary chief disciple of the Taishian sect, something that even he can't do likely won't be simple. Let me listen to what he has to say first, but if it's too dangerous, it'd be best to pass it up. Not long ago, the chief disciple of the Dijang sect, Yin Jie, murdered his master, massacred his entire sect, and fled the martial arts world. TL Note, Literally Great Righteousness As you all know, the Dijang sect is a subordinate sect of the Buddhist Qingjai, so if something happens to it, the Buddhist Qingjai will naturally take care of it, and Junior Marshal Sister Xia will take charge. Yin Jia was originally an exceptional prodigy of the Dijing sect who had a bright future ahead of him. Unfortunately, somewhere along the line, he got a fragment of the mantra of the six demonic desires, an esoteric demonic sect technique. As a result, his temperament drastically changed, and he embraced the so-called method of cutting off one's worldly attachments to advance to the innate realm, massacring his entire sect. It is truly tragic and despicable. Yin Jie is at the ninth layer of the acquired realm, and combined with his demonic power boost, he will be very difficult to deal with. However, a few days ago, he was intercepted by Junior Marshal Sister Xie, and his whereabouts are unknown after he escaped with serious injuries. And now we've ascertained that he's in the city of Qifeng. Demonic cultivator, Yin Jie? He betrayed his sect? And he's here in Qifeng? Does young Lord G wish for our aid? But, we can't get caught up in this mess. TL note, literally can't flow into this muddy water. TL note, literally the will is there, but not the strength. I'm just a simple brothel keeper. I'd be more than happy to help with all this fighting and killing, but I lack the power to do so. It's strange that Ji Yuntao being of the Taishian sect is getting involved in the affairs of the Buddhist Qingjai. It seems the rumors were right that Ji Yuntao is indeed wooing Xia Dao Yun. My fellow seniors, you worry too much. Naturally, I'm not asking you to confront Yin Jia head on. Putting people who have nothing to do with it in harm's way is something that I, Yuntao, would feel beneath my dignity. I'm not afraid of that punk but I fear that with his notoriously wicked temperament, he'll prey on my disciples. Young Lord Ji and Lady Xia have been in Xufeng for a few days now. Could this Yin Jia have already left? Naturally not. Junior Marshal Sister Xia have left some devices on him to vaguely determine his location. His whereabouts have remained basically unchanged for the past few days. Yin Jie is badly wounded, so he won't easily change his hiding place, and he's hiding behind a human face mask, thinking he can conceal his identity from us by some lucky fluke. TL Note, literally human skin mask. Although it's called a human skin mask, it's actually a mask made of paper that looks like a human face. These masks are so realistic that when someone puts one on people can't tell it's fake. From what young Lord G said, you've already found out where Yin Jie is hiding. Since we aren't required to partake in the plan to surround and kill him, it seems we're not needed, right? Oh, no matter what plan Ji Yuntao has, we need to stop him from getting us involved in the killing of Yin Jie. Junior Marshal Sister Xie could only determine his general location, but since Yin Jie is wearing a human face mask, we can't pinpoint it accurately. It is impossible for Yin Jie to avoid the fact that your businesses cover almost everything related to food, clothing, housing, and transportation in the city of Qifeng. I need information on the movement of people in all your respective businesses over the past half month. With this information, coupled with Junior Marshal Sister Xia's senses, I'm sure we can find Yin Jie in this vast sea of people. No problem, it's but a trifling matter. It's my honor to help you, Young Lord Ji. That's easy. If Yin Jie visited the Huafang, there must be a record of it. This Yin Jie is a most heinous villain. We're duty-bound to do our part. So he just wanted information. I can do this kind of favor. TL Note, literally one sense of honor makes it impossible to refuse. Then I thank you all on behalf of Junior Marshal Sister Xie. Having brought this up, 
that demon, Yin Jie, was born into a righteous sect, and has always been taught the principles of benevolence, righteousness, propriety, wisdom, and faith. If he hadn't been led astray by the demonic sect's wickedness, would he have committed such an utterly unconscionable crime that would make anyone have the right to duly punish him? Ji Yuntao, this is a banquet for the branch master of our sect. What do you mean by demon and demonic sect's wickedness? Are you looking down on our M.O. Ching sect? Ji Yuntao was indeed insinuating. I knew he was being cleverly sarcastic as soon as he opened his mouth, but why is Ji Chan Wu being so impulsive? He's not acting as smoothly as he did before. And judging by their names, they're not related, are they? T.L. Note, literally holding sand in the mouth and shooting it at a shadow. T.L. Note, literally an old Yin and Yang teacher. Refers to someone who is proficient or experienced at speaking eccentrically or who can answer someone with ingenious remarks. Yin Jie is a brutal savage. If he's not a demon, then who is? However, even though he's a demon, that he has nothing to do with the M.O. Ching sect is something I and Junior Marshal Sister Xian know very well. Chan Wu, you don't need to be so sensitive. Ji Yuntao, don't pretend you're innocent. Couldn't you go find these seniors anytime? Why did you only come now and took no notice of the branch master? Are you insulting our sect? This Ji Chan Wu looks as if he's defending the dignity of the M.O. Ching sect, but he's actually trying to force me to call Ji Yuntao out. I don't like Ji Yuntao either, and I was going to criticize him a little bit, but Ji Chan Wu jumped out on his own, so now it's a different story. Chan Wu, you're thinking too much. It was just more convenient to meet them all here. Besides, there's a difference between righteousness and demonicness, so we can't ask the demonic sect to capture a demon. That's why we didn't want to bother Branchmaster Xie. That's not true, Brother Yuntao. Yin Jie is a brutal savage who betrayed his master and went against his ancestral teachings. Such a person wouldn't be tolerated by my sect either, so I don't see any issue with apprehending a guy like that. Brother Yuntao, you wouldn't think that the demon you used to characterize Yin Jie and the demon in my sex name are one and the same, would you? TL Note, the MC is making a contrast between the character M.O. Demon in his sex name M.O. Ching Demonsic Love and the M.O. Demon in the word Motu R.S. Demon slash Evildoer Yuntao used to call Yin Jie a demon. I'd be glad to hear your thoughts. Our sect is an illustrious sect recognized by the Imperial Court. If every such sect had people just like Yan Jie, who are capable of incurring the greatest popular indignation and give anyone the right to duly punish them, wouldn't that mean that the imperial court is blind? Brother Yuntao, what's your opinion? It's just as Branch Master Xie said. This Xie Yan is kind of interesting. In today's world, the illustrious sects recognized by the Han Imperial Court regard less of whether they're righteous or demonic, just have different philosophies. The so-called righteous and demonic sects aren't a distinction between good and evil. Righteousness is the way of honesty. Meaning that the righteous techniques are pure and long established, just like a grand, straightforward path, most ideal for those who steadily train. TL note, literally, to keep to the working routine. Alternative, to do something in an orderly manner. Figuratively, to keep to the conventional ways while demonicness is the way of mystery. Meaning that the demonic techniques are magnificent and magical, just like going out on a limb through steep, bumpy, and treacherous mountain peaks, but by blazing a new trail, one might find a way to climb to the top and get an awe-inspiring bird's eye view at the very summit TL note. Literally, the sword moves with a side stroke, martial arts, to use a sword with fast, flexible, and unexpected movements, figuratively to break the normal procedure and find a new or different solution in order to be unexpected and novel. TL Note, literally see all the smaller mountains down below with a single gaze. Last line the poem gazing into the distance from the summit of Mount Tai by Tang Dynasty poet Du Fu. So if any of you gentlemen are unable to achieve any results with normal cultivation, you can come have a try at the M.O. Ching sect. That's an interesting way of putting it. I'd expect nothing else from a branch master, always eager to attract new disciples.
However, even though demonic techniques make it possible to find a different way of doing things, there are often unexpected costs or circumstances that can easily cause people to dramatically change their nature. In fact, Yin Jie is a living example. Junior Marshal Sister Xie, you don't like to be persistently in contact with people from demonic sex, so you must be very tired of this trip, right? Not to the point of boredom, but... After examining this branch master Xie carefully, I realized that Elder Marshal Sister Xingxi really admires beautiful things. This Xie Daoyun didn't say anything the whole time, but as soon as she did, she mentioned Qin Xingxi. Do they know each other? Junior Marshal Sister Xie, let's be on our way. Gentlemen, Junior Marshal Sister Xie, and I'll be quietly waiting for good tidings at the Peng Lai Inn. Young Lord Ji and Lady Xie, take care. Young Lord Ji left so soon, Young Lord Ji is gone, but we still have Branch Master Xie. He he he, exactly. Our new Branch Master is quite good looking too. Even that Xie Dayun briefly praised his beauty. Who do you think is better looking, the new Branch Master or Young Lord Ji? Young Lord Ji. Branch Master Xie. Apart from that Xie Dayun being very cold, I was unable to perceive anything else about her, and that Ji Yuntao is polite on the surface, but underneath he shouldn't be a simple man. That they didn't come earlier or afterwards to meet these local notables, but came exactly when they were holding the welcome back a for me, do they take me for a fool? One hour later Branch Master Xie, we'll be taking our leave now, as the situation with Yan Jia may take an unexpected turn at any time. A villain like Yan Jia can't be allowed to stay in the city of Qufeng. The sooner young Lord Ji finishes him off, the better. That's understandable. You guys can go about your business. These bigwigs of the city of Qufeng are somewhat devious. I don't need you here. Go back first. Chang Wu and I have something to discuss. Yes. Young Lord Ji, you seem to like water lilies, so I picked some more. Eh? Where's young Lord G? You've been picking water lilies for an hour. They've already left. I'm going to see young Lord G off. That girl, Shi Yinner, has obsession for Ji Yuntao written all over her face. Whatever will come next? Branch Master Xie, this Ji Yuntao from the Taishian sect doesn't give a damn about our sect. I really stand idly by and watch. Oh. The demonic cultivator, Yin Jie, isn't to be underestimated, so in my view, maybe we can use him to bring Ji Yuntao down a peg? Ji Wu Chang, you're quite pleased with yourself, aren't you? Pleased with myself? I'm not sure what the branch master means. The dignity of our sect isn't to be humiliated lightly, so you thought that if you jumped out on your own and pointed out Ji Yuntao's insinuations, I would have to shed all pretense of cordiality with him, didn't you? Branch master? Protecting the dignity of the M.O. Ching sect is what I should be doing as branch master. But I prefer not to be taken advantage of. I don't care what kind of grudge you have against Ji Yuntao. The next time you want to use me, you better think about whether you have the right to do so or not. As an insignificant pawn, where did you get the impression that you were a chess player, huh? Tell me, what's going on? Don't say you have nothing to do with Ji Yuntao. Please forgive me, Branch Master. I do have a relationship with Ji Yuntao. Ji Yuntao and I belong to the same family, the Ji family in Jiangnan, he's my cousin. Ji Yuntao is a very arrogant guy and the family members his age aren't fond of him. Anyway, the two of us have never been on good terms, so to keep him out of my sight, I simply ran away from home, joined the M.O. Ching sect and seldom return. T.L. Note, literally what the eye doesn't see, the heart doesn't grieve over. Arrogant? Aren't fond of him? Actually, they're just losers who are jealous of Mr. Perfect. In my past life, there were many losers who said I was arrogant too. TL Note, literally tall, rich, and handsome internet slang. I don't know what possessed me. I'm already a disciple of the M.O. Ching sect, but I'm still dwelling on the past, even trying to use the sect to suppress Ji Yuntao. I have committed a grave sin, Branchmaster. Please punish me. That's the way. I like to hear the truth. 
Finger of Nirvana. Heels. Branchmaster, this, I healed your face, but the same mistake isn't to happen again. Do you hear me? Thank you, Branchmaster. I'll never do it again. Okay, tell me about the relationship between Xie Daoyun and Ji Yuntao. The capture of Yin Jie is Xie Daoyun's business, but Ji Yuntao is actively participating as a disciple of the Taishian sect. Don't tell me they're having an affair. It's a long story, so I'll start with the Buddhist Xinjai which Xie Daoyun belongs to. The Buddhist Xinjai is the oldest sect in the Han Empire, rumored to possess a thousand-year-old inheritance. The reason why the Buddhist Xinjai has lasted through the ages is that, in addition to its own inheritance of mysterious skills, it has the support of someone else. Legend has it that every hundred years, a reincarnated saint from the primordial god star will appear in the Han Empire, who will lead the way in unifying the righteous and the demonic. And every hundred years, the Buddhist Xinjai will assign a descendant to seek this reincarnated individual. TL Note Literally Purple Rose Star Z Way Star. From Wiki, in the astrological world, purple is a majestic color related to spiritual aspiration. Astrologers observing the skies noticed that among the many stars, only one stayed seemingly stationary while the rest revolved around it. This star was thus named the Purple Rose Emperor Star, known better in the West as the North Star. Purple Rose is a metaphor for the Jade Emperor, the primordial god. For more information, Google Purple Star Astrology. Xie Daoyun is the descendant of this generation. Xie Daoyun has traveled around the world with many young talents, and Ji Yuntao is the one who has spent the most time with her. Many believe that Ji Yuntao is the reincarnation of this generation. However, I believe that this claim was mostly spread by Ji Yuntao himself for the purpose of courting Xie Daoyun. Oh, so did Ji Yuntao ever get to court Xie Daoyun? I don't do think so. No matter how outstanding Ji Yuntao is, Xie Daoyun has already seen many who are just like him. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't think they were behaving very intimately, so I guess they're just friends. All right. No more gossip. I'm somewhat interested in what Ji Yuntao said today. Keep an eye on those local big shots, and pay special attention to when Ji Yun Tao and the others will attack Yin Jie. Understood. I'll get right on it. I can't wait to see it. How much talent does Ji Yun Tao truly have in comparison to his reputation? Two days later. It turns out that Yin Jie has been hiding in Head Wu's Rujian, disguised as a traveling merchant. This guy really knows how to conceal his presence, since he hasn't left Sufum for so many days. The surrounding population has been dispersed, right? Don't worry, Yin Jie is the only one left in this vicinity besides us. So what if Yin Jie's martial arts are great? Not as much as a peep happens in Sufum without me knowing. Come on, if Ji Yuntao hadn't given you three suspicious locations to investigate, would you even know where Yin Jie was hiding? Then Yin Jie wouldn't have been found without me. Ooh, if Head Wu is so tough, why didn't you go ahead and capture Yin Jie with your own hands? Manager Fong must be joking. Finding Yin Jie's location was just a way to please Ji Yun Tao. Whether it's the Taishian sect, the Buddhist Qingjai, or the Mo Qing sect, they're all outsiders to us. And since they're outsiders, what's the rush to help? We just need to maintain our relationship. That's exactly right. Now, we just have to stand aside and watch the show. Oh? You have a show going on, yet you didn't even call me? It's just the capture of Yin Jie. What's there to see? And if we're going to talk about something to look at, wouldn't it be much better to look at Branchmaster Xie? If it was just someone as insignificant as Yin Jie, there'd be really nothing to see. But, the moon tonight is nice. Yin Jie, it's pointless to hide any longer. Come out. Ji Yuntao, you're really just like a ghost that refuses to leave. You're going to all this trouble for that bitch Xie Daoyun? How rude, but since you're about to die, I'll let you indulge yourself for a while. Huh? Someone's locking me with their spiritual power, wait. 
It's not coming from Ji Yuntao's direction, it's coming from the sky. A clear sword intent untouched by worldly affairs. It's Xie Daoyun's celestial intuition sword technique. But if I got away from you once, I'll get away again. Is that the mantra of the six demonic desires? I wonder if it can match the Buddhist Xingjai's martial art, the celestial intuition sword technique. It said that the mantra of the six demonic desires is an esoteric technique from the second demonic sect, the XINMO sect, and even though it's incomplete, you can still feel its barrenness. The so-called six desires seeing, hearing, smelling, speaking, touching, and thinking are human survival instincts themselves. Eyes. Ears. Nose. Tongue. Body. And the purpose of the mantra of the six demonic desires is to hone one's will by continuously confronting these six desires. Ultimately, one can cut off and even control these six desires and let one's spirit transcend the mundane. Mantra of the Six Demonic Desires Desire for Smell Those who've successfully practiced the mantra of the Six Demonic Desires can control other people's six desires so that they can't see, hear, smell, speak, feel, or think. Desire for Taste Mantra of the Six Demonic Desires Desire for Touch And those who completely master it can even manifest their six desires just like now. However, it's still not as good as Xie Daoyun's astounding sword technique. TL Note, literally banished immortal that came down to earth. The mantra of the six demonic desires can control other people's five senses and even materialize one's own six desires to attack enemies. If it was me who had to capture Yin Jie, I'm afraid I'd not necessarily be a match for him. The so-called five beauties and four princes are really quite powerful. Moreover, I feel that she's attracting me again. Xie Daoyun, one day I'll figure out the secret behind the thing around your neck. It seems that while I was tirelessly healing my wounds, Xie Daoyun's power has improved further. It's unfortunate that the mantra of the six demonic desires I've learned is incomplete. Without the desire to think mantra, I can't put up a good fight against her sword attacks. And if I were to just turn around and flee... Under the Celestial Intuition Sword Technique Spiritual Lock, there is no way for me to dodge, hide, or live. Only when I get rid of the Spiritual Lock can I use that move. Seeing, Touching, Hearing, Smelling, Speaking Five Desires Combination Illusory Body Yin Jia has already practiced the Five Desires Combination Illusory Body? No wonder he was able to escape from Xie Daoyun before. The so-called six desires are actually related to the six mortal forms and can be considered as an integral part of the foundation of human beings. And if you can completely control the six desires, you can give birth to a body from your own mind and live anew. If you can control five of the six desires, you'll be able to detach from your own being to create an illusory body that can break free from the spiritual lock. It's truly unfathomable. Oh, no. It looks like Yin Jie is going to run away again. Ji Yin Tao, it's time for you to take action. It's really unpleasant to use this move, since it's more painful than just taking a sword blow from her. But at least I can save my life with it, so it's better than nothing. Ji Yin Tao, oh, Ji Yin Tao, regardless of how brilliant you are, you never imagined I'd be able to practice the Five Desires Combination Illusory Body, right? The two of you won't be enough to kill me today. HM? This is the true heavenly mantra of the Primordial God? I've kept you waiting, Junior Marshal Sister Xie. Tai Xian Sect Esoteric Technique True Heavenly Mantra of the Primordial God. Ah, what's going on? This is the Tai Xian Sex True Heavenly Mantra of the Primordial God. Ugh. It's that Ji Yun Tao. His true heavenly mantra of the Primordial God can spiritually suppress its victims. It's a devious technique designed to subdue demonic practitioners. Demons and monsters have nowhere to hide.
I never thought that Ji Yun Tao had already practiced the true heavenly mantra of the primordial god. My death was inevitable. Ji Yun Tao was so formidable that my legs are still shaking. Xia Dao Yun isn't far behind. She swiftly locked Yan Jie's real body once more and cut him down with her sword. Both of them are especially gifted. Fortunately, we haven't offended them with our usual niceties. Branch Master, are you all right? I'm fine. That illusion had some of the power of those during the battle between the matriarch and the high priestess of the blissful temple. Is Ji Yun Tao really only at the ninth layer of the acquired realm? If I hadn't leaned against the railing, I'd have been humiliated. The divine impact of Zen was completely unresponsive. I'm pretty much powerless to resist such an attack at the spiritual level. Branch Master, the true heavenly mantra of the primordial god can be restrained and released at will. It won't affect the innocent under control. That bastard Ji Yuntao must have done it on purpose. He's trying to hammer us. Ji Chang Wu is still trying to incite me with his remarks, but he's right. Ji Yuntao was deliberately trying to intimidate everyone, including me, with the intensity of that move. I've always been benevolent to others, but I'm not so honest that I'd greet someone with a broad smile who's dropped in to bully me. My apologies, everyone, but I'm new to the true heavenly mantra of the primordial god, and I lost the hang of it for a short while, so it affected those of you who were uninvolved. Not at all, young Lord G fought very well. As expected of young Lord G. The damage is much less than I anticipated. It's young Lord G, after all. Young Lord G. Brother Yun Tao is truly amazing. In terms of martial arts, you're able to vanquish vile fiends with a flick of your hand, and in terms of writing, you're able to pin down romance. I'm able to pin down romance. What does Branch Master Xia mean by that? Don't try to hide it, Brother Yun Tao. When I was in Jiangling, I had the pleasure of reading a few of Deja Vu's romance novels. Isn't there a rumor on the streets that this Deja Vu is Brother Yun Tao? I've long admired your striking literary talent. I've heard about this Deja Vu who writes romance novels. There's indeed a rumor that Deja Vu is Ji Yun Tao from the Taishian sect. Young Lord Ji absolutely hates it when people mention this rumor. Is Branch Master Xia from the M.O. Ching sect trying to pick a fight with him? Origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points Ji Yun Tao. Branch Master Xie, there is no need to discuss these hearsay rumors. What Junior Marshal Sister Xie said is very true. You overexerted your mind using the Celestial Intuition Sword technique tonight, so why do we have to take trouble discussing this further? I'd rather see you off early to get some rest. Thank you for your trouble, Elder Marshal Brother G. We'll take our leave, gentlemen. I won't bother to see you off. A few days later, after the last sour parting, neither any local factions nor Ji Yun Tao have made any moves. The branch is being managed neatly with Ji Chang Wu's help. I underestimated him before, but without Ji Chang Wu's help, I wouldn't have figured out the situation of the branch so quickly. Damn it, his power has gone up again. He's good at everything, but is too obsessed with Ji Yun Tao. If Ji Yun Tao had a system, he would probably receive origin points from Ji Chang Wu 24 hours a day. Ji Chang Wu can be useful, but if I want to completely bring him under control, Ji Yun Tao can't be a hurdle for him to stride over. Shi Yinner is Ji Yun Tao's fangirl and runs over to his residence every day. W. Luckily, she's not in charge of the branch, otherwise, she would have sent all the forces in Kafong out to win Ji Yun Tao's favor. Love makes women dumb. Shi Yinner has completely forgot that she was sent by the Great Elder to keep me in balance. Casting aside these two inner worries, the situation isn't optimistic by any stretch. The attitude of the local factions is neither hostile nor friendly, and they have always been respectful toward me, with no obvious intention to oppose me, but they're no longer as obedient as they were when Wei Rudeo presided over them. It won't be long before the annual Jiangnan meeting where every year they divide up the proceeds. In the past, the largest share in Xufeng has gone to the M.O. Ching sect, but I'm afraid this year. Ji Yuntao and Xie Dao Yun have been staying in Xufeng all this time, and I don't know what their purpose is. 
The city of Chufeng appears to be calm and peaceful, but in reality, there's rather a bit of sense of movement brewing in the background TL note. Literally, the breeze is still and the waves are quiet. TL note, literally undercurrent of turbulence, this part of the sentence was probably used to make a contrast with the previous one. There's really no quick way to overcome the situation for a while. Might isn't equal to people after all. Since there's nothing else to do right now, I'd better go to another small world and harvest some suckers. System level, LV2. Name, CAN. Realm, Acquired Realm, 6th layer. Skill Mastery, Expand. Origin points, 747.68761 number of times you've entered another realm. Three cooldown has ended. It's really slow to gather origin points in the main world. I've only gone up about 400 points since returning from the world of Kung Xiong, and it's not nearly enough to upgrade the Finger of Flowery Swords to level 4. The random world finder has found the world of Tong Lings. To travel to this world, 500 origin points will be spent. TL note, literally communicating with spirits. 500? Why did it go up so much? It was only 50 origin points before. Activating the realm travel function. Calculating route, do you wish to travel to the discovered world of Tong Ling? System, what's going on? This is extortion. Activating the realm travel function. Calculating route, shit, not answering me back, you're being awfully reserved. If I exclude the possibility of the system inflating prices from the previous rounds of traveling, the more origin points spent, the higher the level of the world. Being 500 origin points now indicates that the world of Tong Ling is much more difficult, and the more difficult it is, the higher the profit I can get, but the greater the consequent risk, but I can always choose to return, so at most I'll go bankrupt, but not die. I'm in. 500 origin points have been used, realm travel function activated. World of Tong Ling, the only son of the Xia group Xia Yan. Soul replacement succeeded. Oh, look at this outfit, a modern world setting, is it? Then rumor has it that the little girl's resentment has lingered on that doll and never faded away. But what's this all about? Was the original owner having some kind of ghost story rally with this bunch? Yet anyone unlucky enough to see that cursed doll will be hanged without fail. The cursed doll may be prowling our neighborhood right now, looking for its next victim. The performance was pompous, the dialogue was dull, the plot was cliched, and the story was terribly told. Thank goodness it was the original owner listening. Memory import, starting. Let's see who the me in this world is first. TL note, literally attractiveness index online. This means that someone looks good despite their clothes, hairstyle, and so on. In other words, when someone's attractiveness index isn't online, it usually means that either they aren't good looking or that they're handsome, but don't look as good as they usually do. TL note, literally second generation rich, children of entrepreneurs who became wealthy under Deng Xiaoping's economic reforms and the SOS. TL notes, literally single dog. Person who's neither married nor in a relationship used self-deprecatingly. TL note, literally eternal. The original owner is a good-looking child of a nouveau riche family. Both his parents are abroad he lives alone, is actually quite modest, though not very good at socializing, and a pure and single as fuck virgin whose handsomeness is wasted on him. He doesn't have any enemies nor did he have any special experiences. This world is also a very ordinary modern world. This simple and boring setting actually cost me 500 origin points. Bien Gue. Long Tao. As for the others, they're all members of an outdoor club added by the original owner on a social networking app, and today is the day they decided to go out camping. But this whole camping trip is just a sorority these people came up with in order to date Jiang Xiaolin. Jiang Xiaolin. In other words, the original owner is really just the silly son of a rich family. According to the memory of Jiang Xiaolan's behavior, she's obviously a woman who's unbelievably proficient at making herself irresistible to men and simultaneously an expert at seducing the guys in the entire club. TL Note, 
literally beheading men three times over. Beheading men refers to anything that has the characteristics of making women irresistible to men e.g. makeup, clothes, beauty, etc. Bien gue, you're too good at this. I, I'm a little scared. Leaving the hoe aside for now, why don't I see what the quest is? Loading quest, Lin Fong, the ghost king who had been deceased for a thousand years, has been reborn inside one of his descendants, only to find him destitute begging for a living and calling a hovel for his home for years on end. On the other hand, the descendants of his former servants are celebrated and lead voluptuous lives. The ghost king, in his rage, vowed to kill all the servants who betrayed their lord. TL Note, literally, dazzling with paper and gold. Issuing quest, exterminate the ghost king, Lin Fong, within half a year. During that time, don't leave the city of Xia Shu A or else the quest fails. Upon completion of the quest, you can return with all the power you've gained in this world, otherwise you'll get nothing. What the devil? Why does the setting for this quest look so stupid? System, you're getting more and more amusing. Wasn't it Lu Ren who was going to tell one next? Hey. Didn't he say he was going to the toilet? Why isn't he back yet? Usually, I possess either a victim or a villain, never a character who has nothing to do with the story. Perhaps, I'm one of those servant descendants who's waiting to be killed by the ghost king. Pant. Pant. What's that sound? But in the original owner's memory, there's nothing about any ghosts or gods in this world. It's very odd. Pant, it hurts. It can't be. It really hurts. It's Lu Ren. The ghost doll from the story. Ah. C-A-N, I. Thud. Hey, you dodged. Why'd you fall down? C-A, C-A-N? Huh? Xiao Lan fell down? Hey, hey, hey. Turn on the lights. Come on, come on, come on. Get the medical kit, her knees are bleeding. Xiao Lan, are you okay? Don't be afraid. It's all props. They're fake. What do you two think you're doing? Acting? What would you have done if someone got hurt because of your antics? Uh, wasn't this your idea, Bien Gue? You will fine, just blame it on me. And you, C-A-N, I saw it all just now. Xiao Lan was about to fall over, but instead of catching her, you dodged? When I saw the quest just now, I got a little excited, but I just happened to encounter this prank, so I subconsciously prepared to fight using the finger of flowery swords. Fortunately, I've just entered this world and haven't had time to retrain my martial arts, or else I would have accidentally killed someone. I have something else to do, so I'll be going. I'd better go home and check my family tree to see if one of my ancestors' names was Lin Fong. I must get a thorough understanding of the entire context. What do you mean you're leaving already? Just forget about him. It's more important to check up on Xiao Lan's injury. Origin points obtained anger. 0.01 points Lu Ren. Origin points obtained anger. 0.01 points Lu Ren. Origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points long tau. Origin points obtained anger, 0.01 points long tau. They're all really diehard fans of that hoe, but someone's missing. Looks like fellow classmate Bian Gui doesn't like Jiang Xiaolan that much. Thanks so much for the origin points. Xia Yin just went up and left. What the hell is up with that? Let's beat it too. Xiao Lan, want to go for a spin with me? I brought my family's BMW X12 today. Uh, I've got stuff to do tomorrow, so forget about the ride. Isn't Xia Yin usually so coy? But how come his expression looked so manly just now? But I'd like you to take me home later, Long Tao. I don't know how many times he's bragged about his BMW, but he's nothing compared to Xia Yin. I found out by accident that his family is filthy rich and his looks, I've definitely got to get my hands on him. Xiao Lan, I drove my car here too. Get in my car. You're not afraid of upsetting Xiao Lan with that beat up car of yours? 
It's been a long time since I've driven a car. It's a good thing there aren't many people on the road this late at night, so I can let myself go. I was in such a trance that I almost thought I was back on Earth. Having traveled through several worlds, modern civilization remains my favorite indeed. But this time, in addition to limiting the geographical scope, the system has given half a year for the quest, so it seems that the difficulty isn't small. As one would expect of a world worth 500 origin points, the difficulty is certainly high, eh? Was that a hallucination or a ghost? What a pain, there are really ghosts. I've only fought people, not these things. Meanwhile, what was that just now? It was gone in a flash, probably just a bat. Don't be scared, Xiaolan. But, there really was some kind of shadow floating across the front of the car. The ritual has been completed. Now, it's time to reap the harvest to the fullest. One day later. First. Two days later. Someone fell off the building. Look on the 26th floor. The balcony railing is broken. What shoddy construction. Second. Xie Yan's house. I purposely went through the family tree and even called the original owner's parents who are on vacation overseas but got no clues and was scolded for staying up late reading online blogs. But after googling the name Lin Fong, I must say, what a name for a main character. The god of war Lin Fong returned home only to find out that his fiancée was unjustly sent to her grave. At his command, 100,000 retired officers and soldiers raced to his side and shouted, Tiger General, please lead us once more. TL Note, God of War Lin Fong might be a pun on the MC of the Manhua God of Martial Arts, TL Note, literally leave the mountain. Figuratively to leave retirement and take a government post or become an official, Lin Fong, who's living at his wife's parents' house, is looked down upon with contempt by his mother-in-law and deemed to be a parasite, but to everyone's surprise. One of the country's richest and most influential men kneel down at his sight and call him Lord Lin. TL Note, literally white eye, refers to when one's whites are revealed when rolling lip one's eyes in disdain or contempt. TL Note, literally eat soft rice, refers to someone who lives off a woman. TL note, this is probably a pun for another MC named Lin Fong. These are all some kind of gibberish novels, forget it, let me just keep practicing the divine impact of Zen. When you're just off the boat, getting yourself a reflective armor is the way to go. Sigh, every time I cross over, except for the finger of Nirvana, I have to practice all my martial arts again, which is a complete waste of both my energy and origin points. System, can't you be a little bit more humane? Skill Mastery, Yang Strengthening Method Current Level, LV2 Level Cap Exceed Whilst the subject is in a state of soul crossing, the use of skills from the main body will be disabled. Skill Mastery, Fist of God current level, LV4 level cap exceed whilst the subject is in a state of soul crossing, the use of skills from the main body will be disabled. Skill Mastery, Ultimate Demonic Bliss Technique. Current level, LV6 level cap exceed. Whilst the subject is in a state of soul crossing, the use of skills from the main body will be disabled. Skill Mastery, Divine Impact of Zen. Current level, LV6 level cap exceed whilst the subject is in a state of soul crossing, the use of skills from the main body will be disabled. Skill Mastery, Finger of Flowery Swords. Current level, LV3. Whilst the subject is in a state of soul crossing, the use of skills from the main body will be disabled. Skill Mastery, Finger of Nirvana. Current level, LV3. Current effect, can cure all injuries and diseases in low-level worlds. Completely restores people to their peak state. Its effectiveness weakens in middle and high-level worlds. Once my break is over, I'll go back to my room and grind all night to practice divine impact of Zen up to the entry level.
The divine impact of Zen is a fusion of skills, so its practice is vastly different from the heavenly guard, but I've finally managed to reach the entry level. System panel, come out. Upgrade the divine impact of Zen over the level cap. The original owner is just an ordinary person, so the tempering of the flesh by martial arts is even more severe, but his endurance is so poor that I feel even more bloated now than when I first upgraded the heavenly guard. I feel like I'm pregnant with couplets at least. However, the divine impact of Zen actually requires 240 origin points to go over the level cap, 100 more than needed for the heavenly guard. As expected of a fused skill, it's more expensive. System Level, LV2 Name, CAN Realm, Acquired Realm 3rd Layer Skill Mastery, Expand Origin Points, 7.78771 I've advanced to the 3rd layer of the Acquired Realm. Finally, I have some self-protection. There aren't many Origin Points left, but in a modern world, it won't be hard to harvest them, so I just need to think of a quick and easy way to do it. The thunder strikes, the cultivator's trial is most divine, the pure gold hammer is a sight to behold the brilliant aura is let loose, the arcane flames are invoked, the menacing highest heaven sword is born TL note. These the first two lines of a song composed by rapper Gui Long. The song is pretty much a jumble of nice words put together, so there isn't much to go on. But one possible interpretation is that a high-end cultivator makes the heavenly tribulation thunder strike his divine. Hammer, he then uses his sacred flames to transform it into a sword. According to legend, the pure gold hammer was a national treasure of the emperor of the Song dynasty that had been kept in the royal family since it was unearthed. But the pure gold hammer wasn't a simple weapon since it harbored the evil spirit of a golden armored general. At that time, Shujo was suffering from famine, and in order to help the people survive it, Emperor Taizu of the Song Dynasty bestowed it to a young prince. However, the demon hidden in the hammer caused the prince's temperament to drastically change, and instead of relieving the victims, he unbridledly exploited the people. When he learned of this, Bad Jing finally vanquished the golden armored general Ken incarnation of a demon with the imperial sword. What the hell is this phone ringing? I'll have to change it later, huh? Jiang Xiaolan's calling? Jiang Xiaolan incoming phone call decline. I want to see you. I want to see you. Come right away. Otherwise, I'll kill myself. When and where? Something's wrong. She's got a very panicked tone. No, one could even say it's fear. One hour later. So handsome, come on, take some more shots. Hey, you can't turn on your phone's beauty cam app yet. Otherwise, the photo will get distorted. He's so good looking that Beauty Cam doesn't even know how to feminize him. TL note, literally attractiveness index is too much to take. I've met a few girls in my past life who've coerced me with suicide in an attempt to date me. But the Jiang Xiaolan in the original owner's memory isn't a character who would do such a thing. But I haven't been able to find any clues related to the quest, so anyone or anything suspicious is worth seeing. C-A-N, I'm here. That's his girlfriend? You can't be serious. That girl is as scary as a ghost. He, he won't let me go. He just won't leave me alone. Long Tao is dead, and Lu Ren is too. It's my turn next. Both dead? I don't want to die. I just don't want to die. C-A-N, help me. I heard him say that if I kill you, I can atone for my sins. I don't want to die. C-A-N, die in my stead. Who's this guy you're talking about? I don't know. I just don't know. Ah. C-A-N, why won't you just drop dead? I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Jiang Xiaolan, calm down a bit. Something bad has happened. Why did that big piece of glass suddenly fall down? Hey, over there. With my divine impact of Zen, what could a physical attack like this do to me? However, I couldn't protect Jiang Xiaolan. She was in such a panic that she fell onto the shattered glass and it pierced her through her heart. Ah, someone's dead. Call the police. Blood, blood. Ordinary people's bodies are so fragile that not even the finger of Nirvana can save her now. 
Sai, so useless in that case, the third one is Jiang Xiaolan. Who's talking? Xie Yin, you're the last one, look forward to tomorrow. Playing mystery, huh? But I already know who you are. Origin points obtained avarice, 0.01 .01 points Bian Gui's ghost. Origin points obtained avarice, 0.01 .01 points Bian Gui's ghost. Origin points obtained avarice, 0.1 points Bian Gui's ghost. Origin points obtained avarice, 0.01 .01 points Bian Gui's ghost. It's Bian Gui, and he's turned into a ghost. Three hours later, Mr. Xie, the police have determined that it was an accident. Thank you for your cooperation. It's our duty as good citizens to cooperate with the police. I finally managed to straighten things out with the police. I'm a victim too. Origin points obtained avarice, 0 0.00001 points Bian Gui's ghost. 0 0.00001 points, looks like the ghost left, though it didn't stay long. That guy is literally an origin point perpetual machine. It's been really awesome getting spammed by it every now and then for the past few hours. Although I'm not sure what's the relationship between Bian Gui and Lin Fong, the ghost king from the quest, and why it attacked me, its emotion towards me is avarice, not hatred. So I must have something that it desires. Night. In an sudden accident that occurred downtown, the glass curtain wall of a building fell off, killing a woman surnamed Jiang on the spot. The news that Jiang Xiaolan, Long Tao, and Lu Ren had died in an accident soon made the headlines. According to the original owner's memory, the founder of the outdoor club was Bian Gue, and all of the victims were roped in after getting acquainted with him. Too bad I couldn't find any details about him. This Bian Gue is very mysterious. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Tickets midnight. According to Bian Gue, he should be here by now. Origin points obtained avarice. 0 0.01 points Bian Gue's ghost here he is, right on schedule. Hey, brother Bian Gue, can you hear me? If you can, just meow. I'm the only one in the whole house right now, so if there's any problem, can't we settle it face to face? Well, if he can hear me, then we can communicate. As a descendant of a servant who betrayed their master, you can even sense me, so you're indeed the most special one. I guess I was right to save you for last. No matter where you are, just by looking at my face, you can tell that I'm pretty special. Is there anyone this handsome? My hunch was right. This guy is definitely the target of my quest. But shouldn't his name be Lin Fong? So why is his name Bian Gue? The quest prompt showed that Lin Fong was reborn inside one of his descendants. Maybe Bian Gue is his descendant? I need to pry as much information as possible from it. Brother, what era do you think we're living in? There's no such thing as masters or servants, except when it comes to kinky activities. But now that you mentioned it, I have to ask, are all those who died? Descendants of servants who betrayed their master like me? Brother, speak up. Since a high-altitude falling object won't kill you, how about a natural gas explosion? Huh? Is that the smell of natural gas? I was trying to scoop some information out of you, but I didn't expect. You were stalling for time, waiting for the gas to leak all over my house. Still, you wanted to kill me with this type of minor mishap? Find a nuclear bomb and drop it on my head if you have the guts. But seeing as you can only play these little accidents, I know that your ability is limited to these plebeian tactics. Origin points obtained anger. 0.01 .01 points Bian Gui's ghost origin points obtained anger. 0.01 .01 points Bian Gui's ghost origin points obtained anger. 0.01 .01 points Bian Gui's ghost. How impudent. He's spamming me so intensely. It looks like what I just said was very provocative. You're just a mere servant, how dare you? You're a wandering soul, yet you dare manifest your true form? Go back to the netherworld. As expected, the power system in this world is really different. My punch can pulverize hard objects, TL note, literally smash metal and crack stone. 
Ha ha ha, is that what you were counting on? How could I be hurt by a martial artist's moves? It didn't do any damage to it. Hitting a ghost with a physical attack really is useless. Struggle. The more you struggle, the more you fear, the more you will nourish me. This is your fate as a descendant of the Sia family. It escaped? It must be restricted to one accident a day, otherwise it would have continued to haunt me. However, let alone fighting if it didn't manifest itself, I wouldn't have even been able to see it, so I would have just been pummeled one-sidedly, which isn't cool. There's no reason to be on guard every day, but if there are ghosts in this world, then there must be ghost hunters. TL Note this is the second part of the proverb, if there's a thief for a thousand days, then there must be a guard for a thousand days. The implied meaning is that it is difficult to always be on the lookout for someone, since there will always be a time of negligence. In the next few days, Bien Gue would appear by my side from time to time, causing all sorts of unexpected accidents in an attempt to dispose of me. Of course, to me, who's mastered the divine impact of Zen, this was basically just fluff. However, his intrusions made it impossible for me to find girls to practice the finger of flowery swords with. TL note, literally a drizzle, figuratively a mere trifle. The good news is that days like this should be coming to an end soon. The ghost hunter grandmaster I asked the Sia family's butler, Lao Guan, to hire has finally arrived, and I must say, it's really nice to have money, since I can do anything I want. Sia Yan's new villa. Feng Shui Grand Master, Black Dragon King, Shen Gun. Grand Master Shen Gui took the trouble of traveling such a long way to come to our aid. We're truly most grateful. Please come on in. Butler Lao Guan. No unconcerned individuals should be present during my master's intervention, except for the victim. Anyone else should leave immediately. The Black Dragon King's disciple by Ming Ming. Uh, the Grand Master has come from afar, so someone has to entertain him, and it wouldn't be very proper to leave the young master alone. Commoners who don't understand the power and taboos of us cultivators shouldn't think that they can negotiate terms with us. After all, this is just a business deal for us. But for you, it's a matter of total annihilation. Well, forgive him, Grand Master, but Lao Guan meant no ill will. After all, I've been surprisingly lucky to be haunted and yet managing to avert all peril. My butler is concerned about the situation, too, yet overly so, and wants to personally witness me out of this plight. Young man, are you questioning me? I wouldn't dare, it's just that the Grand Master's disciples said this is business, so you should naturally show some sincerity, otherwise how can we trust the Grand Master? The attitude of this pair of master and pupil is very domineering, but I don't know if they have the kind of real capability I want. Humph. Innate energy? No, it's just plain wind. Still, there seems to be something wrapped around me. And it's alive. What Sia Yin can't see. How about that, young man? Young master, are you all right? My guardian spirit just gave you a greeting. I hope it didn't scare you. Lao Guan, take the others to the hotel. No one is to be left here except me, the Grand Master and his disciple. I understand. Take care, young master. Surely the Grand Master jests. We've been standing outside for this long, so we'd better go inside. A guardian spirit? Is it some kind of spiritual being? I couldn't see it at all, so I suppose it's similar to a ghost. Excellent, there are other supernatural powers in this world besides ghosts, but I wonder if I can learn them? The Grand Master should be aware that I almost died in an accident triggered by a ghost. Although I miraculously survived, I don't know when the ghost will return, so I hope you can help me out of my dire misery. TL Note, literally broken away from the sea of bitterness. No problem, I'll cast a spell. To help you see the ghost coming. Master, why did the beads crack? This has never happened before. Could it be that the ghost that plagues this house is a wraith? Will K-Way be able to stand up against it? A huge 10 million deal like this is hard to come by. The ghost isn't even here right now anyway, so let's put on a show, get the money and scram. 
Grandmaster, something wrong? Nothing. I was just discussing the details about the ghost hunt with my disciple. Young man, your situation is beyond my expectations. I'll have to pay a much higher price to save you. As for the reward, triple it. No sweat. Dean, you have received 30 million in your account. Master, he's fucking loaded. Do you think I should just throw myself at him? It's always been your disciple's dream to marry a rich man. Stop fooling around. We'll talk after the act. You two, be a little more reliable, will you? If you can't, I'll make you cough up 30 times more than the amount you took from me. I may not be able to beat up ghosts, but I'm quite familiar with beating up people. TL note, literally a light carriage on a familiar road. Figuratively something one knows well and can manage with ease. Ahem, I admire straightforward men such as yourself. We'll start the ghost hunt immediately. Young man, stand back. If you notice any unusual activity, don't panic. Disciple, come swiftly to uphold the Buddha's teachings on behalf of your master. Coming. Ho! I have checked with my yin and yang eyes, and there are no evil spirits in this house, so the cracking of the beads must have been triggered by the negative energy and resentment attached to the young man. Almighty Heavenly Dragon, Venerable Guardian of the Earth, wise Buddhas, wise seekers of enlightenment. Anyway, we've already swindled him out of his money, so we'll just fool around and scram. If we really helped him hunt an evil spirit such as this one, it would take ages to replenish our spiritual power. Flying Dragon in the Sky TL Note, a metaphor for the reign of an emperor that originated in Ji Chang's classic The Book of Changes. You're still here, malevolent spirit? You're really looking down on me. Master, I'll give you a hand. The more I see, the more unreliable they get. Origin Points Obtained Avarice, 0.01 .01 Points Bien Gui's Ghost Origin Points Obtained Avarice, 0.01 .01 Points Bien Gui's Ghost Bien Gui is here. Master, what strong negative energy. Keep your guard up. Master, it's up there. It's coming straight at us. How troublesome. Couldn't this wraith come back after we'd left? TL note, these characters are using two distinct terms to refer to Bien Gui's ghost. ES is a feral fierce ghost whose form by burning hatred against the world is a malicious formidable ghost who has a grudge against the world. Now we can't leave even if we want to. I'm going to use my true abilities. Be careful, disciple. Obey at once, Lord Flood Dragon K. Wei. Listen to my summons. Turn into a dragon and devour the ghost. The Grandmaster's demeanor has completely changed. He's practically a different person than before. It seems he's finally showing his true abilities. I still can't see anything. Is he in the middle of fighting? I don't have Ian and Yan eyes, so I can only watch them trade blows in thin air. Shamans? Master, the ghost spoke. Damn it, this wraith is even sentient. It'll be very hard to deal with it, but K-Way won't be. It's really a flood dragon guardian spirit. What a pleasant surprise. That easy to deal with either. K-Way. It's actually devouring my guardian spirit. Among the guardian spirits, dragons are the top class. Even if this is only a flood dragon, its power is still exceptional. Too bad you don't know how to use it, and since you can't unleash its power, it'll be better off inside my belly restoring my strength. Choose, choose. Ugh. Cough, cough. Are you all right, master? Shit. How could there be such a strong wraith? K-Way was slain in a single blow. Locking ghost energy? As long as a shaman lives, his guardian spirit shall not perish. The flood dragon spirit is inside you. Only if you die can I devour it whole. This isn't good. I'm being locked. I can't die. In that case, I'll have to sacrifice you, disciple. Master, what are you doing? Transfer. 
Ah, oh, ah, oh, oh. Pant, ooh, pant. Ha, ha, ha. It worked. It doesn't matter if my life gets shortened by using that secret technique, or if my disciple dies, as long as I live, I can get them all back again, so it's fine. A futile struggle. Death is the only place you can go to. Am I going to die? In a thousand years, shamans have surprisingly been reduced to such shameful wretches TL Note, literally better kept under the table. TL Note, literally a family that has gone down in the world. That being so, disappear from history once and for all. I still haven't found a rich, handsome young guy to fall in love with yet. I haven't even saved up enough money in my piggy bank. I don't want to die. You're fucking tearing down my house again and even murdering people right in front of me? Bien gue, you mongrel can't you play any other stunts? This slicker isn't an ordinary person? TL note, this term is used to describe someone with more money than sense. Other stunts? Perfect timing. Having regained some of my power, let me open your eyes. You backstabbing lowly slave. Oh, no. The wraith has possessed him. Then rumor has it that the little girl's resentment has lingered on that doll and never faded away. What's going on? Did I go back to square one? Yet anyone unlucky enough to see that cursed doll will be hanged without fail. I can smell the candles burning, and these people look real, so did I go back in time? Or did I fall into a dreamland? Bien gue, you're too good at this. I, I'm a little scared. Let me get out of here and have a look. Wasn't it Lu Ren who was going to tell one next? Hey, didn't he say he was going to the toilet? Why isn't he back yet? Xie Yin, why are you leaving? You haven't even gotten to your scene yet. The game hasn't even started yet, so how can the main character leave the stage? Brother Bien Gue, so it's really you who has been screwing around. The ancestors of the Xia family had to respectfully address me as master whenever they saw me, so as their descendant, you, Xia Yin, are being far too presumptuous. Big bro, slavery's been dead for centuries. Can't you just rest in peace underground? Besides, wouldn't you say that guy's name is Lin Fong? Isn't your name Bien Gue? Bien Gue is Lin Fong, but Lin Fong is not Bien Gue. The hell? Can't you be more specific? One can't speak of such things with beings who have such a narrow worldview. Originally, you were meant to be the last sacrifice and had no choice but to die, yet that flood dragon guardian spirit just now was of great benefit to me, and your existence is no longer crucial, so I mercifully changed my mind. TL Note, literally a summer insect which doesn't live winter can't talk about ice. It's a saying from Zhuangzi Outer Chapter The Floods of Autumn, the idea of this saying is that there would be no point in telling an insect about winter when it only lives in summer, it wouldn't understand what ice was even if you told it about it. Xie Yin, your body and soul are very special, I can give you a chance to submit to my rule anew. Sai, sleep if you've got nothing better to do, you can dream of anything you want there. Bien gue, oh, bien gue, if you have the ability, then just do it. Who do you think you can scare with all this crap? This is the abyss of nightmares, the place where souls plunge into oblivion, where ordinary people can only completely fall into depravity, but you've managed to stay lucid, which is very impressive. I'm becoming more and more interested in you. Too bad, I'm not interested in you in the least. I'll kill you, son of a bitch. It's no use. As I told you, this is the abyss of nightmares. No matter how strong your body may be, it has no significance here. The abyss of nightmares has its own playing rules, so if you won't submit your allegiance, then simply plummet into depravity here. You'll be consumed by a nightmare of fear until you fully expire. In fact, you're already being eaten away without even knowing it. Audacious Fiend I'll expose your true colors. Manifestation technique. Finger of Nirvana. What? How is this possible? Is this mind, spirit body? 
I used the finger of nirvana in lying with the idea of keep trying everything even in the most desperate of situations, but I never imagined it would really work. You were even able to abolish the nightmare of fear. Don't tell me you're a shaman too? No, that's not right. There was no fluctuation of spirit energy in that finger, so how the hell did this happen? It seems like I'm feeling the presence of my physical body. Have I returned to reality? Hey, why is the ground so bouncy? Could it be that the finger of Nirvana didn't work and I'm still in the abyss of nightmares? So heavy, I can't breathe. It's the Grandmaster's disciple. She's not dead yet. It looks like she's still breathing. Your soul is stronger than I ever imagined. You were actually able to return to your body. That's just how cool I am. You have a problem with that? So be it. Since I devoured that flood dragon spirit, I'll need time to digest it. I hope you'll still be as cocky as you are today in three months. Origin points obtained avarice, 0 0.00001 points Bien Gui's ghost. That bastard's on the run again? Pantu, pantu, pant. The one I duped? Did you get killed by the ghost too? Where is this? The netherworld? Ha ha ha, it's really nice to have the company of a handsome man on the way to hell. I can't let her die, or there'll be no way to learn about the supernatural powers of this world known as Tong Ling. Wasn't she hit with something called locking ghost energy? Excellent, the finger of Nirvana is working. I knew I should have had a good time while I was alive. I was even blessed with a pair of big tits, but I died without doing anything. Such a waste. I say, miss, do you even know what nonsense you're rambling on about? Eh? I'm not dead. You were meant to have died, but I'm a martial artist, and I know a healing technique that saved your life. The ghost energy is gone, I'm not missing any parts, and I still have my boobs, I'm really not dead. Benefactor. I have nothing of value to repay for your grace of saving my life, so I have no choice but to toil like a beast of burden in my next life. TL Note, a term of endearment for one who has done good to oneself. TL Note, literally to work like an ox or a horse. Figuratively to work extremely hard. In your next life? Dream on, you'll repay me in this one. But I'm broke. Who wants your money? Am I short on it? Here's the deal, if you're willing to be my personal shaman advisor and do your best to meet my needs, not only will you repay the favor, but I'll also give you half of my fortune. Deal. Sorry, I was so excited I almost forgot the main issue. What's wrong? Half a fortune is a lot of money, wait. Did you find something out? Benefactor, I have some unfortunate news for you, the lifespan of your soul is running out, your death is not far. Hey, hey, girl, don't be an alarmist. Are you trying to get more money? I'm not, I'm not. Listen to my explanation. To tell you the truth, I was born with Ian and Yang eyes. Not only can I see ghosts, but I can also see changes in a person's lifespan. When I first came here, I realized that something wasn't quite right with you, that there was a serious mismatch between the lifespan of your body and that of your soul, and that the life expectancy of your soul was far lower than that of your body. When you used that healing technique on me just now, I seem to have seen the lifespan of the benefactor's soul suddenly decrease by a fraction. Didn't you see that wrong? I can't say for sure what I felt while I was half awake. If you use that technique on me again, I'll infuse my spiritual energy into my eyes and take a careful look at you. Sure enough, I was right. Heels. Who taught you this technique? I clearly saw that when you used it, the lifespan of your soul was visibly shortened by a tiny fraction. This is using the lifespan of your soul to heal other people's wounds, and it faintly contains the litter compassion of if I don't go to hell, who will? Cracks. How much lifespan does my soul have left? Just give it to me straight. I can handle it. Litter compassion my ass. I previously thought the finger of Nirvana would heal my body and recover my energy without using up anything. There's no question it's a secret immortal method, so how could I know it was actually such an ungodly thing? 
It's the lifespan of my soul that's being used, which means it's not the body in this world, but me that's really going to die. Originally, the lifespan of the benefactor's soul was 120 years, but now, it only has one year left. The first time you treated me, you spent almost half a year of lifespan. The second time, when I was lightly wounded, you only spent three days, so the cost of this technique ought to depend on the severity of the other party's injuries. Benefactor, just how many times have you used it? How many times have I used it? I have no freaking clue either. I even used the finger of Nirvana for plastic surgery to extract a confession. I've been fucking killing myself this entire time. TL note, literally make the island of luck known. Wordplay on don't know. Alas, if there was a way for you to have a few more years, you could have tried to become a shaman. As long as your talent was high enough to summon a mature guardian spirit, you could have been able to nourish your soul to increase its longevity. How does one become a shaman? With only one year of lifespan left, it'd be too late even if you started practicing tomorrow. Just help me out and don't worry about anything else. If it can be practiced, that means it's a skill of some sort. As long as it's a skill, I can learn the basics and use origin points to upgrade it to the max level. Benefactor, you have no idea that to become a shaman, it costs a lot of money and materials, and cultivating a guardian spirit to maturity within a year isn't something a normal shaman can do. You would have to be an unbelievable genius. TL note, literally not even one in tens of thousands. Rather than squandering your wealth in vain, why don't we pledge ourselves to each other, get the marriage certificate together, and enjoy some happiness before the benefactor's demise? You're delusional. You think you'd just conveniently inherit my possessions when I died? Ding, you have received 50 million in your account. F 50 million. 50 million yen. Here's some payment in advance. If it's not enough, I'll give you more. A problem that can be solved with money is no problem at all, and since I'm running out of time, it's all the more reason to make every second count. I must become a shaman immediately. Understood. I'll get right on it. My master's ledger, you know? It contains the contacts for sellers of all kinds of materials, so let me. Let me, let me get, masters. I almost forgot that shamans can communicate with the universe by connecting yin and yang, and after death, their bodies can easily become the element for all sorts of evil spirits. Therefore, after the passing of the former shaman, his physical body will be transformed into spiritual energy that will give back to the universe under a religious ceremony for the deceased carried out by his successors. Your master used you as a scapegoat, but you still care what happens to him after death. If I don't, it would be more annoying, since he would turn into a zombie or something of the sort. Even though he wasn't very nice to me, for all it's worth, we were still master and disciple, so I have to see him off on his final journey. Be a good man in your next life, master. Greedy as hell, but essentially, still a girl that has some standards. In this way, Bai Ming Ming started to spend money in various ways to collect natural treasures for me. TL Note Literally heavenly materials and earthly treasures, a term used in various novels to refer to rare plants or minerals with special properties. This South Sea blood jade has a base price of 2 million. Do I have any bidders? No more bargaining. One and a half million. Who else would want this piece of junk but me? The lady benefactor has generously donated 300,000. May the Buddha bless you. You're too kind. I just want to ask for some incense. TL note, a term used by a monk to address a layperson. TL note, literally 300,000 sesame oil money. In ancient times, believers used to donate incense, candles, lamp oil, and gold to temples and monasteries for ritual purposes. However, later on, instead of in-kind donations, money was used as a substitute, hence the name sesame oil money. TL note, literally female believer. Catch that cat burglar. You can't forcibly buy what our ancestors left behind. Your family doesn't even make pills anymore, so you might as well sell the Zheng Yuan cauldron. I've left you three million in cash. TL note, literally rectify correct roots origin. 
in tortoise shell, primordial young egg, high leather. A few days later, Xia Yan's new new villa. This is the progenitor of the mysterious Ying decoration, which can help ordinary people comprehend how to communicate with spirits. Phew, help yourself while it's hot. Bankrolled, a ham, benefactor, take off your clothes and take a dip inside, then I'll recite the incantation for you and that will be it. You didn't just buy a bunch of random stuff to fool me and try to make off with my money, did you? What are you talking about? I even had to raise money out of my own pocket to make ends meet. All of them are of the highest quality, so I can guarantee you won't die a grisly death if it fails. Oh, and don't forget about my reimbursement. There's even the possibility of failure? Shamans are inherently unorthodox beings, so, of course, they wouldn't just succeed so casually. One can only depend on talent, luck, and character, nothing else. TL note, literally to be in defiance of the natural order. Phew, that looks disgusting, but time is running out, so I have to give it a try. Let's hope it doesn't fail, it's no big deal to lose some money, but who knows when that bastard Bien Gui will stage a comeback. It might not be necessarily true that he'll come back in three months, but if he does come after me again, I won't be able to do anything. Origin points obtained joy, 0.01 points by Ming Ming. Oh, he he he, abs. Eh? Hurry up and take them off. Get in there when you do. Turn around and wait until I get inside before turning back. I have to watch you so nothing bad happens to you. Have my fortune, I'll turn right away. It looks very creepy, but it's quite comfortable to bathe in. Bai Ming Ming appears to be rather reliable. At the time when the Lord of Divinities and its treasures preached his scriptures, TL note, this is about one quarter of the fine mantra of salvation and exemption of sins as told in the scripture of the Lord of Divinities and its treasures, a sutra praising Tai, the divine deity who rescues and saves all living beings from waywardness TL note, Lingbao Tianzuan, one of the three pure ones who hid some forms of the Taoist pantheon. It is associated with Yin and Yang and was responsible as the custodian of the sacred book. It also calculates time and divides it into different epochs. The Lord of Salvation too, who is omnipresent throughout the whole universe, rescued all living beings from the path of ignorance with his mighty and divine power. My body is heating up. It's starting to take effect. Yet all beings are unaware of it as if they were blind to the world around them. The rood is my dwelling, the reach, the reach of my mercy is unlimited. TL note, literally sun and moon. The idea here is that without comprehension, one is like a blind man who can't see, even though they have the light of the sun and moon shining on them. By Ming Ming? Once the auspicious clouds opened the gates of life and the propitious smoke clogged the house of the dead as the universe came into being out of the three energies he who grasps them will obtain the key. Hey, how do you read the next word? Forget it, just skip it, holy shit. What the hell is wrong with you, sis? Ugh. The fuck is going on? My head suddenly hurts like it's gonna explode. My will exempts all sing, delivers the masses from all calamity, writhes. But in between the pain, there's a vague feeling that the ing tang point between my eyebrows seems to be connected to something in the spirit world. And that thing is coming out. And once there ascended the endless path to the land of immortals, all will naturally be pure. We did it. Benefactor, you're a shaman now. Is that the guardian spirit that was spawned from my head? Why does it look like a dumpling? Not quite. It's just an embryo of a guardian spirit that hasn't hatched yet. Alas, like me, the benefactor isn't talented enough to summon a full guardian spirit in a single step. This embryo will need to be closely nurtured by you for at least more than a year before it can hatch. Even though you're now a shaman and can open your yin and yang eyes to see and track ghosts, without a mature guardian spirit, you can't increase the longevity of your soul. That's not necessarily so. Skill Mastery, Spiritual Nourishment from Reality Technique Current Level, LV0 Current Effect, a special spirit embryo split from the very soul. It acts as an intermediary between that which is and that which is not, 
granting the practitioner the boon of spiritual sight. Great. If it's a skill and it has a plus sign, then I can fucking pay to win the shit out this thing. Xie Yan's new new villa. While Bai Ming Ming was gathering materials for me, I started to save up on origin points. It's quite simple to earn origin points in a modern era, so I drew on my excellent skills of writing porn, added the bizarre events of the past few days, and posted it online after some finishing touches. I then spent several million on finding ghostwriters to drum up hype, and have already saved up an adequate amount, so now is the perfect time to use them. Alright, let me see how many origin points the spiritual nourishment from reality technique costs. Benefactor your guardian spirit embryo. It instantly hatched into its final mature form? This just doesn't make any sense. Origin points remaining, 16.59452. Skill mastery, spiritual nourishment from reality technique. Current level, LV2 level exceed. Current effect, a special guardian spirit split from the very soul. It acts as an intermediary between that which is and that which is not. Granting the practitioner the boon of direct spiritual contact and increasing the lifespan of the practitioner's soul by 10 years. This technique actually didn't cost me a lot. 30 origin points was enough to go over the level cap. Direct spiritual contact. Does that mean I can finally lose martial arts to fight ghosts? But what's most important is that it prolongs the lifespan of my soul by 10 years, so I will have enough time to find a way to prolong my life if I don't use the finger of Nirvana indiscriminately. Chubby, what should I name you? Gosh, why isn't it reacting at all? By Ming Ming, why does this guardian spirit seem so stupid? Benefactor, although you've hatched the guardian spirit straight into its mature form, you didn't form its consciousness. A guardian spirit that can't be commanded is just a shell, so there's no point in keeping it as a pet, let alone controlling it to fight ghosts. I see, but for better or worse, it increased my lifespan, so it's not a loss. Let me just put it away for now. I really don't have talent for shamanism. I had to forcibly rely on money to reach the entry level using that bath. If it weren't for the system, even if I had spent my entire life, it would have probably remained in that LV0 embryonic state. Benefactor, don't be discouraged. Since the guardian spirit won't do, if you can learn shamanic magic, you can still exorcise ghosts. Since the guardian spirit won't do, you'll have to raise your fighting power to make up for it. These are all spells and rituals that can only be used to exorcise spirits, but they won't improve my martial arts mastery, and they're written in such an enigmatic way that I don't know how long it would take me to learn the basics. How powerful are these shamanic techniques? How many of them do I need to practice to kill that Dian Gui ghost that's haunting me? Benefactor, it's a super strong wraith on par with the Ghost King, so you probably won't have any luck even if you practice all of them. I don't have any shamanic magic stronger than this. Okay, since I can't count on you, it looks like I'll have to physically fight against ghosts. Benefactor, although you're not an ordinary person and have a guardian spirit which allows you to see and wound spiritual beings, if it's just an ordinary wandering spirit, it's fine, but if it's a slightly more sinister one, it can't be defeated by the human body alone. You'll still have to rely on shamanic magic, eh? What are you doing? Oh, by Ming Ming, you still don't know me well enough. If a man's strength is no match for a ghost, what about power that transcends human beings? Can a ghost stand up to a punch like this that's been hardened by 20 years of martial arts practice? Emphasis on the fact that this was just a random punch. Benefactor, I was wrong. You're not human. You must be the reincarnation of some demon. Wah, wow. will I be silenced now that I know this? Don't kill me. I'll offer up anything but my money to you. What the hell are you imagining? I'm a human, not a demon. That's right. I still have important information to tell you. Didn't the benefactor ask me to look into that ghost King Lin Fong a while ago? I found out that there was indeed such a person as Lin Fong a thousand years ago, who suddenly disappeared, but no further records. Though I found out from the ancient texts that his former residence was in the city of Xiaoshui, so it might be possible to dig up some more clues. 
I was going to use this information to get some pocket money from the benefactor, wah, but now I won't dare. Former residents? It's a good idea to gather more information before I fight the Ghost King. Then let's go right now. By the way, benefactor, am I imagining things because of the shock? It looks like the house is trembling. It's not your imagination. I carelessly smashed the load-bearing pillar with my punch. Damn it, I'll have to buy a new villa again. Historically protected structure previously collapsed and rebuilt original owner unknown new. You can feel the creepy atmosphere blowing on your face as soon as you get here, so there's indeed something here. Benefactor, we should be careful. On the way here, I heard from Bai Ming Ming that this building was demolished and rebuilt from an old house more than 20 years ago. After that, there were frequent haunting incidents, forcing the residents to move out. The later developers 46 were reluctant to touch this haunted site anymore, and it became known as one of the most well-known haunted houses in the neighborhood, attracting countless overly curious individuals to come and investigate. Although there have been no cases of death by evil spirits attacking people here, those who have visited were so frightened that they were left with serious psychological trauma. The hell? Just walk properly. Don't stick to me. Little fella, I'm so scared. You should walk next to me, I get it now. I say, by Ming Ming. Aren't you a little too useless? You've only been here a few minutes. And you've been possessed by a ghost? How could there be such a useless shaman as you? Where are you fiend? Watch how I physically exorcise you. Get the flick out of her body. You're a shaman too? Moreover, your magic is weird. It was like some sort of extraordinary force entered her body, and not only did it only knock her unconscious and not harm her, but it also forced me out. But now that you've entered the dragon's lair, no matter what means you have, don't think you will ever leave. Bewitching Ghost Sign ETL Note, Chinger. Ha, dream on. A little ghost girl, huh? Just the thing to try out my guardian spirit. Guardian spirit, come out and vanquish the evil spirit. Go. As I thought, it's not going to be of any use. I'd rather not release it again. It's so humiliating. This is the guardian spirit my big sisters told me about? How useless. If it's this weak, surely your ability as its master is pitiful. Such a shame to have such a pretty face for nothing. Big sisters, come out. This shaman isn't to be feared. Bewitching ghost purply, it's been years since anyone's been here, hasn't it? Such a lovely boy, I'm drooling all over. Bewitching ghost yellowy. Bewitching Ghost Bluey. It's all because Sister Reddy went too far last time and squeezed the vitality out of the young man who came in by mistake and narrowly lost his life. Bewitching Ghost Reddy. This is the first time Sionese seen a shaman, right? Good job. As is custom, I'll have the first course of the meal, followed by yellowy, bluey, and purpley. What about me? What about me? You've only been a ghost for less than a hundred years. You're just a kid amongst them. Your spiritual form is unstable, so you need to continue your cultivation. You can't come into contact with primordial yang as you please. But I want to be as awesome as you sisters. Let's go together. If we take it easy this time, we'll have more time to have fun. Hey, hey, I'm being forcibly divided up among you girls. It's not like I haven't experienced one versus five before, but this time it's five female ghosts instead. So let me find out how different it feels when it's against female ghosts. Divine Impact of Zen What is this power? Mercy Master TL Note, a title of respect for a Buddhist or Taoist monk, a high-slash-senior monk who's proficient in the Buddhist scriptures. Guardian Spirit, Return Master, we won't dare to do it again. We've just got an insatiable thirst for the vital essence of the living. We've never actually taken a human's life. This is Lin Feng's former residence. What relationship do you have with him for you to dwell here? 
Though I can't command my guardian spirit, it allows me to use my martial arts with some kind of extraordinary force that's enough to harm spiritual beings. Looks like I'll have to go all the way with the physical exorcism route. TL note, literally exterminate body and soul alike. Answer me truthfully, or I'll utterly obliterate you all. Noble master is very perceptive, we're all just wandering spirits, so we simply don't know who Lin Fong is. We just wanted to find a place where we could make our home. TL note, this term was said in the old days to praise a man for his knowledge and ability to make discerning judgments. It is probably used here as an implication that he can easily judge what they say next is true. It's not Big Sister's fault we have such a miserable lot, it's just that the rotten men of this world don't understand our virtue. Don't cry, Big Sis. Ah, no one cherished me while I was alive, and even after death I still have to feel apprehension, my life is so bitter. Don't pick on my Big Sisters. Little Sister, don't anger the Master. Come on, don't pretend to be crybabies. I'm not buying it. Are there any other ghosts here besides you girls? These female ghosts are on a completely different level from Bien Gue, and their demeanor is also worlds apart, so they're probably really only using this place as their lair. There is, in fact, another ghost hidden in this haunted house, but... TL note, feng shui term for residence for the deceased. But what? Just give it to me straight. That ghost's in energy is far greater than ours, but it seems to be sealed in the dried-up well in the middle of the courtyard, so even if it gets out of the well, it can't leave the backyard. That's why we sisters dare not go to the backyard for fear of being devoured by it. We. It was only out of goodwill that we were trying to scare people away, for fear that someone might break into the backyard and fall victim to its wicked hands. So the most we ought to get as a reward is to be able to extract some of their primordial yang, which will only hurt their vitality, but not take their lives. Now that I think about it like that, we're all immensely virtuous ghosts. Perhaps we've even accumulated a lot of good deeds TL note, literally merits and virtues. I'm going down there to take a look. You stay where you are and don't move. Eh? Master, my sisters are really not lying to you. The ghost inside the well is very powerful. If this haunted house wasn't suitable for cultivation, we'd have left long ago. If you're met with misfortune, no ghost can save you. You're actually a kind-hearted young ghost, don't worry. I'm not the one who's going to be met with misfortune. Master? Oh, there's so much space inside this well, I really couldn't tell from the outside. This really is a world of its own. Where's the ghost? Let me go find it. Origin points obtained avarice, 0.01 .01 points ghost general Wang Yi. Origin points obtained avarice, 0.01 .01 points ghost general Wang Yi. Origin points obtained avarice, 0.01 .01 points ghost general Wang Yi. Origin points obtained avarice, 0.01 .01 points ghost general Wang Yi. The living, the smell of flesh and blood. Yo, looks like I don't have to look for it. I'll eat you. Eat me? Let me see how you'll do that after I twist your head off. With the guardian spirit's bone, it's really a one-punch deal. Judging by this ghost general's name, he must be part of the ghost king's party. Origin points obtained abhorrence, 0.01 .01 points ghost general Wang Yi. Origin points obtained abhorrence, 0.01 .01 points ghost general Wang Yi. Origin points obtained abhorrence, 0.01 .01 points ghost general Wang Yi. Mortal, how impudent you are. How can your head grow back when it's been blown off? Phew, I've gotten so used to beating people up that I forget I'm fighting a ghost. Die. Divine Impact of Zen Reflect Sorry, but I won't die at your hands. On the contrary, I think you're the one who's going to cease to exist. Mortal, don't be so presumptuous. I'm immortal. Don't talk big. Even ghosts have to be honest. According to what Bai Ming Ming told me, 
Ghosts are made up of Ian energy, and even though they can recover from injuries, they consume this energy when doing so. Your Ian energy is just a little bit stronger. Sai, I hope you can hold on long enough for me to get some practice. Why hasn't there been any movement? He wasn't eaten by the ghost in the well, was he? Sione is really worried about that shaman fella, huh? The little lass is finally growing up. Does she have a crush on him? Not to mention Sione, even someone like me, who's been around tons of men, has her heart beating like crazy. TL note, literally has desire for love begun to sprout. Should I go inside and take a look? If I float fast enough, I might be able to save him. Phew, the fight lasted longer than I thought it would. It seems that even with the guardian spirit's bone, the power of my punches is still somewhat small. Origin points obtained adoration, 0.01 .01 points bewitching ghost Sione. Origin points obtained adoration, 0.01 .01 points bewitching ghost Sione. Origin points obtained adoration, 0.01 .01 points bewitching ghost Sione. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 .01 points bewitching ghost ready. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 .01 points bewitching ghost yellowy. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 .01 points bewitching ghost bluey. Origin points obtained reverence, 0.01 .01 points bewitching ghost purpley. Why am I getting spammed with origin points again? Master, you annihilated the ghost inside the well? I almost got eaten by it last time, so the master helped me get my revenge. Bravo Master is so brave and strong. Oh, uh, why can't I learn my big sister's boldness? I don't deserve to be a proper bewitching ghost. Beauty Energy A ghost's beauty energy is much purer than that of humans. It comes so easily and with such richness. I'll get twice the result with half the effort if I use it to practice the finger of flowery swords. Sisters, there's one more thing we still haven't told the master yet. Oh, yeah, I was so focused on absorbing his primordial yang, I almost forgot. There's more? This dried-up well is extremely peculiar. When we sisters first moved to this haunted house, we teamed up to eliminate the ghost inside it in an attempt to take over its territory. However, we never imagined that before long, a stronger ghost would appear inside the well. This cycle would continue until we were unable to defeat the ghost general that appeared. Now that the master has eliminated the ghost general, a new one will appear, and it will likely be even stronger, so what are we going to do? It's very difficult to find a safe haven, and we sisters don't want to move. It sounds like a monster spawn point. Could this well have been made by Lin Fong using some sort of magic tool? It's easy to gather origin points from ghosts, and it's a good way to practice for the major battle with Lin Fong. I, Xia Yin, have a soft heart for the fairer sex. Acquaintances are often made after a fight, and as a shaman who supports justice, how can I turn a blind eye to such a sight? So we may as well settle here to suppress this dried-up well that keeps rearing evil spirits. From now on, we'll live under the same roof, hope that we'll keep an eye on each other, and be on very intimate terms. TL note, literally make no distinction between what's one's own and what's another's. I want to be on very intimate terms with Lord Xia Yan right now. Lord Xia Yan's righteousness is awe-inspiring and truly admirable to behold. And I can use this to practice the finger of flowery swords. It's a win-win situation. TL note, literally one move, two gains. An hour later a certain someone who was forgotten. Eh, what the hell happened while I was unconscious? Isn't this a haunted house? Why is it this, nice and cozy? Lord Xia Yin, the toilet has been immaculately scrubbed clean. TL note, literally untainted by even a speck of dust. The lobby has been tidied up. Lord Xia Yin, the bedroom has been put into order. Would you like to try it now? I knew it. I have such big boobs, but you didn't even spare me a single glance. I thought you didn't like women at first, but what I didn't expect was that you're not into humans. Just how dirty are you? TL note, literally heavy mouth. Generally refers to perversions that are unacceptable to most people. Don't be ridiculous, this is my new home. 
What? Living with a bunch of female ghosts? Benefactor, what exactly are you up to? I'm going to give you an assignment. Buy me a full set of furniture. No need to worry about the expense. Oh, and a complete set of top-of-the-line live streaming equipment, too. Eh, live streaming? A few days later. Benefactor, the ghost energy in the backyard has suddenly intensified. A ghost is about spawn in that well again. Sound check complete. A yellowy, brighten the lights a bit. What's the point of broadcasting an exorcism? We've spent dozens of millions on roller advertisements, but no ordinary people can see ghosts, benefactor. That doesn't matter. The important thing is the result. The process is all about making it fun for the masses. Just remember to make me look good. Action. Audacious fiend. I'll expose your true colors. Have I been of help to you, Lord C.A.N.? Thanks for your trouble. Thanks to these bewitching ghosts, the beauty energy I was provided with was much purer than that of human beings, thus allowing me to reach the entry level of the finger of flowery swords in no time flat. Once I reached level 2, it became much more enjoyable and effortless for me to fight ghosts, but I can't kill them too quickly since I still have to gather origin points from the live stream. Impossible, you're just a petty mortal. Wow, the number of people in the live stream has gone over a million. No wonder so much money was spent on promotion, even the big screen of the Siashue Business Center was contracted. Huohuo's live stream. How can he fly that high? What the hell is this host doing jumping around and hitting the air for? Is it special effects or concealed suspension wires? Dude, why don't you make your debut? If you do, I'll be your biggest fan who cares about special effects. I'm here to drool over your beautiful face. Isn't he just showing off his looks on the live stream? Is he just trying to draw attention to himself? Geez, rich people really have some lame ideas. Why is this categorized as horror? TL note, literally lick face. Used to express great admiration for someone's good looks. Benefactor, the live stream is going great. That's good. Continue the commentary. Origin points obtained adoration. 0.00001 points Lu Qin. Origin points obtained anger. 0.00001 points origin points obtained envy. 0.00001 points Su Yangi. Origin points obtained fear. 0.00001 points Peng Mind Origin Points Obtained Avarice 0.00001 Origin Points Obtained Charted 0.00001 Points There are those who slander and those who support my live content. Anyway, since I can't take my reputation with me after I leave this world, any emotions that can provide me with origin points are welcome. I've got you now, evil spirit. Kasaya. The more stunts I play to get more origin points, the better. TL note, a Kasaya is a patchwork outvestment worn by a Buddhist monk. Grandmaster Xie Yin has summoned his Kasaya of Destiny, which can blot out the whole sky and turn the universe on its head. Is this the trailer for a movie? Nice special effects. No, no, it's like some kind of haunted house live stream. TL note, literally blot out the sky. Cover the sun and reverse heaven and earth. A very elaborate expression showing that something is latterly imposing, magnificent, and powerful. Grandmaster Xie Yan hits with his sword finger. Bull's eye. He's hit the evil spirit. That was a beautiful move. It's a shame that many of you ordinary mortals in the audience can't see the evil spirit. Still, you folks must keep up the amazing job of viewing Grandmaster Xie. TL note, literally 666, internet slang for utterly fabulous, TL note, literally brushing, a neologism for flipping slash browsing through updates on social media. He won. A great victory, eh? Why did a strange page pop up all of a sudden? Toys Heart G19 Real Life Combat Simulation Popular Search Query on SkyMeow.click to purchase. TL note, the Toys Heart G19 is a Japanese Napoleon masturbatory. It's available for purchase online. 
Sorry about that. That's the end of the stream. Please stay tuned to Shaman Siasanhua's live stream channel for when the next one is scheduled. So funny, this suddenly popped up out of nowhere at the end. But it was quite interesting and the host is incredibly handsome. Real life simulation, he he he, order now. Lin Feng's former residente. Despicable human. The ghost king, whom we serve, will soon awaken and turn the whole world into a vicious circle of malevolent spirits from which not even you can escape. Oh, so you ghost generals really are connected to the ghost king. Tell me, where is he hiding now? When will he awaken? If you want to know. Just wait until you die and turn into a ghost. TCH, he simply blew his brains out. I was hoping to get some more information out of him. But from what he said, I can assume that Lin Fong really hasn't awakened yet and still needs some more time, so it seems there's still enough time to pluck up origin points. Lord Cien, let me wipe your sweat. Hold still, hold still, there's a little dust here. Oh, thanks. Is Cien Yi really a bewitching ghost? If she's so gentle and obedient, it would be more appropriate to call her a maid ghost. Alas, Cyanie is too young. She hasn't had time to be taught many ghost life lessons yet. If you want a man to obey you, you only have to use these words. I'll squeeze you completely dry. And so, with the good show results as well as group hype, I successfully managed to carve out my own world in the live streaming industry. The harvest of origin points was also quite pleasing. As I told you, I have no lack of money. Whoever gives me donations is whoever I'm concerned about. As long as everyone is happy, my assistants will draw 100 viewers and give each of them 10,000 in red envelopes. TL notes, money wrapped in red envelopes as a gift, bribe, or kickback. As my fiery reputation grew, many shamans from out of town came to visit me to investigate. After I demonstrated my magical martial arts, they all expressed their admiration and wanted to learn them from me. But they couldn't offer me anything compelling enough in exchange, so, naturally, I refused. System Level, LV2 Name, CAN Realm, Acquired Realm 3rd Layer Origin Points, 424.48611 Skill Mastery, Finger of Flowery Swords Current Level, LV2 I have over 400 Origin Points again. Sure enough, it's really easy to gather them in a modern world. I can finally upgrade the Finger of Flowery Swords to level 3. Hey, Cyane, boil me a pot of coke with ginger and give me a shoulder massage while you're at it. Cyane and Ming Ming have gone shopping downtown. Aren't we at home? You only remember to call on her, such bias. Not just a mere shoulder massage, I can do much, much more. I don't know how. But it seems like I have developed the habit of calling on Cyane for everything. How many days has this gone on? Gosh, who made her the easiest to use? Cyane, don't you love hounding the benefactor? Why are you following me? Because Big Sis Ming Ming is a very sloppy shopper. I know exactly what Lord Xiaoyan usually likes to eat and what brand of underwear he wears. Although there's no analogy between the age of a human and a ghost, being called Big Sis by a female ghost who's nearly 100 years old is a very conflicting feeling. Spirit exorcism talismans, oh, no. Cyane, run. It's a shaman who hunts ghosts. But what about you, Big Sis Ming Ming? Go. The ghost of the old wells hasn't respawned yet, and since I've upgraded the finger of flowery swords to level 3, I don't have any other skills to upgrade for the time being, so I might as well practice the fist of God I learned in the second small world. Though it's not much to look at, it's more impressive than southern boxing, so I can change my performance during the live stream, making it more appealing for the audience. I'm really working hard for the origin points. Lord Cien, hurry. Please save Ming Ming. Did something happen? On our way back, we ran into a shaman and Ming Ming to protect me. Ah, uh, she was taken away by them. Ha, huh, there's actually someone who dares to touch my people and harm my ghosts? Cyane, can you keep going? Lead the way. I'm fine. Assholes, let me go. 
You even wrecked my car. Do you know how much it was worth? I've got a powerful companion. If anything happens to me, he won't let you away with it. I can't keep this rambling up for much longer. Why isn't the benefactor here yet? Don't let anything happen to Cyanie. She was hurt by a spell. Guardian spirit Mei Lang. Distinguished shaman family legitimate son of the Ng family Ng Jun, just a crappy shaman and a little underage bewitching ghost, but you couldn't catch them all, so you had to let one go? We're truly sorry, young master. However, with this woman, you should be able to force that man surnamed Siat to hand over his martial art. A shaman who no one has ever heard of or where he got his inheritance from was actually able to master such an unheard of martial art capable of killing evil spirits. What a reckless waste of God's gifts. If he gives it up obediently, I'll leave it at that and just cripple his cultivation, but if he resists, I'll give him a taste of the Ng family's methods. Ng family, that Ng family whose inheritance has lasted for a thousand years. Well, since you've heard of it, then you should know how prestigious my family is among the shaman families. Looking at you more closely, you're not bad looking. Your face and body all suit my tastes, especially your virginity. Has that guy surnamed Siat actually never laid his hands on you? Ha ha ha, could it be he's actually impotent? I'll grant you a chance to be a good girl and cooperate with me. Once I get the martial art from that guy surnamed Sia, I'll consider taking you as my concubine. A thousand-year-old distinguished family is flicking something, huh? All you have to do is open your mouth and grant someone a chance, as if everyone was begging you for it. Plus, you have such an unsightly face, you make me sick to my stomach just by looking at you. Take me as your concubine? You wish. Impudence. You ungrateful bitch. TL note, literally give pace. Don't want face, used when someone rejects an offer to save one's dignity reputation. Mei Lang, use your magic. Stir up her lust. I'll make her crawl at my feet like the bitch she is. Why you're shameless? Oh, I couldn't put up with him for a moment there. What should I do? I don't want this. This is. Was it you? Who just bullied Cyan Yi and kidnapped by Ming Ming? Who's there? Come out. Mei Lang, protect me. Mei Lang? Impossible, this can't be. How could someone be so strong as to instantly kill my guardian spirit? I seem to have heard you calling me impotent. How much did you drink to get this wasted? You're the one surnamed Xie? You can't kill me. I'm from the Ng fam. Pal, that's not how you beg for mercy. With you being this arrogant, and not even capable of saying my full name, surely you didn't think I'd let you breathe any longer. Benefactor, I didn't even have time to stop you. Why did you kill him? He's from the Ng family. The notorious and extremely unscrupulous Ng family who sides with their own despite being at fault. By killing him, his whole family will come after you like rabid dogs. So I'll just kill them all, grind their bones, and scatter their ashes later. That way, no one will know, will they? Besides, that's hardly the point. The point is, if I didn't kill him, would he stop bothering me? Good for nothing, you've been following me around for this long, and you're still this scared of trouble? I was prepared by the time those shamans came to my door, wanting to inquire about the secrets of my unique martial art. In this world, those who don't worry about scarcity worry about uneven distribution. TL Note This is a reference to one of Confucius' ideas on taxation. Confucius pointed out in Chapter 16 of the Analects of Confucius, I have heard that the nobility do not worry about scarcity, but rather about uneven distribution. Do not worry about underpopulated, but rather about unrest. If wealth is equalized, there will be no scarcity. If there is harmony, there will be no shortage of people. If there is stability, there will be no danger of being overthrown. Because of this, if those from afar do not yet pledge their allegiance, let them be invited with benevolence, righteousness, propriety, and cheerfulness. If they have already come, let them dwell in peace. Therefore, it's about time to disclose my martial art. It is called Ultimate Demonic Bliss Technique. By Ming Ming, you'll be my inheritance elder. Oh, ultimate demonic bliss technique? 
Hey, 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 you guys, watch the other two lanes. Why are you all jostling down the bot lane? I want to be all lovey-dovey with my beloved Lord C.A.N. too. Go back to the jungle, purply. Only I can be Lord C.A.N.'s boot fear. Use yogurts. But don't kill the ones at low HP. Let me finish them off. TL Note all the above sentences are references to the video game League of Legends. The map is divided into four sections, the three lanes, top, mid, and bot, and the jungle. You guys are so laid back, I'm exhausted. Oh, Ming Ming, I only asked you to keep a watch at the door, and when you saw a shaman paying a visit, pitch them the ultimate demonic bliss technique. How tired can you be? When those shamans learned that you were finally going to pass on your martial art technique, they spread the word like wildfire, and among those who came, many belonged to distinguished families well-renowned within their circle. Even the Ng family sent someone. He he he, they don't even know that Ng Jun died at your hands. The benefactor did a great job silencing them. Strangely enough, a lot of shamans have come to Xia Shui recently, not just for the martial art manuscripts, whatever, I've got a lot of good stuff for the benefactor this time. Good stuff? Ming Ming, let me wipe your sweat. You're such a nice girl, Cyanie. Benefactor, I've been exchanging the manuscripts for a bunch of techniques, though ordinary shamanic techniques aren't as good as your martial arts, still, the top four bamboo slips are rare techniques especially suitable for the benefactor to practice as the master of a guardian spirit that vainly possesses an outer shell with no consciousness. Spirit Casting Technique Soul Consolidation Technique Theory of Guardian Spirit Cultivation and 108 Ways to Cultivate Rapport with a Guardian Spirit As I thought, I don't get anything, but since I've got nothing better to do and have almost finished practicing my own martial arts, I'll practice reading these things starting tonight. Two months later Sure enough, I shouldn't have held any hopes for the shamanic techniques of this world. I stumbled throughout the entire basics of the four books that Bai Ming Ming brought back, and then discovered that I could even use the system's development function to fuse them into one skill. This may sound like a good thing, however. Shit, what the bloody hell is this? Skill Mastery, Spirit Casting, and Soul Consolidation Technique Current Level, LV2 Level Cap Exceed Current effect, a combination of the spirit casting technique, soul consolidation technique, theory of guardian spirit cultivation, and 108 ways to cultivate rapport with a guardian spirit, which greatly enhances the resonance between the guardian spirit and their master and increases the possibility of guardian spirit metamorphosis. Why can't I understand what this description means? My lord, get up and have your meal. Cuckoo. Hey, Lord C.A.N., your bird can hoot now. X, he's gained intellect. Benefactor, you're a real genius. You got such a miraculous result after just two months of cultivation. It's still pretty retarded, since it can only slightly respond to my commands. The skills in this world are really not cost-effective. This crap cost me almost 800 origin points all the way until now, wasn't it more worthwhile to use what I saved up to upgrade the Finger of Flowery Swords to level 4? TL Note, literally wouldn't it smell good? Video games often charge money to buy equipment or gamble for stuff, but the price is often unsatisfactory, at which point someone might say this expression. It all started when an old man who was selling junk said, wouldn't it be better, smell good, to use my money to buy ribs? Which implies it'd be a better deal to buy the ribs. By the way, how's your training on the Heavenly Guard I taught you going? It's so hard to practice it, Benefactor. Can't you teach me something simple like the upgraded version of the Ultimate Demonic Bliss Technique? Stop yapping with me. I told you to practice it, so just do it. If you don't learn the basics in three days, I'll take away your money. I'll practice right away. She really doesn't let people have any ease of mind. What are you laughing about, Cyanie? Because Lord Cia Yin is so kind-hearted, it's obvious that you're afraid of Big Sis Ming Ming's inability to defend herself, so you're forcing her to learn it, but pretend to be so devilish to keep her from feeling grateful to you. I'll go keep an eye on Big Sis Ming Ming to make sure she doesn't fail to live up to Lord Cia Yin's goodwill. 
Don't forget to threaten her by taking away her money. That's the only thing she'll listen to. Cyanie is pretty good at taking other people's clothes off. I mean, good at understanding other people's intentions. She's really taking the load off me these days. Maybe what I was missing was a little maid like her. TL note, clothes and intentions have similar pronunciations. I'll have to teach that damned girl you are you some manners when I get back to the main world. Well, that's happily settled then. System panel, come out. Let me see if I can upgrade something with the remaining origin points. Jesus. I really can't. Origin points remaining, 1053.16543. Skill mastery, finger of flowery swords. Current level, LV3+. plus. Not enough origin points to perform this upgrade. Okay. Skill mastery, finger of nirvana current level, LV3. Requirements haven't been met to perform this upgrade. Okay. It seems that the advancement from level 3 to level 4 for high level martial arts is quite the hurdle. Even with this many origin points, I can't upgrade the finger of flowery swords. And what the hell is up with the finger of nirvana? It even requires special requirements? Bien Gue said he would come to butcher me in three months when he ran off. Now it's almost time. Will that guy show up on schedule? It would be best if he doesn't. There's still a lot of time left before my half-year quest deadline. If I accidentally kill him, I'll have to return immediately. It's not so often that I get to cross over into a modern world, so I'd be really sorry about my 500 origin points entry ticket if I don't rip off a bunch more before I get back. Distinguished Shaman Family Paying Family Patriarch Paying DeBeo Distinguished Shaman Family Ing Family Patriarch Ing Wu Long time no see, Ing Wu, my boy. Why don't I see your second son? Didn't you say he was coming too? I hope you have been doing well, Brother Pang. Ing Jun ran off God knows where and took his soul lantern and life medallion to prevent me from catching him, that lousy punk. Ha ha ha, he's still young. It's good to be lively. I didn't think we'd be able to get our families together like this. I wonder if that person will be satisfied. Distinguished shaman family, she family patriarch, she Sai. How dare I not come if that person summons us? By the way, have you been investigating Xia Yan of the Xia family? My boy, you, is here too. I thought you absolutely hated to move away from your lair. Yes, we did. There's nothing unusual about it. It's just that his martial arts skills are quite remarkable. Indeed, it's extremely unusual for even a shaman to be able to fight ghosts with earthly martial arts. Ha ha ha, it looks like we all got Xia Yan's book, Ultimate Demonic Bliss Technique. So, how do you feel after practicing it? I've passed it on to those under me. It's actually quite simple to learn the basics, and it really does have some effect on strengthening one's body, but nowhere near as good as Xia Yan's performance. I suspect he has even more powerful martial arts. I advise you two not to mention Xia Yan in front of that person later, as he's one of the descendants of the four great families who was essential to perform the divine ghost resurrection blood sacrifice ritual, and since he's still alive and kicking, knowing that person's temperament, I'm sure he won't want to hear that name. Don't blame me for nagging, but my family has recorded more ancient accounts of his deeds, and I'm fully aware of the entire course of events. 300 years ago, the four great families renounced their inheritance, took nothing with them, and merely chose to return to life as ordinary people. That's not exactly a betrayal, but when he awoke, he exploded with fury and sacrificed their descendants to perform the divine ghost resurrection blood sacrifice ritual. Moreover, that person didn't inform us when he awoke in Bien Gai's body, or even when he started the divine ghost resurrection blood sacrifice ritual. Nor did he call us up until he regained a certain amount of his strength by devouring Shingun's century-old guardian spirit, Kei Wei. That's some rather chilly temperament. Shu, keep it to yourself. That person's coming out. You guys, pay attention.
We humbly welcome your majesty back to the world of humans. A thousand years. I've been lying dormant for a thousand years, and now I'm finally back to the world of humans. How's the current political situation after a thousand years? Reporting, Your Majesty. Within the past thousand years, we, ghost retainers, have completely infiltrated the shaman's inner circle, severed their inheritances without anyone knowing it, and have become the sole legitimate doctrine in this continent. TL Note, literally without neither gods nor demons knowing or sensing. We've just been waiting for your majesty to lead us in unifying the whole world. How ironic it is that my trusted servants have betrayed me, and it is you, descendants of the formerly insignificant ones who remember me. Excellent, you have done well. As such you shall be rewarded. I'll grant each of you a stick of Ean incense. Just kneel and bow down to me sincerely with it on your heads, and praise the name of Ghost King Lin Fong in your mind. Those who sincerely offer their worship for me can each obtain spiritual yin energy that will aid them in their cultivation. We thank your majesty for this honor and grace. You probably don't know of this, but I once raised a hundred ghost generals and kept them sealed in a ghost rearing well somewhere in my former residence to prevent them from wreaking havoc before falling into my long slumber with the assistance of these one hundred ghost generals as well as your own. The battle is already predetermined. No one can stop me from returning to the top of the world. 100 Ghost Generals, show yourselves. HM, where are my 100 Ghost Generals? Show yourselves on the field at once. Ghost General Wang Yi. Ghost General Du Lu. Ghost General Ju Qi. Ghost General Tian Jiu. Ghost General Yi Bia. Ghost General Hung Bai, come forward. Come forward now. Ghost General Hung Bai has come to heed His Majesty's summons. Why did the hundred ghost generals not obey my call? And why did the only one to appear, Ghost General Hung Bai, perished from lack of Yin energy? Could there be something wrong with the ghost rearing well? Oh, I was wondering why it suddenly disappeared in the middle of the live stream ghost fight, so it was summoned by you. H.M.? If it wasn't for my stupid bird's tracking skills, I wouldn't have had a single clue that you guys were near me this whole time. Lowly slave descendant, was it you who exterminated my 100 ghost generals? Oh, you're so imposing. Should I call you Ghost King Lin Fong now? Benefactor, benefactor. Lin Feng's Yin energy is so intense, it's enough to be captured on camera. That guy has refined his body, so he's probably totally recovered his power. You have to be careful. It will be even better if we can get it on camera. The live stream will surely pop. Oh, that's right. You girls, keep your distance and hide while you're shooting. Don't come over. It's gonna get really loud here. Hey, C.A.N. actually dared to drop in. He's really got some nerve. He doesn't think he can wrestle with his majesty now that he's regained his power, does he? Gentlemen, it's time for us to show off before his majesty. How brazen of you, C.A.N. You must have a death wish. King Snake, swallow him up. I was wondering why so many distinguished shaman families suddenly popped up in Xiaoshue, so you have been Lin Feng's cronies for quite a while now. T.L. Note, literally wear the same trousers. Hey, this black python of yours is pretty resistant to a beating. It kinda has the strength of a ghost general. He crushed Brother Pang's guardian spirit with just one blow? I knew he was strong, but to be this strong is unheard of. Your majesty, your servant is incompetent. No harm. There's indeed something mystical about this brat that can't be dealt with by the likes of you. Just kneel and praise my name without any further action. His Majesty favors us. What are you people doing? Are you giving your fellow classmate, Ghost King, a shot in the arm? TL Note, literally blood transfusion, figuratively give strength slash support to someone else. Now that you're here, C.A.N., stay. Though I have no idea what this crazy fuss you're doing is all about, as the old saying goes, what my enemy wishes, I must destroy. Therefore, may hell be your afterlife. 
Ultimate Demonic Bliss What's going on here? Why did they suddenly blow up? I've trained my eyes to make anyone I stare at explode, so you better not kneel down to Lin Fong anymore. Or I'll open my eyes wide and you'll all blow up. Cian, Yan. How dare you? No. No. He's right. Just one glance at the Pang family patriarch and he exploded. What kind of monstrous power is that? Anyone else? What guts you all have? Kneel down and continue worshipping. No sincerity at all. There's not even a drop of belief arising from your worship now. So don't blame me for forcibly sucking it out. What's happening? I can't control my body. My head hurts. I can feel my spiritual energy rapidly draining away. Alas, I feel sorry for you all, so how about this? As long as you muster up the courage to defy your master and break free from his control, at least I'll give you a way out, so that you can have a slight chance of fleeing with your lives. Xia Yan, no, Grandmaster Xia Yan. Grandmaster Xia Yan, your mercy knows no bounds. Yes, that's it. You can't just blindly obey if you want to live, you have to fight back. This is in ancient times, why would you not act like proper men, but be someone else's dog instead? Don't be like some antique scholar who talks about masters and servants day in and day out over and over again. Don't tell me everyone has to be born a slave. You're all just mere slaves yet you dare to rebel? From the moment you entered my service, your lives were not your own. Oh, dear, it looks like you're even more ruthless than me. Whatever, I can't go easy on you, so I'll just blow them all up. Ultimate demonic bliss, may hell be your afterlife. Very well, Xia Yan, you have managed to provoke my ire. Supernatural transformation ghost king prominent body. All of those explosions and you're not dead. As expected of the ghost king. Go into the abyss of nightmares and carefully reflect upon your actions. The Abyss of Nightmares again? Damn it, the divine impact of Zen doesn't seem to be able to deflect that, huh? I thought I was going to have to waste my finger of Nirvana again, but I didn't expect it would be settled like this. I don't know if it's because of the Transcendental Spirit Nurturing Technique or the Spirit Casting and Soul Consolidation Technique, but this silly bird can help me by taking on the burden of spiritual attacks now. Your guardian spirit is just the lowest low-grade white owl, but it can actually dispel the abyss of nightmares I cast in my current state. C.A.N., oh, C.A.N., why did you have to resist? You don't wish to sleep peacefully for all eternity in a dreamland. Yet you stubbornly choose such a miserable death by thousands of swords piercing through your heart. Ten thousand swords of mystical aim. Reflect. That's quite the defense, but it's a shame that my 10,000 swords of mystical lean are infinite. You can't stop them for her? Huh? Finger of flowery swords bend and tum as I please. What? Enough with your high and mighty act. You're a very intimidating prick, but you're not so intimidating. If I put a hole in your skull, are you? I should give you a nickname later. How about Ghost King with a hole for his head? Sia Sanhua is live again. Is this a movie or something? The special effects are pretty realistic. Come on dudes, don't you know Sia Yan who's a live streaming giant these days? Look at the sky, everyone. Wow, why did the sky here suddenly overcast like the one in the live stream? Is this a live feed chain reaction? Hosts nowadays are really going to great lengths to make their shows stick out. Wait a minute. Isn't the live stream taking place in that deserted house on the outskirts of town? It's actually that close? It gives you that wonderful feeling of being there. Benefactor, the live stream is truly a hit. Five million people are watching it now. Also, you gotta go easier on him. If he drops dead, we won't have anything to broadcast. It's not gonna be that easy to kill him. This guy's body is just like those of fiction, and it can even regenerate itself just like a ghost's. I've underestimated you. You can actually wound me. By Ming Ming, switch my mic to the live stream. 
I want to interact with the viewers. Okay. Done. Hey, folks, I'm gonna show you what it means to violently slash a dog's head off. This ghost is different from the normal ones. It's much more powerful. Why don't we bet on how many times he can take a hit from me without dying? Benefactor, someone's bet 10 speedboats to see you slice all his limbs off. Roger that. This is an intangible lean energy that takes the form of a corporal body, as such every part of my body is invulnerable. C.A.N., don't waste your energy. Benefactor, someone's donated a firecracker for you to kick that guy's ass. T.L. note either that or it's an ancient cannon artillery cannonball. Got it. Eat my kick. If he were a human, he'd have become a eunuch if he hadn't died from my kick. Don't panic, everyone. Those of you in the audience who are familiar with my live stream know that ghosts can't be killed with just a few punches or kicks. He'll definitely recover. C. Silence. C.A.N. Turn that thing in your ear off. Uh oh, that's a pretty mean ghost. You folks in the audience didn't get scared, did you? It looks like nothing's happened to him even after taking all those hits. The ghost generals from before would have been long gone by now. He sure is resilient. The finger of flowery swords is quite draining, so if this keeps going like this, he's going to exhaust me to death. I can't continue with the act anymore. I'm going to have to hack him to pieces in one go. I'm going to tear you to shreds. Finger of flowery swords 50 consecutive slashes. Even all that slashing didn't kill him? I'm running out of innate energy. C.A.N., do you feel despair? Today, I'll show you why I, Lin Fong, am revered. As the Ghost King. May the spiritual whirlwind blot away the silence. Heaven's wrath then thunder palm. Divine impact of Zen. He can even fucking dish out the great palm of Buddha? The divine impact of Zen's reflection was smashed by sheer force. TCH, as one would expect from the boss of a world worth 500 origin points, he's so formidable that if he went all out, he might just be nearly as strong as an innate realm practitioner in the main world. My innate energy is depleting rapidly, even with the boon of usage cost reduction for defensive skills of the national soul, I can't hold on. I'm afraid I won't be able to hold this back for even 10 more seconds if this goes on. Unless I use the finger of Nirvana to recover my energy, but that's just like taking a supposed remedy only to make matters worse. I won't last long even if I use up all of my lifespan. TL note, literally drinking poison in the hope of quenching one's thirst. I've been performing for so long that the harvest of origin points has practically never stopped. I wonder if I can upgrade the finger of flowery swords to level 4 now. If I can, even if I can't kill Lin Fong, I can still advance my cultivation realm and ease the crisis. Origin points remaining, 1589.11351. Skill Mastery, Finger of Flowery Swords. Current Level, LV3. Current Effect, One can bend it and turn it as one pleases by moving its energy as one wills. I only have nearly 1.600 origin points, less than I imagined. Indeed, there are only a handful of people who will have extreme emotions towards the lead actor when watching a movie after all. Most people will just enjoy it. Fortunately, the audience base is large enough. Let me see if I can upgrade to level 4 now. System prompt, your cultivation realm has advanced. Current Realm, Acquired Realm, Ninth Layer. Ha! Reflect. A last-ditch effort? Pretty good. You even managed to block the force of my palm strike for a bit HM. Finger of Flowery Swords, Withering of the Hundred Flowers. Ha ha ha, this move again? A feudal resistance. Is it? You're as good as dead. This sensation, what did you do? My body is being destroyed by rapid erosion? How is this even possible? No. Origin points remaining, 91.41659. Skill Mastery, Finger of Flowery Swords.
Current level, LV4. Current effect, one can use his sword energy to penetrate a body and trigger the withering of the hundred flowers. The effect of finger of flowery swords at level 4 is to allow one's sword energy to penetrate the opponent's body and cause an erosive reaction. If there is no special means of resistance, the enemy will be disintegrated from the inside out. However, it consumes an excessive amount of innate energy. I completely exhausted all my newly filled innate energy I received just now from my advancement to the ninth layer of the acquired realm. Using it is really an all or nothing attempt. It either results in the enemy's demise or my own, though it's a good thing it worked on Lin Fong. Tia. Note, this is a term that means to seize a fleeting opportunity to focus all of one's strength on an all-out attack crush an opponent in a moment when own strength is stronger than the opponent's. Lin Fong has been thoroughly destroyed. The user has completed the quest. The reward is 2,000 origin points. In 10 seconds, the user will be returned to the main world. Please make preparations. Sigh, it's time to go back to the main world again. It was so dangerous this time that I couldn't handle all the time that was left in the half year. What a waste. Ghost King Linfong has been destroyed. The dawn of a new era has finally arrived. The light of righteousness shines once again upon the land. That's all for today's live stream. Follow Shaman Siasanwa to get closer to the magnificent world of fantasy. Phew, what a thrilling fight. It was so frightening that I almost stuttered at the end. Hey, where's Sione? Oh, Sione, hasn't she gone to find Lord Siayin? After all, Lord Siayin has just fought a big battle, so he must be feeling awfully unreserved right now and wants to get laid even more. He he he. Aren't you girls usually more active than ever after the ghost fighting is over? So why are you all just standing there today and allowing Sione to go first? Sai, it's obvious to everyone that Sione is truly in love with Lord Siayin. We bewitching ghosts are generally so passionate and promiscuous that we seldom show true feelings. But if we do, we'll be with them for life. But she's shy by nature, so if we don't give her a push, who knows when she and Lord Xie Yin will hook up. Ming Ming, let's move further away, so as not to make Sian Yi feel too embarrassed. Hey, hey, hey. Don't drag me away, I've got true feelings too, even though it's second to money. Lord Xie Yin. Sian Yi? Come, 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 you're here just in time. I have something to entrust to you. I'll need you to deliver a message to the others later. Leave it to me. Not to mention a single message, I'd deliver tens or even hundreds of them. Keep it a secret. This battle has damaged the foundation of my soul, so I'm afraid I'll fall into a deep sleep for a while. Even if I wake up, I may not remember you, so don't worry about me from now on. You and your sisters can do whatever you want. Lord Xie Yin, how can this be? Remember to urge by Ming Ming to practice her martial arts, take good care of herself. And not let men cheat her, you hear? Don't cry. I'm just taking a nap, not dying. I'll be sure to watch over Lord Xie Yin until you wake up. Starting the transfer countdown, 5, 4, Sian Yi is so sweet and considerate, I'm a little reluctant to part with her, but all good things must come to an end. TL Note Literally, there is no such thing in the world as a never-ending banquet. Silly bird, what doing? Two, one, de fuck? Zero. Wait. Spitter the flick out, you stupid bird. Mo Ching Sek Tsufeng Branch. I'm back? What happened just now? Why did you swallow Sione, you stupid bird? Get out here now. What the hell is this? Stupid bird turned into an egg? System panel, come out. Skill mastery, transcendental spirit nurturing technique. Current levels LV2 level cap exceed. Fusible. Current effect, a combination of the spirit casting technique, soul consolidation technique, theory of guardian spirit cultivation, and 108 ways to cultivate rapport with a guardian spirit which greatly enhances the resonance between the guardian spirit and their master and increases the possibility of guardian spirit metamorphosis. Wait a minute, 
Why are these two skills suddenly fusible? There's no doubt it didn't work before. No matter desperate times call for desperate means. System, enable the development function. Fuse the transcendental spirit nurturing technique with the spirit casting and soul consolidation technique. Development enabled. Skill mastery, transcendental spirit nurturing technique. The fusion of transcendental spirit nurturing technique and spirit casting and soul consolidation technique will cost 100 origin points. Skill mastery, spirit casting and soul consolidation technique. Confirm. Current Realm, Acquired Realm, Ninth Layer. Origin Points Remaining, 2091.00113. Skill Mastery, Enhanced Spirit Nurturing Technique. Current Level, LV2 Level Cap Exceed. Current Effect, An Enhanced Spirit Nurturing Technique Born Out of the Combination Between the Transcendental Spirit Nurturing Technique and the Spirit Casting and Soul Consolidation Technique. A special guardian spirit split from the very soul, which has undergone metamorphosis, granting the practitioner the boon of direct spiritual contact and doubling the lifespan of the practitioner's soul. It turned into the enhanced spirit nurturing technique after the fusion. There's a reaction? My lord? Cyanee? My lord? I, I have become your guardian spirit. Wait a minute. Are you Cyanee or a new persona created by the stupid bird? Just what in the world is going on? Cyanee is the little owl and the little owl is Cyanee. We've become one. It must have been because of the shamanic techniques my lord practiced some time ago to enhance the guardian spirit that caused the little owl to change and my desire to follow you was so strong that it influenced it. So the little owl ate me by virtue of its instinct to undergo metamorphosis. The little owl originally lacked a consciousness, but as it just so happened that actually played in my favor, I'll be able to stay with you forever from now on, Lord Sia Yin. Anyway, it's nice to have made sure you're Cyanee. I was worried you would disappear after the stupid bird swallowed you, but I didn't realize it was lending one's spirit to recover one's consciousness. TL Note this is probably a pun on the expression to reincarnate in someone else's body chuntered, the 14th stratagem of the 36 stratagems. Lord Sia Yin is so kind to me, I, the silly bird did such an awesome job that the whole thing was good for me. Even the lifespan of my soul has doubled, eh? H how rude of me. Actually, I shouldn't have awakened so soon, since I have to continue practicing for a while to be able to change my form freely. I couldn't keep my perfect form and ended up showing my lord such a v-humiliating sight, uh. It's okay. There's plenty of time, so you can practice at your own pace. Ku, this is probably my fault for using the origin points to fuse skills together. Even though it broke Cyanese's shell early, she lost the time to get the hang of her dual forms. It looks like upgrading from origin points isn't always advantageous. By the way, my lord, this doesn't seem like Xia Shue, so where are we? It's a long story. So I'll start from the very beginning of it all. After that, I told Cyanide a rough account of my entire journey on how I came to be in the main world, as if I were recounting her a tale. It's just that I couldn't understand the matters relating to the system myself, so I changed the story to the heavens assigned me on a grand mission to travel across the countless realms, and once my virtuous achievements come to their successful conclusion, I will become an immortal. The journey my lord has been on so far has been a truly thrilling and touching one. Changed back to Cyanee. Branch Master, Elder Marshal Brother Ji Chan Wu and Elder Marshal Sister Shi Yina request an audience with you. Aren't those the names you just mentioned, my lord? It's not surprising that Ji Chan Wu came to see me, but that even Shi Yinner would take the initiative to do so is strange. Let's see what they've come for. One stick of incense later. Branch Master, that's the arrangement for today. Hmm, I see. Ji Chan Wu and Shi Yinner don't seem to have noticed Cyan East's existence at all. As expected, even in the main world, average people still can't see spiritual beings. I'm clear about Ji Chan Wu's purpose for coming, but what about you? You've just been standing there since you arrived. Don't tell me you've specifically come to see me? 
However, the main world is really tricky. No need to mention innate realm experts with their sharp senses. Even that Ji Yuntao might be able to see Sione with his true heavenly mantra of the primordial god. You wish. I didn't come here to see you. Only young Lord Ji's elegant face deserves to be seen by me. It's because my master sent me a letter asking me to check if you've been fulfilling your duty as branch master. Although you're not as gentle nor as amazing as young Lord G, for what it's worth, you're still a branch master of my sect, so you should at least try to be as determined as young Lord G. As your assistant, I'll do my best to urge you on. Ark, she makes me so mad. My lord is much more amazing than some guy called G, okay? Calm down, Shi Yinner is Ji Yuntao's little fangirl. Even though I don't like Ji Yuntao, it's not my style to belittle her idol in front of others. That girl is simple-minded. I don't want to bicker with her. Junior Marshal Sister Yinner, Ji Yuntao, and our sect are in direct opposition to each other. You certainly can't do anything to harm the sect just because you're lost in a moment of passion. Brother Chime Wu, I can tell the difference between personal and private affairs. Humph, I can't let her belittle my lord as she sees fit. Ever since I became your guardian spirit, I feel that my power has increased greatly, so now I can. I just wanted to set up a goal for Xie, the branch master to catch up with. Someone like young Lord Ji Yuntao is the only one that. My lord doesn't need any such goal. Ghostly bewilderment of the word. Junior Marshal Sister Yinner, what's wrong with you? The hell with Ji Yuntao. If you think about it carefully, he simply doesn't have Branch Master Xie Yan's outstanding talent and resourcefulness that's unrivaled in the whole world. Junior Marshal Sister Yan? I must have been blind when I fell in love with another man, as I didn't even notice that the Branch Master is undoubtedly so good looking and capable. From now on, the Branch Master will be my heaven, my earth, and the one and only one in my heart. Hey, Junior Marshal Sister? Junior Marshal Sister Yenner, have you eaten something bad? Branch Master, from now on, I, Sir Yenner, will be your servant girl. Sione, you've gone way too far with your foolishness. Oops, I've been caught. You got a lot of nerve, huh? Why didn't I know you had it in you? I just couldn't stand her mocking you, my lord. It was only a little prank. It won't happen again, my lord. Don't be angry. The problem is that someone else was present when you were up to mischief. Wouldn't that expose you? He he he. You see. Branch Master, what are you whispering about? What happened to Junior Marshal Sister Yen? Don't worry, my lord. Once someone has been possessed by me, their memories from during, before, and after the possession will be rewritten, so there's no danger of being exposed. Brand Branchmaster, just who the hell are you talking to? However, my lord, although my strength has improved somewhat, their cultivation is already at the highest limit of what I can possess. It's very tiring to possess two times in a row, so for the sake of all my efforts to make up for it, my lord, please take no account of my misdeeds and let me off the hook. Sigh, don't possess anyone without my permission from now on. Go rewrite Ji Chang Wu's memory for now. He seems to have noticed something. Ghostly bewilderment of the mind. He he he. Ah, 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 branch master Xie, you're my sole leader. Even if I have to go through boiling water or tread on fire, I'll gladly risk my life and limb to follow you. Siufeng Street. Look, this is the land I'll be conquering soon. It's so lively. I'll take you for an outing outside the city when the weather is cool and refreshing. It's fine, it's fine, we can just go tomorrow, since I'm a guardian spirit I'm not afraid of the heat or cold. TL Note, literally tread the green. Figuratively go for a walk in spring, when the grass has turned green. Lord Sia Yin? Huh? I'm feeling something, over there. No wonder, we bumped into Sia Dao Yun. Her chest, a ahem, the jade on her chest is luring me again. But what is this bunch plotting for them to be gathering together at this time? Let's skip these pleasantries and drink a toast to young Lord G with tea as a substitute for wine. 
Young Lord G and Lady Sierra are both favored by the heavens. It's a tremendous honor to be chosen to serve you. Every place has its own playing rules, and I'm just abiding by them. So how about we discuss what you can do to serve me? As per the rules, Dao Yun and I want our respective sex to get a share of Chu Feng's cold iron ore, whereas you gentlemen don't want the largest share to be taken away by the M.O. Ching sect time and again. We're colleagues who cherish similar interests, regardless of our social status. T.L. Note, literally purposes join along the same path. I, Old Fong, am truly impressed that a lineal disciple of the Grand Taishian sect would show such consideration to people like us who are just scraping a living. I can brag for ten years about this. I wanted to have a pleasant conversation with you gentlemen, but, regrettably, we have an unexpected visitor. How brazen! Why don't you just show yourselves? Someone's eavesdropping? No one? This tea house is my property, so to prevent criminals from eavesdropping, the roof is equipped with an alarm mechanism produced by the Taiji Pavilion. If one's not an innate realm expert, one can't get close to it by no means without it triggering. TL Note, mystery known only to heaven, archaic. I scanned with my divine senses, but didn't find anything. It's probably because my cultivating energy martial art isn't up to scratch that I was being a bit sensitive. TL Note, an ancient Taoist cultivation method. It's probably similar to Qigong, a centuries-old system of coordinated body posture and movement, breathing, and meditation used for the purposes of health, spirituality, and martial arts training. That's strange. Just now, on a whim, I seem to have noticed someone peeping out of the window. Was it really just my imagination? Great things require a peaceful mind. I'll go back to bathe and burn incense to nurture my noble energy. Gentlemen, we'll adjourn for today. However, the chessboard has been set and the pieces are in place. My goal has been achieved. All I need to do is to control these four old foxes and lure them into being at my disposal. Then we respectfully bid farewell, young Lord G and Lady Sierra. We'll entrust the Imperial Court to you both. The other side. That scared me to death. Lord Xia Yin, that young lord who's not as handsome as you are, seems to be able to faintly detect my presence. Wa, we weren't able to hear them until the end. I won't be of any use in accomplishing Lord Xia Yan's mission. That uglier guy named Ji Yuntao is practicing a technique called True Heavenly Mantra of the Primordial God, which is indeed impressive, as he can even discover spiritual beings. Although I didn't hear all the details, just from the few words here and there, I can roughly guess that that bunch are working together to conspire against M.O. Ching sect and get a share of the cold iron ore, though I'm not sure what methods they'll use. Let's keep on our toes, but maintain a calm exterior and watch them in secret for now, though before that, there's something else we need to do. Sione, did Xia Daoyun not react to you in the slightest earlier? You mean the young woman wearing a veil? She didn't notice me. That's good then. Sione, I need you to do one more thing for me. I won't let Lord Xia Yin down this time. One hour later. TL Note, onomatopoeic, imitating repeated breaths. Coined in Taiwan, originally meaning any laborious work. Though nowadays it's slang for to go at it or to get it on to have sexual intercourse. He he he, you can't see me, but you're so pretty. Once my ability is strong enough, I'll take you as a nice servant girl for Lord Xia Yan. My lord is looking for a jade pendant she's wearing, hidden somewhere on her chest. Who's there? Huh? Was it a hallucination? Why did that slight itchy feeling on my chest trigger my body protection innate energy? I had been cultivating in the monastery for so long, but my master had me go on an experiential journey through the world of mortals. Could it be that the disturbances in this world are feeding my inner demons? Wah, it hurts. She, she can emit innate energy that can harm spiritual beings? The moon is shining brightly up in the sky, so why don't I go to the courtyard, sharpen my swordsmanship, and clear away the impurities lodged in my psyche? There's something on my chest again. My heart is like a cold pond reflecting the moon, my body an untethered boat, 
mirroring my psyche, crossing the boundless sea, whether it's my inner demons or something else, I'll cut it down with my mind's sword. I can't disappoint my lord, I must hold on, wah, I've touched it, I've got it. H.M.? You've discovered the Dew E.S. acquired realm good fortune spiritual treasure, damaged. Limited number of uses, 1 slash 1. The product of a higher immortal civilization. Because it is damaged. It can only be used to solve an imminent crisis to a limited extent. There are traces of it having been repeatedly used by higher life forms, but because the users didn't possess immortal energy, it wasn't consumed. No immortal energy has been detected in the user. Do you wish to spend 250 origin points to use it? Do ES acquired realm good fortune spiritual treasure? And this prompt, it's very similar to the one when I inherited the finger of Nirvana. Why did this pop up out of nowhere all of a sudden? Could something have happened on Sionee's end? Never mind, since I got a lot of origin points lately, I'll use them for now and think about it later. Yes. Spiritual treasure energy has been injected into the user's body. Countermeasures are being generated in response to the user's situation. Success. Attention. These countermeasures will irreversibly alter the skill finger of Nirvana. Do you wish to proceed? Alter the finger of Nirvana? The Dewey S. Good Fortune description suggests that it's used as a way to solve crises, so I'm in. Yes. Proceed. The finger of Nirvana's characteristics can be changed each time the user uses it. When the cultivator needs to burn the lifespan of his soul due to insufficient immortal energy, origin points will be expended instead. Oh. Holy shit, the finger of Nirvana will use origin points from now on? My fucking immortality cheat is back. I don't have to worry about using up my lifespan with the finger of Nirvana anymore. Ugh, my head hurts all of a sudden. What's going on? Cyane. What happened? Guardian spirits won't perish without a shaman's death, but Cyane was reborn from my consciousness after her spirit body was severely injured. There's actually someone who can hurt her. My lord, I'm sorry that I couldn't bring you the jade pendant. I was injured by that woman until I ultimately vanished and was reborn here. You've done a great job already. Cyane was endeavoring to snatch the jade pendant and bring it back just a moment ago, but at the same time, I triggered the prompt to use it. Does that mean that whatever Cyane touches is the same as if it were touched by me? I'll heal your wounds. Spending 50 origin points as a substitute for this finger of Nirvana expenditure. But Cyane didn't bring the jade pendant. Jerry, silly girl, I've already succeeded. That said, didn't Sia Daoyun have no reaction to you? How did she hurt you like this? She can't see me, but if I touch her, it will trigger her body protection innate energy, which can burn my spirit body and turn me into dust. Thank you for your hard work. It's because I didn't think things through that you had to suffer such hardships. I was careless. Xia Daoyun is descended from the Buddhist Xingjai. Just from the name alone, one can tell that it's a grand, glorious, and righteous sect, whose cultivation techniques seem to have a naturally restraining effect on things like yin energy. TL note, a chiefly sarcastic term for something that acts as if it's morally perfect. If Lord Xia Yin caresses me, I won't feel any hardship. Well, let me caress you some more then. Why does it feel like I'm rubbing a kitten or a puppy? I mustn't spoil Cyane. Thanks to her, I'm now free of all latent dangers and my ban on the finger of Nirvana has been lifted, so I can finally get my hands dirty with joy. TL note, literally stir the muddy water. I can't help but won't see what those monsters and freaks have been up to. TL note, literally ox-headed devils and serpent gods. Figuratively, all sorts of bad characters. There isn't one major power who wouldn't want to find a chance to get involved in the cold iron or business, and we've always embraced whoever has the highest standing, so now do we really have to listen to Ji Yuntao? I always feel a little bit scared of falling out with the M.O. Ching sect. Wealthy Women's Mary Scrubber TL Note, 
as the net story goes, a friend of someone was hired by a rich woman as a male lover for 60000 a month, but ran away within a week without the money, because he didn't want her to rub the kitchen steel wool scrubber on his penis. Thus the steel wool scrubber became a hit and mockingly known as Wealthy Women's Mary Scrubber. I also wanted to watch them safely from a distance whilst they fought, then reap the rewards, but what Ji Yuntao promised afterwards was really attractive. TL Note Literally to sit on top of a mountain and watch the tigers fight. After taking the Tai Xian Sex Mysterious and Magical Bottleneck Breaking Pill, it will give you a 10% chance to break through to the innate realm. Although the chances of success are slim and by relying on the power of a pill to become an innate realm practitioner, one's foundation will become unstable, rendering them unable to advance past its first layer in their lifetime. But who among us martial artists wouldn't want to become one? The M.O. Ching sect doesn't offer such benefits. Who would dare to take the pills of a demonic sect? Now that we're in the same boat as the Tai Xian sect, there's nothing we can do about it, so let's join forces. And find out how much integrity that C.A.N. has. T.L. Note, literally bottom line. A few days later. The four local factions in Sufeng have just presented an invitation and would like to invite the branchmaster to a banquet tonight. Please make a final decision, Branch Master. Branch Master Xie is getting increasingly bizarre. After I paid him a visit the other day, I was in a bit of a trance, but no matter how many times I think back, I can't remember what exactly I said to him. If I weren't so meticulous, I wouldn't have noticed anything wrong. Now that I'm seeing him again today, if I look closely, I can see that his temples are slowly rising and falling, as if an invisible force is slowly squeezing them, and occasionally he murmurs to himself, as if he's communicating with something indescribable. Lord Xie Yin, is this the right spot? Right there, that's good. Press it hard. In your opinion, what do you think they desired by seeking my presence? The invitation only contains a bunch of resplendent and ornate greetings, not a mention about what they wish to discuss. Could it be that Branchmaster Xie is practicing some kind of sinister and abnormal demonic technique capable of communicating with the underworld and stealing people's wills? But, as a matter of fact, I hope he can practice it. Otherwise, how can we fight against Ji Yuntao? So be it. Coming events cast their shadows before them, it's better they make some noise than none at all. Chang Wu, remember to prepare the carriage for me when the time comes. TL Note, literally the wind sweeping through the tower heralds a rising storm in the mountains. Yes. Also, Branch Master Xie, I have a request to make. Usually, if one wants to practice this kind of demonic technique, one has to constantly use it on a living person. Only then can one make diligent progress. I'm already aware of the branch master's intentions, so I, I'll eagerly use my body to aid you in your practice. If it means disgracing Ji Yun Tao, I'll gladly do anything. Chang Wu, stay away from me from now on. What the hell is wrong with Ji Chang Wu? It can't be that he has a problem with his orientation. I never realized he was gay. Deep in the serenity of the house, a fragrant night was fast approaching their minds and clothes completely vanished in succession. The courtesan's garden had long been deflowered, and when his dropping member revived, her slender body was shaken. Coo coo. Coo, what a shameless song. Even a bewitching ghost like myself wouldn't be able to sing it. But if Lord Xia Yin likes it, I'll learn it earnestly. His prized spear had bitterly fought endless battles, for he could affin seven or eight beauties in a single night. Their weary bodies were of no hindrance, as the waves of bliss ever grew after each emission. Some time ago, we were so busy dealing with Ji Yun Tao and the aftermath of the Yin Jia incident that we ended up neglecting you. We asked the branch master not to blame us. You gentlemen greatly favor me by entertaining me with such fine, sweet, and delicious wine. It's truly outstanding and very agreeable to my preferences. How thoughtful of you all. A trifling glass of insipid wine is nothing. Only by being accompanied by young and beautiful women can the elegance of a wonderful, distinguished, and accomplished man, such as Branch Master Sia, be further elevated. TL Note, literally red sleeve at fragrance. 
In the olden days, scholars were accompanied by young and beautiful women during their studies. These women wore red dresses and were charged with lighting incense, which loosened the tension the scholar accumulated after long reading hours. Did my good and well-trained daughters, who were singing and dancing just now, catch the branch master's eye? Good women are a match for good men, so why don't I give them all to the branch master? How could I have the cheek to accept a reward without due merit? Hey, hey, you're looking down on me. How could someone as chaste as myself allow such vulgar women to get close to me? Madam Howe, branch master Xie is a man of exceptional ability and bravery. How could he indulge in the solace of feminine charms? However, if such a man were short on money, it can't be helped that there will be a time when he'll feel discouraged. Bring it here. This is a tribute from the four of us to Branch Master Xie. Moreover, it'll be the same amount every year. Oh, one who's unaccountably solicitous is harboring evil intentions. If you gentlemen have anything to say, it would be better to say it openly. Branch Master Xie, don't mock me for meddling in other people's business. We just can't bear for such a gifted individual to be neglected. Please allow me to analyze it meticulously for you, Branch Master. TL Note, this is a term women in ancient times used to address themselves in a self-deprecating manner. Hey, hey, just sit where you are, don't move, and don't change how you address yourself at will. If you have something to say, just say it. Sigh, I used to be the top of the most overwhelming beauties and chiefing back in my old days, but now I'm getting old and faded. Branch Master Sierra really has a sense of humor, so I won't hide anything from you. Previously, when the M.O. Ching sect said there was a newcomer coming, we promptly started investigating his background. Branch Master Xie is a gifted young man, yet was regarded as a honeypot by Ching Xingxi, though, ultimately, favored by sect Master Yu. But frankly speaking, the M.O. Ching sect being a place where Yin is mightier than Yang, treats women more favorably than men, so Branch Master Xie is fundamentally unable to achieve anything of note. There's some truth contained in your words. Continue. Branch Master Xie, don't think it's a great favor that Sect Master Yu has appointed you as the master of a branch. The M.O. Ching sect has countless branches. If she really sees you in a favorable light, why would she send you to the city of Chufeng where there is so much turmoil? What's more, even if you did a good job, the sect would be the one to reap the benefits. None of them would fall into Branch Master's hands. A man, you know, has to live for himself. So what should I do? How about at the following meeting in Jiangmen, hosted by the Imperial Court, where the shares of the iron ore mines for next year are divided up, Branch Master Xie gives up his own. The M.O. Ching sect will get the worst of it, but we won't let Branch Master Xie suffer the slightest loss. As long as Branch Master Xie agrees, we'll all be on the same side, so no matter if it's a beauty or wealth, provided Xufeng has it, Branch Master Xie won't go without his fair due. So we're here on account of the cold iron ore, and your words were actually a bit tantalizing, but I have just one more question, what if I refuse? We're all good people, and we won't make things difficult for Branch Master Xie, but since you won't regard us as one of your own, then we would have no choice but to treat you as an outsider. We've been operating in Xufeng for decades, and are deeply established, so one word from us and tomorrow, we'll make sure that the M.O. Ching sect branch won't even be able to buy an egg. You're really fond of throwing your weight around. By all rights, I should act according to reason and obediently cooperate with you all. But there's one thing I must say, and that is, do you guys really think you're worthy of negotiating with me? Xie Yin, we're just being nice to you for the sake of the M.O. Ching sex reputation. Don't make us do things the hard way. T.L. Note, literally to refuse a toast only to be forced to drink a forfeit, figuratively to be forced to do what one at first declined. Branch Master Xie, Head Wu has been in a fit of anger recently after failing his final push to reach the innate realm. If he really flips out, we mere practitioners at the seventh layer of the acquired realm will certainly be unable to handle him. So this is what you were counting on. I thought you'd bring in Ji Yuntao. 
a loser who has repeatedly failed to advance to the innate realm, and has even depleted his foundation, plus three pieces of trash who have been stuck at the seventh layer for years. Who gave you the audacity? To have the nerve to frenziedly bark like dogs before me? Aren't you misunderstanding something? He's condensing the innate energy emanating from his body into sword energy? This is the M.O. Ching sex finger of flowery swords? He was actually able to learn this martial art? Why do I feel like you think I was promoted to branch master just because of my good looks? Didn't you say he was just a gigolo? That his strength was at most at the sixth. He's at least at the ninth. And a ninth possessing an innate realm technique of one of the great sects at that. The reason I was so favored by the matriarch as to be appointed branch master of the Tsufung branch, I, I told you to be careful, is because I'm preeminently strong to the point of being able to cleanse Tsufung of all its filth. Did Lord Xia Yin just settle it all with a single move? I didn't even have time to help. Take your man and scram. I'd like to see who will dare to make things difficult for the M.O. Ching sect. I can't kill them. Otherwise, this will be used against the M.O. Ching sect at the Jiangnan meeting to disrupt its status quo in the region. Anyone who messes with us will be killed without mercy. I'm gazing at the unhindered movement of the finger of flowery swords of the M.O. Ching sect on board the courtesan boat in the distance. That branch master Xia was really concealing his abilities well. These people of Chufum are double-crossing indeed, trying to obtain the M.O. Ching sex cold iron or share at the smallest price, yet they don't know that they must have the determination to give up their arms if they wish to snatch from the tiger's den. But this is fine as well. Afterwards, that pack will have no other choice but to follow me and thoroughly break their ties with the M.O. Ching sect. Junior Marshal Sister Xie, the Buddhist Qingjai has always been friendly with the imperial court and the imperial consort of the current dynasty, which descended from there, is your master's aunt, so I'll entrust you to deal with them. But in recent days, Junior Marshal Sister, why does it feel like you're a bit distracted? Such is of no hindrance to me. What Elder Marshal Brother said will be dealt with properly. I don't know why. But after my inner demons suddenly appeared, my deost heart is often unstable, the jade pendant granted by my master has lost its effectiveness in purifying it, and its magical properties are no longer present. Was it tainted by this vulgar, mortal world? But all of us disciples at the Buddhist Xingjai have to go through the three tribulations of worldly affairs, love and inner demons, before we can attain enlightenment. Sigh, how I wish I could return to the sect more quickly, quietly meditate through the ages in the company of the Buddha, so I could be free from worldly cares. Branchmaster is quite capable. You've been feigning weakness since you arrived at Tsufeng, concealing your real strength as a practitioner at the ninth layer of the acquired realm, waiting until the critical moment to deliver a fatal strike. In stillness be as immovable as a mountain, in action be as swift as thunder. Branchmaster is well versed in the art of war. No wonder the matriarch views you as her trusted aide and elder marshal sister Qing favors you. Surely the talk about you formerly being a honeypot was just a smokescreen to deceive others. What farsightedness. TL note, literally deep plans and distant thoughts to the plan carefully and think long term. Don't tell anyone. Just keep it between you and me. Ku. Ji Chang Wu's imagination is pretty good. If he were placed into a modern world, it would be more than enough to be a talented writer. Don't be too glad just yet. They have both Ji and CS supporting them. They even threatened to prevent the M.O. Ching sect from buying eggs, and the Tai Xian sect and Buddhist Ching Jai are conspiring to obtain the cold iron or share belonging to our sect, so there's still a tough battle ahead for us. Now that the branch master has shown his prowess, those local Xufeng factions will not dare to confront us head on again. Ha, huh, and if they dare prevent us from buying eggs, we'll just make them lose theirs. As for the cold iron ore, as long as we don't make any mistakes, even the Han court won't be able to take it away at will. In the worst case, the Taishian sect and the Buddhist Qingjai will shed all pretense of cordiality and use some vile tactics. That sounds reasonable. We have no option but to be on our guards. Changwu, where do you think they're going to strike first? 
The branch master is here at the branch, so unless Ji Yun Tao and Xie Dao Yun come personally, what can they do to us? Moreover, if they really dared to break into the branch, it would be tantamount to declaring war on the M.O. Ching sect. In all likelihood, neither Ji and Xian nor their sects would want it to go that far. Well, although our sect is no match if their two sects act together, with the protection of the great sect formation, it's possible to fight back defensively with neither side winning. If we are to be attacked at the lowest possible cost, then our minds would be the weakest point. The M.O. Ching sect has the largest cold iron mines in the Qufeng area, accounting for nearly 80% of Qufeng's production. This is not only a rolling source of wealth, but also a weakness. I'll immediately send a message via Eagle ordering the mines to raise their vigilance. Not only that, we'll also go to the mines ourselves to assume command of the garrison. I'm afraid it's too late. If we had any brains, we have definitely been prepared for all eventualities in advance. If I can't pull anyone over to our side, it'll raise difficult questions. The next day. Even after traveling all night in haste, we were still one step too late. I asked the mine steward. At dawn, a large number of bandits crept in and set off poisonous fumes in the miners' camp, poisoning all workers and making their hands and legs go numb. It would have been hard to recover without cultivating for a period of time. The bandits then used gunpowder to blow up the mine tunnels. It will be impossible to re-excavate the tunnels in less than a month or two, and the cold iron ore stored in the nearby warehouses was doused with purple fire liquid. Purple fire liquid? Isn't that the catalyst that's only used when weapons are being forged? If it's doused onto unprocessed ore, it will crystallize and turn into mining waste instead. Cool Lord Sierra, over there. Huh? The eagle that the branch used to deliver the message? It seems it was intercepted en route. No wonder the mine didn't receive the message and had no time to prepare. And they just had to pin it here, just to provoke me further. It must have been Ji Yuntao who directed those four local factions to do this dirty work, but they didn't leave any traces, and without proof, we can't testify against them. We're in serious trouble now. Our men were injured and the mine was destroyed, so we basically don't have enough time to get back to work before the Jiangnan meeting. The M.O. Ching sect hasn't been in Xufeng long enough to take root and hasn't accumulated ore over the years. Therefore, we definitely won't be able to fully pay our taxes this year. Changgu, whenever something major happens, it's all the more important to stay calm and collected. Don't panic. Before I was appointed branch master, I looked up the relevant information. The Han Empire is actually not a normal nation, but more like a large martial arts alliance, where the imperial court acts as its leader. This is also a special characteristic of a high-level martial arts world. As a result, the imperial court delegates power to the regional sex and only has the authority to appoint, supervise, and mediate. After any major power has accepted an appointment, they must pay taxes according to convention. The Jiangnan meeting is presided over by the imperial court to collect taxes and redistribute the mining sites and quotas for the next year among the powers in the Jiangnan region that have mining rights. How can we calm down? If we can't pay the tax, it's the same as breaking the promise with the imperial court. Then, at best, our quota would be reduced, and at worst, our mining rights would be revoked. This is Ji Yuntao's plan to get the M.O. Ching sex mining rights. Branch Master, the situation is critical. It would be best to invite an elder from the sect to try to remedy the situation. If we invite an elder at this time, wouldn't that make us look useless? Moreover, there's actually quite an easy way to break this deadlock, and that is, to drag everyone downstream, back to the same starting line as us. Minor local power mine. Look alive. Keep a sharp lookout. Why is Master Wu personally here on night duty, when Xie Yin is either sniveling with a handful of cold iron or pieces in his arms, or busting his bottom all over the place scraping together the mining tax stipulated by the Imperial Court? Don't be so careless. That punk, Xie Yin, is so cunning that he might really want to stake it all to fight us to the death. TL note, literally either the fish dies or the net splits. 
figuratively to fight until both oneself or one's foe perishes. But I have set up the perfect trap, he he he, if the M.O. Ching sect dares to come, even if it's just a cat or a dog, I'll bite them and never let go. TL note, literally nets above and snares below. Figuratively inescapable net. With the evidence that the M.O. Ching sect has destroyed the mines in defiance of the imperial court, even if he turned into a mine to make up for the tax, they would still be deprived of their mining rights at the Jiangnan meeting. As expected of you, Master Wu. You're so wise. What's going on? Oh, my God. Master Wu, bad news. The storehouse for storing explosives is empty. Someone has stolen the explosives for the mine. What? That's enough explosives to level a mountain. Humph. Master Wu? Ouch. Watch out for falling stones. Impossible, with such a grand practitioner at the ninth layer of the acquired realm as myself overseeing the garrison, even if that punk, Xie Yan, came, he wouldn't be able to sneak in here and blow up the mine without anyone noticing. Arg! Who did this? Come out, show yourselves. Phew, I was thinking of using some sort of transport method to bring all the ore back, but it was simply too heavy to move. So I did as Lord Xie Yin told me, stole the explosives to blow up the mine and doused the ore with purple fire liquid. I've been very helpful, so I'm sure Lord Xie Yin will hug, kiss and pet me a lot. Cool if I don't get pet for a quarter of an hour this time, I won't forgive him he he he, but I'm still too weak. I have to practice hard, so I can bring Lord Xie Yin mountains of gold and silver in the future, Ku. The mine collapsed, our ore reserves were doused with purple fire liquid, so it's basically all useless, and several of the mining tunnels have caved in, so we can only continue mining after clearing them up. Someone stole the explosives and specifically detonated them in the rugged terrain, so there was simply no time to react. I checked everyone, but there was no one suspicious. Scum, was it a ghost that set off the explosives? Except for the disciples I took along with me tonight, the rest were all arranged by you. Could it be that it was you who led the M.O. Ching sect here? Head Wu, don't get angry. I'm innocent. Master Wu, I've been most loyal and devoted to you for over ten years. You even dared to resort to sophistry? Old Wu, don't lose your temper. Although we can't find any evidence, you can tell at a single glance that this was that M.O. Ching sect brat's dirty work. We were guarding the outskirts of the mine, and at its center was a practitioner at the ninth layer of the acquired realm such as yourself overseeing the garrison, so how did that boy bypass our intricate trap right under our very noses? Forget about this chit-chat, we're in big trouble. The mining site the four of us are jointly in charge of was destroyed, and our ore reserves are all ruined. What are we going to do about the tax? The Imperial Court only wants the ore, not money. This is exactly the same trap we set for the M.O. Ching sect. Xie Yin, ha ha ha, how impressive. I underestimated him. Please spare us a helping hand. Young Lord Ji Yintao, you've come at last. The Jiangnan meeting is about to begin, and there's hardly any cold iron ore on the market. Gentlemen, there's no need to panic. I always plan for any eventualities. Moreover, it's not like we've lost. At least the minds of the M.O. Ching sect have been destroyed, which has put them into a perilous situation. I have my own way of getting you all the cold iron where you need. At this juncture, the one that can provide a large amount of cold iron or for sale is the Great River Alliance. Only the Great River Alliance has the power to do that. Wonderful, especially since they're still brooding over the fact that they were forced out of Chufeng by the M.O. Ching sect, so it's only proper that they join forces with us. Young Lord G really has the finesse to get things done. T.L. Note, literally long sleeves that help one dance beautifully. What farsightedness and acute foresight. T.L. Note, literally stand tall and see far. Since you have suffered grievance because of me, I'll take the lead for you on this one. Xie Yin really has some tricks up his sleeve. He was actually able to blow up the mine without anyone noticing. But the die is cast. 
Cian, let me see how you'll hold your own in my game. Mo Ching Sek Tzu from Branch. Branch Master, did you really blow up their mine? You didn't leave any loose ends, did you? Those local big shots have been operating in Tsufeng for years. It can even be said that they have eyes and ears everywhere, so they can sneak attack the minds of our sect imperceptibly, but it would be very hard for us to achieve the same. In case they can get their hands on some dirt, Ji Yuntao will be able to oust the Mo Ching sect. Unable to sit or stand still. The minerals of the Jiangnan administrative region are highly valued. When it comes to ore, the imperial court will surely strike thunderously. Rest assured, my stunt was completely foolproof. I assure they won't find any evidence of wrongdoing. TL Note, from Wiki, a circuit was a historical political division of China. Circuits originated in China during the Han Dynasty and were used as a lower tier administrative division. For more information, Google Imperial Chinese Circuits. Ku, I was the one who did it. Pet, pet, pet my head more and more next. We'll have to figure out how to raise the mining tax. That's a problem too. We can only buy them on the market, but they're hard to come by, and even if we could, we wouldn't be able to gather the amount of cold iron ore we need. I do have an idea. How about paying a visit to the Great River Alliance? Five days later, city of Eleven Shan in Jiangnan, a place which sits atop a small hill where an ancient school of beautiful mountains and creeks have stood through the ages. Its gates face the sea, where the three rivers have merged and flowed together for tens of thousands of years. I'd expect nothing less from the Great River Alliance, which controls the 18 waterways in Jiangnan. Such an extraordinary vibe. Especially the head boss, truly a heroine fashioned of cast iron and bronze filling. Great River Alliance head boss Jen Jenner. What a real surprise. I never thought I'd see a son of a bitch from the M.O. Ching sect in my territory during my lifetime. Let me think what should I do with you. I've come to meet the alliance leader full of enthusiasm, but you're certainly a humorous individual. She's just like how our intelligence from the branch described her, with muscles as twisted as those of a giant bear, a female one. Too bad I have nothing to say to a whelp like you. Come, men. Break his three legs and throw him out. Why are you in such a rush to drive me away, Alliance leader? There's no harm in listening to my story, after which you can consider whether to feed me to the fishes or offer me a seat as a guest of honor. Ha, huh, I guess you've got some courage. Fine. Since you've dared to come to our Great River Alliance alone, I'll listen to what words you're going to cook up. But if you don't tell me a good one, I'll personally tie you up and use you as bait to fish for sharks out at sea. I'm grateful to the head boss for doing me the honor. The story I'm about to tell you takes place in the Jiangnan administrative region. The Jiangnan administrative region is a vast and rich land, but two wolves don't accept each other and started fighting over its natural resources, building up a mutual grudge, even though they win or lose from time to time. As long as those foxes and dogs are deterred, each wolf can live a very comfortable life. But at this time, two lions came and fixed their eyes on the Jiangnan administrative region. The lions chose one of the wolves, eager to have a try at resting control of its territory. If they succeeded and the lions took over, would the other wolf be able to look after its interests? I'm sure the head boss must have made inquiries to get to the bottom of the recent events in Chu Fong. The Mo Ching sect and the Great River Alliance are these two wolves. Although they have been fighting, they are well matched in strength and can't devour one another. The Taishian sect and the Buddhist Xian Jai are like hungry lions crossing the river. How can a mere Chu Fong fill their bellies? If they don't swallow up the whole Jiangnan administrative region, it would be a huge letdown for Ji and Xie who have traveled thus far. The foundation of the Mo Ching sect isn't in the Jiangnan administrative region. If they get kicked out, it won't hurt them greatly, but the Great River Alliance will be on its own at that time. Head boss, are you really confident you can take on two top sects? Ha, huh, you're really good with your tongue. What do they call it? A glib tongue? You must have practiced at 3CUN below Qin XINC's navel, right?
It's obvious that the M.O. Ching sect is asking for our help, but with all this subterfuge you're making it sound like you're granting us a favor. It's just a little theory about working together towards common goals. I hope the head boss will see its finer points. Although there is some truth to your argument, a guest came a few hours earlier than you, and I have already agreed to cooperate with him. Haha, ha, well met, Branch Master Sia. Oh, the guest? I'm Gao Biyu Fan, a pupil from the Taishian sect. Elder Marshal Brother G anticipated you would come, so he dispatched me bearing a great gift to lobby for the head boss support. Fortunately, I was able to accomplish my mission and have already reached an agreement with the head boss. It seems that Branch Master Xie is doomed to return without success. Fellow from the Taishian sect, I wonder what gift has the Great River Alliance moving so. Ji Yun Tao is not bad indeed. It can even be said to be a scheme with no flaws, but according to the information the M.O. Ching sect has on Jin Jenner, this giant bear of a girl isn't as straightforward as she seems. A few years ago, after taking over the position as head boss, she managed the Great River Alliance very cautiously. Originally, Wei Ryu Dao took advantage of the considerable strife within the alliance to seize Chu Fong before she had succeeded to its throne. Such a person wouldn't be able to tell the danger the Taishian sect and Buddhist Xian Jai pose by expanding their power to the Jiangnan administrative region. Unless she wants something from Ji Yun Tao, how would she so easily agree? Oh, Branch Master Xie, there's no need to inquire. Did you think I would tell? God, isn't it just a unity of Yin and Yang primordial essence reinvigorate pill? What's there not to say? Eh, head boss? I've had a little setback while practicing my martial arts and need to take a couple of the Taishian sex stash of unity of Yin and Yang primordial essence reinvigorate pills to cure it. I already have one now as a deposit. The remaining three will be given after the Jiangnan meeting, so whelp, it's useless even if you have a gargantuan reason. Considering your story was pretty interesting, please leave at once. It seems that the head boss has investigated me very well. Jin Jenner's injured? The M.O. Ching sect didn't find out that information. But now that she's overtly revealing it to me, perhaps she's using the Taishian sect to pressure me into using the finger of Nirvana? She must certainly have found out the secret about the matriarch's injuries and that I used some miraculous method to heal her. Insolence. What do you intend to do by approaching the head boss? No one even said anything to stop me. Why are you so anxious? Under normal circumstances, how could Jen Jenner bow to her enemy and ask for treatment? But now, this is her chance, isn't it? When did the Taishian sect become the boss of the Great River Alliance? Make way for me. Ghostly bewilderment of the mind. Ha ha. Who in the world is more lovely than me? As I have led countless heroes to bow at my feet. How can I hide my gorgeous body under mere clothes? Behold, gentlemen. Feast your eyes on my beauty to your heart's content. This is the first time someone dares to run naked in the Great River Alliance's G.E. Hall. Let's beat him up first, talk later. Since the nuisance is gone, I'll do as the head boss wishes. As expected of a demonic sect. That technique of holding someone spellbound at the flick of a hand is really impressive, but what surprises me even more is that a whelp like you has figured out my intentions in the blink of an eye? Isn't it just a matter of seeking medical help? Head boss, why beat around the bush? If it wasn't me who came this time, then what would you have done? Then I would have helped the Taishian sect get Chu Fong, and when you were kicked out of the Jiangnan administrative region, I'd secretly kidnap you. But it's just to seek medical treatment after all. If something isn't meant to be, it's no use trying to force it to happen. I'm an innate realm practitioner, so I'm not afraid of what tricks you have up your sleeve, but what if you committed suicide by biting off your tongue because you couldn't bear the humiliation? The head boss has a really domineering way of handling matters. Then please sit down and relax and see what I can do. This Jen Jenner's really concerned about her injuries. Even though I'm only a practitioner at the ninth layer of the acquired realm, if I attacked her vital points with the finger of flowery swords at this moment, 
it would not necessarily be impossible to break through her innate realm expert body protection innate energy. She actually dares to try it? It's a pity that I need her help and that I'm in an enemy camp right now, otherwise I'd really want to give it a go. This feeling, no wonder you Hong Yin regards you as a treasure. Shrinks, shrinks. Hey, was this Jen Jenner's injuries? This King Kong of a girl turned into a cute lowly? What kind of amazing development is this? Phew, my innate energy has subsided. I haven't felt this good in a long time. I'm glad no harm has come to the head boss. At first, I was hoping to heal her by dick her at 70-80% to 80 power, but I never thought she would be cured instantly by directly deducting 200 origin points. I'm a little rusty after the finger of Nirvana revamp. What I have been practicing is the innate realm technique scripture of valiant warriors of primeval chaos. However, because I experienced a deviation, the surging of innate energy scattered among all my limbs and bones, causing my physique to get bigger and bigger. Although it didn't hinder my strength, and it somewhat increased my formidable, if I carried on practicing it like this, I would have grown into a Tin Jang giant, which would be a bit inconvenient. Hoo hoo, the head boss has finally regained her original body. If she had continued to grow, how would she have found a husband? Tough guys in tears, before the old boss was on his deathbed, he was always brooding over this. Your grandmother's ass. Do I even need a husband? Go get me some suitable clothes. No, her being unable to find a husband is not only due to her physique, but because she's a totally wild chick, grown up among a pile of men. Lord Xie Yin, that guy is no weaker than Ji Chang Wu. I'm tired and couldn't possess him any longer. Go back into my forehead for now and get some rest. The situation here is already settled. What the hell just happened? It must have been some demonic sect witchcraft. Hey, hey, where's the head boss? Warn her to be careful not to get hit with this evil witchcraft. You know more about my own health than I do? I'm rather unhappy about this attempt of the Taishian sect and Buddhist Xian Jai to expand into the Jiangnan administrative region, but I needed your help, so I held my breath and consented. Now that my lingering condition has subsided, I don't need your unity of yin and yang primordial essence reinvigorate pill anymore. However, I used one of your pills after all, so I'll still sell you the cold iron or I promised you, not a caddy less. Thank you very much, head boss. Branch Master, I owe you a favor, but personal and private affairs aren't to be confused. The Great River Alliance and the M.O. Ching sect have been feuding for a long time, so if you want us to enter into close cooperation, it's very likely that my clan members won't be convinced. However, I can sell the Cold Iron Ore to the M.O. Ching sect in my own name to solve your crisis. All I ask for is the Cold Iron Ore. I apologize to the head boss for any inconvenience. Once she was free of the Taishian sex yoke, Zhen Zhenna really made the most appropriate choice of helping the M.O. Qing sect. As long as the M.O. Qing sect stays intact, the Taishian sect won't be able to enter. In this way, the Great River Alliance will be able to not get involved and watch in amusement as the M.O. Qing sect and Taishian sect duke it out with each other. This head boss really has some class. Not bad at all. This is exactly the kind of smart individual I'm fond of dealing with. All right, all of you, get lost. See the guests off. Elder Marshal Brother Chang Wu, are we really doing nothing like this? There was a big problem in the mining area. As a result, Xie Yin, who was the helmsman, left the mess and ran away. Yinner, don't be prejudiced against the helmsman. He has thought of a way to seek foreign aid. But what he is looking for is the Jiang Alliance, which hates me to the bone. How could he help the Demon Love Clan survive the crisis? Xie Yin is totally reckless. Younger marital sister Yinner, ordinary people may have no way to deal with this situation, but Xie Helmsman is no ordinary human and will definitely come back with good news. I hope you can show more respect to Helmsman, or I will suggest that you go back. Don't stay in Queng Ching to stir up trouble and shake the morale of the army. Ji Chang will you say? Okay, okay, can I shake the morale of the army? Can I stir the flames? Can I go? 
The sick made such a big mistake. I'm also anxious, but I can't help anything except fight. Master must be very disappointed with me. Mr. Yenner, why is she suffering here alone? What's bothering you? Why don't you tell me? What do you want me to do? I have nothing to talk to you about. According to Elder Marshal Brother Chang Wu, the mining area was done by the local forces in Chu Fong Chang, but there was no evidence to prove it. Miss Yenner, don't be nervous. In fact, Ji Yun Tao asked us to come to you. You want to ask Miss Yenner for help? Young Master Ji? How could he da, a little girl, make him think about it? Miss Yenner is intelligent and beautiful. Mr. Ji is very impressed with you. If you hadn't followed Ji Yun Tao every day, how could we have been so impressed with you? Young Mr. Ji loves pure and kind-hearted women most. It's rare for Miss Yenner to meet the eye. The stupid woman with sensitive identity and silly white sweet is the best choice. Mr. Yen Ji turned out to be such an excellent woman, Mr. Yun Tao. He really said that? Now Mr. Yun Tao is quite upset. Xie Yin, the leader of Gui's own branch, ignores the overall development of Chu Fong and causes many disputes. For example, there is no outsider in the mining area, so I dare to say that it is really not related to us at all, but in the final analysis, is it due to Xie Yin's unreasonable behavior? Ji Zong Zi hopes Chu Fong can be more stable and peaceful, so he wants to teach him a little bit, so he cannot be so reckless and reckless. Young Master Ji really hit the mail on the head. Xie Yin is really a bad hand disease. I want to hit him. If I can teach him a lesson and make people behave better, I really agree with him. What is Mr. Ji going to do? Xie Yin took advantage of our unprepared attack on the mining area, causing the mining area to be bombed out. It is very likely that Xie Yin will no longer be able to procure the mine. He has also caused numerous deaths and injuries, which is a heinous crime. This man is too insidious and cunning. Even young Master Ji has only collected some tiny clues, so he can't be convicted. As long as Miss Yenner writes down a letter accusing Xie Yen of doing it, Master Yun Tao will certainly appreciate you more. Is this really what Mr. Yun Tao means? I know that when the time comes, it will be more or less involved in the magic love sect, but it is also a little past that knows no one, all the blame was put on Xie Yin. It was Xie Yin who died when he fell down, which was not harmful to the overall situation. And you who have made such contributions are expected to succeed as the helmsman of the branch helm. Do you really think I'm stupid to this extent, of do you think I need a helmsman's position? Those who are destroyed are the mining area of my M.O. Ching zone. Those who are killed or injured are the workers of my M.O. Ching zone. Those who are ready to move are you queez. Now, do you want me to write down the personal documents that will affect the overall situation of zone men and let me betray zone men? You misunderstood it. It was, let me talk about it. Miss Yenner, you are not stupid, but only women understand women. For us women, a small family is same with a good home. Master Yun Tao wants you to betray the sect. Only in this way can he open his heart to accept you, the demon girl. If you think more about it, will you not be moved to marry Mr. Yun Tao, who is gentle and moist as jade, and live a life of only admiring Mandarin ducks, but not immortals? I hate Xie Yin, I'm crazy for Yun Tao, but now he just makes me feel sick. He makes me sick, I am Shu Yinner, the disciple of the great elder of Mo Ching sect. Why does he think that I will endanger the clan's interests and reputation? What does he think of me? Get out of here, hi, according to the intelligence, she is a stupid girl with big chest and no brain. The plan failed. We did it in the name of Ji Yun Tao, but he would not find out. Ming Ji Yun Tao. What young master when you is, he is a mean and mean person. I misread you. All blame Xie Yin. If he has a little bit so dignified gentleman style son, how can I be the wild flower outside the flower maniac? Shishan City in Jiangnan, Achu. Do adults have a cold? The wind is strong near the river. Be careful of your health. It's okay. People who learn martial arts are not afraid of typhoid fever. 
Someone must miss me. Just don't know it's the Lord? Or kindness? Or is it you are you, Shi Yinner, Liang Min, Yu Xian Ji, Meng Qing Lian, Qi Luo Meng Tang, Bai Meng Meng, Honger, Huanger, Laner, Zier. My lord, you are too playful. I'm a natural beauty. It's normal for someone to like me. In? Hum. This man is so shady and weird that he wants to be beaten by ghosts. What's wrong with you, my lord? Nothing, just something. I'll go to Zhen Jenner to exchange feelings, my lord, is Ching or not fragrant? Why do you want to find that Vajra Barbie? What are you proud of? Elder Marshal Brother G will clean you up sooner or later. I have to go back and tell Elder Marshal Brother G. Ten days later, Chu Fong Chang, you're back at last. Helmsman, don't worry. Everything is okay in the past few days without you. Those guys in Chu Fong Chang haven't made any trouble. Well, I worked hard to watch my family in Chang Wu. What about her? Once out of the door has been like this, tea and rice do not think, trance. Tut, it doesn't look like you're sick. It's like being hit by a denial, impossible, according to the teacher Yinner disposition, only can secretly stab the secret love, has no discerning courage, Sure Yinner, hello. I'm back. Sure Yinner, hey. Come back. Sure, ah. Uh. Sia Yin, have you finished the Jian League? Scared to death, goo. Ah, uh, it's done. The mining tax stipulated by the imperial court has been settled again. What are you crazy about? Sia Yin, you're amazing. Sia Yin, have you finished the Jian League? It's nothing. You must subdue Chu Fong. You can't disgrace the reputation of M.O. Ching sect. Tear off the face of Ji Yun Tao, a hypocrite. I don't know what caused you to change your attitude so dramatically, but anyways, it just so happens there's something I need your help with. Ji Yun Tao and I were on the same page this time, thinking that the Great River Alliance was the key to turning the situation around. And the head boss of the Great River Alliance, Zhen Jenner, is quite the cunning female fox, a him, female bear. She sold the cold iron ore to the M.O. Ching sect and those local Chu Fong big shots simultaneously in an attempt to watch us safely from a distance whilst we fought, then reap the rewards. As a result, the situation is back to square one. No one is going to get a fruitful outcome out of all this fighting. Why is it a little chilly? I dare you to make a huge fuss again. I dare you be rude to Lord Xia Yin. That the dignified M.O. Ching sect is fighting to a standstill with this ragtag, backwater bunch is in itself the same as losing. If we were any place else, we wouldn't have even needed to take the mining rights into account. We have just wiped out their entire households and thrown away their ashes to the winds. Now that would be the way of demonic sex. However, I have a plan. Since our opponents are short on ore and their ships barely laden, we can expect them to arrive in Chu Fong within three days, so let's make sure their or vessels never return. Pull the rug from under them? I had the same intention. In that case, Ji Chang Wu, survey the terrain, choose an ambush site, and recall our naval convoy troops. It's a bit risky, since our vessels will be unprotected, but that's right, if we don't have enough men at the branch, we'll just have to gather them all in one place and strike like lightning. Shi Yinner, in terms of martial arts, you and Chang Wu are subordinate to me in the branch, so when the time comes to seize their ships and rob the ore, you'll be on the vanguard. I'll freeze you, I'll freeze you to death, right? We'll take care of, ah Chu, why is it getting colder in here? Good, the Chu Fong branch of the M.O. Ching sect is going to turn out in full strength this time and land a big score. Two days later, on your knees, hands behind your back, or we'll kill without mercy. Something's wrong, the ship is full of ordinary boatmen, not a single person from the local Chu Fong factions. Well, isn't it good that we achieved our goal without needing to fight at close quarters? It's impossible that they just transport the ore without any kind of precaution. Where are their men? Where are our enemies? You're telling me the issue isn't with the ship or or but the people. 
I employed a mole to find out where the leaders of the Chu Fong factions were and they were still in the city along with both Ji and Xie. So I thought I'd take advantage of the fact that there was no expert acting as a commanding officer and the moonless and windy night to seize the ore and kill the people on board without leaving any evidence. But now the situation looks like they were luring us to hijack the ship on purpose. That's why I'm worried that our intelligence was actually wrong and that our opponents went to plunder our sex or vessels. What would you call this? A base race? Their ore is only a little over 3,000 caddiest, while ours is no less than 47,861 caddiest. What a nice trick. What a nice trick indeed. Oh, Chang Wu, have some grapes to calm your anger. They're very sweet. Branch Master, how can I eat them? The Jiang Man meeting will be held the day after tomorrow, so even if we go by or from the Great River Alliance again, it'll be too late. Since the ship is full of ordinary boatmen who are just making a living off the river, don't slaughter them pointlessly. Keep them under control by feeding them meat and wine, then release them later. Was it one of Ji Yun Tao's plots again? It's always similar to the one I thought up. Interesting. As for our ore, it's too late to seek assistance, but don't panic. I'll take care of everything. See the outcome for yourselves at the Jiang Nan meeting. Branch Master? Could it be you have something else up your sleeve? Meanwhile, hurry up, all of you. Don't leave even a slag behind. Move the ore ashore and take it back overland to Chufong. Young Lord Yun Tao's scheme was truly divine. First of all, by disclosing false information, so that the spies from the M.O. Ching Sik would think we were still in the city, when in reality, we're already here in ambush. Secondly, by using 3,000 caddies of ore as bait to entice our opponents to leave their vantage ground three and make the M.O. Ching Sik guards leave, thus enabling us to plunder their or vessels as easily as falling off a log. It's just a pity those ores were all bought with hard-earned gold and silver. Ha uh, ha, madam how you're being too stingy. With such an over-the-top business transaction like this one, where you can exchange 3,000 caddiest for more than 40,000 caddiest, the more of them the merrier. Remember what I told you, don't kill anyone at will. After the ore has been transported away, lock up those boatmen for the time being, and release them after the situation in the Jiang Nan meeting is settled. The M.O. Ching sect has run out of tricks. What can you do now, Xia Yan? Day of the Jiang Nan meeting, Jiang Nan Administrative Region, Xia Ko. It said that young Lord Yun Tao is as gentle as he is dignified, for he doesn't flaunt his talents and notably lacks ostentation. Han Empire, Imperial Inspector of the Jiang Nan Administrative Region, Innate Realm Expert, Chao Tian Ho, in meeting you today, I can see that you're indeed a modest gentleman, worthy of the title Gentle Dignified Prince. Senior is being overly polite. I'm just fortunate enough to be so often admired by others so as to be addressed by such a title. The so-called modest gentleman is really but undue praise. Miss Dao Yun has a mind as clear as her brilliance, refined bearing lofty natural charm, and whose countenance possesses the appeal of a divine finesse which beckons marvel, truly worthy of being called the most outstanding disciple of the Buddhist Xian Jai of this generation. Don't be sarcastic, senior. Only during this period of time I've been traveling outside the mountains did I feel that my practice is still shallow. I've cultivated a pure and clear sword intent for nearly twenty years in the monastery, but was somewhat faintly shaken when faced with this earthly, mortal world. For you to have had such a moment of enlightenment must have been hard already, but when you grasp the principle that which arouses my heart is nothing more than an illusory moon reflected on a pond. The psyche which protects my convictions is a morsel of my true self, then reaching the innate realm will come naturally. Dao Yun, your master's aunt, Imperial Consort Yun, instructed me in the capital to take special care of you if we happen to meet in person. Please take your seats first. There are eight commandeers and eight cities in Jiangnan, namely Wu Ling, Jin Yang, Lenin, Sun Chuan, Xia Ko, Eleven Shan, Xi, and Chu Fong which are collectively called the Jiangnan Administrative Region. The eight districts were originally managed by eight gangs. 
Eventually, the Eleven Shan clique merged with four cities and four gangs to form the Dijian League, which occupied almost half of the Jiangnan Road. A few years ago, Chu Fong Gang of the Fifth City had just been incorporated into the Dijian League and was driven away and replaced by the Magic Love Sector G. It happened that the old leader of Dijian League passed away, which delayed the pace of its expansion. Even so, the Dijian Alliance is deeply rooted and hard to shake, so you are right to start with the most unstable foundation of the Magic Love Sect. Thank you for your advice. Well, the annual Jiangnan meeting starts from sunrise and ends at sunset. If it is going out of the east today, it is time for all major forces to come. Ah, the first ones are those mentioned by Mr. Wen Yu. Manga Girls in today's Jiangnan meeting, although the taxes of the four of us are less than 3,000, they attach great importance to us. I hope Mr. Chow will accept it. 10,000 jean of cold iron ore is specially presented to the imperial court. Haha, ha, you are so bold to bring here, just deliberately want me to know, right? However, this kind of intention is worth praising. Thank you for your help. Young Master Yun Tao asked the four of us to go to the Jiangnan meeting as soon as possible so as to win the favor of Lord Chao, so as to deal with the evil sentiment sect. It's wonderful to take the mind of Magic Love Sect to destroy Magic Love Sect. Give 10,000 caddiest, the remaining 30,000 caddiest, enough for us to make a fortune. Another force is coming. It's the Siako Gang. His family is good at training and controlling the fin less porpoise. When fighting in the water, it can run as fast as thunder. It can't be overlooked. Leader song of Siako sick the day after tomorrow, I've Mr. Chow. This family is the Wu Ling Gang. Although the martial arts are not obvious, they have quite a lot of management methods. They have a lot of floating wealth and raise many strange people and scholars. Wu Ling leader Wu the day after tomorrow, ha ha, long time no see. Mr. Wu, I feel blinded every time see you. Ha ha ha, am long time no see, the day after tomorrow, leader Ping of Xicheng sect. This is Ping Gang leader of the Xicheng gang. He is good at making sharp organs and weapons, and the imperial court attaches great importance to it. These three companies are nominally allied with the Dijian Alliance and have been reluctant to merge into the alliance. If you enter Chu Fong, you can get closer to them. If the Dijian Alliance expands again and dominates Jiangnan Road, it will be called a first-class gang. Neither the imperial court nor other sects would like to see it. After all, the order of the Han Empire has been determined. If there is a big faction, there will be more disputes. Younger Marshal Sister Xie, you seem to be absent-minded? I'm just thinking, is it too early to deal with the Jiang Alliance? After all, I don't know what to do with Magic Love Sect. What's more, it happens to be the Jiang Alliance and Magic Love Sect. You want to run when you win? Jay just got hooked. This gambling method you taught is really interesting. Come on. Play another 100 laps. It's getting late. It's time to go to the south of the Yangtze River. However, it's not appropriate for our two families to go together. We'd better separate first. I hope Jen de Do remembers what I promised at that time. Oh, you come here specially and flatter me with this mahjong to make sure I won't break my promise? Okay, I know in my mind that it's a pity that I don't use your magic love sex shield. I'll ahead. Each year at the Jiangnan meeting, there are bound to be some who experience joy and some who experience sorrow. But I see that all of you who came here today look relaxed and comfortable and even have the leisure to poke some fun at each other. Clan leaders, it looks like you didn't come to grief from your covert dispute with the Great River Alliance this year. The three of us changed our tactics this year and employed a few small tricks. At long last, we were able to maintain our territory and keep the Great River Alliance at bay. No matter how cunning that Jen Jenner is, she won't get away without incurring punishment. I know what you're thinking, but according to the treaty the Han signed upon the founding of its empire, the court is only responsible for supervising and has no right to interfere in the conflicts between sects and clans. 
But if the M.O. Ching Sik doesn't pay its taxes, then it's in violation of the agreement, and the court will have just cause for being able to support you. So we can set our minds at ease then. There's no way the M.O. Ching Sik will be able to pay the mining tax in full. Ha ha, can't you see they're afraid to come? They're too ashamed to show up. You brats of the Jiangnan Administrative Region and old codger surname Chow. I've missed you all so much. Here it comes. It's the sort of show of strength the Great River Alliance enjoys. Heavenly Fundamental Freedom Method. Great Boss Jin. Every time you greet someone, you do so with such enthusiasm, grandiosity, and unrestrained, it's a bit overwhelming. Last year, you even threw a boat over. But great boss, what's with your physique? Could it be that you have made some progress with your scripture of valiant warriors of primeval chaos so that you are finally able to control your berserk innate energy? It's truly worthy of celebration. Old Chow, you're not bad yourself. I was thinking of running your brains through, but it looks like you're getting ever more proficient with your heavenly fundamental freedom method. Haha, ha, you'd better come on in and have a seat. Anyway, what is this you threw at me? It seems to somewhat resemble the pie gal commonly played in gambling houses. It goes by the name Mahjong and it's very interesting. It's a gambling game invented by Branch Master Xia of the M.O. Ching sect. How about we play a few rounds together? But there must be something to win. Hey, Bretts, why don't you bet your turf? I gave up on gambling years ago. Great boss, don't force others to do something against their will. Right, gambling is harmful for the body and mind and corrupts social values. You should be more prudent, great boss. Enjoy gambling for a while too long and your whole family will end up in unmarked graves. No fun. The Jiang Man meeting is about to start. Let's talk about gambling later. Lord Chow, it's getting late. All brave souls are here, except for the M.O. Ching sect. We certainly can't waste everyone's time for this single household. Very well, then. Good gracious. Why has the sky suddenly turned dark? That is... A lone palanquin flying across the vault of heaven, accompanied by the sound of singing that's at one time as if in frustration and as if in yearning, but at another as if in sobbing and as if in confiding? I dwell in a bamboo grove, where the sky is unseen. The road whither is steep and dangerous I arrive alone and last it. Alone I stand on the mountain top, while the clouds billow beneath me. All gloomy and dark is the day as the east wind drifts and God casts down rain. Waiting happily for the Divine One, I forget to go home. The year turns late. Who will bedeck me now? Gloomy and dazzling yet spiritual in nature. Who made this song? No, is there actually someone in the world who can pen such an ode? I can faintly feel lean energy pervading all around, but by scanning with my divine senses, this energy is superficial and not full. It seems to be an empty show of strength. Young Lord G, your Tai Xian sect is good at driving away wickedness. Why don't you have a look? I'll use my secret method to observe it. It's actually ghosts. However, their forms are vague and uncertain, so it's insufficient to bring harm, but it's still a method for communicating with spirits and controlling ghosts nonetheless. I've only seen this kind of unusual and nefarious technique in the ancient books collected by the sect. Where did the M.O. Ching sect get this inheritance from? Sorry to have kept you waiting for so long. I, Xia Yin, the M.O. Ching sect branch master of Chu Fong, am dreadfully ashamed for being late in preparing the ore for the tax payment. From what I've heard, isn't branch master Xia a practitioner at the ninth layer of the acquired realm? He's using his energy to control objects and soar through the skies. That's clearly a technique only an innate realm expert can use. How in the world did he manage to do it? Terrifying as he is, he certainly can't be. Cough. Origin points obtained astonishment? 0 0.01 points. Peng Dali, Wu Liang, Long Xiao, Song Jin, Wang Qi Xiong, Xie Dao Yun. Oh, that's a good harvest of origin points. 
Judging by the way these clan leaders are talking, they probably didn't notice anything and think I'm an innate realm expert. Though innate realm experts such as Chao Tian Ho and Jin Jenner can easily detect something odd, they seem to be unable to see ghosts. Hey, that Xia Dao Yun isn't bad looking, but it's a shame that she looks a bit too old fashioned to be as arousing as my wife. Helmsman Xia deserves to be the devil's Tian Jiao. You are really extraordinary in expelling ghosts and channeling spirits. Yun Tao admires you, only Ji Yun Tao, who has practiced the true formula of crepe myrtle in Zhong Tian, can see ghosts clearly. The skill of Tai Xian men is to conquer ghosts. The other side, I told Ching Er not to get too close, but to use the art of night walking of ghosts in the distance. It was really the right choice. She is also hard at this wave of ostentation. Looking back, she will think about how to reward her. Mr. Yun Tao, I'm flattered. I'm just a little skillful. I can't stand on the stage and can't compare with the Huang Huang Avenue of Tai Xian men. Xia Yin is the master of magic feeling. I've got one thing I don't know. Go ahead, helmsman. Why are there outsiders at the Jiangnan meeting? I don't remember that Tai Xian Min and Fan Xi and Jai were eligible to participate. These two people are my younger generation. They bring you to see the world. Thank you, helmsman. It's getting late. You'd better take a seat. Don't delay the Jiangnan meeting. Then obedience is better than respect. Oh, it seems that Ji Xia and his wife have a good relationship with the imperial court. They invited Chao as their thigh. Let me start with a few cliches. The process of Jiang Nan meeting is fixed. You can just follow the process. On behalf of the imperial court, I am responsible for receiving mining taxes and maintaining order when necessary. Please negotiate the share of mining area. The imperial court will not interfere. However, if the mining tax is insufficient or the quality is too low, the court will take back the mining rights of the force. It will be distributed by other forces. As for whether you can get a satisfactory result in this Jiangnan meeting, it depends on your respective talents. Now, I'd like to present the mine books paid by the mining areas all over the country and sing them. Note in Jinyang City, Jiangnan, from the 8th day of the first month of last year to the 8th day of the first month of this year, the total output of cold iron ore is 120,000 kilograms, high quality 45,000 kilograms, good 58,000 kilograms, qualified 12,000 kilograms, and defective 5,000 kilograms. We need to pay more than 36,000 kilograms of cold iron ore with sufficient tax. Note in the eighth day of the first month of the year, the total output of cold iron ore is 110,000 kilograms, high quality 47,000 kilograms, good 5,500 kilograms, qualified 6 kilograms, and defective 5,000 kilograms. We need to pay more than 33,600 gene of cold iron ore with sufficient tax. Note, Wu Ling City, Jiangnan, note, Linen City, Jiangnan, note, River Mountain City, Jiangnan. Note Mo Ching Sect Iron Area, Chu Fong Chang, Jiangnan, from the eighth day of the first month of last year to the eighth day of the first month of this year, the total output of cold iron ore is 160,000 gene, high quality 79,000 kilograms, good 49,000 kilograms, qualified 27,000 kilograms, and defective 5,000 kilograms. It is necessary to pay a good tax on a cold iron or a 40,800 jean and a full amount of mine tax. Xia Yin, how dare you talk nonsense and confuse black and white? What going on? Mr. Chow didn't know that there were some accidents in Chu Fong mining area. The output on the book may be true, but the final mining tax is definitely not enough. Xia Yin, Xia Yin, I thought you had any means but I didn't expect to cheat the imperial court direly. It's an unforgivable crime. My mind is still on the way. How could it be lost in your mouth? Mr. Zhao, you dirty and innocent face is really ugly. On the way? Oh, thank helmsman, you can save it. Our people have been staring at the port only to see you back, but I haven't seen the or loading ship come back. What road is your mind going on? 
Mo Ching Zong is still hard at the end of his life. Pay the mine? You take your life. Helmsman Sierra, do you have anything to say? What's the rush? Who stipulates to have to hand in mine? Wait a few hours just. Be long hemorrhoid cannot sit. Senior Chow, the M.O. Ching sect is bluffing and pointlessly stalling for time. I propose they be expelled from Chu Fong. We're all well aware of the situation the M.O. Ching sect is in, so there's no need for Branch Master Xie to put up a last-ditch struggle and lose his final shred of dignity. You would be better off backing down voluntarily while you still can save some face. Are you still acting like you have no idea what happened at the Chu Fong mining sites or how my ore disappeared? Oh, you people, don't be so cocky just because you have some ore in your palms. If the M.O. Ching sect loses its mining rights, we'll act solely upon our will from then on. Don't get too excited now, but beware of when we settle the score with you in the future. Xie Yin, the M.O. Ching sect dares to threaten us openly in public? Branch Master Xie, Senior Chao is still here watching. It's a bit too much to threaten these gentlemen from Chu Fong right in front of him. Oh, Brother Yun Tao, don't get me wrong. The M.O. Ching sect never seeks trouble for no reason. If we do, there will certainly be the reasonable motive. Ah, Branch Master, I gave these two bastards from Chu Fong a beating for trying to touch Junior Marshal's sister Yen eyes. Wah, you have to stand up for me on this one, Branch Master. Wah, if I don't get closure, I won't want to live anymore. See, I said there was a reasonable motive. Chang Wu, give these men back to Head Wu. This time, we'll leave it at a beating, but if it happens again, just castrate them. Gentlemen, you should eat and drink well and keep your body healthy. If you don't, your whole family might suddenly die someday and people will think it was the M.O. Ching sex doing. Xie Yin, it is obvious that it is that Xie Yinner who's hitting people for no apparent reason. Your endless harassment is of no use here. If you can't produce the ore, then you'll just have to get lost. That's enough, Branch Master Xie. The Jiang Man meeting is no place for you to fool about. If you can't pay the mining tax, then I'll have no choice but to revoke the M.O. Ching sex mining rights on behalf of the Imperial Court. Oh, my, I'm certainly not fooling about. Head Wu's men tried to take advantage of my junior marshal sister. I can already be regarded as gentle as I am dignified for not having them castrated on the spot. Besides, who says I don't have ore? I've emphasized it so many times, it's on the way, it's on the way. Please don't turn a deaf ear to me. They are here. They are here. I saw them coming this way. Guarding the waterway leading to Chu Fong will certainly not stop my second shipment of cold iron ore. Cyan is back. It looks like Jen Jenner has kept her promise. How good this C.A.N. is. He can even command an animal ghost with such a clear outline. It seems that the mine was most likely blown up before using a method to communicate with spirits and control ghosts. I anticipated you guys would continue with your little dirty tricks, so I entrusted Great Boss Jin to help me bring the cold iron ore I bought for the M.O. Ching Sik directly to Siako. If it wasn't for the fact that that Mahjong game was indeed pleasing to me, I wouldn't have bothered with these trifles. Judging by the time, they should be here soon. What? Reporting, my lord. A new or vessel has just arrived at the harbor. What? This can't be. If the M.O. Ching Sek really has or, then we. Young Lord G, you must come up with something quickly. Could it be that all our efforts have gone down the drain? Branch Master Xie is really quite capable. I'm impressed. It seems that the Great River Alliance doesn't intend to let the M.O. Ching Sek be driven out of the game. Jin Jenner is a rather amazing woman. But no harm, I've long had my mind prepared for this. Dao Yun, if the M.O. Ching Sek turns over the mining tax honestly, then I won't be able to do anything. The Imperial Court has to abide by its treaty. Senior Chao doesn't need to hesitate because of me, the Buddhist Xian Jai has no intention of breaking the rules. It's getting late. Since the Chu Fong mining tax has arrived, let's start the ore inspection. City of Jin Yang and Jianmen, 
five or vessels carrying a total of 36,500 caddies of or fine and excellent quality. City of Siako and Jiangnan, six or vessels carrying a total of 34,000 caddies of or fine and excellent quality. City of Chufong and Jiangnan, Mo Ching Sek mining sites, 12 or vessels carrying a total of 40,600 caddies of or fine and excellent quality. City of Wailing in Jiangnan. City of Lenin in Jiangnan. City of Xi in Jiangnan. I heard that in order to suck up to the imperial court, you paid 7,000 more in taxes this year, totaling 10,000 caddies. That's really impressive. What are you trying to say? Don't be so proud of yourself, Xia Yan. We have many years ahead of us. Many years ahead of you? That's all very nice and sweet, but I'm not sure if you'll ever get the chance. Something's not right. Xia Yan's attitude is too odd. Could it be that besides buying from the Great River Alliance twice, he has something else up his sleeve? City of Chufong in Jiangnan, Chufong Faction's mining sites, one or vessel carrying a total of 10,000 caddies of ore of premium quality. That's not right. How could the Great River Alliance have sold ore of the highest quality when they only paid their taxes by using fine and excellent quality ore? Could the ore be fake? But I specifically told them to check the ore when it was robbed. Don't tell me these old foxes of Chufong can't differentiate if they're genuine or not even after all these years of mining? Haha, <laughs> only ours is of premium quality. I'm sure it will leave a deep impression on the imperial court. Even if we can't oust the M.O. Ching sect, as long as we gradually work on our schemes, we can still look forward to the future. There won't be a future. What do you mean, young Lord G? Although we lost this round, not only did we not fail to claim profit from the M.O. Ching sect, we didn't sustain any serious damage. It doesn't make sense for Xie Yan to be playing tricks on us now. These old foxes of Chu Fong have completely misjudged him. I have an objection. After all, you're one move behind. There's a problem with the ore. You gentlemen are out of the game. I want to report the two phone factions for practicing fraud and using fake ore to deceive the imperial court. How is that possible? We examined the ore. It can't be fake. Besides, this ore was sold to the M.O. Ching sect by the Great River Alliance. How could there be a problem with it? Could it be that the Great River Alliance, thinking of requiting injury for kindness, intended to lay a trap for the M.O. Ching sect at the Jiangnan meeting? Unless the Great River Alliance's counterfeiting techniques are beyond our imagination? And we're the ones who fell into it as a result? Old Wu. Ah. Watch your mouth. I know how to conduct myself and my own business. I stick to whatever I blurt out and absolutely loathe engaging in such crooked dealings. If I hear you starting any of those rumors again, the Great River Alliance will send all of you out to see free of charge as a token of affection for the sharks. Branch Master Xie, the ore inspectors didn't report anything wrong earlier. Do you have any grounds for questioning the Chu Fong factions? I'm certainly not one of those people who's all talk and no cider. Do I have any grounds? Of course I do. Cold iron ore of the highest quality is rare. With the small mining quota they have, how could they get their hands on 10,000 caddies of premium quality? Even if they bought them from another power, they wouldn't be able to get such top-notch quality. Senior Chow should be more careful. If by any chance fake orv had been shipped back to the Imperial Court, how would you have reported the fulfillment of your task? I've cut one at random. Please have a look, everyone. Wait a minute. Even an ordinary first layer innate realm expert may not be able to cut open premium quality cold iron or in such a light-hearted manner. So how did this see again? Hey, why is the or core cyanide? The cold iron or core should be a variegated, technicolor black. I'll be damned. The ore is fake. And here I was wondering why Master Xia cut one open so casually. That's because Branch Master Xie's fingering technique is really amazing, isn't it? If Head Wu of Chu Fong had such ability, it would be unlikely that he wouldn't be able to tell if they were real or not. Unless they were seriously planning to fool the Imperial Court with bogus goods. 
So that's how it is. If I had gone to examine the ore on that very day, it would have been unlikely that I would have had to endure such humiliation today. Maybe because I didn't know enough about cold iron ore, I trusted those old foxes too much and ended up lacking diligence. Great River Alliance, the major counterfeiters, alas, some people just enjoy counterfeiting these days. Luckily, Branch Master Xia was here, otherwise the reputation of the mining industry in the Jiangnan administrative region would be affected if counterfeit goods were to flow into other nations. I thought it wouldn't be possible to check the authenticity of these ores without being an innate realm expert, but I didn't expect a whelp like Xia Yin to have such ability. Apparently, I'll have to improve my skills and wait for the final version of the fake ores to be shipped to a neighboring nation to land a huge payday. Although there are fake ores, medicines, weapons, and so on in all walks of life in the Han Empire from time to time, they are usually used to fool the neighboring barbarian nations. I never expected that someone would use them to cheat the imperial court. You don't want to live anymore? Impossible. The M.O. Ching sect must have planted these fake ores to slander us. Yes, yes, that's definitely it. Shut up. Heavenly Fundamental Freedom Method Fakes. The whole ship is loaded with fakes. Re-examine them. Draw one of every hundred ores from all clans. I'll check them all myself. I've presided over the Jiangnan meeting for over ten years, but this is the first time I've seen such foolhardiness and contempt for the imperial court. This must be strictly investigated. I'd rather kill by mistake than to let someone get away with it. This ore is from the M.O. Ching sect. The M.O. Ching sect is setting us up. Lord Chow, we've been framed. Ha ha, just take a look at this. Do you see that? It's the live version of lying through one's teeth. Let's not even mention how your ore is fake for a moment. Why is the M.O. Ching sex ore on your ship? Why don't you just tell us? Flick, you made me waste so much money on buying ore. I'll get even with you sooner or later. I, it's you, Xia Yin, who's behind all this. God knows what kind of mysterious and occult archer sect has up its sleeve. Don't be fooled by the crafty tricks of a demonic sect, Lord Chow. We will. You're actually babbling nonsense in front of an official appointed by the imperial court and deliberately distorting the truth? So what if I'm from a demonic sect? I can guarantee the quality and quantity of the mining tax I pay. Senior Chow, just conduct the investigation. If the M.O. Ching sect is found to have committed even the slightest tax evasion, I, Xia Yin, will be truly damned. The local Chu Fong factions are guilty of fraud. They are to be expelled from the Jiangnan meeting and deprived of their cold iron or mining rights. The exact punishment will be discussed after the Jiangnan meeting has concluded. Senior Chow, we're innocent. We are being framed by the M.O. Ching sect. Please render UIS a fair judgment, Senior. Continue the ore inspection. All men, obey my orders and give me the ore. Dear clan leaders, please allow us to climb aboard your ships once more to select the ore for inspection. Sure, take and check whatever you want. I, Old Wu, guarantee they're all real. It's alright if you want to check them all. Old Wu, what idiotic crap are you on about? If we spent all our time on or checking, we wouldn't be able to hold the Jiangnan meeting. When you're picking the ore, poke around everywhere and take everything from every nook and cranny you can. I'll get a few of my people to help you out, so hurry up and get it done fast. Then we thank you in advance, Boss Jin. By the way, head boss, lend me a few men to help move my ore to my ore is all from the Great River Alliance, so feel free to check them at will. This is truly unfortunate. Those four gentlemen from Chu Fong were actually such good people. Why did they suddenly do something so foolish? Alas. Xia Yin, you whelp, don't try to act nice after getting the better side of the deal. It's creeping me out. Haha, <laughs> you sure know how to crack jokes, Big Boss Jin. I'm deeply impressed by Branch Master Xia's wisdom. If Branch Master Xia weren't from a demonic sect, I would have had a nice exchange with you at the very beginning.
Origin points obtained appreciation, 0.01 points, Ji Yun Tao. Brother Yun Tao's words are narrow-minded. Although I'm from a demonic sect and have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with you, am I not a good person if I pay my taxes honestly and show brotherly affection for my neighbors? He's actually displaying real appreciation for me. Ji Yun Tao's words and deeds are as one, so except for his different standpoint, there's really nothing to find fault with. It's said that the origin of a brave individual is of no significance, but when you divide people into followers of righteous and demonic sects, and start off with subjective prejudice from the very beginning, how can you say that you can judge a person clearly? What righteous or demonic sects? What good people or rotten spawn? The way I see it, you're all just a bunch of obnoxious dumbasses who only want to get the most profit out of the Jiangnan administrative region. Boss Jin, aren't you practically the same? Wasn't it the Great River Alliance who wanted to scoop up the profit in previous years? I didn't say it wasn't. Why are you digging up old scores? Shouldn't we pull together to condemn these outsiders at a time like this? Surname Wu, are you looking for a fight? Apu, who wants to be with you? You old spinster who can't get married. These gentlemen from the Jiangnan administrative region sure get along really well. Branch Master Xie, is your vision blurred? Putting aside the good and the bad, the excitement is real. They won't be quarreling for long. Things on Senior Chow's end should be over soon. The last piece. Real and of fine quality. Except for that small ship, all the ore we checked was real. That's great. Gentlemen. Oh, how did the inspection go, Lord Chow? No problems, I presume? Old song, you needn't have asked. What else could there be? I'm sure there were no problems. Please rest assured, gentlemen. All your or is real. That's good, that's good. It's just like I said. There are few people who would dare to deceive the Imperial Court. Now that Dior has cleared the inspection, it's time to move on to the next stage. That's right. The Dior inspection took far too long. Let's continue with the distribution of quotas and mining rights for the cold iron ore in the Jiangnan administrative region. Here comes the main highlight. Since Chu Fong has gone off the rails a bit, let's start with it. I recommend Xie Dao Yun of the Buddhist Xian Jai and Ji Yun Tao of the Taishian sect to replace the local factions in Chu Fong. Does anyone have any objections? As expected, this man surnames Chao was helping both Ji and Xie in invading Chu Fong, only to be downgraded from the Mo Ching sex mines to the ones held by the local Chu Fong factions. The gap in expectations couldn't be any bigger. I agree. Ah, the first one to jump out was actually Jin Jenner, so much for the good times we shared together. What do you mean by this, Big Boss Jin? Nothing much. There are plenty of lively people who can keep me company for a game of Mahjong. She really doesn't have any consideration for other people's feelings. Indeed, if both Ji and Xie settle into Chu Fong and form a tripartite rivalry with the Mo Ching sect to keep each other in check, the Great River Alliance will have no other opponents worth dreading. Why is the Great River Alliance suddenly supporting Ji Yun Tao again? I thought they didn't want the Taishian sect to enter the Jiangnan administrative region. Don't tell me the Taishian sect and the Buddhist Xian Jai are really going to enter Chu Fong? Calm down. When it comes to the distribution of mining quotas, the Imperial Court only has the right to recommend. At worst, there will only be a scuffle. As long as the M.O. Ching sect has its reputation and they don't beat the daylights out of me, how can the both of them move in by relying on voting? A righteous sect isn't like a demonic one. They don't have the fine tradition of bullying the weak with their might. At least for this Jiangnan meeting, I'll face off against Xie Dao Yun and Ji Yun Tao at the most. The innate realm experts of their sex supporting them won't act if they want to keep their dignity. Besides, if it's a vote, I may not necessarily lose. I'm against it. I also object. Likewise, we can have one major sect in the Jiangnan administrative region, but not more than two. 
If the Taishian sect and the Buddhist Xian Jai resent that Chu Fong isn't enough for them, what would we do if they follow the example of the Mo Ching sect and take over our territory? It's enough to have the Mo Ching sect fighting in the arena with the Great River Alliance. With two more major sects squabbling endlessly with the Mo Ching sect, God knows if Zhen Jenner won't be able to get her hands free to deal with us. Hum. No matter what, we'll oppose the Great River Alliance. I'm against it too. The minds of the local Chu Fong factions are so small that Brother Yun Tao and Lady Xia would feel wronged, so why not hand them over to the Mo Ching sect in order to reunite them under its control? There are four votes against. The Great River Alliance controls four cities, so one vote counts as four votes for. Since you all can't reach a consensus, then let's do it according to custom. Together with Xia Dao Yun of the Buddhist Xian Jai and the Ji Yun Tao of the Taishian sect, we will decide the victor by martial combat. The contest will be for the former quota of the local Chu Fong faction's minds. I won't participate. Chu Fong is very far from Xia Ko, so I couldn't care less. I won't get involved either. There are numerous estates in Wuling, and we have friendly relations with various sects, so there's no need to offend a major sect for a small mining site. Although the city of Xi is adjacent to Chufong, we have always been content with our lot and don't wish to meddle into other people's business. I'll abstain. Xi, Chufong. Hum, what a bunch of chickens you've already pissed yourselves before you even started. Allowing outsiders to get a kick out of seeing this for no reason. I really can't bear to watch. Big Boss Jen, are you taking part too? Well, what do you think? I didn't realize that Big Boss Jen was concocting a sinister plot against me too. I thought that with our friendship, even if you looked on without lifting a finger, you wouldn't hit a person when he's down. Even though it's quite unlikely that she'll end up taking part, this girl's brain is wired remarkably well, so I can't help but be on guard against her. She is an innate realm expert, so even Ji Yun Tao and I together can't defeat her. Personal friendships should be put aside for the moment. Now we're fighting each other for the interests of our respective sects and clans, and I have courage and justice on my side. Not to mention that delightful game of Mahjong, I even gave away something precious to Big Boss Jen on that day. Never mind, I'll just pretend it was a dream, a dream that utterly touched me even after I woke up. Didn't I use or to offset the favor? So why the hell are you bringing this up? Something precious? Could it be that Branch Master Xie, I was wondering why Jen Jenner suddenly recovered. Perhaps it was a demonic sect secret method for gathering one's vitality and strengthening one's foundation, which allowed her to control her berserk innate energy. A few shiploads of ore and she dispatches Branch Master Xia without a single notice. He must have sustained. A huge loss. Shut up you sons of bitches. Whatever, my health is really not something some insignificant shiploads of ore can measure up to. The Great River Alliance also withdraws. We're not going to get involved in your Chu Feng's trifles. You guys can just go play by yourselves. If one discarded the Mo Ching sex portion, the Chu Feng territory would be left with only a paltry share. So once the Taishian sect and Buddhist Xian Jai came in, the Mo Ching sect and them would beat each other's brains out, which would be in the best interests of the Great River Alliance. Junior Marshal Sister Xie, I have no comment. Just do as you see fit, Elder Marshal Brother G. Then thank you very much, Junior Marshal Sister, for your help in achieving our goal. I'd also like to express my deepest gratitude to Senior Chow for his recognition of my efforts and advocating on my behalf. I'm forever indebted to you. I just gave a recommendation. Success or failure is up to you. No need to be overly polite. Yun Tao, in the end, the bloody battlefield will be shared between us two. A bloody battlefield is an over-exaggeration. If Branch Master Xia were only at the sixth layer of the acquired realm, I would have conceded on this occasion. After all, in terms of scheming, I have already lost and have accepted it wholeheartedly. Yet it's really not easy to give up just like that after making arrangements for so long. Fortunately, Branch Master Xie is also at the ninth layer of the Acquired Realm, so it's not like I'm bullying the weak by having a competition with you. 
Brother Yun Tao, please guide me. Oh, so this is the way of righteousness, as long as it's not a matter of right and wrong, there are rules to be followed when engaging in a fight. Hum, how lovely. I like it. Branch Master Sia, please guide me. Branch Master Sia, although we're both at the ninth layer of the acquired realm, I am more or less your senior in terms of experience. So there's no need to be polite. Just go ahead and make your move. Since you said so. Brother Yun Tao, please guide me. Condensing one's innate energy to fire a sword tip from one's fingers. How wonderful it is that the finger of flowery swords of the M.O. Ching sect can perform such a miraculous feat even at the ninth layer of the acquired realm. Limitless, unpolar, isation, force. Limitless unpolarization force, I had heard from Chang Wu that this defensive method is one of the moves of the true heavenly mantra of the primordial god. It can use all the force borrowed from an attack as a dissipation force and use it to neutralize the attack. I didn't expect that even a power as cohesive as the finger of flowery swords could be dispelled by it. With a defensive method no less powerful than divine impact of Zen, and of the same level, I'm afraid this will be a long-lasting battle. Although I can use the finger of Nirvana to recover my state, it will deplete origin points after all, so I should use it sparingly if possible. Let me exchange blows with him up close and personal for now. Seven Autumns of the Big Dipper W, Divine Impact of Zen. Reflect. It is very interesting that this move, which is similar to the Heavenly Guard, but not the same as it, can generate a repulsive force. I've never seen anyone else from the M.O. Ching sect use this technique. Branch Master Xie, could this be a unique technique that was developed by being improved upon by you? That's right, let alone the M.O. Ching sect. Even if one were to scour the entire Han Empire, I would dare say that I, Xie Yan, am the first one able to use the divine impact of Zen. Although the Heavenly Guard is only an acquired realm technique, Branch Master Xie's ability to improve it proves that your distinguished self is truly an extraordinary prodigy. Brother Yun Tao isn't bad either. If it wasn't for the divine impact of Zen's defensive capability, which far exceeds that of the Heavenly Guard, I'm afraid I would have been finished just now. Branch Master Xie, please guide me once more. Seven Autumns of the Big Dipper Fivefold Deadly Strike. Of Akade. Ooh, how brilliant. The Taishian Sex Sevenfold Deadly Strike of Alcade can instantly deliver a palm strike with sevenfold the power, and this Ji Yun Tao can already perform a fivefold deadly strike. That whelp, Xie Yin, is good too. His defensive martial art can actually move according to his will and withstand two of those multipliers. Old Chao, who do you think will win between them? Even though Xie Yin of the M.O. Ching sect is an individual of outstanding ability, his experience in fighting others is lacking, so I believe Ji Yun Tao of the Tai Xian sect has the upper hand. Old Chao and I hold similar views, so it looks like that whelp, Xie Yin, will lose. For what it's worth, Branch Master Xie is the most specially gifted prodigy of his generation of the M.O. Ching sect. At such a young age, he's already reached the ninth layer of the acquired realm. Corners of her mouth rising wildly, he's also the husband of the magical dignified beauty, Ching Qingxi, and soon after he joined her sect, he climbed through the ranks to become a branch master. How could he lose in such few and typical moves? Furthermore, Lord Chao only said that young Lord Yun Tao has the upper hand, so don't brag about it as if you've already won, great boss Jin. Xie Yin, you have to put your back into it. Don't let Ji Yun Tao beat you no matter what. That bastard, Ji Yun Tao, has made a lot of progress in his martial arts. I hope the branch master will be all right. Brother Yun Tao, don't just get on someone else's boat as you please. Come back here. As expected of you, Brother Yun Tao. And here I thought I'd be able to get you to fall into the water for some wet look fun. 
Your move barely missed me, Branchmaster Sierra, so I'll have to use my full strength next. True heavenly mantra of the primordial god, it's getting late. It's time for us to decide the outcome of this battle. At long last, Ji Yun Tao's true heavenly mantra of the primordial god. But the present me is no longer daunted by your spiritual awe. Wait. Sione, come back here. Eat my headbutt. Brother Yun Tao, you really don't want to suffer the slightest loss. I destroyed your boat, so you had to destroy mine. Sione, that damned girl, all she needed to do was help me counteract the spiritual intimidation, but she just had to stubbornly go up against it. Now she's gone and perished with it, it's a good thing she's more or less immortal. It's impolite not to reciprocate what one receives, and I also wanted to see the meaning of the word wet look that came out from Branchmaster Sia's mouth. I thought that the unusual and nefarious spiritual being he's cultivating could be suppressed by the true heavenly mantra of the primordial god, and I never imagined that it could actually defeat my spiritual manifestation. It's really remarkable. Ha <laughs> ha, just because you couldn't think of it doesn't mean I can't do it. I'm going to give it my all next. Brother Yun Tao, you should beware. Ji Yun Tao is really something. It looks like he's going to use his ultimate move. Wait and see. Apparently, Xie Yin has really mastered the finger of flowery swords killing move. I'm actually rather looking forward to it. Finger of flowery swords, withering of the hundred flowers. Seven autumns of the Big Dipper, fivefold glittering sword tip. Who won? Who won? I can't tell for sure. Surname Jin, couldn't you have helped us clear our field of sight while you were at it? Why should I help you? You're full of shit. Who won? Who won? I can't tell for sure. According to the information we've recently gathered from some sources about Branchmaster Xie, I'm afraid Elder Marshal Brother G is in trouble. He doesn't have a fingering technique that can heal injuries and restore innate energy as the one Branchmaster Xie is rumored to possess. The gentle, dignified prince is in trouble? But Dao Yun, looking at your expression, you don't seem to be even the slightest bit concerned about it. It's because I've come to a sudden realization. I had been plotting with Elder Marshal Brother G for a good while, so I thought we were determined to succeed, but we never expected that someone as out of the ordinary as Branch Master Xia would come out of nowhere and crush our plans one after another. The world is unpredictable, just like this great river before our eyes. Mortal life in this world is like riding through raging and terrifying waves. Only by using our heart as a boat can we not lose sight of our true spirit. So that's how it is. I understand now. As expected of the Buddhist Xianjai's mind scripture of the abyss of worldly woes and innate spirit, regardless of all things in nature or the outcome of victory or defeat, it always allows one to understand the truth by themselves, enabling a breakthrough. Brother Yun Tao is really amazing. The withering of the hundred flowers was to no avail on Ji Yun Tao. If I want to win, I'll have to fight a battle of attrition with him and use the finger of Nirvana to restore my energy. Let's keep going. Branch Master Xie, I should be the one praising your might. Judging from his condition, he seems to have fully recovered his innate energy. What a wondrous fingering technique. Although I still have some trump cards to play, it would be too disgraceful for me to continue this impasse. I concede this battle. Huh. What? Ji Yun Tao, you whelp, how in the world can you admit defeat before the match is over? Are you okay in the head or what? Then I will have to fail to live up to the high expectations given by head boss Jin. We have already lost in strategy and won't be able to excel Branchmaster Xie in martial arts for a while, so why should we invite humiliation by enduring hardship? In fact, I came to Jiangnan Administrative Region mainly to help Junior Marshal Sister Xie capture Yin Jie. The scheme to obtain the Cold Iron Ore was only conceived at the last moment, thanks to Junior Marshal Sister Xie's continuous support. Branchmaster Xie, this battle doesn't relate to my sect. There's no need for you to worry about the Taishian sex elders intervening. The great Taishian sect is a follower of righteousness. 
I've never had such worries. Not to mention, this guy sure meets gains and losses with equanimity. He's so virtuous it's making me feel embarrassed. Branch Master Sia is a broad-minded gentleman. It was me who was being narrow-minded. I and Junior Marshal Sister Sia discussed it earlier. If we won this battle, the Chu phone line would belong to the Buddhist Xian Jai. If we lost, we would immediately depart the Jiangnan administrative region and never come up with a plan for the cold iron or again. Now that I have thoroughly lost in all aspects, it's time for us to leave. Junior Marshal Sister Xie, we, Junior Marshal Sister Xie? Ha ha, don't startle her. The little lass is on her final push towards the innate realm. Hum? What? Let's move further away and leave her in peace by herself. Wait a minute. Why now? Why here? Why is she leveling up all of a sudden? What stupid words you're saying, Branchmaster Sia? Is there a time or place to advance to the innate realm? I'm just freaking afraid that she'll beat me up after she finishes her advancement. Is this the energy force of an innate realm expert? It's truly impressive. I'm an innate realm expert too. Why don't you praise my awesomeness? How unbearable. I can't breathe. I feel like I've been thrown deep underwater. I can't move. The innate energy and its force that dissipates when an acquired realm practitioner makes his final push to the innate realm is beneficial for those who haven't yet reached it, so relax everyone. This oppressive force is enormous. How the hell is someone supposed to relax? And what the heck is up with this Xia Dao Yun? They say people go into seed mode when they are in the heat of battle, but this is the first time I've seen someone do so when they're only spectating. Innate Realm at Layer her innate energy has subsided. She has reached the innate realm. Dao Yuan is really a cultivation genius with penetrating insight. Congratulations to Junior Marshal Sister Xie on her advancement to the innate realm. You overpraise me, Senior. I would like to express my gratitude to Elder Marshal Brother Ji for accompanying me on my journey through the world of mortals and allowing me a chance to attain enlightenment. Out of the five beauties and four princes, Lady Siap must be the first one to have advanced to the innate realm. Congratulations. Compared to Lady Sia, we feel ashamed of our own inferiority indeed. I'm really impressed that Lady Sia has ascended to the innate realm at such a young age. You're all too kind. Bah, I only regret that I'm not a man, otherwise I'd definitely snatch you and take you back as my wife, you naughty wench. Thank you very much, Head Boss Jen, for your appreciation. Congratulations, Elder Marshal Sister Xie. At the otherworldly innate realm, Elder Marshal Sister Xie is now able to roam through the skies above, while those of us at the acquired realm have to continue rolling about in this mire. It's truly enviable. The difference between the innate and acquired realms is like the difference between immortal and mortal. When Elder Marshal Sister Xie returns to the Buddhist Xian Jai, you should be able to become an elder, isn't that so? Although Ji Yun Tao has already withdrawn from the competition for the mines on behalf of Xie Dao Yun, heaven knows if this girl's ambition won't be rekindled after her level up, so it's best to dissuade her with words. You bestow me with undue praise, Branch Master Xie. I'm only a newcomer to the innate realm. Please rest assured, Branch Master Xie. Elder Marshal Brother G has already fulfilled his promise, and I won't go back on his word. After all, no matter how precious cold or iron is, it is merely a worldly possession, so I don't care about it at all. Since Branch Master Xia wants it and Elder Marshal Brother G has already renounced, then I'll just withdraw as well. My humble self admires Elder Marshal Sister Xia for her magnanimity. If Xia Dao Yun is not profoundly devious and deliberately choking me with words, she's a damned stubborn, straightforward woman. It's really annoying that I'm no match for her. However, I didn't receive any origin points related to negative emotions from her, so I guess she's really just a stubborn one. Senior Chow, Elder Marshal Brother G, and I were originally outsiders, and since the fight for the mining share is over, we'll take our leave now. There are still a few loose ends in the Jiangnan meeting, so I won't keep you. What's the hurry? 
Isn't it a bit too disrespectful to me that you're leaving when I've just arrived? Isn't that the magical dignified beauty, Chin Chin Si? Soaring through the skies. Another innate realm expert? This entrance feels awfully familiar. Its vibe is similar to Branch Master Siez. As expected of a married couple. Fiends. They're both fiends. This one's really hot. I like her too. Treading on the sky as on plain ground. The magical dignified beauty must have ascended to the innate realm for at least a month now. I don't like what junior sister Dao Yun said to my husband just now. Those minds were obviously earned by my husband through arduous combat, so why does it sound like junior sister Dao Yun gave it to the M.O. Ching sect as charity? Ji Yun Tao from Taishian sect greets Elder Marshal Sister Ching. Elder Marshal Sister Ching seems to have misunderstood. Junior Marshal Sister Xie didn't mean it in that sense. Ji Yun Tao? I'm talking to Junior Sister Dao Yun. Junior Sister Dao Yun, since we're both innate realm practitioners, why don't we play according to the rules of the Jiangnan meeting and have a little match? Elder Marshal Sister Qin has really misunderstood. As Elder Marshal Brother Ji said, I didn't mean it in such a way. It's useless to say any more. Are you going to do it or not? Give me a clear answer. Fight. Fight. Unlike Elder Marshal Sister Chin, who has ascended to the innate realm for many days now and has had time to stabilize her spirit, I'm just a newcomer. If it were just an ordinary battle, there would be nothing much to it, but if I engage in a hand-to-hand -hand combat with Elder Marshal Sister Chin, I'm afraid that my realm may be in danger of dropping. Therefore, I choose not to fight. You're being so noble and benevolent, and even dare to say whatever you like. Let's leave it at that. Just leave. Thank you for being so sensible, Elder Marshal Sister. Gentlemen, we'll take our leave. Ji Yun Tao and Xie Dao Yun, except for a tiny bit of astonishment, I didn't receive any origin points from negative emotions from those two throughout the whole process, so I guess I should say, as expected from people who come from a prestigious and righteous sect. What are you still staring at? Are you that reluctant to part with them? In my eyes, expect for you, my lady, there's no room to accommodate anyone else. Flick, I thought I was on an equal footing with her when I ascended to the ninth layer, but I never expected that this bitch would reach the innate realm in the blink of an eye. Does she enjoy riding on top that much? Since there are other people here, I'll give you some respect. Just remember to give me an abundant eight hours when we get back, not even a quarter of an hour less. I'm a lively and vigorous husband, so what's a trifling eight hours to me? How about a day and night of non-stop, fierce fighting? I can't be a wimp on this aspect, so it seems I'll have to use the finger of Nirvana again. Ha ha, Branch Master Xie and the Magical Dignified Beauty are an enviable couple, very much in love. The Jiang Man meeting is coming to an end, so we can't delay your little reunion. I'll be sure to send you a hefty gift whenever the wedding banquet is. This Xie Yin is actually able to make the magical dignified beauty docile and obedient. He must have outstanding skill. I'm really envious. Cut your whining and finish the Jiang Nan meeting. I want to go back to Eleven Shan to play Mahjong. Don't be hasty. Chu Feng's quota has been set, but the ones for the rest of the mining sites in the Jiang Nan administrative region haven't. What's there to decide? They should be jumping for joy that I don't rob theirs. Could it be that they dare to steal mine? Don't forget, head boss Jin. The magical dignified beauty of the M.O. Ching sect is here today. Don't forget, head boss Jin. The magical dignified beauty of the M.O. Ching sect is here today, and she's also an innate realm practitioner, so she may not necessarily have no interest in the minds other than those in Chu Fong. Oh? The M.O. Ching sect prizes harmony, so if other people don't drop in to provoke us of their own accord, we'll very rarely take the initiative to cause trouble. Besides, this matter hinges on what my husband desires. My husband has the final say on anything related to Chu Fong. I was only sent here by the matriarch to assist him. That's what you say. Why don't you just say you're not interested? Do you have to put on such a melodramatic show? 
we're satisfied with the slice of Chu Fong we've received. As for mining sites elsewhere, the M.O. Ching sect has no interest in them for the time being. Jin Jenner didn't even try to gobble up the ones from those three, so there's obviously some underlying motive I'm unaware of. There's no need for me to create another incident. As for taking a bite off from Jin Jenner hands, this bitch, Ching Xingxi, must be unable to defeat her, otherwise she wouldn't have hinted at me by saying that peace is precious. Branch Master Xie is wise. Branch Master Xie and his wife have a deep consciousness of righteousness. Branch Master Xie, you'll be my sworn elder brother from now on. For the time being? What nice speechcraft. Cough, cough, since the M.O. Ching sect has no intention of competing for the mines, and the three clan leaders seem to want to maintain the status quo, the agenda regarding the mining site quotas will now come to an end. Next, we need to discuss how to punish the local Chu Fong factions for using fake ore to fool the Imperial Court. You're really a slowpoke, old man Chow, though I like the Imperial Court's attitude of agreeing on things without being dictatorial. Those four guys from Chu Fong had some friendship with the old boss of the Great River Alliance, so please do me a favor, old man Chow, and spare their lives. It'll be enough to take some of their wealth and possessions as punishment and I'll pay for their mining tax on their behalf. Oh? Is that the case? It's surprising that it took this long. I didn't expect Lord Chow to talk so much. Judging from what happened today, Ji Yun Tao seems to be quite the gentleman. He doesn't look like someone who would do something like what occurred the other day. Junior Marshal Sister Yenner, Ji Yun Tao is a bully who fears the strong. He couldn't beat the branch master, so naturally he admitted his cowardice. Those four old foxes of Chu Fong haven't a damn thing to do with the old boss of the Great River Alliance. Jin Jenner's purely thinking of trying to keep them around to make me feel nauseous. But it's no bother, I've long had a plan in mind on how to deal with them, guaranteed to make Jin Jenner end up worse off after trying to gain an advantage. By the way, my dear wife, what brings you to Chu Fong without any apparent reason? Actually, the matriarch knows about everything that's been happening in Chu Fong like the palm of her own hand, including your ascension to the ninth layer of the acquired realm, which awed the riffraff. She had always felt awfully assured with you previously, knowing that you could settle these matters so she didn't show any concern about it. However, there were too many variables for the last young man meeting. On top of that, the sex interests were at stake, hence I was ordered to come immediately as support after I had broken through to the innate realm. But now, it seems my arrival was hardly necessary. Nothing of the sort, I think you came at just the right time, my lady. I still haven't congratulated you on your ascension to the innate realm. I'm afraid I deserve half the credit for this achievement, no? Oh, yes, I'll be depending on my dear husband's diligent, hard work to reach the heavenly realm in the future. A few days later, city of Chu Fong, my lady, you're back. Did the Jiang Man meeting go smoothly? Have you brought any local souvenirs back? You are you. I'm literally standing right in front of you, and you don't even say hi? Humph, and what exactly is so nice about you? Ah, uh, you, you, my lady, he, he, he's scaring me. My dear, you're considered an expert now. Don't scare you, are you, this poor servant girl? Ha ha, I was just kidding. My lady, I've been toiling back and forth for a long while now, so I'll head to my room and have a good rest. Have Chang Wu and Yenner show you around the branch. I've been having this feeling, my dear, that you're running away from something. I'll take you are you to tidy up my room and come back later for a nice little chat with you. Finally, the dust has settled. Though that bitch, Chin Chinxi, is difficult to deal with, she's very handy indeed. Miss Matriarch is really a true friend of mine for sending me this all-purpose brick in such a timely fashion. Ku is elder sister Qin your lawfully wedded wife? Why haven't you had me serve her yet? If we are to get along well in the many years to come, we'll have to get to know each other. No matter how much you burn your fingers, you just don't learn your lesson. Even if an innate realm expert in this world can't see ghosts, the discharge of innate energy can still hurt you. If not for the finger of Nirvana, you'd have to spend a lot of time in my head slowly reviving. 
From now on, when you see an innate realm expert, remember to stay away from them. You've died twice already, once by Xia Dao Yun and once by Ji Yun Tao. I don't want you to die at the hands of that bitch, Qin Qinxi, too. He he. Hey, hey, why are you still so cheerful, Cyanie? I'm scolding you. Because my lord knows that I'm not going to really die, and yet urges me to be so cautious, which shows that my lord really, really, really loves me very much. Yay, I'm so happy, even though I found out you learned a technique to control ghosts from some unknown source, I still believed it was just some wildly disordered illusory spiritual beings. But judging from your self-talk, my dear, you must have brought up a lovely little female ghost, no? Why else would you be so gentle? No wonder, on the way back to Chufong you kept using the excuse of having to take care of some official business to have me alone on an empty bed. So it turns out that you were having a good time with that little female ghost. Is there re really a ghost in this room? My dear wife, why don't you properly come through the door instead of climbing through the window to eavesdrop? The lawfully wedded missus is here. Should I go hide? An innate realm expert is really something. I didn't even realize she was sneaking beside me. She even managed to conceal Yuru's presence. If I didn't eavesdrop, how would I know that my dear husband got a new ghost and has forgotten about his former woman? Oh, that's right. No need to hide. The lawfully wedded missus can't hear or see me. Hmm, this place is most abundant with Ian energy, and there vaguely appears to be a substance here. Is it the little female ghost? It's a shame that my martial arts aren't perfect yet, as I can't see the appearance of this ghostly damsel my dear husband has been keeping hidden. Wow, she's quite a beauty, charming and seductive. She resembles a bewitching ghost more than myself and she's so close to me that I, I, I can't hold on any longer. You're really good for nothing. What about your dignity as a bewitching ghost, Cyanie? From what my dear said before, this little female ghost is called Cyanie. Cyanie, can you hear me? As long as you're a good girl, I don't mind if you stay by my husband's side. I don't really care how unfaithful he is. The lawfully wedded missus is showing off her full cleavage pose. That pouting teasing and provocative expression, wow. Just keep being the way you are. Not in a million, 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 million years ever follow her example. But she completely fits my ultimate fantasy of a bewitching ghost. My lord, I want to. No, you don't want to. Since I'm so generous, shouldn't you obediently keep me company for practice now, my dear husband? My dear. Hum. Coo, coo, coo. My lady, can't you be a little bit more reserved? There are people and ghosts watching. My lady, I'm still here. Don't pretend I don't exist. The lawfully wedded missus is really amazing. Isn't it more exciting this way? It might be time for you or you to learn some techniques on how to conquer men for when she's grown up. Hey, hey, haven't you ever heard of the saying, Shinsi? This bitch is actually the type that gets more turned on the more people are watching. Men are always on top. I'm afraid your waist won't hold up and you'll have to lie down in less than a few hours. Men are always on top. I'm afraid your waist won't hold up and you'll have to lie down in less than a few hours. I wonder how things are going in there. Did the lady and Xia Yin finish their meal yet? Wah, well, I wanted to study it properly, but oh yeah, why is it a little chilly here? Ah, it's not over yet? And incredible. By the sound of their movement, the lawfully wedded missus is on top. The next day, you all roughly know the current state of affairs. The matriarch's direct disciple, Qin Xingxi, has been appointed as the new fourth elder and will be based in Chu Fong from now on. I'll be assisting the branch master in managing the branch, so let's get along well, everyone. Elder Marshal Sister Qin has the power of an innate realm expert, so your presence here has literally doubled our strength. I'm glad Elder Marshal Sister Qin's here, because from now on, if Branch Master Xiat can't keep things under control, you'll be able to help us out of a predicament. What do you mean, if I can't keep things under control? 
Is that how you kiss someone's ass? You really suck at this. Now that the gossip is over, let's start today's business. Right. Let them in. The magical dignified beauty's elegance well deserves its reputation. Even that flatterer Xia Dao Yun is no match for your little toe. Branch Master Xia, we've only been a single day apart, but it seems like three years have passed, though Branch Master Xia is as dazzling as ever nonetheless. We've heard that the Kuning Pavilion, which is officially licensed by the Han, has added Branch Master Xia to the Five Beauties and Four Princes. Five Beauties and Five Princes will tread the martial arts world from now on. Ah, it's truly wonderful indeed. Branch Master Xia has achieved so much in such a short period of time, even Ji Yun Tao has been left so far behind, he has no hope of catching up. Even the title that has been drawn up Xia Yan, the magical dignified prince, is a match made in heaven with the magical dignified beauty. Exactly, exactly. What bloody title? Magical Khan Jack? Isn't that the same as Chin Chin Si's? Why do you look so unhappy, my dear? Could it be that you're dissatisfied with your title? How could I be? I'm overjoyed to have been able to become a match made in heaven with you, my lady. What's there to be glad about with two pieces of Khan Jack? I'm not as soft and bouncy as this bitch, Chin Chin Si. Sure, Yinner, what are you doing? I have something to ask them. You were the ones who told me that Ji Yun Tao wanted me to betray my sect so as to remove Branch Master Xia from his position. Let me ask you again. Is that really what he wanted? Well, you'd better think carefully before you answer. Don't you dare dupe me. I'll talk, I'll talk. It was because we lost all tact that we came up with such a foolish plot to deceive Miss Yenner by using his name. Sure Yenner was actually involved in such a thing. No wonder her attitude changed so much after going out the other day. It turns out that her image of her idol crumbled. So I really wasn't wrong before, Ji Yun Tao is indeed the cultured and refined gentleman I imagined he was. What's there to like about that hypocrite? Our branch master is so smart and amazingly powerful. Isn't he a hundred times better than him? Who said I still like him? I just wanted to prove to myself that I was originally right. That's what's important. Otherwise, wouldn't I have been a complete fool from beginning until end? What's more, the branch master belongs to Elder Marshal's sister, Chin. Don't talk drivel right in front of her. Oh, crap. Elder Marshal's sister, it was a slip of the tongue. Just an accidental slip. Yinner is such a good girl, but Chang Wu, on the other hand, shouldn't forget to clean the toilet for a month. I want to apologize to you, branch master. I shouldn't have been prejudiced against you because of past events. The branch master is indeed a hero among men. From now on, I'll be at your disposal no matter what. That's excellent then. Shi Yinner is following in Wu Ling Xian's footsteps. Master and disciples can be traced to the same origin, so they can cheerfully fight and loudly swear at their own, but will never tolerate the notion of others bringing humiliation upon their sect. I'm very relieved by this. We had some misunderstandings with Branch Master Xia because of our relationship with Ji Yun Tao, but we're now deeply aware of our mistakes, so we've specially come here to make amends with Branch Master Xia. Yes, yes, yes. We've given up on almost our entire wealth, and our cargo wagons parked outside the branch are nearly blocking the road. Branch Master Xie, this money and goods will definitely offset the losses we've caused to the M.O. Ching sect, and we've even added far more than ten times that amount, such as our sincerity. Hum? Only this? Branch Master Xie, please don't make things difficult for us. What we're giving this time is even more than what we paid to the Imperial Court as punishment. If we give any more, we really won't have anything left. Besides, we're not the masterminds behind this. Ji Yun Tao is the one who's the M.O. Ching Sek's foe. It would be rather ungracious for a grand sect like the M.O. Ching Sek to make life difficult for a minor power like us. Yun Tao is a forthright and candid man. Since when does he have animosity against my sect? I don't want whatever money or goods you have. 
What I do want is for you to join my sect voluntarily. Will you consider it? Branch Master Sia, for what it's worth, we're still a local power. You want us to join your sect voluntarily? How could that be allowed? Your proposal is totally unacceptable. Not to mention us, even the Imperial Court won't allow you to do such a thing. That's right, that's right. The Imperial Court won't sit back and watch any one party dominant. We've already been subdued by Branch Master Sia, so there's basically no difference whether we join or not, and we can serve as a safeguard for the M.O. Ching sect, so as to save it from any trouble with the Imperial Court. That sounds somewhat reasonable. Indeed, indeed. It's good that you understand, Branch Master Sia. However, I don't need to reason with the likes of you. Do you really think you're worthy of haggling with the M.O. Ching sect without any thought for what you are? I'm not some demon though, so if you hand over all of your territory and contacts in Chu Fong, I won't look any further into your backstabbing, little plots, and even allow you some unimportant official posts. If you continue to be stubborn, I'll kill you and pick a few of your subordinates who will do as they're told. In any case, as far as I'm concerned, who I'll be using is just a matter of who's more handy. Branch Master Xie, you're so imperious that you aren't afraid that the Imperial Court will investigate this afterwards? We've exhausted our savings, and the compensation we've offered is more than enough to buy half of Chu Fong. Don't be so overbearing. Oh? So what if I am? Whoa! Don't threaten me with the Imperial Court. So what if they have a problem with it? Will they dispatch their men to encircle and annihilate the M.O. Ching sect because of you? Or will they ruthlessly punish us? Stop dreaming in broad daylight. Even if the Imperial Court does come, you won't get to see it because you'll already be dead. My patience runs thin. It has already been extrajudicial of me to have granted you the mercy of giving you this long. If you really annoy me, the M.O. Ching sect has its ways of making your lives worse than death. Think very carefully before you speak. We are willing to join the M.O. Ching sect. That's smart. On your feet. You've pushed us too far. I'll let you be pleased with yourself for the time being. We'll contact the Great River Alliance after we leave. Jen Jenner doesn't want to see Chu Fong unified in the slightest, so she'll help us rival the M.O. Ching sect. This punk surname Xie is still too young. You think we won't turn coat with a mere verbal promise? Naive. Life has its lips and downs. Just you wait and see. Branch Master Xie, now that the matter is settled, we'll go back and make preparations. After all, joining the M.O. Ching sect is a major event. We need to inform our men and get our assets in order. If there are no other arrangements, we'll excuse ourselves. We bid you farewell. Don't be in such a hurry when I left to take over the branch. I brought along some of the M.O. Ching sex special ties. I didn't think I'd have a chance to give them away, but you guys are just in luck. It just so happens there's one for each of you. Help yourselves. Brand Branch Master Xie, what is this? It's a specialty of the M.O. Ching sect Thrycine Nether Cold Pill. It's specially used to control people like you who harbor evil intentions. After taking it, you must take the antidote once a year, otherwise the poison will gradually freeze your body and eventually thoroughly turn it into an ice sculpture that will shatter upon touch, leaving you dead without an intact corpse. That's not necessary. Branch Master Xie, we're just nobodies. You can easily crush us even if we have a change of heart, so why waste precious pills? Glup. Since we've made a promise to you, Branch Master Xie, how can we go back on it? So reluctant to swallow them? You're still thinking thoughts you shouldn't be thinking. Let me guess, currently, only the Great River Alliance can rival the M.O. Ching sect. Were you going to pay them a visit to seek support in avenging you after you'd left? After all, apart from the Imperial Court, Zhen Jenner is the only one who doesn't want the M.O. Ching sect to take over Chu Fong as a whole. Branch Master Xie, you really know how to joke. How could we dare? Then swallow them. The origin points stemming from these guys' negative emotions haven't ceased since the very beginning. How pitiful indeed. 
Even their hatred can become an aid for me. I wonder if they'd snap if they found out the truth. Or do you choose death now? Hum hum. I'll take it right now. I'll swallow it. I'll swallow it. Damn it. I can't even use my strength. Could it be that my martial arts have been affected too? Cold. The top of my skull is frozen stiff. My whole body is cold. My energy and blood is freezing. It's really deadly poison. Damn it. It would have been nice if you had been a little more sensible earlier. I even had to waste my poison pills. Chang Wu, you have full authority on how to handle the rest. Don't let them play any tricks. Yes. I'd expect nothing less from the branch master. He's so ruthless and devious. I really idolize him to the core. If I were a woman, I'd have probably been so swept off my feet that I'd have thrown myself into his arms of my own volition. Yinner, take them back to prepare for the merger and keep a close eye on them. Let's go. We're one big family from now on, and according to order of entry, I should call you Junior Marshal Sister Hao and Junior Marshal Brother Fong. Now that we've taken care of those guys, Chu Fong will fall completely under the control of our sect. My dear, how come I didn't know we had this kind of poison pill in the M.O. Ching sect? Tell me the truth, you mustn't lie to me. Ha ha, what poison pill? I was just bluffing. It's just an ordinary clay pellet. I had Sinai inject them with an abundant amount of Ean energy, so people will feel unwell in every way possible after taking them. Even the healthiest of individuals would have had to suspect that they were seriously ill, to say nothing of those guys who firmly believed that these pills were poisonous. It does indeed feel like the little female ghost. You're really a crafty one, as you manage to subdue those slippery old fellows without using a single soldier. It's all thanks to Cyane, otherwise those guys would have repeatedly tormented us. Although it wouldn't affect the branch, buzzing flies are always annoying. I'm so happy I was able to help, Ku. Hee hee. After a year or so, we'll have all their territory and connections, and they'll be useless. You're so thorough, my dear. I'm extremely impressed. It seems like the little female ghost is here. S.H. she grabbed me? It was just a small trick. Don't tease me, my lady. He he, to take her as a hostage. If you run away, my dear, I'll vet my anger out on this little female ghost, my lady, hasn't it only been four hours since we got? Up? If we keep this up, we're going to pile a mountain of business at the branch. Fortunately, I'm a vigorous and lively man, otherwise who would be able to bear this vixen's insatiable demands day and night? Clearly, you're the one who said you were going to have a major, non-stop battle with me first, my dear. Where did all that bravado go? Are you going to raise the white flag now? Wow. Or are you saying you can't do it, my dear? It doesn't matter though. I can just do it myself. My lady, right here in the council chamber? In broad daylight? That's a little bit, too daring, no? The lawfully wedded missus is awesome. I want to learn, coo. Go on, go on, coo. That lump of Ean energy is in turmoil. The little female ghost seems quite excited. Want to come along? I actually don't mind it. Don't teach bad things to children. Cyane, come back. Coo, coo, coo. But I want to continue watching. This damned girl really wants to plunge the whole world into chaos. And she's not even afraid of paying dearly for offending this bitch. You really do love her dearly, my dear husband. All right, it's time to practice. Maybe in a year or two, I'll have ascended to the second layer of the innate realm. My dear wife, I keep thinking you're treating me as some kind of elixir. Hee hee, you're so magnificent and mighty that you can't be worthless, my dear. My lady, shouldn't you dedicate a little more to help me advance to the innate realm? The next day. Hum, is it almost noon? Hum, I practiced so hard yesterday. After fighting vigorously for no less than 38 battles, each in a different battlefield, even an innate realm expert's body will grow somewhat weary. 
What is this thing? It's a big world out there, and I want to go see it. C-A-N? He ran away? No way. I'm going to catch him, bring him back, and give him a good beating. I might just as well handcuff him to the bed to save me all the trouble. Elder Marshal Sister Shinxi. Chang Wu, keep an eye on the branch. I'm going out on a trip. Elder Marshal Sister Shinxi, you can't. The backlog of work has been piling up at the branch for days. The rebuilding of the mines and the handover of the surrounding powers are all under the personal control of the branch master, but I can't find him anywhere, so I came looking for you. That punk, Cia Yan, deliberately had something in store for me here. Damn it. Elder Marshal Sister Shinxi, there are several urgent matters that need to be dealt with as soon as possible. All right, all right, all right. Take me to the study. Elder Marshal Sister, you've already walked past it. The study is this way. What nice sights and sounds of spring. It's better than a dream, my lord, you just left. Don't you have to say a word to the lawfully wedded missus? Didn't I leave a note? What else was there to say? Besides, what I wrote wasn't wrong. It's a huge world out there, and I've been in all kinds of disputes ever since I came to this world, so I basically didn't have time to have a look around. Now it just so happens that I've got some, and it's always beneficial to roam around a bit to build up one's personal experience. If I had stayed in Chu Fong sooner or later that bitch, Chin Shinsi, would have squeezed me dry. The finger of Nirvana isn't to be used in such a way. I didn't really run away though. I'm going back to the sect to ask Miss Matriarch for a reward. Miss Matriarch promised to give me a new martial art when I reached the ninth layer of the acquired realm. I'm still somewhat looking forward to it, even after thinking about it so much. Magic Love Sect Shinsi sent me a letter saying that you had run away from Chu Fong. I didn't expect you were back. Magic Love Sect is my family. And you elder sister is there. How can I turn away? I miss sister you. I haven't seen you for many days. Does sister you miss me? I don't miss you very much, it's just that there have been no new book to read for a while. It's really boring, Sister Yu, I urge the author to continue writing new works. Tell him not to write too erotic, make sure it's gorgeous and not vulgar, very simple. You have done a good job in Chu Fong this time. If it changes to Wei Are You Dao, she may not be able to handle it better than you, I'm very pleased. By the way, Shinsi says you have a little female ghost, where is it? Let it out for me. What's more, I don't remember teaching you how to control ghosts. Shinsi didn't belive you. Gi sent me a letter to complain. My grandmother-in-law gave me a dream. I want to say that. Chin Shinsi will not believe it. I still say it was Sister Yu who taught me, and she will not continue to entangle me. My grandparents' dream? Only I believe you. Stop nagging and let the little ghost out. Chinger, come out. My lord, I am sleeping soundly. Cough, eh? What a lovely little ghost. Ah. General Congenital can only sense the outline of Yin Chi. Can you elder sister see Chinger with naked eyes? I can sense I'm the leader of the magic love sect. It's not a common and born thing. Although I can't exercise ghosts like you, it's okay to have a look at the spirit body. She can see me, miss. Sister Yu, Chinger, you have seen and touched her. This time I want honor for the sect in Chu Fong, you see. Pooh. Come on. I did say that I will give you new skills the day after you are promoted to nine. Don't worry, I won't break my promise, of course, I know that you elder sister won't eat your words, you sister is the best. If you can win or lose with Ji Yun Tao, no one would be able to threaten you. Hua Jin Swordfinger can be ranked in the top 10 of many innate skills for its pure destructive power. Although Tian Guan Guard is only a skill acquired after the day, it is strange to be practiced by you, and its defense ability is not inferior to the top congenital defense secret method. You are not lacking in attack and defense. What you lack it is the means to escape. When you encounter an opponent who will be completely suppressed, such as a congenital master, you will fall into the situation where you can't beat nor can you run away. 
This Jiam Hong Dun is my special success after running, wearing 7 Rainbow De Chang, the instant burst speed is faster than ordinary inborn master flying in the sky. So powerful. It's very powerful. However, this skill is too extreme. If it breaks out once, it will consume 90% of the true chi and damage the body. Normal martial arts are not practiced like this, so I didn't put it in the type 10 scripture building. I was afraid it would hurt everyone. You have nirvana, and you are not afraid of loss. You can break out repeatedly in crisis. Any congenital master with a slight weakness is lightness skill can catch up with you. Run if I can't win, I like it. Wow. Sister you. I will practice well next. This is there any other skill? Do you have any more sister you? Why are you like a squirrel that stores food? You can't chew it, don't you know? I know you are conceited, gifted, and fearless. But it's not good to practice as much as possible. Many martial arts will conflict with each other when they are practiced. If you are possessed by demons in your body's meridians, you can rely on nirvana to save yourself. However, if the realm is reversed due to the conflict of skill concepts, are you willing to stay in this world after tomorrow? Ching'er doesn't understand, not reconciled to. Since you have chosen Hua Jin's sword finger as the basic mental method, you should practice it well and not be distracted. When you are promoted to the highest level, you should consider other martial arts and mental skills. Will, I'll listen to Sister Yu. I have a system that helps me practice and integrate skills. It should not happen, unfortunately, the secret if the system cannot be disclosed. I seem to have been cheated of the patriarch. When did I say that we need the basic mental method? I can also do ordinary external martial arts, boxing and foot kung fu. A. Hey. A. Hey. My lord, let's go back to the patriarch and ask for it. F forget it, I'll practice Jing Hong Dun first. Why do you want so many skills? You are already very strong, because I'm gifted and proficient in the art of cultivation 10,000 classics by Furnace. The more martial arts I master, the more powerful I will be. I can integrate all the martial arts into one, so the more the better. In the daytime, when my lord showed me around, he said that all the martial arts secret of the magic lovesick were in this house. I want to help the Lord share their worries and difficulties. Eh? How does it feel, stranger? There seems to be resistance. It's really hard. Oh, dear. Too much force. Prepare to work. Don't waste time. I come with a mission. I must help the Lord. Wow, there are so many secret scripts that I can't work out. Then find reinforcements. Night trip of ghosts. Let's copy together. Crack. Eh? Crack. Ah, yeah, yeah. You little girl, you dare to run and steal thing here. You are the ghost girl raised by Xie Yan. Tut, it's really beautiful. Goo, goo, goo. Little girl, you have to remember that there will be array protection in the key places of such a large number of doors as the Magic Love Sect. If I didn't turn off the array in time, you would have been destroyed by the array if you had not bumped into it, eh? No, I have to ask Xia Yin to say that it's rare for a ghost to open his mind. As a result, he raised such a dish. Don't speak ill of Lord. Goo. Mandarin ducks in the quilt turn red waves, a pear tree pressure begonia. It's too bad. You are bad and a strange old man. I am so angry. Who? Where the devil? Eat my sword. Xie Yin, how dare you hit people? Ed, master of meritorious service? Instinctive reaction, instinctive reaction. Suddenly I opened my eyes and saw an old face staring at you at the beside. Who knows if you want to sneak attack or night attack? Who will subconsciously attack? Oh, you'd be dead if you want to attack. But Xia Yin, your flower between the sword finger progress is very big, did not take long to step into the realm of withering flowers, as you can see from my face, I was born to be a good child to practice Hua Jin sword fingers. Boo-hoo, help me. 
Chinger? The little girl sneaked into G Type Tan Scripture Building and did evil things steal. Did you know? Sia? How could it be? Chinger is really ignorant. I didn't teach her a good prescription. Fortunately, there is an elder looking at it, so I didn't make a big mistake. Chinger is such a nice girl. Do you move me or blame me? The little girl ghost's mind is good, but she can't make taboos. Sect martial arts is the foundation of a sect. Even patriarch can't pass on the martial arts of the sect at will without proper reasons. If the sect gave it to you, it is yours. If the sect doesn't give it to you, you can, T. Robert. The rules should not be disordered in a round place. Otherwise, the order of the clan's awards will be destroyed. If you can use them casually, the sect will not be maintained and will only cause chaos. After Seiya is taught, I will keep the rules. That's it, Seiya. You're smart. Just a little bit is enough. I'm here on Derpus, mainly for your little girl. Dig out. When I was young, I traveled all over the world and got this book of no words by chance in an ancient tomb. I can't understand it. However, according to the records in the tomb at that time, only the people of the underworld were able to understand the skills practiced by ghost cultivation, but ghost Xiao Yun Yun, but only exists in legends, so I have been leaving it alone. Now I see your little girl ghost, I can't help but want her to try. No word sutra for ghost cultivation? There are many spirits in the world, but there are few spirits who can communicate with others. I am also curious about the growth of this little girl. It's my personal gain. It's not a bad rule to give her. Okay, okay, I'm old and sleepy. I'm going first. Remember to take care of your little girl, or she will punish you as the master if she makes mistakes again. Oh, Chinger implicates C.A.N. Bang. Well, I don't blame you. It's all because I didn't remind you of the rules of the clam. Tut, I didn't expect that besides Sister Yu, the elder martial arts master could also see ghosts. It's really a hidden dragon and a crouching tiger. But what kind of ghost cultivation skill? It's really a wordless sutra, not a word. Chinger can't see any words on it. In short, you take it first. You can't say what chance you need. Don't worry, the system doesn't respond. It can't record the skills that can't be understood, while I don't understand a word. I'll try to help Chinger understand it in the future. This Jing Hong shield technique is a top-level escape skill. Its explosion and consumption are comparable to that of flowers withering. I have a vague feeling that the entry point is just a few days ago, and then I will use the source point to upgrade to full level. Well, at the Jiangnan meeting, I mentioned the name of Master Moyu. Although I don't like it, the source point harvest is not poor, which can be used for sideline business. Adults progress rapidly, but Chinger cannot even see a word. Chinger is too useless. If you can understand this skill in such a simple way, then ghost cultivation will not only appear in the legend. Take your time. Don't worry. Chinger knows. Let's find the patriarch. Maybe she can help you. Good, good. The elder sister Shun Mao is comfortable. Yeah. It's really wordless, and I can't see the mystery. You elder sister unexpectedly also can't see through. That green sun really can't learn. Woo. There are few records of ghost cultivation. It's a great chance for Chinga to get the skills. Just let it be and don't be impatient. It's so comfortable. Feel here, here. It's also true, with a bit of luck. The inheritance that Chinger brought back from the psychic world hasn't been figured out yet. Where did you learn this set of foot massage? It's really comfortable. It's made me feel tired these days. Learn from Chinger. Ha ha. Learn how to apply. Filial piety, you sister. Well, is this coming? No gossiping. There are still visitors today. What guests? C.A.N., you hide your little ghost. Although you don't know if the other party can see Chinger, you can hide one hind or you have to hide one. Oh, oh. Okay. Yu Hong Yin, why are you still fooling around with this smelly boy? Yu Xian Ji is about to bring people here. Elder, long time no see. Do you miss me? Tut. Yinner told me what you did in Chu Fong. It's almost like that. 
It's not humiliating, C-A-N. My family's Chang Wu now only has you in mind. Oh, good means, no matter male or female, you can capture it. Ah. Ha ha, I also want to thank Chang Wu and Yinner for supporting me all the time. Chu Phone Branch has their credit today. It's really are that you can hear praise from the elder in your lifetime. Let's call it praise. What's wrong with Ji Chang Wu? Is he really an old guy? Don't talk about it. Yu Hong Yin, you should send this boy away quickly. The lesser the people knowing about it, the better. I'm not going to let him go. Xie Yan's head is flexible and has many ghost ideas. Leaving him to sit in can help him out. Yes, that's right. There seems to be some big gossip. No, he stayed here like what words, when my magic love zones turns to a small generation of ideas. Hum, then, you are the master, you have the final say, don't be angry, elder brother. It's easy to wrinkle if you are angry. Don't be angry, elder brother. It's easy to wrinkle if you are angry. What's the matter? You'll know when she comes. Who is the mystery? Wow, it's like being a thief in my own school. It's really, thank you for your hard work. Surnames by, how can I listen to you? Are you accusing mulberry trees? After all, I ask for help from others. I'm sorry to what the fish elder wants to say and do. Yu Xian Ji and Bai Su Yuan? How did they get together? No. How did Bai Su Yuan run away from the demon love sect? Bai Su Yuan of the Blissful Temple, according to the agreement, went to the door to talk about it. This is Xie Yan, the magic jade child of the new five beauties? He is also in. The patriarch let Xie Yan stay here. Naturally, he has the master, S plan. Bai Su Yuan, you should treat him as non-existent, and he will not reveal your secret. I was rude. I have been writing with you for many days. Today, I venture to come here in person to seek a definite answer. Master Yu, do you have a good idea? Xie Yin doesn't know the cause and effect. You can talk about it from the beginning. It seems that the rumor is true. Yu Hong Yin relies most on Xie Yin. I'll start from the beginning. I want to start with Lu Qing Mei, the formed great elder of the Blissful Temple. Many years ago, Lu Qing Mei failed to complete for the position of the master of the temple with her former of mortals. Then she left the mountain gate and disappeared. Dang Hongqin thinks highly of himself and attacks the magic love sect, but he suffers heavy losses. Several elders of the clan all die. I managed to stabilize the situation and was ready to close the mountain gate and order my disciples to practice and recuperate. Lu Qing Mei came back at this time. She claimed to have received help from Zong Min and came back specially to preside over the overall situation and showed a strong desire to be superior. In terms of seniority, she is an elder martial sister who plays a role in the world of mortals. I'm not her opponent either. If she wants to be a spectator, I have no reason to object. However, I led the Blissful Temple through the most difficult situation, and all the disciples believed me. In contrast, Lu Qing Mei has been away for many years. Now except for the older generation, few people know her. Because of this, Lu Qing Mei is very afraid of me. Even if I take the initiative to surrender, she just uses me to stabilize the army's morale, I am the stumbling block of her prestige, and she will surely kill me. I have come here to protect myself and to prevent extreme optimism from Jing astray. Please help me. Kill Lu Qing Mei. I didn't want to mention your face, since the time when the Blissful Temple attacked the M.O. Qing Zong, our two families have already formed a feud. Is there any truth in the world to help the enemy family? You mentioned in your letter that behind Lu Qing Mei stands the Heart Demon Sect, which is the big devil gate in front of him. You're not afraid to touch you head and blood. I'm also afraid to make a coquette. It's true that Lu Qing Mei left Zhong Min these years and got in touch with Ge, -E, the vice patriarch of the Heart Demon Sect. This time he came back with the Thousand Face Master of the Heart Demon Sect, and he always said nothing about her and Ge Yi's affairs in front of his disciples. As for why I went to the M.O. Ching Zone, Lu Qing Mei had a deep malice towards the M.O. Ching Zone. In order to win the hearts of the people, she had been preaching that she would continue to target the evil sentiment sect and prepare to revenge. 
I didn't agree with Dang Hongchen when she proposed to attack Mo Ching Zong at the beginning. She still made a mistake without telling me. If there was another Lu Qing made with the same virtue as Dang Hongchen, I would be happy to see if I could do it again. To put aside the hatred between the Blissful Temple and the Demon Love Sect, Xian Ji and I had a deep friendship in Jiangling City in the past. Xian Ji is here. I am still very relieved about the Magic Feeling Sect, Fart. I and you only pull hair to scratch the face of the friendship, let's take me to get close to. To return to the truth, Lu Qing Mei will definitely unite with Gee -E to attack the demon love sect. As long as you protect me and kill her, you can eliminate a war, and I will try my best to resolve the enmity between the two factions and make an alliance with the magic feeling sect to help each other. Why not do this kind of win-win business? Don't worry about the magic feeling sect, we can't let you go. The relationship between Blissful View and M.O. Ching Zong is the enemy relationship, and we have no basic of trust at all. If you are a partnership with Lu Ching Mei to engage in a bitter meat scheme, and you want to attack the demon love sect? Even if what you say is true, how can we make sure that you will not go back on your promise when you become a temple master? Master Bai, everyone knows how to use his mouth. He can't do without sincerity. Xie Yin said it well, even if the magic feeling zone helps you, in addition to your oral commitment, the magic love sect has no protection, which is not a good situation. I'd like to promise thousands of gold and silver, but I can't protect myself from this situation. It's no use making a blind promise, except that it's disgusting to punch a fat man. It's better to be frank and sincere. If the devil sentiment sect finally refuses to, Help, I will try my best to leave everything behind and escape from the blissful temple and become a rootless person in the world. This is not a good point for the extreme happiness temple. They are all angry and still have no source to judge whether they are good or evil. By Pavilion King. In fact, we believe you. But as you know, the relationship between the two parties is like this, and this trust is too fragile. Xie Yin, you son of bitch, when did I say believed her? By Su Yuan, it doesn't matter how nice it is. I have a Xian Yin bone corroding pill here. After taking it every seven days, you must take an antidote, and Pai will die of intestinal puncture and stomach rot. This antidote only I can make. As long as you are willing to take this poison pill, I will believe what you say. Lord Yu, is that what you mean? Nod head. I eat. Wait, stop. I don't think it's appropriate. Elder sister, are you stupid? If Bai Su Yuan is sincere, Wu Ling Xian's operation will completely control her. At that time, she will listen to Wu Ling Xian, but not you. The poison of the elder is too fierce. He will take the antidote once every seven days. If something happens in the middle, as a result, Bai, the owner of the Muslim, can't meet with the elder in time and can't get the antidote. Isn't it miserable? Too toxic. Even if many antidotes have been prepared in advance, but if Bai is locked up or trapped in a place for a year and a half, even if there is an antidote, it can't be saved. What should I do? Elder, elder, you can't prepare the antidote for Bai for one or two years in advance, can you? I use the heart of a villain to deal with a gentleman's stomach. With such abundant time, Bai may be able to find someone to crack your antidote. Bai might as well listen to me. You can say, as long as I can, I will. Once upon a time, our patriarch got a side skill called Blissful Death. Once this martial arts is practiced, the lower level people will be completely subject to the higher level people. Once they have the heart of rebellion, the higher level skills can let the lower level skills explode themselves, and their power can even kill the experts who are three small levels higher than themselves. Since Bai believes in Magic Love Sect, then Magic Love Sect will also have the same trust. As long as Bai's life is on the hands of Magic Love Sect. In the worst case, Bai and Lu Qing Mei can die together. After this experience, the Magic Love Sect can also put down the hatred between the two schools, so the blissful view is really safe. What do you think of it? I, I can agree. In this way, you can all agree, but I can't pass on the Heaven Devil blissful skill. 
Isn't it just sending food to the bloody clothes house? Elder sister of the patriarch, don't you understand what I mean? I can't make it up anymore. By Su Yuan, but let me arrange the successor. If I will die with Lu Ching Mei, then the blissful temple needs a qualified leader. Okay, Xie Yin, don't scare by. What he said just now is merely a test for you. What? Bai is so selfless, I think we should all agree with you. Although the test has passed, there should be some coercion. Who? The patriarch's elder sister finally responded. In this box, there are two female and male insects in the secret legend of the magic feeling sect. After taking the male, they will be subject to the female insect holder. It won't take your life, but if you have a rebellious heart, it will give you a fate worse than death. You don't even fear to blow yourself up, so you won't resist this insect. Of course, if we don't have to die together. You took the wrong one. The small one is the female and the big one is the male. Ha ha, by Su Yuan, you have today. Pia, Pia. Ha ha, you people of Blissful Temple can really swallow this thing without expression. Cough, Gu Dong, swallow. In this way, can you rest assured? I don't worry, by Su Yuan. You are really resolute. Nod your head. Bye, I have another question to ask. You are the acting master of the Blissful Temple. If you have a strong natural environment, you can choose to fly far away. Why are you willing to be controlled by others? What's more, how can you be sure that Lu Qing Mei will kill you? What if she doesn't kill you? You didn't argue with her for a seat at the beginning. When she sits in the position of the temple master, why does she have to kill you? Isn't that self-defeating? Mr. Xie, you don't know Lu Qing Mei. Lu Qing Mei was narrow-minded and always had to report his revenge. In those years, I played an important role in the society. I had a long-standing flight with her. Several elders and patriarchs should have heard of it. Although came back this time, she she hid her emotions deeply, but I could feel her killing intention on me. Working with you will eventually make Blissful Temple a vassal of Magic Love Sect. I can trust Master Yu. She will never tear down bridges and rivers. Naturally. I will be the master of Blissful View, but if I don't do anything, I'll die. Even if I go far away, I may not be able to escape Lu Qing Mei's pursuit, not to mention that the life of a fugitive can be compared with the concept of absolute happiness. I am more willing to be a vassal than to lose my power and life. Well, it makes sense to me. Well, Xie Yin, don't chase her all the time. Su Yuan is also a member of her family now. Talk about business, Su Yuan. How do you want us to help you kill Lu Qing Mei? Don't you dare say that it's to let us go out to the Blissful Temple to kill Lu Qing Mei. There is a big battle at the gate of the mountain. If I don't go, I'm afraid of repeating the mistake of Dang Hong Chen. If it's not a special case, even if all of us join hands to attack, she will have a certain chance to escape from the world. By Su Yuan, have you ever thought about the consequences of the failure of encircling and killing Lu Qing Mei? We don't care. I'm afraid it's not beneficial for you. Don't worry, Lu Qing Mei is doomed to die. I have chosen a cemetery for Lu Qing Mei. It's not Blissful Temple, but... De Tong Auction House, a branch of De Tong City. Fei, you should have all been there. The Auction House of De Tong Auction House is made of high-quality cold iron ore. After the only entrance and exit are closed, it takes at least half a stick of incense to break it. This gap is enough for us to rush in and kill Lu Qing Mei. What kind of martial arts is this? By Su Yuan, it seems that you have made great progress in your heavenly creations. You can easily sketch out such a delicate and vivid genuine model chi with It's just a local chicken and a broken dog. It's useless in real combat. Elder Wu is right. It's just a little trick I usually use to get rid of boredom. It's not on the table. The commander of the Bloody Clothes building in De Tong City is my friend. As long as I can find a chance to lead Lu Qing Mei here, he will cooperate to look the only way out. As long as we ambush in advance, that is to catch a turtle in a jar. 
Yes, the Tong Auction House can be used to trap Lu Ching Mei. Then we follow your plan. First and second elder, you and Su Yuan will fight against Lu Ching Mei. Is that okay? No problem. As long as Lu Ching Mei can't run, it's more than enough to kill Lu Ching Mei. The fourth elder just served. Shouldn't she do more? I think she should be called in this time. Xinxi is guarding Chu Feng now. Well, I'll have her on the trip. Su Yuan, since Lu Ching Mei is afraid of you, it's not so easy for you to lead her into the urn. If you can't do something, just give it up and come to my magic love sick to be one of the five elders. Thank you for your concern. I can always think of methods, but I have a thorny problem here. I'm afraid that Lu Ching Mei's suspicion has been aroused by me for leaving the blissful temple for many days. I would like to contact her later, even if it is to pass a letter with a flying eagle, it is not very safe. So it's better to have a person who is optimistic with me to facilitate the next communication. It's better for him not to have a good reputation, not too strong, being too eye-catching, but to be too weak and unable to bear risks. At the same time, it's better to have a way to get in touch with the magic feeling sect at any time. In terms of communication, it's really a problem. Shit, please don't choose me. There is no source point in the place of Blissful Temple. It's risky. I really don't want to go there. C.A.N., how about going? I date not disobey orders. Oh, my favorite sister you. I ask C.A.N. to go back with you. You should help him hide his identity and avoid exposing it. Don't worry, my lord. Master Moyu is indeed the best candidate. Although his reputation has risen recently, however, he was a newcomer to the world, and most people had never seen him at all. Then this matter comes to an end. Xia Yin will stay alone for a while. The three elders will take Su Yuan to the side hall and wait for a while. The others will be scattered. Sister Yu, actually I don't want to go. Don't groan, I also know that this trip is dangerous, but looking at the whole clan, you are the most suitable person. If you practice Jing Hong Dun, you can't be stopped by even masters. If you feel wrong in the middle of the way, you can also directly give Lip the task to escape, personal safety first. This breath-collecting pendant is worn by you. It was handed down by the previous patriarch and my master it can restrain breath as long as it is not face-to-face, -face, ordinary congenital experts will have a hard time finding you. When I was a weak girl, I was able to escape countless disasters because of it. Thank you for your treasure. After saying goodbye to my sister for a while, I followed by Su Yuan to the Temple of Bliss, of course. I am always cautious and brave, and I will not enter the Gate of Blissful View without any assurance. What's more, a handsome man like me, even if he wears a mask, is also like a lighthouse in the dark. How do I camouflage? I'd better stay outside the temple for foreign aid until the time is right. You just don't believe me. After all, you are one of the five beauties in the Han Dynasty. Your signature skill is also a sword finger between flowers. It's better to stay outside and keep in touch. In case I have important information and can't get away from it, I will send my confidant to contact you. But in order to avoid the disguise of a thousand faces young master, by the way, Mr. Qian Mian, can anyone disguise? Every time he changes his identity, not only his face, but also his skills. At first, people thought that he was powers gifted with supernatural so and really mastered many martial arts. Gradually, it was rumored that he had mastered a very strange skill, Wu Xiang Ju. It is said that this function can copy other people's martial arts in a short time, and its power is not weaker than the original version. It is very strange, fortunately, Qian Mian is only nine times the day after tomorrow. It is still difficult to imitate its nature. I must get this skill when I have a chance, so that I can play Matryoshka doll. But if we don't really fight, it's still hard to distinguish, we have to so code, well, I have a think. Each time we meet, we meet without tongues, three up, four down, four left, seven right, eight. And we mix them in sequence for 22 times. 
Please protect yourself. I'll teach you a secret code. When you meet, you will read Li and I Nu Namu and Eli Nanu. So that you won't be impersonated. It's too tongue twisty, as expected, by Su Yuan found the magic feeling zone to save the soldiers, and the coma was Xie Yan, the prince of magic jade. Although we don't dare to get close enough to avoid entering the alert range of congenital experts, our blood clothes building has its own secret method. We can see people's spoken language from a distance. I have recorded the secret code. Oh, it's safes. In day of a few western suburb de Tong City. Chase me. If you catch up with me, I'll rub your head for an hour. Lord Sia Yin, you're a liar. You haven't been that fast before. Good. After breaking the rule, Jing Hong Dun was really flexible. I was no longer clumsy and could only run in a straight line. The most important thing is that it only cost me 200 source points, which is really cheap and affordable. Remaining source, 1772-41059, Master Skills, Sing Hong Dao Current Level, LVS, Break, Preschool Effect in an Instant, 90% Genuine CH will break out, driving the body to run at a high speed. The explosion gone be stopped at any time after breaking the rule, and can be turned to a limited extent in parallel, which 15 no longer limited 10 linear propulsion. With my real chi, the speed of the explosion is almost sonic. I don't know how fast I will be after the promotion. Er, exhausted. Hello, Mr. Xie Yin. Mr. Xie Yin, are you okay? Phew, the magic door's explosive skills will bite back. When it's up to the breaking point, it will explode, the meridians in the body are slightly damaged, chi and blood are silted up, and many parts of the body are seriously injured. The wound on my body is easy to handle. It can be cured in one or two days by warming up with genuine chi, nirvana finger, the most troublesome thing is the damage to the meridians. Without special mental training, I'm afraid it can't be recovered in ten days and half a month. Fortunately, I have Nirvana, good. Twenty source points at a time, I can afford it. Jing Hong Dun has succeeded. I'm not afraid anymore. Let's go. Go back to the Tong City and wait for Bai Su Yuan's news. That, Xie Yin, is it true that Qing'er has caught up with you this time? Well, when we get to the inn, we'll rub your head slowly. Northern suburb of the Tong City, Guan Yin Mountain, the view of bliss. Lu Qing Mei's residence, Xie Yin, the son of Magic Jade, is graceful and elegant. It is said that he is a beautiful man who can compete with Ji Yun Tao, the son of Wing Yu. I'd like to see if there's such a beauty in the rumor. Aunt just wanted to see it? Lu Qing Mei, Mr. Thousand Faces Get Huai Yu. Are you jealous, nephew? Don't worry. I love you. Don't worry, Aunt. Let's think about how we are going to deal with Bai Su Yuan. Bai Su Yuan took the initiative to find the door. Lu Elder, Su Yuan has something to discuss. I hope I didn't disturb Elder Lu's mood. Why, Su Yuan, you are a great meritorious official of the Blissful Temple. Even if I am enjoying my bed, I will push that person to see you. I don't have to, and I won't bother you in the middle of the night. Don't worry. Let's go back to business. I know that Elder Lu has always regarded the School of Magic Love Sect as a serious problem, but there is a lesson from Dang Hong Chen. In that point of view, most of the inborn masters also fell due to playing in the world of mortals. Although the Blissful Temple is aided by the Magic Love Sect, it is still not a good stubbornness because of all the innate masters of the Magic Love Sect. If we fight again, I am afraid that the Blissful Temple will suffer even worse than before. All in all, do you want to persuade me to avoid fighting? Su Yuan, I've been living in the world for years. Why are you a shrinking turtle? As for the Heart Demon Sect, GEE, -E, as the Vice Patriarch of the Heart Demon Sect, is willing to borrow my help from his own sons. What are you struggling with? I have no intention to stir up the relationship between the Elder and the Heart Demon Sect, but if there is going to be a war, the Blissful Temple has no hands at all and can only rely on the Heart Demon Sect. I just don't want to sit back and enjoy myself, so I want to do another preparation. 
Tian Wu, the leader of the Blood Clothes Building Branch in Detong City, is an old acquaintance of mine. I want to contact the blissful ancestor of Shui Yi Lu through him. As long as I can ask that person to make a move, there is no doubt that the devil will die if he dares to go out of the mountain gate. It's just too big. The ghost of Tian Wu dare not disturb my ancestors at will. I need Elder Lu, the real leader of the blissful temple, to work out the regulations in person before we can achieve it. There's something good in what you say. I'll think about it carefully. Shall Su Yuan, you go back. Then I'll wait for the news and ask Elder Lu to believe me. The Tong City Blood Clothes Building Branch of the Tian Z No.5 is by Su Yuan's best friend. She is regarded as a helping hand. But by Su Yuan didn't know that Tian Wu had told me all of her plans from the very beginning. Dear nephew, what means did you use to make Titan what even sell people by the pillow? Oh, Tian Wu and I have known each other for a long time, and we are close friends and know what he cares about most. It's not women or friendship, but money and goods. What Bai Su Yuan can give, I can add ten times. I've been worrying about how I should deal with Bai Su Yuan. I didn't expect that this would collude with the Magic Love Sect. Now, I'm sorry if I don't make the best use of it. So, although Bai Su Yuan is not worried, there is still a tiny amount of people who can be used by you. Ah, uh, ha, if your father didn't shut down suddenly, only you could help me, I wouldn't be in such an awkward situation. It's a good thing that fathers can break through the realm, so don't blame him. According to the information provided by Tian Wu, Bai Su Yuan brought back Master Moyu as the contact person with Magic Love Sect. Maybe we can start from this aspect. There is a deep blood feud between the two. If Xie Yan can be killed, there will be no trust between Bai Su Yuan and Magic Love Sect. It's up to you to plan. I just want to ask him not to kill him immediately after catching Xie Yan. I also want to see what he looks like, then I'll go there in person, so as not to kill him too hardly. Go, go, remember to go early and return early. I dare not sleep alone at night. De Tong in of De Tong City. What the hell? How come there are killers of bloody clothes building wandering around me recently? Under the unconventional heaven devil blissful skill, as long as I get close to a certain distance, the killers of the bloody clothes building will have no escape methods in front of me. When I first came to the city, I found that there was a killer spying on me. I thought it was normal for the killer organization to monitor the new experts in the city, but now it seems that it is targeting me. Eh? Everyone outside the window is making so much noise. What's the use of a late night visit? Goo. Squake. Master Moyu has a good ear. We are entrusted by Bai Su Yuan, who is extremely optimistic, to take you to discuss important matters. The secret sign of the agreement is Dala Bing Ba, Ban B Dibdo Biruan. The code is right. It's urgent. Come with us. Just a moment. I'll put on a dress. Strange, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if there is a problem. Anyway, in addition to their ancestors, the bloody clothes house is a dish in front of me. Go back to my eyebrows first, Gu Lord Cien. Please call on Chinger at any time. Dating auction house. Master Moyu is here. Take him down. Okay. Please come in. Okay. Eh? Why is he hiding here? Well, it's more stable. It's almost three stories high. Where are you taking me? Don't worry, young master. You'll know when you arrive. To the place. Child, enjoy it slowly. Bai Su Yuan would not really sell me, would she? She was clearly controlled by the patriarch. What is the purpose of this sale? Get source, greedy, 80.0001. G-E-Y-U, get source, greedy, 80.0001, G-E-Y-U, someone has been swiping the screen again. Tut. 0. 0.00001, I don't know which one is abnormal. After the Jiang Man meeting, I became famous in the main world. From time to time, I could get a wave of income from the source. However, it was rare for the same person to swipe the screen. Master Moyu is worthy of his reputation. 
He is a beautiful man with rich gods and good looks. I have been waiting for a long time. You know me? Who is this guy? He doesn't have any trace of practicing the heavenly devil blissful skill. It seems that he is not the killer of he bloody clothes building, ah? Uh? I've heard a lot of rumors about Master Moyu. I've been fascinated by it. It's a pity that today we are going to sink sand and fold halberds, which makes people feel the impermanence of fate. Pia Pia. The elites of the blood clothes building are all gathered here. The exit is locked and can only be opened from the outside. It's useless for you to have any plan today. Except your life. Can you let me die to understand what's good for Bai Su Yuan when the bloody clothes building does this? She really cooperated with Lu Qing Mei at the beginning? Then I'll make you understand. Bai Su Yuan is nothing to my aunt. Tian Wu is not a man who will be carried away by women. If I remind him, he will understand how to do it. You are a thousand-faced child. Sure, by Su Yuan, this idiot has exposed all the cards from the beginning. Smart, but too late to wake up. Take him. Thousand-faced child, you are very arrogant. Heaven demon blissful skill, but you don't seem to know who you're going to mess with. What's going on? Impossible. This momentum... How can he master the heaven devil blissful skill? How can his level be higher than mine? Tian Wu, you also realized the identity of that person. I wanted to tell you when he came in, but I don't want you to experience it in person. I think you won't believe it. Yo, Tianan, you're out? I think you had a good time on it. What are you doing down here? Dizong, you've been hiding in Datong City. When can we meet each other? Tian San's disguise, please take back the momentum, the killers of Lei Brand are almost crushed by you. Who is he? The blood robe building killer is on the same level as me. Tian 3, you call this Dizong? With his cultivation realm it is absolutely impossible that he is just a killer of Dizong. You think too simply, Tian 5. Dizong is just a name, a pronoun, and his true identity. What can I say? An intimate relationship with the ancestors, one that we cannot disobey. With our ancestors. It turns out that young Master Demon Jade has a relationship with the ancestor of Bliss in the Bloody Cloth Building. It's because I missed a step. Wait, what does he want to do? I rub, why doesn't this kid play cards according to the routine? What is going on with Tian 5? This kid is so fine, he never came. This is the heart demon seizing the gods and the six desires of the heart demon sect. It can seize the mind and make its host a puppet. The controller can observe the situation here through the five senses of the puppet. Coupled with the Lenny K.E. Bone King art of the Thousand Faces Lord, he is trying to find someone to show high face for the dead ghost, but he doesn't know where he is. Hey, what a troublesome and annoying guy. Even when I was playing together, whenever I turned back, I would find this guy for double the hard work. Brother Tian 5, Young Master Thousand Faces is your best friend anyway, so you are just squeeze his wool? Brothers have to settle accounts, not to mention the best friend who almost made me fuck in the same room. Of course, as long as the money is in place, I will forgive him. Oh? Then if I offer a higher price than Lord Thousand Faces, will Brother Tian 5 be willing to cut his robe, his righteousness, and help me kill Lord Thousand Faces? Master Demon Jade, G.E.Y.U. is one of most beloved family, friends, and brothers. Really, then, G.E.Y.U.? A familiar name. Oh. It was him who had just swiped the screen at the source point. He saw me through the eyes of a puppet, so he was greedy for my body. Have to add money, oh, give you another chance to organize language. Just kidding, Jizo, I will fully cooperate with your request, and it hurts your feelings to raise money. I almost forgot, this guy can blow me up any time. Since he is so cautious, there is no way. But he dares to make a move on Tai Sui's head. We will have to settle this account sooner or later. But that guy is not easy to kill. I'm afraid he has escaped far now. 
I believe in the professional standard of your bloody clothes building. I will leave it to you to pursue him. I'm not familiar with Mr. Chien Mion. You are of the this main matter force, it's like that again. That guy is very troublesome, what a headache. I didn't expect Chien Mian Gong Zi to have a good relationship with Tian Wu, the bloody clothes building in Detong City. Even Bai Su Yuan's plan had been completely revealed by Tian Wu. Lu Qing Mei should also know Bai Su Yuan's plan. How her situation in the extreme happiness view is not optimistic. I have to find a way to inform her, however, since the release of Mr. Chien Mian, I think it's too late to inform her now. Gain source, Greedy.01, GEYU. GEYU, Master Chien Mian? And it's 0.01 .01 when you harvest at close range. There's no one else here. The thousand faces are hidden among them. There is no trace of demon bliss skill. These are not killers. They should be servants. Some of them are hard to find. I didn't expect that Xia Yan, the son of Magic Jade, was more handsome than the rumor. It's a waste to make a human skin mask without peeling off such a beautiful face. What's more, there is such an amazing identity hidden. If you can replace him, then you can control most of the bloody clothes building. It's really exciting. Even if I stand in front of you, you can't recognize me. Eh? I don't care if you plot against me behind my back. Are you still running in front of me to show off your strength and you think I won't beat you? No phase pull. Hua Jin sword finger. I'm not sure if you can avoid it. If you do, however, I'll know it's you GE Hui Yu, a master of thousand faces, straights one wishes. Imitation of Hua Jin sword finger. Good guy, he can even imitate Hua Jin sword finger. Fortunately, the imitation here is not as good as my original. What a powerful magic jade sun, what a powerful Hua Jin sword finger. My imitation is not perfect. Damn it, Xia Yan. How did he find me? In today's world, the only way to imitate other people's martial arts is to master Wu Xiang Ju. This guy is, Ji Huai Yu? You didn't escape? You guys, this saves you trouble. Let's move on. Why you brother don't blame me brother, can't help it. Oh. Six regions heart magic formula, six desires and illusory body. Bang, bang. Tut, I said this boy is hard to kill. I didn't accept the list of killing him before. Help me Tian 3. I'll move towards the east and you'll go west, okay. N. Where the hell is he? Boy, I knew you didn't go. Who? Master Moyu is good at sensing my presence. My six desires and illusory body can even cheat the congenital master. How did he detect it? It's hard to guess. I will be the only one here the day after tomorrow. If you don't stay with me, will you really dare to run away in front of your nature? Nonsense, the source point is still close to the screen. I cannot pay attention to this strange thing. Great, smart. But what I want to know more is the first one. I think the camouflage was perfect at that time. How did you see through it? You have a good plan. I have a ladder. It's always good to insist that you feel good. I think you can be who you are. Although I don't know who plan is, I understand what you mean. However, Master Moyu, this guy is not weaker than me. You can't win or lose against him in a short time. Tian Wu Liang may come back at any time. It's better to leave. After all, you are still one step short of calculation. Blood Light Channel Whoosh, my blood light escapes as fast as thunder. I'll be far away for more than 30 li in dozens of breath. It should be okay. I can't stay here for a long time. I can only take a chi returning pill. When the true chi subsides, I will retreat quickly. Why don't you keep running? You don't have the strength? You haven't explained which step I missed. In other words, you can only bury your head in a rush and even have no time to look around. 
Compared to me, you are not as natural and free as I am, but it seems that your sequelae is relatively light. It's just a waste of real gas. It's really enviable. C.A.N. How can it be? Can you also be similar to Blood Light Channel's explosive lightness skill? My true breath has been exhausted. Why is he still alive and vigorous? If I don't have some skills, why should I be rated as one of the five young masters by Kooning Pavilion? You might as well surrender as early as possible and explain the plans between you and Lu Ching Mei one by one. If you do this, maybe I can abolish your martial arts and spare your life. Oh, you really think you're going to win? I can't help it. I can only use that move. I lost my spirit. I'll try to make up for it later. I didn't expect C.A.N. to be so difficult to deal with. Crack, heaven, earth, and man. Three get together the gas. If you want to fight, bring it. This is restored? Tut. It's not easy to be rated as the fifth child. Six desires heart magic formula. Six desires into shape. Magic J child. Try my six desires into shape. Is this the enhanced version of the move used by Yen Jia at the beginning? Seems to be some kind of spiritual spirit that can be seen by ordinary people. Xie Dao Yun can break easily. Do you utilize this to deal with me? Each clan has its own strong points. The Magic Love Sect is not the Buddhist Heart Studio. The moves that are invalid to the Buddhist Heart Studio are effective against the Magic Love Sect. Impossible? How can there be any means of destroying spirit and spirit before the sword finger of Hua Jian is born? Anything is possible. Did I go to the psychic world for nothing? Six desires in one. See the demons. Please try the six desires as one again. Mental attack? My lord, allow me do it. I'm the best thus I'm not afraid of you. The art of ghost control? I struck you. Too slow. Too weak, bang, goo. Goo. The ghost raised by Master Moyu is very good. She can resist the impact of six desires in one. The ghost raised by Master Moyu is very good. She can resist the impact of six desires in one. Mental attacks won't work against me. Admit defeat, Mr. Qian Mian. You are not my opponent. Give up? This is just the beginning. Tut. Touch guy. The heart demon has no fixed body. Bang. Shock. What's the matter? The guy didn't do any force with that punch. You took so much time to touch me? Master Moyu, I'll take your defense method. So you just copied my Tian Guan Jin Chan? If fakes really work, why don't you keep showing me the flower finger? Hua Jin sword finger is a kind of an innate skill. No matter how magical your defense method is, it's only a postnatal skill. It's not difficult for me to imitate it. Imitating Tian Guan Jin Chan, anti shock. You made the exact same one. I want this guy's martial arts. I need him alive. Why does your defensive method cost more chi than the innate skill? It's impossible to use this method of defense normally. Haven't I imitated it completely? Tut tut. You are self-defeating, power of the Tian Guan Jin Chan is based on the premise that I have the title of a national soul. Otherwise, I can use up my true chi if I block the attack of a few masters. No, we can't. If we drag it down, they may find it. I'll use that move. Let's make a quick decision. What kind of body method is this? If it's a real mirage, Hua Jin's sword chi should not be lost, and I can control it. But now the sword chi is really gone. Sword among the flowers, the flowers have faded. I don't believe it. What a withered flower, the heart demon was not fixed, and I couldn't eat it. It affected me, the opportunity came, with a hundred flowers withered, Yan's true chi should be difficult to continue, he will definitely use that move to restore the magic skill. Nirvana finger, I say. It still works. There is no such rogue's martial arts in the world. What kind of martial arts is this? Why can't I imitate it at all? 
Want to imitate my Nirvana finger? I'll call you daddy if you can even imitate the fairy way. Master Moyu is very powerful. I'm willing to bow down. I can't win, even if I do that. Even if the potential is exhausted and the life is lost, we must escape. If I drag this on, they will come. Six desires. Heart and magic formula. We'll see you later. Want to run? Leave. Blood light escape. This move can also use blood light escape. Tian Wu is right. This guy is too hard to kill. Six avatars simultaneously to use the blood light to escape. How can I chase him? Which one? My lord, I know which one to chase. When he hit me before, I left a mark on him. None of the five, just the one on the left. Nice job, Chinger. You have done meritorious service. Wait for me, Lord. Whoosh. Whoosh. Okay. It's safe. Cough. This time I lost at least three years of my life. MOT Dimension, the realm is likely to go back to eight the day after tomorrow. Moreover, I can't recover from this injury if I don't rest for a year and a half. Hua Jin Sword Finger, flowers wither. You're too hard to catch. Don't blame me for sneaking in with the kill. Dead? No, I'm going to catch you alive. Brother, why did you die that fast? With what flowers wither, this hand cannot be controlled. Crack, my lord, your hand is going to be red. Forget it, he is dead. The past can't be traced back. Maybe I have no relationship with this skill, goo. What, like a piece of skin? Bones and flesh are gone, how can skin still exist, goo? It seems to be a personal leather, but it must not be bag, made of such fragile material as human skin, or it would have been withered by all flowers. Gee, why you should have pasted the bag on the body, disguised as part of his body, looking like human skin. Goo? His personal collection should be very important. Could it be his uniquely martial arts Wu Xiang Ju? Although I think it's stupid to take my own unique skill with me. One is disguise notes, while the other is character G, and there are three human skin masks. Tut. Neither is nor their Wu Xiang martial Ju, are their arts of heart demon sect. This disguise notes should teach people how to change faces. Enough, it is a kind sure of complicated teaches miscellaneous learning, shrink which their people how to bones, how to quickly imitate other people's behavior and manner, and how change their voice and breath. However, it is not as magical as I thought. It still needs the cooperation of human skin mask to disguise as other people. Unfortunately, there is no way to make a human skin mask. This is handwritten. It should be that Mr. Qian Mian didn't write it in at all. Adults see things so fast, Chinger doesn't see anything clearly. Let me have a look at what the Book of Characters is about. Monk Shinshio, the seventh of the ten Kaiyuan heroes in the Tang Dynasty, is one of the contemporary Buddhist Juke Temple. In the autumn of the 18th year of Xiong Wu, I captured him alive in 11 Yin town of the Great Han Dynasty, tortured him for more than a month, and killed him instead. Shinshio Monk is a layman named Qin Wu Qian. In fact, he is an undercover agent of De Huang Men, the first demon sect in the Tang Dynasty. He is proficient in both Buddhism and demons. His personality is, Mr. Xie Yin, how does G.E. Huai Yu still have the habit of writing diaries? This is not a diary. A serious person keeps a diary. This is the identity of the characters in the story of A Thousand Faces. It is estimated that there are many characters to be disguised. I am afraid that I will be confused. Thus I use a small book to record it. Three minutes later. It's less than I expected. Quite important there are only three identities in this book, although they are roles. Scholar, monk, woman. Beauty that fills still peerless, of the breast of the beauty of steamed bread. Do. Adults read too fast. Are these three human skin masks which are just the same? Forget it, I can't see what I can wear it. Wait a minute. Is that the thousand-faced child's appearance? Is that really what he looks like? The more you think about it, the more curious you are. Just give it a try.
the appearance of the thousand-faced child has always been true or false. Mr. Cien, look, look. This is his real appearance. It's so frightening. No wonder he covets your beauty. It seems that it has destroyed the appearance, hence the psychology has been distorted. I have an idea. I have a human skin mask in my hand now, and I can learn the words of Iron Shu Yao again, can do a shrinking version of the thousand face child. If you can take the place of Master Qian Mian, I don't know if he can get his unique martial art Wu Xiang Ju, but if it's the martial arts of sect, the heart demon, I may be able to do something about it. It's a little risky, and this guy's backstage is also hard. If I am just a little careless, I am likely to be chopped to death. Chinger, call on all ghosts to help us. Let's destroy a corpse and wipe out all traces we can hide as long as we can cover the fact that Master Qian Mian is dead. Okay. Among the flowers, all flowers wither. This guy is so hard to kill, and so changeable, even if I said I killed him and didn't see the body, I don't think many people would believe it. We need to make a good plan to replace this guy. After half a stick of incense. Taiwan 3 and Tian 5 are coming. Chinger, you should get back to my eyebrows first. Dizong, are you okay? We are chasing a fake. It seems that you have caught the real body. Did Ji Huai you run away again? Brother Tian Wu, why don't you guess if that guy was killed by me? Ha ha. Ha, did you kill Ji Huai you? No, he ran away. Ha ha, Ji Huai you has made countless enemies. If he was so easy to kill, he would have been killed a hundred times. Ji Huai Yu is a very difficult guy. After several moves with him, I hurt his head and finally let him run away. This guy has piqued my interest. You can leave him alone and I will play with him slowly. Ji Huai Yu is extremely cunning. Do you really want us to stop? No, it's hard to meet an opponent that interests me. It's boring if you to intervene. Tian Wu, what is the relationship between you and Ji Huai Yu? Is he your best friend? This best friend, barely. In fact, I came from the Heart Demon sect. Before that, I was Ji Yi's disciple. Ji Yi was Ji Huai Yu's father. I have such a relationship with Ji Huan Yu. To understand him, it is also to understand the identity of Ji Huan Yu. I really don't know any of his other identities. Are you from the Heart Demon family? This, is this a casual job hopping? How been come this guy hasn't by cut to death the Heart Demon sect? Dizong, maybe you are too close to your ancestor, so you don't know his reputation in the world. When I joined the Bloody Clothes building, I was sheltered by the ancestors. GEE didn't dare to ask for trouble, so he could only recognize it. Moreover, before I entered the Blood Clothes building, I abandoned all the inheritance of the Heart Demon sect. As long as I didn't go out and make a fuss, the Heart Demon Lord didn't want to quarrel with my ancestor for such a trivial matter. Very good. I didn't expect that there was such a layer of identity on the fifth day, so that the possibility of my disguise as a young master in front of me has increased a little bit. I need detailed information about Qian Mian Child and the Heart Demon sect. Say as much as you know, Tian 5, don't let go of the date of birth, family relationship, birth date, etc. Even if you really want to hunt him down, you don't need to be so detailed. I want you to say, just say yes. That is to say, but I'm afraid we'll take some time to explain in such detail. Slowly, the night is still long. A day later. Dizong is really troublesome. It's no wonder that Tian 3 has come to Datong City. Hmm? This feeling, Dao said. It's you? Coming? It's been a long time. Brother Huai Yu, I have just finished dealing with you and you dare to come back to this door. Aren't you too bold? I was able to get away from you once, and I'm sure I can do it again. Besides, this is not the first time someone has asked you to buy my life. Come on, what conditions did Xie Yen give you? I'm sorry, Brother Huan Yu. This is a special situation. You can't give me what he gave me. Don't pretend, I know Xie Yen said, let you stop meddling and ask for my trouble in person. 
Oh, sure enough, nothing can escape your ears. You know my ability, although I can't defeat C.A.N. positively, I will get the chance to kill him sooner or later. But I remember that he had something to do with your blissful ancestors. I came here to discuss a matter with you. It's hard to feel the pressure on your head. I will keep him alive and go around with him slowly sure that he can to only make follow my footprints whole heatedly, and you will be your leader at ease. How? In that case, that's what you want. Brother Tian 5, let's talk about it next time. This person should be G.E. Huayu. Yes, but I have a vague feeling that something is wrong. Is it possible that? Well, it's no good for me to participate in this matter anymore. I'd better not think about it. Tian 5, this is a basic test. Now it seems that G.E. Huayu's mask and E. Rong Jia are still very powerful. After all, I have decided to pretend to be a master of thousand faces. If I can't cheat Tian 5, how can I pretend to be? Adults good acting ah, that day 5 was not found in front of the person who was disguised. One who can the become the commander of the bloody clothes building will not be a simple-minded person. Tian 5 may not have any doubts, but he can't find the flaw, so it's useless to doubt. But my lord, where are we going in such a hurry? Please slow down, my lord, the view of bus. Blissful Temple? Isn't that Lu Ching Mei's base camp? Why go there? I said, Tian 5 is the entrance examination, the next Lu Ching Mei is the key. And it can also help by Su Yuan's father goods. If can hide Lu Ching Mei, then I can plan to go to the old nest of the heart demon sect, but later, now. Blissful Temple, here I am. I heard that the elder Bai will move away from the sect. But I didn't know whether it was true or not. The change above is not something that we, as an outsider, can have a voice for. We'd better patrol quickly. Well, in fact, I hope Elder Bai is the temple master. After all, we don't know Elder Lu, Shu. You don't want to live. You can talk about it in private, but not with others. This scene in the temple is really more difficult than when the former master of the temple fell. Elder Lu is a little better than Elder Bai. With the support of the demon sect, the position of the lord of the temple belongs to Elder Lu. The heart demon sect is famous for controlling people's mind and intelligence. Even in the devil's gate, it is also notorious, and no one is willing to provoke it. Who knows what the heart demon sect regards us? Compared with the demon sect, I would rather be ravaged by the magic love sect. At least I don't have to worry about when I will be made a puppet. Feels like something's flying by, bird. By fortunately, was Su Yuan not on the spur of the moment. Most of the disciples of the blissful temple tended to her. Otherwise, it would be too much for adults to help her. The terrain layout is almost clear. I've heard a lot of gossip. Take a rest and go back to the, the Lord. The sound. Is someone making love outside? Adults said that the opening of the style of blissful view is second to none in the magic gate. It's too suitable for me to learn. I want to observe it. A lot of people. That's great. Do. Eh? Is it an illusion? I felt someone peeping. But nothing happened is it because I am so anxious recently that I am too alert? Elder Gao, spring night bitter short, do not stop ah. Oh, you grinding goblins, come and taste my power. His chinger? Woo woo, I just took a look, why hit me? How can you be beaten like this, did you see anything that you shouldn't have seen? I just saw them having sex, and they put on a lot of postures. She hit me, slapped me to the ground, hung, nirvana finger, that's why you've been there for so long? No, no, this is the last thing to see. What the adults told Chinger to do, Chinger has finished it very well. Chinger, you don't need to learn these, just let it be. Well, to get down to business, tell me more about what you saw and heard in the Blissful Temple. Oh, Blissful Temple. Eh? Young Master Huayu, is your nephew back? 
It makes me wait. Why didn't you bring me a present? I'm guilty of forgetting my aunt's advice. Good nephew, how strange you are. Push. Oh, what's so strange? What kind of virtue does have in front GE of Huai Yu Lu Ching Mei, I don't know. I can only take a step it's and not a step. If see possible, he with will run away Jing Hong. Bad boy, it's useless to laugh at me so brightly. Didn't you tell me to leave Xie Yan a little life and bring it back to me for a taste? It's really Xie Yan who is cunning and difficult to deal with. I didn't help at the bloody clothes building. I had to kill him in person. It was impossible to capture him alive. Shit. It's you who covet my body. What about the jade I sent you? Why didn't you bring it? It was beaten up by Xie Yan. Sorry, aunt. Jade pinned it? It should have been broken by the withering of flowers. I don't think it's a gangster to say so. My good nephew, did Xie Yan really hurt you? Come on, let aunt have a look. Do they have such a good relationship with their nephews? Do you look that handsome to even let that Xie Yan also have to be jealous of heart? I'll rub it for you. Nephew. You. I just want to, Lu Ching Mei and Ji E Huai Yu are aunts and nephews after all. It's still too difficult to imitate directly. Finally, I'll make a run for it if I can't. Surprise my aunt. I succeeded in killing Xie Yan, and I have imitated his skill with Wu Xiang Ju. Xie Yan has become one of the identities I collected. It's wonderful that he is really a romantic young man, which makes my heart sprout. Aunt is really fickle in love. Don't you think I'll tell my father? Nephew, what's wrong with you? I was wrong again. Aunt, what's the matter? My father's lover likes others in front of his son. It's normal for me to laugh at him. Why is he wrong? I have to think of a way to fool this part. I have to imitate Xie Yan's character naturally. Is it that this person only attracted Ant by face, but this temperament does not please you? I see. It's not strange to hear that Xie Yan was born in the furnace cauldron. It's not surprising that he would say those jealous words shit. Eh? You know me so much. What can I do if I leave you? Unlike your father, who is not interesting at all. You are much better than him in all aspects, it's that true. It's not what I thought it was. Of course, my nephew gave me such a big surprise. I can't wait to reward you. What kind of reward? My aunt is too generous. You don't have to. The virtuous nephew was wearing Xie Yan's face. He really made his aunt taste interesting and wanted to have a good taste. Aunt, I'm too tired to catch Xie Yan. Let me go back to take a bath and change clothes for a rest. Well, you must hurry up, or I will take a bath for you. Blissful Temple, the residence of G.E. Huayu. Does Lu Ching may play such wild game? I don't know about G.E. Huayu habits between the beds. It's easy to expose me when she's shooting. Lu Ching Mei and Dang Hong Chen are of the same generation. Who knows how old she is Ao? Go. Seventy? But she is very well maintained, like a young woman, as if I did not suffer. No, no, I still can't accept it psychologically. But Lu Ching Mei didn't suspect me, so I ran away, and the efforts ahead were in vain. No matter, go to the small world, calm down and think of a way to deal with the old witch. System level, LV2, name, CAN Realm, 9 after tomorrow. Skills Development Source, 1804.31545. Times of Entering the Universe, 4. End of Cooling, Search the World Randomly, Find the Aries World, Shuttle the Aries World, Need 200 Source Points. Wanjia School Crossing Function was started. Searching Discover the Aries World. Shuttle, Aries World? Such a high-end name? But why only 200 source points? Forget it. Let's go. Let's go. Bastard. Chen Huang, you even took advantage of people unprepared to murder the master. You want to rebel. Mother-in-law, please calm down. I just want to try to make my father-in-law wake up. I did not want to murder him. Chen Huang. Heaven daring. 
How dare you play tricks on my father? The meridians are stiff and the blood flow is blocked. Dad will die if he continues like this. I'm saving him. You gigolo dare to talk back. If it weren't for our CS family pitying you and fulfilling the Old Testament to marry off my sister to you, you are a mere toad in the mud. You know who your place? Get out. You should look like eating soft rice, just kneel at Ben Ben's feet and laugh. There is no place for you to speak in has already hired a good doctor. You don't need to wait here anymore. Get out. You. Too much deception. After I settled for you, yet you treated me like this? What? Not convinced. We are just bullying you. iOS for. Eilis. I don't want to stay at Sia's house anymore. Rebelling. You just are a slave. You even want to be in charge? How can you live without Sia's family? Why are you so man angry? Come look out get inflamed. Good doctor, Yen Luo. Mr. Yen, unfortunately for my family, let you see the joke. N. This is. Shura God of War. Mr. Yen, you are mistaken. Chen Wang is the slave son-in-law of my family. How could he be the famous god of war? No, this is a god of war. My god of war, take me as your apprentice. Ares World, the youngest son of the powerful family in Jian Province Sia family. Sia Xian. Soul replacement successful, in? It seems to be a modern world again. What was the owner doing? It's like being slapped. Wang family of the imperial capital be here. See a family, your road is narrow. Mr. Wang, why are you here? Hum. The three-year period has come. By the order of God War, we have come here to meet the Excellency's return. What? What? A powerful family? A son-in-law? What? And the God War? Why don't you name Crooked Mouth Dragon? Importing memory. Governor of Jiang Province is here. What? It's the governor. I couldn't ask to see him all the time. He even knocked on my door today. And? You here reporting the dishes? The God War lives in seclusion in Jiang Province. I, the governor, I have no idea. It is really my fault. Please forgive me. These are a thousand titles land title certificate that I have carefully selected. Please accept them. About Sia family, it's unforgivable to abuse the god of war. Today, all the privileges of Sia's group will be taken back. All members of the Sia family in Jian province will be disqualified as civil servants and will never be employed. Governor, please have mercy. Chen Huang, it's all your part of your schemes. I'll drive you out of Sia's house immediately. Haha, -ha, the woman scolded the wrong person. He reported his identity, nonetheless you are still like this, really out of mind. From today on, our marriage relationship has been dissolved, and I have no relationship with Sia family. What do you mean? After three years of forbearance, I finally came to the end. Today, I have already practiced my super martial arts. I don't need any of you see a family anymore. With this force, he can also levitate in the air, not easy. I don't need this feature, see a yen. Thanks for taking care of me for three years. Come and have a taste of my feelings. What, did he just get into me? Chen Wang, you, you, you are the god war? I, I'm darling, I'm wrong. Sorry. Please forgive me. I don't have to look at your faces anymore. Out. Ah. Chen Wang, we see a family have taken you in for three years. Please save the master. It's too late, didn't you hear me? Me and you see a family. Our relation is no more. It's too late to regret now. The God War is the uncrowned king of the whole underground world. Even I will obey his orders. How could you beat and scold him? After today, even if your Sia family is in name, it will not exist for a long time. Woo woo woo, how could this happen? 
Why? Don't cry. I'm still here. You don't have to mourn like this. You are the disaster star. If you didn't offend Chen Huang, how could this have happened to the CS family? Ah. What? This is the trouble you two caused. How can I be held responsible? Gain source point, race 0.01, .01, Xie Bin Bin, gain source point, race 0.01, .01, Wang Mei Lan, gain source point, race 0.01, .01, Xie Bin Bin, gain source point, race 0.01, .01, Wang Mei Lan. Xie Yin, you have made a big mistake and dare to hold my hand. I will drive you out of the house. Mindlessness, is that your mantra? Gain source point, race 0.01, .01 Wang Mei Lan, gain source point, race 0.01, .01 Xie Bin Bin. They're so strange, they mean too much to me. The source points are too dense to be seen clearly. Gain source point, race 0.01, .01 Wang Mei Lan. Low task, Chen and Xie are both rich families in Jiang province. The two families are on good terms. Twenty years ago, Chen Huang, the son of the Chen family, and Xie Bin Bin, a miss of the Xie family, entered into an engagement to marry at the age of twenty, unexpectedly, when Chen Huang was fifteen years old. Chen's family was destroyed overnight and Chen Huang disappeared. But the fact is that Chen Huang got God Book 8 Difficult Devil Skill by God Chance. In order to practice the magic skill, he slaughtered all the Chen family and offered sacrifices. In the next five years, Chen Huang unified the whole underground world with his devil skill power and non the title of Shura Cop NAR. However, there is a final hurdle for the success of the skill. Chen Huang reappeared in Jiang province and chose to live in CS family with the help of the devil skill power characteristics. Three years of forbearance kith the help of devil skill. After all the hard work the skill gets great achievement now the god war returns to he throne and vows to torture and destroy all those who despise him. Task release. In three months to solve Chen Huang, let's see a family rise again. When the mission completed, you can return with all the strength gained in this world, or you will have nothing. What the hell? He destroyed the whole family this is? Master skill, eight difficult devil skill, both gods and ghosts abandon incomplete version current level, unable to upgrade, current effect. This is the sequel of the devil skill characteristics that god hates and ghosts are disgusted from kitsch makes the people abound hostile and hostile to the practitioners, so as to achieve the purpose be sharpening the practitioners. When did I have this skill? Was it just Chen Huang who put it into my body? I say it's so strange. This is the characteristic that Chen Huang mentioned it. No wonder the original owner's family is like a psychopath. Can still be to it me transferred. Disaster star, a loser. The master is dying, and they scolds me so fiercely. This god hating and ghost disgusting fierce, thank you for your compliment. From the memory of the original owner, Chen Huang actually helped the Xia family a lot, and even helped the Xia family to a higher level, but the Xia family turned a blind eye to this and often beat and scolded him. I don't know if I will have the same effect. If I healed the Lord, would you treat me better? Unfilial son, what are you going to do to your father? Xia Yin, you dare. Do what? An experiment. Test how strong my brain is. Poke. What are you doing to your father? Xia Yin, I won't spare you if something happens to dad. Pay attention to the key points, dad. It's getting better. Why did dad suddenly look red and distorted? Did you poison him? Get source point answer, 0.01, .01 CF and fun. Dad's expression is comfortable, not distorted, tut. It's really forcing down IQ. However, for me, this feature is simply a super buff to brush the source point. In the small world, the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. But it must not be brought into the Lord's world, or the elder sister of the patriarchal clan will be doomed if he doesn't like me. I have to find a way to get the whole chapter of the eight difficult magic skill. It's been a long time since I felt so comfortable. Honey, how are you? It must be Chen Huang who can't bear to see you suffer. 
He cured you before he left. Blind, I cured it. What's wrong with Chen Wang? His IQ dropped to the point of illogicality? How did you talk to your sister? What's the relationship between dad's illness and you? It's my husband who shows his true nature and shows his divine power to cure dad. It's you who obstructs our husband and wife relationship. I can't spare you. Get source point answer 0 0.01 CFNFN. Those source points are more powerful than the ghost of the psychic world. Ah. However, although the source point is good, it will go on endlessly, which will affect my future planning. There's got to be a way to keep these three guys honest. What are you hiding? Your sister fell. Looking at the skill panel before, I have confirmed that strengthening spiritual cultivation is a skill related to souls. It is not forbidden. I can still summon Chinger. Chinger is my guardian spirit. It should not be affected by this feature. Let's call it out first. Gulu? My lord, have we returned to Siashue City again? I will drive you out of the house. How dare you act so impudently to the lord? Chinger, stop making trouble and help me. What a rebellious son you are. Are you going to rebel? Master, I have a good intention to save your life. If you don't thank me, how can you still scold me? You really think I'm a bully. The art of ghosts. Don't try to play tricks, or I'll drive you out of the house. Why is it suddenly cold? What is the devil with this adversity? I am the only labor force in the whole family. If I leave, then who will clean up the mess for you? Two-step old man, or your two screaming chickens? Get 0.01 .01 points of source point answer, CF and fun. Get 0.01 .01 points of source point answer, Wang Mei Lan. Get 0.01 .01 points of source point answer, Xie Wu Ji. Oh, I haven't enjoyed the feeling of face-to-face -face source points for a long time. What's more, ghost thanks to God worship, aversion, and disgust, the three people of the Xie family sources had endless emotional for me, which not disappear except did after a while. The old man was going to die. Hadn't it been for me, he would have seen God earlier. I wouldn't have saved you. I wouldn't have been forced here. You. You. Dad. Honey. Adverse son, adverse son. Mom. Dad. Now you are satisfied. Your parents are angry with you. Get source point, answer, 0 0.01, CF and fun. CAN, why don't you die? Eh? Dad? Mom? What's going on? Why did she suddenly look like a different person the negative source is gone? Is she back to normal? Xiao Yin? What's wrong with this? I don't know. There was a big change abrupt. How do I feel like I haven't slept for three days? My body is worn out. Then take a rest. I'll send you back to your room. Fortunately, there is Xiao Yin in, otherwise I am really helpless. You just wanted to eat me raw. Elder sister, I'll call the servant. You have a good rest. Xia's father and mother did not seem to have a source point for a short period of time before they were frustrated. Let's look at sister Xia's situation. Perhaps the effect of God hating ghosts and hating ghosts can be broken, but only with conditions Chinger sucks their yang qi which with yin ghost, them makes exhausted and have no strength to turn their brains. Is it because of this? But the follow-up will have to wait for them to recover and have a look. If this is the case, Chinger will be of great help. Chinger is very helpful. Happy. Well, it took me a lot of time to take care of my parents and deal with my family's affairs. Now I have time to go back to my room. Hey, the meat of Xie Yan. Now it's time to think about the mission. According to the memory of the original master, there are some similar skills in this world, but the intensity is not too high, and Tian Guan Jin Chan is enough to deal with it. The main problem is Chen Huang. I guess I have to practice Hua Jin Jin Ji before I can win but with God hating ghosts. It's not very easy for me to get started. Xie Yin is also very handsome in thinking. 
Why don't I ask ching to help me? But Hua Jin's sword fingers needs more than a few girls. It's not enough to rely on ching alone. Forget it. I'd better practice Tian Guan Jin Chan tonight. And I have a hunch that tomorrow's Xia family will not be peaceful. ching I want to practice in seclusion. You, Mr. Xia Yin, ching is warming your bed. Don't make a fuss. Go and stare at the Xia family, or they will disturb me when they wake up. And you, a ghost can only make the quilt colder and colder. Oh, I see. The next day. Chen Huang's residence, Lord God of War, Wang of Jian Province is going to ask Xia's family for trouble today. Let me tell you. Do you want me to follow their trail? Xia's family is just for me to have fun with. What are you doing with so much publicity? As if I care. If Wang wants to go, then let them go. Villa of Xia family. Tian Guan Jin Chan is out of line. Every time I travel through the small world, I have to practice the skill again. It's really time-consuming and time-consuming to point out the mother's talent in the topic. It's interesting that the eight magic skills can be deduced by the system. Master skills, eight difficult magic skill. God detests the ghost, remnant, current level Zo, cannot be upgraded, current effect. This is the sequel of the eight difficulty magic skill. One of its characteristics is that the gods hate ghosts and are tired of them, which make unconsciously hostile and the people despise around them the practitioners, so as to achieve the purpose of sharpening themselves. The eight difficulties and magic skills are deduced. Need source point zero 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 points. Please confirm whether you want to deduce. It's just that it costs too much. It's more than the original devil's blissful skill. Tut. I don't have so many sources right now. I'll talk about it later. I am not asking how powerful this skill is. I just hope that the god detestable and ghost hating characteristics can be controlled independently. Otherwise, returning to the Lord world will be too easy to draw hatred. I'm in the line next to Lu Ching Mei. It's fun to riddle Lu Ching Mei. The wines are making trollable, wine family. What are you doing here? Xia Wuji, are you not going to repay the two billion loan? Mr. Wang, look at what you said, the two billion, the two billion, didn't you agree that I don't have to pay back the money? At the beginning, Lord Zhang Shen was the son-in-law of your family, but now. Mr. Wang, please give us some time. We can't give you two billion now. What a sin. It's a sin, if we knew today, why should we have done it in the first place? There's nothing to be lenient for, Xia Wu Ji. If you can't afford to pay today, you know the means of our Wang family. Oh, isn't this old Wang next door? Lao Wang, it's really warm of you to visit without saying hello. Xia Yin, you evil animal, dare to appear in front of me. God of War is broad-minded, but I can't hold you. My head began to ache at the sight of you, adversity son, who let you come out. Gain source point, answer 0.01, Wang Xiong Tian, gain source point, answer 0.01, Xia Wu Ji, gain source point, answer 0.01, Wang Mei Lan. I don't want to worry about it. It's really a mockery aura that this god abhors ghosts and disgusts them. I go out of the field and directly pulls all the hatred over. Mr. Xie, if you follow my instructions and teach that guy a good lesson, then there will still be room for negotiation about the loan. It's a blessing for the evil son to get the instructions of General Manager Wang. Rebellious son, kneel down in front of President Wang. Admit your mistake. Sorry, my knees are too heavy to kneel. I want to find out the failure condition of God Loth Ghost Abandonment as soon as possible. Otherwise, the Xia family who always helps the outsider, thus I am too passive. Mr. Xie, you failed as a father. Your son won't listen to you at all. I didn't discipline my son well, Mr. Wang. This son is at your disposal. We will not interfere. Since it is so, Wang Wu, Wang Qi, you came to teach Xie family young master. Pay attention in order not to kill him. Yes, sir. Say that to yourself with no end. And show your boxing. Have you asked for my opinion? Xie Yin, you dare to fight back. 
Everybody take him down. Heavenly Gate Quake Zen. Shock Wave. C.A.N., you dare touch my people. What are you going to do? There is no way in hell you are going to drag the whole Sia family to death. Gain Source Point, Race 0.01, Wang Xiong Tian, Gain Source Point, Race 0.01, Wang Xiong Tian, Gain Source Point, Race 0.01, Sia Wu Ji, Gain Source Point, Race 0.01, Sia Wu Ji, Gain Source Point, Race 0.01, Wang Mei Lan, Gain Source Point, Race 0.01, Wang Mei Lan. Ladies and gentlemen, I have shown my amazing force. How can you be a little surprised only? Do you want to refuse a toast only to drink a forfeit? Mr. Wang, please don't be angry about this rebellious son. Get down on your knees and apologize. The MI bit of a 17th generation descendant of Changxing Boxing, Wang Xiong Tam. You're a little stunt. How dare you display a bit of your skills in front of me, Heavenly Gate Quake Zen Shock Wave? What? C.A.N., you. I thought how powerful Wang Changxing Boxing was, just like this. Mr. Wang, are you okay, bastard? You dare to hit people. The Sia family can't accommodate you. Kicked him out of the family, kneel down and admit your mistakes. It's terrible to be forced into mental retardation. Even the sense of crisis has disappeared. Thanks to my good temper, I don't care about you. Or else I would have buried you. Ah, uh, Mr. Wang, why can't you move? Is that you? Yes, it's me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, C.A.N., I'm going to kill you. Beast! Let go of Mr. Wang. Are you going to rebel? What happened to see a family, you Death Star? Gain source point, race 0.01, Wang Xiong Tian, gain source point, race 0.01, Wang Xiong Tian, gain source point, race 0.01, Xie Wu Ji, gain source point, race 0.01, Xie Wu Ji, gain source point, race 0.01, Wang Mei Lan, gain source point, race 0.01, Wang Mei Lan. Don't scold me. Even if you break your throat, you have to count on me a hundred times, C.A.N., you will be evicted. Disaster. You ruined the whole Sia family. Be quiet. You don't have any ability, you can only call on others, my lord, they're going to be weak, like last time. The next step is to verify whether brain disability can be treated, C.A.N., I'm going to kill you, unfilially son you, dear. Gain source point. Race 0.01, Wang Xiong Tian, gain source point, race 0.01, Wang Xiong Tian, gain source point, race 0.01, Wang Xiong Tian, gain source point, race 0.01, Wang Xiong Tian. Mr. and Mrs. Xia did not provide any more sources. What is Mr. Wang doing? Xia Yan, what happened? Nothing. I'll talk to Mr. Wang next. And I'll send you back now. These are all the bodyguards of Mr. Wang. Why are they all lying on the ground? Are you really okay? Mother was panicking. Don't worry. I can handle it. I'll take you home first. Uh, Sia Yan. The Sia's reaction can prove that you can solve of God hating and problem ghost disgusting Wang. Why he but still bro scolding me is, and providing the source point, Cyan I know the reason, that bro Wang is stronger than Xie, and he has not reached that delicate critical point. I see. He did practice Kung Fu, otherwise he would not directly attack me with confidence. Since a few ghosts have no effect on him. Why don't you try a bunch of hell ghosts? Awake at last. How do you feel, Brother Wang, 11-11-11? C.A.N., what's the trick? I can't move. Who gave you permission to ask questions? Look at your own situation. You are at my mercy now, hun. C.A.N., I am the leader of the Wang family in Imperial Capital. You let me go. I will never embarrass Sia family again. Brother Wang, please think about this attitude for yourself. Let's make fun of him. Please answer whatever I ask you and do what I ask for. 
Now you will make me happy and buy your life from my hands. You only need to know one thing I can kill you by moving my fingers. Get the score, fear, 0 0.01 points, Wang Zhang Tian. Get the score, fear, 0 0.01 points, Wang Zhang Tian. Get it? Yes, sit, I got it. Please give me a hand, my lord Xie. That's better regain, didn't bury him all. Now, why did you come to Xie's house? Who ordered you, is it Chen Huang? It was my own idea. Now when the Lord of War returns to his throne, everyone will want to please this great man, and C.S. family is the best gift. Before I came, I reported to the people under the God of War. The Lord of War said that he would leave C.S. family and torture him slowly. He's very patient, that's good. However, if he killed us immediately, I could only take the C.S. family and run for our lives. As long as he is torturing Sia family slowly, I still have time, bad character. If it wasn't for me, someone else would come. Young master, I'm just impulsive, forgive me please. Yes, but it will be punished. I want you to go to Chen Huang and report his every move to me, young master, it's hard for me. How can I spy on Lord War? I don't care. You can do it yourself. According to your chance, after leaving C.S. family, you will ask him for credit. No, 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 young master, I dare not. I want you to act like you've hit the C.S. family. And you can't say a word about me. Didn't Chen Huang like to see C.S. Jiabei suffer? As he wished, I will give him a good play, eat it or I'll kill you, what is it? What else can it be? Something that can control your poison. If you betray me, I'll let you rot, go in, woo-woo. The other outstanding birds, Brother Wang, I hand over to you. Next, think about it yourself. How can you satisfy Chen Huang and keep C.S. family from substantive harm? Cyan, with the ghost bewitch technique, let the bodyguard's memory disappear, got it. The god-hating and ghost-disgusting must take effect by face-to-face. In a short time, there should be no mistakes on Wang Ziantia's side. Next, it will be quiet for a while. I have to take the time to get the cutie's sword finger in entry level. Cyan, I need you to help to practice a skill. My lord, when you practiced martial arts, didn't you let me disturb you? How can I help you this time? Yes, I need you to help me practice cutie's sword finger. I have the god-hating and ghost-disgusting attribute. No girl can help me except you. Cutie's sword finger? With me? Is Ching a ghost really? Okay. At the beginning, Ching helped the Dutz with her four sisters. Now it's only Ching, can't it? Try it first. After all, I can't find a girl who can be suitable for the god hating and ghost hating. Hua Jin Jin finger needs a lot of red and pink chi. A Ching is really weak. But ghosts are more pure than people, and red powder is far superior in purity than people. If I grind them slowly, I can accumulate more. Well, okay, I will try my best. Hoo ha, Chinger, what are you doing? Ha, I can change. Mr. Cien, didn't I say you were not allowed to learn from her? You girl wants to piss me off. I'm not as good at kung fu as my sisters. I'm afraid I can't help adults. I just want to learn from your wife. It's not that you seduced me with the means of gorgeous ghost. It's too troublesome to explain. Just stay still. I'll arrange it. Woo. I'm useless. I have to ask adults to do it. What are you looking at? There are interesting tourist attractions, new movies, and restaurants with good atmosphere. Do you want to stop practicing? Or are you going to relax first? No, it's just a preparation for practicing. Let's go on a date when I've decided on my itinerary, Chinger. Appointment. A WHI, Chinger. Red pink gas. So fast. Chinger. Date hey hey, with the Lord hey, hey. Chinger, you can't stand it. I haven't done my best. What should I say about you? Hey, hey, I just can't help hey, hey. Forget it. See what I will do to you tomorrow, my lord, how close. Chinger? Chinger? Wait, you should be sober. 
It's true. I have no regrets. The second day, book a whole theater or cinema. Book a whole theater or cinema, ha ha. Book a whole theater or cinema, ha ha ha. Book a whole theater or cinema. Ha ha ha. Night, just relying on Chinger, the speed is still too slow. According to today's efficiency, it will take at least week to get into the Hua Jian sword finger. Wan Xiong Tian, I don't know how much longer it can be delayed. My lord, are we done now? Although there is true qi condensation, it cannot be formed, which is far from enough. Tomorrow, tomorrow we play in a much more exciting way. It seems that this kind of realistic scene atmosphere stimulation is not enough. We need to add some more materials to speed up the progress. So shy. Bang. The second day. The fate of thousands of miles to meet, no fate of the opposite hand is difficult to hold than ten years of training make the same boat, a hundred years of repair boat, sleep together. I'm Xie Yan. I'm a scholar who went to Beijing for the exam. My fair lady is a gentleman. I fell in love with you at first sight. Today, I have a chance to cross the boat together. Could you please I will, Chinger, I will. Is this fool sick? He was talking to himself there alone, and he didn't know what he was doing. I don't know why I get angry when I see him. I can't help it. I heard that manager Pan didn't want to pick up his list and was beaten by him. Lawlessness. Don't talk nonsense and do a good job. Mr. Xia has several scenes later. Prepare the props and costumes as soon as possible. This Mr. Xia, it's too evil, can't be provoked. Why should I have a conflict with him before? Did I have any mental disabilities? Mr. Xia, Mr. Xia, what kind of bridge are you going to use? Cowherd and Weaver, hurry up. I'm in a hurry. Sure enough, violence is the best way to break God's hatred of ghosts. It is very difficult to provide enough red and pink gas in daily love, intimacy, and invariable external environment. Meet to create a variety of romantic atmosphere and constantly stimulate the excitement of the opponent. If the two love each other for a long time, it is not in the morning and evening. More changeable scenes, more exciting. We will stay together for the rest of our lives. The Tomb of Liang Shambua. For this reason, I specially found a film team to make it for me. Under the aura of God hating and ghost hating, it's really hard to do so. If you add a deadline to this love, I hope it is 10,000 years. However, I had money and fists, and after some threats and inducements, I managed to get things done. I want to choose you more than the blue sky. With the cooperation of a professional team, things are going fast, two days later. The sword fingers of flowers are straight and smooth. System level, LV2, realm, 6 after tomorrow, master the ability to cut, the sword between the two, current level, LV3+, plus. source, 770.50315. Few, Hua Jian sword fingers successfully entered the door and ascended to LV3. After going through the small world again, I don't have to dig my brains to find a beautiful woman to repair the flower sword finger. I'm really worried that one day I will cross into a world without women, then Sparta. He, Chinger is so satisfied these days, there are still a lot of classic scenes left to play. Let's save them for the next time. Now there is another problem. I can't really stand lip to the God-hating and ghost-hating characteristics all the time. When I return to the Lord world, it will be terrible. To deduce the moving method 8 difficulties and Macy skill requires 3,000 points. Please confirm whether to deduce it or not, but there are too many source points needed to deduce the 8 difficult magic skill. I can't upgrade LV4 of Hua Jin sword now. Finger it's a pity that the characteristics hating God hating and ghost of need to be face to face. If we want to make a live broadcast of the supernatural world, the source will explode directly. However, with this feature, it's very simple to make a source. I can make a lot of money if I go out for a circle, so it's not the point. The Key 15 Since Chen Huang likes to be the protagonist, playing the role of a pig and eating a tiger, it's better to just be a villain boss. It's time for Wang Xiong to make a move. 
In the past two days, the shooting team also tried it out. Actually, Chinger didn't carry the characteristics of God, hate, and ghost. Don't be coquettish, Chinger. There's business. Go to the imperial capital in my stead and bring a letter to Wang Xiong Tian. By the way, watch him to see if he did what I said in my letter. I can't see him directly to avoid ruining my plan by the attack of God's abhorrence and disgust. Trust me. Royal residence, Master Xie, I have been following your orders these days. Chen Huang knows nothing about the real situation of Xie's family. Very good. I want you to eat all the forces of Chen Huang in two months. Mr. Xie, this is totally impossible. No, everything is possible. I wrote the specific method in the letter, and you should follow it. And my guardian spirit will always be there to help you. As long as you avoid facing Chen Huang, no one in the world can stop you. Okay. Why? My father? Why am I here? It's a terrible way. It seems that we have no choice. Xie Yan's residence, a long time ago the dragon suddenly appeared. This frame is drawn by the screenwriter. How are things going? My lord, I'm back. It's going well. With the help of Ching'er, Lao Wang quietly beat Chen Huang's men to Miao. Then we forced these people to practice the heavenly devil blissful skill. Lao Wang then decisively blew up a few to make an example, and the others were honest. In this way, Chen Huang will become a bear rod commander in time. Well done, but still need to be monitored by Ching'er. Well, did you buy anything? I'm looking for a custom-made doll cost lime for a walk in the street. Wow. How lovely. The source point is not enough. Pointing to the Sia family, when will it be done? And it's too inhumane. Let's go out and harm outsiders instead. I think it's cute, too. Lao Wang is still fooling Chen Huang, saying that I've been dealt a terrible job. If there are big news about me outside, I'm afraid Chen Huang will suspect Lao Wang. So it's better to go out under a disguise and make fun of it. Anyway, after trying these two days, I can't get rid of the characteristics of God-hating and ghost-hating. Even if I change my image, it's a good use to collect the source. There are too many people. Do you like little tigers? Go away. Pang, whether he's dead or not people who destroy the public environment. It's like a person. Is he okay? Won't he fall to death? Whether he's dead or not people who destroy the public environment. Just want to fight this abnormal tiger. We are brothers and sisters from different parents. I want to beat him. This tiger is not worth beating. Brothers and sisters. Boys, hit him. Stop. Abnormal tiger, don't run. Look at all this. Abnormal clothes appear on the street, leading passers by to chase and fight violently. It seems that we are here, eh? This doll is very cute. This very doll cute. Is it's all hype? I don't know if it's true or not. Shit, I've never seen such an underdog. Freak, stop. Who strange I came here for thousand one. Crazy, I must be crazy, ah, uh, uh, I'm skipping work for an inexplicable little tiger. I'm finished. Mmm, -hmm, I feel good. I can also practice the introduction of Jing Hong Dun now I have collected more than 100 source points. How many waves are chasing me? Forget it. I don't remember. Call it a day, stop. Stop. Ouch, my waist, it's a pity that human energy is limited. Even if there is the influence of the characteristics of God, ghost, and disgust, it is impossible to burst the source point for me every minute. After a few twists and turns, it will wither. If you don't take a good rest, you will recover. No, come here. In a face-to-face -face situation, the most emotional ordinary person can squeeze tout 0.1 source points, and then they become frustrated. This also determines that it is difficult for me to catch a group of sheep all of the time. So I have to change the territory tomorrow. A month and a half later, recently, a mysterious tiger man appeared in Jiang province, causing civil unrest, causing traffic paralysis and various stampede accidents. 
The Tiger Man is agile, depending on gravity, and can quickly shuttle between high buildings. I thought badly before, this world's internet is far from the developed psychic world. It is difficult for most people to have extreme emotions towards a stranger. Even if the person is more funny, as long as he does not kill people in the street, others will just laugh at him. But this period of time the source point harvest is also good. In addition to raising the Hua Jin sword finger to LV for these days, Jing Hong Dun and Demon Blissful Skill have also been broken. Source point has collected so much again. Should I try to raise to LV5? Remaining source, 3500.01002, Master Skills, Hua Jin Sword Finger, Current Level, LV4+, plus, Master Skills, Demon Bliss Skill, Current Level 8 LV6, Break, Master the Skill of 8 Jing Hong Dun, Current Level 8 LV3, Break, Try It. Anyway, the deadline of the mission is still one month away. I'm trying my best to perform the 8 difficult magic skill, remaining source, 3500.01002, Master Skills, Hua Jin Sword Finger, Current Level, LV4+, plus, Master Skills, Demon Bliss Skill, Current Level 8 LV6. There are not enough conditions to upgrade, determine is it not enough to raise LV4 with Nirvana? How can the conditions be insufficient? Don't you need me to go back to the main world to upgrade? It's worth it. Since it's worth fighting, it's new forget it. Since you can't open your sword finger, you can deduce the 8 difficult magic skill. The 8 difficulties and magic skills are deduced. 3000 source points are needed. Please confirm whether to deduce yes, no. Yes. The deduction was successful, skill name, 8 difficulties magic skill, skill introduction, the so-called 8 difficulties is the evil in the world, the pain in the pain, and the biggest disaster of Buddhism. Only when the nature of the bit difficulties is rooted in the soul, can we see the true meaning, destroy the nature, and enter the, it's very to introduce this skill. There are 500 source points left. Let's see how many levels you can upgrade, or what the hell. This skill is seriously incompatible with the nature of the host. Forced cultivation will distort the nature of the host. Each time you upgrade, you need to consume more source points to shield the negative effects. Yes, no. What? What else? I have to be promoted if I spend money wrongly. Otherwise, I will be killed by Lu Ching Mei if I return to the world with gods and ghosts. Remaining source point 8300.01002, Master Skills, 8 Difficult Magic Skill, Current Level, LV1+, plus, Current Effect, Arouse the Anger of Others, Promote the Growth of Self-Cultivation, and Cultivate the Magic Nature, but it can be relaxed. Is it enough to go up to LV1? It's not enough to take 300 to continue to rise? It's miserable, fortunately, the source is not white, I can switch on and off the characteristics of God, hate and ghost at will, but I can't transfer it to others like Chen Huang. This martial arts is really evil. You don't need to practice meditation at all. As long as you can analyze the anger of others, your own skill will increase. However, my training level is low and the growth rate is very small. The mission period is still one to one month. Should I be more bold by pressing the rice brush source point? Keep the dog with the true face? If Chen Huang is not a fool, as long as he can see the news, he should begin to doubt the identity of Huda Man. After all, the characteristics of God hating and ghost hating are so obvious. I see, I don't have to hide and tuck in. Anyway, I asked Ching'er to greet Wang Xiongtian a few days ago, and his plan there will not be affected. Wang Xiong Tian, what did you tell me? Did the Xia family run away? Lord John Shen, it may be that I have played rather hard on the Xia family these days. They have completely collapsed. Even their asset business has said that they gave lip. They don't know where to hide. Wang Xiong Tian, I think you have been fooled. Luo Hu, mobilize your forces to find out Xia's family, especially Xia Yan. Er, Lord John Sleeve, according to our information, Xia Yin is now touring the downtown. The street? Yes, 
and it is said that there was so much momentum in the street that he didn't seem to hide his meaning at all. What kind of neurotic young master is on the street? Doesn't he know that it's very traffic jammed? I don't know who it is, but I feel angry when I think about it, but I can't move a step. Adults, if you want to sunbathe, can't you place? Find a why leisure come to such a noisy place? Chinger, you don't understand. Coming to such a noisy place. I enjoy the feeling that they want to hit me but can't touch me at the same time. And, uh, I'm doing this to wait for the person. I'm going to walk the dog when he comes. Chen Huang, we haven't seen each other for a long time. Xie Yin, I give you God hate ghost tired. Not only did it not make you reflect, but also you enjoyed it. Reflect? It's obvious that you are wearing the aura of wisdom reduction and ridicule, and you take the initiative to seduce others to bully you. How can you make it like I was wrong? Good mouth, but I don't want to play with you now. So Xie Yin, die for me. Hill robbery. Bomb. God's fight. The floats ain't going to explore, run. The burning of the hellfire. Do not ascend to heaven, do not go to hell, do not enter the sixth samsara. That's what happens to a boring guy like you. To kill Xie Yin is to continue to look for the remaining evils of the Xie family. Or, Xie Yin? How are you? Why, only you are allowed to have an adventure, not to allow others to have an adventure. Chen Wang, I'll give you five words chase me, fool. Okay, if you like to hide everywhere as a mouse, I will play with you then. More than a month later did you hear about the mysterious tiger man appearing in our city. I knew that. And according to the photos on the internet, he looks very handsome, you see. Wow, this Bialidi can be famous by his ability. Why does he want to do this kind of marketing? Who knows? Hello everyone, I'm Slag Yin. Today I'd like to introduce you to a funny game you've never seen before. It's not much and if it's a brother, you can cut me off. If it's a brother he can cut me down if he touches me, he'll give him 100,000 yuan. It's a real person, and meeting him in person, he is more handsome than in the photo. But why did a nameless fire get ignited in my heart as soon as I saw him? Whether it's for the sake of 100,000 or not, I want to beat him. Make. Way, make way. He asked men to cut him off. What do you girls do for fun? Why can only a man chop? I also want to chop him. The modern world is good. Although I can't get the source from the video audience, my reputation is stretching far away. Every time I show up, I harvest more and more source points. Thanks to this, I have no time to work. I have promoted the eight difficult magic skills and mastered Hatred Mill Hell, Hungry Ghosts, Beats, Buddha Before Buddha after five difficult. This magic skill is inferior to Hua Jian Sword Finger in Absolute Lethality, but it is far better than Hua Jian Sword Finger in terms of Absolute Lethality. I don't think it is worse than Six Desires Heart Magic Formula. Remaining Source, 1404.34622, Master the Skill of Cutting Energy, Current Level, LV4+, Current Effect Deep Magic, Take Charge of the Five Difficulties. For example, Resentment 15 Hard. As long as someone nearby is angry with me, my demonic spirit mill increase, and this increase is almost unlimited. It's a pity that the eight difficult magic skill and Hua Jian Sword Finger repel each other. It's completely relying on the power of the system to forcibly coexist in my body. It's impossible to integrate them. The quality of the eight difficult evil chi is not as good as the real chi of Hua Jian. No matter how much it is, I still haven't broken through the nature. I just stop at the month level the day after tomorrow. As for Chen Huang, I have Jing Hong done. In addition, Lao Wang informed me that he can only fart after my tail. I'm here, I'm here again, you have the ability to hit me. At the beginning, he also took his men around me, but found out that it was useless, and then came less and less. This is my escape route. I miss him a little bit now. The day after tomorrow is the last day of the three-month period. 
Now that Lao Wang's infiltration work has been basically completed, it is time to prepare for the final liquidation. It's okay, I see, Mr. Xie. Whoa, this day has come after all. Whoa, which day do you say is coming? Sure, God of War? I am very sorry that the God of War has no knowledge of his presence. It's okay I didn't inform anyone when I came here. I'm looking for you alone. Who were you talking to just now? Why did I hear the word Mr. Xie? You are busy with business. You may have heard it wrong when you are tired. I want to remind my family to wash their hands more. You mean I made a mistake? Luo Hu, get his cell phone. Luo Hu, are you deaf? How can they be deaf? They are all right. Ha ha, they are not deaf. The reason why they are indifferent is because. Because they dare not heaven devil bliss, hell die. Wang Xiong Tian. That's what you did to me. If I don't blow you up, would you like to help me procrastinate? I'm not that naive. Boom. Chen Huang, no matter how good your martial arts are, you will not be able to do it. What? How could that be? Wang Xiong Tian, don't you think you can kill me with these two moves? Of course not one or two people, but do you think only a few gods of war betrayed you? To tell you the truth, I knew you were coming today. Today is the day of your death. Lao Wang, why did you call me here today to disobey the god of war? This, you didn't say that you would fight against the god of war when you courted us, Lao Wang, are you crazy? Shut up. Hashtag bang. Which one do you fear more? Chen Huang or me? Everybody together. How futile, you ants want to fight against me. Whoa, the difficulty of hell. Heaven devil bliss, hell die. That's not enough. I'm sure they won't kill him. Keep going. My lord, you don't seem to be ready to help them at all. Why should I help? Chen Huang's forces are not good. Let them bite the dog. But I don't think Lao Wang will last long. I have also practiced the eight difficult magic skill. I know how strange it is. What's more, Chen Huang's level of eight difficult magic skills is higher than me. It's really hard to fight him. This guy is more difficult than Master Qian Mian. It's far from Lao Wang's body bomb to deal with it. Let's do some exercise and get ready. Ba, Hum, welcome the arrival of the protagonist god of war. The difficulty of an animal. So you have been here, Chen Huang. I was worried that you might have been killed by the team led by Lao Wang. It seems that you're all good. How could they hurt me? You underestimate on me too much, right? That is it. You are the son-in-law of my Sia family anyway. You and I have been together for three years, and our relationship is so deep. If I don't let you see me, it will be unkind. Sia Yin, by now, do you think that mentioning those old things can arouse my anger? I have prepared something which I am looking forward to seeing your reaction after it. Wang, Wu, Chen Huang, you let us go. Chen Huang, we are going to kill you. Wu, you must die. I will curse you. Ah, uh, how can you do this to us? How do you feel, Xie Yan? What do you think of my masterpiece? The Beast of the Eight Suffering Skills the genetic transformation of humans into another species, that is, the transformation of humans into manageable livestock. The abominable thing is that the transformed people still keep their own consciousness, but they can only watch the appearance of their livestock. Chen Huang used this method to deal with the self-explosion of the demon bliss skill It really works. After the species transformation, I can't feel the trace of the demon bliss skill work on them. I can do it too but I never wanted to use it on people. I feel like that you're a super freak. The cutie sword finger, hell suffering. Although I know that Xie Yin also has an adventure, he has mastered such powerful martial arts. It turns back. Fierce fingering. My body can't even break the heat weapon, yet I can be punctured by you. 
It's a pity that you don't know the wonderful part of my magic skill. This injury is nothing at all. It's okay to open such a big hole in the chest. Among the five sufferings I have mastered, there is no such method. I don't know which of the remaining three sufferings is. When you get a few more swords from me, you can boast. No problem with more swords. But, the ghoul of the eight suffering skills, it is impolite not to reciprocate. C.A.N., try my ghost's devour. Heavenly Gate Quake Zen. It's a trick to gather evil chi in the palm of your hand and inject it into the enemy's body for erosion. It's a trick that causes continuous damage. The damage of this move mainly comes from the erosion of evil chi, so Chen Huang was not bitten back. He just avoided the anti-injury, and he didn't break through my defense. What a wonderful martial arts, both offensive and defensive. Then try a mental attack. This position... Chen Huang is going to use that move before and after Buddha's suffering? But it's for me, N. Chen Huang, you bastard. We finally found you. Not only did you destroy the Xia family, but also made all the big families in Jiang province like this. Do you want to destroy the foundation of Jiang province? Chen Huang, there is no plaza for you in Jiang province. Chen Huang, how dare you? When did the gang arrive? Moreover, this attitude is affected by Chen Huang's god loath ghost abandonment, which reduces IQ. What are you doing here? It's dangerous. Get out of here. Away? If Chen Huang does not give an account today, we will not be able to leave. Both before and after Buddha, Buddha cannot be seen. There is no Buddha in the world, but I am. Eight suffering moments before and after Buddha's suffering. A powerful move. It is on par with Unity Violet Dao Comprehension. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for me. Buddha came into the world and helped all people I has a lot of karma. What should I do? Please ferry us. There is no Buddha in the world, but I am here. Buddha can't help you, Burr I can. There is no way in the Buddha Dharma except putting the evil thoughts down. You have great karma. You can only go to paradise in the next life. Next life? Everybody. See you in the next life. The before and after Buddha suffering is a mental attack. Add body with Buddha light, then disguise it as Buddha. This is an extremely evil move. Our Buddha is compassionate and helps all living beings. But you use this evil skill to persuade your people to commit suicide? It's just a hoax. You don't know how to repent. If you don't follow my instructions, I will let you know that Buddhism is boundless. Chen Huang, are you addicted to pretending to be Buddha? Forget who you are. You like to persuade others to commit suicide, I will send you to the hell. Cien, I didn't expect that my Buddha before and after Buddha suffering could not influence you. But it doesn't matter, we still have a lot of time, I can accompany you slowly. Accompany you to the last moment. Buddha left, don't leave me alone. As expected, evil chi of eight sufferings can be transformed into the cutie sword finger chi, although the conversion rate is a little chen huang, how can low? You be so happy when you die? There should be he has something up his sleeve. Chen huang, how can you be so happy when you die? There should be he has something up his sleeve. Xia Yin, we meet again, three scales blazing suffering of eight sufferings, burning out three scales rebirth of nirvana. Is this to borrow the body to return the soul? Resurrected? I can't do it. I want it, you didn't run for your life when you were resurrected, and you dare to show up in front of me. You love showing off so much, I'll kill you again, flowers wither of the cutie's sword finger. It's no use, C.A.N. Smart recognition suffering has seen through your moves. It won't work for me anymore. Smart recognition suffering? It just like the Saint Seiya that won't be defeated twice by the same trick rogue character. Cooperate with the body to return the soul again. Fight suffering skill I can't get how the three sufferings are invincible. For other people, even if it is the master of the world's inborn master, on this Chen Huang, short time also can't start, 
but it's a pity that I know who the eight sufferings magic skill best person in the world is except Chen Huang. Xie Yin, you surrender obediently and hand over your skills. I can let you die easily. Otherwise, you will be like them. You can't live to even die. It's too early to talk about victory or defeat Eight Sufferings Evil Al is the root of Eight Sufferings Magic Skill's power. If the Evil Chi is gone, it will lose its strength. The Evil Chi comes from other people's resentment towards him that's why Chen Huang brought Beast Sufferings people. In vain. That won't work for me. Eh? Xie Yin seems to realize that those people can help me recover the evil QL, but the most powerful place of the Eight Sufferings magic skill is able to absorb the anger generated by the opponent to recover my evil Qi. In other words, as long as you don't die, I will have a steady stream of evil Qi, you can't consume mine. The evil Qi generated in your heart, I feel it. Yeah? No evil Qi, Xie Yin is not angry with me? How can this be possible, even if his mind is as calm as water, it is impossible to ignore the influence of God-hating and ghost-disgusting. You have just been resurrected, and there is no evil chi. I have eliminated all of the sources that can provide you with evil chi, Chen Huang, how long can you stay with me now? Damn it. I have to go to a place filled with people. As long as there are people, I will have a steady stream of evil chi. I am not afraid of Xie Yin. Don't run, Chen Wang. Weren't you arrogant before, and the transformation of other people's resentment into their own magic qi efficiency, I'm not as good as Chen Wang, using flowers withering several times, I even used up all the eight sufferings evil qi. I can still rely on Nirvana. No, evil qi, my evil qi used up. Xie Yin, why don't you have any feelings for me? Why can you ignore the influence of God-hating and ghost-disgusting? How it could be? I think you are just a clown. What emotions can I produce? As for the God-hating and ghost-disgusting, I'm sorry, I can also master the five of the eight sufferings. So it doesn't work. By the way, I don't have to kill all of my family when I practice. Go to the hell, Chen Huang. It's strange that Chen Huang is dead. Why hasn't the system changed the task to complete it? Is this guy alive? I probably know why the system hasn't prompted. Xie Yin, we, this, I have killed Chen Huang. You are safe. The god of war is dead. Under the leadership of the local forces in Jian province, it can be said that he abides by order. But if he dies, will it be riotous? Don't worry, not only is Chen Huang dead, but also all of the aristocratic families he colluded with as well as the underground forces. Now all that remains little shrimps. It if is really from then on, the remaining evils of the remnant party in Jiangcheng will not be enough. But are you really Xie Yin? Or? Now, I don't need to hide it. Yes, I'm not from this world, to be precise, I may not be a human being. As a result, the Sia family launched a big plan, intending to remove the underground forces implicated by each family and restore peace to Jiang province. But Chen Huang had magic power. If he was not dealt, the Sia family's plan wouldn't be carried out, so Sia family started the secret method. Let me attach to Sia Yin and finish the plan, it's just that as a price for calling me, they don't remember that anymore, even Sia Yin himself will lose consciousness, a sleeping person does not wake up. Now that I'm done, I won't stay here for long. As a meritorious minister of the Sia family, he should be treated well by you. We'll never see you again. Although I don't know how to call you my lord, you are the savior of Jiang province, the real Buddha. With the promised CP the governor of Jiang province, the Sia family will surely make a comeback. The host has completed this task. 2,000 source points will be awarded. After 10 seconds, it will be sent back to the main world. Please prepare the host. Sure enough, killing Chen Huang is not enough. I need to let the Sia family return back to its former glory, and this is impossible to do without the help of the governor of Jiang province. Fortunately, this guy didn't have a gun. It's not so easy to commit suicide. This time, the Ares world has made a lot of money, and the source point is almost enough. 
Back to the main world, do I upgrade Cutie's Sword Finger to LV5 first? Or 8 Suffering Skill LV5? It's hard to decide. G.E. Huayu's Place, Bliss Temple. Oh, I've made a nice harvest. Including the mission reward and the points I gained myself, I've got more than 3,500 origin points. I have many ways to survive, and Finger of Flowery Swords can do more damage than Demonic Art of Ogdo at Tribulations. I'll upgrade Finger of Flowery Swords to level 5 first. I must have met the requirements in the main world now. Sorry. You don't meet the conditions to upgrade, damn it. Why? What on earth is the requirement? In this case, how about upgrading Demonic Art of Ogdo at Tribulations? What Chen Huang used should be the level 5 demonic art of Ogdo at Tribulations, and he had reached the realm by getting himself bullied ruthlessly for three years in the Xia family. It was the only way to master the demonic art of Ogdo at Tribulations. I thought I could skip it with the help of the system, but now it seems impossible. The level 5 finger of flowery swords should reach the pre-celestial stage. Can't the system help me make a breakthrough? Must I reach the pre-celestial stage before upgrading Finger of Flowery Swords? How should I upgrade it to the pre-celestial stage? I remember it's not about the simple closed cultivation. I think I had read about that in a record at Depository of Martial Arts Manuals, but it didn't say how I could break through. I thought I should just leave things as they were. Now it seems nothing of the sort. Ugh, I'll ask the sect leader about this when I get back. Now I'll just let Ching her out to comfort me by letting me caress her. Life is hard, and I only have these feathers to keep me warm. I want to go home so badly. You look so depressed, master. Are you done bathing, Why you? I haven't shown you the new cultivation method I had understood. Let me in. Lu Ching Mei is here. Go back to me, Ching her. Take care, master. Why you? Sorry for keeping you waiting. I'm ready. Let me look at your face carefully. Demonic art of Ogdo at Tribulations, Resentment, what's wrong? Why do you look at me differently? Isn't this face attractive enough to you? Abomination. She might want to kill me if I maximize the degree of abomination. It has to be just right to keep me safe and ruin her mood. Thankfully, I can control the degree of abomination after upgrading the demonic art of Ogdo at Tribulations to level 4. A long night awaits us. What are you waiting for? I'll adjust the degree by observing her response. You, did you get a nice shower? Something feels off here. What are you saying? I bathed and got my clothes soaked in the aroma of incense. It's all for giving you a wonderful night. It's working. Come closer to me. Don't I smell good? And never mind. Forget about it, why you? I came for business. Why does Sia Yan's face suddenly look tedious? And I even want to slap him. It's weird. All right. I won't force you. Have a seat. Good job, abomination. No sex with this old woman. Now you've replaced Sia Yan. What are you going to do with Bai Suyuan? That woman is the thorn in my eye. I don't want to see her alive any longer. Please be patient. We should stay cautious before getting full control of the Bliss Temple. The succession is coming. We can't take any risk. I'll hold up Bai Suyuan and the M.O. Ching sect. You can do whatever you want to Bai Suyuan when you're the leader. If everything goes well after that, I can go to the M.O. Ching sect as C.A. Yan. Perhaps I can get some secret martial arts there. That's my smart boy. Enough of Bai Su Yuan. I've got something else to discuss with you. W. What is it? Damn. Does she want me that badly? I have to turn Abomination on again. What do you think? I take you and your father seriously, Huayu. you? I tell you everything. What's this? Is it important? It's a letter that Su Min wrote to me. I hooked up with him when I didn't know your father. 
I've been thinking about how to tell your father this since we are together. He and Su Min are arch rivals after all. It'll hurt our trust if I keep it a secret and your father somehow knows about it. So it's better to make it clear. I've thought about this, and I think it's best to let you put in a good word for me in front of your father. Your father won't mind it if he can see this from another angle. He won Su Min's woman. What? Su Min is one of the strongest martial artists in the Shin Ma sect. It's said that he's been fighting for the sect leader position with G.E.E. -E. How anxious she is to instigate and see chaos. Su Min may look serious, but he's a vulgar man in private. Even his love letter is filled with foul words. Would you like to read it? Read it for me in the bed, of course. It's late. You should go to your room. You brat. Do you think I want to stay here and look at your ugly face? It's fine that Lu Qingmei wants to show her loyalty to G.E.E., -E, but why does she have to keep harassing his son? So obscene. Whatever. Send by Su Yuan a message, Ching'er. We need to meet and sort these messes out. Sure. On my way. Coo. I'll write her a slip. Don't swallow it. Oh. I see. Octagonal Pavilion, Suburban Datong City. What are you looking for, Miss Bai? Do you expect someone else to come? I saw your note the minute I returned to my room, but no one had come to my room. How did you do it, Charming Jade Child? Only effective contact matters. Don't mind the details. I'm here to inform you there's something wrong with our action. Let someone else entice Lu Qingmei. Someone else? Lu Qingmei is too cunning and suspicious to take the bait. I'm the only one who can draw her to the Datong auction house. Leave it to me. I've got the best option. That one must be more appropriate than you. You should be happy that you don't have to run a risk. Seriously? They know everything about your plan already. The rest will stay the same. That's all. You may leave. I have a bad feeling about this. By Su Yuan, checked. Now it's time to find Sky 3 and Sky 5. So we'll kill Lu Qingmei anyway? Since you put it like that, we'll kill her. I don't care. Normally, you won't need to. People from the marching sect and Bai Su Yuan will do the job. You just need to guard the exit to make sure Lu Qingmei won't escape. All right, I own this place. I got this, Xitigarba. Thanks in advance. Wait for my signal then. Sky May Third be a rough fellow, but he surely knows how to play the lute. Would you like to listen to the music on the lute, master? I can learn it. Forget it. I don't want to mess up my brain. It's not fair. Perhaps I was born a great musician and could play better than Sky 3. Nope. Sky 3 is enough for me. Meanwhile, outside of the Bliss Temple, finally, I've arrived at the Bliss Temple. I wonder if my son Huayu can twist the Bliss Temple around his finger through Lu Qingmei. If he can make it, it'll help me win the sect leader position. The next day. I heard an auction with treasures all over the world is about to be held in Datong City. Have you heard about it? No, what? Are you asking? I just want to take you out to relax. If you're interested in anything, I'll buy it for you to show my gratitude. Fine, we'll go there. But since you want to give me nice things, there are many things you can give me right now. What happened to me yesterday? I get wetter and wetter as I look at this face. Then take a closer look. Abomination 30%. You. I'm not feeling well. You'd better not meet me with this face. I don't know why, but Sia Yan's face often disgusts me. How strange. The Shin Ma Sek's Ian message sending talisman? Why would someone from the Shin Ma Sek come at this hour? Your father came out from his closed cultivation ahead of schedule, and he's near the Bliss Temple. Go down the mountain with me now to meet him. He came to you right after the closed cultivation. Looks like he misses you very much. What? G.E.E.'s here? I hate changes at crucial moments. 
They're both at the pre-celestial stage, and GEE -E is one of the strongest at this stage. Seems we'll fail if we carry out our original plan. I have to change it. Are you jealous of your father? Ha. Huh. How about we three staying together tonight? We can talk about that later. Since my father came from afar, I should give him a little surprise. Let's, all right. You just look tasty again. Side courtyard of the Bliss Temple, Joy Town. Why are you here alone, Ching Mei? Where's Huayu? GEE, -E, Vice Sect Leader of the Shinma Sect. You asked about your son the second you came in. Didn't you miss me? You became more spoiled during the time we separated. Yes. You too spoiled me. Huayu said he'd give you a surprise before meeting you. Oh? What is that brat up to? You want to know what it is, darling? Say some sweet words to me and I'll tell you. I knew it. GEE -E doesn't care about the fact that he and his son are sharing the same woman. Ha! Control yourself, Ching Mei. I've got something to ask you. How is Huayu's cultivation progress? I'll answer you. But where are you putting your hands? You're the one who should control yourself. But it also means GEE -E doesn't care much about Lu Ching Mei. She just a whore to him. That makes things easier. GEE -E won't be like this if the woman he cares about has another man. Poor Lu Ching Mei. She thinks she charmed them. Off. Who's peeking? You're asking for it. Father. It's me, your good boy Huayu. He sensed me the minute I turned off the concealment pendant. I know how sensitive a master at the pre-celestial stage can be now. You've made great progress on your cultivation, Huayu. I sensed you when you're only one meter away from me. Very good. So that must be the surprise. Judging by your new look, did you kill Xia Yin, the charming jade child, who allegedly has the peerless beauty? Did you make him another face of yours? You're right. You learned what had happened with only one glance, father. Bai Suyuan colluded with Xia Yin and tried to deal with us. But I took the initiative, killed, and replaced Xia Yin first. Now I'm Xia Yin. From Ji Huayu to Xia Yin. Do you want to use this identity to deal with the Maqing sect? But I heard Xia Yin had mastered Finger of Flowery Swords, a martial art that only beautiful men can master. I'm not saying that your face is flawed. I'm just worried if you can copy Finger of Flowery Swords well enough. It may blow up your cover. Don't worry, father. My faceless mantra is so amazing that it can copy Finger of Flowery Swords well enough. Let's practice in the yard. If I can't find flaws in it, everything will go smoothly. The brothers were once famous. They were both at the eighth level of the post-celestial stage and could confront pre-celestial masters when they were together. Unfortunately for them, they met me, and I killed them with one strike. Now I control them by a secret cultivation method. They can be good training partners. Tell them to bring it on, Father. Kieran Form Guardian of Rebound Zen, this is an exclusive martial art that Xia Yin improved based on Guardian of Heaven's Gate. It has significant defense and can rebound the enemy's attack. Then, I fooled GEE, -E, but I don't know GEE Huayu's habits well. He's his father, after all. It's easy for me to expose myself if I engage with him too much. So I must seize the opportunity and show him the differences in advance. Thus I may have leeway to explain myself if he finds any flaw in my disguise. Finger of Flowery Swords Rock Form Well copied. However, since you can't use it at will, your attacks can be dodged easily. Looks like why you can't win your two puppets. Ha! They can't dodge. I comprehended this martial art by combining the martial arts I collected with Faceless Mantra. It's called Flawless Agdo at Tribulations, Tribulation of Beast. I can make it. Ha ha ha. This skill is limited by my current strength, so it can't be as powerful as it was in the small world. 
I can only use it as a control skill for now. But it's enough. Any moment can be the deciding moment for strong martial artists to win. This is an evil skill. How did you comprehend it, Why you? Ha! Huh. Don't you think it's beautiful, father? All beauties will turn into skeletons, and people alive are just beasts with human skins. Hmm, I need to play mad, but not too much. Great. I heard finger of flowery swords could turn the people it killed into petals. What a stunning and astonishing way to die. I reversely deduced finger of flowery swords and understood the extreme beauty and ugliness. Then I comprehended the demonic art of Ogdo at Tribulations. He has the potentials to enter the multi-celestial stage. But his mental state seems unstable. Did he undergo irritants? I let Huayu go with Lu Qingmei to hone his lust. Did he indulge himself in the pleasure of the flesh and become confused and trapped because of my relationship with her? What kind of lubricious trick did this whore use on my son? Origin point gain shock, 0.01 points, GEE. -E. Wow, I even got origin points from GEE. -E. What makes him so shocked? The plan is at a crucial moment. I have to return to the temple to work on the details. You must have business to discuss later. I shouldn't bother you further. You promised to join us tonight. Maybe three of us can have more fun. Nonsense. Darling? Go do your thing, why you? I'll instruct your cultivation later. Looks like Lu Qingmei makes my son do everything it can school why you, but it makes things too easy for Lu Qingmei. Then I'll take my leave. Huh? Why did GEE -E change his attitude toward Lu Qingmei? Bliss Temple, phew. It was close, but I fooled GEE. -E. Looks like he came here to support Lu Qingmei. It's troublesome to deal with him. Caress me more, and you may have an idea in a good mood. People usually caress cats for that, but caressing an owl seems the same. Sky 3 and Sky 5 from the Bloodthirst Sect, by Suyuin from the Bliss Temple, and I are on the same side. GEE -E and Lu Qingmei are on the opposite. The odds are heavily against us. How naughty. We'll be more likely to win if Marching Sect sends some pre-celestial masters here, but we don't have to do so much for by Suyuin. GEE -E is the Vice Sect leader of the Shinma Sect. Bai Suyuin can help us take care of the future trouble if we kill Lu Qingmei. But the Marching Sect will have a powerful enemy if we kill GEE. -E. It's a losing deal. Only fools would do it. Should I ditch Bai Suyuin and stay out of this? Wait, I don't have to. A mistress can't be more important than his son. Master? I just have to alter my plan and see if GEE -E will choose his son over his mistress. Send by Suyuan a message later, Chinger. Sure. I got this. I just got the news that GEE -E is here in person. I'm in the soup now. Xie Yan hasn't shown up these days. I couldn't find him. The worst case scenario is he hits the road and the marching sect stays out of this. What should I do then? What? The code is correct. It's from Xie Yan. He sends messages to me every time with an unknown method. How mysterious. The letter says he has known GEE's Yi's arrival and that I should cancel my plan of going to Datong City. He can kill Lu Qingmei himself? Sai, this is a tricky situation. I can only do as he says and hope things won't go south. Datong Auction House. Sky 3, Sky 5, Change of Plan. The marching sect and Bai Suyuan won't get involved in killing Lu Qingmei. They're not coming? I'm afraid it is because of GEE's -E arrival. We have to cancel our plan. No, we needn't. Lu Qingmei will be here that day, and you'll get ready to kill her. Killing Lu Qingmei in front of GEE? -E? That's extra. Wait, it's not about money anymore. We can't do that without Bai Suyuan and helpers from the marching sect. Relax. Neither the bloodthirst sect nor I want Lu Qingmei dead. You'll know who wants her dead when the time comes. Just push things forward and help him a little. 
Oh, right. Gee, why you is a great toy. It's a shame to kill such an interesting toy, so I want him to live long and enjoy the fun of playing with him. Keep the relationship you have with him, Sky 5. It'll be the last tenderness you give him as a friend. Is Xitagarba always so unpredictable? Don't try to understand what he's thinking. He has his reasons, and all we need to do is to do as he says. I'm curious. Besides by Su Yuan and the marching sect, who would want Lu Ching Mei dead? I didn't even get a sniff with the bloodthirst sex information system. Looks like there's a complex story behind this. A few days later, it's time they hold the auction. I disguised myself as G.E. Huayu and invited G.E.E. -E and Lu Ching Mei to the auction. The auction will start at midnight. The Caution House has rich entertainment for our VIPs to enjoy themselves. Please come in. Tell me if you're interested in anything, Huayu. I'll buy it for you. Ha. Huh. This place looks lively. Interesting. Now that I look at them closely, they're all priceless jewels. Not just that. The auction house provides all sorts of services, such as bathing and massaging with essential oils. You can do anything you want. Oh? Then I have to get some of that. I'll meet Sky 5 and get the auction list. That way, we can get the rare things in advance. Remember to get me a list as well. We're not on the same side now, why you? I feel awkward when you come to me directly. The bloodthirst sect claims to be open to all sorts of businesses. Are you turning me down now? We can talk about business, but for the record, my hands are tied if you want me to kill Sia Yin. And I guarantee that no one in the bloodthirst sect will take that order. I don't know what Sia Yan's background is, but I don't want to kill him. Instead, I want Lu Ching Mei dead. What? Are you serious, Huayu? you? I thought the Xinma sect is helping Lu Ching Mei become the new leader in Bliss Temple. I would never think G.E. Huayu would want her dead. It's indeed complex. Is this your idea or G.E. Yi's? I can't help you if your father decides to help her. I'll convince my father and even let him help. I'll pay 500,000 taels of silver for the bloodthirst sect to assist me. Do we have a deal? Yes, but I must say this before it starts. Your father must help or at least won't stop us. I don't want to be attacked by two pre-celestial masters. Why you, you're back. Huh? Where is Lu Ching Mei? She can't resist that many jewels and just sit here. Come drink with me. Why do I feel that you became unfamiliar with me now? I'm just bothered with something, but I don't know if it's a good idea to talk about it. Is it about Lu Ching Mei? You're my only son, Huai Yu. You can tell me everything. You've senses something wrong as well? Then I'll be frank. I've been with Lu Ching Mei lately. I think she's been contacting someone else secretly. She'd fob me off every time I asked her about it. But finally, I found this. A love letter, and it's Su Min's handwriting. Lu Ching Mei and Su Min had a story before? And she, I found out that Lu Ching Mei's so called dual cultivation was actually extracting my virile essence. Luckily, I learned that before too late, but she hasn't given up on it yet. Let me check your meridians, Huai Yu. I thought Lu Ching Mei bewitched Huai Yu, but it's even worse than I thought. Damn it. How dare she? Hmm, there is something with your kidney, but thankfully, it won't hurt your cultivation base. You just need to have a good rest and recuperate. What? I wasn't being serious. I have a kidney deficiency? You had taken too much from me, Ching Chingzi. I know Lu Ching Mei is useful to you, but I'm worried that she may want to play against us since she has an affair with Su Min. She's suspicious indeed. Don't worry, Huai Yu. I know what to do, but I can't kill her now. When everything is settled, I'll make it clear. I'm afraid it'll be too late. I have an idea to check if Lu Ching Mei is loyal to us. I can't wait that long. I have to push GEE. -E. Let's, it's a bit rash, but alright, I'll follow your plan. 
Is the current strength all right, ma'am? Hmm, feels nice. I see you're having a good time. Why you? This place is nice. Their massage tools can even work on my pre-celestial body. Would you like to have a try? What's fun in that? I've got something nicer, but I wonder if you'll come. There are too many people here. Maybe we should find a quieter place. Out in the wild? You bad boy. Suburban Datong City, my plan is simple. GEE -E will find an excuse to stay at the auction house while I take Lu Qingmei to a remote place without anyone else around and provoke her. I've told GEE -E that Lu Qingmei wouldn't admit a thing if we didn't do it right. It'd only alert her. But when Lu Qingmei and I are in the wild that's four to five miles away from Datong City, there will be no one else around. If I provoke her then, she may want to kill me to shut me up. Actually, Datong Auction House's secret room underground is the best place to do this, but I couldn't tell GEE -E that. He thought in a narrow place like a secret room, Lu Qingmei would never be stupid enough to kill GEE Huayu. She'll never get herself cleared if she does. It's only reasonable for her to kill GEE Huayu when she's in the wild. So I had to choose this method. Thankfully, I have abomination. That should keep Lu Qingmei's hostility toward me, theoretically. Sky 3 and Sky 5 are helping GEE -E conceal his presence while I ask Lu Qingmei out. GEE -E will listen to our whole conversation. Everything will go as usual if Lu Qingmei is innocent. If she's not, we can execute her right on the spot. Ha, huh, like I will let her be innocent. I didn't know you'd like such a place, why you? But I like it, too. What's wrong? What are you doing now? I'll be frank. I'm not taking you here for fun. I've got something to ask you. You're hiding something from me, right? You've seen every inch of my body. How can I hide anything from you? Do I have to be that straightforward? Do you recognize the handwriting on this letter? Of course I do. It's... Shut up. Drop the act. How long do you plan to hide your relationship with Su Min from us? With my current level of demonic art of Agdoet tribulations, abomination can be used on multiple targets or one person. When it's targeted at one person, it will be even more effective. She'll be impatient and only be able to think how much she wants to kill me even if she is at the pre-celestial stage. What relationship? W. What are you talking about? Abomination 60%. Fine. Since you wouldn't tell me anything, I'll give it to my father. Then we'll see how he thinks about this. She's still holding her anger? Indeed a tough one at the pre-celestial stage. But how long can you hold it? Come on. Come hit me. Stop right there. Abomination 80%. Ah. I'll kill you. Lie. How powerful! A furious strike from a pre-celestial master could even crush my guardian of rebound Zen with the help of the title National Spirit. My internal power is exhausted at once. I'm a major stage lower than her, after all. Die. Go to hell. But this will make it more convincing. I'll get you killed at the cost of my hurt. How dare you hurt my son? You bitch! Finally, GEE -E can't stand by anymore. You're really against us. You failed to live up to my kindness to you, you bitch. Darling, why are you, huh? What did I do? You'd have killed my son if I hadn't come. There's something wrong. What happened to me? Why you, are you okay? What? Playing innocent when my father is here. Looks like Abomination will go off if the target receives serious irritations. I'll simply turn it on again. Activating Abomination doesn't cost much strength after all. As long as she holds grudges against me, I'll have infinite tribulation power. I don't even have to use Finger of Nirvana for now. Abomination. One of us will die today, G.E. Huayu. Abomination 80%. Joyous Buddha Incarnation, go to hell. Stay away, why you? 
Six desires converted, four devils inside emerge. You can use Joyous Buddha Incarnation of the Bliss Temple, but I got the emergence of devils inside. Ha! Another pre-celestial fight. I don't care which one will win. The Sheen Ma sect versus the Bliss Temple? Not the matching sex business. Sky 5 and Sky 3? My father has started his fight. Why don't you go help him? Don't worry, why you? The bloodthirst sect always gets things done. We'll act as soon as we see an opening. Why are we fighting, darling? No. There's something wrong with why you? Stop now. I can explain. You're no match for me, Lu Ching Mei. Don't even think about talking me out of this. If you want to explain, relieve Joyous Buddha Incarnation and seal your meridians now. Then I'll listen to you. Okay. This is all wrong. I'm relieving. What? Bone Melt Bloody Begonia. The Bloodthirst Sect, GEE. -E. You even hired assassins from the Bloodthirst Sect. Shadow Snake Stinger. So it wasn't just GE Huayu. Both of you want to kill me. But I'm not going to die alone. Joyous Buddha Incarnation, explode. She's going to blow herself up. Retreat. Huh? The Bloodthirst Sect. Who told you to do that? Boom. I'll get even with you, you bastards. The Bliss Temple's true spirit out. That's a setup. Lu Ching Mei abandoned her body to let her spirit escape. Lu Ching Mei learned true spirit out? The true spirit is as fast as thunder and can move a thousand miles in a second. We can't catch up with her. If Lu Ching Mei snatches someone else's body, she'll regain her power in less than ten years. She must have prepared a suitable body for herself before learning true spirit out. I think she'll recover in three years. Looks like the GE family will have a lot to deal with. Wait. Lu Ching Mei has gone far away, but why is she heading to GE Huayu now? Her true spirit is weak and powerless. Does she have a death wish? I'll kill you. Abomination 100%. I knew it couldn't be easy to kill a pre-celestial martial artist in the wild, but I have cheats. Abomination is awesome. It doesn't care if the target is human, ghost, or spirit. It just simply makes the target choose my death over life. Finger of Flowery Swords Withering Strike Goodbye, Lu Ching Mei Why you? I'm okay. It was too urgent. I had to use my full strength, but I didn't think I'd kill Lu Ching Mei. I only care about your safety. That whore had no strength when she was a true spirit. But all she could think was killing you. However, she didn't know you had concealed your strength and comprehended withering strike. She was asking for it. Shame that I have to give up on incorporating the Bliss Temple since Lu Ching Mei has been dead. Why are the two assassins from the Bloodthirst sect attacking her? If it weren't for them, perhaps I could catch Lu Ching Mei alive. They helped us out of kindness. No one knew what Lu Ching Mei had up in her sleeves. Sighing, forget it. She's dead after all. It won't make any sense. Return to the Sheen Ma sect with me, Huai Yu. Huh? I can go to the Sheen Ma sect? It must be risky, but it will reward much. Even GEE -E can't find anything wrong with my identity, so there shouldn't be anyone questing me in the Sheen Ma sect. Bloody Shift, Faceless Mantra, Mantra of Hexatic Senses. Okay, you have kept telling me you were about to reach the pre-celestial stage since the year before last year. But you failed all the time. I've thought about it for months, and I learned why. I managed to give you a chance of getting the Demonic Enlightenment. That'll help you break through. Demonic Enlightenment, huh? Demonic Enlightenment? What's that? It doesn't sound like a good thing, and Sky 5 never told me anything about that. Should GE why you know this or not? I dare not to find out. The faceless mantra you obtained by chance is incomplete. It makes you the child thousand faces, but it can't help you reach the pre-celestial stage. That's why you can't make any progress with so many martial arts. 
You only know the forms, but not the essences. It has become your burden and stopped you from breaking through. I'll take you back to our sex ancestral shrine. Then I'll use the demonic thoughts that our former masters left to enlighten you. It'll get rid of all the Nachi Ma martial arts on you. Only purity can free you and reach the pre-celestial stage. I'm such an unfilial son to let you worry so much for me. Get rid of all the Nachi Ma martial arts, then no martial art will be left. Can the system get them back for me? Damn, it's getting more horrible as I think about this. After that, the demonic thoughts will take your soul into the Shin Ma illusion to accept our former master's pre-celestial enlightenment. The chance of getting demonic enlightenment cost me greatly. Cherish this opportunity and recuperate well these days. Make sure mantra of hexatic senses is your foundation art rather than faceless mantra when you accept demonic enlightenment. Or you'll fail to wake up the thoughts and at least fail the enlightenment. Your soul may even be devoured. I don't know mantra of hexatic senses at all. So he's saying that the demonic thoughts will devour me? I'm not sure if I can secretly learn mantra of hexatic senses before entering their ancestral shrine. Even if I do, will I have enough time to cultivate it well or change my foundation art? This is all unpredictable. Ahem, thank you, Father, but I've made up my mind to travel the world and reach the pre-celestial stage myself. What if the demonic enlightenment gives me some kind of restriction even when I muddle through? It's good to reach your goals yourself step by step. It can give you a sense of achievement. Then. But you've said it too many times. Since you can't break the shackles yourself, I have to help you. There won't be another demonic enlightenment for you again. You must listen to me this time. Both Xie Daoyun from the Fanqin sect and Qin Qinxi from the Maqing sect reached the pre-celestial stage by themselves. Am I inferior to them? I can't make him mad. He may tie me up and send me back to the Xin Ma sect directly in that case. I have to convince him. Besides, people will make fun of you and say the powerful vice sect leader has a loser son if I take the demonic enlightenment. I know this is a great opportunity for me, but I look up to you since I was a kid. I swore that I'd follow in your footsteps and become a great martial artist. I'll reach the pre-celestial stage even without the demonic enlightenment. I won't let you down. Why you, I understand that. That's why you should come with me. The thought of becoming a pre-celestial master has limited you. Your chi will deviate if I let you keep this up. I won't let that happen. I only think the best for you, why you? Don't let my efforts go in vain, oh no, G.E.E. -E is determined to take his son back. Plain words can't make him give up on this. I have to take an extreme measure. I know you only think the best for me, father. Good. Then let's. But I won't say yes. Don't you understand? I'll never let any external force help me reach the pre-celestial stage. Nonsense. This has to end. If I can't be perfect, I'd rather die. Becoming a pre-celestial master has become my obsession. If I can't break the limits myself, there will be no bright future for me. It won't work even if you knock me out and take me back forcibly. I have plenty of ways to kill myself during the demonic enlightenment. Are you insane, Why you? No madness, no survival. I know you think the best for me, but I'm determined to reach the pre-celestial stage by myself. Or I'd rather die. I'm always proud of you, father. And I want you to be proud of me someday as well. The new generation of the GE family must exceed the last one every time. How can it stop at me? Why you? It's all my fault. You're having a tough time catching up with me because I'm too powerful. Ha. Huh. What a stubborn brat, but that's my boy. Sorry. Your boy's dead. Fine, I'll give you another two years. If you can't make a breakthrough in two years, there's nothing you can do to stop me from taking you back to the Shima sect. Thank you, father. Ah. What happened to your face, master? It's fine. 
I was worried that GEE might suspect me, so I destroyed my true face under the mask. That way, I could try my luck when I had to take the mask off. But GEE didn't suspect me at all. I overestimated him. With that sense of precaution, I don't think he can win Su Min how insightful you are, Master. Finger of Nirvana. But that was too risky. What if GEE didn't listen to you and take you away forcibly? You don't know men, Chinger. A man would only be moved by two things. His sworn brother takes a fatal strike for him. And his biological child sees him as a role model and wants to be someone like him. GEE -E is close to his son, so it's easier for him to be moved and free me. You understood him right after meeting him. How great you are, master. Enough of the chit-chat. I messaged by Su Yuan before taking care of Lu Qingmei. She should be waiting at the foot of Guanin Mountain now. Let's go meet her. Sure. Let's go. You came early, Miss Bai. I told you to come at dawn. What did you do, Charming Jay Child? You messaged me that you'd do something big tonight, and then pre-celestial martial artists were fighting outside of Datong City. My people dared not to go closer to avoid exposing themselves, but they saw that Lu Qing may cast Joyous Buddha Incarnation to fight someone. They went up to the site after the fight, but found no traces the process doesn't matter as long as the result is good. As for the result, Lu Qing Mei is dead, and people from the Xin Ma sect were gone. You'll be the next leader of the Bliss Temple. Are you happy now? What? Lu Qing Mei is dead? But my people didn't find any corpses. Is she really dead? Believe it or not, I've completed my task. People from the Maqing Sick will come to you later. Don't forget what you promised, Miss Bai. Charming Jade Child is mysterious and unpredictable, but he always keeps his promises. It's enviable that the Maqing Sect has such an uncanny talent. Let's go back to ask the sect leader for arts. M Master, slow down. I told you to come back to me, but you refused. Do you need a shot of finger of Nirvana? No, I just want to fly with you. Fine. We're not in a hurry since the business is done. I'll take it slow with you. Wow. You're so nice, Master. I love you. Good to hear that. Let's go. I feel like I forgot something. Well, it can't be important since I've forgotten about it. Never mind. On the other side, I haven't fought a pre-celestial martial artist for a long time. That was nice. On their way back to Datong City, what's your next move, Sky 3? It's pointless to stay in Datong City since Xitagarba has found me. I plan to return to Jiangling City. Speaking of Xitagarba, I keep feeling like I forgot something, but I can't recall it. Something must have happened between Xitagarba and GE Huayu, or they wouldn't let us bump into. No. It's not about that. Damn. Where's my silver? GE Huayu hasn't paid me yet. A few days later, watching sect, I didn't expect Lu Qingmei was such a dissolute woman. She and Dang Hongchen were like two extremes. She had hooked up with two of her sect's arch rivals. Not to mention the father-son sharing thing. What a slew of a him. I mean, she was shameless. Evil sex have a bad reputation because of people like her. Thanks to her lust, I found a chance to incite G.E. Huayu into a fight with her. We got all the goodies at no cost. Master Xie Yin is the best. Well done, you too. What reward do you want? As long as it's within a reasonable scope, I'll make it happen. I want you to caress my head. Here, here. It's my duty to think the best for our sect. Besides, you've given me an artifact. I shouldn't ask for more. However, my progress on Finger of Flowery Swords has reached a bottleneck. I couldn't make a breakthrough no matter how hard I tried. I rushed back here in the hope that you might enlighten me. He really tried his best. I can vouch for him. Makes sense. Withering Strike is the watershed. If you can break through this bottleneck, you'll reach the pre-celestial stage in no time. 
Tell me what to do then, you. Uh, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. What to do? Previous sect leader Wen Tingyun invented finger of flowery swords himself. Nearly no one had mastered it besides himself because the prerequisites are too hard to meet. So there's no well-known experience to use for reference. You've been very talented to learn Withering Strike. Sect leader Wen must have given you his blessing. Different foundation arts have different ways to break through. Methods that worked on others may not work on you. I don't know finger of flowery swords well, so I can't help you. That was unexpected. Can I only be stuck at the ninth level of the post-celestial stage and say goodbye to the pre-celestial stage? Is that how a pretty man like me goes down? Master, it's rare to see you frustrated like this. That's impressive. There's hope for you. There are written breakthrough methods for all foundation arts. If it's not in the Book of Finger of Flowery Swords, you can check other books at the Depository of Martial Arts Manuals. Wen Tingyun invented Finger of Flowery Swords himself after all. Perhaps he wrote it in another book. Be patient even if you can't find it. You're gifted enough to break through naturally. It's only a matter of time. Looks like that's all I can do now. Thanks for the comfort, you. I'll give you some time to rest well. I can encourage Blue Joker to write new books as well. The latter sentence is the whole point, right? Only the most beautiful men can cultivate finger of flowery swords. I should have known that you wouldn't know much about it. According to her, no one can help you besides Wen Tingyun, right? Wen Tingyun was the 48th sect leader. He had gone for centuries. Looks like searching for clues at the Depository of Martial Arts Manuals is my only option now. I hope Mr. Wen liked writing his autobiography or whatnot. What are you looking for? Finger of Flowery Swords records that the 48th sect leader, Wen Tingyun, wrote. I'm not picky. Show me everything relevant. Wen Tingyun, there are no records specific in Finger of Flowery Swords, but there are some books about him. Then please relieve the interdiction for me so that I can have a look. Ha, smart kid. Follow me. The bookshelf right here is exclusive for flowery anecdotes. I've removed the interdiction. Enjoy. That many? Then I'll start. How's your little ghost? Why didn't you bring her? She wouldn't come because your heroic aura frightened her and she did something bad the last time she saw you. Is that so? I thought I could teach her about some secret cultivation methods for ghosts of beauty. No need. This seems to be a travelogue that Wen Tingyun wrote when he was traveling the world. He met numerous beautiful women during the trip and slept in the same bed with them. What the hell? Experience in Snow Mountain, trapped in an ice cave with the Princess of Snow Tribe. Warming each other face to face and naked, met noble twins on the way to the Tang Empire, having fun and cultivating with the twins in a hot spring, the youngest female disciple of the Huanchi sect captured innocent girls to test her drugs. After subduing her, he used his body as the cure and detoxified the innocent girls. I didn't even know such a position. The inventor of finger of flowery swords indeed. So creative. Uh, I feel like it's been a long time. What time is it? Noon, the perfect time for lovemaking. What? Damn. How could I waste my time on a porno? No way. I can't indulge myself in this. My finger of flowery swords is waiting for me to upgrade it. Are there other books about Wen Tingyun? Not something like the flowery anecdote. I want to find the clues of how to reach the pre-celestial stage of Finger of Flowery Swords. Wen Tingyun is one of the most talented and brilliant people in the Marching Sect. There are so many legends about him that make you lose count. Are you sure not to keep reading? Legendary indeed, and I think this bookshelf should be named Wen Tingyun's Autobiography of Pickups. Just not for me. Yes, I'm sure. I came for finger of flowery swords, not for how to hook up with girls. Don't misguide me, sir. Finger of flowery swords is Wen Tingyun's most impressive masterpiece. He spent his life inventing and perfecting it. 
How can you understand its true essence without knowing Wen Tingyun well? The secret of finger of flowery swords hides in this bookshelf. I allow you to take the books back to read, but you mustn't tell anyone else about this. Look for the secret yourself. If you can't learn anything after reading all of them, you don't deserve to master it. Then accept the fact and change your foundation art. I think demonic mantra suits you as well. It'll make you ugly, but you're pretty enough. The deformation has to stop somewhere anyway. No, thanks. The writing style is amazing. Shame that I can't share it with sect leader. Could the old man be lying, master? It's a porno no matter how I see it. The imparting elder wouldn't lie to me for no reason. Maybe the porno, maybe the series of flowery anecdotes are where the secret hides. I should read them well. Okay. I can't help with that, but I can do the pep talk. In the following days, I read flowery anecdotes in the day and wrote a new book at night. The book is an ethical masterpiece inspired by Lu Qingmei. It became well received, and I received origin points from many readers. And I did find clues about finger of flowery swords. How many times have you read the pornos, master? Why are you reading them again? Are you sure the old man didn't lie to you? I can almost recite the stories after so many times of reading. I've finally found Wen Tingyun's point throughout the stories that I had ignored. Women. Flowery anecdotes are books of pickups, but he obscurely categorized beautiful women. Different types of beautiful women provide different smells of beauties. Perhaps the key to the pre-celestial stage isn't about me. It's about a certain type of beautiful woman. Wow. You even found it out in pornos? I've got the clue. Now I should find a beautiful woman who can help me reach the pre-celestial stage. It's time to say goodbye to the sect leader and go on an adventure. Are you leaving so soon? Thanks to you, I've found the method to reach the pre-celestial stage with finger of flowery swords. I should tour the Han Empire to seek the chance. In this case, off you go. Oh, right. Shinsi messaged me that she'd return to the marching sect today. Are you sure not to stay for a while longer to reunite with her? No, no, I've called a carriage, and it's bad to keep it waiting. I should go. Why use rainbow shift to catch a carriage? I'm back, master. Shinsi? How's it going with Xie Yan? He hasn't sent any messages for a while. Did something go wrong during the Bliss Temple operation? He settled it, don't you know? Now he'll tour the Han Empire to reach the pre-celestial stage. You could have seen him if you had come a bit earlier. Huh? I saw a rainbow flashed by. Was it him? H. He ran away? He must have done it on purpose. I was thinking about rewarding him tonight with new positions. That's his bad luck. Damn it. I think I saw someone in the sky, but I didn't have the time to check if it was Chin Chinxi, whatever. I gotta run. Wait for me, master. Chin Chinxi would drain me if she caught me, and I want a healthy kidney. I won't even meet her if I can't get on top of her and reach the pre-celestial stage. By the way, who's this beautiful woman we're looking for, master? According to flowery anecdotes, there are different smells of beauties that beautiful women can provide. Enthusiastic smell of beauties is thick and aggressive, and it can be fast converted to flowery sword power. While gentle smell of beauties is tranquil and constant, and it's friendly to cultivators who are not good at flirting. I need an innocent, stunning, divine woman to help me reach the pre-celestial stage. Such a woman's smell is so pure that it's the best to break through the bottleneck. I can obtain it by winning her heart. Hmm, enthusiastic, gentle, divine, I can't understand at all. How should we find her? Don't worry. I have an idea. We rarely get some leisure time, so let's take it slow. Shame that you knows me too well, and she thinks we're superior and subordinate. Otherwise, she'll be my best choice. Where should we go first? Perhaps we should visit my parents in my hometown. Visiting the parents? It's so soon. 
I didn't notice this when I accepted the original C.A.N.'s memory, but now that I'm on my way back home. Are we close, master? Not yet. Are we close, master? Not yet. Are we close, master? Not yet. Is the original C.A.N.'s hometown called Farthest Village? It's like 10,000 miles away from the marching sect. Master, not, I know. Not yet. You must be tired. It's your first time going so far away from home. I'm not tired. You are, master. I finally know how capable Ching Shinxi is. She found the original Xie Yin from nowhere and managed to take him back to the marching sect. What kind of good luck and fortitude one has to have to do that? No wonder she could reach the pre-celestial stage. I've made some peony cakes for you, Mr. Xie. Still fresh and hot. Try some. Thank you, Ms. Wang. We're close to our destination and happen to catch a ride on the way. Perhaps you should be my man since you like my cakes so much. I'll guarantee a rich life for the rest of your life. How can you take advantage of Master again? Take my roar. Howl. Why is his carriage colder than others? I'm too shy to stay in this carriage if you say that again, M.S. Wang. The carriage owner is a beauty lover, though. She always comes on to me. You're such a prim man. Forget it. Find me any time when you come around. I'll keep my door open for you. M.S. Wang was a rich man's wife in Rock City, a place near the Sia village. She's tough. She lost her husband at such a young age, but managed to clutch her dead husband's business and run it even better. A typical able woman. I don't care. Even I'm prettier than M.S. Wang. Not to mention Chin Chinsi. I only care if your female friends are top-notch beauties. What are you thinking all day, Chinger? Someone came to harass you every time after she came. It's annoying. See? He's here again. It's just a bachelor that dreams of having a girlfriend. Let's sympathize with him. Are you here to have a chat with me again, Mr. Zhou? Ha. An unworldly toy boy like you would never understand the dark side of this world without my lecture. Ever heard of the evil Wuying bandits? Their base is right ahead of us. You'd better stay in this carriage all the way to avoid causing any trouble for me. And don't think about hitting on M.S. Wang either. Nobody cares if you die, but nothing can happen to M.S. Wang. Only a gallant man like me can protect M.S. Wang. Is M.S. Wang looking at me? Ah, my eyes. My eyes hurt. I'm going to be blind. Who the hell sneak attacked me? What's his problem? Don't listen to him, Mr. Xie. I've asked around, and the wooing bandits are feeling peaceful these days. I wouldn't pass by this place now if not. What's wrong with Mr. Zhou? He picks fights with Mr. Xie and acts all the time weirdly. Is he possessed? I'll surely listen to you, M.S. Wang. The rest should be over soon. We'd better set off as soon as possible. Sure. I'll gather the men. Mr. Zhou, you, you should go to temples and ask for monk's help. Sai, M.S. Wang. This is not over, C.A.N. I'll get even with you. He ran away. I haven't absorbed all his life energy yet. He'd be dead if you did. They do this every single day, Master. Aren't you annoyed? The pendant is dirty. Let me give it a good wipe. Use concealment pendant we're taking their ride and eating their cakes. Let's not complain about that small problem. Fine. I only care about your comfort. I'll absorb less life energy next time. Master? SSH, something wrong is happening in the front. I run this mountain and I planted the trees. If you wish to pass this road, leave us the toll. The wooing bandits. They always kill others without blinking an eye. Oh, no. We're doomed. Wooing bandits? I was told that they wouldn't rob people. Why did all this happen? 
What's the big deal? With my presence, bandits are nothing to be afraid of. Wuying bandits are vicious thugs. Their chief is at the fourth level of the post-celestial stage, and he's one of the strongest nearby. I'm only at the third level, not a match for him. I can only make a breach for MS Wang to run. Get them. Ha. I've been planning for such a long time to rob you rich asses. There's no way for you to run. Chief. Kidnap the woman on the carriage in the middle. She's the leader, and we can exchange her for ransom. Kill all the others. Whoever gets closer to her will be beheaded. Don't worry, Ms. Wan. I won't let anything happen to you. Mr. Zhou. Ha ha ha. The small fleet we just robbed didn't even have a woman. Now we have three. We need the old one to exchange for money. You can have the other two. Ha ha ha. Thanks, Chief. Get off me. Help. D don't kill me. Please. Help. Ms. Wang. Chief? I'm in a hurry. Please make the way. This man, I couldn't sense his presence in such a short distance. Is he strong? But of course, I can't argue if you insist on blocking the road. Everyone fears us men of ferocity and blood, but he's still smiling. Besides, judging from his clothes, he must come from a rich and powerful family. Even if we manage to kill him, his family may hunt us down. Sure. I'm making the way. I can only do things the hard way, huh? I was too blind to see that you got this fleet covered, sir. We're making the way now. It's a shame to let that woman go, but I just robbed someone else. One can never be too careful. My guts tell me that I can't mess with this man. Release that woman. Chief? This is just a misunderstanding. We'll leave. Huh? Why don't you play by the book? I'm so scared, Mr. Siet. Ah. Huh? You are wise, buddy. I admire your ability to adjust to changing circumstances. What a cunning man. With such abilities, why does he have to be a bandit? Well, I'm flattered. I'm just a bumpkin who can only make a living this way. I only rob rich people, not the poor ones. Does he plan to uphold this? Looks like he is indeed tough to handle. I must send him away and think about if I should change a mountain to live on later. That's obvious. The poor don't have money for you to rob. Do you think rich people get money by doing nothing? Do you think what you're doing is right? You're right, sir. I'll take my brothers to retire and gradually learn to be good men. I'll help you remove the obstacle first. You. Remove that tree. Oh. I see. He's too slippery. I can't find an excuse to start a fight. Don't you think it's absurd for bandits to be reasonable? You're right, sir. I am a clown. Then play by the book. Demonic art of Ogdoet tribulations, abomination. Don't you want to hit me? Don't suppress your desires. Come on. Don't feel sorry for me. Ha. We're polite to you, but you keep judging us. I've had enough. Abomination 80%, this brat is simply irritating, chief. That's more like it. Villains shouldn't play nice. It bothers both you and me. I won't fall for your tricks. Who are you to rob people? You messed with the wrong man. Abomination. I'll kill you. Go to hell. Skin him alive and Deb won him. Guardian of Rebound Zen, ha ha. He's that powerful? Why would I attack him involuntarily? Something is off here. Ouch. Ah. Something isn't right. Retreat. Did I allow you to leave? Abomination on, abomination is a great way to get points and tease the enemy. The system never has to worry if my taunt will fail. I'll kill you. Go to hell. Ah. Ah. 
Origin point gained fear, 0.01 points Gue Ringio, Origin points gained adoration, 0.01 points Wang Tsuelan, Origin point gained respect, 0.01 points Zhou Jie. All of you are healthy and strong. You should work for your country instead of being bandits. Exhausted so soon? You should exercise more. Wait. I was wrong. I won't be abandoned anymore. Spare me, please. It's too late. Be a good man in your next life. Mr. Xie. You're so good, ah. Uh. Ms. Wang. I've taken care of the bandits, Ms. Wang. Let's go on our trip. I didn't expect you'd be so capable, taking care of all the wooing bandits alone and saving me. I want you so bad. Uh, why do I feel cold? And my head hurts, too. No need. I'm grateful enough to hitchhike. We're even now. T thank you, Mr. Sia. Without you, the fleet would have been, I'm sorry that I didn't know your true strength and offended you before. Please don't mind my rude behavior. Never mind, Mr. Zhou. Ms. Wang is shocked. You should take her to the carriage to have a rest. Huh? Me? I'm such a nice guy. Can they fall in love with each other? Will Wang fall for him after seeing your capability? I don't know. You never know when you'll fall in love. In the crowd once and again, I look for her in vain. When all at once I turn my head, I find her there where lantern light is dimly shed. We went on for another five days and finally saw a glimpse of the Sia village. Thankfully, there was no other trouble on our way there. And I'm ready to say goodbye to M.S. Wong. Are you leaving, Mr. Sia? Don't you think about marrying me? I'm okay with you taking concubines in. I'm afraid I have to fail you, M.S. Wong. I'm a man of freedom. You saved my life, Mr. Xie, but I can't repay you. All I can do now is to wish you good luck. Sigh, too bad that I'm not a woman so that I can marry you. Don't do that even if you were a woman. Your beauty works on both genders, master. They are interesting people. I wish them to live a happy life together. The Xie village, according to my memory, this should be the Xie village that the original Xie Yin was born. Why don't you go in, master? Are you having an emotional moment? No, I was an outsider, but Xia Yin and I look identical. Perhaps he's another me in this parallel world. In that case, his family could be my family. I feel a bit awkward all of a sudden. Hey! Isn't he? That man? That face? He's. I thought he'd never come back. What's going on? Are you wanted, sir? Big news. The kidnapped Xia Yin is back. God bless. The most foolish son of the Xia family is back. I thought Xia Yin was sold again and again. I didn't expect he'd still be alive. Good-looking people are lucky. How annoying. You're slandering him. Mr. Xia Yin is not foolish. He, uh, I'm not foolish. I was naive. Those people are just jealous of my beauty. Don't mind them. Whatever. I'll meet my family sooner or later. Yes. I'll meet your family sooner or later. It'll be fulfilling the original Xie Yan's wish, or I wouldn't come here. Xie Yan? You brat. Yan. It's really you. Xie Yan's cousin, Xie Yan's cousin, Xie Yan's mother, Xie Yan's father. I thought you forgot where your family is, you brat. When I break your penis, no one will elope with you again. You don't have to break his penis, my dear. This brat has broken our hearts deeply. Just beat him hard until he's half dead. Don't be so angry. It's good that Yan comes back. Don't frighten him. Apologize to your mother, you brat. Sia Yan's aunt, Sia Yan's uncle, this brat deserves a beating. I'll help you if you can't do it yourself. We'll dump him in the ancestral hall, and he'll reflect himself there without meals. How could you leave without telling anyone, Yin? I'm so worried about you. 
Our family has been a mess since you left, Yan. But we're glad to see you safe and sound. Wow, Master's family indeed. They are all beautiful. Ugh, I, I am ugly. Sia's mansion, the original Sia Yan was very close with his family. They act horrible, but they're actually happy with my return. Oh, right. Where's Ran? Is she out? The original Sia Yan had a little sister named Sia Ran, and they were close. Why haven't I seen her? Ah, Ran, what happened? It's not a bad thing. Sigh. There was an old nun who could fly passing by. She said she came from the Lotus Nunnery. She saw Ran and said Rant's gifted with Buddha. Then she left some gold and took Ran away forcibly. Lotus Nunnery? The Lotus Nunnery is equally famous as the Fanchin sect, one of the three major decent Buddhistic sects in the Han Empire, but... Bah! Stop talking nonsense. My sweet girl will never be a nun. That nun forcibly took the money into our hands. Nobody cares about the money. A nunnery? Does Ran want to be a nun? Huh? Will she be bald? Ran is much better than you. She sends us letters when she's away from home. The nuns are a bit bossy, but they treat Ran well. Ran still has her hair, but the Lotus Nunnery is in Luoyang City. It's too far away. We're worried. Good to hear that. How can a beautiful girl have no hair? I see. Oh, right. Xia Daoyun is from the Fanchin sect, but she still has her hair, too. I think they get to cultivate with their hair on. I should go to Luoyang City when I have a chance. If my sister doesn't live well, I'll ask for Yu's help and take her back. It's actually a good thing. I heard the villagers said that the Lotus Nunnery is a powerful sect. You must be the next after I settle down, Yin. Enough about that. There's other good news your cousin is in love with the daughter of a rich family in Rock City. Huh? Will you get married again, Master? You didn't hear anything. Congratulations. Mom, Dad. That's right. They fell in love at first sight and promised to be together forever at second sight. Soon they'll be married. Hey! Yin, wait. Go play over there, kids. Why were you saying that? Yin must have suffered a lot after that woman abducted him. You shouldn't have rushed him into a marriage right after he returned. Oops, I was just too happy. Don't mind me. Now the biggest son is booked. Those women outside will go hard on Yin for sure. We can't keep marriage from him forever. Sai, we'll talk about this later. That kid had suffered a lot outside. We can't make him feel comfortable at home. I've heard what you said. You guessed it all wrong, Master, but your parents really care about you. No wonder they didn't ask anything about my experience outside. They think I'm a ruined and abandoned boy. Fine, it's okay. At least they won't rush me into a marriage. I won't tell them about Chin Chinsi for now, in case they think I'm fine now and want to see the evil woman badly. A few days later, Xia Yan's room, why so noisy? Mr. Xia, Miss Zhang is adept with both the pen and the sword and beautiful. She's even better than your second son. Just accept her. Ba. Take a good look at your girl, Wang. Miss Zhang is nowhere close to beautiful. Her face is as big as a basin. Check out Miss Lee, Mrs. Xia. You know she's good at having kids just by looking at her figure. She'll give you a beautiful grandson as child Xia Yin for sure. Everyone. My son Xia Yin doesn't plan to get married soon. Go back to where you came from. You're breaking into my mansion. I'll call the police if you refuse to leave. My daughter is beautiful and capable of chores. She can handle loneliness and can make the family glorious. She'll be your perfect daughter-in-law. Oh my goodness. So many people want to marry you, master. My family is rich and beautiful. I'd be surprised if people don't act like this, but this is causing inconvenience to our daily life. Looks like my parents have been blocking them away for quite a while, but they failed to stop them anyway. 
Why did you come out, Yin? Everything is fine. Go back to your room. Don't listen to their nonsense. You're too young to get married. Child Xie. Miss Wan used to play with you when you were little. Do you remember her? I've been falling for you for a long time, Child Xie. Please accept my love. Don't force yourself, Yin. I'll always support whatever you decide. You can be single as long as you want. We only want you to be happy. I know. I'll handle this. You should get some rest. Check out these eight girls, child Sierra. Yeah. Tell me which one you like more, or it's best if you can take all of them. Look at me, child Sierra. Yeah. There are other options for you if you don't like girls. Don't worry. We'll talk this through. Abomination 40%, raise your hand if you love me the most. Why do I suddenly want to hit him? Is child Sia that annoying? I suddenly want to slap him. Why did I come here? What was wrong with me? Your son's reputation is ready ruined, Mr. Sia. Don't dream about ruining other families' daughters. Bye. What did you say? How dare you curse my son? So what if you're handsome? I'll never marry you. You'll die alone. What a jinx. Let's go. What do you mean? Are you fooling the Sia family? They insisted on marrying Yin, but now they're cursing him. What a bunch of psychos. Don't be angry, my son. They don't deserve your time. You don't deserve Master Sia Yin. Humph. Don't be angry. It's bad for your health. Why are you all here? Are you going out? Xiao's father is about to have a birthday party, and she wants to pick presents with me. I'll meet her family then. I'll be back at night. I'll bring you some snacks then. Bang. A man in love seems silly. What does his future wife look like? I'm so curious. Rock City. Xian. You must be waiting for a long time. I just got here. Let's go to Treasure House now. We can have a walk by the lake after buying the presents. I heard the lotuses in the lake are blossoming. The view will suit you well. Ha ha. Don't make fun of me, Xiao. Treasure House, the former painting sage once used this inkstone, and there are only two inkstones of this type in this world. It's one of our best. Would you like to take a look at it, Miss Zhu? This purity and weight, it's a great inkstone. Ha ha. It suits you well, but it's a waste if we give it to my rough father. I'll have it. Pack it up. Sure. You're talented and pretty. Only you deserve to have this legendary inkstone. We'll check out other treasures. Don't say that, Xiao. I'm blushed. Huh? I just saw an acquaintance. Wait for me here, Sia. I'll be right back. Okay. A great inkstone indeed. How beautiful the patterns are. Our VIP lost a priceless luminous pearl, sir. May we frisk you? There are many people in this store. Why would you come to me directly? Our customers are usually noble or rich. You seem to be neither of them. It's a natural thing for us to ask you. You. Whatever. I didn't do it anyway. Just frisk me. This is awful. I'll tell Sheely never come back to this place again. Found it. He hid it inside his bun, but it couldn't fool me. What? It wasn't me. I'm wronged. Stop denying. We have the evidence. Tie him lip and send him to the authority. We heard a loud noise outside. Who's making trouble here? Good timing, Constable Wong. We caught a thief and we're ready to send him to you. Oh. In this case, I'll take him away. I'm wronged. Don't move. What happened? My dear? What are you doing? Let go of him. We're arresting a thief, Miss Zhu. If you insist on coming closer, don't blame us for being rude. 
This man stole a supreme luminous pearl, which is worth 500 teals of gold. We got him red-handed, and I've arrested him. Don't worry. Wait. He's not that kind of man. There must be a misunderstanding. Let him go now. How could this toy boy disgrace Miss Zhu like that? A toy boy doesn't deserve your protection, Miss Zhu. Forget about it. Xie. Zhang Yu, the son of the captain of Rock City. I just heard something funny, young master. What is it? Why are you making it sound mysterious? That bumpkin who stole your thunder on Peony Poet's party was arrested for theft. They caught him red-handed. Isn't that funny? You always like making storms and teacups. You don't have to do that. The elder son of the Sia family only stole my thunder at the party. You don't need to do that. No bumpkin like him could be so disrespectful to you, young master. I've set him up, and I won't let him go out of prison without making him serve at least half a year. It's no big deal. I'll leave it to you. I heard people in the city called him the beautiful Jade because he's handsome and has a bit of literary talent. You mean... Jade needs carving to shape. Tell the jailer to break his limbs and ruin his face. Ha! I only wish to help the jade become greater. Jews mansion you must help Sia, Dad. He will never steal or need money. Someone must have set him up. Don't worry. I know him. I've sent people to investigate this, and there should be a result soon. My lord. My lady. How is it, Fugue? There is something wrong, my lady. People in the government office told me that the captain's mansion demanded them to make this a serious case. They can't help no matter how many nice things I said or gave to them. They returned our gifts and warned you not to meddle further, or bad things will befall you, master. Why? What? The captain's mansion? Why would he care about a random case? Did Sia offend one of them? Yes. That must be the reason. A month ago, Sia trumped Zhang Yu from the captain's mansion and won first place at the Peony Poets party. Other than that, he never met someone else from there. It must be Zhang Yu. That just made things trickier to handle. Zhang Yu is the son of the captain of the city. He always does what he wants. Even the prefecture chief would turn a blind eye to him. If that's the case, I can't help Xie Xian. Then what should we do? Xie, oh, right. He said that his cousin is now a disciple of the Lotus Nunnery. That's a powerful sect. Perhaps we can find helpers in the Lotus Nunnery. I'll go to the Xie village now, ah. Uh. Xio, you're too tired. Have some rest, and I'll handle the rest. The Lotus Nunnery is too far away and we don't know his cousin well. The chance is slim, but I shouldn't tell Shio about that. Sai, MHM, thank you, Dad. Hold on, Sia. Today is a nice sunny day. Our elder brother didn't come home last night. How could he spend the night at his girlfriend's place before getting married? It's sunny, but why am I cold? How boisterous. We've got a visitor again. Who would it be? My head is pressed. How did you know there's someone here? I'll check it out. Wait for me, master. Yin? Why is it hot again? What now? Yin. Yin. Go take Rand back. Why your brother was set up? The Lotus Nunnery is in Luoyang City. It's too far away to get helpers now. Don't baffle Yin. It's okay, Yin. We can handle it. Go get some rest. Tell me what happened. Yin, don't hide it from him. It's good to put another brain into this. Tell him. Fifteen minutes later, we have money, so he didn't need to steal. Ju's thinking should be right. He was set up because he made the captain's son upset at the party. I wish he did steal something. That way, we can pay them to release your cousin. Now that the captain's son is involved, it's not about money anyway. We can only wait for child Zhang to calm down and let Xian go. 
My poor boy. Calm down? How long do we have to wait for that? With that time, I can go to Luoyang City and take Rand back. We don't know if Rand's position is high enough to help us in the name of her sect. Even if she can, it'll take too much time on the trip, and Xi'an won't be able to survive that long. I'll handle this. How? Don't make trouble. I appreciate your thought, Yin, but don't do anything reckless. I haven't got a chance to tell you what I gained in my adventure. Now I'm a high-level disciple in the Marching Sect. Do you know the Marching Sect? It's a sect as strong as the Lotus Nunnery. Xian's problem isn't big. I can handle it. Yin, you, you leaned on a powerful sect? Good job, Yin. Xian will be saved. Can't you find another expression to describe my adventure, Mom? Yin. Please save Xian, Yin. I'm begging you. Don't worry. I won't let anything happen to him. I'll go take him back. D, do you plan to break into the prison and take him out directly, Master? T, then you should switch your identity. You use G, E, Y, use identity and let the Sheen Mossack take the blame. The captain and his son crossed the line. Let's kill them. Ah, I'm dizzy. You're getting craftier, Chinger. But the main world is much more complicated than small worlds. This relates to the court. We'll get into fatal trouble if we can't handle this well. I can stay out of the trouble, but my family can't. Xia Xian is convicted as a criminal after all. Unless he disappears from the world, the court will hunt him down anyway. He can't escape forever. There are too many talents in the court, and I'm no match for them for now. Finger of Nirvana, I see. So we're going to find evidence to prove Xia Xian is innocent? Not that simple. Our enemy is clearly good at playing this trick. He won't leave traces for us to find, or he'd just beat the hell out of Xia Xian instead of putting him into prison. Besides, I never want to play by others' rules unless I have to. It'll put me in a passive position, and it's stupid. Then what should we do? I don't have any idea. We'll make it through the back door. Rock City. Here we are. So you meant to pull some strings. I thought it was. The Marching Sect is one of the nine major evil sections it has all kinds of connections. After my trip to Kafong City, you thought it was time and gave me a contact book of the Marching Connections in the Han Empire. She said the people on the book wouldn't refuse my request when I'm in trouble as long as it doesn't hurt their interests. Zhao Han, the prefecture chief in Rock City, happens to be one of the Marching Sect's allies. The book also says he knew Elder Wu Lingxian. I've heard about your stories, Charming Jade Child. Now that I know you live up to your reputation. Elder Wu Yi talked about you before. She said that you're the future of the Marching Sect and have a bright future ahead of you. Zhao Han, prefecture chief in Rock City. She flattered me. I'm here to ask for your help, sir. Please do me a favor. The hell Wu Lingxian would do that. Oh? What is it? A few days ago, my cousin went into the city to shop with his fiancée and look for birthday presents for his future father-in-law. But someone accused him of stealing, arrested him, and put him in prison. I know my cousin. He's an honest scholar who'd never do such a thing. Besides, the Sia family is far from poor. So his fiancée looked into it and found out something suspicious. Fifteen minutes later, I see. I've worked with Captain Zhang for years, so I know him. Even if his son is involved, he probably doesn't know anything about it. Enjoy your tea, child Sia. I'll send someone to the captain's mansion and ask about what happened. We'll know the answer soon. Thank you, sir. Isn't the prefecture chief the highest executive officer here? Why does he need to ask the captain's opinion? Something isn't right. Zhang Yu is spoiled, but his father is a good man. Huh? Captain Zhang was once a hero who had won many exploits for the court, but he failed to reach the pre-celestial stage. The court gave him Sky Seal Mantra as a reward, and it made him a fake pre-celestial master. 
He's not a real pre-celestial martial artist, but he's still much stronger than ordinary level 9 post-celestial martial artists. But because of Sky Seal Mantra, he'll never reach the pre-celestial stage. A fake pre-celestial master is good for Rock City anyway. His presence simply comforts the people, which is much better than a level 9 post-celestial martial artist like me. Haha. Ha. I see. Comfort the people? More like bully them. No wonder the captain can be so arrogant. The prefecture chief can't discipline him because his cultivation stage is lower. But the prefecture chief looks leisurely and not afraid of the captain. They must be helping and guarding against each other at the same time. It shouldn't be hard for me to get Xie out in that case. The captain's mansion, you were too reckless. Zhang Zhijin, the captain of Rock City, you arrested Xie Xian before finding out if he had backers. Now they're on to us. Who'd know that Bumpkin's missing brother would be from the marching sect and returned at this hour? And I didn't want to do it, but he messed with me first. I've crippled him already. Can we muddle through at the prefecture chief's place? We'll play nice, apologize, and give out the people who gave you the idea and crippled Xie Xian. The marching sect is an evil sect. What if Xie Yin insists on getting even with me? So what? I pay the prefecture chief respect by taking a step back. Zhao Han won't force me to punish you for a disciple from the marching sect. His relationship with the marching sect isn't that close. As for that damn charming Jay child, he's just a junior in the martial world. Perhaps he'll be more threatening if he's facing another sect, but we're people of the court. Unless the marching sect plans to rebel, he'll be no threat. I see. I know what to do. Zhao Han is at the ninth level of the post-celestial stage, but unlike me, he may become a pre-celestial master someday. I can only hold him back for a while, so stop making trouble for me. I don't want Zhao Han to take it all out on us later. I know. That's why I never step over his bottom line. Rest assured, father. Good. Let's meet Zhao Han and that Xie Yin then. Reception Hall of Prefecture Chief's Mansion. I'm sorry for what happened, Mr. Zhao. I didn't educate my son well enough. This must be charming Jade Child. Now that I see you, I know you do live up to your reputation. You flattered me, Mr. Zhang. Frankly, my son didn't know what happened to your cousin. Some flunkies did it to fawn my son. It's all their idea. In fact, my son is also a victim. I've brought you the related personnel. You can dispose of them at will. I see. We can talk about this later. Can you release my cousin first? I don't buy that at all. Bring child Xie Xian and all the related personnel here. This is a misunderstanding, but it did happen because of me. I'm sorry, charming Jade Child. Please forgive me. These are the servant who deceived me and the constables involved. What happened to Mr. Xie, Mr. Zhang? Sai, the evil servant bribed the prison guards behind my back and hurt Mr. Xie. I'm really sorry. If you want to vent your anger, I'll give you the all rights transfer agreements of him and his whole family. Ha, huh, Mr. Zhang, it seems that the servant has done a great job on my cousin, huh? Butler Zhang has worked diligently for my family for over a decade, charming Jay Child. But my dad hands him over to you to comfort you. It was ungrateful of you to be surly and sarcastic. Stop that, Zhang Yu. Please forgive him. Zhang has looked after him since he was little, but that doesn't justify what he did. You can decide Zhang's fate. As for your cousin, I will pay for his future medical expenses and try my best to treat him. Are you satisfied with the arrangements, charming Jade Child? Satisfied? What do you think? Demonic art of Ogdo at Tribulations. Tribulation of Beast, no. No. I, it hurts. It hurts so much. Look at what my cousin looks like. Do you really think we can reconcile, Mr. Zhang? What kind of evil art is this? It turned people into such beasts. He does live up to his reputation. I knew it. P. 
People from evil sex are always unreasonable. Send some servants to take my cousin to the backyard, Mr. Zhao. Take child Xie Xian to a nice room and fetch the best doctors in the city. I understand what you feel right now, child Xie, but the culprit did deceive Zhang Yu. Now since you've punished them, it's time to call it a day. My son failed to restrain his men well. I promise I will teach and discipline him. Yes, that's right, Zhao Han doesn't seem to want to get involved. If this brat dares to go against me again, fail to restrain his men well? Do I look stupid? Without his acquiescence, how could a servant dare to collude with the constables and hurt my cousin? I don't buy it. Any normal man can see you're sacrificing the servant to keep your son out of this, Mr. Zhang. But since Mr. Zhao told me to call it a day, I'll do it for his sake. Demonic Art of Agdo at Tribulations Abomination Mr. Zhao wants to mediate between us? Then don't blame me for using abomination. Abomination 60% Xie Yin, I've had enough of you. Sacrificing the servant? So what if it's true? What's wrong with you, my son? Ha! I want to respect your opinion, Mr. Zhao, but it seems they don't agree. Mr. Zhang, Charming Jade Child is the victim here. That was only his speculation, and he agreed not to pursue this. Why did your son show such an imperious attitude? It's not like him. Perhaps your impressive skill frightened him. Please forgive him. What's wrong with you? Apologize to Charming J. Child. Why? I only want to kill him now. How domineering, Child Zhang. Can't I tell the truth? Is that how the captain's mansion treats people who know the truth? But I'm afraid the strength gap between our cultivation base is too wide for you to kill me. Abomination 100%. I'll kill you, Xie Yan. Zhang Yu? Guardian of Rebound Zen Rebound. Stop. Xie Yan, you, you. How do you discipline your son, Zhang Zhijin? Zhang Yu just attacked Xie Yan in the prefecture chief's mansion. It's not hard to know how domineering he would be normally. Looks like I was too tolerant with you. My son. Xie Yan. How dare you hurt my son? What? No, child Zhang attacked me first. I was just fighting back. If you must blame someone, blame your son for being too weak to withstand my strike. Good, Xie Yan. I didn't expect you to be so bold and vengeful. I'll get even with you. I'm in charge of the Sia village. Your family would better behave yourselves from now on, or I'll have plenty of legal ways to teach you a lesson. You crossed the line, Zhang Zhijin. How could you threaten him with the law? I've paid you enough respect, Mr. Zhao. Since Sia Yin refuses to accept my goodwill while I was being nice, I won't have mercy on him. You'd better stay out of this to keep our friendship. Enough. This is over. Ha. I respect you by not killing that bastard right now. As for the rest of this, you'd better stay away. Zhang Zhijin keeps sending me origin points of hate. He will revenge on the Sia village for sure if he can't do anything to me. I wonder if I can kill a fake pre-celestial martial artist. Even if I can, it's too costly. Killing an official will bring me much trouble. Even if I kill him in someone else's disguise, the court will suspect me when they know it. To avoid future trouble, I can only find an excuse to kill him. That old bastard is furious, but he restrained the urge to kill me anyway. Well, he asked for this. How domineering, Mr. Zhang. Mr. Zhao only advised you in a friendly way, but you retorted him. I don't see any respect. Abomination. You're asking for this, you bastard. You want to hit him? Don't you take my word seriously at all, Zhang Zhijin? Shut up, Zhao Han. What did you say? Don't you dare say that again. Go to hell, you bastard. Web novel. How dare you, Zhang Zhijin? Get lost. No one can save you today. You're dead meat. Ninth moves of Sky Seal, Tide Strike, Guardian of Rebound Zen. 
Your defensive art is tough to handle, but it's okay. I can tear your shell apart. Cough. He's mad, charming Jay Child. We can't defeat a fake pre-celestial martial artist. Let's retreat now. Don't worry. I'll report this to the court after today. I'll prosecute him for assaulting a supervisor and attempts of rebellion. Heal yourself, Mr. Zhao. Leave him to me. As a good citizen, it's my duty to take down criminals. Ninth moves of Sky Seal. Do you think I can't break your shell, little bastard? Chi gathering from all directions. What are you doing? How slow you are. Child's yeah. No. You can't deal with this skill by force. It's useless. All your strikes will become my power to blast your shell. Absorb. This skill of Sky Seal Mantra can absorb all the attacking power. Even if it doesn't absorb external power, the shock wave it'll release later will be ten times powerful than usual. Your defensive art can't withstand it. Since I can't stop him from releasing his ultimate skill, I'll keep striking. Finger of flowery swords. Bend at will. The harder you hit me right now, the more miserable your death will be later. You can't defeat him, child Sia. Let's retreat before he finishes this move. We'll have plenty of time dealing with him later. I can't defeat him? Don't underestimate me, Mr. Zhao. I never flinch. The boom may be a bit shocking later. You'd better evaluate people from the prefecture chief's mansion and tell servants to stay away from this room. I don't want to hurt the innocent. Oh, right. Take my cousin with you, too. I may not be able to control the destruction scale. I'm on it. Run and don't force yourself to confront that madman if things don't go your way. I'll call the soldiers to kill him after I'm out of here. There's no perfect martial art. There's no perfect martial art. Finger of flowery swords, withering strike. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Chi gathering from all directions, huh? Finger of Nirvana. Finger of flowery swords, withering strike X2, absorb now. I'll make you full enough to blast then. No. No. That didn't kill you? You're lucky. Powerful indeed. It looks like he can keep fighting. I couldn't defeat him if I hadn't got the cheats. What did you do to me, Xia Yan? Oh, seems you're sober now. Abomination went off? I didn't do anything. You went mad all of a sudden. Anyway, you're done. Finger of flowery swords. Bend at will. You assaulted your supervisor, the prefecture chief. Your son bullied the civilians. Both of you bullied the weak and did harm to Rock City. All these crimes are enough to make you spend the rest of your life in prison. Demonic art of Ogdoet Tribulations Tribulation of Hungry Ghosts and Xia Yan, you. How dare you, you evil being. Damn it. Ah. I was wrong, charming Jade Child. Please spare me. Looks like the blast drained him. He has no internal power to deal with the tribulation of hungry ghosts. Spare you? Would you spare me if our situations are reversed? Have you thought about this when you destroyed others' life at will? I can't kill him. It'd be more convenient for me to kill him, but I don't know what the prefecture chief would think of me if I do. I can't take the blame. Besides, even if I spare you now, Mr. Zhao and the court won't. Mr. Zhao may not be as innocent as I saw earlier. Anyway, Zhang Zhijing is more useful for me when he's alive. But there are different ways of living. No, no. Please don't. Ah. Uh, I've destroyed your cultivation base. You can't hurt anyone from now on. I can make sure he won't rise again in this case. Now let's see if the prefecture chief will kick me down the ladder. How's it going, child Xia? Mr. Zhao. As you can see, 
I've taken care of him. The captain's limbs are crippled, and his internal power pool is destroyed. He's lost the ability to move. You defeated Zhang Zhijing alone, Chao Xie. The future of the Maoqing sect, charming Jade Child indeed. Thanks to you, no calamity was caused. I'm flattered, sir. Good. Looks like he's not an ungrateful man. He was really tough to handle, tough. My palm still hurts. You helped the court and Rock City eliminate a threat. I'll report this to the court and get you rewards. No need for that. It's my duty to help the court. I'll be blushed if you make it so formal. Why you, ha ha ha. I even wanted to post honor rolls to tell the world about your heroic deed. But since you prefer to keep a low profile, I'll drop it. However, I'll say nice things about you to my colleagues. Thanks, Mr. Zhao. I heard Zhang Zhijing loves gold and has a secret vault in his mansion. Don't miss that during the confiscation. Don't worry. I'll search every inch of his house. How dare you? We dug out a corpse in the ruins ahead. After the autopsy, we confirmed it was Zhang Yu from the captain's mansion. Oh. Looks like Zhang Zhijing didn't protect his son during our fight. Zhang Yu committed lots of crimes when his father had power. He deserves it. No need to care about him. Mr. Zhao, the criminal passed out. It seems like his blood rushed into his brain and caused a stroke. A stroke won't free him from the punishment. Take him away. He'll suffer the criminal penalty as long as he is still alive. Sigh, no wonder he'd assault you and attempt to rebel. He's so irritable. Oh, right, Mr. Zhao. I've yearned for the court's martial arts for quite a while. May I have the luck to learn some? The court's martial arts are very different from sect arts, but the martial arts are all exclusive. Unless you become an official in the court, you can't learn them. Is that so? Then what kind of official can I be? Could you recommend me? Are you serious? Ahem. You may not know the hidden rules because you're new in the martial world, child Sierra. Yeah. A sect disciple can't become an official or you'll be betraying your sect. I told you that because I think of you as my ally the court doesn't want core disciples from sects to join them either. They don't want disciples from the major sect to dominate over time. That will make things inconvenient for the court, you know what I'm saying. I see. Sorry for my abruptness. I only said that on the spur of the moment. I'm okay with the result. Then what about my cousin? He's talented and handsome. What a great subordinate. Think about it. I've heard of Xie Xian's reputation indeed, but his injury, fine, I can make him a private advisor in the prefecture chief's mansion as long as he can recover. Great. I heard Zhang Zhijing illegally embezzled many fine farmland and houses. I assume you'd like to fill them into your, I mean, confiscate them. Could you sell some to me? You're crossing the line, child Xie. I already promised you to give your cousin a job. That's unexpected. I openly recommended my cousin. Do you think I'm asking for something in return for my contribution? It'll be your favor to me if my cousin only has a pretty face, but he's a real talent. Ah, my hand hurts. It got hurt during my fight with Zhang Zhijing. Child Xie, you fine. We have this conversation because you defeated Zhang Zhijing, and he did have 100 acres of fine farmland in a suburb of Rock City. I'll sell some to you in the name of the government. How about 100 copper coins for each acre? Thank you, Mr. Zhao. It's getting late. I should take my cousin, wait. Huh? Er, child Xie, how's Elder Wu? Has she ever talked about me? Huh? Is there something between you two? Don't say it like that. Show her some respect. I simply admire Elder Wu. Hmm, I admire your taste, Mr. Zhao. You know nothing. Wu Lingxian was the most beautiful woman among the five beauties of her generation. Even Qing Shuani from the Fanqing sect and Di Qingqing, the grand princess of the Han Empire, couldn't compete with her. But even heaven was jealous of her beauty, which was a shackle for her. 
She turned to demonic mantra, but that didn't stop her from making a name for herself. Sigh, for her admirers, she will always be like the bright moon in the sky. Seriously? People who cultivate demonic mantra will become uglier and uglier. Judging by her current appearance, she could be very pretty before, but did you admirers know that she fell for an inconspicuous man named Jigutsuan? Ahem. I talk too much. Since you're in a hurry to go home, and your cousin can't move right now, I'll send a carriage to take you home if you don't mind. Finger of Nirvana, Xie Xian, is severely injured. Luckily, you can heal him. His face is covered with blood. The prefecture chief knew I could heal him, or else he wouldn't use me to suppress Zhang Zhijian. Hey! Get up, sleepyhead. But he didn't expect I'd cripple Zhang Zhijian. The prefecture chief must be laughing out loud right now. He tricked you into working for him for free. How cunning. Not for free. We just didn't say the rewards out loud. That's why the prefecture chief agreed to give me rewards so easily. Even so, I'm upset with the way he treated you. I'll fool him when I become stronger. The prefecture chief might have reached the pre-celestial stage when you're stronger. Save it, please. Hmm, why in? Oh, you woke up. Is this my terminal lucidity? I see Yen. But I miss my lovely Shio more. Why must I see a man before I die? I want Shio. Get up. Do you know how much space you take up? I can't even stretch my legs. Yin? Are you real? I'm still alive? Huh? What? I'll leave you here since you're okay now. Go home yourself. The others will tell you what happened. Did you save me, Yin? Why are you leaving? How about my wedding? Aren't you coming? Xie Xian is saved. I'm going to Luoyang City to visit Ran. Don't miss me. I'm not, but I left my gift on the carriage. You should go home now. Gift? A stack of papers. An induction agreement and a title deed? Oh, right. Tell my father to send a letter to Ran. Tell her I'm coming and don't leave Luoyang City these days. What are you doing? You'll die, Yin. Where's the carter? Are we heading to Luoyang City, Master? MHM. I've spent too much time here. I return to the Xia village to fulfill the original Xia Yan's wish, and visiting Xia Ran should be the last step. I also heard there are many beautiful women in Luoyang City. Perhaps I can find a chance to upgrade finger flowery swords there. Luoyang City A major Buddhistic city indeed. I can see chanting disciples everywhere. I was right to let Ching'er go back to me. Otherwise, her soul might be dispersed by some monks. Eagles fly and send letters faster than I do. Ran should have known my arrival a few days ago, but I must find the Lotus Nunnery first. Lotus Nunnery is the third biggest Buddhistic sect in the Han Empire. It should not be hard to find. Where is it? Do you want to go to the Lotus Nunnery, sir? Yes. Do you know where it is, miss? Today is the Buddha's Blessing Day. All the women in the city will go to the Lotus Nunnery and free captive fishes. I, I can take you there if you need. I see. Thank you, missus. Why you're welcome. Lotus Nunnery, I've reviewed the memories about Xia Ran. Besides the typical pretty appearance that the Xia family has, her personality is impressive. Xia Ran was born expressionless. She always talked like a great artist of sarcasm. She often made the original Xia Yan speechless. What a girl. Why would the Lotus Nunnery think she's suitable? Wouldn't such a nun irritate the Buddha? The free pond is ahead. W, would you like to go with me? No, I've found the person I want to see. We'll part here, Mrs. Huh? Ah, uh, sorry. Look who's here, Ran. Ha. Huh. I knew my best-looking brother was coming when I heard so many girls whispering. 
Seeing your face and open to temptation personality, I've got something to tell you. Cut that thing off, Yin. That way, you may live happily ever after. She doesn't mean it. It's not a coincidence that I just met her right after coming here. I guess she'd been waiting for me on the most conspicuous spot all day. Origin point gain miss, 0.01 Sierran. Sierran is quite different from other members of the Sia family. Nope, she is totally different from other normal human beings. Other people tend to hide their affection because they are shy. When Miss Sia likes someone, she abuses him physically. Yin, did you hear me? Are you getting too old to catch my words? Ran, we haven't seen each other for a long time. Can't you be nice to your brother? What kind of honest opinion is this? If I tell dad, he would probably break your leg. Fancy words make you arrogant, Yin. Honest opinions are good for you. Could you stop messing with my hair, Yin? Only heaven knows how many girls' hair you have touched before. This is gross, really? But I'm simply using your hair to wipe my hand. What a stubborn girl. She enjoys it when I mess with her hair. Yin, they've been talking about the high-key charming Jay Child. Is that you? It is me. What? Are you surprised? Sierran is a disciple of the Lotus Nunnery. She will get to know it sooner or later. There is no need to hide it from her. Oh? Is this all I got? Can't you act more impressive? Oh. My master wants to see you. Your master. Master. Ran, did you bring back a guest? Nun Simei, Sia Ran's master. This is my elder brother, Sia Yan. What the heck? Why did she decide to use her energy to weigh on me? So you're charming, Jade Child? I've heard a lot about you. When we first knew your name, Charming Jade Child, Ran thought you were a different person with the same name. But you turned out to be her brother. What a pleasant surprise. You don't look like you are surprised at all. Does Nun Simei tend to accept disciples who only have the emotional range of a potato? Our sect usually doesn't want to get involved with demonic sections. Our cultivation methods are different after all. We'd like to stay away from the marching sect. You wouldn't be allowed to enter the Lotus Nunnery if you were not Rant's brother, Charming Jade Child. I see, you has never mentioned this before. However, the disciples of the Lotus Nunnery tend to avoid us when we are in the same room. It's unnecessary to bring it up anyway. No wonder she suddenly looks so upset. Our cultivation method requires a pure heart and an unworldly mindset. Unstable disciples are not allowed to experience the outside world in case they would be confused during their journeys and lose their faith. The marching sect, however, has a quite different way. You guys pursue worldly feelings and emotions. You should stop visiting Rand so her unworldly mind won't be disturbed. This is for your sister's good, Mr. Sia. What do you mean, non simia? I may be a disciple of the marching sect, but Rand is my sister. How can you stop us from seeing each other? Besides, other masters recruit their disciples based on mutual consent. You took Ren away from us by force. Do you have any idea how much my parents miss her? I know Ran is talented. But she is also a precious daughter of the Sia family. You've already tainted her mind by doing this to her. If entering your sect means cutting off from one's bloodline, I'd rather let her give up her cultivation here. You are so eloquent, Mr. Sia. I admire your courage. I have faith in Rant's judgment. I shall not keep her with me further. Ran, take your brother to visit all the beautiful temples in Luoyang City. That's it? Yes, Master. Come on, Ran. You must have heard your Master. Show me around Luoyang City. Yin, it's still too early for brothels to open. Hey, look me in the eyes. Do I look like I want to go to the brothels? Are you treating your brother as a depraved womanizer? Ha. Huh. Huh. 
Charming Jade Child is from the Maching sect. Chin Shinsi, the main disciple of the sect, is just like the demon girl that you mentioned who kidnapped your brother. That Charming Jade Child must be your brother if I'm not wrong. You've known where your brother is right now. Stop bothering yourself with the question anymore. Focus on your cultivation since today. Sierran. We have a different cultivation method with the Maching sect. We shouldn't get too close to a demonic sect like it. You can try to cut off from your family this time. Maybe you will crack the ultimate secret of Buddhism this time and become an official member of Buddhism in the end. I have a question. What is it? I have a happy family with loving parents and my brother. I spent a decade in my life with them, but I just entered the sect for three months. Is the time we spent together nothing when it is compared with my cultivation? Buddha said there was karma and we should pay for what we did. I haven't even paid back my parents and brother's love. If I leave everything behind and focus on Buddhism now, will the guilt caused by the light decision become my demon and impede my cultivation? And isn't it too cruel? You still don't understand. I never told you to eliminate your feelings and love for your family. The end of karma is a mutual practice. You don't understand it currently, so I can't let you out. When your mindset becomes more stable and less chaotic, you will have a different opinion. You will be willing to cut off from everything yourself at that time. Stop thinking about your master's bullshit. We are brother and sister. How can we stop seeing each other? Your master is mad. Yin, you've changed. You used to be such a coward, but now you became cocky and annoying. Mind your words to your elder brother, young lady. Well, people will change. Besides, I've been traveling around lately. I've seen a lot of things. Of course, my horizon was widened. H.M. Yin. Leave the Maching Sect. What? The Lotus Nunnery and the Maching Sect are rivals. Why can't you become a traitor for me? Why don't you become a traitor for me? At least you don't need to shave your hair in the Maching Sect. Mom and Dad will be thrilled. The Lotus Nunnery is a peaceful place. My fellow disciples are friendly to each other. The Maching Sect feeds on dramas. Everyone knows the Maching sect fights a lot. You guys fought the Bliss Temple at least twice as far as I know. You can fool mom and dad now because they know nothing about the martial world yet. But if they get to know one day, they will be so pissed off. Ranch judgmental eyes, shit, I hate to admit it, but Ran is telling the truth. How should I explain to her that her brother is actually a good fighter and he wins in most fights? That Maching sect witch who kidnapped you, her name is Chin Chinsi, right? She doesn't deserve you. I can't defeat her now, or I would have challenged her and got you back already. Ran, she is being jealous. She would be cuter if she didn't spit harsh words constantly. You, system fragment detected. Please go collect it as soon as possible to upgrade the system and activate the next function. Yin? Ran, where are we? You mean this place? It is written on the board. This is one of the three greatest Buddhist temples in the Han Empire, Seoul Temple. There is a system fragment here. And they are hidden in the Seoul Temple. Today is Buddha's Blessing Day. All the temples in Luoyang City are wide open. Even a person like you is welcome. A person like me? What are you trying to say? Forget about it. Just show me around. Mahavira Hall is a place for morning and night practices. They put Buddha's sitting statue in here. I see. This is Arhat Hall. There are 500 Arhat statues in this hall. The Seoul Temple is famous for them. Other small Buddhist sects always came here to copy these statues. I see. Spirit Mountain Buddha statue. They said the founder of the Seoul Temple moved the statue all the way from Spirit Mountain. This is almost a landmark of Luoyang City O. Next, Ran. I know there may be no scenery around such a statue. But what about those halls? You took me to the doorsteps of those halls and just left. At least let me get in and take a look. I surely don't care about this place, 
but can she be less absent-minded being a guide? Yin, you are too worldly and vulgar. Buddha won't be happy when he sees your face. Ran is so cute, but why does she have to talk? Forget about it. I shouldn't have relied on you. I will just randomly stroll in this place myself. Just don't let me get lost. Heading straight for the system fragment is too suspicious. I wanted to search for it while visiting the temple. But Sia Ran just ruined my plan. I should just head for it. Where are you going, Yin? Just a reminder. Buddhas in the soul temple won't fulfill any lustful wishes. Can you just shut up? According to the system, the fragment is here. Ran, where are we right now? Treasure Hall, all the Buddhist treasures of the Soul Temple are hidden in this place. This place is guarded by two pre-celestial masters of the temple. Anyone who dares to break in and steal the treasures will be smashed like potatoes. Treasure Hall. How fierce, I thought monks wouldn't kill. But those people were trying to steal their treasures. Holy crap, luckily I didn't plan a rob and run. I will just take the look outside. I bet they won't kill me this way. No one cares about you if you stay outside. It feels like the system fragment is in there. What is in that jade box? It seems to be mysterious. It's the relic left by the founder of the soul temple. It can help you contact the founder's spirit so you can discuss Buddhist methods with him. However, it won't work for people who don't have any faith in Buddhism. I see. I have never expected a person like you to be interested in this. Sia Ran. Can you speak nicely to your brother? Itimagu Oi on your feed. You are interested in Buddhist treasure, Yin. That just proved that you are not a simple worldling. MHM, keep going. This is fate, Yin. Why don't you leave the demonic sect and join Buddhism? My master is pretty close to the leader of the Soul Temple. Maybe they will let you become a worldly disciple. They will hold a Buddhist debating and use the relic to test the best disciples two days later. If you join them now, you will also be a part of it. Ran, should I thank you for not forcing me to become a monk? You are welcome. You take that back. By the way, what is the Buddhist debating exactly? Tell me about it. Buddha's blessing day is Buddha's birthday. They free captured animals on the first day, hold a Buddhist lecture on the second day, and start a Buddhist debating on the third day. Freeing animals is mainly for believers. You've been horsing around lately. You must have got enough information about this. As for Buddhist debating and Buddhist lecture, these are competitions among all the Buddhist sections. All the monks across the country will show up at the Seoul Temple tomorrow, discussing the truth of Buddhism. A monk used technique, chanting scriptures, spirit damage, 15. The third day is most vital. The Soul Temple, the Fanchin sect, and the Lotus Nunnery will start the annual trial. The winner can use the relic for seven-day cultivation. All the monks come for the relic. Even they can't win in the trial, they can at least levitate their mind during the event. Arhat disciples used technique, muscle displaying, but nothing happened. However, the Dark Buddhist sect, Wushang sect, also decided to be a part of this. Master and other leaders tried so hard to make them behave. And they will only show up during the Buddhist debating. So Buddhist debating became a battle between good sects and evil sects. They allowed the sects presence and now they even let them come every year. If it was the Maqing sex event, the troublemaker would probably have been beaten up and kicked out. These monks are too kind. I'm still too weak to get the treasure, Yin. Just give me two years. I swear that I will get the relic for you. Ran? Well, if you give it to me, I probably won't give it back anymore. Sai, my little sister is so cute. They said relics can make you less horny. I won't need to worry about your reputation if you can have it. I wonder if Master knows any boner prohibiting techniques. The world will be safer that way. Ran, can you at least learn some skill of talking? I really wish you wouldn't be beaten up one day. Sai, Ran is so fierce. I wonder why she hasn't been kicked out of her sect yet. Forget about it. I should let Ching her out and take a breath. 
Master Xiaoyan, Ching'er, are you okay? I'm okay. The buzzing sound made me dizzy. I was so tired and sleepy, those monks were chanting scriptures. It must have weighed on you heavily. Just rest for a while before returning to my body. Why did you pull out the monk mask? There is something I need hiding in the soul temple. I need to investigate this place tomorrow or the day after that. I need to pretend to be a monk. It's too much trouble, master. I can get it for you. I won't let you go even if you insist. What if you get hurt? It's okay. Just stay put and take a rest. I'm so useless. Well, guess it's time to study that monk recorded in Instructions of Disguise. Buddha's Blessing Day Buddhist Lecture Nun Simei, it's been a while. I heard you just got an extremely talented disciple. Elder Suwe, long time no see. She is a bit talented. Her name is Xie Ran, and she is not officially a nun right now. She can never hold a candle to your disciple Dao Yun, though. I heard that she had reached the pre-celestial stage despite her young age. We are flattered. Everyone knows that our sex methods are special. Dao Yun owes her success to the method. It's quite late now. Let's go to the soul temple first. Indeed. Ran, why are you so absent-minded right now? Nothing, I just remember that I didn't tell my brother before I came here with you, master. I don't want him to be worried. Charming Jade Child is a smart man. He won't make a scene in Luoyang City. Focus on the lecture. Yes, master. If he does care about you, he should act low-key. I know you are a good girl, but I can't figure out that Charming Jade Child. You should stay away from him for your safety. Charming Jade Child is a bit carefree. He may become demonic now and then because of his demonic origin, but he is not bad on the inside. You shouldn't worry, Nun Simei. I met him before and I know him a little. You met my elder brother before? You are his little sister? This is quite surprising. Could you tell me more about him? Sure. Charming Jade Child is a humorous guy. Senior G from the Taishian sect and I once. I thought you don't want to have anything to do with those worldly people from the demonic sect. Why do you allow your disciple to discuss that C.A.N. from the marching sect? It's okay. She will stand up against me if I prohibit everything. If C.A. Rant's belief is unwavering, she will see through everything herself sooner or later. Half an hour later. Buddhism, Buddhism. Which sect does he belong to? He looks like Monk Excellence. Monk Excellence? Is he from some anonymous sect? Monk Excellence, number seven of the top ten talents of the Tang Empire and one of the contemporary arhats in the Rose Finch Temple. He hasn't reached the pre-celestial stage. But he is also an expert on Buddhist theory. His title was given by the emperor. After leaving the Rose Finch Temple, he has been traveling across the world for years. I didn't expect him to show up here. I wonder what kind of wise speech he will give us today. The banners didn't move and the wind was still. It was my heart that had been stirred? I see. I knew it. The development of martial arts in this world is advanced. But these ancient people can't acquire information as fast as modern people do. The discussions must be finished face to face. Some classic Buddhist theories haven't shown up yet. In my previous life, I was constantly harassed by girls. I found I couldn't stand them anymore, so I went to a temple to cultivate and meditate. I didn't shave my head and join them as a real monk, but I spent a lot of time in the temple chanting scriptures and listening to Buddhist lectures. I remember my master at that time once said I was a smart and talented man. It shouldn't be difficult for me to play a monk. Let me see if there are any differences and similarities between this world and my original world when it comes to Buddhism. Are you monk excellence from the Rose Finch Temple? Yes. I've been traveling in the Han Empire since I left the Tang Empire. I heard there would be a Buddhist meeting when I walked by Luoyang City, so I came here to visit. I heard your name. It's my honor to finally meet you. 
Please take a seat on the lotus platform and discuss Buddhism with us. He conjured this stone lotus out of nowhere and lifted me up without any effort. He's lived up to his reputation. Sure. Masters, I have one thing that bothers me. Could you guys help me solve the problem before the lecture begins? Monk Excellence just said the banners didn't move, neither the wind. What does it mean exactly? These people haven't heard about the classic story? When Buddha mentions the highest wisdom, he doesn't mean to talk about the highest wisdom. In fact, good deeds and congruence should be the highest wisdom. So he's preaching kindness. Form is emptiness and emptiness is form. Form is not other than emptiness, emptiness is not other than form, the same is true with feelings. Am I right, monk excellence? Can you speak in human language, master? You are right, but not completely right. The appearances of things were generated from our minds. The situation will change based on our mindset. If your mind is filled with belief, everything you do will improve your cultivation. Use your heart to feel Buddhism and you will recreate everything with your mind. Whatever, I will just spit some nonsense. Modern Buddhism is too inclusive. Explanations for one term may be different. And every one of them can make sense. I can deliver everything in the most confusing manner so they will think I'm so mysterious. Recreate everything with your heart, I see. I'm impressed, monk excellence. However, if your heart is filled with belief, what does that mean? Master, I still can't understand. Let me tell you a story then. One day, two monks came to a river. They saw a young girl standing by the river. She wanted to cross the river, but she was afraid her clothes would get wet. One of the monks helped her and carried her across the river. The other monk was confused. It was improper for a man to be so close to a girl, let alone he is a monk. He clearly broke the rule. The other monk questioned his deed. That monk, however, answered, I've already crossed the river, but you are still soaking in the water. I have let it go, but why are you still so obsessive with the question? I get it now. Thanks for enlightening me, master. Bullshit. Monk Wujia from the Wushang sect. Wushang sect? That monk Wujia from the Wushang sect? This demonic monk tended to show up on the third day every year. Why did he come one day earlier this year? Let it go. Why did you decide to study Buddhism in the first place? Answer me. I want to become an arhat and jump out of reincarnation. I shall have no desire or lust. Ha! What a joke. Becoming an arhat is your desire. How can you even let everything go this way? Can you answer my question? Huh? Well, hmm? Becoming an arhat? Isn't this a theory from Hinayana? Is everyone cultivating Hinayana in this world? Buddha is totally different from humans. Why should we abandon our desires then? Sticking to the harsh rules and cultivating without desires is impossible. If you want to become an arhat, you must embrace your inferiority as a human. Just like me. Rules won't impede me because I only follow my desire. Seeking the slightest trace of wisdom in this bustling world is the right cultivation method. I can't agree, Monk Wujia. We shouldn't pursue Buddhism for results. We pursue Buddhism for Buddhism itself. Have I made myself clear? Ridiculous. I can't understand what they are discussing right now. But clearly, they have both been practicing Hinayana at this point. All I need to do is. I've answered Monk Wujia's question. What is your opinion, Monk Excellence? I agree that Buddha is totally different from humans. However, the Buddha used to be a human, and a human can become the Buddha. The Buddha used to be a human, and a human can become the Buddha? How can humans become Buddhas? This is nonsense. What kind of monk are you? You don't even know the basic knowledge of Buddhism. Are you really a monk? Ha ha ha, good for you, monk excellence. Everyone says the Wushang sect was a demonic sect, but you are even worse than us. You mean you want to become the Buddha? You have my respect though. I like maniacs. 
The Buddha used to be a human, and a human can become the Buddha? Is Buddha as low as human or human as high as Buddha? Is he trying to say that animals are the highest after all? Bullshit. It's plants. No. It's the dead. The dead never changes. They are the rulers of the universe. I get it now. To think is to sin. We all commit sins. I am the Buddha. I can do whatever I want. You are bewitched by the evil monk's words. Chant tranquilizing scripture with me now. Nonsense. He humiliated the Buddha. Monk excellence is such an evil monk. We were fooled by his fame. How could you call yourself a believer? Amitbha, Amitbha, according to Hinayana, there is only one Buddha. People can only become arhats no matter how hard they try. The theory I just brought up belongs to Mahayana. Of course they can't accept it. But other achieved Buddhists seem like they just got my point. They are masters indeed. Huh? The leader is trying to give me a hard time? Monk Excellence, you want to become the Buddha? I shall listen to my fate. I won't force anything. What did that master from my previous life answer? It's pretty much the same. Monk Excellence, why do you want to become the Buddha? I want to release people from pain and death. If everyone can become the Buddha, why do they need your rescue? Buddhism is hidden deep in their body. They just need guidance. I get it now. You humiliated the Buddha. Monk Excellence. Abbot Quan Ching. Don't let him get away with it. Dao Yun, what is your opinion? If other people said that, I would deem them as heresy. But Monk Excellence looked so confident when he mentioned this theory. He must have understood something special. I don't know why, but his words resonated with me. It's just that his theory is too shocking for everyone. I think they won't let him continue anymore. Here. Three knocking to awake everyone, so their sanity will be with them. Phew, what a refreshing sound. I feel so peaceful right now. What were we even doing just now? Amitbha, Amitbha. Your hearts have been disturbed, people. The lectures shall not continue. Since the Wushang sect has arrived, we should start the debate ahead of time. They decided to start the Buddhist debating right now? I thought I had to wait until tomorrow. It saved me a lot of trouble though. The Buddhist debating begins. No matter which sect you belong to, people, you can step forward and enter the trial at any time. But today's meeting is about Buddhist theory instead of martial arts. So pre-celestial stage monks are not allowed to participate. But anyone who makes it to the third round can use the relic for a 15-minute practice. The winner can use it for seven days. The relic of the founder of the soul temple is a treasure. You can use it to contact the founder's spirit and discuss Buddhism with him. You can still have a chance to practice with it even you're not the winner this year. This is such a great opportunity. Monk Excellence, please. Amitbha, Amitbha. I can use the relic if I can make it to the third round. I have a bigger chance to get the fragment then. No matter how hard the test will be, the disciples of the Wushang sect shall never flinch. Tu Wangsheng, let me see how much you've improved today. From the Wushang sect Tu Wangsheng. The trial is about to begin. Please stay as far as possible in case you would get hurt. I wonder what is the first round like. Monk Excellence, your opinion about Buddhism is quite unique. You have my respect. But the winner of the Buddhist debating will be me. Then please show me what you've got. Why does this guy act like a flashy idiot? Shiwan from the Soul Temple, my master is about to display a little realm now. Please keep it quiet, guys. Senior 2, please soothe your mind, or you won't be able to get into your dream and start the trial. Soothe your ass. I don't care. Your ass or my ass, it doesn't matter. This must be the first disciple of the Soul Temple, Shiwan. He has the bearing of a master. Please. This is the spirit leading Joss stick. There is no difference if we use it now or tomorrow. The Joss stick was lightened and the soul shall be followed. 
The joss stick of the Fanchi insect is a treasure. Everyone has entered the minor realm to face the trial. The wooden fish of the lotus nunnery can awake the lost and the strayed. The soul temple presented Kasaya, reflecting the theme of the trial and the realm. The theme of today's trial is Eight trials of life, eight punishments in hell. Eight trials of life, eight punishments in hell. So this is the treasure of Buddhism? The power I felt is incredible. This is the main world indeed. They only know Hinayana and they can't understand the inclusiveness of Mahayana. But they somehow work the method to this extent. It's pretty impressive. HM? Why can't I stretch my arms and legs? Something tied me up. What is happening? Why? I become a baby? Ah. Got it. Eight trials of life. The first trial is birth. This is a simulation of eight trials. This is so boring. They kept our memories and consciousness. If everyone knows this is fake, what's the meaning of this trial? I'm so tired. Infants haven't developed much brain. I want to go back to sleep after thinking. This is so annoying. Ah. Huh. The simulation is incredible. I grew up from a baby so fast. I wonder what kind of power was used to do this. I would at least resist if they used spiritual power. They want me to experience certain periods of time. The rest of the memories are just meaningless and far-fetched. Woof woof, ah. You are too weak. These are just some fake memories, but it feels so real. At least my fake sister makes me worried about her. Luckily, I have the finger of Nirvana. I can save her simply by... Huh? Isn't finger of Nirvana a great technique? I can use it when I was in other small worlds. This is just a simulated trial. Why didn't it work? No, the most important thing is, I can't feel the connection between me and the system anymore. I can't even summon Chinger. Eight trials of life, eight punishments in hell. You woke up first. You are a worthy disciple of mine. Quan Ching, the trial is too easy. My disciple made it through the first round without any effort. The first round was the eight trials of life. Everyone needs to experience a different life to see if they can start to pursue Buddhism in the end. After starting the journey of pursuing Buddhism, they will face all sorts of temptations, diverting them from Buddhism. The ones who have unwavering faith in Buddha shall break through the trial. The Wuxiang sect values killing. Anyone who dares to stand in your way will be killed. You kill your lovers, relatives, friends, and masters. You thought killing proved how faithful you were. But it is a demonic method. If the method can lead you to the path of Arhat, you shall not question it. You guys are so narrow-minded. Pitiful, so pitiful. Ha ha ha. This monk made too much noise. The first trial is eight trials of life. I'm not surprised that the disciple of the Wuxiang sect is the first one who accomplished the trial. But I'm afraid eight punishments in hell won't be easy for them. Forget about it. We should focus on our disciples. Today's trial is a great opportunity, but Dao Yun is already a pre-celestial fighter. Your minor realm won't work on her. Dao Yun will have her own chance. You don't need to worry. Your disciple is talented. Why is he still trapped in the realm? I know she won too well. I don't worry about him. However, I'm quite curious when Monk Excellence will wake up and how is he going to make it. Why do you care about Monk Excellence so much? He said a human could become Buddha and that made him so different. I'd like to see how far he can go. He is just an arrogant manic. What makes him so different? All the monks in the trial chose to become monks at a young age. Even that Th Wanxing from the Wuxiang sect also followed the same path that showed how much faith they had. And they would make the same decision even they started a new life. Monk excellence hasn't even become a monk when became 20. It's not hard to see how chaotic his mind is. Don't worry. This is just the beginning. Monk Excellence is new to the Buddhism methods in the Han Empire. I won't be surprised no matter how weird he acts through the trial. 
In my opinion, Buddhism relies on meditation. Monk Excellence didn't even meditate for once. I wonder if he had already seen through the eight trials of life and decided to live as a mortal in a simple way. Holy crap! I can't summon system or chinger. I can't even practice martial arts. How should I get through exactly? My younger sister and dad all passed away. Mom also married another guy. I know this is fake, but I spent so many years with them, how could I stay impassive? The most annoying thing is, no matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't turn my miserable life around. I know what this simulation is trying to do now. It wants to break me again and again mentally until I understand something. Pitifully, I'm not a real monk. I only feel extremely depressed after these shits happened. I can't come up with any deep life philosophy after my family was fucked up. Lucky. What happened to you, Lucky? Hmm, seriously? It's just a dog. The second life, our child is sick since he was born. I'm afraid he wouldn't live for long. Luckily, he is a son of a rich family. They can sustain his life using money. This body sucks. I can't even leave my bed. I have a bad feeling. I didn't realize I had to travel from world to world. Holy crap. If I can't come up with some Buddhist philosophy, will I be trapped in this place forever? Cough, cough. Are you kidding me? I'm just a resentful man from a demonic sect. Even I can understand some Buddhist theories. I won't be able to practice them with sincerity. I just can't do it. The third life. The fourth life. The fifth life. The sixth life. What the fuck? When will this crappy simulation end? Why do those monks hate mortal people so much? Seriously? Buddha said mortal lives suffered, but he couldn't mean that they suffered this much. They eliminated every chance in my lives. I couldn't even try. Men are not puppets. Lives are not scripted. Eight trails? Fuck you. I will decide my own fate. Master Xie Yan. You finally answered me. Chinger, this small world is so weird. I was kicked out when we came in. I could only see you reincarnating again and again. So you've been with me all this time? Yeah, it almost felt like a 5D movie. Your life was miserable, master. Bad things happened to you all the time. I was so stupid. I didn't realize you were forced until now. Luckily, you finally heard my voice. Thank you, Chinger or I wouldn't have known how to break through. These trials targeted me specially. Even I could understand the pain brought by eight trials, I still couldn't reconcile myself and let it be. That's why I couldn't accept everything and break through. That's why that master from my previous life said I was talented, but he wouldn't let me be a monk. I can't let things go like everyone else. That's why I can't be a good monk. Those monks are cunning. I was being too careless. Luckily, you woke me up, Chinger. You broke through from the small world for now, but you can only sustain the form of a spirit. You still can't get out. This is enough. Buddhism requires breakthroughs. My fake body is still in the fake realm while my spirit has been freed. This is a semi-breakthrough caused by a special method, I would say. When you are still in that realm, you won't be able to see through things. I feel wide awake after getting out. The trap doesn't work on me anymore. The scripted life, the unavoidable fate, the irresistible ending, everything in this simulation magnified the pain and suffering in our lives. You probably couldn't stand these in a real life, not to mention the trial is even harder. You can't see through it and you can't get rid of it. Life is so changeable. For me, however, the unbreakable spell of life doesn't exist. Everything can be fake or true, but I am the truest of them all. Since this is all fake, I will just get rid of it. Monk Excellence still knows nothing about reincarnation after spending six lives in that trial. Sigh, I thought he was different. Wait, is Monk Excellence going to break through now? The faith in Buddha and the realization of the mortal world are the keys to breakthrough. 
but Monk Excellence didn't even show the slightest trace of interest in turning to the Buddha. I thought he was corrupted. How come he is waking up right now? He wasted five lives, but he managed to break through in the next life. He is a worthy disciple of the Rose Finch Temple indeed. He made it. But how? I can't understand. I didn't see any signs before. How come Monk Excellence just broke through? Monk Excellence's cultivation is great. He seemed like he wasted five lives, but there must be some hints we failed to observe. That's why he succeeded all of a sudden. I am right. If I can get rid of the trap spiritually, I can wake up. Origin points gained appreciation. 0.01 points Quan Ching origin points gained appreciation. 0.01 points Su Wei origin points gained appreciation. 0.01 points Simei origin points gained appreciation. 0.01 points Xia Dao Yun origin points gained appreciation. 0.01 points Xia Ran origin points are everywhere. It seems like I'm finally back to reality. Shocked. Damn, it's even a live show? Luckily, they can't see the participants' faces during the trials, and they seem to be unable to sense Chinger inside me, or I'll be exposed. You're quite something, Monk Excellence. I've never heard of the way you broke free. May I ask how you made it? He's not bad. Even I almost failed. I managed to break free with Chinger help, but he was on his own. I only care about the result. Eight trials of life? The way out would appear when I killed all the obstacles. This is Wuxiang sex value, unlike the other irresolute monks. Shiwan probably would fail at this level, ha ha ha. Killing does work, but I just can't kill the innocent. But from the Buddhistic point of view, the experience is worth it as long as we gain new knowledge and enlightenment. I'm not a real monk, but at least I could understand the trial's key point. Two Wangxing happened to use the wrong way to get the right answer. I wonder if that's a good thing. Huh. Which sect or temple does this monk come from? He looks immersed himself in it and about to fail. You're stuck in the trail. Repeat the heart of Prajna Paramitha Sutra to sweep away the distracting thoughts and reinforce your mind. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for enlightening me. That should be the right way of communicating Buddhism. Discover, mend, and exceed the deficiency. Huh? The elder disciple from the soul temple doesn't seem well either. I told you he couldn't make it. No matter how good cultivation bases these balls have, they can't achieve anything if they don't drop their hypocrisy. No way. Shiwan is the elder disciple, after all. He must have a deep understanding of Buddhism. Normally people would fail the trial because they lack experience. But he must have made some breakthrough. Shiwan has been stuck in the bottleneck for a while. I'm glad to see him finally making progress. Ha <laughs> ha. He made it because of his accumulated daily efforts. There are not many people who truly understand Buddhism. Most of them are trapped in their minds and unable to get out. It's okay. We can help them find solutions through this, unlike those demon sects that would only waste the profound meaning. Monk Excellence's performance was not what I thought, but it didn't surprise me. Monk Excellence is indeed something. He's stuck in the eight trials of life, but yet broke free at the last second. Perhaps he does understand Buddhism deeply and enjoys it. Good for him, the spirit leading Josh stick is about to burn out. Please be ready to hit the wooden fish, non semi. Sure. Three knocking to awake everyone, so their sanity will be with them. Chime. Am I in my previous life or current life? Am I alive? Then who was buried in the earth? The first trial is over. Shaochan Temple, one past. Daji Temple, one past. Jiangan Hall, one past. Qinglian Nunnery, one passed, Xu Yu sect, one passed, not many people from decent sects passed. Small sects are either left with one qualifier or none at all. Soul Temple, five passed, Fanqing sect, four passed, Lotus Nunnery, four passed, 
Wuxiang Sect, Seven Past, and Monk Excellence Past as well. The past please rest for a moment. Then we'll start the second trial. Please light the Josh Stick, Elder Suwei. Mr. Xie Yan. Well done, Chinger. Should we get out of here now, Master? That would be boring. I can't get along well with the Eight Trials of Life illusion, but it's interesting and somehow resonated demonic art of Ogdoet tribulations. Maybe it's because of the demonic art of Ogdoet tribulations. I can still control the body inside the illusion after getting out of there. Everything is in control. Since they can see me live streaming outside, I'll make a show for them. What the hell? I don't accept this. Go to hell with me. Bring it on. I'm not afraid of you. If this illusion didn't seal my power, I'd have killed all of you. No. I can't accept that. They can't be killed. The priority is to leave the dead water. Is there really a shore anyway? The second trial is so hard. The ghosts would kill me in a second after I went in there. Looks like Tu Wangxing can hardly withstand it. True. The ghosts can't be killed, after all. It's hard for the Wuxiang sect to pass this trial. How stupid. Indeed. He focuses too much on fighting to realize that the boat doesn't move at all. Shiwan holds still, but the ghosts are pushing his boat forward. Vajira is nothing but a killing weapon for Tu Wangxing, but Shiwan chants to enhance Vajira's Buddhistic power to isolate as much evil as possible. People fall into hell because of their evil doings. The everlasting night tortures them and blocks them from Buddhism. It's rare to see someone keeping his mind clear in such an evil place. Good for Shiwan. If he keeps it up, the ghosts will push him out of the sea of afflictions. I'm not worried about Shiwan, but Monk Excellence surprised me once more. Eh? What is Monk Excellence doing? I've been hosting the Buddhist debate for decades, but it's the first time I see that. I love the whole world. I enjoy the beautiful flowers and the wonderful mountains. I. What kind of rhythm can make me laugh? What song is the most joyful? The view is good. Demonic art of Ogdo at Tribulations looks childish compared to this lake of ghosts. Ugh, I hate this world. I can't see any sign of shore at all, master. Would this place be boundless? No, they wouldn't let us solve what can't be solved. We'll just row more on this lake of ghosts. Go to hell. I'm hungry. The ghosts look terrifying, but they're actually interesting. The stronger you hit them, the more fiercely they'll hit your boat. But poking them gently can press them to the water. See? We're almost there. Shiwan went with the stream. It wasn't smooth, but he went ashore eventually. Tu Wangxing went ashore with serious injuries. He might not have enough strength to complete the... Monk Excellence looks leisurely. The evil whisper couldn't work on him at all, and he took the initiative to find the shore in the meanwhile. He's indeed powerful. Yes. He's very talented and can be trusted with great responsibility. Let's see his performance in the following trials. I keep becoming various animals after getting ashore. Is this tribulation of beast? C.A.N. I've never had such an experience. It's much cooler than VR or whatnot. What am I this time? A big cat? Oh, I'm a tiger. So cute. I'm so hungry. There's a rabbit. I'll eat that. Monk Excellence seems to enjoy it a lot. Blind. Deaf. Blind, deaf, and mute. Hmm. A man without five senses and has to be a beggar for his life. Does the trial want the participant to experience a miserable life? I'll just draw my true spirit out of the body when it comes to such a test. I can't feel any of the pain. I only need to keep a smile on my body. There are people playing operas, master. Let's go over there and have a look. Whoa. 
Someone threw a piece of feces instead of a meat bun, and Monk Excellence is eating it with a smile. Smile no matter what happened, just like the Buddha. He was born with the concept of the body is nothing but a vessel of the soul. Keep playing the music, keep dancing. This time the illusion gave me a rich, long life. I've been living for over 500 years. 500 years of splendid life. It's joyful but a bit boring. Would you like to play, master? Huh? Ha ha ha. Come. Monk excellence, how indecent. Ha ha. Monk excellence often brings us surprises. The illusion got everything that reality has. Look. It's outrageous. I'm too shy to look at it. Aren't you worried that the abbots outside may disqualify you? The three abbots learned the concept of flesh would turn into skeletons eventually a long time ago. They wouldn't mind. I wanted to see how real this illusion world can be. Perhaps it can help me cultivate the demonic art of Ogdo at tribulations. But pity that the two arts are very different despite their similar names. I can't use this to complete the other three tribulations. But I can absorb the artifact power that the monks use to create this illusion world with demonic art of Ogdo at tribulations. I have to beat the trials in advance, though. Or I won't gain anything. I wonder which tribulation the artifact will enhance. The illusion world will vanish after the artifact power is absorbed. I can pretend it like I beat the trials ahead of schedule. It's time to return to reality. Open. He can't be swayed no matter what happened. Good for him. Looks like Monk Excellence has entered the realm of mind as a clear mirror. Monk Excellence beat the trials ahead of time. I admire his deep understanding of Buddhism. Origin point gained respect. 0.01 points Monk Gue Bao. Origin point gained respect. 0.01 points Monk Yin Ming. Origin point gained respect. 0.01 points Monk Zuxia, origin point gained respect. 0.01 points Monk Jian, origin point gained respect. 0.01 points Monk Yong Gue. Monk Excellence passed the trials just like that? And he was the first one. Excellence indeed. He's much stronger than us. Amitba, Amitba, I can feel that something about the tribulation of hungry ghosts changed. Looks like the artifact power fell on it. Huh? Is Shiwan experiencing the tribulation of hungry ghosts? I didn't know the hungry ghosts in illusion can be inflected in reality. The enhanced tribulation of hungry ghosts can absorb hungry ghosts, and the ones coming from devout monks are the best food. The strength of my tribulation of hungry ghosts can be improved further if it can devour those. But I can't do anything bold while there are so many eyes around. What a pity. So hungry. Great. You finally beat the tribulation of hungry ghosts, Shiwan. This is the most dangerous one of the eight punishments in hell. It's extremely hard to help hungry ghosts regain their human shapes, but you did it. Hungry ghosts can't meet Buddhas, so their evil power is the strongest. Shiwan used to fail at this level before, but now he finally saw through it and comprehended something. Shiwan has met my expectations. You finally came out, Shiwan. I saw the light of Buddhism covered you before waking up. You must have gained a lot. I thought it was rare enough for me to overcome my mind and beat the trials, but you were faster than me. I took the shortcut, that's all. I skipped the most dangerous tribulation of hungry ghosts. Huh? Was that even an option? Fundamentally, there is no Bodhi tree, nor stand of a mirror bright. Since all is void from the beginning, work in the dust alight. Fundamentally, there is no Bodhi tree, I see. Even a random poet from you comes with great Buddhism, monk excellence. Origin point gained respect, 0.01 .01 points monk Shiwan, damn. What did you see? I don't even understand what I said. There's not much time left, and the others don't seem ready to get out of the illusion. I think there will be only Shiwan, and I left for the third trial. Nice. Now I'm definitely an excellent performer. The system fragment will be mine.
Damn. What did Tu Wangxing do to attract so many hungry ghosts? Tribulation of hungry ghosts can contaminate minds greatly. Xiwan struggled out of it because he's very firm on Buddhism. Tribulation of hungry ghosts is a natural buster for Tu Wangxing's Buddhism. He may end here. He's almost a hungry ghost maker. I want to devour him. Wuxiang sect practices Buddhism by cultivating a hundred mortal desires, admitting self-inferiority, and experiencing the demonic desires deeply to achieve the greatness of nirvana. The second trial of decent temples Buddhist debate is actually very hard for Wuxiang sect. We cultivate desires, and eight punishments in hell dig out participants' dark sides. It could be devastating for immature Wuxiang sect disciples because their desires might devour them easily and made them lost. But it could be an opportunity to exceed yourself, restrain eight punishments in hell, and reach the next level. Don't let me down, kid. The spirit leading Jow stick is about to burn out. Please be ready to hit the wooden fish, non semi. Sure. What's the hurry? The jaw stick hasn't burned out yet. If we wait until then, the disciples who have immersed too deeply will be hard to get out. So of course we should wake them up before it burns out. Don't make trouble, monk Wu Jie. Why are you so impatient, Simei? Tu Wangxing has lost his mind. Staying in the illusion will only make him suffer more. Give up, Wudged. I understand your disciple would gain a lot if he made it this time. However, it'd be not worth it if he made mistakes and hurt himself. Just wait for a moment. With my disciple's talent, he will beat it. Buddhist debate isn't held just for you, Wu Jie. Besides your disciple, there are others in the illusion world as well. You cross the line, Wu Jie. Why do you have to do this, Master Wu Jie? Ha! Do you think I'm afraid of you? The awakening must wait, no matter you like it or not. Damn, why are they about to fight? What about the trial and my relic? Ah. Oh. Wanching. He's in it too deeply. Wake him up now. Don't you knock on that. Qi deviation will either kill or disable him, Wu Jie. Do you want to see your disciple become disabled? It's his fate. I'll take whatever that comes out. A demon sect indeed. That's hardcore, but this is my chance. Here. Too many of them will drown you. Let me share some of your pressure. This is? Monk excellence can absorb others' hungry ghosts? What an amazing disciple from Rose Finch Temple. Rose Finch Temple's Demon Taming Sutra states that hungry ghosts can only be released, not absorbed, but now it looks like Monk Excellence has discovered his own way. I made it, Master. You didn't let me down, kid. Your body is injured, but the refinement that eight punishments in hell have done to you can offset all abuse. Thank Monk Excellence now. If he didn't absorb the hungry ghosts on you, you wouldn't make it. Thank you, Monk Excellence. If someone has to suffer in hell, I'll do it. Good. Very good. I knew absorbing his hungry ghosts would wake him up. That was a nice feast, and my hungry ghosts are much stronger now. If someone has to suffer in hell, I'll do it, Monk Excellence indeed. Buddhist debates trials are for helping you understand something new and make improvements. Two Wangxing gained with the help of Monk Excellence. That's his good luck. We've given Wu Jie the moment he wanted, Nun Simei. I don't think he'll stop you from ringing the bell now. How about we both take a step back? Today is Buddha's blessing day. It's bad to fight in front of Buddha. Let's forget about it. Huh? What? Looks like we couldn't make it to the third trial. What a shame. No need to stay here any longer. Let's go back. I managed to pass the second trial, Master. How can I give up now? We've reached our goal, and you're seriously hurt. We don't have to continue. 
No, those decent balds will laugh at us if we give up without a fight. I can go on. I thought Wushang Sik would be defeated in the second trial like always, but Tu Wanqing beat it. Tu Wanqing might not be able to beat it if Monk Excellence didn't help him. The second trial is over. Shiwan from Seoul Temple, Tu Wanqing from Shiwan, and Monk Excellence from Rose Finch Temple have passed the trial. The third trial is not about the illusion world. Participants who have passed the former trials, please take a step forward and get ready for the last trial worship the Buddha. You've experienced all the sufferings of life and got enlightened. There are very few disciples who could do that in the past. This year, we have three disciples who obtained the honor of worshiping Buddha. It's good news for all of us. The last trial is different from the previous two. The third spirit leading Joss stick that Elder Su Wei is about to light can let you see your true self, resonate with the Buddha's statue in the spirit mountain, and activate Dharma image. Dharma image? Something like body of bliss Buddha or mantra of middle heaven Polaris. Please note that I won't ring the bell in the last trial. I'll light the Joss stick now. Please be ready. It's about to start, but can a fake monk like me resonate with it? Most importantly, what should I do after activating it? Can't they be specific? Guess I have to play by ear. I see. Ha ha ha. I've comprehended it. Wanching. What the hell did you do? He's injured. He passed out because he was exhausted. Don't worry, Monk Wujie. But Tu Wangxing has lost the qualification to worship the Buddha. You can let him rest in a guest room in Seoul Temple if you don't mind. Bah! I don't need your fake sympathy. I have faith, I discipline, learn, share, study, debate, and have the Agama Sutra and self-awareness. No. I shouldn't have understood so little. If I don't know myself, I can't discipline, learn, share, study, debate, and have the Agama Sutra and self-awareness. Monk Tu Wanqing was too impatient. The Dharma image wouldn't appear that quickly if he thought about it a bit carefully. You mean the third trial isn't simple? Well, I'll spoil the fun part if I tell you now. Let's see if Shiwan and Monk Excellence can comprehend it. Shiwan's Dharma image has shown. It's not stable, but it's visible. But nothing happened around Monk Excellence yet. I'd suspect he's a real monk if he didn't perform so well in the last two trials. I feel strange, but since Master said we could make Dharma image shown, I should hang on. Hang in there, Shiwan. Why hasn't Monk Excellence shown anything? Could it be Buddha doesn't approve of Monk Excellence's arrogance? Shiwan should have sensed something, but he's missing the last bit. It's good for him to last this long. As for Monk Excellence, nothing happened to him. Could it be? Umitba, Umitba. I knew a fake monk wouldn't sense anything, but Tu Wanqing and Shiwan have resonated with Dharma image already. I'll lose if I don't show them something, and people may suspect my identity. I can't fake the Dharma image, but I can do it differently. What's with the golden light? It doesn't look like the Dharma image. Monk Excellence Demonic Art of Agdoet Tribulations, Tribulation of Altered Buddha Shiwan, you've shown. It's like the sun in the sky. The Buddha has descended to enlighten the world. The Buddha's light is so shiny. But I can't see the Dharma image. Why is Shiwan worshipping him? What did Monk Excellence do? Amitbha, Amitbha. The Buddha is merciful. It enlightens all living beings. Scatter. What happened? Why did Shiwan's Dharma image disappear? What happened after Monk Excellence touched his head? I've been hosting the Buddhist debate for decades, but it's the first time I see that. Do you know what's happening, Abbot Quan Ching? Monk Excellence is indeed different. If I'm right, he should have seen the nature of this trial and even his spare strength to enlighten Shiwan in case he followed the path that Tu Wanqing went. The Han Empire's Buddhist debate is truly amazing. 
I've gained so much. My time was worth it. I admit defeat. What? I feel so refreshed after you enlightened me. It proves how wide the strength gap is between us. Why would you admit defeat instead of showing your Dharma image? You got me wrong, Shiwan. I wanted to experience the well-known Buddhist debate, and I did it. So I won't compete for the Han Empire's Buddhistic treasure with you. But of course, I'd be grateful if you could let me have a look at the relic. Monk Excellence has a clear mind and six roots of sensations. No wonder you could make it to one of the contemporary arhats in the Rose Finch Temple. Our tricks must seem laughable for you. Origin Point Gained Respect 0 0.01 points Abbot Quan Ching Origin Point Gained Respect 0 0.01 points Elder Su Wei Origin Point Gained Respect 0 0.01 points Nun Simei Origin Point Gained Respect 0 0.01 points Monk Shiwan Good. They're praising me instead of accusing me of being a demonic monk. So even the pre-celestial masters in the main world can't see through tribulation of altered Buddha as long as I don't use it against a group. I manipulated Chiwan with tribulation of altered Buddha and then removed the side effects with finger of nirvana. The show was perfect. Since I can get close to relic either way, I might as well take a step back to win their favor and gain a good reputation and origin points as monk excellence. Since I can get close to relic either way, I might as well take a step back to win their favor and gain a good reputation and origin points as monk excellence. The main world is indeed strong. The tribulation of altered Buddha was powerful in small worlds, but I could only use it as a special effect. Without the chance and environment, I couldn't manipulate Shiwan even for a few seconds. I've been cultivating Buddhism for decades, and I thought I had a firm faith. But Monk Excellence enlightened me that my vision is still too narrowed. Listening to you for one moment is much better than reading books for ten years. Is that the Dao Yun? Ha ha, Dao Yun has a clear mind. Monk Excellence's words must have helped her make progress in her breakthrough. Ha ha ha. Thank you, Monk Excellence. I it's my pleasure. What the fuck? What's that supposed to mean? Sia Daoyun always upgrades with my efforts. That eccentric woman. I'll take my advantages back someday. Since Monk Excellence has admitted defeat, then today's Buddhist debate's winner is. The winner should be Monk Excellence. Haven't you come around to the result, Shiwan? Please enlighten me, Master. The third trial is all about giving up is victory. Giving up is victory? Giving up is victory? We Buddhism cultivators can only show the Dharma image after reaching the pre-celestial stage. But under the influence of the Buddha statue, you thought you could show it when you're level 9 post-celestial cultivators. But because of your realm level, it was impossible for you to make it. This trial wanted you to know your deficiency and give up to beat it. Monk Excellence clearly knew that. He didn't show the Dharma image at all, and under the influence of the Buddha statue, he even had some spare strength to help you get out of confusion. I see. I didn't think of that. Thank you for enlightening me, Monk Excellence. You were just confused in the game, Shiwan. You'd come around eventually even without me. What a coincidence. Should I thank Buddha for my good luck? Stop flattering each other. How hypocritical. You've nagged a lot, but Monk Excellence won anyway. Monk Excellence, you saved my disciple, and I owe you one. This is an ebony prayer bead, my exclusive token. Take it. Come to Ushang Sect on Skyscraping Ridge, Daba Mountain, when you're free. With this bead, our people won't stop you, and you can visit me directly. I'll do that for sure if I have the chance. Goodbye. Are we just leaving like this, Master? Be patient. We rarely come here, so I have to let Soul Temple see what I'm capable of. It was rare that Wujia didn't make a scene this year. Didn't he make enough scene when he stopped you from ringing the bell? Umidba, Umidba. He even convinced those evil monks from Wushang sect throughout the entire Buddhist debate, Monk Excellence's understanding of Buddhism is ahead of everyone. Arhat in the Rose Finch Temple indeed. Amazing Monk Excellence. 
Relic awaits in our temple's silence room, Monk Excellence. There it is. To avoid people's unintentional disturbance, we sit it as a forbidden ground in the valley. What a nice place to meditate Buddhism. Phew, my efforts were worth it. I finally got the chance to get close to it. Why are there four masters sitting around the silence room? Are they here to meditate as well? Now there's only the hardest problem left for me to solve the container will be broken after I absorb the system fragment. They'll only lend a relic to me to cultivate for seven days. If I break it, Soul Temple won't let it go easily. They are pre-celestial elders in Soul Temple. They choose to meditate here to protect the forbidden ground. And at night, they'll chant to help the person in Silence Room fast concentrate. Now I know why Soul Temple is one of the top three temples in the Han Empire. There's only a 10% to 20% chance for me to escape at night with Rainbow Shift after destroying Relic and being chased by four pre-celestial masters. In that case, the Monk Excellence identity will be a goner, too. And who knows if there are some formation traps in the Forbidden Ground. I worked hard to win the Buddhist debate to confirm one thing. The Silence Room is here. The jade box that places the treasure is made from our founder's jade cushion. It's also a treasure in Soul Temple. Please handle it with care. I see. Thank you for taking me here. I need to confirm which is the system fragment. Is it the relic or... I knew it. If this wasn't the case, I had to give up on upgrading the system and come back for relic after I reached the pre-celestial stage. System fragment detected. Integrate? I guessed it right. The system fragment is the box, not the relic. Judging from previous experience, the system fragment were all attached to jade, but the relic is a reverend monk's bone. Integrate destroying a box with sentimental value will upset Soul Temple, but they won't do anything to monk excellence for it. However, this identity's reputation and Buddhistic favor will drop. I'm okay with it since it's forgetting the system fragment. Meanwhile, good. Soul Temple would never think that I'd sneak in with Wushan Sex Airy Shift. Ha, huh, I couldn't do anything when they placed the relic in the center of gate formation in Treasure Hall. But Monk Excellence won, and they moved it to a forbidden ground with exorcism formation. For pre-celestial guardians can't stop me. Monk Excellence will lose a good chance, but I owe him one already. I'll just add another. Wushang Sect can afford to pay him back. The Jade Box is in ashes. Monk Excellence could sense the relic's Buddhism essence not long after he came here. And I wonder what profound Buddhism the relic has to influence an excellent monk like him so much that he accidentally crushed the box. Low Web Novel Arhat Dutian, the founder of Soul Temple's theories are much different than Wushang Sex, but if I can study the relic, perhaps I can complete my theories. System Fragment Fused System Upgraded Current Level, Level 3 Transmigration Function is Upgraded The system is now upgraded to Level 3 Improving Transmigration Improving Transmigration? It didn't let me wait before. Wait, the air is fluctuating behind me. Someone's here. Monk Excellence, Monk Wujie? Is another person in the silence room? Who dares to break into Soul Temple's forbidden ground? I accidentally released a breath, and the four old monks outside noticed me. I've seen many Buddhism cultivators in various empires, Monk Excellence. But when it comes to the understanding and luck of Buddhism, you're the best. Please come to Wushang Sect when you're free, and don't indulge yourself in Soul Temple's Buddhism. Having a taste of it would be enough. He's a great arhat for sure. A bright future is awaiting him. I can't let the Soul Temple have him. I must befriend him on behalf of the Wushang Sect. Ha ha. I'll let you understand Wushang Sect's Buddhism then. Alright, I should go before too late. See you. Excuse me. What are you doing here exactly? Is Wujia here to snatch the relic? Then why did he leave? I don't think he came here just to praise me. Ha ha ha. 
looks like the four guardians of soul temple strength has been improved even more. I'd say the same to your stealth, Monk Wujie. We only noticed you after you sneaked into the silence room. Are you here for the relic? Is Monk Excellence hurt? Borrowing is not the same as stealing. Besides, Monk Excellence helped Wushang sect. How would I hurt him? Ha ha. You took the upper hand this year, again. Ha ha ha. He must have been here to snatch the relic. We can't let our Buddhist relic fall into the hands of Wushang sect. The relic is still in the silence room. Looks like Wu Jie didn't succeed. Monk Excellence must have protected it and made Wu Jie expose himself to the four guardians. Successfully protected the relic from Wu Jie, Monk Excellence has deep martial cultivation as well. Open, huh? Monk Excellence looks well, but why is he out? Wu Jie must have disturbed him too much that he can't calm his mind. Thank you, everyone. I've finished studying the relic. The time wasn't enough for activating the relic. Have you learned anything? I've gained too much from the Buddhist debate, and I was lucky enough to get so close to the relic. I shouldn't desire more. Compared to losing my tranquility for greed, I'd like to give it to someone else who needs it more. Shiwan, if you can reach the pre-celestial stage with this, I'll be honored. Monk Excellence? But the jade box was accidentally, I'm willing to be punished for it. I tried. A fake monk like me couldn't activate anything from the relic at all. I might as well use it to make amends to keep my reputation at an average level. You were dragged into this incident, monk excellence, but you blame yourself for it. How merciful you are. Wu Jie broke into the forbidden ground and tried to steal our relic. He did it because Soul Temple hadn't protected this place well enough. As a post-celestial martial artist, you did great by protecting the relic for a moment. You couldn't take care of everything. I have to thank you for protecting our relic, Monk Excellence. I wish I could be stronger. YG took the blame for me. That's good. I remember you traveled the world to comprehend Buddhism and reach the pre-celestial stage, right? Studying the relic can enlighten you to fulfill your concept of everyone is a Buddha and help your cultivation advance. You don't have to give up the chance just because the jade box is broken. Not just that. I think traveling the world suits me more than meditating in a silence room. Besides, I've learned something while I was in the silence room. Buddhism is a ship that carries people across the bridge between life and death. The Great Buddhism can be any vehicle to help people advance. The Great Buddhism can be any vehicle to help people advance. How nice. Well said. If everyone in this world can be a Buddha, how wonderful will that be? I hope you can practice with that theory in the future to prove your Buddhism. I'll keep what you said in mind, masters. It's getting late. I should go on with my journey. Amitbha, Amitbha. Soul Temple, good. Getting the system fragment went well. Now I just need to wait for the system to complete upgrading. Buddhist debate is over, and I'm done being a monk. It's time to be Xiaoyan again and find the woman who can help me reach the pre-celestial stage. Please wait, Monk Excellence. Huh? I haven't thanked you in person. Xie Daoyun? Why does she want to thank me? I was watching you beating the trials, and I'd learned so much. After I reached the pre-celestial stage, I felt I had great responsibilities on my shoulders but didn't know what to do. Your theories enlightened me, and my cultivation realm was loosened as well. You're truly my savior. I can't thank you enough. You flattered me. You made it because you're talented. Even in the eyes of flowery anecdotes, Xia Daoyun is a top beauty. But she's the kind of woman who could travel with a bunch of handsome men and handle everything well. She seems not to be the innocent type. But which type is she? Let me find out with flowery technique. Let me see your true color, woman. What's wrong? Ha ha, nothing. I'm just thinking about how fickle fate is. She meets everything that flowery sword power requires to reach the pre-celestial stage. 
looking like a social butterfly, she actually has a clear and innocent heart. I've searched for a while, but it's you the whole time. At the foot of Seoul Temple Octagonal Pavilion, Di Xiaoyao from the Han Empire's royal family, the eighth prince child Golden Jade, drinking tea from a purple clay pot and reciting poems, the admiring unrestrained couple outlines the joyful air. The person who will enjoy this pot of tea with me, I wonder when she will come. She's coming. Huh? The person beside Fairy Daoyun, he seems to be monk excellence from the Tang Empire. Pavilion of Elites has illustrated books about him. I heard Monk Excellence was traveling in the Han Empire, but I didn't think I'd see him here today. And he looks very close to Fairy Dao Yun. I know he's a monk, but I've never heard Dao Yun would be so warm to a foreigner. Does she like this monk? Fairy Dao Yun, Monk Excellence. My name is Di Xiaoyao. I've waited here for a while. Who is he? Should Monk Excellence know this man? I didn't think you'd come so early, Child D. Nice to meet you. They have a date. Don't mind it, Dao Yun. Having tea and listening to the Buddhist debate at the foot of Seoul Temple is interesting. I saw you and Monk Excellence talking in joy in the distance. You must have been friends for a long time. I've admired Monk Excellence for a long time, but it's the first time I see him in person. I see. Sorry about making assumptions. Monk Excellence is the contemporary arhat of Rose Finch Temple in the Tang Empire. His temple is different from Fanchin sect, which requires disciples to live with the world. Looks like I have nothing to worry about. I didn't mean to offend you. Please don't mind, Monk Excellence. None taken. This golden man is interested. I wonder if he's interested in the person I think it is. I know our date is tomorrow, but since we've already met, let's make the date today. I know Fanchin Six rules. If you have any questions about me being the reincarnation of Polaris, ask away. So Sia Dalen didn't come to Luoyang City just for Buddhist debate. She's here to find the reincarnation of Polaris as well. Is he the target this time? Is Ji Yuntao out of the game? The Polaris is the master of fate and has the responsibility to unify the decent and demon sections what made you think you're the reincarnation of it. Every Polaris of the Han Empire was one of the most outstanding people at the time. Five beauties and five childs are the best of our time, and I'm one of them. The Polaris reincarnation should be noble and exemplary. People should feel the imperial aura from the person. As you know, I mediated disputes between decent and demon sects and suppressed the chaos that the northern barbarians inflicted. No other peers had ever done such accomplishments. Besides, I cultivate the Han Empire's royal martial art, Qi Long Sutra. Do you know any martial art that's more honorable than this? I must be the Polaris reincarnation. What do you think, Miss Dao Yun? I believe you'll have the power to do everything you want someday. If you're the Polaris, what kind of martial world will you build? Ha! The martial world and the court should help each other. Everything has its established order, and I'll be the creator and key player. Is my answer satisfactory, Miss Dao Yun? He's arrogant. I see. I look forward to traveling with you, Child D, but our date was set for tomorrow. I'm just walking Monk Excellence out. There should be some following arrangements about Buddhist debate later, so I'm afraid we can't take off right away. I'll follow your schedule. I'll wait for you by the ferry in the city west at noon tomorrow. I wanted to invite Miss Dao Yun to drink tea with me, but I didn't think you'd come as well, Monk Excellence. Please wait for a moment. Lu Ching, get us another cup. Yes. No need for the trouble, sir. It's getting late. I should go. What a shame. You must give me the honor of having tea with you if we meet again. Finding the Polaris must be tiring, Miss Sierra. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Farewell, Monk Excellence. Di Xiaoyao asked Xia Dao Yun to verify if he's the Polaris reincarnation, but clearly that's not what he exactly wants. He's only into Xia Dao Yun. 
whatever. I never took the initiative on any girl before, but based on my experience. No woman can resist my beautiful smile. Half a day later, I've thought about it. It's better for me to approach Xia Daoyun as monk excellence. Xia Yan already has Qin Xinxi. It'll raise the difficulty to hell if I use that identity, and it'll be hard for me to get out of this. Ugh. I want to die. Wouldn't it be harder for a monk to court women? There's no way to be loyal to both lover and Buddha. That's a famous saying coming from a monk. From now on, monk excellence will be a lovesick monk. Xia Daoyun made breakthroughs twice with my help. Now I need her help to upgrade finger of flowery swords and reach the pre-celestial stage. This is a basic rule of cultivation equivalent exchange. I finally found the woman who can help me break through. I have to win her heart even when there are three people involved. It'll get my motor going more. Xia Daoyun is a pre-celestial master, so I won't let you out very often. I've got a great idea to step in, and I'll do it after saying goodbye to Ran. All right, be careful, Dot Master. You're talented and clear-minded. No wonder Nun Simei values you. I look forward to your achievements in the future. But as far as I know about Lotus Nunnery's cultivation methods, you may have to have a breakup battle with your brother, Xia Yin the Charming Jade Child, to make a breakthrough and reach excellence. It won't be a battle of life and death, but it'll cut the family relations. Think it through, Ran. Ran. I've been looking for you. I'm here to say goodbye. I've been in Luoyang City long enough. Since you can take care of yourself here, I'll continue to go on my journey. Contact the Marching Sect if you want to reach me. You know Lotus Nunnery and Marching Sect don't like each other, but you still asked me to do something that may deem as betraying my sect. Do you dislike me so much that you finally decide to kill me with a borrowed knife? Talking about killing while Buddha is watching? You'd better keep silent. But why wouldn't you just leave the Lotus Nunnery, anyway? You've only been here several months after all. Because Lotus Nunnery's cultivation methods suit me perfectly. Only Lotus Nunnery can help me reach the pre-celestial stage as soon as possible. Fine. Contact me if anything goes wrong. Be careful not to let Lotus Nunnery fool you. Brother. Huh? I just want to tell you something. How can anyone ditch their emotions when they're emotional? Why would anyone need to ditch emotions if they're ruthless? I'll find the solution to change the cultivation method of the Lotus Nunnery. See you at that time. See you then. How can anyone ditch their emotions when they're emotional? Why would anyone need to ditch emotions if they're ruthless? I knew Ran was gifted. She already understood the basics of the Lotus Nunnery's pre-celestial art's seven clear emotions mirroring Lotus Heart. Dragon in, we're basically sure that Ji Yuntao is the Polaris, but he hasn't awakened yet. We can't announce that to the public to avoid unnecessary trouble. Di Xiaoyao is a royal member. Now that he recommended himself, it's hard for our sect to turn him down. I see. You've reached the pre-celestial stage, Dao Yun. The next for you should refine your mind with love. You'd been in touch with various young talents. Is there anyone you like? No, I only cared about finding the Polaris. And I didn't pay any attention to that. Enter the secular world, leave the secular world, and forget love after getting it. With your talent, you'll exceed our former sect leaders in recent generations and reach the multi-celestial stage for sure. Don't waste your talent. I'll start finding someone I like after this trip. I'm not interested in worldly experience or refining my mind with love. When can I return to my sect and live a free life? The second day. Huh? The Chinese herbaceous peony that grows in the garden is colorful but was no character. The lotus that grows in the pool is clean and white but has no paste. Only the penny is a real beauty. When they boom. It's so beautiful that everyone in the city would come to enjoy them. Lotus is beautiful and peony is more beautiful. But if you ask me, the flower in front of me is the most beautiful. 
Please go aboard, Miss Dao Yun. Wow, what an entrance. A pre-celestial martial artist controls silk ribbons with post-celestial dancers tied on them while spilling petals. Di Xiaoyao has the power, money, and people to do such things, and it did look splendid. Normal girls may have fallen for this by now. But Mr. Xia Yin said Xia Dao Yun had seen numerous young talents. Even Ji Yuntao didn't win her heart, let alone these tricks. I'll report this to Master. Half a day later. We'll travel by water, passing by Chuzhou City and Inching City, and then travel overland in Handling City. It's a long trip. We can take it slow. I personally arranged our schedule. Hope you'll like it. Thank you, Child D. I truly look forward to it. Huh? What's with the strong energy of Ian on these birds? Splash. What's going on? I can tell there is Ian energy on those animals. And they're heading for the same place. Something may be happening ahead. Interesting. Speed up and follow the animals, Lu Ching. Let's see what's going on ahead. Fifteen minutes later. Miss Dao Yun? I must cause all living beings those born from eggs, wounds, moisture, by transformation, those with form, those without form, those with thought, those without thought, those not totally endowed with thought, and those not totally without thought to enter nirvana without residue and be taken across to cessation, law web novel. Isn't it monk excellence? What? He's chanting for animals? I thought he's handsome the last time I saw him. Now that I see him again, I think he's even more good-looking. What another worldly monk. Hmm? I didn't expect I'd see you after opening my eyes again. What a nice surprise. Do you know why there is Ian energy on these animals, monk excellence? I have no idea. I was afraid the gathering Ian energy might hurt the animals nearby, so I decided to go downstream on a turtle and chant to comfort the animals on the way. Of course you can sense the Ian energy. How could I show such a wonder without Ching or using Ghost Parade to drive the animals here? I admire your nobility, Monk Excellence. Origin Point Gained Appreciation, 0.01 .01 Points Lu Ching. Origin Point Gained Appreciation, 0.01 .01 Points Di Xiaoyan. Origin Point Gained Appreciation, 0 Points Xia Dao Yun. All right. I've cleared the surrounding Yin energy completely. Fate brought us together. Where are you going? Am I interrupting your journey? You attracted numerous fishes and birds here for your chanting. Such an amazing scene really impressed me. Why do you think you're interrupting our journey? Our destination is Jive Ruins in suburban Daba City. Now we're heading to Nanyang City by water and then take a carriage there. Jie Ruins, that happens to be my destination as well. May I go with you? Am I a big enough third wheel? Is it merely a coincidence? But a monk can't be a threat to me, no matter how handsome he is. Besides, Miss Dao Yun likes Buddhism. Perhaps I can use him to attract her. How can I refuse you? Come aboard, please. Thank you. Nice to meet you again, Miss Xie. Nice to meet you. I admire your profound understanding of Buddhism, monk excellence. Phew. With pre-celestial martial artists' presence, it was hard to hide Ching'er's Yin energy. I had to use tribulation of altered Buddha to cover it. Ching'er drove the animals here, and I controlled them. And I had to predict Xia Daoyun's arrival. It was even harder than fighting. The result deserves it. Not bad. Origin point gained appreciation, 0.01 .01 points C Daoying. I hope those animals won't be too panicky after waking up from tribulation of altered Buddha. B Chirp growl Wu Cheap. Web novel glad to have a talk with you today. A treasure deserves its perfect match. This sutra is the only extant copy. Only you can maximize its value. This Aguanin Jade Pendant. It can bring peace to its owner and stabilize the cultivation. 
You just reached the pre-celestial stage not long ago, Miss Daoyun. It suits you perfectly. I shouldn't accept such a rare gift. I didn't do anything for you. I'm not a real monk. What am I going to do with a sutra? All right. How about you, Miss Daoyun? I agree with monk excellence. I appreciate your kindness, child D. Sorry for my negligence. I shouldn't disgrace you with worldly items. But welcome to visit my collection anytime during the trip. I obtained these when I stopped by Datong and Dongxiang auction houses. They're not very rare. Hope you'll like it. I heard Child Golden Jade liked collecting and was a regular visitor to multiple auction houses. Now I see it's true. These are nothing to me. I have a supreme raw stone of jadeite. It's about 2.5 meters high. You can visit my mansion to see it any time you want, Dao Yun. Wow. Now he's calling her Dao Yun? He carries a bunch of treasures with him wherever he goes. Isn't he worried about getting them stolen? But with Lu Qing, a pre-celestial martial artist, around him, normal thieves wouldn't dare to steal his belongings. Collecting is interesting. Besides the item's stories and value, watching all kinds of people throwing money at it is fun. For example, this bracelet looks ordinary, and it's indeed nothing special. Only a people tree seed, a kind of ancient medicine, sealed inside the amber makes it kind of valuable. Sounds like you don't value the bracelet. Then why did you collect it? Ha ha. Someone was bidding against me at Datong Auction House. I got bored and couldn't bear it. So I offered a high price and got it. I don't know who the other bidder was because that auction needed every participant to wear a mask. What a shame. What a poor wretch. He even offended Di Xiaoyao. You're always candid and generous, child D. I didn't expect you'd be so naughty. It's just a little idiosyncrasy. If it were a book about an unimportant martial art to you and a weak ordinary person was bidding against you, would you let the person have it? A weak person shouldn't have bid for it in the first place. But the hypothesis can't stand I've seen numerous martial arts. I wouldn't care about ordinary ones. If that really happens, I'll give up. I see. Xia Dao Yun is testing Di Xiaoyao all the time. I have a basin of dark jade grass on top of the boat absorbing moon essence. I'll take it here for you. At night Monk Excellence's cabin. With a strong family background, Di Xiaoyao is good looking, gorgeous, and gentle. He's a perfect man to most ordinary women. I can finally get some fresh air coup. But you said Xia Dao Yun wasn't an ordinary woman. She traveled with numerous talents after all. Yes. Di Xiaoyao's tricks can't work on Xia Dao Yun, but also it makes it harder for me to win her heart. Anyway, let me show him some professional skills. The next day. What a nice sunny day. It's perfect for some tea while enjoying the beautiful view. I especially kept some long jing tea in Luoyang City. Today is the best day to have a taste. It's green, fragrant, sweet, and good looking. How nice. The tea can't compare with your company, no matter how good it is. Novel. Have you ever thought about how many people and resources the Han Empire need to invest in collecting such tea? The world is like a machine, and individuals are like its parts. Someone with a high status like me should care about the big picture. The Han Empire is prosperous, and the Han people have spare food at home. If the tea grower all changes into growing rice, what will the rice grower do? Everything exists for a reason. I see. Dao Yun, I know you're a Buddhism cultivator, but the Fanqin sect is different from other Buddhistic sections. I'm curious about one thing. What is it? The Fanqin sect values worldly experience. Can someone really return to Buddhism after falling in love? There's no truly falling in our cultivation. For me, everything is a trial. Imperial concubine Yun is also from the Fanchin sect, and my father once asked her the same question. She replied something more than you I followed my heart, so I had to disappoint the Buddha. Affection, oh, of what is affection comprised? 
Where from and how has it got the power like that to impel you to live and digest side by side? The only thing that lovebirds want is to always stay with each other. Even the emperor couldn't resist that urge. Miss Yoon and His Majesty's love story is indeed touching, but that's too rare. And no one knows if she's indulging herself in love or taking all that as a trial. A wrong example. That lovesick emperor has another 72 concubines besides imperial concubine Yun. They are involved in Miss Yun's love story. Whatever. People in ancient times may have different mindsets. Perhaps they think the emperor is a spoonie because he even fell for imperial concubine Yun. Anyway, Di Xiaoyao can't please Xia Dao Yun at all. Look at the great atmosphere. Looks like it's my chance now. Why did you sigh, monk excellence? Did you feel being left out because we were too focused on talking? No, it's just that I heard your conversation and got a question. May you answer that for me? There's a saying, death is nothing to be afraid of if one can be with the loved one forever. Mandarin ducks are more enviable than deities. If humans love someone to the bones, what would they do? Monk Excellence, your question is quite interesting. I think humans' love should be greater than Mandarin ducks. Just like this pair of fish. Even out of the water, they can help and be with each other all the time. They choose to stay with each other even at the most critical moment. This is the ultimate love. Help and be with each other all the time. What do you think, Monk Excellence? I knew Di Xiaoyao would answer that way, but this answer would only push Xia Daoyun further away. Please give me your hand. I think, release. Swim separate ways. Forgetting about each other is better than helping and being with each other all the time. Forgetting about each other is better than helping and being with each other all the time. Perhaps you would like to hear a story. A girl fell for a man at the first sight, so she prayed every morning in the hope of seeing that man again. And her sincerity moved the Buddha. The Buddha told her, you must give up on everything you currently have and cultivate for a hundred years to get a chance of passing by him. And you can be with him after seven hundred years of cultivation. The girl said yes without hesitation. During the first century, the girl became a seed. After enduring 99 years of exposure to wind and rain, she finally grew up as a big tree. She was unable to move and suffered from loneliness. In the 100th year, a bird landed on the girl's branch. She knew the bird was her love's reincarnation at first sight. But the bird flapped away before the girl could touch him. She never saw him again. In the second life, the girl became a bird, looking for the other bird that once landed on her branch. But in no way could she find him. So she had to wait for the next century. When the second century came, the girl flew by a lake and found her love was a little fish. The girl flew in the sky, while her love stayed in the water. In the third life, she became a little fish. After three lives, the girl had a hunch that there would be another hundred years of waiting. But she looked forward to their encounter anyway. Finally, she saw him. But that life ended with her being eaten by his bare mother. The fourth, fifth, and sixth life passed by, until the seventh life, she became a human again. You've cultivated for six hundred years. Cultivate for another hundred years, and you'll be with him. I kept missing him, but he came to me every time. Does it mean he has feelings for me as well? Yes. When you were searching for him, he was looking for you as well. But the time hasn't come. You need to cultivate for 700 years to make it. I can hold on, but there's no need for it. I still love him, but I don't have to marry him. I'm happy with what I have now. In the seventh life, the girl met her love again. They knew they had waited for each other for so long. But they merely looked at each other, full of love, and drifted apart. Origin point gained appreciation, 0.01 points C Dao Yun. Origin point gained appreciation, 0.01 points C Dao Yun. Origin point gained appreciation, 0.01 points C Dao Yun. Origin point gained appreciation. 
0.01 points Xi Dao Yun. What a sad story. They wasted 700 years and didn't end up together. If I were the girl, I'd either keep going until I got to be with my love or give up at the very start. What do you think, Dao Yun? Dao Yun? Forgetting about each other is better than helping and being with each other all the time. Do you agree with that, monk excellence? Love is a mere dream of life. It may be a must, but no need to hold on to it. A brief experience is enough. Too true. I thought life was like rowing on a boundless sea, looking for a shore. And love was something that slows your rowing and wastes your time. There's no need for it. Now that I heard your idea, I see that one needs to experience love to fulfill his life, but love can also be deemed a dream. The dream ends eventually, but it'll make you smile when you recall it on a night with moonlight years later. Wait. What on earth did you grasp? I was always confused about love before, but you cleared my confusion and made me stop resisting it. It's just a dream. A dream won't stop my pursuing. You're very talented, Miss Sierra. Impressive indeed. She just said something that only frivolous women would say with an extremely innocent, pure tone. What are girls learning in the Fanchin sect? Are Buddhism cultivators all this casual, I mean, open-minded, about love? No, I can't let monk excellence mislead Dao Yun. The second day. Origin point gained appreciation, 1.01 point Xia Dao Yun. Origin point gained appreciation, 0.01 point Xia Dao Yun. Xia Dao Yun still provides me origin points from time to time even after one day. This is good. With my observation these days, I found that Xia Dao Yun is a real genius. Love is nothing but a shackle for her, but the martial art she's cultivating requires her to experience it. Her idea of perfect love is to put all her passion into a relationship that will eventually separate. Anyway, isn't it what I want? I'll persuade her into dating me by pleasing her and convincing her of our shared aim. I think I can win her heart before reaching Jiye Ruins. A month later, it turned out that I was overconfident. My hands are tied with Di Xiaoyao's presence. I can't get our relationship to the next level. Is something bothering you, monk excellence? Not really. I'm just wondering when we'll arrive in Jiye Ruins. Oh, right. I merely heard of the Jiye Ruins. I don't know more details. Can you tell me something, Miss Xie? This is strange. Why would Di Xiaoyao invite Xie Daoyun to a ruin? Jie Ruins is more like a scenery spot. The Han government discovered it decades ago. Most organs in the ruins were harmless, and most treasures there were taken away. Once you enter the ruins, you'll feel suppressed by the power similar to the sect gate formation. And people who were below level 8 of the post-celestial stage can barely walk deep in the ruins. The ruin suppression isn't that strong to pre-celestial martial artists, but it's strong enough to stop us from flying. The later investigation confirmed that some ancient sect built the immortal land to help their disciples cultivate. But that sect vanished for some reason, and the ruins were left ever since. You can't see it from the outside, but there's an entirely different, independent world inside the ruins. It sounds like a small world to me. I'll go there and gain some experience. Few days later. Finally. This is the Jive Ruins. It's said that Jie Ruins is a famous scenery spot in the Han Empire, so there are many visitors. But the suppression in the cave stops ordinary people from getting in, so they only wander around nearby the entrance to seize a chance of seeing the inside. Over time, a town was built by the entrance, which serves visitors mostly. Besides, even if you're strong enough to ignore the suppression, you need corresponding approval documents to go deep. It's for safety concerns, not for preventing someone from causing trouble. Xie Daoyun and Di Xiaoyao are talking. I can let Ching her out to get some fresh air. You finally let me out, master. I can't be with you recently. We happen to stay here for a while. You can tour the walk around yourself, Ching er. No need. Staying with you is better. 
I don't want Sia Daoyun to find and kill you. Be a good girl. I'll have plenty of time to be with you. Here comes that again. Is that monk excellence? How would an evil spirit bother him? I've toured the town with Sia Daoyun all day. It's been a long time since I walked this much. My legs are sore. I'll massage them, master. How do you feel? Very good. Your skills are improving. Wait, there are. Evil Elimination Sutra. Bang. Help me, master. Master? What's with that address? Why would you be with such an evil spirit? Origin point gain shocked. 0.01 Elder Kong Yuan. Origin point gain shocked. 0.01 Elder Kong Gao. Origin point gain shocked. 0.01 Elder Kong Shi. Elders? Damn. They are the three exorcism elders of the Rosefinch Temple. What are they doing here? I thought you already forgot about who we are. That ghost must have captivated you. You too. We'll eliminate the evil spirit first. Please wait for a moment, elders. Hear me out first. Don't eliminate her. Are you speaking for her? Did she really captivate you? There's something you don't know. They don't hold malice against me. Perhaps making up excuses will be counterproductive. It's a long story. Please hear me out. Monks are mostly unsophisticated, and Chinger is actually a pure spirit. I should be able to muddle through. A girl was once living nearby a city named Shashue. Her family had a house and field, and they led a happy life. But the bully in the city was very cruel. He conspired with villains and occupied the girl's house and field forcibly. Her father wanted to reason with the bully, but the bully beat him up. The girl's mother advised him to be a good man, but the bully grabbed her, humiliated her at will, and eventually killed her. The poor father and daughter lost their home. The bully was so devious that he sent people to beat them in the city. The innocent girl died with malice. She turned into a ferocious ghost and wanted to avenge. And that's when I ran into her. I used to be poor, but I was lucky to meet you, Monk Excellence. I pity her misfortune, and she never did anything vile. So I let her stay with me and try to find a way to release her soul. What do you think? The more ferocious the ghost is, the more powerful evil elimination sutra gets. Maybe she is a good ghost, or she should have been vanished by now. Amitba, I think I've muddled it through. Why are they here, anyway? Are they here to take Monk Excellence back because he was away for too long? Monk Excellence? He's my friend, Elders. Di Xiao is here, Chinger. Hide. Open the door. No need to avoid. Lu Ching said you've got some visitors. Are you all right? It's okay. I ran into three of my elders. And perhaps we made too much noise when we talked about Buddhism. Sorry to disturb your rest. Let me introduce. Fifteen minutes later. Child Golden Jade and Pure Jade Beauty are top talents even in the Tang Empire, and their background is no less than the Rosefinch Temple. It's good that you befriend them. Amitba. We've got something to tell you. I've prepared some tea for you, elders. Please have a taste. It's the first time I've seen such a well-behaved ghost. How long has she been with you? A few months, or a year, I don't remember. Looks like she is a harmless ghost. I can relax now. Yeah. A harmless ghost. I heard you were outstanding at Buddhist debating in Luoyang City, and Master Quan Ching, Su Wei, and Simei said the nicest things about you. Is that true? Outstanding is a bit exaggerated. It was just a normal Buddhist debating. Don't be so humble. We've heard the news. All the masters in the three major Buddhistic sects in the Han Empire were full of praise about you. I heard you also added new understandings into the Rosefinch Temple's Buddhism. I'm afraid my immature theory would only offend you. Please tell. The Buddha said he would help sentient beings go through their lives. 
We Buddhism cultivators listen to him and cultivate under strict rules to eventually become arhats, who are above the worldly circle. The Buddhist scriptures have been there forever, and temples of various styles are all over the world. If, if we can share the Buddha's burden and help sentient beings go through their lives. Monk Excellence Silent I was too immersed in it. Did you say that at the debate in Luoyang City? Yes. It's surprising that the masters spoke highly of such an irrational theory. Fine. We're better at martial arts than Buddhism. Since Abbot Quan Ching spoke high of your theory, we won't question it. Thankfully. According to instructions of disguise, the three exorcism elders at the Rosefinch Temple are just good at martial arts. Their understanding of Buddhism isn't deep. I should convince them as long as I don't make it sound too weird. Close. Elders? Damn, what's with this atmosphere? Did I say anything wrong? Enough of chit-chat. It's time to talk business. Please tell. Some big trouble is going to happen nearby. You'd better stop traveling and return to the Rosefinch Temple with us. What could make you all think it's troublesome? What on earth happened? Silent. Not long ago, 11 Sanmei, the guardian elder of the Huanchi sect, attacked our branch. Numerous disciples were hurt, and Elder Haiyun was killed. When the abbot received the news, he sent us to capture 11 Sanmei immediately. But 11 Sanmei was clearly well prepared. We tracked him down from the Tang Empire to the Han Empire, but lost sight of him finally. And his last trace was left here. We've searched for a long time in and around this town. We even entered the ruins several times, but we couldn't find him. It's not convenient for us to search in the Han Empire's territory after all. So we decided to abort the search and return to the Rosefinch Temple at the end of this month. Surprisingly, we met you in the city. I see. Eleven Sanmei is the guardian elder of the Huanchi sect. He's at level four of the pre-celestial stage, excellent at medicine and poison, and about as strong as GEE. -E. According to instructions of disguise, Eleven Sanmei sent Monk Excellence to the Rosefinch Temple as a spy. He and I are on the same team. Eleven Sanmei was too shrewd to attack the Rosefinch Temple himself. Why would he do that? Will the Huanchi sect and the Rosefinch Temple start a war? Thank you for your concern, elders. But I want nothing to do with this. Besides, I'm trying to date Xia Dao Yun. I can't return to the Rosefinch Temple with them. I know nothing about Monk Excellence's martial arts. I have to find a way to send them away in case they find my identity. I've been traveling with Mr. Di Xiaoyao, and he plans to stay here for a long time. Eleven Sanmei shouldn't dare to offend a prince of the Han Empire. I'll be safe here. Um, and I feel that if I stay with Mr. Di Xiaoyao and Miss Xie, I'll reach the pre-celestial stage soon. If I miss this chance, I don't know when I can advance. Chance encounters are indeed important to us Buddhism cultivators. Since you put it like that, we'll stay in this town and return after you reach the pre-celestial stage. By then, you should be able to protect yourself. Damn. I've got to hit on Xia Dao Yun. I can't let them get in my way. Ahem, elders, have you thought about how much pressure Di Xiaoyao, a royal member of the Han Empire, will have with three pre-celestial martial artists' presence here? You know, this is his territory. I see. We'll wait for you in Hull Town nearby. Meet us after you reach the pre-celestial stage, and we'll return to the Rosefinch Temple together. Makes sense, crack. I was so scared. I thought they would kill me. Phew, they finally left. The next day, Di Xiaoyao and Xia Dao Yun went to the local officials. I think we'll enter the ruins tomorrow. My problem is how to turn Xia Dao Yun's appreciation into love. It's hard to make progress when Di Xiaoyao is here. Could it be that coincidental? Who's there? Not bad. Looks like you haven't forgotten about what I taught you, my son. It's been a while, Wuk. 
I almost forgot that Monk Excellence's real name is Ching Wuk. He claims to be my father. He must be Eleven Sanmei. He should hold no malice or even any other strong feelings against me, or there should be origin points coming. Is he here to say hello? People from the Rosefinch Temple are looking for you. What's going on, father? Leave them be. They can't catch me. I heard you attack the Rosefinch Temple yourself, hurt numerous disciples, and killed Elder Haiyun. The Huanchi sect and the Rosefinch Temple are on bad terms, but they wouldn't interfere with each other's business. Why would he do that? It's not like you. What happened? He he. What do you think? That old man had something I wanted, so I killed him for it. That's all. But, what? It must be hard to cultivate alone all the time in the Rosefinch Temple, right? Do you remember how hard I worked to let those monks agree to let you travel outside? But you did a great job. If it were another man, he might not be capable enough to become the contemporary Arhut. Being a spy is hard. You've done a lot for our sect. It's okay for you to leave the Huanchi sect or return to the secular world as a normal man in the future if you want. The sect leader and I won't say anything to oppose. Father, I'm a disciple of the Huanchi sect. I won't do foolish things like that. The hell you will. Monk Excellence is already the contemporary Arhut in the Rosefinch Temple. The Huanchi sect would never be so stupid to give him up. Good, good. Looks like you're still level-headed. Then how about doing me a favor? Just go ahead, Father. I was looking for something and I found it in Datong City. But someone took it before I did. It's too troublesome to find another one, so I followed the person who took it and tried to find a chance to get it. But that man has a pre-celestial bodyguard on the surface and three pre-celestial bodyguards in the dark. They'd notice me every time I get a bit closer. Even when I was following them in the distance, they managed to ditch me several times. What exactly are you looking for, Father? Di Xiaoyao has it now. You should have seen it. I need you to bring it to me. Forming items with your energy? How powerful you are. Wait, that seems familiar. Isn't it Di Xiaoyao's bracelet? So you were the one who bid against Di Xiaoyao. We got to meet again because I followed Di Xiaoyao. Seems like fate brought Di Xiaoyao and me together. Please calm down, father. There are three pre-celestial bodyguards around Di Xiaoyao? I never noticed them on our way here, a prince of the Han Empire indeed. I'd love to get anything you want, father. But even you failed, how could I? I have a plan, and all you need to do is follow it. Di Xiaoyao's been chasing Xia Daoyun. If Xia Daoyun asks for the bracelet, he'll give her for sure. I don't think Xia Daoyun will ask anything from Di Xiaoyao. Do you plan to blackmail Di Xiaoyao with Xia Daoyun? And, what can I do? Blackmailing is too risky. It's easy to make them fight me and eventually get me nothing. I'll steer Di Xiaoyao away and then severely injure Xia Daoyun with an incurable poison. That's where you step in and drive me away. Then you'll tell Di Xiaoyao that you need his bracelet to heal Xia Daoyun. He won't refuse. I see. Then I'll use your cure to heal Xia Daoyun and keep the bracelet. Di Xiaoyao has many ways to solve common poisons, so I'll poison her with an incurable one. You don't need to heal her in front of Di Xiaoyao. Just find a chance to sneak out and give the bracelet to me. How ferocious, no, I can't follow his plan. I think your plan is still risky, father. Di Xiaoyao doesn't trust me. What if he refuses to give me the bracelet or demands to watch me healing Xia Daoyun? That way... The plan will go in vain. I have a better plan. Help me win Xia Daoyun's heart. You want to chase Xia Daoyun? No way. I've arranged everything thoroughly. I won't change a single detail because of your affair. You got me wrong, father. You won't put too much effort into my plan. To be precise, it will save you a lot of trouble. Hmm? No matter what the details of your plan are, 
I guess there must be a life and death fight against Xia Dao Yun to hurt her badly. All I ask for is that you can pull a punch and keep stalling her during the fight. Creating stress will do and leave the rest to me. Please think it over. Once I win Xia Dao Yun's heart, it'll be convenient for us to wade in the affairs of the Fanqing sect and even of the Han Empire. While if we stick to your plan, we will offend the Fanqing sect. There's no need to antagonize them, right? Hmm. What do you think, father? Well, that's a good point. Fine, we can adjust the plan slightly. I truly admire your enlightened attitude, father. However, what? I'm warning you of backfiring and getting yourself on thin ice. Rest assured, father. How cunning he is. Luckily, I've been trying to control myself, or I would have definitely used Guardian of Rebound Zen and got myself into trouble just now. Then please inform me of your whole plan. He's indeed manipulative, he refused to adjust his plan according to my advice all the time, but I'm okay with that. After all, there will be enough time for me to chase Xia Dao Yun. That's all I need. Eleven Sanmei is quite something. I guess Xia Dao Yun might get killed by him if it weren't for me. Besides, I need to obey him as Monk Excellence. Now that I think of it, I better kill him afterward. But he's no weak than GEE. -E. I need some help to make it. Chinger, I need you this time. My pleasure, Master. I'll write a letter. Take it to those elders of the Rosefinch Temple later. But I don't know where they are. They left not long ago. You may catch up with them on the way to Hulu Town. Even if you can't, you can meet them in Hull Town finally. I'm leaving then. But are you sure you can deal with Eleven Sanmei alone? Ha ha ha. Silly, in no way can you stop Eleven Sanmei if he intends to kill me. And it's of greatest help for you to find the elders. Besides, Monk Excellence, who has become one of the Arhits in the Rosefinch Temple, is the spy he sent there. He won't hurt me unless he's out of his mind. Take care on your way. You'd better leave underground despite your ability to walk through the walls in case of being found by pre-celestial martial artists. I see. I'll be right back. Please wait for me. Eleven send me, my dear father. Ha, huh, please accept my respect then. The next day. I didn't know you'd contributed to the promotion of improved defense crossbows until Mr. Zhang told me. Zhang is always being exaggerating, haha. <laughs> I just assisted in it. It's hard to defend the frontier. So a kind of powerful weapon would be of great help in frightening our enemies off. I think so. Oh, I'm sorry for the neglect, Monk Excellence. I was indulging in political topics with Dao Yun. Not at all. I appreciate your care on the way here, so you don't need to mind me. And Miss Sia is trying to test you. I won't bother you too. Ahem. Glad to hear that. Why did he rub it in? I finally managed to get along with Dao Yun, but his words have changed her mind. We've done with all the business yesterday. What should we do today, Child D? Well, we're heading for the Jia Ruins, our terminus. Thanks for your company all the way here. Actually, there's a little story of the discovery of the ruins. More than a decade ago, a farmer entered the ruins by accident on his way of gathering herbs for his ailing wife. As an ordinary person, the farmer couldn't even see through the weakest illusion outside. He could only see gold and treasures he's never seen in his life. But that didn't attract him. He only cares about the herb that could save his wife. He left there without hesitation. However, that just helped him avoid being hurt or trapped. He became the first man who survived in the ruins. Later, the farmer found the herb and cured his wife. After that, he recalled the experience in the ruins and reported all that to the local official. The official took it seriously and reported it to the court. It was brought to the forefront. At last, the ruins were believed to have been kept since ancient times. The story tells U.S. inflexibility may save you sometimes. After all, all the things wouldn't happen if the farmer took some treasures in exchange for herbs. 
the farmer's love helped him avoid being tempted and end up happily. Also, the Jia ruins could get known and revive. An interesting story indeed. What a great husband. I admire their firm love. I've visited here so many times. But a touch of regret always hit me while enjoying the beautiful scenery alone. I hope my love can share it with me and we'll smile at each other. Love comes in so many forms, while I prefer mutual intimacy and everlasting love only. Ha, pity that Xia Dao Yun only wants the short experience of love. Seems you don't fit each other. You stand no chance, Di Xiao Yao. Here we are. Let's get in. Huh? Watch out. It must be the first time for you to float in the air without exerting any strength. How do you feel now? I've not even heard of this. It's a novelty. It indeed startled me. But it wouldn't have been this surprising had you told us in advance. Ha ha, you're right. Once the mechanism at the entrance is triggered, the wall here would turn dark and a kind of spore on it would shine like stars. With the smaller gravity making you float here, you would feel that you're roaming in the starry sky. Did he mean it? Why did he keep rocking my boat? Anyway, the floating won't last long. Because of the pressure in the deep, even a pre-celestial master can't fly there. I plan to enjoy the beautiful stars here, but it's inconvenient to do that now with monk excellence here. What a pity. Haha, <laughs> I'm looking forward to the scenery in the deep end here. It won't let you down. Welcome to the Jive Ruins. It feels indeed different as I approach the deep end. I can feel a kind of fourth pressing me. But that's definitely not the gravity. After all, we're still floating here. It should be a force targeting internal power. It can weaken the peculiarity of internal power and even stop a pre-celestial master from flying. The gravity is different within 40 meters around the mountain. So it's okay to jump off here. Newcomers prefer to go down along the stone steps. But it's more exciting to jump. Do you want to have a try with me, Dao Yun? Up here. Jump off here? I'll try. No need to hurry, Monk Excellence. No, I trust Mr. Xiaoyao. I'm leaving. Monk Excellence. I'm fine. Just jump down. Dao Yun, lonely. Then I'm leaving too. See you at the bottom, child D. Sai, that's the way of the Buddhistic sex? Let's go to my Jia villa nearby. The terrain is intricate in the deep. You may get lost if you don't follow me. And you, monk excellence, please follow me. Listen. Ha ha, I will. I'd like to check on that shining hill. Whisper. For real? What's up, child D? Dao Yun, I've got something to deal with. I didn't expect to get some news of other record slates of Qi Long Sutra. I must seize the chance. But I finally made some progress to get along with Dao Yun. Should I invite her to go with me? Gee, no. It's about the imperial exclusive martial art after all. I shouldn't get an outsider involved. Besides, with Lu Qing's help, it won't take long. I plan to visit here with you, but I just received some news that a rare fish-shaped jade pendant with twin trunks engraved on it showed up in an auction house. His Majesty wants to give that pendant to Imperial Concubine Yun as a gift. So I'm afraid I must go get it for His Majesty in person. It must be a hurried journey. So I wonder if you can stay here and wait for me for a few days since you must be tired all the way here. We can keep going after I come back. I see. Then go ahead. I'll wait for you. And you? Just leave me alone, Mr. Xiaoyao. With the letter and map you gave me, I can go everywhere nearby. You can finish your task first. As you wish. If you're tired, you can rest in my villa ahead. It's not far from here. Eleven Sanmei did attract Di Xiaoyao away? Not bad for him. Di Xiaoyao changed his mind all of a sudden, so it must be someone informing Lu Qing secretly, but I see no one around, seems like there are many powerful martial arts protecting him in the dark. 
To be honest, if it weren't for Di Xiaoyao's identity and the masters protecting him, Eleven Sanmei wouldn't be forced to bother Xia Daoyun and me in view of his arrogance. I had an ulterior motive in persuading Eleven Sanmei, but it indeed can save Xia Daoyun. Or Eleven Sanmei would just kill her. Qinger is on her way to the three elders. As long as I've bought enough time, they will handle the hot potato. Umidba, according to the misattribution of arousal, Xia Daoyun may fall for me during the fight against Eleven Sanmei. So that I can achieve my goal at the same time. I'd like to go deeper. What about you? I have no idea. Is there some advice for me? You can go with me if you want. We've never stayed with each other alone. Then I'd like to go with you this time. Okay. Let's go check on the Shining Hill afar. Xia Daoyun agreed without hesitation. That means she didn't fall for Di Xiaoyao at all. What a poor man. I'm charming indeed. Without Di Xiaoyao bothering, maybe I can win Xia Daoyun's heart even before Eleven Sanmei arrives. What a wonderland inside the ruins. It turns from day to night even without the sun shining inside. I wonder how they are distinguished. How strange. This is a piece of some world. It's such complexity in the main world. Besides, the plants and animals were not brought here artificially. They live here from the very beginning. Living in an ecosystem unto itself, the animals are the same as how they look outside. How incredible. Monk Excellence The Buddha said there are numerous worlds in the vast universe. Could the ruins be the replica of one of the worlds? You remind me of a story I've ever read, Miss Sia. In the starry sky, there exists a world. There are three suns there and thus it falls into the disorder of seasons and days and nights. Droughts and freezing conditions happen from time to time and last for almost a century every time. People who live there will go underground, exfoliate themselves, and leave their skins during the droughts. As the rainy season comes, their skins will recharge and go on their living. That's a circulation. What a wonderful story. I see. You must want to tell me that the human body doesn't matter at all. A pure mind is before everything. Er, it's just a story I made up. You are enlightened again? Xia Daoyun can be enlightened by everything and she's willing to talk about any topic. It must be nice to be her friend. But as for lover, I don't think it's a good idea. After all, she can have a bunch of great men wrapped around her finger unwittingly. What a mixture of heartlessness and purity, it's hard to appraise her. And the cultivation method of the Fanchin sect is indeed cruel. Pursuer means nothing but experiences of love to the disciples there. If they succeed, they will come back to their life as nuns. While if not, they can have one of their simps accompany them. There's always leeway for them. It's more proper to call them disciples from the cruel sect. Just like the Mandarin ducks love to stay with each other all their lives, most ordinary people, including Child D, prefer inseparable intimacy. But I will leave the secular world sooner or later. I'll only fail my love and can never make up for it. Could you please give me some suggestions? Now I can tell it's Xia Daoyun's problem. Despite her purity, her rich experiences in the secular world made up her cold character. She doesn't take Di Xiaoyao or me seriously at all. She's more like a cultivation machine. I've heard of the cultivation method of the Fanchin sect. So I think you don't need to push yourself too hard. Fate will bring your true love to you. Maybe you're right. Pity that I've never had a crush on anybody despite all the young talents I met. I wonder when my true love will show up. If it weren't for cultivation, I would prefer staying and cultivating alone. What a smart and pure girl she is. I don't think it's good for her to be fettered by love. Her aristocratic mean and proud manner make men want to conquer her though. I'm a kind man and I won't bother her afterward. Hope we can reach cooperation for mutual benefit after we get rid of Eleven Sanmei. It's about your own way of cultivation after all. I don't dare to suggest you, but I can tell you a story. Then please go ahead. The point now is reminding Xia Daoyun that I'm the one she's been waiting for. A spider spun webs on the beam in the front of a temple. 
and under the influence of the incense and offerings, it gradually gained its consciousness and finally turned into a girl. She listened to the Buddhist chants every day. After 3,000 years of cultivation, she gained her own understanding of Buddhism. One day, the Buddha came to the temple and found the spider clever. So he asked her a question. Little spider, what do you think is the most precious in the world? For me, it should be something I can never get and something I've lost. The Buddha smiled silently, without agreeing with her or retorting her. He said, think it through. I'll go find you later. After the Buddha left, the wind brought drizzle the second night. A drop of rain fell on the spider's web. The raindrop was bright and clear, so the spider loved it so much. However, before she touched it, the wind blew it away. At that time, she felt so sad and lonely. Then the Buddha came again and asked the same question. At the thought of the raindrop she lost, the spider stuck to her original answer. It should be something I can never get and something I've lost. Now that you insist on your answer, then go to the secular world and think it through. The Buddha made the spider reincarnate in a powerful family. And after several years, the spider became a beautiful girl. When a scholar won first place in the imperial examination, the spider was invited to the glee feast. She saw the scholar there and knew he was her true love. All the girls present, including the princess, fell for the scholar. But the spider didn't feel nervous or jealous. She knew that the scholar would choose her. To her surprise, the emperor granted the marriage of the princess and the scholar while made her marry the crown prince. The spider couldn't accept all that. She was dying after days of crying. The crown prince came to see her when he knew the news, but only found her dying. He cried badly. I fell for you at first sight when I saw you in the imperial garden. If you were to die, I will die with you. Little spider, have you thought about who brought the scholar to you? The scholar is the reincarnation of the raindrop while the princess is the wind. The raindrop came and gone with the wind. You can never stay with him. While the crown prince, the reincarnation of the tree in front of the temple, has loved you for 3,000 years. But you never noticed him. Then answer my question again. What do you think is the most precious in the world? After knowing the truth, the spider was enlightened. I got it. I know what matters most. It's not something I can never get or something I've lost. It should be the happiness within my reach. It's a pity to miss someone, but I should cherish what I own now. Miss Sierra, remember to cherish what I own now. Is that what you want to say? Fate can bring your true love to you. And you need to notice who he is. Yeah, that's me. I got it. You mean Di Xiaoyao is the one I'm waiting for? I don't agree with Child Di's viewpoint on love, but he's a noble after all. I guess he won't indulge himself in love. A perfect man for me. My mistake to neglect him. Er, glad to hear that. Thank you for enlightening me with your story. What the hell? Amitba. Fine, what a girl. I won't cross paths with her if it weren't for finger flowery swords. She's indeed charming after we get along, but it doesn't mean I can forget I've been hurt by her. Hope I'll never see her when the dust has settled. What? Hmm? What's with the growing plants here? Russell. Oh no. Monk Excellence, leave. Now. According to her reaction, could it be? What's the hurry about? You don't want to enjoy the beautiful flowers here? He is a pre-celestial master, stronger than me. Take care. It's 11 Sanmei. Finally he arrives. Monk Excellence? I remember you. Seems like you're doomed today. What the hell? Why is he attacking me now? Shouldn't he attack Xia Daoyun and leave me a chance to save her? I'm fighting you. Don't you dare hurt Monk Excellence. You're Xia Daoyun from the Fanchin sect? Good. Then I'll also kill you. The exclusive martial art of the Fanchin sects. Sword of Immortal Impidity. Oh, it deserves its fame. 
Not bad. She's using the same martial art. But it feels totally different from how she killed Yin Jie, as expected the strength gap between pre-celestial martial artist and a post-celestial one is huge. Substitute escaping. But it's not that easy to deal with Eleven Sanmei. It's poisonous? Where is he? No, let's change our plan. I think it'll be more impressive if she saves you. Damn it. It's hard for me to control my guardian of rebound Zen. What a cheat. How could he change the plan without noticing me in advance? Leave. This is the spirit embodiment of sword. Sword of immortal limpidity, spirit embodiment of sword. You've hit me again? Ha. Impressive indeed. Monk excellence. Leave now. I got this. Don't worry. I can get away with it. What? You've ruined two of my substitutes despite your first level of the pre-celestial stage. How great you are. You're too outstanding to survive. I won't let you off today. Monk Excellence? Why are you still here? I'm his target. How can I leave you here and escape? Bhagavan, Prajna Paramitha. Mara Exorcism, Freeze. Mara Exorcism. What the hell is this? Never mind, I'll pretend. What's that move you just used? You could even freeze a pre-celestial master. It's a power-consuming one, so I can't use it for the second time for now. Besides, he will break free once he's touched. We must go now. Are you okay now? A nice partner. We've deceived Xie Dao Yun. It's okay. But it seems he's good at using poison. I must find a place and get some treatment. Then try to cure yourself now. I'll carry you. Eh? You. Never mind. It's too urgent after all. Cure yourself now. All right. Xia Daoyun, she's powerful. She's even better than her peers at the first level of the pre-celestial stage. Two hours later. Let's have a rest here. Cough, how do you feel now? It's kind of tricky to deal with the poison. A silent and stable situation may help with detoxification. And since we bumped our way here, then you can heal yourself here. I have a secret method to evade him and hide us. We're safe for now. Do you know who the attacker is? I think it should be Eleven Sanmei, the guardian elder of the Huanchi sect, a long-term enemy of the Rosefinch Temple. So I guess he aimed at me. Sorry for getting you involved, Miss Xie. It's fine. It's natural for me to protect my friend. Thank you. As far as I know, he is at the fourth level of the pre-celestial stage, good at healing and poisoning skills. We must take care. I feel guilty to lie to her somehow, but had I not done this, she might get killed. In that case, to lie is to save her. No wonder I felt his martial art strange. It turns out he's not from the Han Empire. But I don't think he's reached the fourth level. The second or the third level at most. Maybe he was weakened by his injuries or something? What a bad actor Eleven Sanmei is. Xie Daoyun has noticed his fake actions. You're right. But I can tell he's still much stronger than me despite his injuries. Thanks to the pressure here and your wonderful martial art, we managed to escape. Or in no way will we make it. Er, I wonder where we are now. Could you please show me the map? Speaking of the map. It was ruined accidentally during the fight. It was ruined? Er, he has thrown his own map away. I've lost my map. Given the tortuous terrain here, it's hard for us to tell our bearings without a map. It seems that it'll be troublesome for us to get out. It's not your fault. I think it may be a blessing in disguise. Hmm? Eleven Sanmei should get a map with him so he'll speculate about our escape route. But without a map, even we can't know where we'll go. So he'll stand no chance of foreseeing our actions. 
Makes sense. She even comforted me. A feeling of compunction suddenly strikes me. Huh? Focus on the healing and no more talking. Thank you. I'll go find some wood for the fire. One hour later. Phew, what a strong poison. I failed to use my internal power to force it out and it even turned my power into Yin energy. Too much Yin energy inside my body makes me feel freezing cold. I must. Huh? What's with the warm? Monk excellence? You're finally awake. Here you are. Have a taste of the soup. I made it just now. Given my cultivation level, it's fine for me to survive without food for some time. I'm wondering whether the smoke made by the fire attracts Eleven Sanmei here. I've got my way to fight him. I think the top priority now is to take good care of you. Come on. I can see Ean energy coming from you from time to time. So I guess it may be the coldness poison. That's why I made the soup with some warming herbs. I wonder how much it can help you. How do you feel now? I. I'm feeling better. I was fighting against the poison but always missed by a whisker. Your soup just came in handy and helped me get rid of the poison. I'm not fully recovered, but that's fine. Umitba. Eh? Eleven Sanmei? What's the hurry about? I don't even get much time to get closer to Xia Daoyun. Hurry up. I just started my work. Don't push me so hard. Quarter Fishing Swords You've made such an achievement of Sword of Immortal Impidity? Bravo. A nice try. Now let me freeze him. Mara. Huh? It takes some time for Eleven Sanmei to catch up with us. We can leave now. That move will backfire on you. You better not use that. Okay. Oh, right. Huh? Thank you for your soup. My pleasure. Half a day later. Eleven Sanmei came to us so fast, maybe he's got a way to trace us. Exactly. What's with this feeling? Chinger? What's wrong? I've tried to disturb Eleven Sanmei with my secret martial art, but it didn't work due to my weak cultivation base. We'd better cover our tracks desperately. I know some herbs can help cover our scent with their strong odors. We can find some, grind them, and apply the juice to our clothes. You may rest here. I'll be right back. Can you handle that alone? Of course. We've run far enough. Besides, I'm not an easy target after all. I guess Eleven Sanmei wouldn't come to us so soon. Come out, Chinger. Master, didn't you remember what I told you? Who did you mess with? You've got beaten up again? I blew myself up rather than messed with someone. I just wanted to come back as soon as possible. And I was not sure whether there is any pre-celestial master around you. So I chose a secret way to come back in case of destroying your plan. Finger of Nirvana. All right, that's acceptable. Then what's with the hurry? Did anything bad happen to the three elders of the Rosefinch Temple? They headed back once I informed them. They decided to follow your suggestion and wait for Eleven Sanmei at the exit of the ruins despite being ignorant of the reason. Great. Then I can escape after achieving my goal, leaving the rest to the three elders. Oh, I almost forgot. The elders let me tell you a piece of big news. About three months ago, the leader of the Huanchi sect died suddenly. The two guardian elders fight for power. Eleven Sanmei failed, ran away, and went missing with his cultivation declined. The news has been hidden by the Huanchi sect and was exposed not long ago. It was too late for the elders to inform you after they got the news. I see, no wonder Xia Daoyun said he might be only at the second or the third level of the pre-celestial stage at most. And no wonder Eleven Sanmei acted tough in front of me. He doesn't see himself as one of the Huanchi sect, so he doesn't need me as the spy. Thank you, Chinger. 
Come back to me and get some rest. Okay. Please take care. Without the sect containing Eleven Sanmei's actions, he's a total uncontrollable factor that would backfire any minute. I'd better take care. Luckily, he still needs my help for now. So I should be safe now. I'm back. Glad to see you're all right. How do you feel now? Xia Daoyun, what on earth can I do to please you? Though she can heal herself at the pre-celestial stage, it must be difficult to detoxify it since Eleven Sanmei is a master of poison. I remember there is a hot spring. We can get there after walking through a wood in the marked on the map. I can benefit from Eleven Sanmei to some extent. It's a pity that he refused to obey me. Or I could manipulate him as I like. I'm sorry. It's just that I could help laughing. By the way, I rarely see you in a daze. No more teases, please, Miss Sierra. The liquid will turn transparent after drying. You can apply it to your hands and shoes. Oh, you can also apply it to your head just as I did. Ha ha ha. I admire your humor. In the following days, Xia Daoyun and I helped each other on our way while escaping. Sometimes Xia Daoyun fought Eleven Sanmei. And sometimes I acted like I was fighting him. Freeze. And then I took Xia Daoyun away. It's just that Xia Daoyun suffered relapses from time to time due to her lack of rest. I felt sorry for her as the accomplice who hurt her. Then I criticized Eleven Sanmei while getting close to her. You're a good girl and I don't want you to get hurt anyway. As long as you help me upgrade Finger of Flowery Swords, I'll get rid of Eleven Sanmei for you at once. You're too slow. Half a day later. I didn't expect to find a hot spring here. I guess you won't mind me enjoying it here, right? It's helpful for detoxifying. You may stay here for a long time. Sorry to let you see me like this. I would hardly suffer this way. I, no more apology. It must be fate that brought us here together. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Besides, you enlightened me that the one I'm looking for is around me. I owe you one. No need to thank me for that. Really? It said we should experience love to break free from it. But I could barely understand love till then. How could I even seize it? However, you figured a way out for me. I should thank you for that. Xia Daoyun, you would save me a lot of trouble if you really understood what I meant by that. Sigh. Sigh, that's the way she is. Had I not wanted to win her heart, I would appreciate her simpleness and loveliness. You must be tired after taking care of me for so long. Go take a bath in the hot spring then. Miss Sierra, aren't you afraid of? Afraid of Eleven Sanmei? Now that I'm here, I won't allow him to hurt you. I'll go have a check nearby. I'll be right back. Er, in no way can I feel it wrong. Xia Daoyun has taken me as her homie. What the hell? 500 meters to the southeast. Why did Eleven Sanmei suddenly get in touch with me? Here I am. Where is he? What? Why did you call me here, father? Xia Daoyun may notice us due to the close range. What's the worry? You can pretend to be caught by me in that case. We can fool her easily. But, say no more. Wuk, you're not called here to complain. It took you too long, but you still haven't won her heart. Wuk, you've upset me indeed. No need to rush, father. The realization of good things is usually preceded by rough goings after all. Xia Daoyun is no average Jane, so I have to be cautious in case of making all our efforts go in vain. I wonder whether he dated with even a single woman. How could that be so fast? And I'm even dealing with an utmost target. I've known Xia Daoyun very well after so many days and I'm confident in getting her. And I think it's good to spend much time on it in case Di Xiaoyao would suspect the result and further suspect me. Never mind. I'll steady him for now. Wuk, did you forget about your demonic nature after pretending to be a monk for so long? Are you saying you're going to please Xia Daoyun as a simp? You must be kidding me. 
since she didn't appreciate your tenderness, you can just break her knees and ruin her pride. Drive her into the ground and lock her in the cage so that she will see no one but you. Only when she suffers to the bone will she clutch at straws and rely on you. That bitch relies on nothing but her beauty to have men wrapped around her finger, right? Leave it to me if you feel reluctant to do so. I've been celibate for a long time so she did arouse my interest in dominating her. I seldom bother to do such a troublesome thing. Bear how well I treat you in mind, Wuk. I don't think so. Is he serious? Why not? Are you trying to fight against me? Father, I know Sia Daoyun well. She has a very strong character. She would rather kill herself than give in if you try to conquer her by force. That will get your plan screwed up. Wuk, seems like you don't know the secret martial art of the Huanchi sect well. Once I grabbed Sia Daoyun's scarlet pellet, she would only indulge herself in desire rather than kill herself. Father, rest assured. As long as I grab her scarlet pellet and do all that I mention to her, she'll lose her pride. And then you can seize the chance and swoop in. I promise she'll be head over heels in love with you. Hold on, get away, you loser. Ha ha ha. Damn it. He's going to catch Xia Daoyun. Chinger. Master, you got hurt. Leave it be. I can't pacify Eleven Sanmei at all. He's a total lunatic. Go ask the elders for help. I'm going. Take care, master. Hurry back. Damn it. That fast? They're fighting now? Guess Rainbow Shift is not an exclusive art of the marching sect. I'll just use it. Besides, if we're going to fight on the way of escaping, I must use it. Eleven Sanmei, what did you do to Monk Excellence? Ha, huh, you're even caring about him at this critical time? To tell you the truth, he's doing pretty well now. You'd better worry about yourself. Every piece of internal power attacking you is poisonous. Xia Daoyun, seems you are too weak to hold your sword now. Ha ha ha. Eleven Sanmei, look over here. The buck stops here, Eleven Sanmei. Abomination. What is the martial art, Wuk? It irritated me and almost got me distracted. Speaking secretly. It didn't work? Xia Daoyun, are you sure you can still fight without your sword? Tribulation of Hungry Ghosts. Run. You again? Monk Excellence. Sword of Immortal Impidity. She could still manage to use this move after being poisoned? Cyan Moth Controlling. Damn it. What? It can even absorb my internal power. It's annoying even though it almost couldn't affect me. Cicada Transformation. Monsieur, hold me tight. Fleeing shift. I've found the exit here. I'm pretty sure we can break free from Eleven Sanmei once we get out. Monsieur, we're heading for the exit for real. She could find a way out so soon. I'm sorry. This martial art is power consuming. I didn't use it until I found the exit in case that Eleven Sanmei would seize the chance and attack us. You made a wise decision. It's great that Xia Daoyun can manage to escape on her own. Eleven Sanmei can't catch up with us if she keeps going at this rate. But it seems this martial art, just like Rainbow Shift, can only help speed her up within a short time. I wonder how long she can hold on. Pity that the concealment pendant can only cover one person. With Xia Daoyun here, it can hardly work. Hope we can make it until the three monks come. Miss Yeah, how do you feel now? I've used up all my internal power. Leave, leave me alone, run. How could I leave you here? I got this. You can heal yourself on my back. It's a relief that the poison on Xia Daoyun is strong but not fatal. The only effect is stopping her from using internal power. 
I've got a martial art called Rainbow Shift by accident. I'm no faster than you while using it, but I can hold on for a long time. Xia Daoyun is pretty weak now. Guess she can't know what I'm doing even I use Finger of Nirvana to recover. So, we're on the same page. Never use the thump card unless we can find the exit. Focus on the healing and say no more, Miss Xia. Thank you for finding me an excuse. Ugh. Damn it. What does my heart hurt all of a sudden? Did Eleven Sanmei poison me? Are you okay, Miss Sia? Finger of Nirvana. She is in a coma because of the lame healing and being hit. What a poor girl. I'll use Finger of Nirvana to stabilize her condition for now. Ugh. What the hell? Finger of Nirvana didn't work? Oh, this way. Huff, huff, Finger of Nirvana. Damn it. What kind of poison is that? Why couldn't I get rid of it? Damn it. Got to resume my breath again. Miss Sierra. What? Why stop here? Show me what you can do, no? Father, what did you do to me? You know me so well. Why bother asking? I didn't want to do this. It's just that you really let me down, being bewitched by her and hurting my feelings. So I had to poison you to make you obey. What? So that must be insect poison. Finger of Nirvana can only heal my wounds, but fails to get rid of that inside my body. No wonder it didn't work. Be good, what? Or I'll let my little pet eat your heart and break out of your stomach. Go to hell. You even got the power to attack me now? Pity that it's no use. I can only get recovered after catching the insect inside my heart and killing it. If the monks don't come to our rescue, I can only use Finger of Nirvana publicly to save myself and then save Xia Dao Yun. We're going to fight a war of attrition then. But Xia Dao Yun has woken up? Maybe the hit did that. After all, she was not as weak as she was supposed to be after I used Finger of Nirvana on her. She should have heard our chat, but it's even greater for me since I've got everything prepared. Now, I'll deal with Xia Dao Yun before teaching you a lesson, Wuk. The Rose Finch Temple? With great wings. With burning flames. With mighty power. Eleven Sanmei, in no way can you escape this time. Triple Demon Killing Formation. Finally. Wuk, seems you betrayed me completely. Hey! Monk Excellence is not one of you at all. He's a spy, a total traitor. I sent him to the Rosefinch Temple. You've been risking your life to the bone for a traitor. Eleven Sanmei, do you think you can fool us? Monk Excellence couldn't have informed us to kill you if you were telling the truth. Ha, huh, hope you can still insist on that idea later. I've got plenty of evidence here. You'll believe it. Let me out if you dare. Don't you want to hear me out? It's dangerous here. I'll take you to a safe place. Monk Excellence. What are you talking about? You didn't abandon me at the critical moment. How can I abandon you now? You'd better flee yourself. I'll only be a burden on you with my bad injuries. Ahem, besides, I guess you've heard what Eleven Sanmei said. I need to explain it to you. Say no more. I'll hear you out once we make it to escape. I'm afraid I won't get another chance if I don't tell you now. All the elders in the Rosefinch Temple thought I was an orphan. They kept me rather than sent me to any ordinary family because of my talent. I joined them when I was four. But I lied. It was Eleven Sanmei who abandoned me at the door of the Rosefinch Temple. I'm not one of them. I was involved in the game of power despite my great sensitivity to Buddhism. I meant to invite you to the ruins. My father wanted me to seduce you so that he could threaten Di Xiaoyao with you for the people tree seed. 
I was poisoned by him, so I couldn't refuse him no matter how ridiculous the request was. Sorry to drag you into all this. You didn't mean it yourself. He threatened you after all. Besides, I know you so well after all our efforts on the way. No, you don't know. I broke a religious precept as a monk. M monk excellence. Take Miss C away. We're going to shrink our formation. The damned formation. If it wasn't for my reducing power due to my escape from my sect, I could have broken it. I must calm down. Di Xiaoyao has nothing to do with this plan since I had someone distract him in person. Once I break free and escape, I can also achieve my goal by threatening him with injured monk excellence and Xia Dao Yun. Then I'll regain my power with the seed. So, I still stand a chance. Watch out. Leave me be. Keep the formation. In your dreams. He even cut his arm to break free? But you're no match for us with one arm. I'll just regenerate a new arm. What's the fuss about? Now. How ridiculous you are. You're digging your own grave. 18 are its presence. Amitba. Ha, you've got only a dozen arhats. I may not fight you if there were 18 arhats. It's my turn now. That's his poisonous essence? Leave now. He's going to blow himself up. It's too late. The poison is so strong. Math's essence, it did live up to its name. But that means he ruined all his cultivation. Why could he form up and use Arhat breath-holding technique? We won't be distracted once used that, but what about Monk Excellence and Miss Sia? Cough, we can't even stand a chance of surviving ourselves. We'll all be killed if we don't do that. Cough. Fine. Form up. Eleven Sanmei is also almost exhausted once we finish the healing. We'll kill him. I spent more than a decade forming the poisonous essence. Once I blow it up, you won't even get a chance of using your technique. But I'll also lose all my power in that case. Another poison and it will take you another hour. Pity that I can't kill him with their immortal bodies now. Then, let me find out my dear son. The poison takes effect again. How could he get time to deal with me while being attacked by the three elders? Eleven Sanmei. Wuck, it took me some effort to find you. Now it's time to get even with you. Wuck, I admire your ability since you've gone so far. You could even inform the three monks to come to me despite being in the ruins all the time? Seems you've made a lot of progress. Eleven Sanmei, what did you do to my elders? I killed them, of course. They won't come to save you. Besides, they might even kill you since you're a spy if they made it to be here. No way. He couldn't kill all of them with his current power, he just got rid of them in some way. But he must have paid for that. I don't feel as much pressure as before despite his fierceness. Stop talking nonsense. You paid a lot to escape, right? You even came to us with your bad injuries? I suggest you run. Oh, it seems you got it all wrong, Wuck. I suggest you run. My injuries? I can also kill you easily with them. Bang. Stop it, Miss Yeah. He's only at the first level of the pre-celestial stage now. I can. Bang. It's a game between him and me. You shouldn't get involved, Miss Outsider. Eleven Sanmei, I'm gonna kill you. Tribulation of Hungry Ghosts. What, you still refuse to drop the act? Now I know the reason for your betrayal. It's all because of her. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Okay, let me help you get rid of your desire today. Ugh, thump. Don't think too highly of him. He's the spy of the Huanchi sect. Do you know how our sect defeated the Rosefinch Temple every year? All thanks to him. I, I know it. You know it? That reduces my fun. Eleven Sanmei. I'll help you get the seed. Let go of Miss Sierra. 
The seed? How dare you mention it now? This is your punishment for destroying my plan. Crack squeak squeak. Squeak. The mother insect has died and you'll die of your heart being eaten after suffering three days. Damn it. It hurts so much. I want to use finger of nirvana. You'll suffer the greatest pain in the world during the three days. Suffer and struggle. Struggle till the end. Struggle to die. Hang in there until the three elders come here. I must stall him. Besides, Xie Daoyun would provide me with smell of beauties at this critical time the most. With her help, I can kill eleven Sanmei once I reach the pre-celestial stage, even if the elders don't come. But I'm your father, after all. I can give you a chance. Wuk, disfigure Xie Daoyun and torture her. I can heal you at once right after that. Act and buy some time, damn it. Why hasn't the upgradation of transmigration finished yet? Wuk, you know what to do, right? I'll leave you alone. Squirt. What? Monk excellence? Father, you saved my life and granted me a name. I dare not forget your loving kindness. But today, I've killed myself to repay you. From now on, I'm no monk excellence or Wuk. I'm what I am. Dao Yun, I will never hurt you. I've believed you from the very beginning till now. I believe you. You were born for me, Xia Dao Yun. Idiot. Do you think you can get rid of me this way? You'll still die. Die of bleeding. Dao Yun, I never sacrificed for anyone until I met you. Have a good sleep. You're too tired. If you can wake up again, that suggests my victory. If you can't, I'll go to hell with you then. In a coma. Still no smell of beauties. I've been enduring and acting all the time to reach the pre-celestial stage with that or to have the three elders here. It seems that none of those would succeed. I got not only Xia Daoyun, but also myself screwed up. No need to keep enduring any more. I can't stand it. Hurt your heart to catch the insect? You're dying, boy. Ha, if you could show your determination earlier, you could have won Xia Daoyun's heart. But it's too late to do so now. Bang. Guardian of Rebound Zen. What's this, Wuk? I've told you I'm not Monk Excellence or Wuk. Enjoying being my father, huh? Eleven Sanmei, come fight me. I've never seen such a healing technique before. Where did you learn it? Ha. Huh. Do you think I will tell you? Withering Strike. Eleven Sanmei is a pre-celestial master, so I guess flowery sword energy only can't work on him. You can even use external sword rays? Withering Strike. In quick succession. It doesn't belong to the Rosefinch Temple or the Huanchi sect. Wuk, looks like you've learned something new. Pow. Pow. I've got more than you can imagine. Pow. Swish. Bend at will. Stab. Huh? Bulge. Boom. Use new martial arts rather than what you've learned before to fight me. Interesting. So you're trying to deal with me this way? Whoosh. Are you scorning me? Boom. Crack. To resist that punch, I used all my internal power up. Guardian of Rebound Zen couldn't stop him at all, whatever. As long as he can't kill me within seconds, I can heal myself. It's worth bandying attacks with him back and forth. Clinch. Huh? He can even do that? Bang. Fifty origin points consumed on Finger of Nirvana. No way, Eleven Sanmei moves too fast. If I continue to attack him at a distance, I would be the one suffering. My only possibility lies on mutual combat at close quarters. I need to hurt him at any cost. Withering Strike Energy Embodiment. Crack. 50 origin points consumed on Finger of Nirvana. Bang. 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 25 origin points consumed on Finger of Nirvana. Bang. Bang. 
Bang. 43 origin points consumed on finger of Nirvana. 34 origin points consumed on finger of Nirvana. Bang. 50 origin points consumed on finger of Nirvana. Bang. Third. Ha, huh, wanna fight an ultimate showdown, huh? Is that all you've got? Boom. Do you think you can always stand a chance by overusing your power to survive my attacks? Ridiculous. I'll try 10 times if I can't kill you after one attack. And try 100 times if 10 attacks can't work. Let's see how long you can hold on. Bang. But if I kill him, how can I get the people tree seed? Huh? 50 origin points consumed on finger of Nirvana. You're still alive? How can I go to hell, leaving you unscathed? He hasn't used all his power up? After fighting Xia Daoyun and the three monks, I'm almost exhausted. I may die here if this goes on. You're just at the ninth level of post-celestial stage. I can kill you easily. Bang. Swoosh. Go to hell. Swoosh. Bang. Go to hell. Boom. Huff, huff, ugh. Damn it. How can you survive? This isn't the end. Let's continue. Thump. Push. Huh? You dare not fight me directly? Are you afraid? Bang. What the hell is happening? Why hasn't he died? Bang. This is strange. I'd better run. Thud. Hey. Eleven Sanmei. Why run away? Come fight me. In no way can you get rid of this. I'll find you wherever you go. Ugh. Fifty origin points consumed on finger of Nirvana. Let go of me. Now. Fifty origin points consumed on finger of Nirvana. Aren't you afraid you may hurt yourself by accident? What for? I'll die here at worst and that's all. You've hurt me so badly. Now it's my turn. What? Whoosh. Fifty origin points consumed on finger of Nirvana. 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 As a level 4 pre-celestial master, I'm famous for my mighty power. 50 origin points consumed on finger of Nirvana. 50 origin points consumed on finger of Nirvana. How's this even possible? Am I going to get killed by you, a nobody at the post-celestial stage? 50 origin points consumed on finger of Nirvana. 50 origin points consumed on finger of Nirvana. No way, I can't die here. That's not going to happen. 50 origin points consumed on finger of Nirvana. 50 origin points consumed on finger of Nirvana. I won, thud thud. I survived. Phew, the three elders left so fast, I'm tired. Huh? That's Master Xia Yin? Master. Are you okay, Master? Oh, Chinger, I'm fine. I've fully recovered. It's just that I'm exhausted, I'm worn out. But I've never seen you suffer like this. Cough, Eleven Sanmei is a pre-celestial master despite his weakness after all, as long as I failed to use Finger of Nirvana in time, I would be the one who died. Oh, by the way, Chinger, did you see the three elders on your way here? Eleven Sanmei got rid of them and fought me for at least half an hour. But they still haven't got here. Yes. They stood still with their bodies turning golden. Are they fine? I guess so. I could feel that they're quite energetic. Glad to hear that. Turning golden, maybe they're practicing some kind of martial art. Eleven Sanmi was quite something. He could even drive the elders to the wall. He's the strongest enemy I've ever met so far. He died a finger of flowery swords and the features of it may give me out. I have to disguise his body. What do you want, master? 
disguise his body, or even ruin it. Anyway, we can't leave anything that may lead to the guess it was me, I mean Xie Yan, killed him. But why don't you use Withering Strike? It will save you much trouble. If I use Withering Strike, his body will turn to petals and disappear. I need his body to prove that I, Monk Excellence, killed him. MHM, I see. Well, I'm done. Hey! Wait! After dealing with Eleven Sanmei, pow! Let's wake Xia Daoyun up and tell her how you killed Eleven Sanmei. Hey, no, you're wrong. Shameless self-promotion will only ruin Xia Daoyun's good impression of me, let alone I look pretty fine now. So don't do that. Huh? The biggest problem has been solved, and now I'm where I started, Xia Daoyun, what should I do to you? This is the first time I've tried to chase a girl, but you always turned me down. No matter what I said, you would only say I enlightened you. And even we fought Eleven Sanmei together, you still failed to feel me. It did upset me. To be honest, you should pay me back. But why am I in a dilemma because of you? How troublesome you are, I just want some smell of beauties from you. What to do then, master? Actually, I've done everything except confession. But I can't do that since I used to receive others' confessions. Besides, I don't think she will accept me even if I confess my love. The best choice for me now is to leave. Or I can't explain why I can stay unharmed after fighting Eleven Sanmei once she and the three elders wake up. Besides, I've been exposed as a spy. It's a risky business to let my life snowball. So I'd better pretend to die because of the fight. They will forgive my wrongdoings after finding my death. After all, I even saved them before dying. What about Xie Daoyun if you leave here? Do you give her up? Chinger, you don't get it. Let me stabilize her condition first. And then I'll leave a note and leave. Master, why do you have to leave a note to her? You've decided to leave, no? That's it. It's not far from where she is and my note will be conspicuous. I need to tell her my plans even though I've decided to leave. Otherwise, she'll think I may survive and look for her. That will ruin her mood and affect her cultivation. So I'll just tell her my death. Makes sense. She's so simple and kind after all. She may look for you all over the world to see if you survive. Crack. All right. I'm done with it. I thought you would make it emotional, but it's this plain. Do you need me to polish it? No need. Let's go. Really? I've read many romantic poems recently. Let me help you. Huh? They became golden statues indeed. That's impressive. It's dazzling. Let's leave here. Goodbye, Xia Daoyun. Dao Yun, I guess I've gone far when you see this. Have you fully recovered? I've used the antidote from Eleven Sanmei on you. Did it work? Eleven Sanmei is dead. To kill him, I used a demonic martial art that drained me and got poisoned. No medicine can heal me. My days are numbered. I want to die alone in a secluded place. As the Arhut of the Rosefinch Temple, I'm disloyal to my sect. As Eleven Sanmei's foster son, I'm disloyal to him. As a monk, I'm disloyal to the Buddha. And it was me who dragged you and the elders to all this. Don't look for me. I want to spend my last days alone. I've spent the most leisurely days of my life during my journey away from my sect. And it was my pleasure to meet you. I have to say goodbye to you now. Hope you'll enjoy a peaceful and promising future. Forgetting about each other is better than helping and being with each other all the time, monk excellence. Forgetting about each other is better than helping and being with each other all the time. Drip. Huh? Why am I weeping? Seeing his philosophical attitude, I should feel relieved. But why am I so sad now? What's with the pain? A brief experience is enough. Dao Yun, I never sacrificed for anyone until I met you. Miss Xie, remember to cherish what you own now. 
Monk Excellence. Monk Excellence. So this is what love would bring me? Cluck. Chinger, stop crowing. Remember you're an owl. What? Master, it seems to be Sia Daoyun's smell of beauties. It looks pretty. Guess now you can upgrade finger of flowery swords. Yeah. Isn't it a good thing? Why do you look upset? Such feeling cannot be recalled again. It seemed lost even when it was felt then. Huh? You don't need to know what I mean. Stay carefree. Huh? That's enough. A brief experience would do. She lives up to her fame. After reaching the pre-celestial stage, she even made another breakthrough within a year. Look how smooth and vast her internal power is. The martial art of the Fanchin sect is indeed impressive. Yeah. I guess she may be the top dog since she's reached the second level of the pre-celestial stage at this age. Eleven Sanmei claimed Monk Excellence was a spy from the Huanchi sect, is that true? According to what he's carved on the rock, I'm afraid he was telling the truth. Monk Excellence would be a match for Xia Dao Yun if he survived. What a pity. Eleven Sanmei had got out of the Huanchi sect long ago. So breaking with him can't prove Monk Excellence is innocent. However, since Monk Excellence wrote this in his last days, I'll buy it. He must have been regretted everything he'd done wrong. Monk Excellence informed us to besiege Eleven Sanmei, broke with Eleven Sanmei, and even killed him despite his identity as a spy. Of course we'll look for Monk Excellence and see if we can save him. At least we can bring his body to the abbot if we can't make it. There's no time for chatting. I guess Monk Excellence hasn't gone far. Let's set off now. Oh, by the way, don't forget to bring Eleven Sanmei's body with us. Hold on. No need to rush. Xia Daoyun is still cultivating. We can set a small guardian formation just in case. We may leave after that. Okay. Why do you look so upset? If something is on your mind, you can share it with me. My mind is totally a mess and I can't calm down. Always keep inner peace no matter what happens. I used to stick to it easily, but now I have butterflies in my stomach. I can't feel settled. How can I gain peace again? You shouldn't ask me. You're the only one who knows the answer. I've come to the end of my days. You have a long way to go alone. Farewell, Dao Yun. Monk Excellence. Outside of the ruins. The news is fake. Damn it. I'll definitely find the wretched circulate the rumor and torture them. I've wasted so much time here. I wonder how's it going with Dao Yun. Hope she didn't get diverted by Monk Excellence when I was off. Your Highness. Our men monitoring the ruins reported that. What did you say? Ten minutes later. Let's get in and check on Dao Yun. Dao Yun. Child D. Sorry for being late. What happened? Why does she coil her hair on top of her head like that? Isn't it an updo for married women? If it weren't for my getting headed off, nothing would happen. It's all my fault to get you involved in all this. But rest assured, I'll have my men look for monk excellence. There's no need. He doesn't want anyone to disturb him. I've spent some time with you and I think I'm done with the test on you. Now that I just reached the second level of the pre-celestial stage, I need to go back to my sect and stabilize my cultivation base. This is where we part ways. Dao Yun, is there something between Monk Excellence and you? I do admire him, but I would also get upset because of his dragging you into this. I've prepared a lot of words of comfort before seeing you, but I found none of them would come in handy. It feels like you are as calm as usual. But I can tell you've changed by instinct. Everyone changes, child D. Then tell me, did you change because of monk excellence? I would never go out after I get back to my sect if everything goes well. Got it. She has fallen for monk excellence. I'm not bigoted. If I'm destined to miss something, I wouldn't waste my time on it. Since I can't win your heart, 
I won't force it. Or I may lose more. Dao Yun, goodbye. See you, child D. Your Highness, since Monk Excellence has died, why didn't you seize the chance and say no more? I don't see any respect for Monk Excellence and Dao Yun here. It would only make her think I'm shameless. I may stand a chance of winning if Monk Excellence is still alive. But since he's dead for Dao Yun, she would never forget him. I can't get it, Your Highness. Since she's seen a man who died for her, she won't want to go back to me. For Dao Yun, I will never compare with Monk Excellence anymore. What can I do except for giving her up? Monk Excellence, you upset Dao Yun and thus made me lose my chance of winning her. How I hope you could come back to life and compete against me. Finally, I've absorbed all the smell from Xia Dao Yun. I didn't expect it to take so long. Normally, I should cultivate advanced finger of flowery swords. It would take me a long time to reach the pre-celestial stage in that case. However, I have the system as my cheat. System level, LV3 name, CAN. Cultivation stage, post-celestial stage, the ninth level skill mastered, expand origin points, 5612.64049. Multiverse interchances, 5. The transmigration function is upgrading. I remember I've got 6 or 7,000 points left. I even used more than 1,000 points while fighting 11 Sanmei. What a dreadful fight. Never mind. It doesn't matter. The point is that I finally meet all the conditions to upgrade Finger of Flowery Swords. Let me level it up. Skill mastered, Finger of Flowery Swords. Current level, LV4. Current effect, finger of flowery swords with destructive power. It can erode the one who gets hit. Huh? Wow. The smell of beauties transformed into Xia Daoyun's image and got into your body. Are you going to cultivate? Should I avoid you? No need. Keep guard for me. Okay. Seeing this scene, now I'm pretty sure I'm going to break through to be a pre-celestial master. What happened? I think I heard something broken. Crack. Ugh. Damn it. Why do I feel like I'm blowing up again? It even feels worse than the first time I upgraded Guardian of Heaven's Gate. Ugh. Master? Thud. System prompt. Your cultivation level has raised. Current cultivation level, pre-celestial stage, the first level. Damn it, I would have died here if it weren't for Finger of Nirvana. What happened just now, Master? Silly. Take a look at yourself first. You're going to split. I don't feel pain as a ghost. It's just that I'm feeling a little ill. Don't waste your internal power on me. I won't accept while being exorcised anyway. Finger of Nirvana doesn't need my internal power to work. Besides, nothing would be wasted if it's used on you. All right, go back to me for now. I need to analyze what happened. Okay. Then I'll leave you alone. Why was it so difficult for me to break through? I even got myself hurt. I don't think the same thing happened to Xia Dao Yun during her breakthrough. Anyway, I've finally reached the pre-celestial stage. My internal power has also become purer to match my level. One of the features of pre-celestial internal power is its endlessness. One piece of that can be transformed into endless pre-celestial internal power. Gather. From now on, I'm not afraid of protracted fights or fights of attrition. I can fight for a long time. I would almost use up all my power before if I wanted to use this move. But now I can't feel any lack of power. And the sword energy gathered from my pre-celestial internal power looks purer and profound. Bang. This is impressive. Even one sword ray is stronger than 100 of that when I was at the post-celestial stage. But it's also power consuming if I use pre-celestial internal power only. I can't always use it and recharge it once. 
So pre-celestial masters always turn their pre-celestial internal power into endless post-celestial power while fighting due to its feature. They'll always reserve at least one piece pre-celestial power in their internal power pool. Back when we were in the ruins, Xia Daoyun was forced to use up all her power to fight Eleven Sanmei who was much stronger than her. So her exhaustion led to her faint. Speaking of which, I wonder how is Xia Daoyun doing now, anyway, she may reach the second level with the help of our tragedy due to the nature of her martial art. The second feature of pre-celestial internal power is that I can float in the air with its help. Pity that I've learned no martial art about flying or floating, or I would walk faster. It's enough for me to act tough sometimes. But it's much worse than rainbow shift in terms of speed. I need to look for some martial art about flying. I almost knew the features of pre-celestial internal power. Now let's see how powerful Finger of Flowery Swords is now. Skill Mastered, Finger of Flowery Swords. Current Level, LV5. Current Effect, with the help of Smell of Beauties, the Sword Spirit can breed. One Quarter. With the help of Smell of Beauties, the Sword Spirit can breed. Finger of Flowery Swords. Sword Spirit. Come out, my first Sword Spirit. It even took almost half of my pre-celestial internal power, but it's worth it. I even create a new creature. It feels like I'm an immortal. The features of this sword spirit are based on the smell of beauties I absorbed. That's why she resembles Xia Daoyun. She can't think but can fight. I don't need to control her. She would act according to what I think. As long as I take someone as my enemy, she would attack that person herself. Whoosh! She doesn't use my internal power and can even absorb the energy in the air to recover. So that she can stay in peak condition. Whoosh! She's good at attacking. Her move is no worse than Withering Strike. Bang! The enemy would have an endless fight against her as long as he can't ruin her at once since she can recover with the energy in the air. So she's even more powerful than me to some degree. Bang. And she will stop attacking as I order her in my mind. Bang. No more move without my order. The sword spirit can't use the martial arts of her example, but she can gain an exclusive character due to her example. For example, this one is as calm as Xia Daoyun. You may lose all your desire once you stay long with her. So the enemy would gradually lose the desire to fight her and eventually no longer resist. This is amazing. Put aside the extra level of the system, I've upgraded Finger of Flowery Swords into the second best level. Once I upgrade it to level 6, the Sword Spirit can use all her example's power based on some secret connection. Besides, if the examples keep developing, the Sword Spirits will also synchronize with their power. What an amazing cheat! I do appreciate Wen Tingyun's talent since he could even create such a powerful martial art. Once I can gain different smells of beauties from talented or powerful ladies, I'll get so many powerful helpers after upgrading Finger of Flowery Swords again. I can create another three spirits now. Well, Chin Shinsi must be one of them. She's another type. But I need her smell of beauties first. I'll make it after returning to the sect. Alright, time to withdraw the spirit. Half of my power would be occupied once she exists. Even Finger of Nirvana can't help. Back. What a perfect martial art. It was born for me. Huh? Damn it. I'm going to blast again. Boom. Ha, huh, thanks to Finger of Nirvana, or I would die here. What's going on? Why did I blast twice with such a short period? I fell into Chi Deviation. But I cultivated with the system's help. How's it possible? Hold on. System, I got it. Normally, one needs to accumulate slowly to break through. So his body can gradually get used to the upgrading martial arts. And smoothly one can break through. While I upgraded my martial arts first and then break through. So a great amount of internal power would surge in my body. My goodness, I feel that I'm swelling. It appeared before but I didn't notice it since Guardian of Heaven's Gate could enhance my body and I've been using post-celestial internal power. 
but now I'm at the post-celestial stage. And different from Sia Dayun's martial art, finger of flowery swords can't strengthen my body, so I couldn't afford so much power. The system helped me reach the pre-celestial stage so I don't get a firm body. I guess I'm even the worst in terms of that among my peers. So I need to focus while using my power. Or the blast would happen. I'm not afraid because of Finger of Nirvana, but it would cost more to heal the same wound as I leveled up. I don't have that many origin points. All in all, my body is too weak. Looks like I need to look for some martial art to enhance it. Only a firm body can be a perfect match for my pre-celestial internal power. I'm sorry, my dear horse. I'm strong because of my internal power. But I need to use it on attack and defense. It's hard to balance them. All my martial arts, even Guardian of Rebound Zen, are aiming at power cultivation. I've got no body enhance one. So to maximize the damage of Finger of Flowery Swords, I need a related martial art. Phew, there's nothing left on me. Ding. Transmigration improved. You can transmigrate in a second way now. Master. I've borrowed you a pair of pants. Transmigration improved. You can transmigrate in a second way now. System, don't you think you should explain the difference to me? Please choose a mode. Soul replacing. Traveling in person new. Master, what are you doing? Silent. Nothing. We've made a lot of noise. Let's go further to a nearby town before talking about it. Okay. I'll borrow a jacket before leaving. This one looks good. Listen up. Throw the boar in and get the jacket out. Oink. Hull in, hull town. Soul replacing, traveling in person. I used to replace the original CAN in those small worlds. That means I completed my tasks in their bodies. So that's called soul replacing. I'm CAN. I'm also CAN. What are you looking at? I'm Sia Yin. So there must be an original man called Sia Yin in this case. Traveling in person, however, means I can go to the small worlds myself. So there won't be any Sia Yin in those worlds. Maybe the new mode is for those worlds where there's no original Sia Yin. If that's the case, I guess I can use all my current power so I don't need to cost any origin points in cultivation. Am I right, system? No response. What a trash system. You're not intelligent at all. Since I've used so many origin points during my fight against Eleven Sanmei and I'm a pre-celestial master now, I may try the new mode to gain some origin points. Fine, give me an exciting world. Random world search complete. Discovered, boxing world. 1000 origin points required to transmigrate. Transmigration function initialized. Discovered, boxing world. Confirmed to transmigrate in person? It's so expensive. Is the rising inflation or its nature that affects the pricing? Or maybe because it's a world made of great challenges and opportunities? As a pre-celestial master, I won't chicken out. Yes. Boxing world. Rumble. 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 Immortal genre, heavenly whale dominating punches. Boom. Not bad for you. You could even survive the attack from the Tomahawk cruise missile. You've lived up to your name as the heir to heavenly whale dominating punches. Then try my mighty killing punches. Mighty Killing Punches, Stray Missile Punch. Immortal Genre, Heavenly Whale Dominating Punches. Boom. Whoosh. Ha, Mighty Killing Punches, you're Claus the best killer from the Dark Killing Society? Now that you've recognized me, you should know what I come for. I didn't expect to be chased by a famous B-level fighter. So who wants to kill me this time? The Ting Tian family? Shang Wan Yin, you're the heir to heavenly whale dominating punches. You should know many people want to kill you. All you need to know is that it's me that kills you. 
The third move of Mighty Killing Punches, Chariot Rush. The second move of Heavenly Whale Dominating Punches, Storms Brewing. Bang. Bang. Punches a cannon. You could even resist me with your weak power as a sea level fighter? Heavenly Whale Dominating Punches are quite something. The second move of Mighty Killing Punches, Gatling Shooting in Succession. I've been curious about how far you can go in terms of physical strength with the help of your art. How long can you hold on? Bang. Spinning sweeping. One minute? Bang. Or five? Bang. Maybe ten? Bang. Boom. Bang. Bang. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty minutes. Wow, you've made it to thirty minutes. The strongest shield, heavenly whale dominating punches, huh? Impressive indeed. You're a real talent and heroine. Pity that, ugh. I'm sorry, yow. Ha. Bang. Who? Who's it? That's not the point. You only need to remember that I'm the one here to kill you. Damn it. I haven't received any tasks from the system after watching in the dark for so long. So I have to come to save her myself. Seems like someone has come to my rescue. I didn't expect to be saved since I'm on such an isolated island, huh? Could it be the evil? Swish damn it. Why would there be a fallen fighter here? Oh no. Bang. Pow. 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 I admire his fast reactions and powerful physique. I can't feel any internal power on him. It means he can even make it to this extent even with pure strength. That's impressive. But what is evil power? Only evil people in this world can use internal power? Mission Loading Mission 1, Escort Shang Wan Yin, the heiress to heavenly whale dominating punches, back to home, and be her family. You will gain origin points as a reward once it's finished. Otherwise, there won't be any follow-up mission. What the hell? Why is the mission so weird in this world? And Mission 1, does that mean there will be Mission 2 or even Mission 3? Besides, based on my experience, I would gain nothing if I fail. Why does it say something about the follow-up mission? Mighty Killing Punches, Nuclear Missile Crush Where are your ethics? How could you try stealth while I'm diverted? I've found that martial arts in this world can also create virtual images. It was a bluff somehow. Bang. Guardian of Rebound Zen. Hmm, I've tested it out. Different from those in the main world, the virtual images here seem to be some kind of projection with special effects or something. It's his fists that hurt me. Ugh. Rebound dot bang. Bang. He could even resist almost all the damage with his strength? Seems the martial arts here are great. However, it also has something to do with the post-celestial internal power I used on Guardian of Rebound Zen. In terms of defense, Guardian of Rebound Zen is kind of handy now with the title National Spirit and its extra level. But its damage can't keep pace with my development. Bang! If I used pre-celestial internal power to rebound, he should have been crippled or even died here. Alright, enough for the game. Bang. 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 Whoosh. 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 What the hell? How great his evil power is. He's so powerful, judging from his aggressive and powerful spirit, he's at least a top B-level fighter even if he's not demonized. No, I'm afraid he's even more powerful. Finger of Flowery Swords. Withering Strike. Whoosh. He's an A-level fighter. Farewell. You should appreciate it that I've used Withering Strike with my post-celestial internal power to kill you. Thud. A pink external attack that can turn people into ashes, no, petals. 
With such evil power, he must be a fallen fighter. But I once saw many fallen fighters. They always look ugly with their faces distorted and with an aura of brutality and chaos. However, his appearance and temperament are totally different from what fallen fighters look like in my memory. Who on earth is he? I'm Shang Wan Yin. Thank you for saving me. May I know your name? You seem to be afraid of this? We are not at all. It's easy to save her, but how could I manage to be her family? What the hell is my mission? Anyway, I need to fake a powerful identity. There used to be one man who lived with his master in the deep mountains, isolated from the outside world. One day, his master broke through and ascended to heaven, leaving him in the immortal sword sect alone. He had to come down from the mountain, but only found himself out of touch with the world. All the people misunderstood his power despite its mightiness. Having nowhere to go, he had to live alone on a deserted island till now. So you are the man, right? I'm Xie Yin, the last swordsman in the world, also a poor man with no home or family. The last swordsman? Immortal sword sect. I've never heard such a sect here. Maybe he's a successor to some secret fallen fighter family? Yeah. Look how badly you were hurt. Let me heal you with my immortal art. It's called Finger of Nirvana. I can feel a warm flow of power coming out of my body, healing every part it passes by. All my injuries have been healed at once. What do you think? This is not what evil power can do, right? I believe you are no fallen fighter. Rest assured. I'm grateful. I won't sell you out since you've saved me. Hey! You still insist that I'm a fallen fighter or something, no? Thanks for saving me, Mr. Xie. I can't repay your kindness. I wonder what I can do for you. Hmm, you can let me be your family for me. But it's a shame to bring it up. Ah, how stupid you are, Shang Wan Yin. Why did you put it as Mr. Xie helped you for your repay? Your question would only embarrass him. You can stay at my home if you don't mind it. Since Mr. Siath claimed he has no family, I'll invite him to my home. She got it. Seems I stand a chance of finishing the mission. Then I'll accept it. I usually practice on the island. I've birthed my yacht on the south beach. Please come with me. Kloss has blasted my yacht. Do we have to go back by running on the sea? But will Mr. Xie take it as a snub? Don't worry, Miss Shangwan. Web novel, huh? I can fly you back. She felt too shy to agree and chose to run back on her own. Anyway, the fighters in this world indeed have powerful physiques. She could even run on the surface of the sea. Seam's system is still reliable. It sent me to a small world like this since I need a body enhance art. And according to what that killer said, Shang Wan's heavenly whale dominating punches is called the strongest shield, so that's the strongest defense martial art in this world? Seem I have to get it. An S fighter is strong enough to move forward even faster than voice in the air. But they actually make it on the voice clouds, which would make a lot of noises. However, Mr. Xia makes it in a quiet way. If he flies with evil power, there would be pink flares around him, which should also be noisy. That doesn't conform with his current situation. Could it be that Mr. Xie isn't a fallen fighter? Wait. I almost forgot something. I should have gained her affection since I've saved her. Even though it didn't go as I expected, there shouldn't be no response. Why didn't I hear any prompt of the system? And that killer hated me so much but I gained no origin point from him. I've spent so much time in the small world, receiving no system prompt. Is there anything wrong with them? Or with the small world? Or even with the system? Hey! System! Could there be a bug or something in you? According to the mode you chose, you've got no original body in the world to take in the origin points. So you can only gain origin points after finishing your mission. I shouldn't have praised the system. This mode values a little since I can't keep gaining origin points. 
While traveling in person, you can choose to record your current progress and go back to the main world any minute. Once a mission is finished, another one will follow up. You will keep accepting new missions one by one until you fail. Do you want to go back now? Go back? I've just got there. Go back any minute. A lot of missions. Progress record even if I fail. If that's the case, each mode has its own merits. This one values more to me now. Mr. Sierra, ahead is my home. We're almost there. Here we are. This is my home, Heavenly Whale Club. Heavenly Whale Club. Yao, I'm back. Yao? There's another girl here? Yin? You're finally back. Thank you for guarding our club. When I was away, was there anything wrong with? Huh? Oh. You've got a handsome man during your trip? Hello, I'm Shang Wen Yao, Yan's sister. You can call me Yao. Are you Yan's boyfriend? Now that I look at you carefully, I know I chose the wrong word to describe you. You are more than handsome. I've never seen a man with such beauty as you. Yao, I've told you that is the heiress to immortal genre. You'd better behave yourself and be reserved. Never show your infatuation for pretty men. I'm sorry, Mr. Xie. That's the way Yao is, always being too talkative. Please get some rest in the living room. I'll go entertain you after cleaning myself up. Hey! I'll cook for you later. What do you want for dinner? Don't talk that way. It sounds rude. Oh no. Please don't ever hit me on the face. What if I'm disfigured? How can I carry on as a gold digger? Looks they have different characters. Anyway, Yao has a strong physique. Shang Wan Yin didn't even leave a wound on her face while pressing her head on the ground. Master, are we in a modern world again? Yes. According to its technology, it can be called a modern world. But everyone values strength more than all the small worlds we've ever been in. There's all common exercise equipment here. So there must be a particular way of practicing heavenly whale dominating punches. So you're a rare swordsman, Mr. Xie? I've heard of this from my sister in the bath. Sword. Where's your sword? Please show me. Can you really float in the air with it? You must hide it inside your clothes. Let me look for it. Yao. Get dressed before going out. Let a man see you almost naked. Don't you know how improper it is? But you've denied he's your boyfriend. I don't think it's improper for me to hit on him. Don't say that to disgrace our family name. Wow, that girl is so coquettish. She must be coveting your flesh. Seems they're in a good relationship despite some minor squabbles sometimes. I wonder how I can learn heavenly whale dominating punches. If I can only learn that by marrying one of them, that would be worth considering. I'm no casual character. I'll protect your flesh. It's late now. I'll show Mr. Sia to his room. Yao, go run a bath for him. Got it. But don't you feel lonely to taking a bath alone? Do you need my company? But you've done with your bath just now. Say no more and run a bath. Now. Bang. Rest assured, master. I won't let her approach your bath. Chinger, relax. I've met a lot of girls infatuated with me. I know how to handle this. Nervous. But we can't let our guard down. I'll keep an eye on her. Let's get back to business. How can I be accepted as their family? Do I have to seduce Shang Wan Yin and marry her? No. Don't push yourself too hard, master. Shang Wan Yin has arrived home so long, but I didn't receive any prompt of finishing my task. Seems like the key point of it should lie on how to be her family. Seducing is the last resort. I can find a way to nail it. We can take our time since there's no time limit. Mr. Xie, you're still awake? Do you need my company? What is she talking about? What is she doing here? Er, maybe, seducing me? 
Mr. Sierra. We can just let her leave. No need to care about her infatuation. No. She will push her luck if she's not punished this time. I must get rid of her bad habit and prevent this from happening again. Chinger? Ghostly enchantment? I'll give her mind a deep cleaning. Please wait a minute. I'll be right back after the cleaning out of your sight. Bang. Go easy on her. You are also enhanced after I reach the pre-celestial stage. Even average post-celestial martial artists in the main world are no match for you now. Don't go too far. Hmm, I'm so sleepy. Patter, patter, patter. Yow? Wait. You came out of Mr. Sia's room? Where are your morals? Bang. Miss Shangwan? I'm sorry for disturbing you. It's my fault that I didn't discipline Yao. Please don't take it personally. Don't worry. I don't feel offended. And I quite appreciate her energy. I wonder if she's suffering a concussion now. I know her well, so you don't need to cover for her. I will discipline her from now on. Splash. Give my body back to me. Huh? Ah. Yao's will is awakened? Yao might be promoted to a fighter congratulations. Any minute in her breakthrough period. But I didn't expect her to make it now. Her will is awakened? And she even kicked Chinger out of her body. Her spirit or soul seemed to be improved. I knew the martial arts in this world would be good not only at enhancing strength. Yao. Phew. Of course. Good job, Yao. Keep going. Yin. I've finally been awakened and become a fighter. Aren't you going to admire me? And then here comes your punishment. What do you want? How dare you sneak into Mr. Xie's room? You've disgraced our family name. It hurts. Be gentle, please. No, I just... I just lost control of my own body. It's so scary. Ghostly enchantment. Ghostly enchantment. Ah. Why didn't it work? I've also developed. Why can't I use it on her now? That feeling again. I'm so scared. Don't worry. I'm here with you. Her behavior just now was indeed abnormal. Two kinds of counteracting power blocking in your body led to your mental abnormality. It will be lifted naturally with your improvement. Your discomfort is just caused by not adapted to the increase in power. Only a little art in Shang Wan's eyes. And you'll feel better. In Xie Yan's eyes. Let go of me. I'm gonna teach her a lesson. Huh? That strange feeling really disappears. Let go of me. I admire your power, Mr. Xie. Thank you. My pleasure. Yao, since your will has been awakened, I'll take you to stabilize your base in the sea. Mr. Xie, we'll be right back. Good night. Huh? But I just broke through. Can't we leave it for later? I'm curious about your practice method. Can I go with you? A good chance. I can know how they cultivate in this world. You want to know it? All right. But it will be boring. Hope you won't mind it. Thank you, Miss Shangwan. Yin, don't you think it's unlucky to do that on such a dark and windy night? We'd better come another day. What are you talking about? I must soak you in the sea tonight. Go. Ah. Plop. That's indeed an extreme way of practicing. Martial artists at level 6 or level 7 in the main world may even die if they cultivate in the same way. You may not know this since you've always stayed in the mountains. Nowadays, all the people practice this way, breaking through in extreme conditions. To improve or to die. For example, the practice of heavenly whale dominating punches requires us to fight against countless natural enemies and deadly water pressure as whales in the deep sea. Thus we are inspired to break through. No wonder they can develop such a physique. 
their fighting tooth and nail. Chinger, go check on that boat opposite. Someone is peering at us. Take them here and let the Shangwans take a look if you're sure they're up to no good. Leave it to me. Father, have you seen this? Yao is also a fighter now. I didn't see their parents in their home. Could it be? Sorry. I just indulged myself in missing my departed father. Your departed father. Miss Shangwan, your father. Yeah, he passed away. Making breakthroughs one after another to maximize his physical strength, he ended up living even shorter than ordinary people. Maybe that's his fate as a powerful fighter. A fighter's life expectancy is not even comparable to that of ordinary people. That's true despite few exceptions sometimes. When my father was still alive, he told me this is the price we pay for our mighty power. But I wonder if you're telling the general situation of fighters or it happens when they fight and get injured frequently. The general situation. Your life will be shortened once you become a fighter, even if you don't fight anymore. What? Does that mean the martial arts in this world will shorten my lifespan? Then should I learn some? Sometimes, I would think it might be better for Yao not to be a fighter. At least she can grow to 70, 80, or even 100 years of age that way rather than die in her 50s. This is weird. Based on Finger of Nirvana, I've checked Shang Wan Yan's condition. With a strong physique and no internal injuries, she should definitely live to 100. How can she die in her 50s with such strength? Never mind. Yao and I need to improve ourselves to preserve the reputation of heavenly whale dominating punches inherited from my father. Countless people dread heavenly whale dominating punches. We couldn't even protect ourselves if we didn't manage to be fighters. Whatever. At least I can learn some rough skills. I must figure out the reason behind their short life. I don't want to come here for nothing. Oh right. I've wanted to ask you some questions. I've never heard of something like fighters, fight practicers, or awakening in my sect back then. And your cultivation method is quite strange. Is that the way you fighters are? No, the cultivation method and the way of breakthrough differ from genre to genre. In this world, people who practice boxing or use cold weapons are called fight practicers. However, they also have their limitations that they can't be much stronger than ordinary people while facing thermal weapons. Only when their wills are awakened and ignited, they can break through and strengthen their bodies to fight against thermal weapons. At that time, we can call them real fighters. Few of them can win the title of fighters. Generally speaking, there are not even 10,000 fighters among all the 8 billion people. To awaken to become a fighter, maybe that's why they die young? I'm not sure now. I may take a look at some martial arts or something. That killer also mentioned sea level fighter or something, so fighters are also ranked? Yes, the fighter's society would do that due to the fighter's combat abilities. A new fighter would always be the weakest sea level, and the most powerful one would be an S level fighter. As the heiress to heavenly whale dominating punches, I'm sure I'll be the strongest among all the sea level fighters, though I haven't gone to the society to do my assessment. According to that killer's strength, an S-level would be as powerful as a pre-celestial master in terms of strength. And the Shangwans are called the strongest shield because of their martial art. I want to learn that. Damn it. I've gone too far with acting. It would be a disgrace to me to ask for an opportunity to learn. Pity that I'm not strong enough. I failed to carry forward heavenly whale dominating punches after my father died. But you will develop. You won't always be a sea level over time. Your father would be proud of you if he could know how hard you've tried. At least you care about him and have your sister's company. Unlike me, my master never talked to me besides when he needed to teach me to cultivate. And after he left me, I was alone. Mr. Siat, forget about that. Could you please tell me something about fallen fighters? I don't know what they exactly are after hearing you say so many things about all that. Well, it's a long story. 
About 100 years ago, Fist of Demons, a new S-level fighter, challenged another fighter called Immortal Dominating Punches, the only above S-level fighter. They had a duel with each other. Fist of Demons was no match for Immortal Dominating Punches. But when he was going to lose, he used a strange power to hurt Fist of Demons. Fist of Demons was eroded by that power even though he's acted and killed his opponent. That led to Fist of Demons dying. It said Fist of Demons is a fallen fighter eroded by the evil power. After that, there kept emerging fighters who could expose their power to attack with Pink Flare. They are all extremely aggressive and moody. They would kill all the people they meet as they want. So the authorities decided to suppress them. But they are all ugly and moody. I was scared by you when I first met you, but I've never suspected you. I see, with no one's company, I can't get any information like this. Never mind, since I've made up a public image, I have to keep it for now. Luckily, I met you. Or I may make a fool of myself. Mr. Sia, I have Ya by my side despite the death of my parents. However, Mr. Sia is poor and alone. Then why don't you marry me, Mr. Sia? We can make a perfect couple and you won't feel lonely anymore. Thud. This is improper. Humph. Let's go back. Mr. Sia? Seems someone has fallen into the water over there. Huh? That man seems to be Ido Makoto of the double attention genre. Damn it. The double attention genre again. He must be following us. Let me catch him. Ha ha, that guy is indeed up to no good. So I controlled him and let him jump into the sea and swim to us. He must be wondering what's going on now. Good job. The double attention genre? What's that? Why is she so angry? The double attention genre club is the biggest club in our seaward city. When we just moved here, they used our unfamiliarity with the city and gave us a hard time. I see. I got it. They were liable to be attacked because of their family reputation. Bang. You bastard. Pick on us frequently, huh? Answer me. What did you want by following us? Thud. Ugh. Mercy. Mercy, please. I'm just a gopher. They sent me here to have a check after knowing Miss Shang Wan Yan has come back unexpectedly. I know nothing at all. Unexpectedly? That's a strange word. You thought Miss Shang Wan might not come back? I knew it. You hired that killer to assassinate my sister. Thump. Mercy. Go to hell. They must be worried about they couldn't win in tomorrow's fighter convention. That's why they hired a killer. What a bunch of bastards. Yin, as a fighter, I won't be a drag on you anymore. Let me go with you tomorrow and let's beat them all. We can kick them out of the martial circle. Okay. Let's go to the Fujita family tomorrow. Do you want to join us to beat them up? And you can protect us. Stop fooling around, Yao. This is improper. How can you try to get Mr. Xian involved in our business since he's our guest? Don't be so serious, Yin. You may rest here, Mr. Xian. We'll be right back. I plan to go with you, but since you insist on this, I'll do as you say. Good luck. Yin, why do you look so upset? Are you too nervous about the convention? No, that's not the reason. Mr. Xia is alone. I wonder if I hurt his feelings to put it too straight to leave him alone. Alas, I should apologize to him after coming back. Master, are you sure we aren't going? But we may miss something interesting. Of course we are going. I can't rest assured to see two beautiful ladies like them fight alone. After all, beauty is attractive. But they are going to fight for their reputation and they must have been well prepared. I don't think I should insist on going with them. Anyway, I can run fast than them. I'll set off half an hour later. I see. Double attention genre club. Shang Wan Yao has broken through and become a fighter. 
and Shang Wan Yin must be improved after coming back from her training on the island. Yes, master. What should we do then? Have you tried to get in touch with the Dark Killing Society? Yes, but we received no response. Who's it? Father? Father, what brought you here? You hired someone from the Dark Killing Society to assassinate Shang Wan Yin? Yes, father. She is a talented heiress to heavenly will dominating punches. I wanted to kill her possibility in advance. What do you think, father? You are the current leader. It's up to you. Rest assured. Our promising future is around the corner as long as we drive them away from the city. Ha ha. Here come our guests. I'll leave them to you. Thud. I'm Shang Wan Yin from the Heavenly Whale Club. I'm here for martial skills interchange. Fujita Aisao, have you ever remember our agreement one month ago? I'm here for it. Shang Wan Yin? Go call master here. Shang Wan Yin, she came here so soon? I didn't expect them to get the nerve to come here. I heard that Shang Wan Yin went out for special training after losing to our leader last time. She must get something since she dared to come. I don't believe she could make remarkable progress just after one month. Oh, Mr. Fujita Takashi, you're here too. Sorry for bothering you. It's okay. I'm glad to see you young people so energetic. So are you going to host the competition today? As a weak old man, it's my pleasure to be respected. How can I be qualified to be the host? You may work it out yourselves. I need some rest as an old man. Click. It's a good thing that Mr. Fujita Takashi is not here so that I can be frank. Isao, don't you think you should give me an explanation for your hiring a killer from the Dark Killing Society? We have nothing to do with the Dark Killing Society. Don't you frame us. It must be the Tingtian family or something. So Klaus has fought Shang Wan Yan? Then how could she manage to survive? Stop talking nonsense. It's clear that you are the one behind that. All right, Yao. Based on Isao's attitude, I don't think we need to talk about it. Isao, I want to fight you again today. The one who loses must close the club and leave this city. Miss Yao, mind your attitude. What? Are you trying to say something like one may steal a horse while another may not look over the hedge? I'm going to beat all of you up today. That's not the rule and you know it. Ha. Huh. Then try me. I promise I'll teach all of you the lesson. She's gone too far. Even I want to beat her. The concealment five pendant. Shu, say no more and focus. Why are you so excited, Miss Yao? Guess you need me to help you calm down. I'm Kazuo Hayakawa, a top fight practicer of the double attention genre. Bang. Bring it on. Is that all you got? Block. Bang. Loser. How dare you fight me with your weak power? Know your place before you act. What? She has become a real fighter? But it couldn't have been this easy for her to take that blow even if she's a sea level fighter. So that's the power of heavenly will dominating punches? No wonder they who practice it are called the strongest shield. Shang Wan Yao, do you want to fight me on behalf of Shang Wan Yin? Ha ha. Yin, I won't steal your thunder then. You should be the focus today. Seems you've developed a lot in the last month. But I've also made some progress. Show me then. Go for it, Yin. Beat him up. Just you wait. Two days in one mind genre Hades gibbet. Hades Breakthrough Ping 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 The curator doesn't value the decorations in the museum. Then I wouldn't wait. Whale Paw Boxing Ping Shot Whale Paw Boxing Huge Waves Ping Ping Damn it! Master the people who specify in the two days in one mind genre are agile and they focus on blocking and dodging. 
Curator, it should be very hard for you to get this blow from me. Fujita soon, you lost. According to the bet, you should close the two days in one mind genre Tower's temple immediately and leave the city. Although the power of whale paw boxing is weak, the successor is still very energetic. Master Fujita, let's fight today for our family's enmity. You are no longer concerned about the affairs of the world, so you will not interfere in the disputes of our younger generation. Everything today is your son's fault. If you don't want to be angry to die, you'd better not poke your into others' business. You two juniors are very good, since you are very young and physically trained. I admire you very much. He he. But I suddenly had an idea, but I hope Miss Yen agrees to it. For what? I hope that our two families can get married, and one of your two sisters can get married to the Fujita family. Master, what do you mean? I know that my sons have some shortcomings, and that your Shangwan family is also a big family of martial arts, thus I think only the man who can defeat you and make you surrender is qualified to be your husband. So it's not my son who will marry your sisters. It is me. What the hell is going on? Are you Master Fujita? Stop kidding, we won't marry you. A joke? How could it be a joke? I once asked Master G.E. of Nirvana Rochuen about how to lock the body and rejuvenate. Don't consider me an old man. In fact, I have always maintained the peak state of my youth. I'm serious. So fast. Originally, things didn't need to develop to this point, but if you lose in the competition, I can let my sons marry you. You can only blame yourself for being too competitive. Couch. Cough. It seems that you all had reservations before and did not use your entire strength. So you can escape from the black killer. So you admit that you hired the murderer. He has always been energized, and now he has exploded, not only returning to the top, but also much stronger than the black killer. Talkative. Sister. The master is almost 60 years old, and he can still fight. It turned out that he really bought the murderer. The master has mastered the legendary rejuvenation technique. No wonder he is so old and still maintains his peak state. You can't leak a word of today's affairs. Do you know? Is the master still of level fighters? Not bad. The whale paw boxing you practice can have such a physical body. Ugh. Who are you? Who is he? Who can make the master retreat? Pink energy attack? Depraved fighter? How did he come here? Is. Mr. Sia? That's it. I know who you are. As long as you leave now, I can assume that I have never seen you and will not expose you. As if you know me well. Should you let me go, I'll go but then I'll be losing my face. So, you are going to save sisters of the Shangwan? How sentimental and righteous you are. No, people like me don't care about love, but they are my prey. No matter what you plot, I shall not allow it. What did you just say? What we are. Don't you want to admit it? It doesn't matter. My beloved knife's William Wan, right help, it's been a long time since you two drank blood. The last chance, you, get out or not. What bullshit? If you only have this ability, in my opinion, you should be the one who got out today. Brother, Jian is good. Before the old pervert, he was not ashamed, but now he has been beaten in the face, right? It's so funny. Father, it's too dangerous to fight against a fallen fighter, so let's surrender. Master, let's not mess with him. Yes. Master, we. Shut up. Are you sure you want to tear your face with me? Young man, once I am. Seriously, you will definitely die. A lot of nonsense. What can you do if you have the ability to do two tricks quickly, forcing you to chat? Ha ha ha, good. This is what you forced me, don't regret it. Relying on their own strength, the young people began to lose their respect. Today, I will let you know that there are people outside the world, and there are days outside the world. 
What? What? Shizu is also a fallen fighter. The temperature has risen so hot. Master, why? Ah, wow. This incredible feeling, I should have accepted it sooner. In retrospect, I was still disturbed by worldly favors. It's better to be liberated as soon as possible and log into the heavens and gods. Ah, the old pervert is the degenerate fighter. Brother Jensian, be careful. Trouble. It turns out that this is a fallen fighter? It's really a flame of pink energy. You hide behind me, his outward energy seems to be corrosive, it is best not to get on your body. Mr. Xie, you don't need to pay too much attention to us. Sky Whale Fist is highly resistant to the power of the heretic god, and it is not that vulnerable. On the contrary, Fujita was originally a fighter at the top of the B level. After the fall, I am afraid that he will be the best in the A level. You must be careful. I know, I just want to see how good the so-called fallen fighters are. Father, is it still a father? Please wake up, don't be dazzled by these evil thoughts, come back soon. Father. So noisy. Goo. What's the matter? I didn't feel the consumption of true chi. Why did Ting Wan Jinchan become weak this feeling? Seems to be the power of the so-called heretic god, which has a certain penetration into true chi, or even suppresses it. The old pervert even kills his own people. He is completely dehumanized. Fallen fighters are like this, they and humans are no longer the same species. Too weak, human beings are really too weak, like porcelain, it breaks with one touch. I don't even know how strong I am now. Verify my previous guess. Sure enough, it is similar to the power of making magic swords in the world of heroes, the power of breaking the gang. Few, fortunately, it can be wiped out with infuriating energy. It seems that for the power of the heretic god above a certain strength, Tian Wan Jinjin is in vain, and only the ultra highly condensed Hua Jin sword can destroy it. If Tian Wan Jinjin is useless and only relying on physical defense, I might not be as good as Shang Wenyeo. In this world, it is very dangerous. This is just the degeneration of the B level fighters. What if you encounter a degeneration of A-level or even S-level fighters? It's kind of interesting, so let me make it more difficult. The power of Cthulhu Tian overcomes true chi. My biggest threat in this world should be the fallen fighter, and I must take it seriously. Never let him get close. What? My knife, what kind of power is this? Uh. The power of evil zen, suppress me. Ah, suppress it. Suppress, suppress. Fujita, just died like this? Still become petals. Really, it's a martial arts that is extremely beautiful and shocking. Is this the sword fairy? Great, the white flower spurred by the innate true chi withered. This guy actually lasted for 10 years. If the dead ghost of 11 Sanway didn't use the innate true chi to protect the body, he would have to be stunned. The water in this small world is really deep. Mr. Sia. Oh my god, Brother Sia's is so powerful, he immediately killed the old bastard Fujita Takeshi. Fallen fighters are dangerous so I had to make a heavy hand. I used the innate true chi. Fortunately, this time the body did not burst, otherwise it would have been very embarrassing. I didn't expect Fujita Takeshi to be a degenerate fighter. Fortunately, Brother Sias saved us today. I really admire you. Even if you guys are strong, you are just two cute girls in my eyes, and not being worried at all was impossible. But you must first forgive me for following you for coming here without permission. No, no, no. If it wasn't for Mr. Sia's rescue, our sisters would have been killed. It should be our gratitude to you. Moreover, it is the second time that Mr. Sia has saved me. It is really hard for me to repay this kindness. But I will do so in my next life. No, no, sister, we should say it like this. This little woman has nothing to give in return for your great kindness, but if you want I can use my body. Xiao Yao, please be serious. 
Woo woo, Shaya was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm so reassured to see you two in such good spirits. Miss Yen, I've got to stay in your home all the time for free. So you don't need to be so polite, I will be sad instead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't do it in the future. Mr. C.S. saved my life twice and treated my sister sincerely. I always created a sense of distance, which is really rude. His character is gentle and so powerful, if. Mission 1, protect Shang Wan Yin, the heir of the heavenly whale fighter. And escort to make her return home safely. Become one of her family members. Completing mission, I will get 1,500 points. Huh? Today's affairs are too much trouble. I have to go to the police station and the martial arts association, otherwise there will be trouble later. Xiao Yao, you take Mr. Xia home, don't wait for me, you all can eat first. Brother Xia, I will make pig's trotter soup for you, you must try it, it's super delicious. Okay, everything is up to Miss Yen, Xiao Yao, and I will go home first. Forget it, just complete the task, but the source points rewarded is really not low. One day later. Tian Jing Dao Guan. Mr. Xia wants to learn the Tian Jing Dao Guan skill? Brother Xia is already so good and still want to learn our family's fighting skills? My sword immortal family lineage is mainly qi refining, and I am not good at refining the body. I also want to make up for my shortcomings. The power of Cthulhu has great restraint on true qi, and my body is relatively weak. In order to avoid falling into danger, I need to save source points for Nirvana to protect myself. If Miss Yen is willing, I can exchange Kung Fu with the Tianjing Dao Guan to learn from each other. What do you think, Miss Yen? According to Miss Yan's statement, the Tianjing Dao Guan has a great resistance to the power of the evil gods. I must learn this fighting technique. I should be honored that Mr. Xie is willing to learn the fighting arts of the Tianjing Dao Guan. But the exchange of Kung Fu is not urgent for the time being. Our sisters have just been promoted as fighters, so it is not advisable to be distracted. Xiao Yao, you go and find the handwritten book from when you were cultivating back in the day, yes? Yes. Three hours later. The fighting technique in this world really has its own uniqueness. It does not cultivate the chi, purely exercises the flesh and blood fascia, and has an obvious improvement of physical strength. It is many times stronger than the Xinquan Dao of the Qianming world. Very good. I did not use any real chi at all. I can hit such a fierce punch twice in a row with the flesh fist alone. Now I am considered to have initially mastered the fighting technique of the Tianjing Dao Guan fist method. I practiced a little bit according to the method of the book, and I felt it in less than two hours. After all, I am in the innate realm of the main world. Even if I have not specifically practiced the physical body, I still have a good foundation. Now it's just a conversion of power, so it won't take much time. Theoretically, I should be having a good start, but the system did not prompt, estimating that there is still something wrong. Let me see how to practice the next. If you want to practice magic, you must first come from the palace. What the hell? Mr. Xie, how are you doing? If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Miss Yen is just in time. Please see if this secret is right. Did you really practice according to this at the time? Mr. Xie, this handwritten copy was made by Xiao Yao a long time ago. Is the handwriting difficult to read? Ah. Yes, I'm sorry. What's up? What's up? Yao, you think that's a good thing you did, huh? After some explanation. So these words were written by Xiao Yao when she was a kid and had nothing to do with cultivation, right? Sorry, Mr. Xie. That's good. I thought I really need to be from the palace to cultivate it. Not so. We have to go out first. Mr. Xie, continue your cultivation. Miss Yen, don't rush to go. I have a problem here. Please look at this. According to the book, as long as Tian Jing's pattern can be displayed behind his back when cultivating, it will be considered as having him enter the Tian Jing Dao Guan sect. But I don't have that on my back. Could you please help me see? This, this is really what you're talking about. 
but for those who are new to it, it takes a few months, maybe a few years to acquire it, and Mr. Xia was able to cultivate it in less than a day. There are many things common in the martial arts which I have been practicing in my sect for a long time, so the Tianjing skill is faster to learn. That's really fast, Brother Xia, are you a god? Sister, then, stop talking, let me calm down a bit. I remember it took a month for housekeeper Shangwan to successfully cultivate it, but I didn't expect anyone to be able to cultivate it overnight. Next, next, I'm going to prepare, Xiao Yao, check whether Mr. Xie's body has reached the level of a peak fighter. He he he, I'll take care of it. Brother Xie, you have heard it, next let Xiao Yao check your progress. Please go ahead. This thing will definitely will consider this as an opportunity to take advantage of me, let Ching'er teach her a lesson. Forget it, letting her try a bit of manly flavor shouldn't be a problem. Brother Xie, how do you feel when Xiao Yao presses here? Phew, not bad, can you try to press harder? What about here? Right there, press more harder. And here? He he, Brother Xie can't hold on anymore, right? Ha ha ha, you are not talking about martial ethics if you tickle me like this. Shang Wan Yao. I should have never trusted you. Believe me, sister, I was checking it out properly. Are you sure you were checking it out properly? First apply the special oil, then use just the right amount of force under the acupuncture point, judging by the resistance of the body. These are all that you taught me, my sister, I'm really checking it. Okay, what about the result? The result is that the Brother Xie's body strength definitely has the level of a peak fighter. I feel almost, okay, so let's proceed to the last step. What to do next? The practice of the Tianjing skill is not only an external practice, but it's also an internal one. This secret pill can further stimulate the body's potential, and the external kung fu that Mr. Xie has been practicing before can be integrated with each other and eventually make the Tianjing skill. Xiao Yao and I have taken the pills since we were young, and we only need to cultivate our external strength to break through. Mr. Xie is the first to cultivate the external power, now you only need to take this pill. In other words, taking this pill will enable Tianjing skill to get started? Then I will eat it. Skills Mastered, Tianjing Skill Current Level, LV0 Current Effect, Like a Giant Whale Full of energy and blood. Tianjing skill, getting started. Huh? Tianjing skill burns the soul to strengthen the physique, and continued usage will greatly reduce the life of the soul. What the fuck? I remember Miss Yen once said that a fighter's fate is like a splendid firework, it will fall quickly after it burns out. I'm curious, hasn't any fighter ever explored the secret of this short lifespan? The Tianjing skill completely conflicts with my greatest need for longevity. Even though it's okay to not upgrade, but what is the use of learning it without upgrading? I want to know if there's another way for this. Since ancient times, countless experts, scholars, and fighters have explored this issue. They have cited thousands of methods, but none of them succeeded. Most people will not be able to work out a suitable method in their entire life. Even if someone could figure out some ways, it will be only for the low-level fighters. Once promoted, their life expectancy will be reduced drastically. Are there no exceptions? Promoting a fighter means burning the will, and burning the will means reducing the lifespan of the soul. This rule. Of course, there are exceptions. I once talked to Mr. Xie about a degenerate fighter. This person is the first and only S-level fighter who has ever played against the degenerate fighter, Senior Zhu Ji. Senior Zhu Ji is a wonderful person. Unparalleled talent flourished his brilliant life. When Zhu Ji was a teenager, he went to many places like an ordinary martial artist and challenged everywhere. He had challenged so many sects, so people at the time thought he was a masochist freak, but he was actually a secret martial arts thief. Thirty years later, Senior Zhu Ji had collected all the strengths of the people and used the hundred schools of fighting skill to create the world's most invincible fighting skill, Changxing Bakwan skill. He then spent another thirty years building up a reputation as an S-class fighter with his Changxing Bakwan skill. 
The Chanching Bakwin is the only fighting technique that is not only powerful in actual combat, but also possessed no side effects. According to the records, when Zhu Ji Sr. fought against the Fist of Gods and Ghosts, he was already 130 years old. If Sr. Zhu Ji hadn't been attacked by the Fist of the Gods and Ghosts, he would have lived longer. So does Chongqing B.A. Quan still exist in this world? No, but in a sense, yes. What do you mean? The defect of Chongqing Bakwan is that it is too difficult to practice, and none of Zhu Ji's former disciples were able to learn it in order for its sustenance. So the senior Zhu Ji divided the Chongqing Bakwan into three completely different fighting skills that are easier to practice, and passed them to his three most talented disciples. With the passage of time, the Chongqing Bakwan became a legend, and the three disciples and their descendants have taken over from him since then. So extreme strengthening of physical body resulted in much more shorter life, but in exchange for a stronger attack. It was recognized by everyone as the world's most destructive and heritable martial arts, I. I. Changxing Song Long B.A. Quan Song Long Bakwin. From the era of Changxing Bakwin, he has lived for nearly 200 years. He has served as the highest fighting consultant in dozens of countries, and he is good at dozens of powerful fighting skills. He is known as the S-Class Fighter who has mastered the most types of fighting skills in this world. It is said that every 10 years he will be rejuvenated and he is still alive today. Changxing Lu Nirvana Rochuen Nirvana Rochuen After all, the Tianjing skill is the most solid defensive skill among all the combat skills. Presently me and my sister are practicing the Tianjing skill. I'm proud of my big boobs. In that case, if I practiced Sanlong Bakwan and Nirvana Rochuan, the three combined into one can recover the Changqing Bakwan. The system has no suggestions for Changqing Bakwan. It means that Zhu Ji demolished thoroughly enough. I can only collect the remaining two fighting arts, use the fusion function to see if it can be combined into Changqing Bakwan. It's difficult. It is said that the elder GE of Nirvana Rochuen tried to restore the Changqing Bakwan, but he also failed in the end. Moreover, my family doesn't have the other two fighting skills. The three families have not contacted each other for a long time, so if I go ask them now, they probably won't let me. And, Mr. Xie, if you just want to make up for the shortcomings of body training, you only need to learn our Tianjing skill. Miss Yen, I just want. The fighters to have a stronger body, but his life expectancy is not enough to live happily with his family, which is too unfortunate. If I can restore the cultivation method of Changqing Bakwan and combine it with some of my sword fairy skills, would I be able to develop a truly accessible fighting art which is strong enough? Make human great again. Wouldn't it be great if I could carry on this fighting art and make everyone in the world live longer, stronger, and happier? It turns out that Mr. Xia has such a lofty ideal, wow. As expected of Brother Xia, so great, let Xiao Yao give a hug. Sheng Wen Yao, be serious. Mr. Xia has such great ideals, and of course our sisters also hope that Mr. Xia can succeed. Let me deal with the remaining two families. They will attend in the Global Fighting Conference two months later. Maybe I can try mentioning it to them. Global Fighting Conference? Task Loading Bring Shang Wan Yin and Shang Wan Yao to attend the Global Martial Arts Festival. Don't use cheating to win the championship. Completed missions will get bonus points. If the mission fails, the current world will not issue any new quests. Participate in this fighting conference and don't cheat to win the championship. What the hell? Should I still cheat? Yes, the Global Fighting Conference is a grand event where fighters all over the world compete for the strongest reputation. It is held every 10 years. Although the rules have changed a few times, but in the end it is being continued, this is its 11th year. When my father was alive, our family was still eligible to participate in the Global Fighting Conference, but it's a pity, forget it, we will be in the audience this year, and it would be great if we could find those two families. No, this time, you and your sister, as well as me, will participate in this Global Fighting Conference. The Global Fighting Conference is based on a three-person per team knockout system. There must be at least one B-level fighter among the team members. 
Our sisters are only sea level fighters, and Mr. Xie, you, I believe in your strength, but your attack methods look like Fujita, a decadent fighter. Everyone looking at it will. And it's too hard to explain in full view of the public. The power of the evil god is characterized by pink energy, and I can do more than just emitting pink energy. Come on, you guys try to hit me hard, come here. This, Brother Siaf can kill Fujita Takashi with one move, it will be okay. Mr. Siaf, I'm sorry. It feels like hitting a steel plate. No, a steel plate is not that hard. This is the same move that was used against Cross. My bodyguard technique can counter people who are attacking. An average fighter not only can't break my defense, but also get hurt by his own strength. I am now in the innate realm, theoretically, as long as the person who comes does not possess the power of an evil god or the innate realm of the main world, then no one will be able to break my true chi shell with one blow. What do you think? This trick does not make people think me as a fallen fighter, right? Do you have confidence in me now? Yes. Yes. Xiaoyao has confidence in Brother Xie. Brother Xie takes me to fly and dominate the Global Fighting Conference. Indeed, although this move is different from ordinary fighting skills, it is not like a fallen fighter. But, we still have a problem. The Global Fighting Conference must have an invitation letter issued by the organizer to participate. In the past, the Tianjin Daoguan could receive an invitation letter when my father was there. But now, invitation letter? What is the particularity of the distribution of this thing? There are two kinds of invitation letters. One is the exclusive invitation letter issued by the organizer of the fighting conference to the prestigious A-level or above fighters. The other is the anonymous invitation letter that flows out to the underground black market. Each one can sell for hundreds of millions. Exclusive invitation. Anonymous invitation. Our Tianjin Daoguan doesn't have that much money. If only my sister had said to the fighting association yesterday that it was Brother Xia who killed Fujita Takeshi, then that would have been good. Then Brother Xia will be famous. Maybe the organizer will issue an invitation letter specially for Brother Xia. Xiao Yao. I want to emphasize it again. The people must be told that Fujita Takeshi ran away after his transformation and we just survived with luck. We have no way to explain why Fujita's body turned into a bunch of petals and disappeared. The fighting association will try to look deeper. Mr. Xia will have to reveal his technique that is extremely similar to the power of the evil gods to prove how he killed Fujita Takeshi. In that case, with the attitude of the countries towards the degenerate fighter, Mr. Xia would be in big trouble. I know. I know. I'm not stupid. I just thought so. Thank you, Miss Yen, for your interest. Since the invitation letter is anonymous, then let me go get it, and I promise that it won't cost a penny. The invitations for the black market are already sold out, and there are no more. Damn it, do I have to go out of town to buy them? If it's sold out, my master, it's really hard for you. Well, they work very hard. Because the master is so powerful, they are ashamed of themselves, so they are working hard. I wanted to teach them to practice Tian Guan Jin Shen, but their bodies could not produce true qi at all, so I had to give up. But I heard Shang Wan Yin said that as long as she worked harder, she should be able to initially reach the level of a B-level fighter in two months. Let her lead the team by then. That's it for today. Let's take a break. Phew, phew. Nice work. Keep it up. He he. According to my sister's devil training method, within two months I will be able to completely stabilize the level of C-class fighter, and then I will be able to go to the Global Fighting Congress to meet the handsome powerful brothers. It seems that the training is still incomplete, so we have to train for the next eight hours. Huh? Sister, don't throw things at me. Huh? Mr. Chow Fan, as the son of the richest man in our country and an experienced extreme sports enthusiast, have you made any plans recently? Ah, uh, mortal sports have not satisfied me. I spent a lot of money to get a dual letter to participate in the Global Brawl Conference. Um, Master, it's an invitation and Global Fighting Congress whispering. 
Shut up. I say what it is. It's that thing. If not, we can just pay them to change the name for it. I have hired the best fighting experts to escort me, so wash your neck and wait to be crushed by this young master. Ha 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 ha. The above is the entire content of Lin Hai Channel, and you are welcome to watch it. Lin Hai Channel? This rich young man is a local law. Chinger, get up to work. Huh? Oh, my baby, I have paid so much for you. See you tomorrow, my baby. Turn on all the infrared weight sensors and call ten rows of bodyguards to stand guard. Yes, Mr. Chow Fan. Only fools go to the ring to fight. I only need to participate in that, and the fighting will be assigned to the two B-rank fighters. HM, HM, HM. The next day, ah, uh, uh, Who stole my invitation letter, ah? Uh, find it. By all means, find that thief for me. Perfectly completed the task. I will go back to Master Sia. Few, few, not enough. We must train harder, otherwise two months will not be enough. Don't worry, I will get the invitation you guys just prepare your luggage oh, oh, Brother Xie is so handsome. Although Mr. Xie told us to train as much as possible and let him take care of the invitation letter, is it really okay? Until now, I can only trust Mr. Xie, Xiaoyao gets up, let's go down deep sea to practice. Let's wait for them to finish training before telling the good news. The fourth generation descendant of Tsanlong Bakwan Chi Lian. Mr. Chi Lian, the lair of the fallen group, is hidden in this mountain. Perhaps they hollowed out the inside of the mountain and filled it with a special metal. We have used surface to air missiles and rocket artillery to destroy them. But all have failed. Order your troops to step back one mile. Yes. Five minutes later. Song Long B.A. Quan. Boom. Is this the Song Long B.A. Quan with the strongest destructive power? What a strong move. S-class fighters are really inhuman. The whole mountain and the metal buildings inside were blown up by me, and the people inside should not survive. You guys handle the rest yourself. I must go to participate in the Global Fighting Conference. Master, Mr. Park, and Prosecutor Zongjin posted a call, and the official of the Global Fighting Congress sent an invitation and a plane ticket to you. Nirvana wrote you Yuan's first generation successor, G.E. Hong. Alas, my life is so hard, I can't stay idle even at an old age. This world cannot leave such a talented master like you. Ha <laughs> ha, you're the one with the sweet tongue. Mr. Park and Mr. Zongjin could have directly met with me. They are too ignorant of the issue. In the future, don't participate in such politics anymore. As for the Global Fighting Conference, I'm tired of winning the championship every time. If not for the prizes, I would have stopped participating a long time ago. Forget it. Let's go see this year's rookies. Perhaps there will be great heroes appearing. Two months later. Look, it's Olga from the Eagles team. Sanlong Sanlong, a punch of dragon. Mr. Bruce, what is your desired ranking for this tournament? Have you considered resigning from your official position as a fighting advisor and pursuing another career in the future? For me, ranking is not important. The important thing is to prove myself. Pete, do your best in this fighting congress. Recently, the neighboring countries rely on their fighters' higher ranking, frequently provoking us at the border you must lead the team members to fight for a higher ranking so that they will not dare to do anything rash again. Yes, I will complete the task. Captain Wang, how is it? My team members are much better than last time, so I should be able to enter the top 30 this time. The Torrent team quit? And their members were injured? That's right. Recently, there have been more and more incidents of fighters being attacked. It seems that only the participants of the conference were targeted. I am also considering whether to quit. Three people from the Tianjin Dao Guan. Welcome to the Global Fighting Conference. Please go inside. Good morning, dear fighters. We are the guides. Please follow us. 
there is nothing important on the first day. After you finish the test, you can move around freely around the hall. The organizers will provide accommodation and food, and someone will be responsible for picking you up after you finish the test. Bother you. Oh, oh, he he. In the past, Dad was also treated like this by the rabbit girls, right? Xiao Yao, if you keep talking nonsense, I'll beat you up. We have arrived. Please line up and wait to check. This machine is for testing destructive power and shock resistance. The error rate is only 0.0001%, so please rest assured to use it. The scene is quite grand. This machine is much higher end than the ones used in the local fighting conferences. Xiao Yao, slow down. How can we slow down? We have worked hard for so long, and it's time to check and accept the results. Par Jiu-Jitsu is so powerful, his resistance is more than 300,000 horsepower. The gun flow is even more powerful, the destructive power has accumulated 500,000 point by now. Hmm. What kind of fighter uses hot weapons? You are so narrow. Sister, don't worry, our results will definitely be better, um, come on. Testers are in position, please use your full strength to attack the cylinder of the magnetic detector within 10 seconds, the countdown will start. Countdown, 10, 9, 8, 7. Humph, I'll let you see how good I am. 4, 3, 2, 1, Tianjing B.A. Guan. This is Tianjing B.A. Guan? The attack power is just average. You're really ignorant. It is well known that the Tianjing B.A. Guan is strong in defense. Let's see the resistance test. Stop making a noise and keep watching. Xiao Yao, do your best. Beat the end of the test with a destructive power of 200,000 points, reaching the level of a sea level fighter. Ask the tester to calm down the heart rate and start the resistance test after one minute. Countdown begins 59, 58, 57. 3, 2, 1, 0, huh. The whole body is being pressed tightly, unable to move. The air feels like a fist that would not stop beating me. But it's still tolerable. Stick to it. The test will be upgraded to the level of a B-class fighter, so please be prepared for the test to begin after the countdown ends. Countdown, 5, 4, 3. Huh? Hey, the test has been upgraded to emit the destructive power of a B-class fighter. She is indeed worthy of the Tianjing B.A. Guan. You are really ignorant. The first generation of Tianjing B.A. Guan A level can withstand the S level. Xiao Yao, do your best. It's the end of the test. The resistance was 450,000 point. Final assessment, 200,000 destructive power, 450,000 defensive power, confirmed level, sea level fighter. Supplementary content, the resistance is particularly excellent. Please continue to work hard. Please exit the testing machine. Woo, it hurts. Great work. My whole body is really in pain. I need my brother Xia to kiss, hug and lift me up to get better Xiao Yao. Thanks for your hard work. The results were excellent, but Xiao Yao's resistance can already withstand the attacks of B-class fighters. Why is it still only C-class in the end? The fighters are normally high on attack and low on defense, so the rating considers the destructive power. Ah, pat my head I want more, not just touch Mr. Xia doesn't need to be so nice to Xiao Yao. It's okay to praise a good girl. And you also try to get up. I, I, I go, go test. Both are so innocent. Brother Xia. Overall rating, destructive power of 25000300000 points, resistance to hitting power of 600000065000 points, confirmed rank, B-class fighter. The additional content, resistance to hitting power is particularly excellent, but the stability evaluation is medium to low. It is recommended that the fighter continue to consolidate. The test is done. Ask the tester to leave the test machine. Sister, are you okay? Tianjing B.A. Guan is an excellent fighting art. 
you need more time to stabilize it. With time, you will become stronger. What a shame. Mr. Sia, don't make fun of me. Mr. Sia, Brother Sia is right. The Tianjin BA Guan is invincible in the world. Invincible in the world? Ha ha. Who dare to say that? Is he the one, the one who was so powerful in the last year that he ended up in the top 10? I never thought I would have the chance to meet him. Kwang Sha Zhang Guan Li Yu. It's him, you know him? If he hadn't met Shang Wan Xiongba of Tianjin BA Guan, he would definitely have had better results, Shu. Be careful not to let others hear. The team for this year's Tianjin BA Guan is you guys? That's right. What advice can Senior Lee have? Just relying on these two girls to participate in the tournament, the Tianjin BA Guan Fist has weakened so much, Shang Wan Xiongba must have died with hatred. It's not up to Senior Lee to decide whether Tianjin BA Guan is weak or not. As for whether we can hold up the dignity of Tianjin BA Guan, we'll see that in the ring. During the Global Fighting Conference, offstage provocation is prohibited, and offenders will be warned or banned even though we are rivals on stage, we should also be allies offstage, we should live in harmony. Hmm. He does not seem friendly. My father had defeated Li Yu in the last championship, so he has a grudge against my family. Dad had told that his future is promising, look at his attitude right now, Dad must have misjudged him. Look over here. Tester is in position. Please take the test. Kwang Sha Zhang Guan. I'm seeing such a move for the first time. Li Yu has indeed improved a lot. Could it be that he has stepped into the highest realm? Detecting an S class fighter, confirming the identity of the tester, Li Yu, Kwang Sha Zhang Guan. Thank you, S class fighter, for participating in the Global Fighting Conference, and we wish you good luck in this year's tournament. Master. Um. You guys are still here. I don't know if you guys are qualified to stand in front of my master. Brother, don't embarrass them. What if they are not even qualified to stand in front of us? You say right. Sorry, Tian Jiang Dao Guan, for hurting your pride. Ha 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 ha. Bastards. Sister. Brother Xie. What's going on? The testing machine exploded. Please don't panic, ladies and gentlemen, the emergency is being handled, please stay where you are. Hmm, it blew up by a punch, the quality of this machine needs to be improved. The owner of Chi Lian Hall. I've heard a lot about you. I'm, ladies, are you a contestant this year? Hmm, two reluctant chickens. The owner of Chi Lian Hall. Hey! Be good girls, learn a thing or two from the fights, and try your luck next time. At least let me look forward to the new generation of the Tianjin BA Guan after 10 years. Although I don't see anything now. This person is very interesting. That's how he is, but he is of good nature. I guess. I hate anyone who treats Xiao Yao like a child, not even handsome men. Master, those guys are all freaks. No need to be courteous with them. Song Long B.A. Guan's people are short-lived. This might probably his last time participating. The two women of Tianjin B.A. Guan are weak. Accompanied by a frail man, it is not a concern. That white boy relies on his little ability to fight, but is also just a man who hugs women's thighs like loyal dogs. It's a shame for men. How dare you insult Mr. Xie? Damn you. Come back to me. The use of force off the court will result in disqualification from the competition. Calm down. Why do they dare to humiliate us like that? I can't take this. Then wait until I finish the test. Huh? The tester is ready. Please use your full strength to attack the cylinder of the checking machine within 10 seconds. The countdown to the end will start. Countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, the innate power cannot be used. In order to avoid misunderstandings caused by the innate energy, I must refrain as much as possible. Hmm. Why haven't I mastered a concealable power yet? Ha-ta-ta-ta. -ta -ta. 
I could use a little amount of innate true chi to support Shin Quan Dao. Beep the test is over, the destructive power is 200,000 point, and it reaches the pass line of the sea level fighter level. Ask the tester to calm down his heart rate and begin to take the resistance test in one minute. The countdown shall start, countdown, 59, 58, 57. What a frail young man, Tianjing B.A. Guan has really weakened a lot. But it doesn't seem like he's using the Tianjing B.A. Guan, does it? Yes, this guy is using the fighter's kung fu, and he can hit 200,000 point of destruction. Seems to be quite powerful, huh? Hmm, he hasn't even thoroughly studied Tianjing B.A. Guan's simple kung fu yet he was able to join Tianjing B.A. Guan, which is a shame. Huh? Don't be led by anger. Mr. Xie is still working hard. We have to control ourselves. We have to trust Mr. Xie. At that moment, I was stunned by this girl. It's ridiculous. Tianjing B.A. Guan's has been in decline. How can I? Look. 3.2. 1. 0. What is that? Come on, continue. This power, it seems that it is not the Tianjing B.A. Guan. Test upgraded, and the striking power will be raised to the level of a B-class fighter. The tester, please be prepared. The countdown shall start. The countdown, 5, 4, 3. Test upgraded, and the striking power will be raised to the level of an A-level fighters. The tester, please be prepared. Test upgraded, and the striking power will be increased to the level of an S-class fighter. What's going on? It seems the machine is about to explode again. What kind of fighting technique is this? It seems he is bouncing off the machine's attacks even though he's not moving? The machine has exploded. Um, the quality is really worrying. It almost pierced me. Oh. You guys are still here? Why did you join the Tianjing BA Guan team when you're not practicing their skill? Why do I have to explain to you? What a technique, the striking force of the machine is used against itself, the naked eye cannot even distinguish it, an ordinary S-level cannot do such techniques. Where did these two girls find such strong external aid? Half an hour later. Mr. Siak can directly destroy the test machine, you must also be an S-class fighter. As long as we can get results, let's go. Mr. Siak, so interesting. This is the data left by the test machine before it was destroyed. Is he the one we are looking for? His data is very interesting, but it is not exactly the same as what we want. I have to find the president. You'll stay here. Yes. I thought things were almost done, but I didn't expect this man to appear again. Disaster level, severe. Brother Xia is so strong that he can destroy the test machine without even moving. Sister, maybe Brother Xia can take us to the top three. That would seem like we're using Mr. Xia. In this conference, we still have to study hard, expand our horizons, and make us worthy of our ranking. Hello to all the fighters of the Tianjing B.A. Guan. My name is Zhao Hui, and I am your guide and receptionist. I will guide you through the wide varieties of housings. It's really got to be a participant. We could even choose where to live. Thank you, Miss Zhao Hui. The first global fighting conference was initiated by the S-class fighter Xing Wuzikwen more than 100 years ago. Although his depraved behavior was reprehensible, the tournament became a tradition that continued to this day. With time, the scale of the fighting conference escalated with increase in standards and participants. The current fighting conference is now a global festival held every 10 years. The ranking of fighters from various countries would directly affect the political, military, and even the sovereign status of the entire country. This city is a witness. The city belonged to the Blue Sea Federation that year. After the Blood Eagles dropped for two consecutive terms, the sovereignty of the Blue Sea Federation was provoked and the entire city was transferred to a neighboring country. And this seaside villa was the asset of the officials of the Blue Sea Federation, and it was transferred to the hands of the Republic of Fangdao along with the entire city. 
This is the end of the explanation and guidance. You can contact me through the landline in the house if you need anything. Thank you for your hard work. Sister, where do you want to go next? I have an idea if you have nothing to do. I'm going to continue training, but if you say you have ideas. Huh? Where are you going? Take me with you if you're going for shopping. We have something to deal with. Mr. Siad does not need to follow us. Okay, sister, let's not talk too much to Brother Sia. Let's surprise him. What are you hiding? Why don't tell me? If you guys don't tell me, then I will go shopping alone. It feels like the Olympics of my previous world. But fighters in this world are rarer, more precious, and more respected than athletes. This guy. Is he looking at me? This guy. Broke the sound barrier directly. Is this guy an S-class fighter? Ha ha, interesting. Let me see what you're going to do. Destroyed the killer cross. Eradicated the fighter Takeshi Fujita. Mr. Sia, I've heard a lot about you. What are you talking about? I don't understand. What's going on? Why does this guy know everything? Could it be that this world has technology for global surveillance? It was an easy guess. Cross and Fujita Takeshi were determined to be dead, but Shang Wan Yin claimed to the fighting association that Fujita Takeshi had run away. Shang Wan Yin couldn't have resolved those calamities all alone. But beside her, there was an unfamiliar S-class fighter who could burst the testing machine of the fighting conference. It seems that you are very smart. It turned out to be a guess. This is a very simple reasoning, Mr. Xie. Please forgive me for not being able to show my true face, but I am sincere in my desire to have a good conversation with you. Huh, you've hidden your face, but you say you're sincere? Okay, but you have to tell me your name, okay? You can call me. White Tiger. Mr. Xie, you're a straightforward guy. His fighting skills seem strange, using my own power to counter me. Okay. Let's hear what you want to say to save time. Then I won't say much more. Mr. Xie, I hope you can lead your team to withdraw from this year's tournament. This is my little bit of sincerity. Please accept it. Will those who are eligible to participate in the fighting convention give up the tournament for this meager amount of money? This is just a little bit of goodwill. As long as Mr. Xie Yin is willing to withdraw, you can ask for whatever you want. I don't want your money. I want something else. Mr. Xie, please say what you want, and we will do whatever if we can do it. All right, bring me the practice methods of Nirvana Ro Kwan and Tsong Long Bia Guan. This, I can't do it. Then there's nothing more to say. Wait. You joined the Tianjing Bia Guan and is seeking Tsanglong Bakwan and Nirvana Ro Kwan. Let me guess, you want to bring Chongqing Bakwan back to the world? Thinking further, you want to practice Chongqing Bakwan? You are really smart. I really don't have the cultivation methods of Tsanglong Bakwan and Nirvana Ro Kwan. But I can provide you with another thing, and it is a secret medicine for the cultivation of Chongqing Bakwan. A secret medicine? Right. As we all know, for learning an advanced fighting art requires a specific secret medicine. The secret medicine needed to cultivate Changqing Bakwan has long been lost, even if has been revived. One of the main ingredients in the medicine is roko grass, which is completely extinct as of today. If you want to practice Changqing Bakwan, the universal secret medicine pill is essential. Mr. Xia should know that the prize for the champion of the tournament is a secret medicine. Thirty years after the birth of the universal secret medicine, a total of three pills have been brought to the world. The first two have been won by the Nirvana Rochuan practitioners, so they has mastered two long-lost fighting techniques. This year's pill, I can get it for you. You can still get the championship prize without going to the ring to fight. How do you think? Is that a good deal? That is the prize for the champion of the conference. Can you really take it? Just as Mr. Xie is confident in his own strength, I am also very confident in my own methods. As long as Mr. Xie keeps his promise, I will never break my promise. You want me to believe you? 
Let's talk about it when you really get that secret medicine. I can't listen to your bullshit for the sake of the system task. I cannot give up the fighting conference. After talking about me, let's talk about you. Brother White Tiger, why do you want me to withdraw from the conference? Nothing to hide. The powers behind me and the organizers of the Global Battle Conference Shanksure Group are somewhat tied. I am willing to do anything that can save them face. That's all? Yes. That's all. In short, I will take care of the universal secret medicine. Mr. Sia, I will see you later. I think that mysterious S level will expose me. There are so many great fighters here, letting people suspect that I am a fallen fighter will not be good. Ching, there's work to do again. I'll go spy on him. Yes, but don't get too close, he is most likely an S-class fighter. The fallen fighter, the power of the evil gods, and now these characters have emerged. This world is getting more and more interesting. Why is this guy walking so slowly? Stop. Mr. Xie is really doing a good job following me. How long you will follow me? Don't you want prepare for the conference tomorrow? He thinks me as master. Can he be able to see me or figure out my location? I won't be taking your behavior into account, but I hope it ends here. But if you still decide to follow me, then see if you can chase me. He is too fast. I cannot chase him. Damn it. Damn it. What made her to be so angry now? Xiaoyao had decided to go to the residence of Nirvana Rochiwen and Sanlong Bakwen, so to talk with them if the opportunity arises. You want to cultivate Sanlong Bakwen? I only take on people who are better than me. If you can't beat me, how could you learn the world's strongest Sanlong Bakwen? If you defeat me, I'll give you Sanlong Bakwen. Sorry, Master's schedule is very tight. Please make an appointment before coming. Although you two are the descendants of Tianjing B.A. Guan, but the Tianjing B.A. Guan is small anyway, it's better not to get close to Master or you will be forced out. Only the weak will pray to the strong. The strong will not care about the weak. In fact, what they say makes sense, it's because we don't know our own strength. Don't care too much about those two, you're still young and promising. I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. We have a promising future, no need to mind them. Sister doesn't need be angry. Um, when Mr. Xia touched my head, why was my heart beating so fast? Am I sick? What's up? Hello, I'm here to give you our enhanced fighting suit. Fighting often damages clothing, so the association prepares sturdy and comfortable clothing for the fighters in order to let the fighters exert their greatest strength. The size values are all taken from the testing machine and the style is made according to the fighter's data during the test. Being made by professional tailors, it is quite comfortable and cannot be damaged easily. If there is any dissatisfaction, we can improve it until the fighters are satisfied. Brother Xia want to see Xiao Yao change clothes? Master, I'll go back to my room. Give me a call when you're done. Shut up. What is the situation? Ching has been useless. That man can detect Ching'er's persons. It's okay. After all, he's in S-class, so being discovered was expected. He couldn't see Ching'er, but he was so fast that Ching'er couldn't catch up. How arrogant, he provoked Ching'er when he ran away. My mission is to win the championship, but in case the conference screws up, so, this guy and the forces behind him, if possible, I have to dig them out and let the conference organizers handle them. There are only a few S-class people in this world, so I will sooner or later find him. Cuckoo. The next day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Global Fighting Conference. I am your host and the referee, John. The Global Fighting Conference is held once every 10 years, and today marks the 11th event. Although there was some trouble during the opening, we believe the players' perseverance was enough to ignite and make everyone happy. Trouble? Has something happened? Didn't you know? Just yesterday, suddenly 14 teams withdrew from the competition, which seriously affected the fixtures and progress of the conference. Teams wanting to withdraw gave numerous excuses. 
Our leaders were furious and have always said that someone is challenging our reputation in the shadows. It sounds weird. Is there really someone targeting the fighting conference? Wow, good, good. So we eliminated 14 opponents without a fight. Before attending the conference, I heard that the players withdrew from the competition, so it seems that the White Tiger and the forces behind him did it. Fortunately, the contest went on as usual. But who is the White Tiger in the end? Is he really an S-Class master? Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome the players to the stage with warm applause. Specializing in ground fighting, he is known as the natural enemy of all stand-up fighting techniques. Para Jiu-Jitsu A-level fighter Para, with his two B-levels. Para Jiu-Jitsu Defeat everyone with your kicks. And a level and two B-level skinheads. The world-famous killer organization, Black Kill Club. A-level fighter Maxima, with his A-level fighter and Black Kill Club. Death Scythe Two A-levels and a B-level, this is not it. Next, the Ocean Overlords. Last time, he was defeated by fighter of Tianjing B.A. Guan. Quan Shazhan Quan. Li Yu, who was just promoted to the rank of S-Class this year, and his two disciples, A-Class fighters, come on. Beat Tianjing B.A. Guan this time. S-Level fighter, Li Yu, we had met on the first day. Physically, he is very similar to White Tiger. Could it be him? Now the next generation fighters, B.A. Dao Sect. Quan Biao Sect. None of these teams have S level. Who? Who? The host is coming here. Is he going to introduce us? Few. Hmm. Many teams were introduced, but the only S class fighter was Li Yu of Quan Sha Zhan Quan. Tian Jing B.A. Guan, the B level fighter Shang Wan Yin, the C level fighter Shang Wan Yao, and the S level fighter, who had destroyed the testing machine. Take a beating from the strongest. The weakest shield. Just a ripoff. An S level, with a B and a C level. What the hell are the audience talking about? And a non-government AL fighting organization, the only team with two S-class fighters this year. Shinwu Association. Shinwu Association? Shinwu Association? Shinwu Association? Why is the Shinwu Association participating? What does Shinwu Association do? Why are you all so surprised? They are a non-governmental fighting organization dedicated to combating fallen fighters. Their base is huge and there are two S-level fighters in charge. But they have never participated in a fighting conference, so everyone was surprised. They have two SS and one A. Looks like they're the strongest team in the competition now. Even the Nirvana Rochuan team and the Tsanlong Bakwan team are not comparable. I hope we won't meet them too soon. What are you afraid of? Brother Xia will surely be able to handle them. Shinwu Association The physiques of those two men are also very similar to White Tiger, and they are both S-level. And our two seated teams, that delivers wonderful performance in every match. Samlong Bakwan team. Nirvana Ruchiwan team. Chilean is number one in the world. Master GE. Punching the Western Mountain, kicking the Eastern Sea, a hundred kinds of martial arts, Nirvana Fist. Incarnate as a blue dragon and blow the sky with one punch. I still remember the last championship battle. Mr. Li Yu and Mr. GE fought fiercely in the air for nearly a hundred rounds without a win. In the end, it was the Nirvana Ruchiwan skill's strength that resolved the powerful punch of the Tsanglong Bakwan and sent him crashing to the ground. Chi Lian's body is quite like the White Tiger. But the Nirvana Ruchiwan's is not very similar, but he may also be like Fujita Takeshi. So nothing can be predicted. Damn it, how come these S rank fighters look the same in physique? Is White Tiger within them, or, perhaps, he has not participated? A total of 82 teams participated in this competition. Excluding the 14 give-up teams, there are 68 teams with a total of 204 people, all of whom have entered the field. We deeply regret the teams that chose to give up. They are not willing to prove themselves in the ring. That's their loss. But don't worry, this year's conference would be still exciting. First, I'll give you a brief introduction to the rules of this tournament. 
The conference uses a single round elimination system. Each team is eliminated as soon as they fail. Each team will take turns to send players to fight in the ring, and the winner will stay on the stage and continues the competition. Until one team loses all three, it will be declared a failure. The order of the matches between teams is determined by the system drawing lots. Each team only has to play one game per day. In addition, the two seeded teams will only appear in the semifinals and will not participate in any game before. The match will take place in the ring, within a protected array, so as not to influence the audience outside the ring. Once the match starts, no one except the two contestants is allowed to enter the protective shield to prevent cheating. During the battle, if you are knocked out of the ring, or you touch the ground outside the ring, you will lose. If you die, or if you voluntarily admit defeat, you will lose. There are no rules, no restrictions, no matter what kind of weapon or tactics be used. Now, the 11th Global Fighting Conference shall begin. Now, the next generation hunters team will face off against the Tianjing BA Guan team. Come on, let's defeat the Tianjing BA Guan team. This tournament is a men's game. Women should get out. Damn it. To whom you're saying to get out? You want me to break your teeth? In the first match, the next generation hunter team's fighter is Lance, a C-rank martial artist. Lance's weapon is the work of the Winter Kingdom, which is a known high-class shotgun with the nickname Fighter Killer. This gun is incredibly powerful, not to mention its bullets which shook even the mightiest tanks. At the same time, he has also cultivated the gunfighting art. The combination of the two would be terrifying. And his opponent, the C-rank fighter Sheng Wan Yao of the Tianjin Baguan team, who uses her own fists for attack. I believe I don't need to do much introduction to the title of the strongest shield of the Tianjin BA Guan. I wonder if Sheng Wan Yao can block the bullets of Lance. Round 1, start. Take my hit. What? The MK1 type can definitely penetrate through her flesh. How can she avoid it? Is this the power of Tianjin BA Guan? Lance has been beaten out of the ring and couldn't move. The winner is Shang Wan Yao. In the second round, the next generation hunter team chose C level fighter Kate Play. Xiao Yao is very good. He's also a C class fighter like the last one. Xiao Yao can easily win this too. Tianjin BA Guan is always invincible against a fighter having the same level to that of the user. This match against the C-level fighter is also not worth worrying about. She will definitely win. Wait. This gun has a problem. This girl is so careless. A shot with fierce firepower. Kate is pushed out of the ring due to his gun's tremendous recoil, thus being eliminated. What about Shang Wan Yao, who has been hit by Kate's bullet? She endured. Player Shang Wan Yao is still in the ring. Player Shang Wan Yao did not fall out of the ring. She won. She still won the second round. Next, she'll face the last member of the rival team, a B-level fighter, Captain Tyron. How could it be? I used the captain's gun. Get lost. Captain. One bullet is not enough to destroy her. It would need more bullets. This man seems very dangerous. Your cultivation is really good, but this also means you are qualified to be disciplined by me. Wow. It's amazing. He can shoot his gun repeatedly without any recoil. He really is a B-level fighter. Shang Wan Yao has been knocked out of the ring. It seems that the Tianjin BA Guan is about to lose in this round. Huh? Huh? Shang Wan Yao was about to lose, but Tyron felt that the game should not end like this, and he let Shang Wan Yao back to the ring. Since Shang Wan Yao didn't land, it cannot be judged as a loss. Tyron wants to continue his fight. It's really cruel and inhuman. But I know you guys would love to watch it, right? Yes, I would love to watch this. Tyron is really cool. Tianjing BA Guan is really resistant having survived a shot like that. Team Tianjin BA Guan admits defeat in this round. Please call off the game. 
The Global Fighting Conference seeks to challenge the limit as long as it is not the fighter himself who admits defeat or dies or knocked out of the ring and touched the ground. The battle still will continue. This is the rule. Xiaoyao has been beaten into a coma. She can't even speak. How come she can admit defeat? If participating in the competition, please follow the rules. Even if I say to stop, the audience won't like the idea. Yes. Don't stop. Don't admit defeat. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Team Tianjin BA Guan cannot afford to continue playing. Shut up. Silent. I'm guilty. I am sorry. I was wrong. Now, call the game to a halt and ask for an apology yourself. I will follow your instructions. Sheng Wenyeo of Tianjin Bakwen team loses the ability to fight. Please ask the second player to come on stage. Mr. Tyron, you have won. Please stop attacking. Stay aside and wait for the second opponent to come on stage. I am not worthy to be a host. I am guilty. I am guilty. I am guilty. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. They. What's wrong with them? I don't know. It's terrible. It seems, it seems that all of them were booing just now. I, I doubt I'm guilty. It's just a small punishment. They. It seems to have returned to normal. What happened? I don't know. I saw Mr. Xie, the captain of the Tianjin Bakwen team, screaming to shut up, and they went all crazy. It's so scary. Just now the minds of the audience who made a fuss, including the host, were altered through very rare means. What happened? Fighters all have a strong will, but Mr. Xie is the only one who can perform such a display with his own will. Um, does he really have this ability? Good, good. This guy is really interesting. Who on earth is Mr. Xie of Tianjin Bakwen team? Why have we never heard of him before? The power that can change will. If it's dozens of times stronger, it will be able to threaten a high-level warrior. This Mr. Xia may not have used his full strength just now, right? However, it was worth to stop the shouts of these noisy audience. I like it. Sister. Surprisingly, there are no serious injuries. That's the power of the strongest shield. I lost. But on top of that I made everyone worry too, victory or defeat is common in a fight, you have to learn from your mistakes. You accompany Xiao Yao to the treatment, leave him to me. Please wait, Mr. Xie. Just now, thank you for helping Xiao Yao out. Let me fight him, this Tyrin is just a B-class fighter, I want to prove that Tianjin B.A. Guan's fighters has no rival when it comes to fighting enemies of the same level. Moreover, Xiao Yao. I want to avenge her personally. Okay. You can do it. It is said that John suddenly went crazy because of this man, but there is no evidence. Because the previous host was too weak, he was replaced. It's boring, no source points at all. If it weren't for a world like this, I could have collected a lot. So, so scary. Hello everyone, I'm Alpha. I'll continue to host the conference. The fight is now in the fourth round, and the Tianjin BA Guan team has sent their boxer Shang Wan Yin to take on the fight. Will she be able to settle the feud for her sister? Or would Tyrin continue to take her down? Let's see. Tianjin BA Guan is really in decline, letting a B-class girl as its owner. What the hell happened right now? Even the host has changed, and why is this new host being so uncomfortable? In order to become an owner, it is necessary not only to have strong strength, but also to have good character. I think my martial arts and ethics are not excellent, but I am at least much better than you. As the owner of Tianjin BA Guan, I am not ashamed of myself. Okay, then I'll try to see if you're competent enough as an owner. Unlike the previous match, this time I will fight with the best of my ability. Anyways, I will give up on the match the next round with that mysterious S-class fighter. I don't mind challenges, but you don't deserve to challenge me. You avoided my M-case attack. Good. 
It seems you are worthy for me to use that. Superload mode activated. Super speed and super firepower. Open all. After the superload mode is activated, every attack of the MK is comparable to the top B-level fighters, and it can shoot continuously. This can suppress even the A-level fighters. The defensive power of Tianjin BA Guan is indeed. Although all the contestants agreed to the, the risk of life and death, it would not be good to really beat you to death. I hope you don't fail too quickly, what? Tyrant's firepower is at its max. Even the protective shield was slightly shaken. But don't worry friends, the protective cover is enough to withstand the destructive power of an S-level fighter, the Tyrant's firepower can't break it. I can't believe every piece of your body is so resistant. No matter how strong the body is, the eyes are always a weakness. How the fuck is this possible? It's amazing. Tianjing Ba Guan is really amazing. Tianjing Ba Guan is indeed the strongest shield. She can block out the MK's bullets with her eyelids. It is said that this bullet is much more destructive than ordinary cruise missiles. I didn't expect Shang Wan Yan's resistance to being so good. In the future, I will practice Tianjing Ba Guan with Changqing Ba Guan to an exceptional level. This is simply invulnerable. It is many times stronger than my physical body. It seems that you are only capable of this. The winner has been already decided. Tianjing Ba Guan. But it's not about winning or losing. This is the end you deserve. This punch, this punch, and this punch. I return all these to you on behalf of Xiao Yao. Wait, I surrender, I surrender. Stop fighting. Begging for mercy? What is Tyrin saying? I can't hear it, everyone must not be able to hear it either, right? The battle is fierce. Shang Wan Yin is so amazing. When you bullied my sister, did you pay attention to her begging for mercy? Stop. I didn't want to stop. But I am not a person who bullies the weak, that's my ethics. I have given back everything to you. Today's match is over, justice has been done, and the winner is Tianjing Ba Guan. Shang Wan Yin. This little sister is too amazing, so impressed. Well done, worthy of a hundred years of heritage. An exciting fight it was. Shang Wan Yin crushed her opponent not only with strength, but also with her personality. The Tianjing Ba Guan is indeed powerful. Miss Yin? Ah, uh, no, it was because I was so happy, so don't mind it, Mr. Xie. You're doing great, so it's okay. I, I, I didn't mean it. Miss Yin, no need to be so formal to me. There are no more matches today. You should take Xiaoya back to rest first. I will stay here to collect some information. Ah, uh, okay. I will go find Xiao Yao. The match between the Tianjing BA Guan team and the Next Generation Hunter team is over. Let us invite the next team, the Par Jiu Jitsu team. There were only five S levels in the competition, and all of them were suspected of being white tigers. But he could lurk behind the audience. Maybe I should take a walk in the stands. Half an hour later, there are no S class fighters within the audience. I just found out from someone that the audience of the conference is also based on a system, an S-class fighter would be spectating as an audience in a special area with the organizers. After walking around here, I didn't see such a person at all. Mr. Xie, I checked for you. There are no S-level and A-level fighters in the audience. Do you want to stay and watch the game, or do you want to go back and rest? I will stay and see. Even an A-level is not seen so for him to be hiding within the audience is not possible. Most likely, he didn't come here at all, or he's one of the five S-levels in the competition. Okay, then here is your drink. I wish you a pleasant viewing. Wait, don't leave. What is this? Mr. Xie? Don't search for me anymore. You can't find me, White Tiger. This, Mr. Xie, I swear I didn't see this note when I was getting the water. I didn't do it. I know it's not you, otherwise it's too stupid. Now get me a list of all the participating team's addresses. Do you have that? Yes. Yes. 
I'm going to get it now. White Tiger, you really think you're smart. If you had not sent this note to piss me off, I couldn't have really been sure you're here, Chinger. Yes, Master. If he can watch me so clearly, I shouldn't be the one searching for him and S-level fighters are difficult to monitor, but it's different for Chinger. Chinger, after the guide provides the list, I want you to use your ability to track all the S-rank fighters in this location into the hotel. Just look at the low-level fighters and normal people on their team. If White Tiger is in it, then I can catch his little tail. Don't worry, Mr. Xie. Chinger promises to complete the task. That night. Our hard work and trust have resulted in today's victory. Let's try harder tomorrow. It's you again, Suzaku. You had rejected my warning yesterday. Today I ask you again, will you withdraw or not? We have worked hard for 10 years for this competition. Why do you want us to withdraw from it? Hmm, still refusing? Then don't blame me for being cruel. If the master won the championship again this year, he will be able to use the secret medicine to learn more about the lost fighting art, then the master will become more powerful. In Nirvana Ruchuan team's residence. Humph, the universal secret medicine was actually invented by the master. But since the main materials were provided by the Shangshir group, the formula had to be sold to the Fighters Association to be the reward, unacceptable. In the base of Tsanlong Bakwan team. Run faster, Master will be here soon. Chi Lian took me to the conference with him, but he hadn't taught me the main skill yet. Only Master Chi Lian can suppress the bad guys outside. You should accept the truth and rest. Um, he and she is disciple and personal made the same a family. She likes him, and he likes her, but they were actually father and daughter. It's so exciting. No, no, now is not the time to think about that. I have to help Master find that mysterious fighter. Huh? What's going on over there? I'll go and have a look. Pack up and go to bed. We have to go home tomorrow. Yes, Captain. Captain, your hand is fine? Do you want us to help? No need. Get out of here. What's the use of being so angry? After all, you are not as skilled as them. Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. What matters is, do you need the power? The power? Xie Yan sighed. Xiao Yao, why do you look like this? It's one of the most beautiful cities to choose. Beach, coconut, Bikini are the classics among the classics, the first choice not to be missed. Brother Sia, have you eaten yet? If you haven't eaten yet, I have a surprise for you. What do you mean? When you feel tired, you sink into the sea and all your troubles disappear. Yuum, Yuum, Xiao Yao, I've made dinner. Mr. Sia is back? What should I do? I've used up all the eggs and there's no more for Mr. Sia. There were 30 eggs in the refrigerator, right? Ah. Sister, I am dying. My last wish is to sleep with Brother Xie. So shameless. Shut up. Breaking news. At around 3 o'clock in the morning today, two members of the Next Generation Hunter team were found dead in the room. The scene was very bloody. The whereabouts of the captain, Mr. Tyron, is unknown. The Global Fighting Conference officially reminds all fighters to pay attention to their own safety, go together, do not go alone. If there is news about the captain of the next generation hunter team, Mr. Tyron, you can call X. How could this happen? Who did it? Oh, Chinger is back? Mr. Xie? I'm in a hurry, I have to go to the toilet. Did you find anything? Chinger was not sure, so she came back to report to Master first. Chinger sent a ghost to a few S-class residences to watch. By monitoring the conversations of ordinary people around, it can basically be concluded that they haven't left the house after returning except for the Shinwu Association. Chinger sent ghosts to wander the streets to see if they could find anything unusual, and indeed they saw several violence. The attacker was very powerful, dressed as a white tiger and wearing a mask, but he didn't kill anyone. And then, those nasty guys with guns in today, Chinger happened to pass by the villa area they settled in and found that their captain was actually a degenerate fighter. 
that mysterious man, the white tiger, was also there. The two sides fought, and I was afraid they would find me so I went somewhere else. I came back after some time, but only the bodies of two team members were left on the scene. That guy is a degenerate fighter? I didn't expect it that. However, since White Tiger has fought the degenerate fighter, it means that he's not with the evil god's side at least. In short, all S-level fighters were basically in their own territory, except the Shinwu Association. Thinking about it. It is suspicious. Chinger, you have done a great job. Yes, but Chinger is not sure if it's really Shinwu Association. Chinger, we don't need any proofs right now, let's just go there and see. Come, let's visit the Shinwu team now. Shinwu team's residence. Old Yen, you are still impulsive. You actually made Tyron fail on the spot. People who are acknowledged by the evil god are very extreme in their emotions and they find it difficult to control it. Anyway, don't be so reckless next time. Also, today you wrote a note at the conference to provoke Xia Yen. That's childish behavior. What if we're exposed? Impossible. When I met him, I deliberately controlled my sweat gland secretion to not leave any scent. How could he find me? Also, there are three S-class fighters in this room except us. Knock, knock, knock. Come in. There is a distinguished guest who wants to see you guys. Distinguished guest? Brother White Tiger, I haven't seen you for a while, so I missed you a lot. How could it be? How could he come here? Oh crap. We're in big trouble. Okay, go down and close the door. Yes. Dear guest, Mr. Xia of the Tianjin BA Guan team, you entered our room without permission. This does not seem to be a polite behavior. Huh? You're right. But it doesn't seem polite for him to write a note and put it in my drink to provoke me, doesn't it? Mr. Xia Yin, I don't know what you are talking about. Stop pretending, White Tiger. When will you give me the omnipotent secret medicine? I am not the White Tiger. He thinks I'm White Tiger? Mr. Xia, no one here is called White Tiger. If you want that medicine, you should go ask the organizer of the contest. This guy doesn't seem to know who the White Tiger is? Huh? He is not White Tiger, then it must be you. One of you must be White Tiger anyway. I don't know what Mr. Siat is talking about. Come here, let's sit down and talk. Ha ha, okay. S-class fighters like us are not easy to be tracked down. This guy, how can you be sure that one of us is the White Tiger? Let me introduce myself first. I am Meng Zhang, the president of Shenwu Association, and this is Yen Ba Huang. We also have a team member named Zhang Hongjun, who is now out to work. And there is no white tiger here. Really? I don't believe it. Haha, ha, forget it. Just see me as the white tiger for now. Now may I ask what Mr. Xia is trying to say? I have already answered you about the secret medicine. Nothing at all. I just want to find out why you're encouraging so many teams to drop out. If the Shinwu Association and the organizers are in a conflict, then it would have been better for you to cause trouble from the outside, right? If you wanted to win the tournament, why bother with those weak teams? Your team already has two S-class fighters. That would be stupid. What you said has nothing to do with our Shinwu Association. Everyone has something they can't say. Maybe White Tiger has something like that too. What's that about? Can't we have an open talk about it? If you want a secret medicine, just say it. Maybe you still want to keep it a secret. How can we know? We are not him. So let me ask one more question. Are you trying to sabotage the tournament? Just answer me yes or no. If you're not willing to answer this, I have to consider reporting you all to the organizers. This guy is very strong. We may not be able to take him down. He has also killed a degenerate fighter. In addition to the Shengshir group, there are several major powers behind the Global Combat Conference. The forces behind the White Tiger may have many calculations, but it certainly must have nothing to do with sabotaging the conference. Then I understand. 
Although this Shenwu association is mysterious, still there is no need to be harsh on them, at least it's not conflicting with my mission. By the way, I heard that the White Tiger killed a degenerate fighter, Tyran, how did he become a degenerate fighter? Can you tell me the whole story? He know this too? Oh, you are not White Tiger, I forgot, ha ha. So Mr. Xie, have you ever heard of the Seed of Evil? The Seed of Evil sounds like it has something to do with the degenerate fighters and the power of the evil god, right? We are good people who kill degenerate fighters to protect the people. So let me know any info if you have. Our Shenwu Association are committed to fighting against degenerate fighters, and we can say that we have studied them quite a bit, and we therefore have understood a great deal about how they work. The so-called fallen fighters are just normal people but are assimilated by a mysterious power called the Seed of Evil to gain the power of evil gods and lost their humanity. This power will continue to affect their minds until they step into the final abyss and cause various tragedies. We tried everything to destroy them and even had some results just stop them from activating the Seed of the Evil God by removing it from their bodies immediately. Now that we've talked about it, I'll say an additional piece of information. Someone wants to use the tournament to spread the seed of the evil god. They are targeting the losers. Losers? Isn't it better to just target the winner? The loser is prone to produce all kinds of negative emotions, and the seed of evil also need these negative emotions to sprout. We tried to investigate all about this, but the other side had so many tricks up their sleeves that they could even call on the organizers directly, so we came up empty-handed. Therefore, we also want to remind Mr. Xie to not be provoked easily by the evil god seed. Don't worry, that kind of seed won't affect me. Besides, I don't think I will become a loser. I'm worried about how to master the power of the evil god. It also suppresses the true chi it might be of great use. It is good to have self-confidence, but being too overconfident would become counterproductive. Don't worry about my self-confidence. I am very interested in how you can strip out to the seeds of evil. Can you talk about it? We did research about a tool that can strip the seed of evil, but the conditions of use are extremely harsh and it must be used before the fighters activate the seed. And because of various reasons, the success rate is not that much. When a fighter receives the seed of the evil god, it will temporarily accumulate in a part of their body, so we can use a tool to separate it. Is there such a magical thing? Isn't that? I know what Mr. Xiao wants to say. The fighter's condition after accepting the seed is divided into three stages. In the first stage, the seed of the evil god is still hidden in the body. The fighter's personality has not changed much, except for they became a little stronger. The tool we researched about can only be used at this stage. In the second stage, the seed of the evil god begins to be activated. The power of the evil gods fills internal organs of the body. At this stage, the fighter can already use the power of the evil gods, and he has lost his humanity. At this stage, using the seed extraction tool to remove the germ of the evil god was basically ineffective Fujita Takeshi, wasn't he in this stage back then? The duration of the second phase varies from person to person. The shortest is a few minutes, and the longest is no more than one year. After passing through the second stage, they are completely degenerate who is irrational, chaotic, and evil. Fighters at that stage can no longer be called humans. So, have you removed the seed from Tyran's body? Tyran, we have a database, and we have detailed records of the fighters who participated in this competition. And we can probably determine which contestants are likely to be tempted to the seed of the evil god, and Tyran was one of them. But during the confrontation, his emotions were too agitated, which directly stimulated the seed, and it fell into the worst case. Carrying on, we will not act rashly. Once people who have accepted the seed of the evil gods are emotionally excited, it becomes easy to activate it. Once a fallen fighter appears in the crowd, the harm is too great. This is not our intention. Emotions can easily stimulate the seed of the evil god. The Shinwu Association cannot control emotions, but I can. So, Mr. Xie, that's all we have to talk about today, please. I'm sorry, but I have one last thing I want from you. 
That device, can you give me one? Fighting against degenerate fighters has been my lifelong wish, so if I can remove the seeds of evil and help those people return to normal humans, I want to try too. Fifteen minutes later, this Xie Yin, with his mouth, has obtained the device to remove the seed of evil gods from our hands. He also has an evil aura on him. I am worried that if he can really remove the seed, he will use it for himself. That device is not so easy to use. We have so much information, so many people, but the success rate is so low. It is even more impossible for him to remove it all alone. We gave him that device so he won't continue to disturb and ruin our plan. He can't even determine who is most likely to come into contact with the seed. There are just too many losers in the competition. Random contact will only make things uncontrollable, and that will keep people from noticing us. Martial power is the most trustworthy. Don't forget, as the strongest forces of the Shinwu Association, our ultimate goal here is the finals. This is the tool that can strip the seed of evil? It looks so strange. Master, are you really going to help the Shinwu Associations catch that degenerate fighter? Yes, but with this device, I can extract the seed from him and keep it for myself. What? Do you want to become a fallen fighter? But that would make you ugly. Everything must be tried to know how it is. Maybe it will have a great effect on me? But first we need to find him. However, according to them, this tool is only effective against the bearer of the seed. If we mistakenly used it with a normal fighter, there is a high chance that he will die. This is also why the Shinwu Association is concerned. Now I have a rough idea about using this, but I have to be careful it's too late today. Let's continue tomorrow. Next day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second day of the Global Fighting Conference. Yesterday, the contestants presented us with wonderful performances, many of which were so classy. What kind of surprises will they bring today? Let us warmly welcome the players to enter the stadium. The Black Death Society, kill them. Quan Shajan Quan, go. Why? Why didn't Dedeo Lu who I support enter the game? Not only Dedeo Lu, the participants are less than half compared to yesterday. The audience must have discovered that the number of teams participating today is much lesser. Disappointingly, the teams that did not show up had chosen to withdraw for various reasons. Although regrettable, this does not detract from the excitement of the tournament. Let us continue to applaud the players who insist on fighting. The teams that gave up the competition are all rookie teams with low-scale abilities. Shinwu Association had done too big to get rid of the rookie teams. During yesterday's match, they had directly sent an S-level against three people. What are they really thinking? You are too foreign. Are we not teammates on the same front, Brother White Tiger? Mr. Xie, don't you want to sit with your teammates? Why are you here? Yesterday it was too late. I still have a lot of unanswered questions. After all, the lives of people are at stake. The three of you probably don't want any incidents to happen right. Ah. An hour later. Now the next teams, the Tianjing Bagwan team versus the Shadow Warriors. It's our turn. Xiao Yao will fight first, right? That's right. The opponent is a C-rank fighter. She will definitely win. It was also Xiao Yao's luck that she got a C-rank fighter. Mr. Xie. What? Nothing. Nothing. You want to ask me why I was with the Shenwu Association, right? Yes, I'm sorry. I just think Mr. Xie be unfamiliar with them. Yesterday... I went out for a walk and met them. It was too late then, so I just went over and continued our talk. Uh, you guys bully people too much. I never thought that box weapon could destroy Shang Wan Yao's clothes. The special fabric produced by the Shangshu group is difficult to destroy, but it was destroyed by a box weapon. Miss Yao is really amazing. My shadow demon skill had only destroyed your clothing. You have no injuries at all. You are indeed deserved to be in the Tianjin Bagwan. I'm sorry, my love. I didn't want to embarrass you so much. You. Stop your nonsense. Please believe me, Miss Yao. I am standing in this ring with plenty of awareness. If you think this is not fair enough. 
I wouldn't mind being naked for you. I sincerely want to fight with you in the ring with all my might, and I will never surrender until my last breath. For this, I can accept almost any price. You, you are perverted. Good job, Bach. Take off all her clothes. You want to die? Be careful, don't provoke Xie Yin from the Tianjing Bagwan team. Uh, uh, I don't want to fight anymore, I surrender. Player Shang Wan Yao has asked to drop this match, and the Shadow Team won this round. Woo woo, sister, these guys say one thing and do another. Anyone with a discerning eye can see that they are clearly aiming at the clothes to attack. Captain, your tactics are really working. Facing such a strong team as Tianjing Baguan, we were able to win a game easily. Um, Tianjing Baguan is good at defense. It is very difficult for us to win a normal fight, so our only choice is to use tricks. Sister, what shall we do next? The opponent team has two B-class and a C-class fighter. I am confident that the C-level fighter cannot touch me at all, but the two B-levels are a bit troublesome. Let me do it. Mr. Xia. Yes, Brother Xia Yin, let's beat them up. They want to have a good win? I'll make that happen. Wow. The second match of Tianjing Baguan sent out the S-class fighter Xia Yin, who has never shown up. What kind of excitement will he bring to us in his debut? In the face of the mysterious S-class fighter Xia Yin, how will Bach respond, I surrender? What? Bach, don't you want to try at least? A C-class against an S-class, even an idiot would know what the outcome is. Why should I make a fool of myself? I'll surrender too. It's hard for me to beat someone of that level, and I don't want to become a clown either. Haha, -ha, it's an S rank anyway. It was good enough to win one match. Our Shadow Warriors team will withdraw. Not to delay Mr. Sia's road to supremacy. The Shadow Warriors team conceded defeat, and the winner of the match is the Tianjing Baguan team. Shadow Warriors winning a game against the Tianjing Baguan is already good. Right. They are men of understanding. Why is the Tianjing Baguan team in such a hurry to send an S-level player to play the second match? Shadow Warriors team might have won more matches. Bastards, so hateful. It's a pity that we can't win the second game. Yes, otherwise our resume would have been more beautiful. That is enough. We must admit defeat when Xie Yin is on the stage and cannot give him a chance to retaliate. You don't have to be afraid of him when you're out of the ring. The legal society is backed by the state, and even Chi Lian and Ji E Hong can't do anything to us. Wait. Are you going to let them go like this? Mr. Xie, you will be banned for provocation after the game. There is no need to be upset because of small things. Mr. Xie, we have surrendered and the game is over. It is not good for you to be so aggressive. Look, S-Class of Tianjing Baguan team is causing trouble with Shadow Warriors team. Ha <laughs> ha, stupid. They're doing it in front of thousands of spectators. I like to see them fight. Hurry up and fight. Brother Xie Yin, forget it. You don't need to be banned because of those scum. Mr. Xie, you guys got it wrong. I'm not telling them to stop because I want to fight them. Rather, it's because they are not human. Where are the organizers? This Xie Yin is trying to mess with us. Don't you guys care about that? What the hell did you just say? Mr. Xie. What do you mean? Mr. Xie, you. Shouldn't say such provocative words. They're really not human. They are. Fallen fighters. Mr. Xie, what are you talking about? No matter how we look at it, they are all normal people. Are you serious? Mr. Xie, we have admitted defeat. You don't have to be so upside down. Although our strength is not good, but we cannot tolerate you staining our purity like that. Hey! Tianjing Baguan fighter. I don't think they are fallen fighters. Don't blame them because you're angry. You should not be so impulsive. Being powerful but not having a mind is a big taboo. Don't lose your reputation because of something like this. Hum. 
Brother Siayin has never said something aimless. If he is saying that they are fallen fighters, then he must have noticed something. Miss Shangwan Yao, personal revenge is not a good thing. Instead of making a big deal here, you can also go back and repent of today's failure. You. Eight difficulties demonic technique. We, we're all nice people, hum, we'll never accept slander, hum. Fallen fighter. Their faces have changed. They are really fallen fighters. Damn. Wait, what happened? What are you guys saying? How could we be fallen fighters? There must be a misunderstanding. Just now there was something unusual about my body. What's going on? These three people do not meet the standards of fallen fighters, but the change just now, Shinwu Association said so, there is indeed a problem. Why don't the organizing committee detain these three people for questioning? I suggest to control these three people as soon as possible. If they rise up and hurt others, it will be troublesome. Sure enough, fighting fighters in this world is very difficult to deal with. Eight difficulties demonic technique. God hate demon hate. It's all your fault. You're the one who started this. Damn it. Die for me. Ah, go to hell. There is no doubt about it. Their face is hideous. Their temperament is brutal. They're indeed fallen fighters. Um. Do not move. Do not move. Misunderstanding. This is a misunderstanding. Wait. What's going on? We are not fallen fighters. Um, how the hell did this guy determine that? We are not fallen fighters. It's a misunderstanding. After re-examination, it will be clear whether you are a fallen fighter or not. There was a little accident on the broadcast just now. However, the fighters on the scene took action in time to stop the situation before it deteriorated further. Rest assured, the safety of all spectators is always the top priority of our organizers. Fallen fighters are here? It's so scary. I even asked for their autograph yesterday. How horrible. Mr. Alpha, you have done a very poor job in this matter. Ugh. I think it is necessary for you to further strengthen the screening and management of players. I can't believe the organizers let a group of fallen fighters into the ring. I can deal with them easily, but what if their power is beyond control? Who will be responsible for the casualties? Especially the reaction of your security guard are not as fast as the fighters in the competition. How disappointing. Yes, we have always put the safety of our audience first, and we will definitely make more progress in the future. I feel something is wrong. I feel it too. I think those three are not fallen fighters. I have also faced a lot of fallen fighters. I think Xia Yin is having a tricks. But how? Today's competition is temporarily suspended, and we will conduct a screening of all participants. Xia Yin, your tricks are good too. That night. According to special news reports, the participants of the Global Fighting Conference were surprised to find a suspected fallen fighter and were reported by the enthusiastic crowd. At present, the organizers of the conference and the police are continuing to investigate. The master is so kind. These three guys are not fallen fighters at all. The organizing committee can't find out anything. They will release after a while. Master, should we go set out to get the seed of evil? Let's give time for the seeds to spread. Going early makes no sense. Then, let's go and find the eliminated teams. Maybe we'll meet the people from Shinwu Association. I don't think they would be visiting the eliminated teams. They are more likely to persuade the current teams to withdraw. About yesterday, although the Shinwu Association acts without restraint, they also know their limits. After all, they are considered as people who know justice. Although I don't know their real purpose, they certainly won't just be concerned about the seed of evil or the fallen fighters hiding in the crowd. This Shinwu Association is so mysterious. However, they must not have thought about those failed teams, but Master has a way, he he. That's right, my flowery spirit that has the characteristic of Buddhism can suppress the first stage of degeneration by controlling the emotions of the fighters and making them unable to fully arouse the seed of evil. TL, flowery spirit has similar characteristics to the original. 
Doing something to the eliminated teams isn't considered cheating by the system, right? But, Shenwu Association can easily locate fighters who have accepted the seed of evil through their database. Here I have to test all the eliminated teams one by one. The number of teams eliminated in the first two days added up to 120 to 130 people. This would be hard. Shenwu Association is really very rich now that it is difficult to buy tickets, but they actually directly got a luxury cruise ship too. Huh, what did Shenwu Association do? Didn't Mr. Sia know? The Shinwu Association suddenly said that they would hold a community meeting and invited all the losers of the competition to their headquarters. I didn't know. Community meeting? What do they want to do? The community meeting is to let all the eliminated teams in the competition gather together to learn and progress. It is said that there is one class every day, and today is the first class. And for the teams that will be eliminated in the coming days, Shenwu Association is also planning to invite them. They are really rich. What is the Shenwu Association's idea when bringing these losers together? Didn't they temporarily give up finding the seed of evil? But since they are all gathering together, I want to see what you guys really want to do. Did you see it strange? No A-level fighters were in the teams eliminated in the past two days. Hayes, don't you understand it? The fighting conference will never let the strong teams meet each other at first. They will try to eliminate the B-level and C-level teams like us. The Shinwu Association is really rich to send us to their headquarters. Just looking at this magnificent ship, the regret of being eliminated has just vanished. Sir, here is your dessert. The reason for all this is just to support us. Haha, ha, we had participated in the conference for our country. No matter how awesome the Shinwu Association is, they are just a private organization. Wanting to make friends with us is not wrong. Stop talking. Shinwu Association has a 2S levels in their lineup who are much stronger than your small sect. Hum, we know that they are fallen fighter in this group, but we still have to welcome them. Shinwu Association Class B Fighter Xie Shui Yuan. However, there are promoters who are spreading the seeds. They being here will only cause more trouble. When thinking about it, Bucho's decision is fine. Damn. Phew, sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay, walk carefully. Tu Hongba, Captain of the Blood Fist Warriors, this guy. Hmm, this thing is really strong. It almost makes me angry. I need to control my emotions. In front of so many fighters, being angry is not a good thing. What has fallen down? Meteorite? It seems to be a person. What happened? Is it an A-level or an S-level fighter? Who is it? Hello, everyone from the Shinwu Association and the unsuccessful ones in the fighting tournament. I am a special envoy of the Fighting Association of the Republic of Fangdao. The name is Shinshio. Special envoy? I never heard of this position. He must be in a or an S level. I have heard that there are fallen fighters among the teams that were eliminated from the Global Fighting Conference, so I came to investigate. Fallen fighter? They are the local officials. No wonder they are here. Mr. Shinshio, please sit down and talk. Mr. Shinshio might be knowing some inside information. However, the Shinwu Association is dedicated to fighting the fallen fighters, so please trust us. If I hadn't came here, your Shinwu Association would have let all of them escape. The point was that there are way too many people. Finding the bearer of the seed of evil was even more difficult. So we are relying on the long-term follow-up to identify suspects. If you do it like that, when can you expect the results? It's not efficient. Mr. Shinshio, don't be impulsive. I'm not impulsive, so why don't you find it for me first? Okay, okay, let me try. Mr. Sieshua Yuen, what is going on? Why does this special envoy from the Fangdao Republic say that there are fallen fighters among us? Don't worry, everyone, let me explain slowly. Ahem, then let me explain to you. To become degenerate, a fighter must first accept the seed of evil. 
The seed of evil is given by others, and the targets are people with strong negative emotions. All of you are the losers of the fighting conference. The losers are also prone to strong negative emotions at the moment of failure. This is also one of the reasons why Mr. Shinshio is looking for you. Please recall carefully and think about whether anyone around you has disappeared for a period of time and has experienced negative and emotions, then it is very likely that he has accepted the seed of the evil and is a fallen fighter. We've been playing in the room since we lost, weren't we? We didn't want to win in the first place. Captain, you seem to before. I just went for a pack of cigarettes, what's the problem? But you were a bit emotional today. I've been always like this. In short, none of us three have any problems today. It must be someone else. Five minutes have passed. Did you come up with any results? It's definitely not us anyway. All three of us can testify to each other. It's definitely not me. Look, this is definitely the end result. Isn't it? I already have a conclusion. The suspicion of this gentleman is very serious. Please come with me. Me? I'm not a fallen fighter. Why are you suspecting me? The captain is a bit rough, but he has always been like this. Moreover, he was always with us, so he couldn't have accepted the seed. Ah, uh, basically always together. Wait, even if he is really a fallen fighter, don't provoke him. What if he degenerates in public? Let me deal with it. Well, he was not with you two just now. It proves that you guys are not always together. This cannot fully prove your innocence. It's ridiculous. We can't just stay together always. So are you guys together in the bathroom or while peeing? Yeah, if that's the case then isn't everyone here a suspect? This is too big for a range. Can I say a few words? Crap. I didn't even notice Sun Lao Xing was here. What is he doing here? Sun Lao is here to coach the Hailan team. He was invited by the Shinwu Association. Who is this old man? When he was young, he was an A-level fighter. He missed the S-level due to some accident. Now he's regressed to the B-level because of his age. He is the coach of the Hailan team and he is very respected. If you really ask people to always be together, it's a bit ridiculous. Moreover, everyone here is one of the world's leading fighters, and it's normal to feel emotional when you lose a fight in the ring. Sun Lao Xing is right. Yes, we have to talk about evidence. You can't detain people casually. We are in a society with the rule of law, and since Mr. Shinshio represents the Republic of Fang Dao, it is even more necessary to work according to the law. Many of you here have military and political identities. How can you detain them at will? Let's talk about the evidence. Fighters from all over the world are here. Fighting against us means fighting against the whole world. Look, Mr. Shinshio, this will certainly be the end of our discussion here. Let's forget it today. Laying out the facts, speaking of evidence, said or quite good. But old man, why do I feel that you are also a fallen fighter? Sun Lao Xing did not participate in the competition. He is the only one who is most unlikely to be a fallen fighter. Don't talk nonsense. Me? How could I be? You, you, and you, you are defending the guilty, and it looks like you guys are fallen fighters too. Are you crazy? How can there be so many fallen fighters? Where is the evidence? Sun Lao is really not it. No matter how we look at it, there is no way. Mr. Shinshio. You also speak for him? It seems that you have a problem too. Are you trying to cause trouble? All of you present here are fallen fighters. What nonsense are you talking about, you baldy? Are you crazy? Oh. He's saying we're all fallen fighters? Is this how you do work? This stupid guy has offended everyone. Let's see how you will handle it. What's going on? A sudden change in the weather. Wait, what are those people doing? Hundred ghosts arise. Well, what's the matter with these people? What are they doing? Do you feel anything wrong? There seem to be countless pairs of eyes looking at us around. 
The fight is about to start. Let Chinger take the ordinary people away to avoid hurting the innocent. Wait, what are you doing? Where are you going? Mr. Shinshio, what's going on? Nothing. Since all of them are problematic, they will have to be disciplined. How did this pink woman appear? The body enveloped in pink energy, it's a fallen fighter. I've never seen such a fallen fighter before. Everyone run, that is really S-class. Now it is too late to run. Catch them all. Okay, keep this group of people safe and don't let them rush out. I'll go back and see how the master was fighting. Huh, these guys are holding up to her. She's not even using 30% of her strength. Ah, uh, will she be okay if she keeps fighting like this? These people are nothing compared to her limitless energy. It doesn't matter, even an S level would not hold up to her. Moreover, I have now ordered her to start exerting her strength. P slash R. This spirit is thickening O. Hi readers, I'm the proofreader here these fighters have strong. As long as she do not use the withering of the hundred flowers technique, there is nothing to worry. At most, it will be a coma. Now, it's up to the people fighting there. Those who are unable to hold back will try to stimulate the seed of evil. Damn. This woman is dangerous. She is indeed an S-rank fallen fighter. She is clearly capable of finishing all of us at once. She is. Clearly a fallen fighter. But why is she attacking suspected fallen fighters like us could it be? No, this woman is getting more and more ruthless. She really wants to kill us. Using the seed of the evil is my only choice. Let's see if she will spare me. Huh, why is my mood getting calmer and calmer? Ah, uh, it was really you. Humph, be obedient and admit it. What is this feeling? Why is my rage cooling down? If it continues like this, I couldn't be able to activate the seed. And? And why is she attacking me? Why? Why make things difficult for each other? You, why are you doing this? If you don't listen to my advice, I will beat you until you can't fight tomorrow. Captain, we lost contact with Sieshua Yuan. What? Let's take this. The seed of evil is too dangerous for you. I'll keep it for you. The only one who was suspicious was this guy. Unfortunately, this device cannot be used indiscriminately, otherwise, it will kill people. If it weren't for that, things wouldn't have turned this way. We've caused too much commotion, let's go. You shining like this throughout the night is suspicious, so, come back, but please don't. Shit, it exploded again. Such big aura, this fallen fighter is very strong. Something really happened, chase it. S rank fighters run really fast. If I didn't have a jade pendant that can hide my breath, I would have been caught. But it's also a shame that when I sucked back the flowery spirit, it exploded, causing a scene back there. This device did not blow up from the impact, or it would have been a waste. After so much effort, will the seed of evil work for me or not? But should I take it internally or apply it externally? Does the system even recognize this stuff? The seeds of evil are detected. Please choose to absorb them or not. The seeds of evil? Of course, I'll choose to absorb it. Warning, absorbing the seed of evil will transform the host. It can distort the body and soul. And greatly affect the normal use of the system. It costs 1 million source points to counteract the side effects, and the host is currently short of source points. Damn it, 1 million points. So how can it be absorbed? The side effects are huge. Even if the system can eliminate the side effects, but it's too expensive, even if I had that many points, I could do a lot with it. Forget it. After all, it's something I've worked hard to get. It's a shame to throw it away. Even if I can't absorb it now, if I improve my cultivation, it may be useful, right? But... A million source points to eliminate side effects, that means the power of the seed of evil is enormous, far beyond my imagination. Perhaps its powers are stronger and scarier than the immortals in the main world. 
Now I only hope that the S-Class fighter is the strongest fighting in the world. At best, it would be a fallen S-Class. If anything stronger than them shows up, it will be fatal. All of these fighters suffered serious injuries, but none of them died. They were just unconscious. Then, we found a bunch of ordinary waiters we hired nearby, but they were not aware of anything. Very strange. That huge explosion of pink energy is definitely a powerful fallen fighter. But unexpectedly no tragedy had happened. Captain, we found something. This person is Tu Hongba, the captain of the Blood Fist team. He is on the high-risk list. We checked it three times and confirmed that the seed extracting tool has been used on his body. That tool? The seeds of evil were indeed successfully stripped. We gave that cutting device to Xie Yan of the Tianjin BA Guan team. Could it be him? He is a fallen fighter? Calm down, if Xie Yan is a fallen fighter, what is the need to extract the seeds of other people? Besides, our Shenwu Association is not the only one with such a device. What if he had fallen after he extracting the seeds from Tu Hongba and absorbing it himself? It's possible. Tomorrow, if he doesn't show up, then it's definitely him. Should we continue taking them away? Of course, if we don't send them away, we will definitely cause unnecessary trouble. Next day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third day of the Global Fighting Conference. Brother Xie, why do people from the Shinwu Association keep looking at you? I don't know, maybe because of my handsomeness. This competition has gone through several disturbances. Today, three more teams have withdrawn from the competition. The officials of the conference also expressed their deep regret about this, and we can only expect the young people who lost confidence this year to return to the tournament ten years later. Without further ado, let's get straight to the event. Three hours later, the Bingxin Dao team and the Tianjin BA Guan team each lost one player, and the current score is one to one. For the third round, invite the players from both teams to the stage. Come on. Beat him. Tianjin BA Guan team is number one. Come on, come on. Whoa. The classic move of the Bingxin Dao team, giant hammer swing. Can Shang Guan Yin stop this skill? Not bad. I must praise you for being able to hold on till now. Unfortunately, this is the only advantage of the Tianjin BA Guan, and it can't be compared with the other teams at all. Bingxin Dao. Giant hammer swing. Shang Wan Yin was knocked back. Is she still capable of fighting? No matter how strong your defense is, there is no way you can block my attacks. Especially at games like the Global Fighting Conference, I don't need to kill you, I just need to knock you out of the ring. Shang Wan Yin fell off the stage. After struggling hard, Shang Wan Yin finally accepts defeat. In the third round of the Tianjin BA Guan team versus Bingxin Dao team, the Bingxin Dao team won. The Tianjin BA Guan team has only the last player left. This is Xie Yan. What kind of performance will he bring? Let's see. That was a good fight, holding up with an A rank after a full fight against a B rank. I'm not satisfied. Uh, sister is the best. Go and rest, and leave the rest to me. Mr. Xie, it's a pleasure to play against you. Miss Yen defeated your B-level teammate. Doesn't that prove the superiority of Tianjin BA Guan? Mr. Xie misunderstood what I meant. The Tianjin BA Guan naturally has its advantages over the Bingxin Dao, but that doesn't stop me from running away. In my opinion, the so-called fighting art should be equally offensive and defensive. Tianjin B.A. Quan is purely defensive, which is contrary to the public's pursuit of power and strength, so it is inevitable that it lags behind the other teams. History is history. You underestimated the Tianjin B.A. Guan's defensive skills. It seems I can only use action to correct your perception. In this game, I will neither take the initiative to attack nor dodge, let you fight throughout, but if you can make me hit you, I lose. Within 10 minutes, if I don't win, it's considered a loss. Xie Yan, the contestant made such a bold statement the first time he took the stage. 
It seems that he is very confident in his own strength. What did he say? Stand and take a beating without fighting back? This S-Class, he's so arrogant. You do not skip the most important information, 10 minutes. No matter how strong he is, how can he win in 10 minutes just by taking hit without fighting back? Yes. I like to see this kind of competition that breaks the limits of imagination. 10 minutes? Even if it is S-level, there is no such way to play. He must know that his opponent is A-level. Such confidence. I always thought that the reason why Xie Yin can able to burst the checking machine is because his body is extremely strong. Now it seems to be true. How can you win in 10 minutes by not fighting back? The A-level fighter has always maintained his strength and can fight him for at least an hour. Mr. Xie, are you sure about this? I won't let you down, so let's try our best. Well, as your wish. Giant spirit shaking the earth. Tian Wu Jinchan. What a weird feeling, as if my power was used against me. It turns out that he wanted to let me lose through this method. Forget 10 minutes, with this method you can't even beat me in one hour. Mr. Xie, I have an idea in my mind. The strength of the counter shock is only about half of my own strength. If I use some skills, I can keep the rhythm of the attack without being shaken along with at most some injuries. Five minutes. Within five minutes, if I can't force you out of the ring, I lose. Maybe he also mastered some stronger methods, but just now he obviously suffered a hit, and if he won't fight back, I would definitely be able to beat him out of the ring within five minutes. You don't have to be like that. It's okay. Here I come. Lu Sheng of the Bingxian Dao team attacked again. Giant hammer flying kick. His strength is comparable to the ninth layer of the acquired realm of the main world. Peace Slasher, just a refresher, acquired realm is the first realm of the main world. Just before the innate realm and the ninth layer is its final layer. Contestant Lu Sheng was not shocked again this time. Although he was injured, he chose to continue the attack. This guy is trying to force me off the ring? Chance. Wonderful. Although Lu Sheng was bloodied by the counter-attacks, he successfully knocked Xie Yin out of the ring. His strength has improved? Xie Yin could not have been defeated by such a simple tactic. He could have stepped on the protective shield and bounced back, and Lu Xing player knew this well, so he chose to leave the ring together and continue to attack. Contestant Lu Xing ignored the damage caused by Xie Yin's barrier and attacked from top to bottom. This way, no matter how strong Xie Yin's defense is, he would lose to gravity and fall off the ring first. Last blow. Giant spirit shaking the earth. Wonderful. The contestant Xie Yin just touched contestant Lu Sheng's arm lightly and took advantage of the momentum to jump above the opponent's head. What a humiliating posture. Contestant Xie actually took the opportunity to step on contestant Lu Sheng's head. Contestant Lu Sheng couldn't hold back with all his strength, so he was slammed into the ground. Lu Sheng was the first to touch the ground outside the ring, so he lost. It's been five minutes already. Xie Yin did not attack from the beginning to the end and won the round completely. Xie Yin proved with his actions that pure defense can also win the game, and it only took five minutes. So powerful. Brother Xie is very strong. Mr. Xie seems to be able to fly out of thin air. Is this is to show off the skill? That's the result that Bingxian Dao's Lu Xing deserves. But Xie Yin's last kick is considered retaliation, right? It's too embarrassing. Nothing happened to the person who was beaten, but it was the attacker who suffered a lot of pain. You know what? Xie Yin didn't use any force at all. Lu Xing used all his strength to hit him but couldn't. He deserved this. So awesome. Xie Yin is too awesome. Who said that S-class fighters are all muscular men, they're also handsome youngsters like Xie Yin. Xie Yan's method of countering one's attack is difficult to understand. Before the last blow, there was absolutely no movement. How did he do it? Great, so awesome. 
It seems to be manipulating the muscles of the whole body to perform extremely fast movements that are indistinguishable by the naked eye, and the powerful air bursts brought about to cover the opponent's offense. However, I'm even surprised on how this subtle technique can be performed in a calm manner in fight. These are some strange defensive techniques. The opponent cannot touch his body. Is he moving that fast? It doesn't seem to be so simple. Cien, if it's like this. You can trade it with those two girls of Tianjin B.A. Guan. That was a good fight. He is indeed worthy as an S level. Xia Yin is so handsome. Captain, he's very strong. Be careful. Don't worry, I will take over from here. We've reached the final round. Both teams are left with only the one player. Let us invite A level fighter, the captain of the Bingxian Dao team on the ring. Mr. Xie, I declare in advance. As the captain of the Bingxian Dao team, I won't underestimate you. So I will not limit myself like Lu Deng. I'll still stick to the rules. I will neither take the initiative to attack nor fight back. And if I don't hold up within 10 minutes, it'll be my loss. Are you sure about that? Of course. Then thank you for giving me this victory. Well, is there something wrong with the camera? Why are both players just standing still and motionless? What happened? What are they doing? Why aren't they fighting? If you won't fight back at all, then my best strategy is undoubtedly to not do anything. Captain Song, are you still not going to act? Mr. Xie, for some reason, I suddenly feel that you are a bit obnoxious. Are you trying to alter my emotions to influence me? Unfortunately, that's not going to work. Despised by gods and demons alike skill. P slash R, a refresher again. This ability is part of the eight difficulties demonic skill that Xie Yin got at chapter 94. For more info, check the wiki. Yup, there is a wiki for this manhwa. Despised by gods and demons alike skill has almost no effect on him. As expected of an A-level of this world. If you're just staying like that, then I have no choice. Startling Rainbow Escape P slash R, this skill was given to Xie Yin by the matriarch Yu Hong Yin at chapter 86. BTW, the skill names I use are all from the wiki, so some names are a little diff from earlier chapter. So sorry. Come on. Attack me. So fast. I should avoid it. He just dodged when I moved like that. It seems that my judgment is not wrong, although the despised by gods and demons alike had no effect in him, but at least it made his mood swing. Otherwise, he shouldn't have dodged. Since he's dodging, I will continue scaring him like this. If it's like this, then he would just jump out of the ring and lose. Damn it. What just happened? I can't process it at all. Did Xie Yin take the initiative to attack? No, that's not right. In the replay, we can see that Xie Yin had not attacked. Xie Yin would approach Song Kong with tremendous speed, but Song Kong is just jumping back. Such speed, how did this Xie Yin do it? Those movements are hastier than thunder. Is it some kind of a special fighting technique? The rainbow-like trail behind him is also very strange. I've never seen something like this. Song Kong has been pushed out of the ring. But he was able to return to the stage. The two sides have confronted again. Song Kong tried to attack countless times, but Xie Yin was able to hold on every time. Song Kong is completely out of the ring, and Xie Yin has won. Exactly 10 minutes, Xie Yin did not violate his promise. This game can be said to be complete victory. Why does this Xie Yin like to step on people's heads like that? He seems to have used some strength while stepping on Song. This is definitely considered as an attack, right? Shut up, the referee didn't say anything. The referee was afraid of Xie Yin going crazy. Tianjin B.A. Guan team is the best. That is the consequence they must have. The Bingxian Dao team had looked down on Tianjin B.A. Guan team. 
Both players please leave the stage so that the next match can continue. Brother Xie Yin played really well. I love you so much. Mr. Xie, you won. Why do I feel that Mr. Xie Yin has a shady relationship with people of the Shenwu Association? When there are two beauties like us then why are you ignoring us? Xiao Yao, shut up. That night. How is the situation? The Fondao Republic officially said that there was no such person. And that mysterious female fallen fighter is also very strange. It seems that she has started hunting her own kind. Tomorrow is the quarterfinals. None of the teams are said to be easy to beat. The captain abandoned his plan and went to the docks all by himself. As long as that person dares to come out, the captain will take action. The Shinwu Associations is really unwilling to give up. The fighters who have been eliminated today are being invited over. A bald-headed fighter with a mysterious S-class fallen fighter. What is their origin? We have never seen these two people in our database. But this also means that Xie Yin is innocent. I don't think the person yesterday was him. Mr. Yin, can you feel it? Someone is spying on us. I can feel it. It's exactly like the day when I met Xie Yin. Xie Yin? Are you sure? I'm sure that it was exactly the same gaze that was spying on me that day. What does this guy want to do? It's a pity that the spy we sent to the Shengshir group to steal the secret medicine was caught. If it weren't for that, I would have given the secret medicine to Xie Yin and let him go away. The 2S class of the Shinwu Associations is also there. I can't hear what they're talking about. Let's report it to Master first. Both are there now? Yes. Master, should we just go there? No need. Let the Shinwu Association deal with that. Not to mention Shinwu Association will also participate in the competition tomorrow, so I need to focus on that for now. If the task fails, the loss will be huge. The seeds won't be of any use as of now, so there's no need to rush. Moreover, tomorrow will be a tough day. Let's just go to bed. Huh. Next day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth day of the Global Fighting Conference. Today's matches will determine the top four teams. Wow, what a cruel match table, Tianjin B.A. Guan. Shark Fighting Team. Shenwu Association. Black Kills Team. Shura Team. Warriors Team. Blue Dragon Fighting Team. Nirvana Roquin Team. But this is the charm of the Global Fighting Conference. Even no one can predict the game. Now, let's watch the first match of today, led by S-Class Fighter Li Yu of the Shark Fighting Team versus Xie Yans of Tianjing B.A. Guan Team. Shark Fighting Team is awesome. Xie Yin, I love you. S-Level versus S-Level, good. That Li Yu seems to have some conflicts with your father. How should we play this game? We too can handle their B-Class and A-Class players. For Li Yu, we'll have to trouble Mr. Xie. Let's see which player from the shark fighting team will compete first. Oh my god, did I guess that right? We're a family, what's the trouble? But it looks like I'll have to play first. Shark fighting team actually chose s rank Joseph Lee for the first match. Although I wanted to avenge the debt 10 years ago, but as an S-level fighter I can't bully A, B, or C-level, that won't be fair. So let's forget about everything and let Xie Yin and I have a duel to decide the winner. Sister, this guy, I didn't expect Li Yu to be arrogant, but he still has the qualities of a strong man. This is good, so Mr. Xie can fight Li Yu to his utmost and not be slowed down by us. He's trying to be strong. That's fine, I'll fight him. Finally, the first S-Class versus S-Class fight of this conference is about to begin. He, Xie Yin, I have been preparing for today's competition for a long time. Didn't we just meet during the test a few days ago? All my preparations are for this very fight. Come on, show me what you're capable of. Boom. Whether it is the quick pace or solid defense, you would need the support of the ground. I will overturn the entire arena, and you will have nothing to rely on. Let's see what you can do. 
as an S-Class you won't be defeated that easily. I had cultivated the art of air combat fighting for 10 years for using on Cheng Wan Xiongba, but now, I'll use it on you. Huh. The whole body is floating in the air, what technique is this? Li Yu went ahead and destroyed the entire ring, so according to the rules, if anyone touches the ground, they will fail. Li Yu immediately took advantage of Xie's weakness. Combined with Li Yu's skill of muscle manipulation. Ten Claws Technique He expands the muscles of his palms, becomes tighter, and then squeezes out the air in the palms. Like a suction cup, Li Yu is sticking on the shield. P slash R, that was one hell of an explanation, Mr. Host. As a result, Li Yu have already taken advantage of this duel. And for Xie Yan. The ordinary method of floating would require greater power for propulsion, but Xie Yan doesn't seem like doing that. Actually, I am moving, but the frequency of my moves are extremely high, so you can't see it. My trick is to use extremely delicate speed and strength to rise, keeping the right foot on the left foot to sustain, its name is. Left foot on the ground, right foot in the sky. Left foot on the ground, right foot to the sky. But neither our eyes, nor the 300x slow motion camera could capture the movements of Xie Yan. How sophisticated is this skill? This is too unscientific, never seen such a levitation technique. You don't want to reveal the secret, you think we are fools? Manipulating muscles to stick into a surface is science? You have to respect objective facts. That's what I did, and I can fly, so what? Oh, this Xie Yin also has a good sense of humor. This guy is smart and nimble. Last night, I could presence his gaze. But when he saw us guarding the dock, he had quickly retreated. Not to mention the lens rotates 300 times slower. I can't even see his foot movements. But the scene before my eyes seemed inexplicable. I'll try getting close to him first. It's that bizarre defense technique again, it can also hurt us? His moving trajectory is also quite strange and unpredictable. No matter how bizarre his methods are, defensive counterattacking is definitely the core of his tactics. As long as I keep the pressure on, the initiative is still in my hands. The S-rank fighter moves too fast, the arena is too small, if you don't want to lose, you need to have super strong control and calculation. Otherwise, the despised by gods and demons alike skill will make his mind uncontrollable. But I've already used despised by gods and demons alike skill, but it doesn't seem to have any effect on him. A-class fighters can still have some influence, S-class fighters have been completely ineffective. Sure enough, in addition to the shortening life during cultivation, the training of willpower here is much stronger than in the main world. Although as long as he cannot break my defense, I can fight with him until the end of time, but staying in the air like this will be risky. If it wasn't for the system's rules, I would have done better. But if this goes on like this, I have to take a little risk. Sister, this is not good. Don't worry, this is just the beginning. Mr. Siaf must have another move. However, Mr. Siaf can't use those killer moves. Can he really win? Although it was always Li Yu's one-sided attack, but Xie Yan didn't seem to have suffered any injuries. Will they stay like this? Relying on endurance to decide the winner of the fight? No. We can't see clearly again. The impact was too great. It's the one who destroys the terrain. Why is he not fighting back? Apart from passive defense and dodge, don't you know how to use offensive fighting skills? I know, you try this one. Eight difficulties demon technique hell difficulty. We don't know what's going on. We can only guess how fierce the competition is from the sounds. Xie Yin is awesome. Shark fighting team is awesome. I think I can see faint flames. Who is making the attack? Is that a blue fire? The fighting technique that gathers all the air in one place and blasts out a hot air wave combined with the projection of fire. I had never heard of such a move. What the hell is this move? Effective, but far from enough. 
Let's try attacking till the haze clears up. 8 Difficulties Demon Technique Hell Difficulty Quang Sha Zhang Quan Ghosts? Hallucinations? Your tricks are getting more and more bizarre. But it's not effective for me. Xie Yan There was no physical contact while targeting. However, it's useless. The ground shakes and pushes back. The technique I have learned is to use precise calculations to control the force of each blow. Everything in the game field, including the opponent's body, is a stepping stone for countering. Whatever the techniques he does, they are all variables. As long as I can control all the variables in the field, I can figure out exactly where my opponent is. Now this fight is completely under my rhythm. I can easily predict his movement patterns. Soon he will be knocked to the ground by me. Not good, the 8 difficulties demon technique basically didn't work on him. It seems I have to use my flower spirit, but I won't be able to participate in the competition. I have a plan, but if this doesn't work out, I've no choice but to use my flowery spirit. First, I need to nullify his attack by using Tianguan Jinchen. Using it early will probably end up with me being beaten and scrapped by him. Using it too late won't be any good too. Now, Tianguan Jinchan, Quang Sha Zhang Quan. Dissipate. Good. At this moment his attack is completely nullified, huh? Keep. Now directly infusing my innate true chi into his body. Transmission this feeling, not good. This transmission can disrupt his meridians and it's pretty painful too. But if I couldn't transmit at least 30% of the innate true chi into the body, there would really be no way to hurt these naturally born fighters. Raise hand. If you had continued to attack me then, I wouldn't have had any chance, but now it's too late. Next, I just have to control the true chi in his body at the moment he is striking. God boxing technique. Five beats open heaven. Explode. Perfect. Nothing was exposed. Finger of Nirvana. What a great noise. It seems that someone has been knocked to the ground. Can't see clearly. Who won? Who won? Everyone, please don't be restless. The results will be out soon. It's Xie Yan. Xie Yan is still levitating in the sky. Damn, the left foot on the ground, right foot to the sky skill is this powerful? Xie Yan is okay, and Li Yu. Because the fighting arena was destroyed at the beginning, then whoever lands first would lose. So the winner of this game is Tianjing Bia Guan Team Xie Yan. Xie Yan is so handsome. You deserve to be an S rank fighter. Xie Yan's flying style is much better than a normal S class fighter. Brother Xie Yan is great. Mr. Xie. Master. No need. I don't need your help yet. Let's admit defeat in this match. Our shark fighting team lost. Cough, Xie Yan. You had such a strong technique, why didn't you use it at the beginning? I wanted to experience the results of your 10 years of cultivation. In terms of intention, we are the same. But in terms of strength, we are not. This guy is really powerful. He can actually stand after infusing 30% of my innate true chi. Although he is injured, it doesn't seem to be too serious. Ha, 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 10 years ago, it was Sheng Wan Xiong Bia. Ten years later, you came out, ha 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 ha, master. I will come again. The remaining two players of the shark fighting team chose to admit defeat. The battle between shark fighting team and Tianjing Bia Guan team has ended. Victory belongs to Tianjing Bia Guan team. Li Yu, he is actually a respectable opponent. You should be able to beat him yourselves ten years later. Let's go. Yes. Li Yu's body was unscathed, but his mouth, nose, and ears were bleeding, evidently from the internal injuries. This Xie Yan, if his attacks are very cruel. 
In the first part of the fight, he was passive, but in the end, he turned the tables. I guess he usually observes his opponent first and then later do the fighting. The stronger the opponent, the stronger the counterattack will be. This fascinating fighting technique, it's so unusual, seeing that obvious pink feature, I almost thought he is a fallen fighter, Mr. GE, since the ring was completely destroyed in this match, it will take some time for the organizers to repair the ring. And there are two more matches, the duel between you and Song Long Bakwin is estimated to be postponed. Do you want to go back to your room and rest? No hurry. We are old friends. We are not short of time. Sometime later on that day, as Chen Xing of the Blue Tsanlong B.A. Quan and Hiroshi Yamada of the Nirvana Roquan team fell into the ring at the same time, the battle has ended with a tie. Now, the most exciting moment has finally arrived. Chilian vs. G.E. Hong Tsanlong B.A. Quan Thousand Hands Technique Boom! The two fighters were fighting fiercely. Chilian kept on attacking, the atmosphere was heating up by his moves, and the whole arena was filled with smoke. And Ji e. Hong used the thousand hands fighting technique. This technique had been lost for more than 50 years. It used to be known as the strongest technique, but I didn't expect it to be used by Ji e. Hong. Who will be better in this match? Samlong Bie. Quan Tail Wagging Dragon. G.E. Hong has been hit. What will he do next? No injury. Player G.E. Hong used a long-lost defensive fighting technique. Although that fighting technique is not as high as Tianjin B.A. Guan, but being able to resist and fight can also be considered an extremely good fighting technique. Phew, that's right, let the old man look at him with admiration. Ancient fighting technique Xian Wu Shield. Ji Yi Hong player is indeed worthy of being the living dictionary of martial arts. What kind of surprises will he bring us next? Changsheng Lu Tsang Long B.A. Quan Sure enough, I was just warming up just now, but now I will use real kung fu. Then I'll let you see my newly developed technique. Boom! It's so intense! The ring has been completely destroyed. I couldn't see anything. Boom. 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 The ring is ruined again. Classic battle. That's what happened when Sia faced off against Li Yu. It was wonderful. Ah. Earthquake? What happened? Earthquake? Damn, the noise is too big, isn't it? So insecure. They are indeed worthy of being the S-Class. Don't panic, everyone. The shield is made of the most sophisticated materials. S-Class cannot easily destroy it. We are safe. Since the ring is destroyed, landing on the ground would be a loss. The two players have to remain in the sky. In other words, their combat dimension is not only in the air, but also underground. But as long as they don't break the protective shield, we won't be injured. Just the aftershocks, but so powerful. Are these the top two fighters? Haha, <laughs> this is the Tsang Long B.A. Quan and Nirvana Soft Quan. Hey, if it's like this we won't see anything, right? There was a lot of sand and flying rocks that affected visibility, and now it has been better. We need our money back. Please calm down, everyone. The staff will soon bring the terminal for you to watch in the big screen. They are so amazing. The first two matches ended very quickly. The two S ranks of Shinwu Association did not use their real strength at all, but Chilian and Ji E Hong are really strong. Originally, I thought that using the flowery spirit is too much, but now it looks like it won't. And I am more and more looking forward to the performance of Changxing Bakwin. How strong will it be? Oh, this technique. I think the winner is about to be decided. Bam. Who will be the winner? Who won? I think the winner is definitely Master Ji Yi Hong. Master Chi Lian is also very strong. Looks like the fight isn't really over yet. Oh my god. 
If I hadn't witnessed it with my own eyes, I really wouldn't believe that this scene was created after the battle by those two. The entire arena was turned into a bottomless abyss. Haha, -ha, it seems that Master Chilean has improved a lot more than I thought. Today's battle, I lost. Oh, the Tsong Long B.A. Quan won. Master Chilean is awesome. Master Chilean is number one. Haha, -ha, those who ran away just now will regret it terribly. This, how is this possible? Something must be wrong. Huh, Master Ji -E Hong really lost? This must be a dream, this must be a dream. It was a history-making moment. The Tsanlong Bakwan team performed super normally and defeated their old opponent. They are now just one match away from the championship. Master. Master. Don't worry, it's just a game. Let's go. It's a pity I can't fight with you, Xie Yan. To be honest, I really want to learn about your mysterious techniques. Nirvana Ruchiwen actually lost. I thought he would be in the finals this year. Today is really a day of history. Maybe even the Nirvana Ruchiwen has to be old one day. That night. Nirvana Ruchiwen seems to allow people to cultivate endlessly, making them at their peak each year. But no one knows that the price of immortality is one's own state itself. Hundred years ago, if I had not firmed my belief in becoming the strongest in this world and chose to follow the trend, I might only have been in a level now. I have a feeling that this year would be my last peak and my strength will decline in the future. I am also ready to retire after winning the championship. I can't believe that Chilean has grown beyond my imagination. He is getting closer to Changxing Bakwin and also closer to the No, I of ancient times. My body, like a weak candle, may have reached its limit. Chilean will be more advanced than me in the future. Failure today will make my life be covered with his halo. Although I can wait until the day when he naturally dies. But what's the point of being number one like that? Maybe I should make some changes. Today, Ji Hong lost to Chilean, and his spirit should now be at its lowest. He showed considerable interest in my fighting skills. Now should be the best time to learn about the Nirvana Rochiyuan and even Changsheng Bakwan skills from him. Nirvana Rochiyuan's team garrison area. Arrived. I'm sorry to disturb you late at night. Senior Ji Yi Hong, I want to talk to you about something very important. Master just went out. You guys came a step late. Time flies so fast, and the blink of an eye three years have passed. Now only an old man like me is left alive. You have come. G.E. Hong. It really is you. I had hidden my presence, still you found me so quickly. Your ability is really good. Master Chilian, don't underestimate the enemy. He has degenerated, be careful. Young people are very impatient. See clearly, I have not lost my mind and I even managed to suppress the influence of the seed of evil. Compared to this, I want to know more. How did you determine that I have the seed of the evil in me? About 20 years ago, we finally determined the identity of a guy who spread the seeds of evil. In order to catch him, our Shinwu Association spent a lot of effort. But when we finally found him, he was already dead. The seed of evil in him also disappeared. We investigated this matter for a few years later. Until a few days ago, we finally figured out that the last person who had contact with that guy was you. It turned out that way. When President Ming told me, I still didn't quite believe it because you didn't appear to be degenerate when you fought with me in the ring, but now it seems. At that time, I hadn't activated the power of the evil seed. Because losing to you makes me determined. Senior G.E. Hong, you made the wrong choice. All of you are fighters, and all of you are at the top of the S-Class, so you should be able to understand. I have been pursuing martial arts for nearly 200 years. Even though he learned hundreds of martial arts, I still couldn't create peerless martial arts like my master did, and I couldn't even recover Changxing Bakwan. How sad, and how lamentable. The history of the art of fighting goes back a long time, but the only one who broke its rules was my master. 
Although the Nirvana Rochuin can make me live long, there are various disadvantages. Since I don't have the same great ability as my master, so I need to find another way. This is why you became a fallen fighter? G.E. Hong, you have lived in vain for nearly 200 years. Even when you are old, you still can't do what you want, making your life a joke. Even if you relied on S-level power to suppress the power of the evil gods, it would not be possible to suppress it for a long time, and one day you would be completely eroded by it. One wrong choice, you have gone astray, there is no turning back. It seems that I have to show you myself, so that you can personally witness whether I will be corroded by the power of the evil god. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ji Hong's speed and strength are increasing. We must settle the battle quickly. Otherwise, if we made him completely lose his mind, the consequences will be disastrous. Evil God Enchantment Thousand Hands Nirvana Technique Sanlong B.A. Quan. My heart is beating too fast. It's not a good sign. Although it has been strengthened, but in the battle, need attention to the erosion of the seed of evil if it is fully released. No, I need to stay awake. It's that. Huh? It has come again. The mysterious S-rank fallen fighter who attacked the dock at night. G.E. Hong is escaping. Get lost. This is a dead end. What's wrong with her? She's fine even if her shoulder is broken? Die. Green Dragon Technique It feels like something isn't right. Recover. Too fast. G. E. Hong, it seems that you have long been prepared for the degeneration of today, and there is still someone to pick you up. Nonsense, I don't know her. G. E. Hong, if you still have a bit of humanity left, don't leave. Otherwise you will only go further and further down the road of inhumanity. The human will can overcome the erosion of the seed of evil, and I will prove it to you. Phew. In the end, we can't do anything. A fallen fighter in this state is really rare, and the seed of evil in her body can even affect our fighting will. No wonder the more you fight, the less vigorous you are, what a weird guy. And have you noticed that apart from self-protection, she will only attack us when we try to leave, probably because she wants to cover G.E. Hall. I have never seen a fallen fighter who can achieve such self-control. Although it was a pity that we could not kill G.E. Hong, but that's not all, keeping him in the fighting tournament was more dangerous. And about that woman, she did not look like a living person, did we really kill her? That is the energy body. If we don't use our full strength, how can we kill her? Believe me, she will appear again. I have this hunch. I just hope that she will not influence our plan. Sword Jade Pendant given by the Matriarch Sister the flowery spirit is a pure energy body that is super fast and can recover indefinitely. It really takes advantage of fighting against a fallen fighter. There is no difference between fighting with one people or fighting with three people. It is 50 to 50. Although it can continue, it's unnecessary. The following three guys are all my next opponents in the fighting conference. This kind of private battle will trigger the system. It is better to take the initiative to disperse the flowery spirit. Nirvana Technique In order not to miss the mission, I didn't allow it to use all my strength to damage these fighters, otherwise. I would love to see who is stronger in the end. The Spirit Refreshing This G.E. Hong, I don't know how far he ran, these S-Class fighters are really fast. Just now, it would have been difficult even for the flowery spirit to chase him directly. Fortunately, I had the foresight. From the very beginning, when he was surrounded by the three people, Chinger went up and left a Inchi mark on his body. The price was that Chinger was almost killed. Master, Master. Chinger has sensed the direction of that imprint. 
It's so far. It seems to have gone to the sea. The seed of evil, if neglected a little, will backfire, and nothing can stop it. Erosion power will increase exponentially when fighting with others, I had overestimated myself. Human energy is limited after all, and it is impossible to fight against it forever. Shinwu associations may be right, human beings simply cannot master the seed of evil. That may not be true. Oh, this is. Mr. G.E. Hong need not be so vigilant. I came to help you, not to harm you. You are absolutely right. Humans can indeed control the seed of evil, and I am the proof. You are also a fallen fighter. Is that true? That's right. Good, that's really good. What is your name, sir? You can call me Shinshio. The girl who helped you stop the Shinwu Association and Chi Lian is my ally it turned out that way. Me, Ji Hong shall thank you for saving my life. You are welcome. But during my hundreds of years of traveling all over the world to fight, and I have never heard of Mr. Shinshio's name. You are after all, who was this person after all, and his accomplices saved me even when they were surrounded by three people. Why do they do that for? Ah, uh, if you don't know, it's normal. Just ask, does Mr. G. E. Hong know when this big tree grew? I don't know. This whole land was just a reef 500 years ago, and a thousand years ago, it was the vast ocean. I have lived in this world for too long. All the traces I left in the world, including the people who knew me, have long since passed away with time. The long life has also caused me to lose interest in everything around me. I do not belong to this society, and how the civilized develops has nothing to do with me. But I found you by accident. Mr. G. E. Hong, you are really a rare and very talented person. If it's you, it's very likely, no, you will definitely be able to control the seed of the evil and become my companion. Today, I sincerely invite you to cooperate. I hope we can accomplish a great cause together. Mr. Shinshio is so powerful that there is still something you can't do and you want to cooperate with me? Of course, only you can do this. At about the same time I discovered Mr. G. E. Hong, I saw the various developments of human beings, especially the Changqing Bakwen. Changqing Bakwen is very suitable for blending into the existing practice method and it can make us to the next level. Mr. G. E. Hong, being an early disciple of Changqing Bakwen, you studied Changqing Bakwen back then, right? I hope you can teach me. In return, I will also give my existing skills to help you further control the seed of evil. We will learn together, and we will be each other's teachers and excel together. I'm afraid this will disappoint you. I didn't bring the secret of Changqing Bakwen, and I can't remember it after a long time without practicing. Or, let me teach you Nirvana Soft Kwan first. It can be counted as one-third of the Changqing Bakwan. I don't know if this guy is telling the truth or not, so it can't be easily handed over to him. Since he is an old monster who has lived for thousands of years, the Nirvana Soft Kwan is the most useless thing to him, so let's give him this first. Okay, so let's start now. I will first teach you the fighting art of completely controlling the seed of evil, ultimate demonic bliss technique, as a show of sincerity. Although the ultimate demonic bliss technique is not the same as this world's fighting arts, but as the main world's supreme martial arts along with G. E. Hong's qualifications, it's not that difficult to discern that this kung fu is the real. People in this world can't cultivate true chi, so I gave him a little bit of true chi from time to time, so he can appreciate the feeling of true chi flowing through the meridians. Honestly, I hope he can really learn it, although the possibility is slim. An hour later. I have taught the introductory method of ultimate demonic bliss technique, so it's time for Mr. G. E. Hong should teach me Nirvana Soft Kwan. Okay. G. E. Hong has also been a master for more than 100 years, and he is really good at teaching people. I learned Nirvana Soft Kwan quite smoothly. Two hours later, these light rays appear on the surface of the body is a sign of the introduction of Nirvana Soft Kwan. 
The requirements were met, but the system didn't have any prompts. I still need the secret medicine. You can give me the secret medicine of Nirvana Softquan, Mr. G. E. Hong. This technique that Shinshio teach me, I did feel a bit when I was practicing, but there was no physical feedback. And I feel that the erosion of the seed of evil is getting more and more intense. Thanks, I will use it now. He ate it with no hesitation. With such trust, I shouldn't doubt him, just keep practicing. Skills mastered, Nirvana Softquan. Current level, LV0. Current effect, extended life longevity, slightly improved physical body and soul. Nirvana Softquan is finally mine. Good, this time, instead of losing life expectancy, it has increased it. The conditions are insufficient to upgrade. Confirm. What the hell? Mr. G.E. Hong, Nirvana wrote you and feels very different from ordinary fighting arts. Is there any taboo in the practice of this technique? As expected of Mr. Shinshio, who has lived for thousands of years. Nirvana Rochuen is an defective version made by Master Zhu Ji. It can't increase longevity naturally like Changxing Bakwen. You must take the secret medicine every year to stabilize the meridians. That's why I would always carry the secret medicine with me. I see, the hint the system gives is really this secret medicine, the actual fact is Nirvana Rochuen is much more troublesome than other fighting techniques, so it should be fused. Now it's my turn. Why am I not feeling anything till now, why? Are you lying to me about your technique? Mr. G. E. Hong is really impatient, fighting skills are to rely on a secret medicine, I haven't given it to you yet. This guy is getting restless. No, I don't feel right. Mr. G. E. Hong, calm down. This skill requires patience. Looking at the state of Mr. G. E. Hong, I am afraid that today's cultivation should stop here. Mr. G. E. Hong, rest first. We will continue tomorrow. Um, it's almost morning. No, you can't leave. Mr. G. E. Hong, please let go of me. I have to go pick up my companion. Something is wrong, this guy. Never mind all that, you just can't leave now. You must teach me your kung fu today, right now. Boom. In the end, he couldn't suppress the seed. Teach it to me. Mr. G. E. Hong, you need to calm down now. You cannot control the seed of evil being agitated like that. This guy had such a big tone before, he actually got degenerated so quickly. No way, no way. Evil God Increase Emperor Lu Tian Zi Kung Fu Ting Guan Jinchan Boom Why not teach me? Didn't you say you'll teach me? Shinshio, are you lying to me? Shinshio, come out. I know you're not dead. You can't just hide like that. You're really not dead. Flowery sword technique continuous. Shinshio, no matter how many attacks of this level are used, it's useless. What? Flowery sword technique. The power has increased, but... Ah. Make the attack that has missed to turn back? His power is on par with Chi Lian's. I shouldn't let him escape. Shinshio, come out for me. You can't beat me with these skills. And don't think I can't do anything if you keep hiding underwater. Come out for me. Faced with the seed of evil. Ting Guan Jinchan is useless. Confronting him directly will be at a disadvantage. Nirvana technique. Flowery sword technique just can hurt him, but he is moving too fast. It's very difficult to kill him. He's more like the strongest fighter in the world at this stage. Looks like I have to use. Flowery spirit. It's you. Humph, Shinshio, you are lying to me. Your companion has already come. Evil God increases, two-headed snake magic. Evil God increases, evil God increases. Evil God increases, thousand hands wrote you in. Boom, boom. Originally, I wanted to let the spirit fight with him longer. Let's see if we can eliminate his desire to fight. 
but now, this guy seems to have become more degenerate. If this doesn't work and he continues to lose his mind, then I won't be able to get to Chongqing Bakwen. Mr. Shinshio, don't hide. You are looking for death, G.E. Hong. It's too loud here, if it continues like this. Those three S-Class warriors might come here. G.E. Hong, if you want to die, then I will fulfill you. I'll let you see the true power of the flowery spirit. Mr. G.E. Hong, Nirvana softboxing is very different from general fighting skills. Are there any taboos in practice? As expected, Mr. Shinshio, who has lived for thousands of years, discovered the mystery so quickly. Nirvana softboxing is a degraded version made by Zhu Ji. It can't increase longevity naturally like Chang Xing Bakwen. It is necessary to take secret medicine every year to stabilize the foundation. Otherwise, you think I would carry the secret medicine with me and give it to you cheaply. It turns out that the condition of the system is estimated to be the secret medicine. In this way, Nirvana Roquan is much more troublesome than other fighting techniques, so it should be used directly for fusion. You have reached your goal. It's me now. Why can't I feel the blood boil like you said? Why? Are you lying to me? Mr. G.E. Hong is really confused. Fighting skills rely on secret medicine to get started. I haven't given it to you yet. This guy is getting more and more anxious. Spray, high-latitude polluting powers can't stand even the S-Class fighters with strong physical willpower. No, I don't feel right. Mr. G.E. Hong Kong down, practicing this skill is most taboo to be impetuous. Looking at the state of Mr. G.E. Hong, I am afraid that today's cultivation will end here. Mr. Rest first, we will continue tomorrow. Hey, it's almost light up after so long tossing, so I'd better hold him steady first, go back and play the game. No, you can't go. Please let go of Mr. G.E. Hong. I have to pick up my companion. It doesn't feel right, should this guy. Don't worry about it so much, you just can't go now. You must teach me your skills completely today, right now. Sure enough, he couldn't suppress the power of the evil god. Teach me. Mr. G.E. Hong, you need to calm down your emotions now, so irritable you can't control the power of the evil god. This guy used to have such a big tone, won't he completely degenerate so quickly, right? Not to, not to. Penetrate. Why didn't you give it to me? Didn't it mean that I was just a shot at the door? Shinshio, are you lying to me? Shinshio, come out. I know you are not dead. You can't only have this ability. You really are not dead. Are you so poor? Shinshio, what use is there to attack the number of this level? What? The power has increased, but it can't hit anyone. Huh. Let the failed attack return. Good and powerful control ability. And it seems that the momentum is very small, but the destructive power is only a bit inferior to the red training. This trick can't be hardened. God show. You come out for me. You can't bother me in these two moments. And don't think that I'm going to lose everything if you keep hiding under the water. Come out to me, have a great time. Facing the power of the heretical god, Tian Guan Jin Zen is nothing but nothing. It is nothing to get close to him. Just now how Xian has not been hit to death by a punch. This is because he still has reason and begs for me, and he didn't kill him. Nirvana finger, innate Hua Jian Jian Qi could hurt him, but his movement speed was too fast. When he was prepared, it would be difficult for him to be straight or straight. It is worthy of being the world's strongest fighter at this stage. It seems that he has to hang up. It's you. Humph, Shinshio, you are lying to me. Your companion has been here long ago.
Originally, I wanted Yuan Ling to entangle him more and use the characteristics of the Buddha system to see if he could eliminate his desire to fight. As a result, this guy seems to have become more degenerate. If the intervention is invalid and he continues to lose his sanity, the Changxing BA boxing will probably not be able to fit. God, show. Gentlemen, don't hide. Are they all sane and know that they attack me over the soul? You are looking for death, G.E. Hong. If the movement is so loud, and if it continues to be entangled in this way, the three S classes may be touched. G.E. Hong, since you want to die so, then I will fulfill you. Just let you see the true power that Hua Jin Yuan Ling has never shown so far. Flowery Spirit Release, Full Attack Mode in a normal state, the spirit adopts a survival mode. As long as the opponent's attack does not destroy her at once, she is immortal. Evil God increases Chuan Wu technique. In full attack mode, it completely gives up self-healing recovery and uses all its power to attack. Ugh. Ugh. Attack intensity increased. Moreover, still some corrosive part. But the regeneration seems to disappear? Very good, that's exactly what I want. Let me eliminate you completely, and then deal with Shen Xiao. Ge Hong is originally S rank. After having the power of the seed of evil, he has the power to break through. In such a short period of time, the flowery spirit was beaten to the point of exhaustion by him. ZZ However, it is over. Give me. Give me, you are indeed very strong. Unfortunately, in the full attack mode, every attack of the spirit is the power of flowery sword. Stop. If it wasn't for the power of evil, you would have died on the spot. But the power of evil God has a limit, and it can't last forever. You are dead, G.E. Hong. From the time you choose to fight with me, your end was already predetermined. Nirvana technique, when the flowery spirit is destroyed, only half of my true chi is lost. I can recover at any time, but if you die it is completely impossible to recover. I didn't want to kill you, but you are too strong so I can't let you go on living. I can't say we had a good talk, but it would have been better if I had learned Chang Xing Bakwan from him rather than fusing those three arts. But he underestimated the influence of the seed. It is true that the world will not always give me shortcuts to go, I still have to follow the path of learning Tsong Long Bakwan for the fusion. It's already morning. I spend so much time, I shouldn't miss today's competition. Two hours later, Brother Xie Yan, where the hell did you go last night? You came back in the morning. It's just because I can't sleep, so I went for a walk, nothing much. We won't be disqualified for being late, will we? No. Let's run faster. The waiting time is 3 seconds, 2 seconds, 1 second. Tianjing BA Guan team, we arrived. Arrived. The Tianjing BA Guan team caught up in time at the last second. Today's last set of matches Tianjing BA Guan team versus Song Long Bakwan team is ready to begin. What's wrong with this guy? He arrived after we were finished fighting. What did he do last night? That's people's private affair. Why do you care about it so much? Phew. I'm getting nervous. Calm down. Our opponent today is not like the previous ones. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. It's good to have come this far. It's okay if we lose now. Hmm, of course, we must win. Humph, at first this guy praised the Shangguan sisters. Whether you can recreate the Changxing Bakwan, it depends on today. Song Long Bakwan team, fighting. Shangguan Yin is so awesome, invincible in defense. Ladies and gentlemen, after a long period of suppression, Shang Guan Yin finally launched her counterattack. Miss Yin. Shang Guan Yin has given up her forte technique, and she uses another technique instead. 
and the opponent obviously did not expect this sudden change in strategy and was hit directly. You, do you want to die with me? Let go of me. Sean Guan Yin still didn't let go of the hand until the last moment. Both players in this round fell off the stage at the same time and both lost. I don't know what I did to make you two sisters keep aiming at me to fight. Miss Yao refused to admit defeat and it took me half an hour to fight her and Miss Yin, you used this tactic so that we both lost. If I don't do this, we won't have a chance to beat you. Sister, you are too reckless. And it doesn't make sense for you to win like this, huh? In fact, I just wanted to prove myself in this battle. At least I'm still the owner of the Tianjin BA Guan, even if it's only a B rank, I have to fight hard. Mr. Xia is strong, but he cannot teach Tianjin BA Guan, the inheritance of Tianjin BA Guan still depends on us. Miss Yen is right, the reason why I took you two all the way to the final is to reestablish the name of Tianjin BA Guan. Leave the rest of the Tsam Long Bakwan team to me, huh? Chi Lian is already on the ring? Ladies and gentlemen, unexpectedly, Wang Hu, the disciple of Mr. Chi Lian, directly surrendered. And we are going to see the last match of the day, the last match of the semifinals. Tsam Long Bakwan team's Chi Lian versus Tianjin BA Guan team Xie Yan. Chi Lian and the most mysterious person of this tournament, Xie Yan. How will the two of them fight each other? Who will actually have the final showdown with the Shen Wu team? Let's wait and see. Qi Lian doesn't have the power of evil god. Although his destructive power is strong, it can't break the Tian Guan Jin Shen. The main problem is how I should win. If I use Flowery Spirit and the Flowery Sword technique, I would be eliminated from the competition. The Eight Difficulties Demon technique also has no effect. Or should I still use the same move as when I fought against Li Yu? Since Mr. Xie Yan's style is mainly defensive, then I will actively attack. Huh? Song Long. Thousands of Lights. Damn, the series of attacks just happened all in an instant. Chi Lian's speed and attack power are even more terrifying than Ji Yi Hong. These attacks were so fast that Tian Guan Jinshin could not counter him. Each time before activating the counterattack, he dodged it first and launched a second attack. All of the counterattack's power was not even hurting him at all. My true Chi hasn't been filled yet since yesterday. I had to use the Nirvana technique. If this attack lasts a little longer, maybe I won't even have time to react with the Nirvana technique. Such a terrible speed and strength, I would never have the opportunity to use the tactics used against Li Yu before. It is possible to fight with my flowery spirit, but the consequences are too great. It seems I should attack until he runs out of energy. Wow, it started, it started. Exactly the same as GE Hong's match. Awesome. That's right, it's an S-Class. Haha, -ha, I knew they would fight like this. The fight in the field seems to have stopped for a moment. Could it be that it's over? Let the host show you guys what's really going on in the field. The first thing that catches your eyes is the huge destruction in the arena. But don't worry, everyone will be fine, thanks to the protection of the shield. Then, we could clearly see that neither of them have landed. So the game still continues. Humph, Mr. Xie's all-round defensive fighting skills are really amazing. I can't break his defense. This guy's defense is probably even stronger than the Tianjin BA Guan. I've learned a lot after being able to fight Mr. Xie today. You are polite, but I was also impressed too. So, Mr. Xie, are you ready for my full power? Full power? Crap, so he was just holding back till now? He missed? Spew pew. Hey, I don't feel so good. The shield is cracked. 
This match is even more fierce than with the fight against Nirvana Roquan. Final hit. Dragon Tyrant. Hey, is this a bit too much? Something's happened. It's not good. Get ready. Understand. Brother Sia. Mr. Sia. Oh my god, two great gods are about to, whoa. Help me. Ah, what are you screaming for? Hold on tight. Fuck, the shield is broken. Damn, we were fooled. They say it was, run. We're here. Don't panic. Leave in an orderly manner. Don't stampede. This. This is the result of the fight between those two? This guy seems to be deliberate. What does he mean? Phew, it looks like I lost. The game ends here. The Tsang Long Bakwin team has lost, and now it's important to save people. Mr. Chilian, although this incident happened because of me, it's also because of your organizer's poor preparation. I will take 80% of the responsibility your organizers should take the rest. Yes, we will definitely provide a safer and more considerate environment for all fighters in the future. However, the material of the protective shield is very precious, and it will take two days to repair it completely. Well, I see. However, today only two S-levels have fought like this, but the finals would have three S-levels on the stage. If your protective shield is still of this quality after repair, I suggest evaluating the audience from the scene to avoid accidental injury. Ah, this, Mr. Chi Lian said also makes sense. And I will reflect it to the organizing committee. Anyway, it's up to you to decide. Huh? Xie Yan? Mr. Chi Lian, can we talk? Mr. Chi Lian, do you remember what the Shan Guan sisters talked to you before the tournament? You are here to learn Song Long Bakwin. Don't worry, I will tell you everything. Come with me. Three hours later, the essence of the Song Long Bakwin is about being fast, accurate, and ruthless. Mr. Xie Yan has a very good foundation, and it seems that you will soon be able to get the hang out of it. It's all thanks to you, so what to practice next? I've taught you everything. Take it. It's the secret medicine. You'll never be able to make it without this, even if you're talented. Thanks. Mr. Xie, there are some things I want to say. Please listen. Meng Zhang, the president of the Xinwu Association, is very strong. If the power you showcased in the previous fight was all you had, then there's no chance for you to win against him. Are you worried about me? It's just a rational analysis. The finals won't be easy. If you're not powerful enough, then I would suggest you to give up. Mr. Chi Lian seems to know something, right? I don't know anything. You should go now. Damn it, Chi Lian dared to look down on Master. It's natural to be underestimated. I'm very curious about the finals. Ku Ku. Ah, Mr. Xie Yin, you came at the right time. The time of the final has been decided. The ring would be ready in two days, so the finals would be held then. Until then you can explore the city and rest. We will arrange all the food, clothing, housing, and transportation during the stay. Let's go out, Brother Xie Yin. We've worked very hard these days. Let me reward you. You've just fought a strong enemy, so you should practice more and refine your skills. There is no wrong in taking rests. Then we can go and relax. I have work to do for the next two days. If I don't have Brother Xie by my side, then what's the point of resting? Mr. Xie, you've been going out somewhere every night. Can't you tell us what you're planning? It's nothing. I need to go out tonight too, but do look forward to what you're going to see tomorrow. Now you guys go and take rest. No need to worry about me. If Mr. Xie says so, sister. One hour later. Skills mastered. Tsan Long Bakwin. Current level. LV0 plus. Current effect. The body is as powerful as a blue dragon. Phew. It's done. 
The Tsam Long Bakwen burns the soul sharply to enhance the strength and speed, but if it's continued then it will greatly reduce the life of the soul. It's really more ferocious than Tianjin Bia Guan. It's time for the fusion. Actually, I too am not sure about this working out. Ji Yi Hong also said that the three arts have been degraded a lot after the split. If this doesn't work out, then finding the real one would be the only way. Now it's up to you, system. Evolution starts. Fusion of Tianjin Bia Guan, Nirvana Ro Kwan, and Song Long Bakwen will consume 300 points. Confirm. Skills mastered, Tianjin Bia Guan, Skills mastered, Nirvana Ro Kwan, Skills mastered, Song Long Bakwen. Oh, 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 it can be fused. God still loves me, come on, show me the results. Current realm, innate realm remaining source points, 2812.64049 skill mastery, Chang Xing Bakwen, disabled, current level, not getting started skill introduction. The martial art combining the three martial arts of Tianjin Bia Guan, Nirvana Ro Kwan, and San Long Bakwen can give a slight glimpse of the power of the former Chang Xing Bakwen. What? The level has gone backwards, but it's not a surprise. Upgrade, Chang Xing Bakwen, need 1500 points, please confirm or not. Yes or no, um, I worked so hard to collect these source points. Yes. Current realm, innate realm, remaining source point, 1312.64049, skill mastery, Chang Xing Bakwen, current level, not getting started, skill introduction, with the power of evidence. The heart of the great whale and the might of the blue dragon, it can greatly improve the life of the body and soul. Fifteen minutes later, Finish digesting, after being forced into infusion by the system, my current physical state has infinitely approached the threshold of Changxing Bakwen, but it seems impossible to absorb. So I still need the secret medicine? I thought that step could be bypassed be the system's fusion. Chinger, come out. Hum hum. Go around and look for the secret medicine. Do you need me to get it for you after I find it? Not necessary. If this causes the conference to go wrong, then it's not worth it. After all, I still have a task to do. God knows what will happen in the final match. I have no problem in losing, but I must get the secret medicine. Okay, Chinger is leaving. Be safe. In case the mission really fails and I figure out the location of the universal secret medicine, then I can take advantage of the chaos to grab it. With two days left, the orders I placed online should almost arrive. The next day, Brother Xie Yin, I'm back. What is the surprise? Eh? This, what is this? Is this the surprise? That's right, the surprise is, we'll make babies. Babies? Mr. Xie, what are you talking about? In order to cook this pot of things, I have been preparing the ingredients since I first came here. I tell you guys, this thing is great. Just soak in, after some time you'll give birth to a baby. Easy. Brother Xie Yin, we can't give birth to a baby like this. Why don't we go back to our room now, I'll teach you. Shut up. Alright, alright, I was just livening up the atmosphere, now I'll explain it to you guys in detail. Fighting techniques have been developed in this world for thousands of years, but except for the Changxing Bakwen and Nirvana Ro Kwan, all other fighting techniques burns the will in exchange for strengthening the body. The story of Changxing Bakwen has proved that it is extremely difficult for the body and the will to strengthen together. However, it is relatively easy to strengthen the will alone, or even use your physical body to help, it's relatively easy. According to this concept, my sword immortal sect has a nursing soul art. According to the ritual, it can make people become shaman and give birth to guardian spirits. The strength of the guardian spirit varies from person to person, but most of them cannot affect the fighter. However, they can often strengthen their will to prolong life. All these days, I have been trying to find materials for nursing soul arts, so I didn't tell you guys. Please forgive me. Shaman? Guardian spirit? Sounds interesting. So Mr. Xia wants to help us become shamans? That's right. 
It took me a lot of effort to become a shaman, not to mention by Ming Ming who helped me a lot back then. However, after the system integration and upgrade, my understanding of spiritism has become more in-depth. Many rare materials can be replaced with cheap ones, otherwise, I can't collect them in just a few days. Wow, it looks like the mung bean soup that my sister cooked for the first time. Well, well, don't look more. This ritual relies on various materials to communicate with the world and perceive spiritism. So as long as there are no mistakes in the preparation process, there will be no problems, I hope so. There is only one container, so take off your clothes and soak in it together. Take, take off clothes? Oh. Brother Sia Yin, come in with me, no kidding, come on, go in, Mr. Sia will be here. Of course, I have to do the chanting. Don't worry, I won't peek. I don't mind, if Brother Xia Yin wants to see it, Xiao Yao can show it to you freely, Xiao Yao, shut up. It looks very scary, but it's very comfortable. Well, it's warm, it's really comfortable. When you guys are ready, I start the chanting. Brother Xia Yin, you should come a little closer, I can't hear anything if you're so far away. Bai Ming Ming could only follow and apply the old formula for chanting. I don't need to be so troublesome, but to be safe, I'll still use it this way. Sister, I feel so hot. Hang in there. Ugh, not good. Sister, I'm about to. Sister, I'm dying. Xiao Yao. Me too. What the hell are they talking about? What's going on? Phew, phew. Puff. You guys are more talented than me. You have summoned a complete guardian spirit in one step. Very well, this world's human can really become a shaman. Now there is no need to worry about their short lives. Wait, why is there only one? Was only one person successful? Who owns this octopus? Xiao Yao has a feeling for it. It is probably Xiao Yao's. This? It seems to be mine. Huh? Both of them can see it? Puff. Wait, don't worry about the octopus. Get dressed quickly. Sister, these are your clothes. You took the wrong one from me. It may be because you're blood relatives. If you try to suck it back, we will know who it belongs to. Let me try. Okay. Ah. Ugh. Master, I'm back. Well, what happened to them? I'm teaching them the shaman technique. But only one guardian spirit has been born, and it seems to be owned by both of them. There is no problem with the ritual, so where is the problem? Master, I have something to report. I've been carefully searching for a whole day in the organizer's area, looking almost everywhere, but I haven't been able to find anything that resembles the secret medicine. What? It seems that you haven't got the place right, or it was carried by someone. Um, the Shin Wu Association also promised to give me the secret medicine. They are about to wake up. Ching'er, next time I summon you, turn into an owl and do not talk. Yes. My head is spinning. It hurts. Where is Mr. Xie? I'm here. You're dizzy because of excessive stimulation. Tell me, what was it like when you called back the octopus? It's like being torn in half and the head is buzzing. A burst of white light flashed, and then there was no more. It felt like a pain in the head. Mr. Xie, what is going on? I don't know. This situation is too rare. You guys try again to see if you can release the guardian spirit. Oh no, it hurts. Try it. This problem needs to be solved. It's out. Okay, now, Xiao Yao, do not move. Miss Yen, try to suck it back. Yes. Half of the soul body had disappeared, but it wasn't completely gone either. Okay, next, Miss Yen won't move, it's Xiao Yao's turn. Same like before. Then, you guys will try again together. After a while, hmm, after experimentation, this is a normal guardian spirit when you both retract and release together. Puff. Could it be because the two of them soaked in the same pot? By the way, Brother Xie Yin, you also have a guardian spirit, 
right? Let us see it. Want to see? Okay, this is Chinger. Cuckoo. So cute, it's an owl. Cuckoo. Ha ha, I didn't expect Brother Xiaoyan's guardian spirit to be like this. So chubby. Cuckoo. Hurt. It is so ferocious. Xiao Yao, I have to squeeze the head of a ferocious bird like you. Cuckoo. Mr. Xie, I can feel that my eyes and ears have become more sensitive, and my spirit has also been significantly improved. This ritual is really useful. Thank you for everything you have done for us. No, it's nothing. But anyway, Mr. Xia worked so much effort for our sisters, and it really worked, so I still have to thank you. Thank you, for being there for us, for encouraging us, for being there for us, Mr. Xia. She is really a good person. Ching er wants to sing a song of gratitude for her. Don't issue a good guy card to your master, Ching er. Such a sentimental scene, but unfortunately without the original point. In addition to possessing a guardian spirit, they're also shamans. They don't have to worry about their lifespan during cultivation. This is my gift to them before I leave this world. We originally planned to face the Tsang Long Bakwen team in the finals, but we didn't expect Mr. Chi Lian to lose in the end. Sister Hong, there's nothing to worry about Xie Yan. Why would you say so? You asked the president. The president can handle him. President? From the few battles that Xie Yan has participated in recently, it can be seen that he is more defensive and he has a skill set that enables him to move in the air. He was simply born to fight. But his weaknesses are also very obvious, lack of explosive power, lack of offensive means, and the most important one, his movement speed and reaction speed are much inferior to normal S-class fighters. Based on a comprehensive judgment on the ring, it would be hard for Lao Yan, but it's not impossible. Well, President, why do you take me as an example? To win he needs to master the most powerful transmission techniques. Letting the power penetrate his defensive layer and hit his internal organs so that it can really hurt him. This technique can only be mastered by me and Mr. G. E. Hong of Nirvana Ro Kwan. Mr. Chi Lian knows only a little, but to deal with him is very tiring, needs a lot of testing and analysis. That's a waste of energy. That's why he purposely lost to Xie Yan. Speaking of G. E. Hong, we haven't found any trace since he ran away that day. And that very strong and weird female fallen fighter you mentioned, is she really dead? These two people, whether dead or alive, have nothing to do with us for the time being. We have more important things. Anyway, on the day of the final, C.A.N., let me handle him. You guys continue to keep in touch with the government of the Republic of Fang Dao, and be sure not to make any omissions. I understand. Don't worry, President. Finals Day there are no one in the roads, wasn't it supposed to be a lot busier than usual? Because of the destructive power of the last match between Mr. Xie Yan and Mr. Qi Lian, the government of the Fang Dao Republic warned us. Today, ordinary people are not allowed to access the venue of the finals, and even the surrounding people have been evaluated. All audiences can only watch the live broadcast on TV. Really, it will be a great loss for the tickets, right? This is what Chi Lian is waiting for, damn, it's getting more and more like something is about to happen. In order to bring the most exciting, most comfortable, and especially the safest viewing experience to all audiences, this expenditure does not matter at all. Now, we have arrived at the site of the renovated final. Xiao Yao, are you nervous? No, I feel so excited now. It's the finals. We are not dreaming. We really have reached the finals. Also, I'm sorry Mr. Xie, the A-level fighter of the Shen Wu team is also very unusual. This time Xiao Yao and I may not be able to handle her. You will probably have to deal with the entire Shen Wu team on your own. It's okay. It's just an A-level. Not much difference. Just do what you can and don't leave any regrets. Tianjing Batuan team is on the field. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the finals of the 11th Global Fighting Conference. Due to various safety reasons in this year's finals, all on-site regular tickets were canceled, so audience must watch the live broadcast on TV. 
But don't worry, we will use ultra high speed cameras for live broadcast in today's finals. We will never let the audience miss every wonderful moment. Huh, why isn't there anyone else in the stands except Mr. Chi Lian? Ordinary people can't watch the match, but even the fighters too are restricted. I heard from my colleague that the government of the Fang Dao Republic invited many fighters to the capital last night for the celebration of the founding of the country. I didn't think there would be so many people missed. This was probably planned. So let's see the state of the two sides in the final. First, the Shin Wu team adopted the strategy of using the captain to fight first. And it is not easy to say that the overall strength of the Tianjing BA Guan team is weak. Looking at the Tianjing BA Guan team, they naturally will choose to put the S-ranked Xie Yin on the field. Look at his relaxed, carefree look. Does it seem he has a sure free way to deal with two S-ranks? Let's wait and see. Come on. Brother Xie Yin, come on. I didn't expect the battle with Chairman Ming would come so soon. Why not let the White Tiger and I fight each other first? We also have our own arrangements. Today's finals, no matter which side wins, it will definitely be recorded in the annals of history. But in the end, who will be the champion this year? The answer to the question will be announced soon. Which side will attack first in the first game of the finals? Let's. Hold on, I have something to say. Xie Yin moved. He's the one who attacked first. We can see. Huh? Uh, Xie Yin, can't you talk after you finish the game? No, to be honest, in fact, I am more concerned about the championship reward than the title. This year's tournament is full of problems, and I'm really worried that your organizers won't be able to provide the prizes at the end. I don't care about the other things, but the omnipotent secret medicine, I am bound to get it. Before the official final, please show me see the secret medicine. The contestant Xie Yin, the reward will be awarded at the awards ceremony only after all competitions have been played. You can finish the contest first. No, I need to see the omnipotent secret medicine first. You, this, I, okay, let me talk to my superiors. Well, please as soon as possible and don't waste time. President Meng, please wait until I finish checking the omnipotent secret medicine, and then we will fight. Be my guest. Um, in the beginning, someone vowed to give me what I wanted, but in the end, I still had to work hard, ha. Huh? Ha, huh, what a shame. Contestant Xie Yin, your request has been approved. You can start the game immediately after watching it. Don't worry, I, Xie Yin won't let people get upset. Mr. Xie Yin, this is the omnipotent secret medicine you want to check. The President Meng is very knowledgeable, could you help me see? Would you mind helping me? There is a medicinal material in the omnipotent secret medicine, which is only available in Shangshu group. Its characteristic is to absorb light when exposed to oxygen. It reflects the colorful light effect and is usually stored with nitrogen. The nitrogen will become heavier under the influence of the medicinal materials and precipitate snow flocculent substances. At present, only this medicine will have this effect with nitrogen. According to my preliminary analysis, this is really the omnipotent secret medicine. If you need more accurate analysis, then you have to go for lab test. It takes 20 minutes for the lab report to come in, and if Mr. Xia wants an on-site test, we need two hours for the test. No need. I believe in President Ming's. Very good. The existence of the omnipotent secret medicine has been confirmed. Even if I lose this battle, at least this thing can't escape. Don't sleep anymore. See the bunny girl holding the potion below. Let's keep an eye on that bottle. Puff. Mr. Xia really. The host must be secretly cursing him. Brother Xie Yin did the right thing. He must confirm the prize before he hits. Then, the game officially begins. Mr. Xie, I never expected you to last till the finals. Oh, President Meng is surprised, huh? Not that surprised. Although the two heirs of the Tianjing B.A. Guan are not that great, with a leader like you, Mr. Xie, it's no surprise for them to be able to make it to the finals. With the limited information about you, we can still analyze your general strength. 
in the S levels, Mr. Xie is among the top. I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate. If it weren't for this guy's true strength. So, you two players, let's get started. When the winner is decided, you guys can continue talking. Ha ha, I get it. So, Mr. Xie, I surrender. Huh. Surrender. Unlike Mr. Xie, the Shin Wu Association didn't want to compete for the championship. The Global Fighting Conference is the most prestigious event in the fighting world, attracting a large number of outstanding fighters every year. In fact, we actually want to attract the attention of fighters to the series of mutual exchange activities of the Shin Wu Association. So far, the effect is good. I originally thought of surrendering when I met the S level. Unexpectedly, we played until the final, haha. -ha. Contestant Meng Zhang. Mr. Xia wants secret medicine. We want to exchange and help each other succeed. Both sides benefit. The final match between us will definitely take a long time. The damage caused will be no less than the battle with Qi Lian. This is pretty much contrary to our ideas. We have reached the finals. We have proved our strength and conviction. And cemented our reputation. After weighing, we finally decided. The Shen Wu team has surrendered. Victory belongs to the Tianjing BA Guan team. A. A. Are you sure? That's right. Why would we lie to you? This, this exactly. What? Okay, okay, I understand. Shen Wu team all surrendered, and after analysis our judges have decided the winner and loser of the match. The victory belongs to the Tianjing BA Guan team. The champion of the 11th Global Fighting Conference belongs to Tianjing BA Guan team. After the host announced the champion is the Tianjing BA Guan team, the system had no response. Why has the task not been completed? Shrink. Is it for the award ceremony to end? Please wait a moment, everyone from Tianjing BA Guan team and Shen Wu team. We will officially hold the award ceremony for the championship team in 10 minutes. Champion? Really? We are the champions? Shrink, champion. Sister, we won. We are the champions. Mr. Xia Yan, what the hell is going on? Did you and the Shen Wu Association, since they chose to hand over the championship, let's accept it generously. But, I don't know what the hell they are up to. Are you ready? Anytime. You guys. Mr. Xia Yan, surrendering in the finals? You guys really know how to play. Master Qi Lian, didn't you told something about the finals not being peaceful? I think it is very peaceful, like there was no fight at all. Mr. Xia Yan, we really had no intention to win. Do you think I would believe that shit? This isn't the first day we've met. Every secret should be revealed. Our Shen Wu Association has no secrets. This guy. Forget it. Mr. Xia is right. This is not the first day we got to know each other. But I assure you our plans have nothing to do with you, Mr. Xia Yan. Not related to me? Ah, uh, I don't care what you want to do, but it's best not to hinder the award ceremony or prevent me from getting the prize. Ha ha, Mr. Xia Yan, don't worry, we won't interfere. But after you get the prize, we also hope that Mr. Xia Yan wouldn't interfere us, otherwise, don't worry, I know how to return the favor, you guys made it easy for me to get the prize, as long as you don't, huh? Boom boom. This is, the award ceremony has begun. The fighting conference was held 11 times. In addition to the first event, the remaining 10 events are organized by the Shengshir group. Champions Tsang Long Bakwen member, Mr. Qi Lian and his teammates from the first to the ninth column, the names of the members of the winning team from the second to the tenth year has been written. Soon, the names of the members of the Tianjing BA Guan team will be left on the 10th column for future generations to remember. This is the honor of the champions. Simply award the prizes. Why organize such a big show? Mr. Xia Yan, the award ceremony is about to begin. Please come with me.
I'm going, wait until I receive the award. Ladies and gentlemen, the much-awaited champion, and a very impressive champion, at this time, has been determined. Xie Yin, Shan Guan Yin, and Shan Guan Yao, the Tianjing BA Guan team composed of three of them brought us countless exciting matches in this year's tournament. Now, this moment is the moment to engrave their names in history. All of you from the team, please light the sacred fire bowl in front of you with the torch in your hands. Xiao Yao, let's do it together. Champion, Tianjing BA Guan team member, Xie Yin, Shan Guan Yin, Shan Guan Yao. As the flame is lit, the names of the three members of the Tianjing BA Guan team will be forever engraved from today. History will remember this day forever. It's finally here. It turns out that lighting the torch is considered the completion of the mission. Task 2. Lead the descendant of Tianjing B.A. Guan, Shan Guan Yin, and Shan Guan Yao to participate in the Global Fighting Conference and win the championship. Complete Task 2. Gain 5,000 source points. There are 5,000 source points. I fought hard for so many days. It is not in vain. Next is the secret medicine. I have seen myself lighting the torch in my dreams countless times. I never thought it would this day. The prize for the winner of the tournament, which is exclusively sponsored by the Shangshir Group, is one of the fighter's most precious universal secret medicine, three $100 million worth diamond black cards, and a certificate of ownership of the Dedong Island No.774-2315. Next, please ask our lovely Miss Rabbit to present the prizes to the winners. Next. The 5D camera developed by Shangshir Group will take photos of the winners. Their faces will always be engraved in the exhibition images of the Global Fighting Conference for future generations to pay their respects. I announced that the Global Fighting Conference has successfully ended. It's over. I told you that the Tianjing BA Guan team will definitely win the championship. Ha! The Xinwu team surrendered without a fight at all. It was boring. All right, you two, what do you want to eat today? Dad, why is there no signal? It should be a problem of broadcasting, right? Forget that. Come and help me. What's the matter? The signal is broken? Oh my God. What's going on? What's happening? An accident? Ah, thanks for saving me. It's strange. How did it fail suddenly? Go. Find a corner to hide. But the closing ceremony was interrupted unexpectedly and... Forget it. Just run away quickly. Oh, shit. President? Um... At the same time, the territorial waters of the Republic of Fang Dao report EMP jamming signals were launched from the fighting conference venue. All electronic equipment within a radius of 10 kilometers were jammed and destroyed. At the same time, all the residents and tourists on the island had been evaluated, and the fleet we just passed was the last ship. Our first phase of the task has been completed. Next is the Shinwu Association and Tsong Long Bakwen. General Lancaster, what happened at the tournament that piqued your country's interests? Simply put, the Global Fighting Conference is a conspiracy that has lasted for a hundred years. A ritual to revive the Shingui Ji Quan. The Shangshu group suddenly rose up. Many countries had their eyes on them. Eventually, we found out that they really had some secret plans. First of all, since the second tournament, the venues were often prone to seismic activity, but there were hardly any earthquakes in the area during the tournament. After this was first discovered by geologists in the Yin Kingdom, the Yin Kingdom felt something odd and tried contacting other countries for cooperation. Of course, due to political conflicts, the cooperation did not went smoothly, and in the end, nothing worked out. A year ago, Shenwu President Meng Zhang met with our head of the state and conveyed the last words of Gaia, the founder of the Shenwu Association, who had just passed away. Shengshu Group has been laying out the resurrection ceremony of the Shengue Ji Quan since the Second Fighting Congress, and the 11th will be the final one. When that happens, the Shengue Ji Quan will be resurrected. In addition, Gaia also predicted the location of the 11th Congress. 
Gaia, who comes from a small country, claims to be the son of the universe because of his arrogance. He is disliked by many large countries, so no one believed those words. Until, half a year ago, the location for the 11th conference predicted by Gaia turned out to be right. In the end, we started believing Gaia. After that, we invited the Shenwu Association to intervene and eventually developed a plan. The conference would proceed normally and we would annihilate the Shengue Ji Quan when it resurrects at its weakest stage. Now that we know their plans, why wait for it to resurrect? We want to completely annihilate the fallen fighters. After the first tournament, the Shengue Ji Quan though dead did not die entirely. Instead, it turned into a certain state as the seed of evil and spread everywhere. In this state, the Shengue Ji Quan is impossible to be killed. It can only be killed post-resurrection. That's the reason why we never prevented the Shengxia group from holding the conference. Are you sure you will be able to completely kill it without making it return to that state? You know, it was Chang Xingbaquan, Zhu Ji, who killed it back then. We are not the same as the previous generation. We have a plan already, you will see. To hand it over to the Shen Wu Association and Song Long Baquan? And why haven't I been notified of such an important thing? I'm also an S rank, I could contribute to destroying the Shen Gui Ji Quan. It was necessary for making the plan go more smoothly. Moreover, this plan does not require much combat power. As for us, we are just the last insurance for this plan. I hope our help won't be needed for the plan. Otherwise, the Earth may fall into a long nuclear winter. You guys did this? What the hell is going on? More than a hundred years ago, Chang Xing Bakwin and Shen Gui Ji Quan initiated the first global fighting conference. In the end, the Shen Gui Ji Quan exposed their fallen nature and were wiped out by the Chang Xing Bakwin. The world only knows one part of this story, but not the other. As the first fallen person in the world, he actually did not die, but turned into some kind of a widespread existence. In this state, he can't actively interfere in the world, but he can still grow his forces through the seed of evil and use various secret techniques to get resurrected. In the end, he will offer the whole world to please the supreme being he serves, that is, the evil god. The fate of this world is yet to be known. Show up now, Shengue Ji Quan. Ah ha ha, Sister Hong, be careful. I'm fine. Be careful. Shall y'all hurry up? Wow. Damn, there's actually a final boss. Interesting I was discovered. Since you guys want to see me, I will play with you guys. Can't move. Damn. I can't move with just his aura. Is this guy that strong? Provoking such a strong boss, is Shen Wu Association really looking for death? My lord, I am your faithful slave. This what is it? What is that thing? This. This is my great lord, the supreme being who can dominate everything. This terrifying coercion that makes people unable to move? It's not the power of the Shengue Ji Quan. It comes from the master of the Shengue Ji Quan, the evil god who tried to erode the planet's boundaries, descending and devouring everything. It is the greatest enemy of man and this planet. What we see is just a minuscule projection of him. If we really let him come down, the earth will be completely finished. Is this the end of the world, evil god? Mission loading, mission three, prevent the evil god from coming. After the task is completed, source points can be obtained. If the task fails, no new tasks will be released in the current world. What the actual flick is wrong with you, system? We'd love to play a game with you. A really interesting game. A game that locks your arms and legs. What's going on? How can they suddenly move? Three of you, lend me your spirit. In the name of Gaia, I declare this place to be the battlefield between the people of Earth and the followers of the evil god. The field opening. What's that? Master will be fine, right? 
Why can't I get in? I should find a way. Cuckoo. Ah. I forgot about you. Master had told me to take care of you. I cannot leave you alone. The master is very powerful. He should be fine. The pressure is gone. Huh, I can move? Is it related to that field? It doesn't matter. It's just fine that the evil god's suppression is gone. It would be better for me to take the medicine first. Not only he blocked the contact with my lord, but also he suppressed me. Is it the power of Gaia? You guys stopped me from communicating with my lord and even oppressed me. That was your plan? We started out with our plan a month ago. We kept letting players leave early, just so in the end you couldn't absorb enough negative emotions. In particular, the final, which should have been highly anticipated, had actually ended without any fight and more importantly, without any audience. Although you are now resurrected, you are in a really weak state and your ability to summon the evil god has been greatly weakened. Senyu Zhu Ji did not foresee the troubles that would arise in the future. But we have studied the power of the evil gods thoroughly, so today, we will completely destroy you. Ah, so that's how it is. But you really think you can kill me? Don't forget that the Shingue Ji Quan used to be a human, or I should call you by that name, Chiu Sheng. The Shingue Ji Quan seems to be suppressed. Why don't the masters of the Shen Wu Association and Mr. Qi Lian go up and beat him? Don't talk nonsense. Perhaps they too are in a state of mutual restraint right now. The Shen Gui Ji Quan cannot move, and it seems that Mr. Qi Lian cannot move easily either. Both sides can't move, isn't this deadlocked? Could it be that they are counting on me? With the character of President Meng, it is unlikely that he would put his last hope on me, right? The little tricks that you guys have done are really good. I can only resurrect in a weak state, and I won't be able to awaken my lord for a while after resurrection. As a result, I'm really vulnerable, but you guys seem to have mistaken one thing. Although I had no body, I was improving my cultivation all these years. Even Ju Ji, in his peak state a hundred years ago, wouldn't be able to withstand my moves. Even if I stay still and let you attack, you still can't hit me, let alone, can you still move? Or, what do you expect Mr. Champion, oh, what was his name, Xie Yan? Ju Ji couldn't withstand his moves? Is this guy that powerful? Or is it just a bluff? Damn, why is the effect of the secret medicine so slow, and Changsheng Bakwen has not started yet? If I can't practice the Changsheng Bakwen and face opponents like Shengue Ji Quan, maybe I will be the weakest here. If I didn't really feel that my physique was slowly changing, I would almost think I was taking no medicine at all. We never rely on outsiders, and we never underestimated you, Chiu Sheng. In this space, the power of Gaia is the real master. The regulations pronounced by Gaia will be transformed into an unchanging law. Pretty much like domain expansion in JJK. Rule 1. The fight within this space is solely on martial arts, fighting rules, 3 versus 3. 3 from the people's side, conditions are met. 1 from the evil god believers, the conditions do not match. 1 is divided into 3. Rule 2. Winner will live, the loser will die. Something tells me if I lose this fight, I would die. Is this the rule of Gaia? The last resistance of this planet? Can Gaia's power can also be played like this? You guys really worked hard, and you did a good job. But, huh, the seed of the evil god is moving? Does this guy want to absorb the power of the seed of evil god to break through the blockade of Gaia's power? I won't let you so easily. Press. Rule 3. Ah. Uh, Miss Yan. Xiao Yao. What's going on? Why are they reacting? Do they also have the seed within them? Not good. I cannot suppress its power. Hong Jun, hang in there. Increase the supply of willpower and help Hong Jun withstand it. I didn't expect that there would be such a strong power for me to take in. 
the Lord must have sensed my piety and prepared this for me. Obviously, I was fully prepared, but in the end, I couldn't do anything what's with those two girls. Strangely, the Nirvana technique is useless. I don't believe they will be degenerate fighters, but this strong power of the evil god and the two of them, if I hadn't put the Shan Quan sisters in the final to complete the quest, then this would have never happened, oh. If that's the case then it's all my fault. This feeling is so annoying. Forget it. Since I made the mistake, I must find a way to make up for it. I have a question. As long as we kill Shen Gui Ji Quan, the evil god won't descend and all this will end, right? That's right, but... That's great. This may get a little awkward, but trust me, I'm on the same side as you guys. Come forth, flowery spirit. This? It's you. This pink fighter? Are you the one who attacked at the dock and let G.E. Hong escape, C.A. Yan? Stop talking nonsense. Can't you tell if I am an enemy or a friend? Strange power, obviously not given by my lord, but it appears similar. What a disobedient. The spirit was wiped out in an instant? Damn, G.E. Hong was nothing compared to him. My flowery spirit will be okay, but it's simply no match for her. Come again. Fortunately, he is still blocked by the Shen Wu Association. There is no way to make a move. I need to keep a distance. I can't beat him even if I use all of my source points. Hey, do you guys have any other way? Are you guys just standing there to stop him like that? We can only supply the power of will now. If Hong Jun collapses, this whole space will collapse. Without Gaia's power, Chiu Sheng will no longer be restrained. We can't do anything about him. It doesn't make sense to attack Chiu Sheng now. You can't beat him in this state. You have to find a way to temporarily cut off his connection with the evil god and create a gap for Hong Jun to read the rules. I understand. I will create this opportunity for you guys. What the hell is this? Pestering. Useless. No matter how many times try. Give me. Burst. Right now. Ah. In the name of Gaia, I declare. Rule 3, home court advantage, 3 hits 1. The battlefield is completed, and the rules are confirmed. The ultimate fight officially begins. We'll take care of the rest, so get some rest, Hong Jun okay. Hong Jun, if we can kill Chiu Xing this time, it will be good. If we mess up, you and Xie Yan have to run, let him escort you, he is really trustworthy. President, what do you mean, aren't we about to succeed? Former old President Gaia's layout was aimed at when Chiu Xing's condition was at its weakest. But just now, he absorbed the power in the Shan Guan sisters' bodies. Now the power of the evil god in Chiu Xing has become very strong, exceeding the prophecy of the old president. We have no way to retreat. We can only fight to the end. Phew, why are they all gone? The president said that you are trustworthy. I think so too. Otherwise, you wouldn't have had to help us just now. The problem now lies with them. It is too risky to keep them. Sorry. Calm down, the two sisters of the Shangguan family have never shown any signs of degeneration. You must know that even Ji Yi Hong was quickly conquered by the power of the evil god. They have a B level and a C level, how could they be more powerful than Ji Yi Hong? There must be something hidden in them that we don't know. Mr. Xie, it is you who should calm down. Perhaps there is something hidden that we do not know but it is a fact that Chiu Sheng has recovered his strength because of them. President is fighting with Chiu Sheng. The consequences are unimaginable. I must extinguish this threat. Mr. Xie, don't be blinded by your personal feelings and let the whole world die with you. No need to put a bad label on me. I don't know the real situation, but it doesn't look like you do either. I have lived with the Shan Guan sisters for so long. If they really had a problem, I would have found out. There is something strange about this issue. It is impossible to make a hasty decision. If they are really Chiu Xing's reserve food, what if you kill them and cause Chiu Xing to gain more evil god power? 
Have you thought about this problem? This. Killing them may make Chiu Xing stronger. Rather than take a risk and take a gamble, it is better to put them aside and do something more meaningful. For example, tell me about this series of things. What are the rules? Where did Qi Lian and the Xingue Ji Quan go? I can't do anything right now anyway, so I'll talk to you. One minute later. So they were sent into an independent space by Gaia's power for the final duel. If Gaia's power is that strong, just kill Chiu Sheng and you're done. Why fight? Can't do it. The power of Gaia is the power generated by the will of all fighters of the past and present resonating with the planet. Although this power is powerful, it must operate in accordance with the rules of fighting games. My grandfather, President Gaia, was the first discoverer of this power. He spent his life studying this power and eventually incorporated part of his will into it, obtaining the ability to leverage it. At the same time, his spirit and power influence each other, and he learns a series of secrets of Chiu Sheng. After that, he changed the policy of the Shen Wu Association and began to claim himself as the son of the universe. After my grandfather died, only a direct descendant can borrow the power of Gaia, so the power was passed on to me. In order to deal with the mighty Chiu Sheng, we have formulated three rules. Rule one is to create a fighting match where outsiders cannot interfere. With three people on our side and three people on the enemy's side. Chiu Sheng is alone, so the rule will force his power to be divided according to the ratio of 2 to 3 to 5. Rule two, Chiu Sheng is no longer immortal. If we win the fight, he will be completely wiped out, like that we will never repeat the mistakes like the predecessor Zhu Ji of Changsheng Bakwen did. As for Rule 3, it creates a completely enclosed and isolated fighting space. Allowing three people to fight one gives the president a chance for a fair competition. Splitting an opponent into three parts isn't fair too. There was no other way, Chiu Sheng is too strong. Over the past 100 years, he has absorbed too much power and has far surpassed the Changsheng Bakwen of those times. If we don't fight like this, we have no chance of winning. And now, Chiu Sheng absorbed the power of the evil gods from the body of the Shangguan sisters. We totally have no idea on what kind of realm he has been raised to. I am now worried about the president and others. Can I join the fight? What do you think about trying four against one? The rules allow at most three people on one side to play, otherwise we would have called all the trusted S-class fighters from around the world. So, that means there's nothing I can do now, right? That's right. Okay, then I'll do something else, you don't mind. Please feel free. The Sham Guan sisters fainted, I will let my companion stay with you. To monitor me? But I don't mind it. What does Mr. Xia want to do? Do you even ask that? Of course I'm sharpening my weapons before entering battle. This, the image of the will of the faceless giant, this is. Changsheng Bakwen? Current source point, 6112.64049, Master Skills, Changsheng Bakwen, Current Level LV0+, plus. Skill Introduction, The Method of Proving the Tao with Strength. The body is like the surging of a giant whale, and the strength is like the blue dragon. After cultivation, it can greatly increase the life of the body and soul. Finally, I'm getting started. The effective time of this omnipotent secret medicine is really too long. I guessed right, no prize. System, level me up. So big, the reaction is so strong. Phew, this is the feeling of leveling up the body in one breath. My muscles were sore and up as if I had been working out for months in one breath. The point of consumption compared to the flowery spirit is the same. It seems that these two techniques are the same level. The uh, Changsheng Bakwen is truly powerful. Current source point, 3912.64049. Master skills, Changsheng Bakwen. Current level, LV4+. If we take the flowery spirit as a landmark, so the remaining points can be used to increase one level. Up to level 5, although not comparable to the founder Zhu Ji, but not much worse, right? Continue, huh? Upgrade Changsheng Bakwen up to LV5 to link this planet's wool and accept the test of Gaia's power. Do you agree? 
If you refuse the link, you will receive the normal version of Changsheng Bakwen LV5. If you agree to the link and you pass the test, you will receive the Zhuji version of Changsheng Bakwen LV5. If you failed in the test, you will receive the normal version of Changsheng Bakwen LV5. Yes or no? Changsheng Bakwen is also divided into a regular version and a Zhuji version? You can only get the Zhuji version after passing the test. So, the Zhuji version is obviously stronger? Choose the strongest one. I don't need to play now anyway, yes. Give me the link. Linking to Planet of Will. The first duel. Meng Zhang, Yan Ba Wang, and Qi Lian are ready. Qiu Sheng. 20% power state. All are ready. My power? You guys. Not good. Song Long John Chan. I'm fighting with three guys. Who is the attacker and where? I cannot find the source of the attack. Where am I? What? Damn it! My hands, my legs. Now, you guys can't get close to me anymore. Is that so? Blue Dragon Flow, for Underworlds through. Its power is very large, but it can't even break through the first layer of my protective shield. Huh? The protective layer is not broken at all. How could I get hit? Cough, cough. Chiu Xing loses. The first match finished. Rebuilding the field. Phew, we won. I feel that the current state of Chiu Xing is not bad. Perhaps his full state isn't as strong as we thought. It's only the first round. Don't take it lightly. This is just the beginning. Chiu Sheng had not yet adapted to getting his power divided, that's why we prevailed. Also Chiu Sheng's state is much stronger than we assumed now, I'm afraid the next game he will adapt, we also used too much power in the first match. If 20% of his strength can only be regarded as the top S grade fighter, then he can definitely be regarded as an S plus grade with 30% of his strength in the second game, which is not inferior to Xingyu Zhu Ji. The real battle has just begun now. Be prepared. Second match. Meng Zhang, Yin Ba Wang, and Qi Lian are already in place. Very well, you guys have succeeded in arousing my anger. The second match. Qiu Sheng with 30% power state is ready. They won the first game, but Mr. Xie Yan. His cultivation is about to succeed, the will is linked with the world's will, and he accepted the baptism by Gaia's power, could it be, he is really cultivating Changxing Bakwen? This pink woman is also quite interesting. Look like a human, but a closer look will reveal that it is some kind of energy form. From the beginning to the end, it emits a comforting, peaceful aura, which is completely opposite to the power of the evil god. By her influence, I feel very comfortable. Xie Yan, he is so mysterious. That is. A whale? What's this about? It's kind of interesting. Although I can't see it, the whale and dragon just now gave me a sense of vividness. If I'm not mistaken, these magical creatures, no, it should be said that they are projections of will. All are the incarnations of S-Class fighters. This is. Ah. Song Long Qian Shan, this move, even the order has not changed. Needless to say, his chain attacks consist of thousands of combos in the blink of an eye. Once it hits me, no countermeasures would be effective. So I have no choice but to resist each and every punch. But what if this move is used against you? Shengue Quan Shan. 
White Tiger, Fierce Claws. It was too violent. Without Sam Long Chien Shan's intervention, you couldn't hit me. B.A. Huang. This gesture. This posture. It's that move. Blue Dragon Flow, Terrible Lightning Phase. This mysterious attack. No doubt, that is the legendary. Shingue Ji Quan. Xie Yin at this moment. Um. Zhu Ji has been practicing various fighting techniques. And the longer you watch him fight, the more you can feel that he is slowly integrating what he has learned in his life. It's like evolving a new fighting technique. With the foundation of a hundred fighting skills, together with the day-to-day -day practice and refinement, keeping the essence and polishing it day by day, this is how Chang Xing Bakwin came to being. He is indeed worthy of being the only S-plus level fighter. This kind of talent even in the main world will certainly be superior. However, this test is to let me slowly digest all Zhu Ji's fighting experience here. Isn't this a gift? What's with the test? I always feel that something is wrong. I just don't know the situation outside. Can President Meng and the others win the fight? According to common sense, no matter how long you spend in this space, it seems to be just a matter of seconds outside. They probably should have finished the first match. Gui Chia Shen Duan Blue Dragon Flow for Underworlds. This move again. It's useless. It's a pity that I noticed it after the first hit. Just adjust the power fluctuations and it can dissipate most of your strength. Sure enough, he has started to adjust himself to his power. This guy reacts too quickly. Our moves are difficult to hurt him. This cannot continue. Chiu Shang, you finally let me catch a chance. Humph. Brother Yan. B.A. Huang. It's quick, it's timely, but you have a fatal weakness. It's so predictable. Really? Tiger Claws, Cough, Chairman. Chi Lian, I have restrained him, hurry. Brother Yan. Let go, let me go. Hurry up, Cough. Meng Zhang, hurry up. Don't let Yan B.A. Huang's sacrifice be in vain. Go to. Hell. Have tried my best. Can only get to here. Sorry, President. I'm still not strong enough. I will leave the rest to you guys. I can't believe it. Chiu Sheng. Loses. The second matchup is over and the stage is being reconstructed. We won the second round, but the price was too big. In this case, B.A. Huang cannot be saved. We should not let his sacrifice go in vain. Therefore, you are right. For the survival of humanity, personal safety should be least important to us. If it was me, I would have made the same choice as B.A. Huang. I just regret that we can't be together in triumph. It is my responsibility. I should have talked with Xie Yin to make things clearer, to not let the Shang Guan sisters know, maybe I shouldn't have called Xie Yin in the first place. We cannot blame Xie Yin and the Shang Guan sisters, it's all God's will. In the third game, we have to face the 50% state of Chiu Sheng. From the previous two fights, it is clear that this state of Chiu Sheng is at least comparable to the peak level of Senior Zhu Ji. In my current state, I'm afraid it's just a burden to go to the third game. Forget it, it's useless to say these now. The third game will be left to me, I can still fight. I will try my best. Anyway, the worst outcome is that everyone is reunited in the other world. No, if you can't get the best results, then the previous efforts and sacrifices are really in vain. I will fight alongside you in a different manner. Different manner? Gaia's power? Yes. 
Old President Gaio once instructed me to understand and control this power, but this thing is too advanced. I don't know if that is the power of Gaia, but I can do a little, use my strength and will, so that your strength can become as strong as Senior's Juji in a short period of time. My wound. This strength. There seems to be a warm current running continuously in the body. All the internal injuries and fatigue are wiped out. It feels like a breakthrough. This is the power of belief. After defeating G.E. Hong, you are the strongest fighter in the world. I trust you. I trust in your strength. President Meng, it seems very successful. What's wrong with you? Your body. It's dissipating? This cannot be helped. Becoming an S-plus fighter is too difficult. How could it be possible without paying a price? I had no choice. It costs the life of an S-rank fighter. It's the only way to defeat Chiu Shang. Only you can do that, Master Chi Lian, President Meng. I understand what you mean. You're really putting all the burden on me. Ha ha, we have no other choice, right? Only I know this, and you happen to be the strongest among us. Greater the possibility, greater the responsibility. Behind us are responsibilities that cannot be retreated, to die for righteousness and fearlessness. I'm counting on you. The third match begins. Chiu Sheng. With 50% strength status. Ready. I finally understand the difference between the regular version of Chang Xing Bakwen and the Zhu Ji version of Chang Xing Bakwen. The ultimate strength of this world's fighters lies in faith. To unconditionally believe in your own strength, if you feel that you are not strong enough, look for a support. It may be an animal, it may be a plant, or even a gun. With the blessing of faith, a person can complete the transformation from a martial artist to a grand master and even surpass human beings. Chang Xing Bakwen is a being that has existed for thousands of years and has been at the top of the food chain for a long time, overriding all living things and tools, humans themselves. Although this principle is simple, people are well aware of their own weaknesses, and subconsciously they will deny this idea, therefore, no one has been able to practice it for so many years. I could learn it thanks to the system. However, I learned the normal version of Chang Xing Bakwen LV5, which lacks the true belief of fighting. It could only project the fuzzy outlines, lacking the most important core. This test of the will allowed me to learn all Zhu Ji's memory about fighting. I finally realized the ultimate secret of Chang Xing Bakwen LV5, that is. I am the only one. I do not ask for anything. The projection of the will is not any other existence, but myself. This is the essence of Zhu Ji's version of Chang Xing Bakwen. Thank you, senior. It's not really a martial arts school. My current strength should be the same as Zhu Ji in his peak times, but just sitting and visualizing these exercises of projection of will have such benefits. It's too simple. Is this really a test? However, the benefits obtained are real, but I always have a bad feeling. Catch. What's this? Phew, finally came back. I didn't know how long it had passed when I was practicing. What was the situation like? Current source point, 912.64049. Skills mastered, Chang Xing Bakwen. Current level, LV5. Sorry, your source point is not enough to upgrade. Confirm. Sure enough, the remaining source points were not enough to advance to the next level of Chang Xing Bakwen. It seems that if you want to reach LV6, you can only wait until you finish the mission or go back to the main world. It's easy, my physical strength may even have surpassed the innate realm. Miss Zhang? What's wrong with her? It looks like she is. Xia Yan? What's the matter? Dot Xiao Yan and the president died. Only Master Qi Lian. What? Shen Wu Association's two S ranks are dead? Is Chiu Xing that strong? Wasn't his power divided into three parts? Only one person left? Ants are ants after all. The difference is whether they wait to die ignorantly or die soberly. Even if you win two games, in the face of absolute strength, you can't do anything at all. 
focusing all my spirit, all my attention, on one point. As long as I could beat him. What's going on? The spirit of this guy is different, almost close to me now. What? How is this possible? I can't believe he broke my arm in the first hit. Song Long breaks the sky. As expected, it's not that easy. But now I do have the power to fight with Chiu Sheng. As long range attacks continue to cause damage to him, he will definitely be killed. Kneel down and ask me to spare you. A bad guy like you doesn't deserve to live in this world. Why don't you die? Why don't you die? Useless, useless. Lose, lose. Go die, go die. What the hell? You dare to break my perfect body and made me look ugly in front of the Lord. Chiu Sheng. How is this possible? Very well. I won't let you die too quickly. Recover. He actually recovered? How could this be? The rules are not working? Impossible. The rules were set by Gaia's will, and if it's not working then I would have been the first to suffer the backlash. The rules are absolutely fine. And also, where are these sounds coming from? He he. He he. He he. He he. Ha ha, is that all you can do? Damn it, it's so noisy. Master Chiu Sheng is invincible. Master Chiu Sheng will rip out your heart and give it to the Lord. Give up. You are the abandoned. You are the abandoned in this abandoned land. You're dead. You're really dead. Don't try anymore. I can do this. There can be no problems with the rules. He must have been affected. If I can cause enough damage to him in an instant, it should be able to kill him. Maybe I have to think of something else. What? You did have the strength comparable to Senior Zhu Ji's peak times. But still, I can feel your power slowly falling. This power is only temporary. I have surpassed Zhu Ji thousands of times. Even if Zhu Ji reincarnated, he would not be my opponent. Not to mention, you are only an S plus level. If this goes on like this, it would be difficult for me to kill him. I can't waste Chairman Meng's gift. I have to pretend showing my weakness and then look for opportunities. Did I let you die? Like I said, I won't let you die too easily. It's not good. Chi Lian is seriously injured. He doesn't have the strength to resist. If this goes on, he will die. Mr. Xie Yin, you. Take the Shang Guan sisters and leave here. I will use my last strength to open the way for you to leave. The faster you go, the better. It's because if we fail to defeat him, then the vast majority of the world's nuclear bombs will immediately be aimed at this place. This is mankind's last trump card, far beyond the S-plus level of power, it is theoretically possible to blow away Chiu Sheng's body. But because of the lack of Gaia's power, we do not know if Chiu Sheng will come back again. We have no choice, even if they have to pay an extremely heavy price, it only temporarily eliminates Chiu Sheng. In addition, I have one last request. You have fully obtained the inheritance of Chang Xing Bakwin, right? I hope you can continue this heritage and someday in the future to train more talents to face the resurgence of Chiu Sheng. Of course, Chiu Sheng at that time will also become stronger and beyond our imagination. But you can also get the support of all forces in the world. Is this really good? Indeed. I could leave right now. I could even just leave this world. But. The rules of the competition were already determined the moment they were read out. It cannot be changed. In other words, the people who can go on the field have also been decided. Mr. Xie Yin cannot go up to help even if you want to. The strength demonstrated by Chi Lian just now is no longer below me, who has mastered Zhu Ji's version of Chang Xing Bakwin LV5, although it's temporary. But as long as I can't break this immortal state of Chiu Sheng, even if I lose all of the source points, I won't be able to kill him. 
Unfortunately, the system does not determine the Changsheng Bakwen as a defensive skill, otherwise it should not be difficult to defeat Chiu Sheng. Hum? Why is it glowing? Wait, why do you have a Gaia Fragment? Gaia Fragment? You mean this thing? The Gaia Fragment is the manifestation of Gaia's will. It's used to temporarily rely on Gaia's willpower. The rules can only be accomplished through the transmission of the Gaia Fragment. But it's a huge burden on the human body. I can use it because my grandfather helped me, or I would have died immediately. If have one more piece, I should be able to send you in and replace Master Chi Lian. By this way. No. You can't do anything if you go in. Instead of doing this, it is better to run for your life. I'm very curious. Grandpa spent countless efforts to obtain so many fragments. Where did you get it? A gift from someone else. I see. I finally know what's going on. No wonder I feel that the test is too simple. No wonder this thing fall into my hands at the last minute. As a collection of the minds of all fighters in this world, this power of Gaia deliberately helped me, allowing me to easily obtain the Zhu Jai version of Changsheng Bakwen for saving this world. Should I say that they are generous? If I leave, I don't have to bear any responsibility. Chiu Sheng will be wiped out by the nuclear bomb anyway. However, the explosion caused by the nuclear bomb will do terrible damage to the Earth's ecosystem, but even in the face of a nuclear winter, humans can continue to reproduce under the leadership of fighters. So my best option is to not mess with Chiu Sheng and leave. But, ha, ha, if it weren't for the mission to bring the Shan Guan sisters to the finals, the Shen Wu Association's plan would have had no loopholes. I must. If the plan of the Shen Wu Association was going smooth, the revival of Chiu Xing would have stopped, and B.A. Huang and President Meng, since it's my fault, I can't leave it like this. Miss Hong Jun, take me inside. Mr. Xie Yan? You, are you serious? Ha, huh, of course. Hurry up, if you wait more, Mr. Chi Lian might not be able to stand it anymore. Although I know very well that the possibility of winning is not high, but I still want to go. Use all my strength, all the source points, and fight against Chiu Sheng. My purpose in doing these things is just to ask for no regrets. By the way, Miss Hong Jun Chang Sheng Bakwen is too difficult to practice. I used a trick to be able to have it. You don't have to expect anyone to be able to do it. But I do have a special method to extend the life of a fighter. Honestly, I'm not sure about this battle. If there is no way back, I will give you a clear signal. After you receive the signal, you and Chi Lian will take Shan Guan sisters and leave. Don't worry about me. The Shan Guan sisters are very important, and the two of them know about the life-extending methods. If I fail, to some extent, they are the last hope of the world, so we must protect them. Just in case, I mean just in case, if the Shan Guan sisters have a problem, I also recorded the full process in Shan Guan Yao's personal memo, I believe that you can get it pretty easily. That's all I want to explain. In short, you must find a way to survive. Okay, I promise you. This guy's strength is slipping too fast, is he acting it out? Are you finding a chance to attack me? It's useless. Whether you are pretending or not, you have no chance. Boom. Boom. Gaia's power? What's going on? Mr. Chi Lian is tired. I will replace him. Chiu Sheng, let's fight. Cough, cough. What's happening? I have to fight. I was fighting with Chiu Sheng. Master Chi Lian, are you okay? I used Gaia's power to replace you with Mr. Xie Yin. I didn't have a serious problem. Originally, I thought, forget it. Xie Yin? Although he is very strong, he can't be the opponent of Chiu Sheng. It's not what you think. Because he has just practiced a legendary fighting technique. Chang Sheng Bia Quan. In the end, they really had to let you replace Chi Lian. But that's okay, you can keep playing with me.
dissipate. Even if it's only Qiu Xing with 50% strength, he can completely nullify my strongest true qi attack. The power of the evil god is too great. Now it's my turn. Well, let's see. Flowery spirit has never been all my strength. Chang Sheng, Sam Long Qian Shan, Chang Sheng, breaking through the waves. Whoosh, whoosh. What's going on? What the hell is going on with this guy? Spew Pew. Why is his physical strength so strong? I've never fought using my pure physical strength. This feeling is really amazing. My body has never been so sensitive. I'm able to respond really fast. Every time I breathe, every time my heart beats, it resonates in my body. As the movement intensifies step by step, this resonance becomes stronger. I feel that my body in the past was like a machine that only obeyed commands. Until now, I have truly mastered the control of the body. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Bang, bang. In theory, no matter how powerful Chiu Sheng is, he should be seriously injured after these attacks. But, what? His powers were really good. It looks so cool, but it's no use. Master Chiu Sheng is invincible. I can now understand why they sent you here. When did you learn Chang Xing Bakwen? I also want to ask you when did you learn this recovery trick? Don't you want to say it? Although Chang Xing Bakwen is the most powerful fighting technique on earth today, it does not mean that I will be afraid of it. Now, I am serious. Hmm. Chang Xing Bakwen, is it just that? Fight face to face is lose, this time, it's big trouble. Your strength is just like Zhu Ji's peak period, but it's a pity. I have long surpassed Zhu Ji, I can easily beat Zhu Ji with just half of my power. No matter how powerful you are, you have no chance against Master Chiu Sheng. Xie Yin, you don't know what you're doing. Xie Yin, you will have only one ending. Death. Restore. Die. Lose. Die. Kill him. After he got serious, his strength improved a bit, but still he shouldn't be able to kill me. After upgrading Chang Xing Bakwen to LV5, I'm much more resistant than before, thanks to that I can save source points used by the Nirvana technique. With Chiu Sheng's recovery being too fast, and with the source points I have left, I'm sure I can't exhaust him. I'm facing a guy like him for the first time. Dai, Xie Yan. You have already lost. Surrender. Then die. Dai. Xie Yan. Die. You have already lost. Surrender quick. And these things keep buzzing in my ears. Your efforts are meaningless. Noisy. Shut up. Bunch of idiots. C.A.N., I'm here. The body destroys the wisdom, the dragon whale, Chang Xing B.A. Guan. Take this. Zhu Ji used this move to kill me back then. But it's a pity. Still useless, no matter what damage you do to me, it's meaningless. Recover. Huh? His recovery speed seems to have slowed down? No, that attack I used earlier was more fierce than this, but Chiu Xing recovered almost immediately then. After fighting for this long, Chiu Xing's recovery is only weak at this point. Something has worked on him. What could it be? Recover. All attacks in front of the Shingue Ji Quan are useless. You are dead. Still trying to fight? 
Don't you feel like a clown? Recover, and they were revived too. What are they? These things should be part of his powers, otherwise the power of Gaia would have resisted it. Is it used to contaminate the opponent's spirit? Not true. The boxer's unyielding will won't be affected at all. Chiu Sheng made these things to not just incite his opponent. There must be a reason. Wait, making something out of the sidelines on purpose. I've seen this trick before. This is the same as Chen Huang Ru's withdrawal. Obviously, the secret of Chiu Sheng's recovery lies in these guys. Oh? You finally realized it. But that still doesn't change anything. These people are also immortal beings, unless you can recover. Huh. You can actually clone your body. Come forth, flowery spirit. Xia Yin is angry. Ah. Xia Yin, you have no martial arts ethics. You killed the audience. If you divide your power into two, it will only make you weak. Really? I'm sorry, I don't even need to use my power to beat you. Chang Xing Lu, Xing Long Quan. What happened? Although the fallen spirits can recover, this pink energy body is wiping them really fast. If it suppresses all of them, my resiliency will be completely extinguished. I need to solve her first. Using your body to block? When he faced with this move before, he had dodged, but now he's choosing to resist to protect that girl. That's stupid. Chiu Sheng, your opponent, here. Consumed 100 source points for the current consumption of the Nirvana technique. You're afraid, huh? Face me now, bitch. Scared? How would I be afraid of a mortal like you? It's ridiculous. Shen Gui Qian Shan. I only need to move my fingers to destroy you. Really? Consumes 150 points to replace the current consumption of Nirvana technique, no matter what you do. It can't be destroyed. Consumes 50 points to replace the current consumption of Nirvana Technique. Consumes 50 points to replace the current consumption of Nirvana Technique. The third time. The fourth time. Immortality. Infinite rebirth. These are not your privileges alone. Hmm. How can a mere mortal skill be compared to the power given to me by my lord? Under the eye of my lord, all your efforts are meaningless. Someone like a loyal dog to his master having a sense of superiority? Today, I will let you know the power of mankind. There is a price to pay for babbling. The situation is very serious. I don't have many source points left. Since my physical body is stronger than before, Nirvana technique would require more source points. Current source points... 512.64049 with the remaining source points nirvana technique can only be used four times after that it would consume the life of the soul i underestimated the difficulty of those it really does not stop spawning the flowery spirit cannot destroy them all chiu sheng's recovery is still valid but it has been greatly weakened to kill chiu sheng i have to kill him instantly but this is simply impossible to do. This fight is not good for me. I must take the risk to try my previous guesses. Chiu Sheng, your strength is slightly stronger than mine, but in terms of resilience you're not. Unless you can instantly beat me to fly ash, you can't do anything to me. What's going on? This guy can really recover infinitely, with no trade-offs. No. The limits of human strength, I knew all this for hundred years. How is it that Xie Yin, as a human, is able to achieve unconventional things? Consumes 80 points to replace the current consumption of Nirvana technique. How can he recover infinitely? Chiu Sheng, you are too useless. You cannot kill me. Shen Zeng Gui Yin, I don't know if this can anger this guy. For the great evil god to raising a loser like you. If it was me, I could have been far more stronger than you now. Damn. 
Damn. This guy. No, I can't let the Lord down. I will remove all obstacles for the Supreme Master. How can I be belittled by a mere mortal? Since these fallen people can no longer help me, then turn them into power for me. Shenzhen Guiyan has worked. Indeed, although this guy has a strong will, but he is still very easy to get confused when it comes to issues involving evil gods. If he wanted to kill me quickly and completely, he would have to increase his power even further. However, strength cannot be born naturally, so his choice is easy to guess, and this is also my chance to kill him completely. It's time to use the technique that Zhu Ji has never used in his life. Urge all the muscles in the body to reach their most active state, including the mood. Rapid blood circulation, extremely developed muscles, pushed my strength to an unprecedented level. Doing so will cause my body to start breaking down before I can attack. Therefore, the accuracy of the attack will be greatly reduced, pretty much same as suicide. But now, it's the best opportunity. Gather all the power and turn it into the strongest blow. With this punch, your body will be completely destroyed, and you will never live again. No. It's not enough. Full attack mode. Ah. Oh. Consumes 350 points to replace the current consumption of Nirvana Technique near Nirvana Technique. It's so dangerous, the injury is so serious that you can't even use the Nirvana Technique. This time I was really close to death than the previous fight with 11 San Wei. Phew, the limbs are intact, all the organs are intact, fortunately. The Nirvana technique at this stage is not yet able to grow an organ out of nothing for me. Thanks to the Changsheng Bakwan resisting the beating, the body was largely intact after such a severe injury, otherwise I would have really been disabled this time. Huh, where is this? It doesn't seem to be the arena, right? Where is Sheng? I tried everything but couldn't kill him, I was completely helpless. The third showdown ended with the guard of the planet's faction winning and the evil god's believers losing. Chiu Sheng died completely. Phew. After he absorbed those ghost things back, although his strength became stronger, his resilience was completely gone, and he was finally killed by me. This world. I don't owe you guys anything anymore. Mr. Xie Yin, can you hear me? Don't close your eyes. I am not physically damaged, but I'm very tired. But the two of them, why are they still not awake? The condition of the two of them was really strange. Their pulses were very stable, not like they have suffered an injury. The reason why they still haven't woken up is mostly because of the spirit. The power of evil God? Damn it. I can't move. Stop the evil god from coming, you can get a source point reward for completing the task. If the mission fails, no new missions will be released in the current world. Mission failed. The mission failed? How can this be? Chiu Sheng is dead, who else can summon the evil god? They are being sucked up. Can't move, Miss Yan. Xiao Yao. Ah, Miss Zhang. Are you okay? Miss Zhang. Gaia's power is gone, evil god. It is coming, stop him, please. No, a nuclear bomb has absolutely no effect on him.
I, I feel it. The power of Gaia has been completely engulfed. This earth is over, mankind. It is over. Chi Lian? Miss Zhang? They are sucked away too? What is happening? I had a hard time getting Chiu killed. Why did it still fail? Master. The Shang Guan sisters. What is going on with them? I will not go back to the main world till I know what is going on. Goo, my lord, Ching'er, ugh. Can't hold on anymore. Ching, er. No, it is time to withdraw. I should return to the main world. P.U.G. Huh? P.U.G.? That is. The guardian spirit of the Shang Guan sisters? If it is still here, maybe they are still alive. C.A.N. The pressure seems to disappear. Brother C.A.N. Xiao Yao? Brother C.A.N. Look at how miserable you are now, so cute. Xiao Yao, you, how did you become like this? Oh my, are you surprised? He, Xiao Yao knows what Brother C.A.N. wants to ask. The food on this planet has been eaten. Xiao Yao doesn't want to stay here anymore. Brother Xia Yin, come with me. I will tell you something. Brother Xia Yin, we are in outer space. Don't worry. Xiao Yao's power protects Brother Xia Yin. I won't let Brother Xia feel uncomfortable. You just said that the food on this planet has been eaten. What do you mean? The wool of this whole planet has been eaten up. All the living beings that depend on this planet's wool were eaten up. There is nothing left. Brother Xia Yin is the last one what? Brother Xia Yin really pity the weak creatures, so cute. Obviously you do not belong to this planet, or even a person in this world she knows where I come from. But Xiao Yao doesn't care about these. No matter what Brother Xia is, Xiao Yao still likes you. Moreover, Xiao Yao also thanked Brother Xia Yin. If it were not for Brother Xia Yin to teach us the Yanling technique, we could not have successfully occupied the initiative of this body. What do you mean? Does it mean that you are the master of evil god now? He, yes, if Brother Xia Yin is disobedient, I will eat you after eating you, we will become one, and we will never be separated again. Hey, I would think that's true if you say so. She seems to be serious. Do you want to leave this world? Yes, no. What a rude thing. Transformation Xiao Yao was just joking. Brother Xia don't take it for real. Miss Yan? You are fine too. That's great. Shang Wan Yao felt more paranoid. It felt like she was not joking at all. I will tell you what you want to know. After all, we are the most important family members to you. I will give you whatever you want. Damn, she doesn't seem to be normal too. Should I just run? But, can you tell me? What's going on with you and Xiao Yao right now? Forget it, I still want to figure it out before running. As you know, Mr. Xia, as human beings, we have disappeared. Now in front of you is our soul, Ava, who is called the evil god by the humans of this planet. Of course, we still hope that you can call us by the two names Shan Guan Yin and Shan Guan Yao. Ava? This is the name we gave ourselves. After all, original self-awareness has been completely wiped out in the battle. And all the things I did before, choosing Chiu Xing for sowing the seeds, invading the planet's wool, breaking the barrier. These are just instinctive eating behaviors. You said that you were once humans. You guys and Ava were not even related, so why did you become like this? If that idiot Chiu Sheng had not made a move against us, we could have lived our lives in peace. And Ava wouldn't have woken up in 50 years. It was because of him that made things the way they are now. But from another perspective, not all he did was bad. 
Without him, we would not be able to become a whole as we are now. Mr. Sierre, you should also join us quickly. Once you join us, you will understand everything. Wait, wait. I have one more question. Damn, it's simply impossible to escape. Mr. Sierre, you can ask. Just now Xiaoyao said that all the creatures on the earth have been eaten, is this, really? Mr. Sierre really makes me unable to understand. You clearly do not belong to this world, but you have too much sympathy for these weak creatures. We had so many beautiful and unforgettable memories on it, those memories suddenly. So, I can transfer this planet to Ava's kingdom, and it can flourish and live on as it always has. What do you mean? The planet, didn't she just crush it? How can it be alive? Mr. Sierra, have a look and find out. Where is this? This is Ava's realm. It can form a world of its own. Well, it's exactly the same as the planet, right? This is, President Meng became a police officer. Chi Lian became a construction worker. That Li Yu is having a concert. Huh? Xiao Yao, why are you here? Where's your sister? Weren't they already eaten by you? Is this an illusion? I'm here, Mr. Siat. In Ava's realm, Xiao Yao and I can appear at the same time. Bringing the dead back to life is a small thing that can be done by us. In the past, I never did this kind of thing, but I made an exception for Brother Xia Yin. It's amazing to come back from the dead. But do they remember that their original planet was destroyed? Ha ha, of course not. They are just ants, living stupidly. Knowing too much will make them crazy, it's not necessary. They don't occupy much space and we do not need to care much. As long as Brother Xia Yin is happy. It turned out to be so. In other words, the lives of all creatures on this planet are still controlled by the two of you, right? That's right. Okay. At least everyone is alive. I have one last question that you have not answered. What is the relationship between you sisters and the evil god? After this, I must go. These two sisters are getting more and more evil. This, I can't explain it in a few words. It is better for you to feel it yourself. Mr. Sierra. This is. Ava's memory? It seems that it was seriously injured by some unknown existence at high latitudes, and the subject's consciousness completely collapsed, leaving only its instincts to flow into this universe. Every time it arrives at a suitable civilized planet, it will fall into a deep sleep on the planet boundary like that its powers will slowly penetrate into the planet boundary, infecting the strongest of the living and transforming them into evil god believers, thereby eroding the will of the entire planet. When the creatures on this planet are eroded by the power of the evil god to a certain extent, some of the fragments of its consciousness will randomly enter the souls of the newborns on the planet and replaces them. These indigenous creatures, whose souls were replaced by fragments of his consciousness, do not possess the memories, but simply collect what the host sees and hear, and they will automatically return to its consciousness after death. In other words, it's a way to resolve loneliness. The power of the evil gods and the Shanxiu ancestors' bodies are low but pure. There are no means to strip it away under normal circumstances. When Chiu Sheng absorbed the power of the Shan Quan sisters, he felt the offense of the powerful force, he felt the threat, so he rose up early. He had lost himself and cannot judge the source of this power. From this point on, my mission 3 was doomed to failure. His reaction time is too slow compared to us. When he woke up and sucked the Shan Quan sisters away, he also brought the apocalypse. It seems that it was because I brought the sisters to participate in the global fighting conference, which caused this tragedy. In fact, the planet was already doomed after the evil god appeared. Even if I knew that in advance and successfully prevent the evil god from descending, it would only delay the end of the world a little. He will still wake up and destroy the world in the end. The fragments of its consciousness, after entering the subject's body, will be sealed up and it won't have any impact on the subject's consciousness. Until.
The Appearance of the Guardian Spirit The Guardian Spirit was born from the souls of the Shan Guan sisters, and the souls of the sisters themselves were developed from the fragments of consciousness of the evil god. Therefore, the Guardian Spirit has returned as a part of the evil god. And because of the special nature of the guardian spirit, bypassing all the defense mechanisms in the body of the evil god, directly back to the main consciousness. Even if the opponent had collapsed. In the end, the guardian spirit helped the Shang Guan sisters in regaining consciousness and occupied the body of this evil god. So it seems that my appearance barely can also be considered in disguise to save the Shan Guan sisters and the world. Although, they are not them anymore. I figured it out. It's really hard work for you guys. Warning, the host is being assimilated by the evil gods of high latitudes and will lose all system functions after being assimilated. Consuming source points to resist assimilation. Current remaining source points, 8. Current remaining source points, 7. He, finally, Brother Xie Yan and Xiao Yao are finally going to be a family. Brother Xie Yan's body, Brother Xie Yan's lips. Brother Xie Yan's soul, Brother Xie Yan's dream, everything is Xiao Yao's. Xiao Yao, stop it. Huh? What's the matter, sister? Don't you love Brother Xie Yan anymore? You don't want Brother Xie to be with us? Yes, I want it. But you are too sloppy. Accepting Mr. Xie is the most important thing in our life, and I can't let you do it like this. We are going to have a grand wedding with Mr. Xie. When the wedding is over, we can do whatever we want. I'm sure we will be very happy in the future. They really love me so much, they're even condensing pink energy. I don't know if it can be used to refine a second flowery spirit. It's been a long time since I felt this warm and secure. I always felt that if there was such a life going on, it would be great. Anyway, I can also treat this world as the main world, right? Their current power is so terrifying. I am afraid that the immortals at the great heaven realm in the main world can't compare. Xiao Yao, stop it. Huh? What are they arguing about? Huh? Warning. The host is being assimilated by the evil gods of high latitudes and will lose all system functions after being assimilated. The source point is being consumed to resist assimilation. Current remaining source point, I what? Am I being assimilated? When did it start? Damn, I spaced out for a while, but fortunately the system helped me resist. Only one source point left. It's too dangerous I can't be with the two for another second. Do you want to leave this world? Yes, no, I must go back. Goodbye. Your feelings are too strong to bear. Brother Xie Yin? Where are you? Come out quickly, why can't I feel your presence? Could it be, you? Did you flee? Sure enough, Mr. Xie Yin is not from this world. I can feel it. That direction, although it's far away. But you're definitely there. Brother Xie Yan. I will not let you escape. Are you stupid? That world is not a place we can go to now. Don't you feel how many powerful beings are there? Each one of them is more than enough to make us instinctively tremble. We must hunt more and be eligible to enter that world. What's the hurry? As long as we know the coordinates, we can go there at any time. Just eat some more. Anyway, there is food everywhere. Ha ha. Don't worry, Mr. Siak can't escape our palms. Phew, finally I am saved and do not need to stay in that world. Get source point fear, 0 0.00001, Luo Tian Bao O, oh, this familiar sound, the source points that constantly feeds into the system can heal my wounded body and mind. Get source points point a more, 0 0.00001, Lu San Yang gets source points point hate, 0 0.00001, Hua Lang gets source points point respect, 0 0.00001, Ji Chang Wu, 
Ji Chang Wu actually respects me so much, a hundred thousand miles away, and he is still providing me with source points. His System Level, LV3, Name, Xie Yan Realm, First Heavenly Level Master Skills, See More Source Points Point, 8.00012. Damn, I lost all my source points without getting anything in return. I cannot watch it anymore. Move to the next screen. Very good. Even if I do not use my innate true chi, just by relying on Changxing Ba Quan, I feel that there will not be any problem in reaching the second heavenly level. Moreover, I can feel that my present lifespan increases by at least another 300 years. In the end, I gained something nice. Chinger, come out to celebrate. Chinger, we are safe now. Ku, it hurts. I am sorry, a master. Chinger did not know what happened before I was blown up. There is no need to blame yourself. I will heal you immediately. Ugh. Not enough source points. Cannot replace the consumption of Nirvana technique. Do you want to use lifespan? Yes. No. Okay. I have a really long lifespan now. I can use a little to heal Chinger. The master is so kind. Hiss. I almost forgot this troublesome thing. The pink energy that came from the evil god's body returned to the main world with me. If I used this to refine a flowery spirit, it would be awesome. There is indeed a reaction. I feel that it can be refined. Damn, this thing cannot be refined. This pink energy came from the Shan Quan sisters. It is infected with the spirit of the evil god. Master, what is wrong with you? What is this? It is a long story. This is the pink energy of the evil god, evil god. In short, a lot of things happened, the Shan Guan sisters. Not listening at all, ah, uh, this, the master is too powerful. So strong. Huh? Chinger, do you hear what I said? Holy shit. Chinger, what are you doing? Holy shit. Chinger, what are you doing? You swallowed it? Vomit it out. Chinger? Master Xie Yin, my heart hurts so much. Please rub it for me. Are you Chinger now? Or something else? Master, I am Chinger. You're Chinger, your guardian spirit. You can make me anything you want. Everything I have belongs to you. Huh. Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing? Ah, uh, master. What is wrong with you? You dare to swallow the pink energy of the evil god. I almost go raped by you, goo goo. Let me see. Can I take it out? Ugh. I cannot vomit, master. What should I do? I will not be reincarnated, right? No, don't think nonsense. Huh? Master, what is the matter? I feel that after you swallow the pink energy, it is gradually being refined. Although the speed is slow as a turtle, this seems to be a good thing. I really can refine that into a flower spirit. What? Did I help the master? It seems to be so now. But it still needs to be observed for a period of time. You should rest first. I will think about how to do it next. Yes, master. After being knocked out by me, Chinger returned to being normal. Is it because she is a ghost, not like a human being bound by any will? Human leather pocket. Then if I give the seed of the evil god to Chinger. Forget it, it is crazy. Human skin mask, books, the seed of the evil god, sister's jade pendant, the ring less monk's token. Well, none of them are missing. After fighting with Chiu Sheng, it has not been broken. It is worthy of being a bag that can resist the flowery spirit. Moreover, this bag looks small. It can hold a lot of things. It has no thickness at all from the outside, and I do not know what structure it is. But after putting these items, it is almost full, huh? The notification has a source points point in the near distance. This person near me? Does this person seem to be my admirer? Interesting. Get source points or more, 0.01, Li Fong Jiao. Xie Yin, are you there? 
Huh, someone is calling me? My name is indeed Sierra. I wonder what you want to see me about. Strange, who would know that I live here? And calling me Sierra? So you do not remember me anymore? Well, did I meet with someone before entering that world? Sierra, what is wrong with your voice? Is it the cold? Let me see. Wait, it is not very convenient for me now. Damn, I am not wearing any clothes. Don't open the door. I said don't open the door. What are you doing? Who are you? Why do you ask who I am? You just called me Sierra just now. Did you forget that quickly? How dare you break into my room in the middle of the night and pretend to be Sierra? And dressed up so shamelessly. Perverted thief. What? Die. What a fierce slash. Could it be that this big sister is also an innate master? Love, 0.01, Li Fong Jiao. Anger, 0.01, Li Fong Jiao. What is with this love and hate source point? Does her brain have a problem? A perverted thief, who are you? That defensive method he used just now seems to be an improved version of Tian Guan Shou. Is Xie Yin the best at? You have been calling me a perverted thief all this time. Don't think I will not hit you back because you are a woman. What the hell? Isn't this my room? Perverted thief, don't talk nonsense. How dare you hide in my room and impersonate Xie Yin? You deserve to die. What is the matter? A fire. Who set off a firecracker in the middle of the night? No, it is not a firecracker. Damn it, martial arts people are fighting again. It is amazing, martial arts people can fly. He is fighting out in the cold without any clothes. Oh, that man seems to be very handsome. Let's fight. Let's fight. Although they helped me gain a wave of source points, these people really wanted us to fight. Don't get distracted. What a trick is this? It actually penetrated the defensive layer of Tian Guan Shen Shen. He can use his pure flesh to break my illusion split knife? You can't beat me, let's stop it here. As expected of the main world, innate masters cannot be underestimated. If I had not practiced the Changxing B.A. Quan, I would have died right now. Perverted thief, don't think you will win. This woman is simply crazy, so I will use Changxing B.A. Quan to fight here to see how strong she is. Mother, save me. It is burning, run quickly. Run quickly. How could it be possible? My knife, even a normal first and eight realm master using all his might should not break it, but it was smashed by his punch. And he did not use any true chi. Who is he? Foam girl. I am sorry, I am late, foam girl. Are you okay? Cien. Wait, wait for me, Cien. I hate that perverted thief. Don't worry, I will seek justice for you. What are you doing? No, why are you here? No, you are. Shut up, thief. Dare to shout in front of my husband? Hump. What? Chin XINCI? Cough. Fong Yang, you are injured. You should rest. Leave everything to me. Xie Yan. I am the young master Xie Yan of the M.O. Ching sect. Who are you? Sound long time no see. The why are you in such bad shape even after you reach the innate level? Transmit, is it possible that your true nature has been discovered by the other beauty who helped you to advance to the innate realm? Transmit the sound, what are you talking about? Transmit the what the sound hell are you doing? Why are you impersonating me? If you do not speak then do not blame me. Transmit, do not worry thee about it. Leave sound everything to me and pretend you cannot fight back and then retreat. Transmit the sound, there is a mountain 30 mile west of here, we will meet there in an hour. Transmit the sound, what the hell, why are you pushing me away in such a hurry? Oh, 
You have good skills. You can block my blow. Transmit the sound. It is just a trivial matter. It has nothing to do with you. So hurry up, get out of here. Ding. Hey, you are using my name, and you are saying that it has nothing to do with me? You told me to leave, but I will not go. So you are the young Master Xie Yin? My goodness, Mr. Xie, as rumored, is dashingly handsome. I have been admiring Mr. Xie for a long time, but I did not expect to see you in person today. Back then, the flowery spirit technique of Sect Master Wen disappeared. The young Master Xie appeared. Young Master Xia can compete on an equal footing with Sect Master Wen Yu. Moreover, he even managed to achieve great success. I dare to ask anyone in the world who can be as amazing as Master Xia with extraordinary beauty. I want to spit on your perverted face. You must have been deliberately waiting for Xia Yan, and you were almost naked. Who knows what you were thinking? Disgusting, pervert. Xia Yan, you stay away from him. Feng Yang, do not get angry. What are you talking about? The promotion went wrong and crazy. Transmit the sound. I do not like men. I just like beautiful girls like, you are hurting me. I am obviously doing my duty to cover you. Transmit the sound. The beautiful one you has a deep love affair with the young Master Xie. I have to say here. Mr. Xie, your wife is awesome. If I were you, I would not have left here alone. Transmit the sound. Is there anyone in the world who spoils his wife like me? C.A.N., do you want to die? Ah, uh, I was just joking. You are so hot-tempered. Mouthful of pickled pus. Shut up. Then stand still. X.I.N.C.I. will teach you a lesson. Damn it. It directly melted the Tian Guan Jin Shen. What a tough head. Ah, it hurts. What kind of martial arts is this? Changsheng B.A. Quan is a highly defensive martial art, but it still lacks the ability to resist this type of martial art. Damn, it really hurts. It just hurts. With this move, a person in a normal innate realm would probably be in coma. This guy, I really underestimated him. And now it is my turn. I am here, so powerful, he actually used his force to step on the air and rush here. Not good. Xie Yin, I will help you. Thank you, but... Husband, go to the Hulu Mountain and wait for me. I will be there soon after I finish the things here. For the sake of your soft words, I will listen to you. I promise I will explain everything. Who made your husband me gentle and considerate? The young master is really true to his name, I lose. Goodbye. Stop. Now that he has conceded defeat, let him go. C.A.N., are you injured? Is it serious? Let me see. It is fine. Oh. Could it be that C.A.N. is actually a lady? This. Be quiet. Unexpectedly, C.A.N. was hiding such an amazing secret. Don't worry, even if you are a woman, I still love you. What nonsense are you talking about? I just have big pectoral muscles. How could I be a woman? If it was not for that guy who ripped my clothes. That couple is a perfect match. Made for each other. Then go to the young master and ask if he can pay to rebuild the inn. This, this. It is not good. Hulu Mountain, an hour later. You are here, but this is not a friendly way to greet. There were a lot of people in town just now. I'm still not satisfied with the fight. Shinsi just wants to test her husband. I see, that's not a bad idea. This bitch still thinks she can beat me? Haha, -ha, do you still think I'm the C.A.N. from before? Well then, I say first, if you lose then don't go and complain to the patriarch. It's time to shine. You seem to be very confident, dear. Then Shinsi doesn't hesitate to teach you a lesson. You rotten bastard, watch me break all your teeth. Withering of the flowers technique. Humph. Secret technique. Flower play. I'll say for you no, 
the flower spirit is Yuli Bokturn from the Joyful Secret Technique, and your realm is lower than mine now. Hitting me with this trick is not a good idea. If you don't have other techniques that can match the Sword Fingers technique, it is better to admit defeat as soon as possible. Shinsi will not laugh at you. You don't need to worry, I know what to do. What do you mean my realm is lower than you? Both of us are at the first innate realm, so who is afraid of whom? I'll let you see, the new skills your husband has learned. Changsheng Lu Rise Dragon Fist, the aura is so strong, but why is there no sign of true chi? He can create such an amazing destructive force just by relying on pure strength? It's not over yet, my wife. This punch. My hands feel wrong. Why is she so light? It's weird. Oh my. You're really strong. I used about 70% force with this punch. If you hit an enemy, it will take a while for them to be able to speak. But her voice was clear and there was no sign of injury at all. Is she too strong? I was careless. Looks like after a year, husband has not only advanced to the first and eight realm, it seems that you mastered a pure body refining fighting technique. I'm afraid that your actual combat strength is also ranked first or second in the second and eight realm. Wait a minute, a year? Wait, Chin Shinsi and I have not seen each other for at most four months in the main world, right? How can we not see each other in a year? No, that's not right. That woman said earlier that the room at the end was hers. Maybe she's not fooling I only stayed in the world of fighters for about three months, and it has been six months since I returned to the main world. No wonder the fight was so uncomfortable, so that demon leveled up again? Speaking of which, why don't you let out that flower spirit? Let Shinsi meet that beauty who helped my husband to upgrade. You just said that flowery technique can't beat you. Why are you acting like this now? Your husband won't do something like that. He he, if this demon finds out that the spirit is Xie Dao Yun's, then she will go on a rampage. Let's keep fighting, my love. Chang Sheng. Song Long ascends to the sky. Again, this feeling of lightness. What kind of martial arts does this demon use? What an amazing fighting art, I can't see any traces of using real chi at all, he seems to be using his pure strength. If I hadn't practiced the joyful secret technique, I'm afraid I would have been seriously injured by his skill. Joyful secret technique consumes too much chi. If I continue to prolong the battle, it will be at a disadvantage for me, I have to win quickly. These butterflies, something tells me that if I don't get out, something bad will happen. Husband seems to have found out, what a pity. I was planning on giving you a surprise. Butterflies are flying. Shinsi did not want to use this move, after all, it's just a big detonation of true chi. But the cultivation of the joyful secret technique and the true chi flowery spirit are especially similar, but the explosion effect is double that of the flowery spirit technique. Husband, let's surrender. Shinsi really will not laugh at you. It hurts, it hurts. Ah, it's just pain. How strong is his body? Let's continue. Fifteen minutes later, husband, you are so cruel, my clothes are all damaged. You still have the nerve to say that. Joyful secret technique? It's still making me faint from the pain. The poison technique on the book of the joyful secret technique can erode other people's true chi and physical body, and the pain is just a random feature that accompanies it. Don't fight more. We already fought for half a day already. You've really upgraded again. When did this happen? You want to know? Didn't you say you won't fight anymore? Soon after that woman Xie Dao Yun got upgraded. I heard about it and I also tried to break through to the second and eight realm. I wanted to find husband to help me, but you disappeared directly and Shinsi was so sad. Oh this? So Shinsi had no choice but to find another person. Fortunately, even if it's the same sex, it doesn't matter. So that's who that girl is? Feng Yang is only one of them. There are also Chu Yang, Fang Yang, Yao Yang. 
For convenience, Shinsi can only borrow the name of the husband. Husband will not blame Shinsi, right? You won't let Shinsi find other men, right? No blame. You just have to be happy. However, due to various reasons, the martial arts world has been crazy rumors. Husband cannot love the elders. He goes around harming people. It wasn't intentional. Husband will not blame Shinsi. Dear, is this some kind of weapon? I just have bare hands and fists. You are breaking the rules. Husband, don't worry. Shinsi won't hurt you. I haven't seen you for a year. I miss you so much. Don't you want to? Shinsi, uh, we can go back to the inn and do it. Doing it here seems. It would be more fun to do it here, damn. I forgot. This girl loves to do such things. Husband, let's continue to fight for another 300 rounds. What? Husband is much stronger than before. What? Are you begging for mercy? Shinsi is saying that just using strength is too trivial. The combination of strength and flexibility is the best. So, wife, lie down obediently. Let me, uh, why do you have a sudden headache? Why is husband so dumbfounded? Is Shinsi not attractive enough for you? You are so bad. You want to enjoy Master Xie alone? Chinger also want to join Hee Hee Chinger. Why did you came here? What is it? How can it get close to me so fast? Put her down. That's Chinger. That little girl you raised, D? I almost squeezed it. Why did I feel a chaotic, evil force in her? What's wrong with her? It's a long story. Ah, uh, she is so powerful. Chinger almost can't stand it. In short, for various reasons, she is not normal now, so please don't mind. Chinger is unable to resist the influence of the evil god's pink chi. Is it possible that Chinger will keep getting sick like this before completely refining this? What's wrong with this? It's okay. I'll suck this girl back, and let's continue. Husband, in fact, Shinsi does not care. You can let that girl be here. Hey, Chin Shinsi, stop it. Husband, you are ashamed? It's the first time I'm seeing you being ashamed. Hey, hey, you little goblin. Today, I will make you submit to me. After my husband's promotion to the first innate realm, his true chi really became more refined. Last night, Shinsi's second level realm was greatly strengthened. It even felt like I was about to break through to the third level. Damn, I worked so hard to upgrade to first innate realm. Why is it so easy for Chin Shinsi? Do I have to take it easy from now on? I can't let Chin Shinsi take advantage of me again. Husband and Shinsi fought very hard last night. Your body is also as strong as iron, even without the need for true chi to stimulate. Where did you learn this technique? This trick is called Chang Shing Bakwen. I have traveled many places and acquired various fighting techniques. You want to learn? Shinsi wants to learn. Can husband teach Shinsi? Then let me remind you first, after practicing, you will definitely become like this. It can't be restored. So, do you still want to learn? This. Of course I don't mind, but it's up to you, husband. When we have sex in the future. Shinsi will look like this, right? Touch. All right, I'll be honest. This Kung Fu is not difficult to learn, but the requirements are very demanding. There are several necessary materials that cannot be found in this world. Then forget it. Come on, husband, let's go back to Hulu Town and then go see Fong Yang. What, so you haven't broken up with her yet? She is the head of a small sect. She was seduced by my male side and planned to join my M.O. Chin sect. Such a good thing. Why should I break up with her? Cheat money and cheat sex. Wife, you are really a scum. No, scum woman. You know what the heck. If she joins our sect, sooner or later she will know the truth, and then how do you plan to solve it? You don't have to worry about this. Come on, tell me about your plan first. About this Shaba Mountain. There's a story behind it. Back then, the 13th chief emperor of the Wushanmi Temple lived with the 12th chief of the Gui Ling Temple lived here for 7,749 days. A fierce battle broke out.
but the marks left by that battle here are indelible. For example, according to legends, the chief emperor of the Wu Shanmi Temple forcibly pulled out a huge rock and smashed it here. This resulted in the formation of these peaks. It's amazing that my Xiaoyan can know such secrets. Haha, ha, I just came to know about this from a book. Xiaoyan, I admire you so much, Feng Yang. Wow, when did she become fond of women? This is a long story. So, in the end, only Ching'er will love and protect you. Cut the crap. A A A? Um, Ching'er is sorry. Hum, why do all of you make me so uneasy? Also, Nirvana technique turned out to be useless with Ching'er before, but if I draw back the pink energy, it won't be good either. If I absorb it again, then the consequences would be big. After discovered that plant, I noticed it had not yet matured, so I didn't dare to pick it. So I set up a famous maze formation of our clan in the surrounding area to conceal its aura and also cover up the surrounding environment. Anyone aiming for the plant will be misled. For us, I had left some marks, otherwise it would be impossible for us to get there too. Even if an innate master won't be able to come out for a while. It is still not a complete defense, but now we have three first innate realm people here. So those no one would dare to compete with us. The terrain of this place is very special, the surrounding vegetation is dense, the entrance is hidden if you don't pay enough attention, you will be sure to get confused. This triple maze formation set up guarantees that no one can find this place. Strange to say, this crack is narrow at the top but wide at the bottom, Xiaoyan. Look, this is, it really is the Yangxian fruit, and it is fully matured now. This fruit lets out a really powerful oro, so is it eaten raw or cooked? No, eating it alone will only waste its medicinal properties. The Yangxian fruit is the main material for refining realm-breaking pills. You know, every time the innate realm is raised, the essence of true qi will change once. The realm-breaking pills can forcibly transform the true qi, which is equivalent to directly raising the innate realm by one level and has a miraculous effect on the third innate realm master. But it is suicide for martial artists below the first innate realm to take it. Our transmission elder can practice pills, give it to him so can take full advantage of it. This earth mother Yang Xian fruit should be able to refine at least five realm-breaking pills. It's useful, and I hope the matriarch of the M.O. Qing sect will like this gift. Don't worry, the matriarch will love it. It was so easy to get it, I was really looking forward to a fight. What are you saying? Isn't it a good thing to be able to get it easily? Wait. Xiaoyan, what's the matter? Suddenly thought of something, you guys wait here for a moment, I will come back soon. Transmit the sound, what are you up to? Transmit the sound, don't mind, maybe I can surprise that little girl you raised Sia Yen, I'm waiting. Sia is so handsome and cute. I'm always thinking about you, don't you understand my feelings? This woman wouldn't be disappointed to know the truth, would she? I just hope I won't get dragged into this when she takes her anger out on Qin Qingxi. Sia Yen, you finally returned. Wait, this guy, Miss Li, ah no, Mr. Sia. I'm Wang Xiaoming, whom Mr. Xia Yan has newly recruited. Mr. Xia has already told me everything, and I plan to join the demon sect like you. What the hell are you talking about? The plan I told you. I spent half a day in vain talking about it. Wife, your plan to fool Li Fong Jiao, I really can't say it, it, so I decided to change it temporarily, don't worry, and make sure she can accept it. I got it. It turns out that you are Master C.S. True Love. The combination of handsome boys and beautiful girl looks as much better than the cruel Chin Chinsi. From now on I'm sure you're Mrs. Xie. I'll be the first to beat her up if the demonist Chin dares to object. Hateful, Xie Yin, it's embarrassing. In fact, as long as you acknowledge your wife is me, I don't mind if you go looking for other women. Mr. Xie Yin, what are you hesitating about? Quickly confess your feelings to Miss Lee. Xia Yin, you want to be beaten, right? What are you talking about? Phoenix is so devoted to you. Do you want to let her down? 
Words? What words? C-A-N, you better follow my words. Why are the two of them looking at each other like that? What is the relationship between them? Is C-A-N interested in this Wang Xiaoming? No. I must prove my worth. C-A-N, since I'm not the only one who wants to go to the M.O. Qin sect, so let's set off quickly and go to there. As for him, I will send someone else to take him. Huh? What? If you want to join the sect, how can you not prepare some meeting gifts? For example, when I was traveling some time ago, I happened to see a rare spiritual plant that was about to mature. I immediately blocked the surrounding aura and gave it to the sect. Young Master Wang, if you really want to join the demon sect, I advise you to go back and prepare first. Brother Wang naturally had his preparations, so Fong Yang don't have to worry about him. Am I hallucinating? Why do I feel Xie Yan over and over protecting this man? As for the spiritual plant, we'd better go there in person. It is a treasure, so easy to attract people greed. If you ask your disciples to get them and encounter bad people, their lives will be in danger. You think so thoughtfully well, if it is what I guess, the mature time will be in these few days. We have to hurry to the top of Xiaobie Mountain. If it's late, it won't be good. Ah, help me, let me go, help me. IAA, what are you running for? I am not an evil spirit. Two Wangxing first in eight realm. Master, I have no grievances with you, so let me go, master. When the color of this ancient fruit turns black, it means that it is mature and ready to be picked. But now is not the time to pick it. This thing is very erosive. Once it is pulled up, the huge amount of Yin Qi will immediately corrode your meridians. I need you to pass it layer by layer to reduce erosion and finally hand it over to me. Don't worry, as long as you do as I say, nothing will happen. If cooperated well, these Yin Qi can also stimulate the acupoints and pulses and strengthen the body. But if someone doesn't do it carefully, I will break his limbs, cut his tongue, blind his eyes, and let that person suffer. You all are not here to die. Why are you guys making such gloomy faces? Huh? Who is it? Is it possible that you are also as here for the Yangxian fruit? Then I'm sorry, but the fruit has been reserved by me, so please go back. This aura? Another innate master again. My life is over. Save me. That's hilarious. It seems that the great monk has been here for a long time. Yin spirit bone control technique? Chung Ling Dao. Damn it, the people of Chung Ling Dao have came already. The way he is manipulating such a Yin bone, this guy's strength is unfathomable. Don't worry, I won't give you a hard time. Chung Ling Dao, Zhao Shi, the Yin Xian fruit has not yet fully matured, so I'll wait with the great monk. Very good, it seems we all fancy this treasure, so let's wait for it to fully mature, and then we can compete for the high and low. That's what I meant. Did you feel anything? What's going on? What do you feel? It's nothing, it seems that I am worrying too much. Hee hee, as expected, Yin and Yang are in pairs, this Yin Xian fruit really exists. Zhao Shi, Tu Wang Shang, even if these two guys join forces, they can't stop me from snatching the Yin Xian fruit. But, why is the Chong Ling Dao sect here? It seems that the husband's little ghost is not so lucky. Xie Yin hasn't paid much attention to me lately. Xie Yin said, you had a good conversation with him last night. What does he admire about you? I too want to learn it. What the hell is she talking about? W.H., what do you mean? Wait, I think I know why. She suspects that Qin Qinxi has taken a liking to me. She probably deduced it from the way Qin Qinxi behaved with me earlier. Damn, Qin Qinxi is using my name. If this spreads out, what will happen to me? Why does this Wang Xiaoming has the smell of lipstick on his body? This smell is what I left on Xie Yin. How could he have it? 
What does Fong Yang want to learn? Calligraphy, painting, or academic math? I will try my best to teach you. Cia Yin. Cia Yin, what took you so long? It's not a big deal. I just suddenly remembered the ancient records. The Yangxian fruit always appear in pairs with the Yangxian fruit. Now that we have the Yangxian fruit, but there is no sign of the Yangxian fruit. Thinking about it, it should be because of the peculiar topography of this place, so I went out to check. Looking at your expression, it looks like you're not lying. Yes, there are indeed Yangxian fruits. What a good thing. Then, wouldn't it be good if we take two? First, the yin qi produced by the yin qian fruit is very toxic. Let alone refining it, it can't be even eaten. It can only be used by the practitioners of ghosts and spirits. These two fruits must not be kept too close to each other, it will dissolve the medicinal effect. So after picking the yin qian fruit, we would have to split up. It turns out that Qin Qinxi wants to use this fruit on Qing Er. Secondly, it seems there are people guarding there, one of them being the first son of the current master of Chongling Dao, Zhao Shi. Chongling Dao? Then forget it, this Yin Qian fruit is useless to us anyway. Chongling Dao? You're a sect disciple too. Why can't you know these things? Chongling Dao is the top fifth demon sect in the Han Dynasty. They are really mysterious. Not even the location of their cult was told to anyone. It is said that they are good at fighting and exorcising ghosts, but they are really violent, only a few will like them. The treasure that the people of Chongling Dao want would be useful for your little ghost too, but unfortunately, I don't think it would be possible. The whole sect consists no more than 30 members. They were still able to secure the top 5th position. If you make enemies with them, they will not only target you, but also everyone around you, so no one wants to make a grudge against them. Chung Ling Dao is a pretty insane sect. They wouldn't even mind targeting your family. Tai Xian's sect once wanted to wipe them out, but in the end they couldn't even find their whereabouts. I get it. But may not need to fight, right? Chung Ling Dao is awesome, but our demon sect also is not easy to provoke. People meet and negotiate. Maybe the other side will take the initiative to withdraw? Ancient fruit is a supreme divine object for Chongling Dao. Getting this plant, Zhao Shi is enough to immediately promote to the second and eight realm. He will never give up. Zhao Shi, if you make a grudge against this guy, they will definitely avenge him, and he is the first son of Chongling Dao's master. Even if you escape today, they will still take advantage of your friends and family to intimidate you. What about killing all of them? As long as we handle it well, who would know we did it? It was hard to find such a good treasure for Ching Er. I don't want to let it go so easily. Don't underestimate the Chong Ling Dao. Their magic is really mysterious. If even one of them escapes, what awaits you is a lot of trouble. I'm afraid the other disciples of our sect will be in danger. I emphasize once again, we don't have to make our sect and the Chong Ling Dao become enemies of each other. Um, I know you want to help that little girl. But it's not worth it. Wang Gongzi, you are not alone now. Don't use your previous aggressive temper. Uh, Wang Gongzi, what's wrong with you? Ah, uh, suddenly I'm having a stomachy ache. It is probably due to some diarrhea. You guys go first. Don't worry about me. I will go back to the sect by myself later. What's the matter with him? How could he have diarrhea with such a strong body? I don't know. That little girl seems to have come out. This guy. Master Xie Yan Ah. Don't hit Ching Er. I'm doing it for your own good. Master, Ching Er didn't do it on purpose. I sensed some amazing treasure that could ease the abnormality on my body. What? I guess it's like this. Fortunately, I made Qin Qin Si and the others to go first. That's right, if I eat it, it will definitely work wonders. Ancient fruit, huh? I think I know what it is, let's take it for ourselves. Since it's really useful for Ching Er, it's definitely worth stealing, but shouldn't it cause trouble for the demon sect? I can't take it anymore, I'm sorry. Master, Ching Er will go first. Get back here. Damn it, 
After Ching'er got infected by the evil god's pink chi, she's like a time bomb, and it's being more and more disobedient. Since we want to capture the treasure, using my current face is certainly not suitable. Why do I always feel that something is not right? Ahem. I feel awkward letting her follow me. If it hadn't been for me to pity her, I would already beat her up. This demon girl's feet really stinks. She should be ashamed when she calls herself a beauty. Unlike the divine jade beauty Xia Daoyun, she looks like a peerless beauty. I really love Xia Daoyun. Get source point anger, 0.01 Qin Qingxi, huh, she's really here. Wife, I knew you would follow me. Xia Yin, is my feet smelly? Didn't you lick it happily yesterday? Don't accuse me, when did I lick your feet? Maybe Xingxi embarrassed herself. But husband, Xingxi will remind you again. If you have to provoke the Chen Ling Dao for that little ghost, don't let ordinary disciples of our sect be implicated. Don't worry about it, I have my own ways. I know you have a lot of secrets, so I won't follow you anymore. You are very strong now, so I am not worried that you will have any accidents. In short, Feng Yang and I will go first, you finish the job and return to the sect as soon as possible. This time do not run around again, the patriarch misses you and... I miss you too, Humph. When you say I miss you, you should give me some source points. Don't worry, wife, even if I cause some trouble, surely no one will know that our demon sect is the one doing it. The Chun Lingdao sect, Humph, would you dare to offend our sect? I can feel something from that cave. Ah, it's making Ching'er curious. Should I go and take a look? I'm confused. Ching'er will go in and take a look. This guy hasn't moved at all till now. He is really calm. Just a little more. Oh, sorry to disturb. A strong aura of evil. Could it be the Chun Ling Dao? How dare you to steal the Yin Qian fruit? It's you. When did you get in here? Yin Ruyu. Oh, I was discovered. Huh? Unexpectedly, my plan was ruined by a little ghost who suddenly appeared. Chun Ling Dao Beauty, Yin Ruyu. Yin Ruyu? Isn't she one of the five beauties of the Han Dynasty? I didn't expect to be lucky enough to see her face. A little ghost with such rare beauty. It would be a pity if she was beaten to death by her master. Yin Ruyu. You sold me the whereabouts of the Yin Qian fruit for 500 gold. Why are you here then? I need it for the Chun Ling Dao sect. I never said that I won't go and rob it after receiving the money. You bitch. Okay, okay, I won't tease you anymore. To tell you the truth, master, you were brought here for a reason. With my skills, no matter who is guarding here, I will be able to pick the Yin Qian fruit before anyone else. But Brother Zhao knows my skills, it's not easy to escape from him. Unless someone can stop him, even for a moment. What an excellent plan, Junior Sister. I wanted to give you a chance, but you failed. Who said I can't beat you? It's a pity that everything went wrong, I admit defeat. It seems the Yin Qian fruit still belongs to me after all. You? Have you asked me yet? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll take it. You wouldn't stop me, would you? Of course I will. Everything has its rules. I came here first. I'm so sorry. I wasn't asking about who came here first. I was telling you that it's mine and... No objections are allowed. How dare you? Die. Huh? Hell ghost head, devour the world. No. I can't take it anymore. Our true chi simply can't stop it. They are really strong too strong. We couldn't do anything. Well, not bad. Most of them are 7th and 8th level souls. It's perfect for refining my skill. I have heard rumors about the Chun Ling Dao sect being addicted to killing. 
Once a certain Chongling Dao elder went to a Han dynasty border town to slaughter people to refine their souls. Even women and children were never spared. I didn't expect it to be true. The souls of those who are killed by you will not be reincarnated until they enter hell. If you don't release them, they won't be able to reincarnate. You who violate the laws of heaven. I, Tu Wang Sheng, will punish you today. Raksha Swift. Only fools will stay and fight with you guys. I don't need the Yin Qian fruit anymore. This monk, I thought he was going to fight with you, but he just ran away. Brother, why don't you go and chase him? He looks down on you like that. Can you still endure? Junior sister, no matter what tricks you use, they are useless to me. You can take away the Yin Qian fruit while I'm not here, but the price may not be what you want to see. Oh, you think I don't dare? This time I have suffered a great loss, Chong Ling Dao. Hmm. I took the initiative to leave, but this guy still won't let go. Hell Ghost Head, devour the world. Damn, it's this skill again. Don't struggle, you can't beat me anyway, so why waste your energy? Go and die. Bullying too much. Do you really think I am is afraid to fight with you? Who? What's going on? That is. It's you? Gee, why you? What the hell are you doing? Listening to this tone, are Chin Men and this guy old acquaintances? How can you kill someone for some treasure? You don't know how to talk. Song Long be a Quan either way, I'll do what I want. Gee, why you? Don't you want to live anymore? Hell Ghost Head, devour the world. What? Gee, why you's punch is not made of innate true chi at all. How can he break my Hell Ghost Head technique? This guy. In Ling technique, bone shield. Cough, G E Y U. So strong, how could G E Y U be so strong? I can't stay any longer, let's go. Ha ha ha, looks like I can't get the treasure today. This ain't Xian fruit, I will leave it to you guys. Goodbye. G E Y U? It's him again? The guy outside has been knocked to his knees by me. You now have two choices. Just get out, or I'll beat you out. Are you here for the Yin Qian fruit too? Okay, I'm not your opponent. The Yin Qian fruit is completely ripe. You can pick it. This guy disappeared for so long and finally appeared. But how can he rob me of all things? And his temperament seems to have changed a lot. Since you are so shameless, I don't bother to remind you. The Yin Qian fruit contains a huge amount of Yin Qi. It cannot be picked directly. In addition to the secret method of my Chong Ling Dao, it is necessary to find seven or eight people like Tu Xiangcheng to resist. Otherwise, it will damage the meridians. It seems that this Yin Qian fruit is still mine after all. Huh? Why is he okay? Ha ha, Chong Ling Dao is just something that I G E Hui Yu can easily exterminate. Practice for a few more years before you want to beat me. Okay, very good, G E Hui Yu. I will not forget this debt. Brother, are you okay? Phew, don't worry, I'm fine, it's okay, however, unable to suppress the Hell Ghost head. I will be fine in a while, no need to worry about me. Brother, why do you have to raise such a violent and vicious ghost even at the expense of your own life? Junior sister, you still do not understand. With this ghost, coupled with our sect technique, even if I meet the innate second level, I am not unable to fight. But that damn G.E. Huayu. Where exactly did he learn that technique, relying on a simple fist to break the hell ghost head? We were beaten mercilessly by him. Not only that, after taking the Yin Qian fruit, that guy was not affected at all. Theoretically, it would be impossible to pick it if you don't use our secret sect technique, but he can use his normal body to do that. 
So, gee why you finally showed up, it's a good thing for me. Then, this guy Tu Wang Sheng is really useless. Ji Huayu, after leveling up to first in eight realms, seems to have become very strong. He will become a great threat to our Chongling Dao. Junior sister, help me take out the medicine bottle in my jacket pocket. We must go back to report to father immediately. Brother, are you so weak that you can't even lift your hands? Junior sister, what do you mean? Nothing, I feel sorry for you. Brother, you're really hurt, aren't you? I can see it in your eyes. I will help you relieve the pain. Ah. Gee why you? You killed my brother. Chong Ling Dao will definitely find you for revenge. The Chong Ling Dao sect had suppressed most of the sects in the main world, but unfortunately they encountered me. With the Changxing B.A. Quan, I could solve this quite easily. But, this Yin Qian fruit is really hard to handle. The true Qi in my body was so disturbed that it hasn't recovered yet. If I hadn't practiced Changxing Bakwen, I wouldn't dare to take it directly. Ching er, just come out already. Master Elm, um, shut up and eat this quickly. But, Ching er, you're a ghost. Can you really eat the fruit? Master, don't worry. Ching er, will eat it all. Back to normal now. Master, don't worry. This fruit condenses a large amount of pure and condensed yin qi. Ching er eating it is almost like inhaling vital energy. After eating it, Ching er will definitely become more powerful. Why am I not feeling any changes? I feel that the resolution of the pink qi has become a little bit faster. It is working. After taking the medicine, I will now deal with your sins, Ching er. Huh? Chinger, do you know how badly you've been behaving? Hmm? Chinger knows it's wrong, but Chinger didn't mean it. Of course I know that you didn't mean it. I just hope that the Yin Qian fruit is really effective so that you can completely suppress the pink chi, otherwise I really can't help but punish you. Um, if it still doesn't work, I have to live Chinger. So sleepy. Sleepy when you're full, this girl really makes people worry. Forget it, everything is done, it's time to go back. A few days later at Jiaohu City. He he. The city is busy as usual. Hey, who is that? There is no such person in Jiaohu City, right? So handsome, I really want to know where he came from. So handsome, I want to get to know him, don't think about it, you don't deserve it. When I talked with the patriarch sister, she casually told me that there was a person in the martial arts world who, although not very skilled in martial arts, had business acumen and controlled the most famous intelligence agency of the Han dynasty. Not only did the business do well, but he also opened a chain of intelligence locations that were food service stores and published a variety of books. He also often adapted some unimportant but highly entertaining news into storytelling and performed in restaurants. Every time the guests were full, made a lot of money. Mantiangsing Restaurant The Patriarch Sister favorably recommended Mantiangsing's Sins of Love and Revenge series, and anyone passing by should definitely come in and listen to it. Let's take a look at the martial arts beauties. The 10 most scenic spots in Han Dynasty are worth visiting. Don't miss them if you pass by. He runs away. She chases him. Even if he grows wings, it will be difficult to escape. When will Princess Qingqing find her 28th husband? Now pay attention to the latest royal revelations. The one who stayed in the hall today was the Zhong Elder. Could it be that today's story is about the great romance of the fairy of Fan Xianjai? The story of Fan Xingjai has been told a lot already. I think this time it's time to analyze the old horsemen of Qiu Mingshan and the characters' biographies. Cough, cough, everyone. Today's story is going to be amazing. It is said that on the peak of Xiaoba Mountain, there is a secret treasure that has not been seen in a century. This treasure gathers the aura of heaven and earth and collects the essence of the sun and the moon. With this treasure, anyone can easily break through to the first innate realm. On that day, the two great sects of the Supreme Tantric and Chong Ling Dao gathered on the peak of Tianji, intending to compete for the secret treasure. 
headed by the Jade Beauty Yin Ryu of Chongling Dao. It's a pity that the leader of the Supreme Tantra is a new elder, who is not prepared enough, and the Supreme Tantra is quickly defeated. At this moment, the appearance of a mysterious person broke the situation. He was six feet nine inches height. With a beautiful face and a high spirit, he is definitely a handsome man. His expression it seems to be ecstasy, but also extremely sad. Just for a moment, we can see a million changes from his face. Everyone should have guessed who it is. Yes, it is G.E. Huayu, the son of a thousand faces. In an instant, G.E. Huayu didn't say a word and used his true chi to rush towards the treasure. Before anyone could react, this guy took the treasure. It's not that they're useless, it's that this guy is really weird. Not only fast as a god, but also has the power of the dragon and tiger. Especially Yan Ryu, she found out something was wrong. Why would young master G.E. Huayu dare to come alone to challenge? And even revealed his true face? Unfortunately, the one other Chung Ling Dao master present did not see this. Instead of hiding, he stepped up to the front, vowing to regain the treasure for Chung Ling Dao. However, he didn't know that young master G.E. Huayu had entered the first innate realm. In the blink of an eye, the Taoist of Chung Ling Dao died. And the initiator of all this was already gone. Because of this, one of the five beauties of the Han dynasty has confirmed to upgrade into the innate. It is often said that patience and gentleness are the magic formula. People with greed will bring disaster on themselves. Very good. Great story. Is the narrator exaggerating the story? People in the first innate realm are so easily killed? What the hell? I didn't kill him. How did he die? Forget it. I used the identity of G.E. Huayu. I will not be responsible for this. This is information provided by Tu Wang Sheng. Our owner spent 500 taels of gold to obtain it. It is absolutely guaranteed to be true. It turned out that the guy who sold the news, thinking carefully, that guy ran away as soon as he had the opportunity. He didn't even watch what happened after that. So how can he provide accurate information? The content is completely made up by him. This story is just a part one. Today I'm going to tell a new play. Originally, the owner wanted to be the headline of Wuling Yuncher, but recently someone provided new material, so it was readapted and expanded into a new book. This story is purely fictitious. If there are any problems later, please forgive me. This is a new play. Who will be the hero this time? I'm already getting excited. Today, let's talk together about the story related to young master Xie Yin, who sold his body. Xie Yin Biography Puff Xie Yin? The one who has been in the limelight recently? I know sooner or later we'll talk about him. What the hell? How come I didn't know I was selling my body? As we all know, the young master was the lover of the demon sect Jade Beauty until he rose to the innate realm and began to rise to fame in the Jianghu while also leaving numerous affairs. However, most of the people the young master noticed were over the age of marriage and were invincible in health, even more so than men. For example, Xu Pinger, who for 10 years continuously competed in undefeated martial arts, three days and two nights continuously fought with 28 robbers to completely wipe out Wu Fu's evil sect forces, also like Jing Wu's sect master Li Fengjiao. Ah, uh, is he that strong? The world is wide, that's not surprising. Today is really about expanding knowledge for me. This gentleman has really special taste. There are even rumors that the young master was taught a lesson by the elder Wu Ling Xian, get source point shock, 0.01 point Qian Duo, get source point shock, 0.01 point Li Zhen, get source point shock, 0.01 point Zhang Dongxing, so familiar terms. This seems to be the work of that demon? Forget it, back then I wrote a bad book about her, and now she's making me have bad rumors. After verification from all parties, our owners have come to the conclusion, this is true. Verification? It turned out to be true? I always thought it was a rumor. Why is he looking for an old girl? Wuling was formerly the top of the five great beauties of the previous generation. 
Xie Yin couldn't fall in love, so it was normal to find someone to replace her. Why do you still think Xie Yin has suffered? This is really a place of entertainment. The effect of entertaining the public is very good. If I wasn't the character of this story, I would have believed it. Get source point adoration, 0.01 point Sun Nan, get source point jealousy, 0.01 point Zhao Wan, get source point shock, 0.01 point Zhou Ji. But these audiences were cheering and cheering like this. When I pretended to be Shinshio, I had a strong emotional reaction on the spot, but then there were no source points too. Think about it carefully. After all, the fake identity has the original owner. Previously, because I took the initiative first and the other party responded to the source point. It seems that if I don't do something in person, those emotions would have nothing to do with me. Alas, source points are really not that easy to earn. Though Zhao Xiu's death is a bit confusing. But the thing about the treasure being stolen has nothing to do with me. Time to go back to... Hmm? This familiar dead face and dull body movements, could it be? I'm really unlucky, got discovered by that guy. Why you you brat, you won't return to the sect when you are promoted, and you're still messing around outside. Do you know how hard it was for me to find you? You're back. What a coincidence, I was able to meet father here. It's not a coincidence. I had sent someone to get you, don't you remember your promise? I did advance to the first and eight realm, I actually wanted to give father a surprise, but in the end, I ran into the Chongling Dao. Isn't it a coincidence? As expected of my son, you achieved your goal so quickly. I'm so proud of you. I'm your son, no matter what, I can't lose my dad's face. Huh, you're thinking of me now? You should have thought about me and the XINMO sick when you were with the Chongling Dao. It was not like your thousand-faced prince reputation was in vain. You still know how to use Xie Yan's face, but you used your own appearance. What's wrong with your brain? If you act so recklessly, you will inevitably suffer a big loss in the future. Father, you don't know anything about it. I did this for a reason. Reason? I traveled around the world and acquired a body forging technique called in heaven and on earth. I am the only one this technique helped me in entering the first innate realm. No problem, let's trick this GEE -E first. The body of a giant whale, power of a dragon, and the world's power gathers to forge a powerful body. This body forging technique is better than the Wuxiang Ju technique, it requires me to be in my own appearance. Else, this skill will not be able to be exerted. That's why when I was fighting Zhao Xiu of Chongling Dao, an innate master, I used my real face. Is that so? You are too reckless. You should have let me know of this technique before using it. I had disagreed when you insisted on practicing the Wuxiang Ju technique. Why did you make the same mistake again? Father, the in heaven and on earth, I am the only one is different from Wuxiang Ju. Why do you think I learned it? No matter what you say, I won't believe it. I want to see how powerful it is. Okay, father, wait a moment. I will change into my original form and show it to you. GEE -E is the fourth level of the innate. I can try using the Changxing Bakwan on him. Please, father. No need to hold back. You can start. Okay, I coming. Changxing Bia Guan. Manifestation shield, huh? There are no traces of true chi. It is entirely physical strength. I've never really heard of this technique. Father, I'm asking you for advice, so be serious. Watch it, this is my strength now. Changxing Lu, dragon drink will swallow. In a few breaths, my manifestation shield was broken. Not bad, it deserves praise. Go on, come again, it won't be that simple as the first time. Can't move. My hands are completely motionless. No, not good. I seem to feel that my hands no longer belong to me. Is this the Six Desires Demon Technique? It can control my body? Give me back my body. Okay, why you? 
This technique is indeed powerful, and its destructive power is quite terrible. What's more commendable is that you can get rid of the control of my six desires demon technique in an instant. But, after all, you are a member of the demon sect. Go on, let father see how your six desires demon skill has been during this time. Oh no, I don't know anything about it. Father, my six desires demon skill is abolished. Damn, I'll take a risk. Abolished? Not only the six desires demon skill, but also the Wuxiang Ju was abolished. Can heaven and on earth, I am the only one is very domineering. It will swallow other martial arts to achieve great accomplishments. So I, this reason is convincing enough, right? If I'm caught, I don't know if I can escape. Is there such a skill in the world? Why you, you run the six desires demon skill. Let father check your pulse to see where the real energy in your body is going. Why you, what's wrong with you? I, no. The true chi in my body doesn't contain the six desires demon skill. Everything will be revealed. Father, it's not necessary. This in heaven and on earth, I am the only one will use all the true chi to temper the physical body. Now I can't use my true chi except for basic techniques like walking in the air. Let me see it. Damn it. It seems that I must run away. Should I run away or should I risk it one more time? Why you? What's the matter with you? From the last match it can be seen, GEE -E is not someone I can fight with. The possibility of defeating him is very slim. There is only one last resort. Damn, I have to take a risk. Why you? What's wrong with you? I'm fine. It's nothing serious. Why didn't you say it earlier? His insides are seriously injured. The true chi is scurrying among the limbs. You are destroying yourself. Could it be? Zhao Shi poisoned you. Chong Ling Dao. Father. Father. You're mistaken, it's not him. This old man really loves Ji Yi Hui Yu, but it's a pity. In fact, although my original martial arts have been abolished, but I'm trying to practice them again, unfortunately, in heaven and on earth, I am the only one will forcibly disrupt the operation of other skills by absorbing the true chi to strengthen the body. Internal injuries are a normal phenomenon, I'm fine. You're bleeding and you're telling me it's okay? Dad, you don't need to help me. You see, I still have this much of power. Really? I told you I'm okay. I had no choice but to injure my body for this act. Fortunately, this does not affect the power of the Chongqing Bakwen, and it should trick him, right? There is such a miracle in the world? This is the price of getting stronger. In the past, I gave up many martial art techniques in exchange for this invincible skill. This skill is really powerful, but it's a pity. I see, it's a pity that you have worked so hard for so many years with many fake faces. I can still use other faces to show my strength. Ha ha ha, good. You once said you wanted to go your own way, and now you've completed the mission, ah. Uh. Okay. You should come back and teach me this divine skill. Now, I have another thing to ask you. Qin Shinsi is pretending to be Xie Yan. Did you know about this? Will it affect your impersonation of Xie Yan? This. This thing is not over? That bitch has caused me a lot of trouble. Don't worry, Qin Shinsi didn't find out that Xie Yin was replaced by me. Moreover, I'm charming enough to make her crazy. She's just angry because I had ignored her for a long time in order to advance to the innate realm. You can't be too careless. Qin Shinsi's technique is very strong. It is said that Xie Yin used to be her servant, so you have to be careful. Don't worry, father. Okay, dad has nothing else to ask. We should go. Where does father want me to go next? Back to the sect. You provoked Chong Ling Dao. This needs to be resolved. You can't help but go back, right? This is not just my opinion. The patriarch agrees to this too. Dad, but why you? Am I not clear enough? You must go back this time. Going to the XINMO sect? I don't want to go there. The patriarch's sister is still waiting for me. Why you, 
You should be with your father this time. You can continue your journey after six months. You just need to be in touch with the sect regularly. But, I can't even use the six desires demon technique now. Can I still return to the sect? If this goes on, I might get exposed. If there is a problem, father will help you deal with it. Well, then, why you? Leave the rest to me. What are you still thinking about? It seems that GEE -E is determined to take me back this time. Also, I can't be in my CAN identity for now, otherwise, GEE -E will sooner or later come to see me and cause trouble. Okay, I haven't been back for a long time. Haha, <laughs> that's right. Anyways, I should go to the MOXI insect once. Let's see if I can find a chance to learn the Wuxiang Ju and the Six Desire Demon skill. Let's go home. Seven days later. Huai Yu, your technique is very confusing. I studied for a few days, but I didn't quite understand it. I can roughly infer that this is an extremely advanced method of proving the Tao with strength. Hee hee, after all, I just copied down some of the Changxing B.A. Quan for G.E.E. -E to see. First, I must find a way to divert G.E.E.'s attention. I'm an imposter, and I don't have the memory of G.E. Huayu. I will be exposed if I communicate too much. At first glance, it is a technique that can be learned without even the slightest trace of qi refining, but it goes deep into the essence of the soul and self-consciousness, which is simply unheard of. Still, it's very unusual, completely stepping on the extreme boundaries of the physical body. Yes, this technique is completely different from the martial arts that I practiced before. It seems to belong to some other world. After all, Chongqing Bakwin is not from this world. Based on my experience, I have slightly changed it. Even though GEE -E is such a master, it's impossible for him to see the problem. This skill, as it says, is extremely difficult. Almost 9 out of 10 people fail to practice this. How the hell did you manage to practice it, Why you? In fact, what I found was a jade. As soon as I got it, the jade turned into powder, and then a strange warm stream drilled into my eyebrows, and then I have practiced this divine skill. Thirdly, all fighting skills in the fighter world require a secret medicine. Even if GEE -E is so powerful that he can really understand my modified Changxing Bakwin, he can't practice without the secret medicine. I don't have to worry about him. So that's how it is. The Jade Slip contains divine power. It seems that this is the ancient secret method. You were lucky to find that Jade. First, you had the Wuxiang Ju, and then this technique. But this technique is too rare. You can hide it like Wuxiang Ju and won't have trouble with other guys. In heaven and on earth, I am the only one. I got it. Listening to Ji Yi's meaning, Wu Xiang Ju seems to be the unique trump card of Thousand Faced Prince. If this is the case, Ji Yi -E and the XINMO sect probably don't have this technique. I should find something at Hua Yu's room. I'll try my luck here. We have arrived. Qingsong Mountain, XINMO sect. Deputy Sick Master GE, you're back. Well, did the Patriarch call on me? No, you had already taken care of all the affairs in the clan before you left. So, Brother Huayu, are you back? Well, after these days of experience, your brother has already been promoted to innate. I had to bring him back this time. It seems GE Huayu is really loved in XINMO sect, after all, he is one of the five young masters. Vice Patriarch GE, the documents collected over the past few days have been sorted and placed on the table. Vice Patriarch GE, the accounting statistics of Bengu City you have ordered have been finished. Vice Patriarch GE, the price list for purchases this month has been put on your desk. Vice Patriarch GE, um, okay. And GEE -E is actually so busy? I always feel that he is almost taking care of the affairs of the entire sect. But is he also just Vice Patriarch? Get Source Point Fear, 0.01 Point Xiao Wei Yi, Get Source Point Jealous, 0.01 Point Su Si Zong, Get Source Point Jealous, 0.01 Point Ding Bing, Get Source Point Fear, 0.01 Point Wang Yao Xian. Brother GE actually came back? 
I heard that he killed Zhao Shi of Chong Lingdao. Is he already in eight? It seems, this Ge Huayu in the heart of the XINMO sect is feared by all. Son-in-law, my XINMO sect is the best in the world, right? Huh? Cui Jing, it should be said that the XINMO sect is extremely powerful. Su Min, that's right, my son-in-law is really talented. Oh? Vice Patriarch Ge? Did you finally brought the kid Huayu back? Um... Who is this person and why is he staring at me like this? I remember the last time I met Huayu, I had marked him with the Bai Chun Chi smell. But it's gone. Vice Patriarch Su, you've been staring at my son for half a day. What are your intentions again? Ge Huayu's form changes constantly. And I have never seen his current form, so I want to know more too. Did Ge Huayu remove that smell? If he found the mark, GEE -E would have troubled me a long time ago. There seems to be something wrong. Vice Patriarch Su, so he is GEE's -E old rival, Su Minlu? No wonder he keeps looking at me like that. And the two of them, it seems that their relationship is not that bad. No, it's bad. Haha, <laughs> why you seems to have improved his cultivation. This kid does not compete. After a long time, his cultivation was improved. Who is beside Vice Patriarch Su? This is my son-in-law, Cui Jing. I brought him here to meet the Patriarch today. It turned out to be Mr. Cui Jing, someone I have admired for a long time. Vice Patriarch Ge, I'm honored. If I can provoke Su Min and Ge -E to fight each other and kill Ge, -E, then no one will know that Ge Huayu has another identity as Xie Yan, and I will be completely relieved. But now that the two people are at odds with each other, they won't turn their faces easily, ah. Uh. Um, the Patriarch must be waiting for us. Let's hurry up and see the Patriarch. Let's go. Vice Patriarch Su's use of words is really subtle. This old man is someone I don't really like, but Mr. Cui Jing is a real talent. Father, do you know Mr. Cui Jing? He is the fourth young master of the previous generation, extremely humble. The last time he appeared in public was five years ago. He gave up his martial arts practice to participate in the imperial examination and won he scholar. So people call him Mr. to show respect. I heard that he has resigned from his official position in the court, probably to join the XINMO sect. It doesn't look like he was forced. Perhaps Su Tingting drugged him. Oh. The patriarch's sister once said, the XINMO sect's patriarch probably has the strength of the sixth and eighth realm, and he is a ruthless man. Patriarch, Su Min, GEE -E would like to see you. Come all in. I absolutely can't leave a loophole in front of him. Patriarch, Huayu has successfully promoted to the innate and has returned. Greetings to the Patriarch. It took so long for me to get promoted to the innate. I'm really ashamed. XINMO sect Patriarch Yuan Sheng. Let me see. He does have the aura of the innate. Good, the XINMO sect has a successor. Thanks to the Patriarch's blessing, but this kid still has to learn more. He just looked at me. And I felt the pressure like a mountain. This is the sixth level of the innate. So scary. Haha, <laughs> Huai Yu was finally able to level up to the innate. The blessing of Vice Patriarch GE is really coming. Your son rose to the first innate. You are also supported by many people in the sect. You two really make others admire. If one day Vice Patriarch GE no longer takes care of the sex affairs, I can't take over Vice Patriarch GE's work. Vice Patriarch Su what to say? The Patriarch trusts me. Do you question the Patriarch's decision? How can it be? I am clearly praising you. Vice Patriarch GE is also too sensitive. You should know that you are trusted and supported by many people in the sect. How dare I compete with Vice Patriarch GE? Vice Patriarch Su is being too exaggerated. As fellow subjects, they should support each other's progress. How can they incite internally? If the rumor gets out, I'm afraid it will make everyone laugh. Damn it, two old men are staring at each other. Are they going to fight? Cough, cough, okay. 
Everyone is looking at you too. Stop it. Ha ha, Vice Patriarch GE is too inexperienced. I just said a few sentences and he got so angry. I won't argue with you anymore. Let's forget this. Huh? So they are not fighting? Patriarch, my son-in-law has resigned from his post and is ready to join the XINMO sect. Please accept him. CUI Jing greets Patriarch. I remember that you are young Master Yai, one of the four young master of the previous life. After that, you became an official. Now you want to join the XINMO sect? Exactly. I have a deep affection for Tingting. Ting. In order to avoid a lot of trouble, I am willing to give up the official position to join the sect. Haha, <laughs> very good. I am very satisfied. Um, don't be afraid. The Patriarch is printing you the XINMO sect seal. After the printing is completed, you will be a member of the XINMO sect. You shouldn't be oppressed by the big formation. XINMO sect still have this. So the reason why I felt my scalp numb was because of this big formation of the XINMO sect? Fortunately, the skin is thick and thick now, which has little effect. What happened? Vice Patriarch GE, shouldn't this be asked to you? Why did your son activate the defense system of the big formation? Why don't you have a mark of the XINMO sect on your body? Give me an explanation, GE Huayu. It's over. Patriarch, Huayu's situation is a bit complicated. It's related to his cultivation. So please allow me to explain it to you in private. Deputy Sec Master GE, I have something to ask. Why can't you explain that in front of everyone? Don't cover for each other or you will regret it. Can you shut up? Isn't it messy enough? This is not so important, and there are no outsiders here, Deputy Sec Master GE. Let's talk about it here. Patriarch, but... It's okay, Father, just tell everyone. Why you? Oh, all right, I'll say. The Sec Master, why you had been looking for innate opportunities outside the sect, and by coincidence, he obtained a certain technique. Its name is in heaven and on earth. I am the only one. He used this skill to advance to the innate realm. They are not suspicious of my identity. I can't make myself panic. It's just that this skill uses all the true chi to strengthen the physical body, and over time, other skills are taken away. I think my XINMO sect mark disappeared because of this technique. Inflated. Why you? This means, your six desires technique of the XINMO sect is taken away too? This cannot be, as a disciple of the XINMO sect, you can't use external methods. How do you think the other disciples in the sect will look at you? Patriarch, say something. You gave up the sect's fundamental six desires technique and switched to other techniques. Then let me see how much your physical body has been strengthened. Don't panic. The Patriarch is just checking your body. Damn, the body seems to be immersed in ice. I can't move. Luckily, I had arranged it well before. Now I don't use the Nirvana technique to recovery, else I would have been caught. Interestingly, physical strength is that of a third layer innate master specializing in body training, but the aura in the body is broken. The meridians are disordered if there is no aura of the first innate left in your body. I won't be able to detect your cultivation realm. What a hegemonic skill, even my sect's six desire skill is sucked drained. Huayu is indeed extraordinary, however, how to make the XINMO seal coexist with it is a difficult problem. Well, Huayu, you can continue to practice this martial arts. As for the XINMO seal, I will consider it after discussing this with your father. Thank you, Patriarch. Then Mr. Yai. Just now, I have completed the introductory ceremony for you. From now on, you will be a member of the XINMO sect. Thank you, Patriarch. Ahem, there's one more thing. Patriarch, I still remember that at the beginning, you and Deputy Sect Master GE made an agreement that GE Huayu can only hide a skill as a secret. Now that he has practiced the in heaven and on earth, I am the only one skill. It's time to hand in the Wuxiang Ju, right? Are you kidding me? I don't have the Wuxiang Ju. 
How can I return it? That's right. Su Min, you are in charge of the sex library. This thing I'll leave to you. Yes, Patriarch. Wait. The Wuxiang Ju is an incomplete technique. It lacks the cultivation methods beyond the innate realm. Huai Yu feels that the in heaven and on earth, I am the only one would be more helpful to the XINMO sect. Are you sure? Then that skill will be made public, and there will be no secrets anymore. Including your current details, will also be known to everyone. Are you really willing? Father, Huai Yu's only for the progress of the sect. My personal secrets are nothing. I can't make up the Wuxiang Ju. I can make another copy of Changxing B.A. Quan. No one can learn it anyways. Good. Then please write it out. Su Min, take Huai Yu to the library to record this technique. Yes. Go on. I have to report to the Patriarch, so I won't accompany you. Yes. You are here to chat with the Sec Master and Deputy Sec Master G.E. I will pick you up later. Don't worry, Father-in-Law can do your work. Why you, let's go. Why you, ah, uh, although I am not very close to your father, but I still appreciate you. After all, you are the most promising new generation of the XINMO sect. Haha, -ha, I know, my father and vice patriarch Su, although the concept of disagreement, are for the development of the XINMO sect. You child, why are you still acting so strange with me? When I treated you to cure your wounds, you called me Grandpa Su. Now you're being the same as your father by calling me Deputy Sec Master. Because I grew up, I couldn't be as close as when I was younger. Please forgive me, Vice Patriarch Su. This should be fine. Deputy Sec Master Su? Stop. Oh, what does why you think? This kid is interesting, interesting. What's going on? What did I reveal? Why you, why are you standing still? Let's go. I'm a junior. How can I go first? Deputy Sec Master Su, please go first. I'm old, so I walk slowly. Don't mind me. Or have you been away from the sect for too long and forgotten the route to the library? Haha, -ha, I'm just kidding. Don't take it seriously. Of course not, I. Shit. I really don't know the way. In fact, I copied this technique earlier. Instead of wasting time in the library, might as well just give it to Vice Patriarch Su here. Why you, don't you want to accompany me to the library? Not really, I just don't want to waste your time. No, no, I have nothing to do, so you can accompany me to the library. Let's go, young people are quick, show the way to the old man. Damn, he might really doubt me. I should to take a random path and try my luck. If it goes wrong, I can say I have left for too long and can't remember. Get source point fear, 0.01.1 gang, get source point fear, 0.01. Lu Yiming, get source point fear, 0.01. Ching Yuan. The three guys staring at me nearby, the source point is provided by them. Do they seem afraid of me? Why you, why don't you go? You really don't know the way, don't you? No. I saw three old acquaintances. System, you are my savior. Wang Gang, Lu Yiming, Chen Yuan, you guys have seen me. Why are you hiding like that? Get over here now. Brother Ji. Long time no see. I miss you guys. I have something to ask you guys. Ah, uh, yes, Vice Patriarch Su. I have something to discuss with these three juniors. Anyway, I have already given you the technique. You can go back. I will not accompany you to the library. Brother G.E., we really didn't mean it. Am I a monster that eats people? Cut the crap. I need to talk to you guys. It is strange to say that he is okay. He is so unfamiliar with the path inside the sect. Just now I said that I treated his wounds, but he didn't even deny it. Speaking of strange, how can he call out the names of these three outer disciples at a glance? It's weird. Outside the XINMO sect. Huh, that's Brother GE. He's back? This is the third time I've seen them. What the hell are they doing? It seems he is instructing those three. 
I really don't know whether to envy or mercy them. Instructing? You're new here, right? Since Brother G.E. got the Wuxiang Ju technique, every now and then he will find some disciples to carry out the training which he called instruction. All the disciples who receive instruction will be physically tortured. But Brother G.E.'s guidance can really improve everyone's martial arts, and it won't kill anyone. Being selected is a blessing. I don't want to be selected. Let's go. Let's go. G.E. Huayu is really a good brother who loves to guide his disciples. No wonder so many people are afraid of him. What's wrong with you guys? I haven't returned for a long time. I don't know what changes there are in the XINMO seg now, so I want you to take me for a walk around and see everything. Don't you guys want to do that? No, no, we would love it. Brother G.E. We have arrived at your residence. Brother G.E., if there is nothing, we will go back. What? Did I agree to let you guys go? Although I don't know what the thousand-faced prince has problem with them, but this is good. Because of your good manners, I can be lenient. But I still need to punish a little, so that you do learn a lesson. Copy down the six desire technique ten times. Huh, you guys don't want to? G.E., Brother G.E. Forgive us, arbitrarily copying the sect technique will affect the XINMO seal. At that time, the XINMO seal will torment the body. Life is worse than death. Brother GE, don't use this method to punish us. We can't do it. Brother GE, last time when you instructed us, we had deliberately avoided you. Lu Yiming, are you crazy? You were the one who refused to go that day. Sister Chen and I dragged you there, so we're late. Wang Gang, why do you speak ill of me like that? Humph, you are so obnoxious. Damn, G.E. Huayu has haunted juniors to this extent. Hee hee, I just made a joke. Why are you quarreling? Being in the same sect is also a rare fate. We have to love each other. All right, all right, let's disperse. I want to rest a while. Thank you, Brother G.E. Um, yes. You guys are great, haha. -ha. Lu Yiming, what did you mean just now? Wang Gang, it's embarrassing if you don't admit what you have done. Was this what Brother G.E. wanted? I should have thought of it long ago. In fact, Brother G.E. had no interest in our affairs from the beginning. The reason why he took us to wander around was to kill our patients and make us impetuous. In the end, all it takes is one little trick to divide us, to turn us against each other, and he can have fun with it. Brother G.E. is bored of torturing the flesh. Has he started to play with people's hearts? But, but, I feel. Get source point fear, 0.01 point Wang Gang. Get source point fear, 0.01 point Lu Yiming. Get source point fear, 0.01 point Ching Yuan. Get source point love, 0.01 point Ching Yuan. Why am I getting source points for both fear and love from Ching Yuan? I never expected that in addition to the effect of proving identity, the XINMO seal also has a supervision and punishment mechanism. Sooner or later, such a shabby sect will be over. Looks like it's impossible to find the six desire skill from the disciples of the sect. Hmm, I've been to the XINMO sect. I have to get some martial arts secrets. I can't return empty-handed. Well, I don't know what good things this GE Huayu hides. So clean. No ancient books, no treasures, and no secret doors, nothing important at all. Why you, are you back? Dad, wait a minute, I'll open the door right away. Damn, he came so soon? Huh? Father, why are you so slow? What are you doing? I haven't been back for a long time, just want to change the layout of the room. Okay, I have something to tell you. Why you? The Patriarch did not directly print the XINMO seal for you. In fact, there is a reason. It's not that he no longer accepts you. I have to be clear with you about this. Don't think much about it. Dad, I understand. Thanks. Don't print me that seal thing. This, the Six Desires pill, is a treasure that I got from the Patriarch. It's the reward that the Patriarch gave you after you offered your technique for the sect. What the hell? What is this pill? 
After thinking about it, if you only have in heaven and on earth, I am the only one on your body, it is not a big problem to be an idle elder in the XINMO sect. But if you want to take on important missions in the future, then you have to repractice the six desires technique again. What do you mean? Could it be that you are offering to help me retrain the six desires skill? The six desires pill is taken from a certain elder who had passed away. All the chi of the previous owner has been erased by the patriarch for people in the first and eight realm like you. You can use it to rehearse the six desires technique which will have good results. Oh? Great. This trip was not in vain. Wait. I did lie to them that Changxing Bakwin would swallow all the true energy of my cultivation. How did they? I know what you are worried about. Don't worry. The six desires pill is used to solve this problem. The six desire pill is an external object, physically cut off the connection with your divine technique, and the true chi will not be swallowed by it. Slowly bring in the root of the six desires technique, and then you can use the six desires pill to perform the secret technique of the sect. Come on, hurry up and run your technique. I will put this six desire pill in your body. Remember, do not operate other techniques, or your body will break and explode, equivalent to an all-out strike of a natural third and eight realm master. Oh God, I don't know anything about the six desires technique. Be quick, use your power. Damn. It's over, my physical body shouldn't be able to hold it. And how should I explain it later? Found a large amount of foreign true chi essence invading the body. And the suitability with the 8 difficulties demon technique is 70%. Do you want to consume 100 source points to use the 8 difficulties demon technique to accept it? True chi essence? Could it be the 6 desires pill? It's compatible with the 8 difficulties demon technique? Yes, of course yes. Huh? Get source point shock, 0.01 point GEE. -E. So fast? My son is really gifted, and such a short time has been able to reconcile the six desires pill. I didn't expect it to go so smoothly. Long live the system. Mastering the skill, the eight difficulties demon technique, current level, level four, current effect. Its demonic nature holds the power of five difficulties by being been connected to the true chi essence. My eight difficulties demon technique can now last longer than before. The specific effect is not easy to experiment now. I will check it after GEE -E leaves. All right, next is Water Devil Kung Fu. You won't be familiar with this Kung Fu, so I will guide you. Reshape the foundation of the Six Desire skill as soon as possible, and then the Sect Master will give you the XINMO seal. I understand. Damn. I don't understand it at all. Once you reach the third level of innate, you won't be able to progress any further. But you're in heaven and on earth. I am the only one is different. The patriarch was full of praise after seeing it. Therefore, the focus of your cultivation should actually be based on this technique. The six desires demon technique is just secondary. In heaven and on earth, I am the only one is much more lighter and powerful. Of course, I can distinguish. And, although the handover of the in heaven and on earth, I am the only one is beneficial for the sect, but it should not be taken out at this time. Su Min, this old man is very suspicious. If it wasn't for your matter, I would have had a talk with the patriarch privately. Father need not be angry, in heaven and on earth, I am the only one has no obvious shortcomings, it doesn't matter even if he takes it away. Why you? Your temperament is much calmer. In the past, if you had encountered this kind of thing, you will inevitably lose your temper. Ahaha, uh -huh. after leveling up, my temperament has changed. Moreover, the skill also requires me to be clear-headed, so getting caught up in these little things is not good for my cultivation. Really? Nod. Well, you have your own way. Then it's about the Chunling Dao. The Patriarch's point of view is that you're their killer anyway. If they come here, then you have to deal with it well. But this is a small matter. Father will help you. Don't worry about Chunling Dao causing trouble for you. I got it. Thank you for helping me, Father. Damn, it didn't seem to be a big deal to be rest assured. At least the sect master didn't ask me for guilt. 
When my work is over, I will take time to help you practice the techniques. It's been so long since you're back, so get some rest. Father, wait a minute. I should make up a reason to directly ask this old man about the six desires technique. He doesn't seem to doubt my identity. Let's take advantage of this. Huh? Do you want to tell me something? It's okay. This time you've worked hard for me. I have caused so much trouble for you. No, the reason why it was possible to deceive G.E.E. -E was because of using G.E. Huayu's absence in the sect as an excuse. If I ask about the six desire technique that G.E. Huayu knows very well, it could easily reveal flaws. It would be much safer to find outsiders to ask. This kid, why have you become so sentimental? I don't know who you've met, but when did you start talking like this? Don't you like it, then? Practice well. Don't think nonsense. I have to go now. Father, take care. This old man really loves his children. Still, if I don't act well then he will be suspicious. If I have to live with him for a long time, it will be very troublesome. Originally, I just wanted to have a little fun, collect some secret techniques and source points. I didn't expect the danger level to be so high. Moreover, I haven't collected anything yet. But the old man G.E.E. -E helped me get the Six Desires pill, that's good too. My true chi hasn't completely recovered yet, although the true chi was solely consumed by the flowery spirit, the eight difficult demonic chi did indeed exist. As long as I don't use it, ordinary people cannot detect it, so I can hide it from G.E.E. -E and the XINMO sect master. It's just that I didn't expect that the Six Desires pill and the Eight Difficulties Demon Chi could be connected. This is equivalent to powering up my Eight Difficulties Demon technique. But the power of the Eight Difficulties doesn't seem to have changed at all. I can't directly mobilize the True Chi from the Six Desires pill, Hell Difficulty. It's clear that it has an Eight Third Level power. But using Eight Difficulties Demon powers that are hard to cast, it is just the same power as before. Try to increase strength more and see. After half an hour. I maintained Hell's difficulty for half an hour. The power is the same as before, but this endurance, the Devil Chi was not exhausted at all before it would have lasted only 15 minutes. It is possible that other techniques are the same. Although the Six Desire Pill can't raise the quality of the Eight Difficulty Chi to the Innate Realm, it does keep the Devil Chi from being exhausted. This seems to be of little use, but the Eight Difficulties Demon Chi has always been able to be converted into the Flower Spirit Chi, although because the efficiency is really too low, I basically will not use this conversion, which is too tasteless. I can use the Eight Difficulties as a springboard to convert to the Flower Spirit Chi, although it could only convert the first in Eight Chi. When facing a strong enemy, Xie Daoyun's Innate will also blow away his true Chi and change to who I am now. With this third grade in 8 chi, even if the conversion efficiency is somewhat low, there is no excessive loss of true chi. This can save a lot of source points so that I don't have to use the nirvana technique to recover true chi every time. However, if I want to play GE Huayu's identity for a long time, I must know the six desires technique. Otherwise, I will not be able to reshape its foundation with the six desires pill. GE -E will certainly suspect me. What's more, this Six Desire pill can only work only when you get the Six Desire technique, otherwise, the current usage is really a bit wasteful. But it's still safety first. In that place, I can try my luck. XINMO Sect Library Why did why you come here? Have you noticed something that needs to be fixed in the in heaven and on earth? I am the only one technique? Vice Patriarch Su really loves to joke. If this is true, then I would have been informed about this by the Patriarch. Why would I come here? Then you're here because... I'm ashamed to say it. Last night, while I was stabilizing my in heaven and on earth, I am the only one technique the true chi of the Six Desires technique suddenly rushed out. If it weren't for my strong body suppressing it, I'm afraid I would have died. So I wanted to check the Six Desires technique again to see what the problem is. The XINMO sect library is Su Min's territory. If I wanted the Six Desires technique, I simply had to get Su Min's consent. Huh? The Six Desires technique is a basic skill that every XINMO sect disciple has to learn. 
Why you, with your talent, how can you even forget this? Vice Patriarch Sue, I do remember the technique, but I still want to compare with the original to see if there are any errors. All right, give me your license. That. I came in a hurry, so I didn't bring it. Sure enough, these big sects are very strict in these stuffs. Why didn't you bring it? Why you, have you been away for so long that you have forgotten the rules of the library? The sex library is not a place anyone can enter. Only those who have made merit and have a license can enter here. Otherwise, even your father won't be able to get in. Vice Patriarch Sue, is it not a merit for me to contribute the in heaven and on earth? I am the only one technique to the sect. And I'm not asking for a new technique, so can you give me a license? Go and talk to the patriarch. If the patriarch agrees, then this old man will let you in here and didn't you learn this technique from your father? Why don't you ask him? Six Desires Technique of XINMO Sect has three branches. Could it be that you want to learn it from other branches? Why you? This is not good. Fuck. If I dare to find GEE, -E, then why do I need to talk with you? And the Six Desires Technique have so many branches like that? That's something new. And also, why you? You had told me that you will tell me something after you get promoted to innate. Now you're promoted, you can tell me about it. Huh? Hee hee, I've been out for so long. I've forgotten, can Vice Patriarch Sue remind me about it? GE family and Sue family do not get along, is he tricking me? This kid, why are you still wary of me? Is it because you're upgraded to innate? How could I? Vice President Sue is thinking wrong about me. The relationship between the two sides is not good. I'll just treat it as if it were nothing. I don't think it's too weird. Good, you and GEE -E really look like they were printed from the same mold. Oh no, Vice President Sue was too praiseworthy. Then, can I enter this library? Why you, the sect has its own rules. I can't just let you in on my own. Don't embarrass me. If you really want to go in, you have to ask the patriarch. Only then will I dare to let you in. And I can tell you. I have already compared the whole six desires technique in my mind, and there is nothing that can deal with your situation. The six desires technique cannot help you. Please go back. Deputy Sick Master Sue, I don't know if it is an illusion, but I always feel that you are targeting me. Am I not doing well? What are you talking about? I just follow the rules. You are an excellent disciple of the sect. I will help you as much as I can. I see, Vice Patriarch Sue. I will leaving. Yes, don't be too unfamiliar. Just call me Grandpa Sue. This GE Huayu really has a problem. I've stained him with the Bai Chun Chi again. It can still last for more than 10 years. If it's broken again, it means that he has discovered my trick. Is he a fake? With GEE skills, it's impossible for him to not recognize his son, so he must know it. Then this guy impersonating GE Huayu, it seems not right, otherwise, he wouldn't have come to the library to get the Six Desires technique. Or maybe I'm thinking too much. According to Su Min's statement, the library is guarded by demons, even if I let Ching or sneak in while Su Min is away she will probably be discovered immediately. I really did not expect it to be this hard. Moreover, Su Min seems to have done something to me. My body really has a scent. If it weren't for the Changxing Bakwen making my five senses extremely sharp, I wouldn't be able to detect it. It's not convenient here. I have to go back and look into it. This Su Min really has a lot of tricks. Three hours later, I finally figured out what happened. Su Min has put something on my body. This thing is harmless, but it can emit an extremely weak smell. It gets nourished with the help of my body. It should probably last around 10 years. So, no matter how I change my appearance, as long as I appear in front of him, he can sense me by this smell. Very dangerous. It's a pity that he underestimated the ultimate control of Changxing Bakwen over my body. Even the slightest abnormality would be found out. Now there are two ways to solve the problem. One is to cure the symptoms, and the other is to cure the root cause. 
to treat the symptoms by relying on the extreme control of the physical body of Changxing Bakwen, I can forcibly lock this smell in the body and prevent it from spreading to the outside so that even Su Min can't smell it. Sure enough, it can't be sensed anymore. And for the root cause, I can forcibly condense this stuff to a certain part of the body and then use Nirvana technique to heal that part. But now I'm being noticed by Su Min, it will be very troublesome if I did something suspicious. Let's just keep it like that. I feel like I can use it for something. Huh? Brother GE, are you there? What's the matter? Brother GE, Elder Jing specially asked me to ask you why you haven't gone to find her yet. Elder Jing heard that Brother G.E. had returned to the sect and had been waiting to meet you, so. What are you talking about? I'm too busy right now. How can I meet other people? If she has something to say to me, please wait until I finish my work. Huh? This, to be on the safer side, I'll just reject it. But, Elder Jing said that you had made an appointment with her before. If you're not meeting her then, Elder Jing will have to go to Vice Patriarch G.E. It's not a big deal. There's no need to complain to my father. Let her come and talk to me in person. Why is this elder looking for me? But, Elder Jing has already told you. You haven't read the letter, have you? Letter? You see, another letter has arrived. Oh my. Is this like a phone message? Brother G.E. Why don't you take a look? This mirror is broken. I didn't know someone was looking for me. Go check it to see what's going on. Yes, yes. Brother G.E., it's okay. Elder Jing's message is very clear. You can get out of here. Yes, yes. I was careless. Although the junior disciples didn't like G.E. Huayu, he was still the mainstay of the XINMO sect. How could there be no social relations? I've been back after a long time, but no one came to talk to me. I really didn't think of this detail. So the XINMO sect is used to communicating like this? What the hell? Brother GE, haven't you? Received a letter from Elder Wan? Brother GE, why don't you reply to my letter? Didn't we say that we will fight with you being together when you come back? GE, why you? Why didn't you report to the Demon Hall when you came back? Deputy Sick Master G.E. made a promise with me to let you have a job in the Demon Hall. If you can't do it, you really don't value Deputy Sick Master G.E. Brother G.E. How come Brother G.E. reacted so strongly? It's really not like you. It's nothing. What do you want to see me about? Haha, <laughs> Brother G.E.'s temper really became very good. I just wanted to see it. I never thought I would see a day when Brother G.E. would be friendly with a disciple of Vice Patriarch Sue like me. Get source point hate, 0 0.01 point Li Bing. Damn. Li Bing, who gave you the courage to challenge me? Go back and tell Su Min, if he comes to provoke me again, I won't forgive him. Very good, G.E. Huayu, go ahead, continue to make trouble, the bigger the better. Why does G.E. Huayu have so many enemies? This is too much. It's really too hard to pretend to be someone you don't know. It's a miracle that I wasn't discovered till now. No wonder G.E. Huayu has many forms. I can't be a nice G.E. Huayu in front of everyone. I should be act more like him. Neither the Six Desires technique nor the Wu Xiang Ju showed any signs in me. If I continue to stay in XINMO sect, there will be no benefit. I can't go on like this. I have to leave from here. What's more, I actually wanted the XINMO sect and the Chongling Dao to face off against each other. If I stay here all the time, this plan won't work, so I have to find a way out. Moreover, the Thousand-Faced Prince recorded a secret stronghold not far from the XINMO sect in the Erong Yao. I should go there to see. Maybe I could find some treasure in it. A bunch of trash. I did not even use my true chi. How dare you guys provoke me. You really don't know how high the sky is. Under normal circumstances, GEE -E would not let me go. 
Fortunately, I wanted to provoke him like this. Brother G.E., I really didn't mean to. You guys do not know good and bad. Brother G.E., this is a him. Get source point fear. 0.01 point Ching Yuan. What's wrong with this sister? Is there even a normal person in the XINMO sect? Look, Ching Yuan knows me well, but you are still not convinced. I have to teach you guys a lesson. Since Brother G.E. was promoted to innate, his temperament has changed a lot before he was not as brutal as now. It was not much better before, and it has always made people scared. If it is possible, I would rather want him to never come back for the rest of his life. If it wasn't for the Deputy Sec Master G.E., I wouldn't be afraid of him. You guys aren't convinced either, are you? No, no, Brother G.E., we admire you very much. Ah, uh, a bunch of trashes. Come, let's practice a few tricks. G.E., Brother G.E., we don't want to. Ah, uh, after some time. Really useless. None of you can fight me to the end. How dare you call yourselves as the disciples of the XINMO sect? I have beaten almost everyone. All of you go back and practice. If you're still weak next time, then get out of the sect. Now I'll just wait for one of them to go report to GEE. -E. GEE, why you? You're too much. Yeah, spread this news to as many people as possible. Why you? How dare he do it? GEE, -E, you must give me an explanation today. Damn, I've never seen such a maniac. What happened? You still have the courage to ask. Your good son is messing around in the XINMO sect. Why you? Did he do anything besides finding someone to practice the exercises? Why you? Huh? Father, why are you here? Perfect. The disciples of the sect have been complaining about you recently, and even the elders have come to me to complain about you. Why you? What the hell are you doing? It's just normal practice. Damn. This year's disciples are too useless. You're saying beating people to death is normal practice? What the hell is going on with you? Why can't you even restrain yourself? This is not entirely my fault. That's because they talk bad about me. It's really hateful. Why you? You were not like this before. Even if the disciples were not happy with you, they wouldn't just express it due to your intimidation. But I did not expect that the complaints received were all started by you. You must give me an explanation. Father, it's actually related to my practice. This technique allows me to judge how a person thinks about me. I can't accept people who think bad about me, and that's why I hit them. This in heaven and on earth, I'm the only one technique is truly amazing. Everyone who meets me should be respectful. Most of the people I beat were people who were dissatisfied with me. After I beat them, my whole mood improved to a certain extent. In heaven and on earth, I'm the only one technique has such an effect. Father, I am actually quite unhappy. After all, I caused a lot of trouble for you. But my training is not yet complete, and I can't control myself. Is it really uncontrollable? So, I should leave the XINMO sect. I'll come back after the things here are settled. This. It's not that Father won't let you go. The matter with the Chengling Dao is not over yet. You must stay here by then. It's simple. Give me another one of your exclusive Yin Chi communication talisman, so if you want to find me, you can use it to summon me at any time, and I will immediately return back to the sect. Fortunately, I had prepared everything in the past two days. The range of the Yin Chi talisman is not too large. If you go too far, you won't be able to receive the signal. I'm so bored, intended to use Xie Yan's face to go to Yudu to relax my mind a bit, I won't go too far. Yudu? Actually, that place is not far from here, so it's convenient for me to find you. Why you? Why do I get the feeling that you were already prepared for this trip? Everyone must be well prepared. Father, you were the one who taught me these. Okay, you can go. You do not need to worry about other things. 
Also, don't put aside the matter of using the pill to reshape the sixth desire skill and put more effort into it. When did I teach you this? I'll forget it. I finally got out. This G.E. Huayu, does his father always accompany him in and out of the sect? Finally left the XINMO sect, staying here for a long time would be troublesome. At least I got the six desires pill, should I take this opportunity to flee? Forget it, GEE knows my identity as Xia Yan, it won't be good if flee, I should think of a way to deal with the Chongling Dao and make the XINMO sect mess up, so that we'll have a chance to act. If I can't succeed then, just need to kill GEE. That's good too. I'm not in a hurry to go to Yudu. Yi Rongshu Yao wouldn't have something useless, this place should have something. The Thousand Face Prince might be hiding some treasure there. Let's go there and see. Ji Huayu, what martial arts did he practice? An hour later, Haifong Forest, according to the records of the Yi Rongshu Yao, this Haifong Forest could be considered a very scary place. The forest is so dense that there is no light to penetrate, mortals who don't know martial arts won't be able to come out. Even an innate master could barely escape from here. Some people have tried destroying this place and turning it into a deserted area. But the strange thing is that the next day these trees will be restored to their original state. I don't know how G.E. Huayu got in here. This place looks good. It seems very secure. Very spacious. It's good. Huh? This seems to be a tombstone? Something's written on it. It turns out that G.E. Huayu got the Wuxiang Ju technique from here, but what is this five elements escape? Haven't seen him use it. Even the Yi Rong Shi Yao says nothing about the five elements escape. And why is there nothing carved about it? Wait, this trace, G.E. Huayu, you've already learned this technique, why erase the writing on the wall like that? Alas, but if it were me, I would probably do the same. The furniture is quite complete. It means that G.E. Huayu has been here several times. This is a bear cave. There is a maze outside and other people can't get in. I don't need to use G.E. Huayu's face anymore. I can finally regain my strength here. Damn, this trip to the XINMO sect is really exhausting. Nirvana Technique You do, the old place. Come here quickly. I haven't seen you since February. How are you? I'm waiting for you at the Tingshan Inn. The rest of the content is similar. Is this a draft of G.E. Huayu's letter to others? Not right. I can imitate G.E. Huayu's handwriting. Obviously, these were not written by him. But some letters were really written by him. Was he learning someone's handwriting? But the identity of the Yi Rong Shi Yao is well studied, and this is... Get source point shock, 0.01 .01 points yen ryu, yen ryu? Is she near me? Innate flowery spirit. Huh. Where the hell is she? Here. Gee why you, you. Gee why you, what are you doing? You imitated the flower spirit really well. Did you have a good time with this new identity? New identity? She thinks I am not Xia Yan, but Ji Yi Huai Yu? Yin Ruyu, are you blind? In other words, she thought I was Ji Yi Huai Yu playing Xia Yan. Why are you avoiding me? Are you tired of living? Really, is it necessary to do so in front of me? I was just joking with you a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm not joking with you. How did you get in here? What are you doing here? Tell me. This cave. I relied on the Yi Rong Shi Yao of Ji Yi Hui Yu to come in here. But how, Yin Ru Yu? Brother, your imitation is getting better and better. Good, good, good. However, can you stop shouting? I have already practiced the five elements escape to a superb level. If I don't take the initiative, then brother won't be able to control me. If you're still agitated, I won't talk to you anymore. 
We discovered this place at the same time, and after some time, we agreed to become brothers and sisters. Ji Huayu cultivated the Wuxiang Ju and Yi Rong Ju, and I cultivated the five elements escape. So it's a matter of course for me to come here. Damn, so it's like that. I think the person who left the letters should be her. I should not have taken off the Ji Huayu face out. I'm not your brother, I'm Xia Yan. You can wide open your eyes to see clearly. How could she come here without me knowing, so it's very likely that she's been following me since I came down the mountain. Just let her think I am Ji Huayu and see what she wants to do. You want to continue it again, so. The beauty Yin Ryu greets the young master Xia Yan. Nope, I dare not accept that greeting, someone who is daring enough to kill her brother. Everyone said Zhao Shi died at the hands of Ji Huayu, only I know who killed him, but because this is in my interest, so I'm too lazy to refute, now is the right time, maybe I should try her. Brother Xie, didn't my brother Zhao Shi died in the hands of the Thousand Face Prince, Ji Huayu? I see, that's why he wanted to kill me. Maybe he thinks me of blaming him for killing Zhao Shi. Ha ha, I don't believe it. Look at her expression. This woman is more terrible than that demon girl, ah. Let's not talk about that more. There is a new development in the Shigong treasury. Young Master Xie, you want to do it or not? Shilan treasure? I remember reading about it in the Yirong Shi Yao. Did you find a way to disguise yourself as Shilan Wei? The original owner is called Shilan Wei, a princess from the small country of Shilan near the Han Dynasty. Few people know that the royal family of the Xilan kingdom had a few spirit stones. Those spirit stones are very rare and are necessary to maintain the mountain gate formation. Xilan kingdom seems to have not found a suitable formation, so those spirit stones are not useful for the time being, and it's been placed in the treasure house. The purpose of the Thousand Faces Prince collecting this face was just to aim for those spirit stones. That's right, so are you interested? This guy pretended to be like the real thing. I really thought he was not G.E. Huayu. Well, I'm quite interested. You can talk about it. According to the E. Rome Yao, the Xilan treasure can only be opened by the bloodline of the Xilan royal family. And Xilan Wei is the last of the Xilan royal bloodline. But the thousand-faced prince only has her face. He wasn't able to take her blood with it. It turned out that he had Yin Ryu as a helper. I don't care about the spirit stones, but the XINMO sect might need it. Brother, I've worked so hard to find these clues, so you can't have a proper talk with me? No, say it quickly. Well, okay, okay, okay. Then I'll tell you, Mr. Cien. Okay, now go on. All right, I will say. Gee, why you is strong. But his temperament is too weird. It is better to part ways with him after finishing this deal. It happened when we were chasing down someone from the main family by the border. Shilan is a small country on the border of the Han Dynasty. They have no connection with the outside world. That person was caught up by the pursuers. I don't want to meddle in this matter, but brother liked that woman's face and insisted on taking it for his collection. I had no choice. The two of us spent a lot of effort to kill the pursuers. But the sad thing is, the woman was still killed. But the woman was so smart, she found brother to be ill-intentional. She did accept the request for taking her face, but in return, she wanted a deal. The promise she gave was too heartwarming, so we agreed to her. Until now, when I think of that incident, I'm still very excited. She said, I will give you my face, but... Please, save my mother. I can even give you the Shilan treasure. According to her, there are treasures in the Shilan treasury that all the big forces are eager to feast on, but this treasury can only be opened by the bloodline of the Shilan kingdom. But now, the royal family died and she is the only one left, which means that only her blood can open the Shilan treasury. Brother Huayu ignored Shilan Wei's request at first and planned to draw blood from her, but he didn't expect that Eleven Lan Wei was really smart. Ah, uh, I forgot that Brother Huayu hates this part, so I won't talk about it anymore. I don't mind listening, so please continue. Master Xie really wants to continue listening? 
Just do as I say. Don't talk nonsense. Okay, I'll continue. Jiyu has really changed a lot. Before she died, her body gradually got dehydrated. It looked really bad. She said that if we don't help her fulfill her last wish, she won't let us take advantage of her. We all thought that the changes in her body were made by herself. In the end, we had to promise her, and even vowed for this. However, Shilam Wei's blood was still exhausted and she was turned into a dry corpse. Later, after investigation, we learned that these were set up in order to prevent people like Brother Huayu from impersonating the royal family to steal the treasure. It's just that this is Shilan's secret that a few people know. Shilan Wei set us up. Not only were we unable to use her face and her blood to open the treasure house, but we also had to carry her last wish. It said that if a last wish hasn't been fulfilled, you will be haunted by demons, and your cultivation will be affected. It turns out that the Thousand Face Prince was cheated by Shilan Wei. This wish could never be fulfilled. That's a sad story. So you found a way to recreate the Shilan Wei bloodline? Yin Ryu can still find a way to reverse the situation. I happened to get a copy of the Book of Strange Stories compiled by Man Tian Xing according to the record. There is a strange thing named Living Corpse Blood Leech. They are parasites living on corpses, drinking blood to live. As long as enough blood is replenished, the living corpse blood leech will produce blood for the corpse by replacing the heart and providing continuous blood flow for the internal organs, until the body is filled with blood to make it living and continue hunting more prey. If this leech is placed on Shilan Wei's corpse and fed with blood, it will be able to regenerate Shilan Wei's blood. Right. The living corpse blood leech is a legendary species, and I've heard of it, so I wanted to inform this to you. So, where is it? Yin Ryu must cooperate with me if she wants the treasure, so I'm not afraid of her playing tricks. Alas, if it wasn't for Brother Huayu who was nowhere to be seen till now, maybe we could have got it. What do you mean? Say it clearly. The Chase Auction House auctioned off two pieces of amber a few months ago, and the living corpse blood leech was sealed in one of them. The person who bought the two pieces of amber was Di Xiaoyao. Di Xiaoyao? No, Di Xiaoyao had only one piece of amber with the ancient medicine Bodhi sealed inside, and there is no living corpse blood leeches in it. It seems that Master Xia knew it too. Yes, Di Xiaoyao just wants to buy a piece of amber with the ancient Bodhi medicine inside. He had accidentally bought the other one with it. So he gave it to someone else. Ah, how stupid can he be? That amber was not given to any relatives or friends, just a stranger who happened to meet him on the road. I had a hard time finding who this person was. But that person didn't want to give it to me. And he was an innate master then. At that time, I was not yet promoted to innate, so I could only return empty-handed. But it's not too late. We are all innate now, so let's go find that person. Don't need, because he too passed it to someone else, and it's someone that Brother Huayu knows very well what? Who? Damn, this guy G.E. Huayu knows a lot of people. Who might that be? Well, it's the deputy sect master of Brother Huayu's sect. Deputy sect master? Could it be? Yes, it is Su Min, the deputy sect master of the XINMO sect. Damn it. Su Min? It's him? How troublesome. I have to think about it. Huh? Chinger? Wait a minute, let me and Yen Ryu finish talking. Was it an illusion just now? Did G E Huayu's body gave out the devil Chi? Can he detain ghosts and dispatch the soul? Could it be that Wuxiang Ju can follow the fundamental technique of Chong Ling Dao? Please be rest assured, I have a plan to steal the amber from Su Min without being noticed. Su Min is the vice patriarch of the XINMO sect. He has a mansion in Yudu. He likes to go there to recite poems and have fun. Yudu is indeed a good place, located between the three rivers and five lakes. For a person like Su Min, this place proved to be the best to bring his poems to life. Every year, Su Min likes to invite the scholars in Yudu to a conference, and there are good rewards for good writing. The first few times were really lively, and there were many famous people. 
but over time, some expert scholars have been reluctant to come. I found out that Su Min will exhibit his treasures in this year's conference, and that Amber is one of them. The conference will begin in seven days. We'll come in as guests, take the Amber, and slip away. Wouldn't one person be enough? Why do you need me to come? Of course, your talent is needed. As long as we can pretend to be housekeepers of Su Min's family and create an opportunity, we can take the Amber really easily. I'm not G.E. Huayu. I don't know how to make a disguise. It can disguise my voice and body shape by just using some of the methods recorded in the Yi Rong Shi Yao. But disguising as a housekeeper, it's really something I cannot do. However, there is another way. Let me think more. With my current skill, I'm not afraid that I won't be able to run away if I'm exposed. But there is a risk of provoking Su Min. And Yin Ryu told me so many secrets, it would be strange if refused. But Yin Ryu thinks that Ji Yi Huayu and Xie Yin are the same people, and Ji Yi Yi knows about this too. Thousand Faces Prince does not necessarily require to skin the opponent's face. It is okay to use other materials to make masks. If I don't say that I killed Xie Yin to replace the opponent, she probably won't suspect. Now it's time to see if it is necessary to cooperate with her. It doesn't seem to be a bad thing to offend Su Min. I am now Ji Yi Huayu. If I can succeed in blaming Su Min's calamities for Ji Yi Yi, Ji Yi Yi won't have time to stare at me in the future. If possible, it is best to directly let the two parties fight to create chaos in the XINMO sect. Ji Yi Yi will surely get into a lot of trouble and won't have time to pay attention to me. Brother, you know my strength. This plan must never fail. Su Min would never know his belongings were stolen in the first place. Besides, isn't Ji Yi Huayu being targeted by Chong Ling Dao recently because of Zhao Xiu's affairs? I can help and put this matter to a close. I know how to handle it. I don't need your care. I did this to let the Chong Ling Dao and the XINMO sect to fight. After all this, I will find an opportunity to ask her when the people of Chong Ling Dao will come to the XINMO sect to ask for an explanation. If possible, the original plan can still be continued. But I can't be careless, or I will be in big trouble later on, causing a war between the two sect, and will make her suspicious. Then, I think the plan is okay for now. I can agree, but I need to hear more details. That's easy. The details, we can leave for you to first. I will tell you the details after we reach there. The Wuxiang Jew that Ji Yi Huayu got is a copy. It's not possible for him to imitate innate level techniques. How did he imitate Xie Yan's flowery spirit technique? At least on the surface, it seems that there is no loopholes. Is it possible that Xie Yan is disguised as Ji Yi Huayu? Brother, are you sure that you will go to Yudu to participate in Su Min's meeting as Xie Yan? What if Xie Yan really shows up? Wouldn't it be? No, it's impossible. Some information are only known by Ji Yi Huayu. He won't know anything unless he had interrogated Ji Yi Huayu. Ji Yi Huayu is very strong. It is absolutely impossible for him to be caught by Xie Yan. This guy came out of the XINMO sect with Ji Yi Yi. I can't tell the difference, but G.E.E., -E, he would never mistake his son. And the XINMO sect can't tolerate an imposter to live freely, right? This is not something you should worry about. It's absolutely impossible for the real C.A.N. to be there. In the main world, Jade Princesses and Sect Masters have been providing me with little source points. With the passage of time, its rate has still been decreased. So this time for participating in the meeting, I must use my real identity to further expand my influence. Otherwise, using a fake identity will account for a less production of source points. Ah, why Chinger is so noisy, Master Xie? I'll be back in 15 minutes. What's up with him? Chinger, stop making trouble. You can come out now. Huh? Chinger. Mysterious. Master, are you surprised? Chinger? Why are you wearing that costume? And what's that little animal on your shoulder? How is it? 
Don't you think it matches my robe? I thought the evil gods pink chi and split you directly. No, on the contrary, after absorbing the yin Qian fruit, the evil god's pink chi was completely suppressed. Ching'er's strength has increased greatly now. Look, my lord, Ching'er can already understand some parts of the Wuzijing. Good thing, you can understand Wuzijing. Since it got into your body inexplicably last time and disappeared, I almost forgot about it. Why can't I still see anything? Huh? Huh? Chinger can read it. No, every page is blank. Looks like this Wuzijing really isn't for me. Obviously the cover and the first four pages have content. It doesn't matter, Chinger, as long as you can understand it, it's fine. Now tell me what it says. The Wuzijing is actually not called Wuzijing. The cover of the book is the Ghost Sex Book of Spells. Chinger can only understand the content of the first four pages. It is a spell. I think you look more like a master of magic. In fact, it is no different from magic. See for yourself, master. The sky was created, new walk creates man, fresh air rises, and dirty chi sinks. The eye is fascinated by five colors, obstructing three souls. The eye is fascinated by five colors, obstructing three souls. Gotcha. This chinger, what is she chanting? Urgent is in order, go. Huh? His, what kind of spell is this? Transfiguration spell. You can turn everything into the shape you want. This face is exactly the same as mine. It feels like looking in a mirror. But why only the head has changed, the body is still the same. Chinger doesn't know either. Can't this transfiguration spell transform the entire body? Let's try again. Urgent is in order. Urgent is in order. Urgent is in order. It's totally different from what the book says. Your transformation spell is just a blindfold. It can be broken by a touch. Just use a little of the innate true chi. It can be undone easily. The cons are very obvious. The book clearly says that it can transform the whole thing. Chinger is so useless. Don't be discouraged. You are just learning. It is great to be able to use it to this level. If Chinger could practice this ability successfully, it would be more convenient than using the thousand-faced prince's shapeshifting technique. Master, believe me once more, I know three other spells. Break the marshal of spell and take the opponent's weapon. Chinger recruited a ghost to demonstrate to Master. The sky was created, Nuwa creates man. Fresh air rises and dirty chi sinks. Take the opponent's weapon freely. Urgent is in order, go. This is, undressing spell? It's not right, it should have taken the weapon out of its hand, why did it fail again? How could this happen? Come back here. Ah, in a sense, this spell is not bad. Master, you have to believe me, the spells recorded in this book is very powerful. I can still have another spell that makes people honestly confess. Uh, no one is here to try. What else is there? The last one, the shifting spell, can make us teleport thousand miles away in an instant. The sky was created, new walk creates fresh man, air rises, and dirty chi sinks, shifting spell, moving freely. Chinger, don't try more. Let's start with the transformation spell at first, urgent as an order. Go. Huh? Where is she? Chinger didn't dissipate, but where did she go? Did she really got teleported? Fifteen minutes have passed. Why hasn't G.E. Huayu returned? What the hell is he doing? Dizzy. You are. Ah, ah, ah. Aren't you the little demon girl from the other day? Interesting, you were able to withstand my powerful attack. It's been a long time since I met a spirit like you. Ha ha ha. Um. This big-breasted woman is scary. Let me go. Urgent is in order. Go. No matter what, I should grab her weapon first. Huh? Oh my, you are naughty. She's scary. Shifting spell. Urgent is in order. Go. Hoo hoo hoo. How come it failed? Mei Lang, grab her. 
Hoo hoo hoo. Shifting spell, urgent is in order, go, huh, why isn't the shifting spell working? Master, save me. Chinger, where did she go? Master. Chinger? Huh? Save me. Brother Huayu? Yen Ryu? What are you doing? This is Yen Ryu's ghost? It looks so fierce. I want to ask you the same thing, Brother Huayu. It turns out that this little demon girl belonged to Brother Huayu. Could it be that you ordered her to do this me? This is Chinger, what did you do to her? It's just, the skill wasn't good, it tore her clothes off. Chinger, what do you want me to say about you? Brother Huayu wanted the Yin Xian fruit for this demon girl, right? I'm Xie Yin, Ge Huayu's fight for Yin Xian fruit has nothing to do with me, don't talk nonsense. And she was attacked too, how will you solve this matter? It was your spirit who pissed me off first. If I had really attacked her, she wouldn't be alive anymore. I don't bother arguing with you. Also, don't call me brother. I'm not your brother. Call me Master Xie. Okay, Master Xie. I will call you Master Xie from now on. Although spirits with intelligence are rare, they are not unique. But yours can use magic spells. Are there really such spirits? Master Xie, from where exactly did you got it? A place far, far away. Even I can't go there now. Let's try. Maybe we can find a way to go there. I said there's no way to get there. Don't think such nonsense. Okay, I believe you. Mei Lang, let's. Mei Lang? Get ready. You're really strong. I was wrong to say that you were ferocious before. What is this? It seems that they are having fun together. How is this possible? Mei Lang has no autonomous consciousness. How is she like this after spending a while with this female ghost Ching Ri? And where did the other two ghosts come from? Were they called by female ghost Ching Ri or were they called by Ji Yi Huai Yu? Stop playing Mei Lang. You don't want to continue playing with Ching Ri? My order seems to have just been ignored for a moment. What? Why this ghost can interfere with my order? All right, Chinger, we are family. It's just a misunderstanding. First, there is a strange martial art that can restrain Chong Ling Dao, and then there is this mysterious ghost. Gee, why you? You are getting more and more mysterious. Yudu, Yudu is an ancient city. It's said to be facing to three rivers and sitting on five lakes. It is said that at the beginning of the Han Dynasty, Gaozu established a county here, hoping that with this place as the headquarters, the southern part of the Han Dynasty would become more prosperous. Since then, the southern region, which was called Nanban in ancient times, had gradually prospered and has flourished to this day. Tavern The city of Yudu is a witness to the greatness of our Han Dynasty. In the fourth year of Shan Hui, Lord Hung was appointed as the governor here. He was good at painting, music, and poetry. He recruited many famous scholars of the Han Dynasty to settle here. A beautiful couple. Why don't we write a poem about this? Yudu's talent is increasing. Poetry can be seen everywhere. Let me offer a poem. Don't show off at your level. Let me do it. Whoever does well, that person wins. Quickly, but don't write anything bullshit that doesn't make sense. The XINMO sect is right next to Yudu. Do you think I still need you to introduce me about this place? Is this woman testing if I am really GE Huayu? You're CAN. You shouldn't know Yudu, right? Acting with this guy is really tiresome. Yes, what you said makes sense, but how do you know Yudu so much? Are you from Yudu? Master Xie, you have forgotten many things. I'm indeed from Yudu. I had told you this many years ago. I'm Xie Yin, not Ji Yi Huai Yu. Xie Yin didn't know you before. Uh, well. This guy is so confusing. Layers of waves heat across the mountains. Smile and fall down. Hundreds of charms in the middle of life. The wine is red and tender and the singing voice is clear and beautiful. Not allowed to be drawn sentimental. First meeting on the road. 
specially greeted, the night is broken, the bridal chamber is in deep need. Every time a masterpiece comes out, it will be sung. I didn't expect that I would hear this song again in a foreign land, and I don't know who wrote such a masterpiece. When I first composed the lyrics for the Demon Girl in the Iching Hall, I found that the poetry and songs in this world are fantastic, no worse than in my previous life. It has the same artistic concept, even the same words, and sentences too. If it were not for the fact that these familiar texts come from different authors and have a clear origin, I would almost think that someone on earth had come to this world. Most Huashia idioms can also be used naturally in this world. No one thinks there is any problem with them. It seems that there is still a certain connection between the two worlds. Could it be that this is the so-called premium projection? The culture of one world is projected to another world, making their influence similar. I don't know whether this world is projected to Huashia or Huashia is projected to this world. Don't say more, although Su Min is an idiot, he has a good vision for the mansion he chose. This, this is Su Min's mansion? So big, four or five floors, this is his mansion. Huh, have you never seen Su Min's mansion in Yudu? You are playing the role of Xie Yen vividly. This mansion actually existed before Su Min arrived. This mansion was built by King Hang. Only a few hundred years later, King Hang has long since passed away. His mansion was also in disrepair for a long time and gradually fell into disuse. Su Min bought the building from the descendants of King Hung, but also spent a lot of money to constantly renovate. Su Min, he liked the antiquity of this mansion, so he didn't change the name of this building, he kept the name Hang Wan Pavilion. Um, this style becomes more familiar with the more you look at it, this name, this surrounding environment, this is very similar to the Tenwan Pavilion. Su Min's literary meeting will be held in this Hengwan Pavilion. Famous talented people don't pay much attention to this place, but they cannot resist the Vice Patriarch Su's rewards, and every time it is held, it is very lively, which is also a unique feature of Yudu. Participating in Su Min's literary meeting is also simple. You only need to make a poem that Su Min hasn't heard before to be eligible to enter. This Su Min listens to a lot of poems and songs. If not, your self-written originals will not be eligible to participate. If we want to go inside, we have to pass this hurdle. I know that Mr. Xia is not good at writing, so I have prepared some poems here. All are composed of experts according to Su Min's preferences. They are all original. Let me see. There's no shortage of poetry in this world, but I don't think it can be the same, right? I don't know if I do a Tang Wang GE, everyone will be surprised. I have to win this. If the reputation is spread, a lot of source points can be harvested. The Tang Wang GE involves too many illusions, I am not very familiar with it, and it is not easy to use it indiscriminately, but it is fine to extract a few classics. I think it will be okay. Um, this poem. Ah, such a magnificent building, but it seems that no one has used the name of this mansion to write poetry, right? Of course, there are many. So many that I can't remember. The most famous one is that. When young Master Yai came to Yudu for the first time, he wrote this poem. Huh, this. Damn, this thing is actually written out. The sunset and lone rustling flying together, the autumn water together with the long sky a color, the sky is very high, aware of the infinity of the universe, the end of the sadness and emptiness, the famous sentences are all used up. Except for some of the illusions, they are almost exactly the same. Forget it, I'd better use the poem on the paper that Yen Ryu gave me. Now Su Min should still be in the XINMO sect, let's go to Hang Wang Pavilion to check first. If it's that simple, I don't need to ask for Master Xie's help. This Hanwan Pavilion is usually only taken care of by some subordinates. Su Min's treasures are not here. Except on the day of the literary meeting, we have no chance to see it. Let's go. I'll take Master Xie to find a place to sit down and then tell the whole plan. With the poems provided by me, we could easily qualify to go inside. The point is that Su Min will take out his collection for the guests to enjoy in the second half of the meeting. 
The amber of the living corpse blood leeches is Su Min's personal collection, and it will only be displayed on the day of the meeting. My plan is simple. After the treasure display is over, Su Min will arrange someone to guard it temporarily, and then takes it when he returns to the XINMO sect. During this period, I will try to hold Su Min's butler. Master Xiaf can pretend to be him and replace the real amber with the fake amber prepared by me. Then let the butler show up. We leave the scene calmly. If it goes well, Su Min won't even know that his treasure has been swapped. Please tell me more details about Su Min's butler. I am not the thousand-faced prince. I don't know to create human masks, but Ching Er's ability to enchant people can be more appropriate. The only thing to consider is whether to hide it from Yen Ryu. Don't you know the details of Su Jio? You still want me to continue acting, so tired. I almost forgot. Now you are Master Xia, not senior brother Huayu. Naturally, you don't know the details of Su Min's butler. Um, I really didn't know Su Min too. Fortunately, G.E. Huayu is a role-playing fanatic. Otherwise, I might have been discovered long ago. That man's name is Su Jio, the head of a small sect. Cultivation level is the first in eight. Do not know what reason abandoned their own sect with his wife to stay with Su Min as a steward. The first in eight? Pretending to be Su Jio is only the first step. Master Xie, you still need to ask some key information from him, otherwise you would be revealed easily. It's impossible to control a person of the first in eight level. Do we have to rely on Ching'er's half-assed transformation spell? Su Jio is with Su Min most of the time, but occasionally he will be alone. It would be best to catch him soon. Su Min will suspect that the butler did the stealing. There would be no other risks. If not, we can only do it during the meeting. Although young Master Xia's methods are good, but we shouldn't make a lot of noise. You're not even clinking glass with me. I really can't understand Master Xia. Damn it. I'm currently considering whether to get rid of you or not. I will make a plan to make Su Jio challenge you. When the fight is over, Master Xia can control Su Jio and ask for the information we want from him. What the hell? G.E. Huayu has this ability? Is Master Xia wondering on how to make Su Jio take the initiative to challenge you? Um, there are two things that's unbearable for a man. One is not being able to order others, and the second is to get cuckolded. Master Xia, your face is so handsome, you can make use of it. I would look for opportunities to drug Su Jio's wife, and Master Xia would take advantage of it to seduce her. What if Su Jio is so loyal and can tolerate what ordinary people can't, and he doesn't act? This female demon's plan is wild, wants me to sell my beauty. However, it is possible to try despised by gods and demons alike. If there is no chance to ask for information from Su Jio, then I have no better way. Well then, do you have any suggestions? Chinger also seems to have learned a spell, but she isn't good at it. I don't know if it is reliable or not. Hmm, that aside, how should I impersonate that Su Jio? It's a bit risky. Let's say, when I'm Su Jio, I will certainly be with Su Min's people, so if the real Su Jio shows up, what are we going to do? Or do you have a way to hold Su Jio until we're done? If Su Min had been there, I don't think Su Jio would have had the guts to challenge me. Even if he did, do you think Su Min won't stop it? Finally, even if we get what we want, Su Min will surely doubt me. I don't want to make enemies with Su Min by this identity. These are just details of the plan. I still haven't foreseen all possible scenarios. There are still seven days left, right? Till then I will strive to take any situation into account. So cautious, just like G.E. Huayu. Then come back to me when you've thought it through. Maybe after seven days, Ching'er's transformation spell would be usable. If it really doesn't work, I have to find an excuse. Also, I need to ensure that the identity of Xie Yin is not exposed. As for this demon girl, I don't have to worry much about that. For now, maintaining the current model of cooperation is the best option. This restaurant is owned by a friend of mine. If you're tired, you can rest here. I will head out now, and within seven days, I will definitely give Master Xie a perfect plan.
Chinger, your transformation spell will be the key to this mission. Yes. Chinger will try. There are still seven days. You have enough time to practice. If it still doesn't work out, I won't join Yen Ryu's plan. Master. Although Chinger is useless, but my abilities have improved a lot, Master must have confidence in Chinger. Chinger, what are you talking about? You're always by my side. I'm happy with that. How are you useless? Master Xie Yin, QQ Chinger hadn't felt it before. But after being summoned by Master this time, Chinger felt something different. Now, the connection between Chinger and Master has become stronger. From now on, no matter how far away Chinger is from Master, Chinger can hear your voice and follow your commands. And Master can also share vision with Chinger. Everything that Chinger sees will be transmitted to the Master. In this way, it will be easier for you. Shared vision? Damn, it's just like a live broadcast. Amazing, Chinger, why didn't you talk about this magical skill earlier? Chinger felt it just now. Come on, let's try it out. Yes, Master. The bond between Chinger and Master Xie Yin, let's connect. Chinger. Huh? Master, can you see clearly? Chinger, is this the scenery you usually see? This perspective is really strange. It's as if I'm the one flying in the sky. Moreover, I seem to have found something. Eh, what are you going to do, my lord? Chinger, don't move. Let me do a little experiment. Sure enough, it really can be done. Huh? Why am I out of my control? Wait, Master is in my body? That's right. Part of my consciousness has entered your body to control you. It's working quite smoothly. Don't worry. I just took over your body temporarily, but it can be only done when we're sharing our vision. So that's how it is. It scared Chinger to death. Really interesting. And the feeling has also changed. Feels like touching yourself. It turns out that my face looks like this in the eyes of others. After taking over Chinger body, I can also use her skills, but I don't know the effect. The sky was created, New Wa creates man. Fresh air rises, and dirty chi sinks, the eye is fascinated by five colors, obstructing three souls. Urgent is in order, go. Try it with a transfiguration spell. Huh, huh. Oh my god, my lord, this face is scary. After using Chinger body to cast a transformation spell, I feel that I can be able to. The sky was created, New Wa creates man. Fresh air rises, and dirty chi sinks, the eye is fascinated by five colors, obstructing three souls. Urgent is in order, go. Huh, huh. It seems that I have been thinking too much. Chinger skills can only be used by Chinger body. Yes. Yes. Then try that shifting spell again with Chinger body? Yes. Yes. Why are you talking to yourself through me? It's strange. Don't make trouble. I'm experimenting. Transform your shape and shadow. Move freely. Urgent is in order. Go. Huh? Why isn't it working? Master, it seems that the transformation can only be done to Chinger herself. Of course, I know. But I thought since Chinger and I are one, that would just make it work. Oh, Master is thinking too much. Now try again to see if you can cast a spell after becoming an owl. It seems that it has no effect. Transform your shape and shadow. Move freely. Urgent is in order. Go. Where did this teleport to? It doesn't feel right. Huh? Oh no. GRU GRU. I'm scared. This was not the right time to come. This woman is in the bath. Ah. Damn. Chinger body couldn't keep up with my reaction at all. This feeling of being caught is really unpleasant. Chinger, I'll go back now. You turn back into human form. Yin Ryu won't dare do anything to you. Don't worry. Huh. Master? Huh? I'm thinking which ghost dared to approach when I was practicing. 
It turned out to be an animal type, which is really strange. GRU GRU? Let me go, or I won't spare you. Huh, wait, why is this voice so familiar? Little girl, you can transform, really interesting. If it was not for Brother Huayu to accept you, I would have learned more about you. If you dare to do anything to me, my lord will not let you go. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. After all, I can't provoke Brother Huayu. You, 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 despicable, shameless, nasty. I, I, I am not afraid of you. Little girl ghost, I don't have any clothes on me now. You can't catch me. Damn. Chinger, cheer up. You've become stronger. You can do it. What are you doing? Ghosts confuse the mind. Hiss, why is this little girl's head so hard? Hoo hoo hoo, let me go. Chinger trick is completely useless. Chinger is so useless. Little girl, you are really naughty, but fortunately it's still night. You can stay here. Don't come here. I will bite you. Urgent is an order. Master, save me. Chinger, peeping at women naked is immoral behavior. I can't do anything about it. If she dares to attack you, I will come out to scare her. However, Chinger's skill can make Yen Ryu dizzy. She has really improved a lot. If she wants to play, you can let her play. Hoo hoo hoo. I'm not clean anymore. I do not want to live anymore. Hoo hoo. The next day. Ghosts confuse the mind. Urgent is in order. Go. What is your name? What is the secret that you are afraid to tell others? My name is Wang Dachyong. I had an affair with my boss wife. Is your boss male and female? What sect are you? What is your boss's name? Originally, I wanted to practice the transformation spell today, but Chinger has not been able to perform the true mantra skill, so I came out and found a random triple martial artist to experiment a bit. The effect is not bad. However, how much effect there is for people with stronger cultivation bases awaits further experimentation, at least it's useless in my body. It is not easy to find a warrior with a high level of cultivation. Experimenting with Yen Ryu will easily expose us, so the practice of the true mantra skill is put on hold, and we started focusing on the transformation spell. In this way, Chinger began to practice nonstop. The third day. The fifth day. The progress is quite fast. You can already change your whole body, but it is very weak. You can see through it at a glance. But I only need Chinger to change my face. I can do the rest by myself with the methods in Yi Rong Shi Yao. But now letting Chinger focus on transforming only parts is obviously difficult for her. The sixth day, good, Chinger. The transformation is a success. If you just look at it, you won't be able to detect it. My lord, so Ching'e transfiguration spell can be used, right? Not exactly. Did you see it? After all, it's just a blindfold. If I have physical contact with other people, it's easily detected. Hoo hoo. Still can't do it. Don't worry, as long as no one pinches my face, it will be fine. The only trouble is that I can't use my true chi, otherwise will definitely be exposed. If everything goes well, of course, I can get everything done by that face. I am just afraid that something unexpected will happen. Then we'll be in big trouble. Yesterday Yen Ryu came to discuss it. There are almost no flaws. If it goes well, the current methods are enough, and it will also make Yen Ryu convinced that I am the Thousand Faces Prince. But every time, feel that things are all right, then something is bound to happen. I suddenly had an idea. Go, I will help you get revenge. By beating Yen Ryu. Master Xie, what did you say? You played with the body of my little girl the other day. Don't run away, let me give you a beating. That way my little girl won't be depressed anymore. Then I'll be in the mood to go with you tomorrow. I'm glad you all are here. It feels like I'm back in my young age. Su Min is very humble. 
As a master of martial arts, you can still take a break to hold a literary meeting to cultivate your emotions. I admire you very much. Scholar Sompa, although we're from different sects, we can't help but share the same interests. Su Gong doesn't need to be polite. Mr. Ikue, there is no need to say much. We are old acquaintances. I won't treat you as outsiders. But you are a very busy man. I did not expect you to come. The best poet in the world, Master Zhang. I've been busy with business lately, but I'm free today, so I came by. I hope Su Gong won't blame me. Prefect of Yudu, Zhang Jingbao, in 8 3rd layer. Su family, steward Su Jio, I respect people with knowledge in my life, so I'm happy that you're here. Master, it's almost time. Then you go welcome the guests. Yes, Master. Steward Su is here. I've been preparing for days. I will show off my skills today. Who is taking advantage of the chaos to touch my butt? The time has come. Thank you for coming. It's the old rules, as always. Poems and songs are not limited, but no feasible vulgar words are tolerated. You don't have to be nervous. Feel free to say what you want and write. As long as it is original, you can be shortlisted. I'm not nervous. I'm ready. Ah, uh, I have been participating in it for years, so it won't be that difficult for me to win. I have prepared for this. This will surprise you all. It's so noisy every time I pay a visit. Ah, uh, young people are energetic. I feel happy when I look at them. Don't be so strict. The cultural meeting is to be lively. Don't be too quiet, Master E. It's not interesting now, but when the qualified talents come up, we can have a look. Let's have tea till then. It's a disappointment. My father-in-law is passionate. He's not bothered. Today, Master Zhang also came. Father-in-law is not good enough to distinguish between good and bad. Too much rudeness is not good. Or should I let Ting Yang persuade my father-in-law to come together? There is not a single one who is worthy, and the money is spent on this group of nerds. It's really maddening to me. Take care of the guests, Ron Rong, Su Jio's wife, Sun Ron Rong, Humph, I'm just a bookkeeper for the master. I only know that they spend a lot of money. But I just like the serious look of my husband. Kisses, don't mess around. You know how to drive people away. Ah. Uh, focus, focus. After one incense stick, Su Min has been a rich official for 20 years, and the mountains and rivers are beautiful. The wind is full of no one knows, and the beneficence has not been returned. Sincerely, Lu Chuanwen, well, it seems that this Lu Chuanwen wants to cherish this old man who held cultural conferences for years. What do you think of this poem, son-in-law? This is a poem with a hidden heading. The first words of each verse are connected to tell about Su Min's generous grace. It's a purely piled up work. It has no merits other than hiding the head. Oh, let the father-in-law have some fun. Such a wonderful idea. My eyes are clumsy. Good, good. This Lu Chuanwen must be shortlisted. Master, I think the poem of this talented man named Han Yuanhong is also quite good. A generation of poetry and calligraphy, a thousand years of rituals and music exist. After the three domains, the name was honored in four dynasties. The old virtues are envied, and the high feelings are mourned by all. What do you want to say when you can't make a promise to each other? Well, not bad, not bad. The last line of the poem also says that without Su Gong, the whole Yudu will be meaningless. Su Gong, it seems that the author is your number one follower. This Han Yuan Hong complimented in such a way. Ha ha ha, this old man should better meet this talented man. Have you read the poem written by that guy Han Yuan Hong? It's too much, right? Still, the poem is not that bad. Where did the flowers come from? No, someone's coming. I'd like to see who's so arrogant to be late for Su Gong's meeting, eh? I always envy the man who makes jade on earth. The sky should beg with the maiden of pastry. There is such a handsome man and beautiful woman in the world. This, this. Such beauties. Where did these two come from? How can there be such a perfect match in these times? Could they be Master Sue's guest? Although I never wanted to come early, but...
but Mr. Sia, you are too rough. If you bully my little girl again in the future, I will beat you up. Master Sia is so bad, you only know how to bully me. This stiff-mouthed guy just wanted to use the flower sword technique that he copied and was afraid of showing flaws when fighting against Sujio. I just can't figure out one thing. Halfway through the fight, he suddenly stopped using the flower sword technique and was just dodging to let me attack. But why? Also, where did he learn the art of mental attack that he had been secretly performing from the beginning to the end? It does not seem to be from the XINMO sect. It seems bright and majestic, but the essence is evil and insidious. Fortunately, the impact on the innate masters is minimal. Master Xie, Sujio's mask should be ready, right? Don't worry about it. First think about how to talk to the old guy Su Min for a while. You killed Zhao Shi and pinned it on my head, causing a discord between Chongling Dao and the XINMO sect. Don't plan so much, or we would be back in square one. I'm prepared. I won't miss anything. Wait, what do you mean that I killed Zhao Shi? Obviously, it was G.E. Huayu who killed him. Ha ha, Su Jio is here. I'm not talking to you anymore. I am Su Jio, the steward of the King's Pavilion. May I ask your names and what you want to do in the King's Pavilion? Is this man Su Jio? Greeting Steward Su, I'm Chong Ling Dao's Yen Ryu. I'm here with Mr. Xie Yin to attend Su Gong's literary meeting. I've heard of the King's Pavilion in Yudu, so I've come to Yudu on a trip. Since the timing and location are perfect, I've come here with the Yen Ryu, so I hope you won't blame me. Master Xie Yin and Beauty Yen Ryu? I am honored. Allow me to inform my master. Please wait for a moment. Please enjoy your tea. Thanks a lot. Young Master Xie Yin and the Beauty Yen Ryu actually came together and joined hands? The two were a good match, but previously G.E. Huayu killed Zhao Shi. Yin Ryu, this girl even had the courage to come to this old man's place. Quite interesting, ah. Uh. I don't know about Yin Ryu, but Xie Yin, the Demon Jade Prince, is quite famous in Jiangling and is known as Master Xie. This scholar's insight into the music theory of lyrics is very original and ingenious. You may wish to invite him to come up. It would also add some color to our meeting. I have indeed heard of Jiangling's Master Xie. This person has adapted a lot of words and songs, but have not heard much of his poetry. However, he should also have the talent. Father-in-law, we are in a literary meeting, so do not involve the rivalry. Since two of the five beauties and five princes have participated, it would be a good chance for us. You have a point, son-in-law. Bring them in. Yes, master. My master is very happy with your arrival. He would like to invite the two of you to discuss further. Then we accept. Thank you for your kindness in calling us. I can't believe they just went in like that. It's not fair. Martial artists are different from us. These two may not have the literary talents we have. Voice transmission. Su Min called us indirectly, and the things you prepared won't work now. Don't worry, those can be used when the literary meeting officially starts. Young Master Xie, Su Min is cunning, don't show any flaws. Voice transmission, don't worry. I'm a pro. I had already blocked the scent left by Su Min no matter how cunning this old guy is, he won't be able to see through me and know that I'm that G.E. Huayu. Master, Master Xie Yin and Miss Yen Ryu are here. I, Yen Ryu of Chongling Dao, greet Vice Patriarch Su. Greetings, Master Zhang. Greetings, Scholar Songpa. Greetings, Mr. Ikue. Greetings, Master Yai, I am Xie Yin of the Mo Ching sect. Greetings, Vice Patriarch Su, Master Zhang, Scholar Songpa, Mr. Ikue, and Master Yi. This Yen Ryu has really prepared well. She even memorized the names of the important people. The Demon Jade Young Master Xie Yen is indeed a talented person. No need for you two to be polite. The two of you are a good couple, indeed worthy of being one of the five beauties and five princes. Mr. Ikue and I are not known in the martial arts world. Still, the two of you actually know us. 
I am also a native of Yudu, so of course I know the reputation of the two great scholars. I have heard from Yen Ryu that you two are very famous. No, no, you're flattering us. I have heard that Master Xie is an elegant man, and many of the lyrics and songs of the famous Jiang Ling girls group, Demon Girl 48, were written. I only made a small contribution at the beginning. Their achievements today are mainly due to their own efforts. Ha ha, Mr. Xie is just like the rumors, but I don't know why you suddenly want to come to the King's Pavilion. It was the beautiful scenery of the day and the pleasure to meet you all. I heard that Vice Patriarch Su's literary meeting is quite famous in Yudu, so I asked Ryu to bring me here to have fun. Both of you are young and talented, and coming here is a perfect addition. I think Vice Patriarch Su is also happy to have you here. Yes, I always like to share my sleep with young talents and talk about poems. Vice Patriarch Su, there is no need to do so. Father-in-law, it should be the right time to drink and celebrate. I feel that we will get closer if we sleep on the same bed. Master, it's time to start the meeting. No hurry, I still have some questions to ask Miss Yen. Here it comes. I wonder what else Vice Patriarch Su would like to ask me. Miss Yen, you should know that Chung Ling Dao has recently had some conflicts with my MOXI insect. The one who died was your brother. Under such circumstances, you still dare to come to my place. I am from Yudu, and I have a natural affinity for the MOXI insect. Zhao Xiu was killed by GE Huayu, although I personally experienced that, I also know this does not represent the attitude of the MOXI insect to my Chong Ling Dao. Besides, Master Xia wanted to visit Master Su's literary meeting, so I could only accompany him. As far as I know, Miss Yan and Master Xia seem to have had no previous encounters. When Master Xia came to Yudu, wouldn't he have met with me? The relationship between a man and a woman can induce with just a glimpse. I see, I'm sorry to have been so abrupt. This Xia Yin is kind of skilled, he can even conquer the beauty Ruyu. Master Xia, as the pride of the M.O. Ching sect, aren't you afraid that you will be involved in the conflict between Chong Ling Dao and my M.O. Xian sect? Mr. Yai must be joking, I only admired Master Su's reputation and came to attend the literary meeting. Besides, Miss Yan has already said that she has no hostility towards the MOXI insect. Yes, there is no contradiction between my affinity for Vice Patriarch Su and my hostility to G.E. Huayu. Miss Yan is so eloquent that I actually believed it a bit. I really mean it. Master Su, can you let me say a few words? Sure. In the death of Zhao Xiu, the perpetrator was Ge -E Huayu, not your Su family. I have long heard that Ge -E -E had spoiled his son, but now he has finally caused a big disaster. This is the Ge -E family's own fault. How could it not be? This Ge -E Huayu is also very arrogant and domineering in the sect. After he was promoted, he's even more defiant and committed a lot of things. Sai Gee -E has been great in his entire life. How did he teach such a son? Although Master Su is all for the sake of the sect, it was the Gee -E family's fault. How could they let you bear the responsibility? Yes, our master will only approach Vice Patriarch Gee -E for an explanation. He has no ill feelings to Vice Patriarch to sue Vice Patriarch at all. Even heard that Master has privately appreciated the literary skills of Vice Patriarch Su. Is that so? Ha ha ha, I am ashamed that this old man's literary talent can actually be appreciated by Senior Zhao. Master, it's getting late. I have always been straightforward. Now that I have clarified my heart, I know what to do. Don't worry, Vice Patriarch Su has worried too much. But we can't delay the time any longer. Let's invite all the talented people who have passed in. The Master has agreed, come up. Now that we're all here, let's get started. Gentlemen, just enjoy yourselves. Whoa! Every time I look at this scene, there is an unbearable surge in my heart. The river water is arbitrarily swayed like Play-Doh with just a wave of his hand. This guy is worthy of being able to compete with G.E.E., -E, really powerful. 
Voice transmission. He is the vice patriarch of the XINMO sect. He should not be underestimated. This attic is completely under Su Min's control. If we fail, the consequences will be disastrous. Opening No matter how many times you watch Master Su Min's movement, it's still thrilling and overwhelming. Is this the real essence of martial arts? This scene really makes the mind shake. The true chi is actually transformed into a lotus. I'm afraid it is no less than by Su Yuan's heavenly creation method. Huh? Blinking. Damn, this is just a blindfold technique made out of the Six Desires Demon technique. It is completely different from by Su Yuan's. Master, it's all ready. Spew pew. You don't have to be formal. Feel free to say what you want and record what they say. It will provide some anecdotes for the future generations to read. Let's get started. Congratulations. I am looking forward to Brother Lu's masterpiece. Lu Sui will definitely win. I don't think so. It is interesting to write poems and fill in the lyrics. May I ask what the theme is? The themes for the previous sessions were all based on romance. Yin Ryu made around 10 poems with different styles on this theme. It should be no problem. The theme is different from the usual. It's also for testing your skills. In previous years, it was all about romance, and soon I became bored of it. When I was distressed, the names of Lu Chuanwen and Han Yuanhong in the invitations gave me a touch of inspiration. Let's take this old man as the topic. You can say whatever you want. What a shame. Ha ha. Voice transmission, Yen Ruyu, what are we going to do now? This was unexpected. Who knew this old guy would do something like this? I'm sorry. We've already made it this far. Even if we can't really write a poem, Su Min can't just drive us away like that. And Master Zhang is on our side. He will cover for us, so it won't be a problem. I used the lotus flower as a metaphor and made a poem for you, Master Su. This quick? The flowers and leaves in the world are incompatible, and the flowers go into the golden pot and the leaves become dust. The only thing that can be seen is the green leaves and the red lotus, which can open and close at will. That was good. Good? Doesn't it seem a bit blank? Although the red flower is good, but it still needs the green leaves for support, but the world pays more attention to flowers than leaves. Flowers go into golden pots, and leaves fall into dust. Only the lotus flower matches with its leaves. The lotus leaves are curled and beautiful just like the flower, which is perfect and natural. The lotus flower is a perfect natural metaphor for Master Su, which is wonderful. So that's how it is. Not bad. I like it very much. I will reward you with a box of Paichin pearls. Thank you, Master Su. I'm rich. Master Su is really generous. If I sell this box of Paichin pearls after I leave, my family of five will not have to worry about money for half a lifetime. Damn, the reward is not bad. Scholar Su came from the forest. He public is happy to meet the literary. Where is the great weapon now? The virtuous chapter has its own king. This, it's kind of good too. This Lu Chuanwen just brought together a hidden poem, but it doesn't sound awkward though. I get it. It's a hidden poem, Su Gong De De, right? Yes, but. Good. 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 People, reward him two boxes of Pai Chin pearls. Forget it, as long as he's happy. Thank you, Master Su. Thank you so much. Sure enough, this Master Su still likes listening to simple and rough ones. The end of the moon will resembles the heart of the ancients, and it is bright and deep. Even if the waves are round and fixed and the dust cannot swift. Such a good poem. The nobleness of the moon is used as a metaphor for Master Su. Since when did Luo Yun became so quick-witted? I'm afraid it was prepared in advance, right? This chanting moon is indeed a good poem, but it seems familiar. This is an old work of Shizhang, the late eminent monk at Longtan Temple in the Song Dynasty, and he has not even changed a word. 
Luo Yun thought that the Great Song and the Great Han are far apart, so we wouldn't have heard of it. This is too much. It's a good poem, but unfortunately it's a plagiarized work. Drag him out of here. It's not fair. I never knew that this was someone else's work. Continue, and let this be a warning to all of you. I was wondering where this Luo Yun's quick wisdom came from. It turned out to be sheer plagiarism. He really thought he could hide it from the knowledgeable Mr. Yai. That strict? What should I do if it's my turn? Not bad. I'll give you a box of Pai Chin Pearls. This is good. Reward a box of Pai Chin Pearls. This is also good. Reward a box of Pai Chin Pearls. Half an hour later, what's up? Whose turn is it? Is it the turn of Beauty Yin Ryu? I think she is also a talented woman. I wonder what kind of masterpiece she will make. Although I am a literary person, I have heard of their names before, and I hope they are as talented as Mr. Yai. Hmm, Master Zhang knows a lot about martial artists. What do you think? I'm going to offer my humble contribution. This girl is as beautiful as a fairy. She must be a talented girl. This is called the spirit of poetry and literature. She's so beautiful. The sun is at the end of the mountains, and the yellow river flows into the fountain. The first sentence is about twilight. It's twilight now, isn't it? It's true that I wrote this poem for her, but... Where did the yellow river come from? Although the first two sentences of Miss Yen are far away, they are magnificent and very impressive. I wonder if the other would be as good. It's about mountains and water again. Does that sound? Spew pew. I would really love to continue, but I want to go up to the next level. I've finished my recitation. Please forgive me. Wait, this poem. What does it have to do with my father-in-law? Very good. This poem touches the emotions with the scenery. The atmosphere is majestic. Good. Master Zhang, this poem is really good, but it is far from the topic. Master Yi Kuei is too subtle. It's obvious that it's a flash in the pan. Vice Patriarch Su's martial arts skills are outstanding. Miss Yan's poem shows an extraordinary breadth of mind and ambition, more suitable for praising positive young people, indeed, and Vice Patriarch Su is not quite the right version. But Miss Yan's poem is already better than most people, so let's not be too strict. As a senior, you still need a lot of encouragement when dealing with later generations. Ha ha ha, that's what it meant. Good, very good. I'm very satisfied. Come here, reward her with two boxes of Pai Chin Pearls. Father-in-law. Although I'm no longer young, I still have a positive and enterprising heart to climb the peak. This poem is not off topic. I like it very much. I want to keep listening it every day. Vice Patriarch Su is very kind, as long as you like it. Yin Ryu, you're fucking amazing. This Yen Ryu is after all a woman. We have overestimated her. This poem is actually very good, but it's far off topic. I can't believe someone who could write the poem would read it out in this scene. Most of it wasn't made by Miss Yen, right? One of Miss Yen's predecessors? It is not easy for Miss Yen to learn martial arts, and it is difficult for her to have literary talent. In fact, you shouldn't expect that much from her at all. I just know a few words. You don't have to reward me. Vice Patriarch Su, continue. Little girl, don't be so humble. You've done great. It makes me look forward to young master M.O.U. Father-in-law, Miss Yan's poem. Son-in-law, think positive. Prefect Zhang said it is a good poem. Why do you have to bother? Anyway, I think this poem is pretty good. It is indeed a good poem, but, oh, as long as you are happy. What? Is he that unlucky? Surprisingly, G.E. Huayu was selected again in a row. Shit. Brother, don't panic. You can just recite a poem, and Prefect Zhang will take care of it for you. I have been waiting for the name of Master Xia of Jianling for a long time, and I finally had the opportunity to hear his masterpiece this time. Maybe he won't let me down. This is Master Xia of Jianling? I have heard of the name of Master Xia of Jianling, and he should have real talent. Really? 
then we must be prepared to listen. I'm afraid he's the same as Yen Ryu. Although I know a little bit of poetry, I can't do it if I am asked to write a poem on the spot. I remember a lot of poems used to praise people, Mei Hua, Ching Song, to name a few, but I'm not sure if there are other people in this world who have done the same. Why is he standing right here? Maybe, maybe Master Xie is thinking about it, what to think. He has to pick up the glass of wine first. He seems to be afraid to take it, huh? Is it true that all the rumors about Master Xie are lies? I don't think so, but if you know more about it, you'll know that this Master Xie mostly adapted other people's words, and his own original can only be considered, but the language of the ditty can't be in the Hall of Fame. Brother, what are you hesitating about? Just find a poem that corresponds to the scene and Prefect Zhang will take care of the rest. I think the Wei Lu Gao Bai Chi poem isn't bad, brother, just read it. If I use the poems given by Yan Ruyu with Prefect Zhang's support, maybe I will be able to muddle through. The disadvantage is that I will earn a few scornful eyes, but I can also farm some source points, which is not a loss. However, it's very unpleasant. Silence. All of you are scholars. How can you talk nonsense and speak ill of others? Master Xie, please. I believe you will not let everyone down. Haha, <laughs> I'm also looking forward to it. I appreciate talented young people. I want to listen to it closely. I'm fucked. Let's just use the Wei Lu Gao Bai Chi poem, which is at least more suitable than Yen Ryu's. I don't know whose poem it has become in this world. Could it be this prefect Jang's? Eh? That's. Yes. How could I forget that one? I don't think his poems exist in this world. Young Master Xie still hasn't written the poem. What is he thinking? Young Master Xie, hurry up and start. Everyone is waiting for you. Wait a moment, everyone. I just thought of a small creature here, which is very suitable to borrow a metaphor for Master Su. I am afraid that the poems I had won't be of any use, but reciting his poems is absolutely safe. I would like to use the frog as a metaphor for Master Su Min's support if the main world has his same style, this world should have been completely changed. Even if I lose the bet, this poem has never been made by others in this world, he will not dare to expel me easily. What did he say? Frog? It's a total disgrace. Offensive, so offensive. This young Master Xie is not crazy. How dare he offend Master Su? Oops, Master Su won't be angry, right? What does he mean? Even if Su Min looks like a frog, he can't say that out loud. Young Master Xie, what are you talking about? Voice transmission, what are you doing? Are you crazy? How can Master Zhang help us now? Don't worry, I have my own plans. What do you mean? How is the metaphor meant for me? Father-in-law, let's hear young Master Xie's poem first. Young Master Xie isn't the kind of person who is ignorant and insensitive. Since he vowed to use the frog as a metaphor, I would like to see what poem he can make. Vice Patriarch Su, don't be in a hurry. Listen to my peace frog chanting. Occupy the pond to establish the territory. This, this is the chant? Huh? I'd like to see how he's going to chant. Keep my mind at ease under the vault of green leaves. If I don't speak up first in spring, which insect will dare to make sound? Good, easy to understand. I like it. Father-in-law, please wait a minute. This poem is inappropriate, so please don't rush to answer it. What a line. If I don't speak up first in spring, which insect will dare to make a sound, Master Xie? Do you really want to use this poem as a metaphor for my father-in-law? In my opinion, Master Su is very suitable for this poem. The spirit in this poem reminds me of another poem called Fu Di Ho Fu Ju. When autumn comes on the eighth day of the ninth month, after my flowers bloom, a hundred flowers will wither. When the chrysanthemum blossoms, all flowers wither. The frogs in the pond have not yet sung. How dare any insects or animals make a sound? 
The poem Fu Di Ho Fu Ju is from the Tang Dynasty, and its author Huang Chao once rebelled in the year of Tian Yu in the Tang Dynasty. The huge Tang Empire was completely overthrown by him, and now the emperors of the Tang Dynasty are his descendants. Both poems are equally domineering and majestic. The heroic spirit of the characters is vividly displayed. Therefore, as soon as Master Xiaf finished his recitation, I immediately thought of it. Huang Chao is proficient in all aspects of humanities and martial arts. Prefect Zhang compared these two poems, that is to compare Master Su and Huang Chao this, after all, Huang Chao was once the emperor of a country. Although Master Su is powerful, but he also has the sect master above him, this is a bit too much. Yes, this poem is really crazy. Very good, wonderful, wonderful. Isn't this a portrait of this old man? Young Master M.O.U. is really talented. Father-in-law, this poem is too powerful, others might as well not accept it. What do you mean, you don't think I deserve it? No, 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 but it's easy to cause a misunderstanding. Young Master Xie Yan's poem is a bit too arrogant. What can happen to me? Son-in-law, you're worrying too much. Come on, go and copy young Master Xie's poem now. Father-in-law. Well, looking at it this way, it is indeed a domineering poem. Great poem, great poem. It couldn't be more suitable for Master Su. How could this Xie Yin write such a poem to dedicate it to Master Su? In the presence of the court officials, wasn't he afraid of being criticized on the spot for treason and expelled from the meeting? No, maybe it's much more than that. This young Master Xia clearly looked down on Master Su, but also considered his preferences, so he deliberately offered such a poem. He is able to mock people and make them accept it happily. Compared to his literary skills, his control of people's hearts is even more terrifying. Damn, this world actually even has poems like Fu Di Ho Fu Ju, and there is a similar historical figure called Huang Chao. Interesting. Then I was right to use the imperial poem frog chanting. Su Min is such a sloppy bag, he dares to accept such a poem, ah. Uh, get source points appreciation 0.01 point Su Min, get source points shock 0.01 point scholar Songpa, get source points shock 0.01 point Lu Chuan Wen, get source points shock 0.01 point Yan Ryu, get source points fear 0.01 point Lu Sui, huh? Why is there still fear? What is this Lu Sui thinking? Voice transmission, eh, where did this frog poem come from? When did you learn to write poetry by yourself? Nonsense, otherwise how can I play the young master Xie Yin? Alas, Su Min, this guy still likes to take credit for himself. This young master Xie Yin is most likely to have seen through this and deliberately offered him such a poem to hype him. From what Prefect Zhang said, it doesn't seem to be a good poem, right? This poem is not to say that it is contempt for the Han court. If it spreads to the ears of the sect master, I don't know what he would do to father-in-law. I thought the appearance of the young master Xie Yin would add color to today's meeting, but he simply came to add to the problem. You are very good. I love it. The reward is ten boxes of Pai Chen pearls. Thank you, Vice Patriarch Su. That's a lot. Ten boxes? If I had those, I will able to visit the brothel for a lifetime. Nothing. Husband, I got it. Master, your treasures have been used up. Hmm? That's quick. Isn't it because you suddenly granted ten boxes of Pai Chen pearls out? In the past, there were leftovers. Why did you give them all away today? Who is the genius who pleased the master so much? Look, that is the talented man. I really appreciate him. Huh. A good handsome gentleman. If I had not married, I would have wanted to get close to him. Ahem. Oh, my husband is jealous? Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. I just said it casually. This is Su Jiu's wife? She is indeed a coquettish woman. Now that the rewards have been finished, so this old man has decided that the best person today is young Master Xie Yan. Do you have any objections? We are convinced. Very good. I'm very happy with today's literary meeting. Sujio, you go prepare for the next part. Yes, master. 
Stuart Sue has left, which means it should be starting soon. It's just that Stuart Sue is a little slow this time, huh? Yup. It seems like there might be some really great treasure this time. Let you wait for a long time. Next we will show you the treasures that the master has collected over the years. For a perfect view of this first treasure, please look outside the terrace. Outside the terrace? Does this year's treasure fly in from outside? The treasures had been the same in the past exhibitions. But now it seems that Master Sue has arranged a new show to perform. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce the first treasure of today's exhibition. Jin Bei Divine named the Xian Wu Spirit Beast. This, this is Machine Beast. It is a machine beast based on the Northern Chuan Wu, one of the four divine beasts. Such a large and powerful beast, I am afraid that in the entire Han Dynasty. No, if you look at the whole world, such a powerful machine beast is a rare existence. Nice, Su Min even has this sort of great treasure. Voice transmission, I know that the MOXIN sect is rich and generous, but I didn't expect that Su Min, a vice patriarch, would have such a thing. Why didn't you tell me earlier? I don't know Su Min very well, how could I know he has this? This was obtained by the master during his early years of exploring the ruins. It started out as a decaying skeleton, then the master spent a lot of money to hire Gongsun family's craftsmen to repair it. Finally, the machine beast was repaired just before the renovation of the king's pavilion is completed. Its body is made of the finest cold iron and winter perch wood. The beast is indestructible, enough to withstand the siege of dozens of innate masters. At the same time, with the secret art of forging of the Gongsun family, the puppet has more power and moves without any sense of slowing down. It's almost like a moving city. It reminds me of the Han Imperial family. There is also the giant puppet beast Ting Yun Chilin. Master Su has a good eye, and also a good fortune that he can have a machine beast that is comparable to the divine beast of the country. I admire him. The Tang Yun Chilin is not only amazing in defense, but also fierce once the attack is launched. This puppet beast Xuanwu only looks overpowering, but it is far less powerful than the other puppet beasts. This first collection of Vice Patriarch Su is really an eye-opener for me. If I am right, the rest of the collection should be hidden inside this Xuanwu puppet, right? Young Master Xie is really smart, Yes, this puppet beast has a huge space in its body, and the other collections of this old man are contained in it. Steward Sue, it's time for you to show the other treasures of this old man. Roger. Puppet beast Chuan Wu, follow my orders. Start. Open. Master Su Jio. Well, it's time to bring things up. Roger. Come, come. Last year, this group of men were also carrying treasures to Master Su. Wow. They're so big and strong. They look like they can fight. Nonsense, the weight of the boxes on their shoulders is heavier than ten of you. If these people are really as powerful as they look, when these treasures are put back later, even if Su Min is not there to guard them, Yin Ryu and I will probably have a hard time stealing them. Voice transmission, can your five elements escape drill inside that thing? I thought about it, but now Su Min is still here. I will try after the exhibition is over. I'll let Chinger try later. Maybe Chinger will be able to steal things out. This collection is an endless picture of the rivers and mountains made by the famous painter Jiu Wei during the reign of Emperor Xian. You can watch it up close, but don't touch it with your hands. As far as the eye can see, the mountains and hills are in full view. What a beautiful painting. Such a good painting of the mountains and rivers, it makes me want to write a poem. Come on, Scholar Lu. Master Su, please give me an incense burning time. I need to think about it. I whip my swift horse. Glued to my saddle, I turn my head startled. The sky is three foot three above me. Mountains. Like great waves surging in a crashing sea, like a thousand stallions in full gallop in the heat of battle. Mountains. Piercing the blue of heaven, your barbs unblunted. The skies would fall, but for your strength supporting. 
Please excuse me, I really like this painting so much that I couldn't help but fill in some poems for it. No disrespect, no disrespect. Master Sia, you did a great job with the words. I like it very much. Master Sia deserves his name. This poem is magnificent. From my perspective, it is even more imposing than this endless painting of rivers and mountains. Yes. Yes. You're right, son-in-law. Master Sia's words really lives up to his reputation. Young Master Sia really lives up to his reputation. The later generations can be intimidating. It's good that Master Su likes it. Get source points appreciation 0.01 point su min. Get source points pleasure 0.01 point su min. Get source points admire 0.01 point wei shen. Get source points appreciation 0.01 point cui jing. Get source points shock 0.01 point yen ryu. Get source points appreciation 0.01 point su sompa. Get source points shock 0.01 point lu chuan wen. Get source points shock 0.01 point han yuan hong. A lot of source points, this is. Worth it. That's awesome, Master Xie really lives up to his reputation. Young Master Moyu is really quick witted. My inspiration seems to have suddenly gone. This G.E. Huayu, when did he learn to make poems? Stuart Su, is the entire collection here? Well, yes, I'll introduce it to you next. This is the King Wu's burial jade garment, which is said to have been carved by hundreds of artisans, carved into pieces of the finest jade, and pieced together in a chain, without a single rivet buckle lock, really natural and exquisite. How much jade does it cost to make such a big one? Oh, Master Su is very generous. How can I remember seeing this human-shaped shell at Emperor Xiaoyao's? Didn't he say that it was it was the only one? It seems that this one is a fake. Master Xie, can this golden jade garment inspire you? Vice Patriarch Su, it's not always about inspiration. What a pity. What is he up to now? Hmm? This collection is the six styles of Joy Bronze statue from the Great Rejoice sect, the number one demonic sect of the Great Tang Dynasty. This is a gift from the first vice master of the Great Rejoice sect to the Lord. It is said that there is a mysterious technique hidden in it which people who do not know martial arts can also master. Of course, it's not that easy. It depends on your luck and perception. This collection has been on display for three years, but no one has been able to get a chance from it so far. Aren't these just erotic statues? This old man Su Min even took this thing out for people to see. Don't you want to take a closer look, Master Xie? It is said that these bronze statues contain a secret method of dual cultivation unique to the Great Rejoice sect, which is a supreme gift between men and women in bed. What, do you think I need to learn this stuff? I'd like to learn how to do it. Why don't I try it with you after I learn it? We are in public, so be aware of our image. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Master Xie really does not understand the atmosphere. I don't want to play with you anymore. Keep away. Miss Yen is really beautiful. She is really charming. Miss Yen actually likes to take a look at this treasure too. A group of dogs licking. Yen Ryu is just a little beautiful. What is the big fuss? We are here anyway. Let's have a look. Hmm? Skill entry is successful. Skill name, Rejoice Meditation Technique Primary Version. Skill description, the function is to enhance the pleasure between two sexes in bed and to realize the way of celestial transformation between the peaks of extreme happiness. Current level, uninitiated. It is detected that the host has mastered LV2 Broken Kuyam Kung Fu, which is the lower version of the Rejoice Meditation Technique. Do you want to spend 50 source points to absorb the Kuyam Kung Fu and automatically initiate the primary version of the Rejoice Meditation Technique? What? How can this be? With only 50 source points, of course, the choice is yes. Mastery of Skills and Rejoice Meditation Technique Primary Version Current Level LV0 Max Plus Current Effect Strengthening the Essence and Cultivating the Energy 
strengthen the stamina, greatly enhance the practitioner's length of time, the life of the great harmony not only keeps the essence, but also can slightly promote the cultivation of both sides. What the hell? But looking at the description, it seems very powerful. Let's go ahead and do a breakthrough. Mastery of Skills and Rejoice Meditation Technique Primary Version Current Level, LV1 Broken. Current Effect, Strengthening the Essence and Cultivating the Energy, and Greatly Enhance the Practitioner's Stamina. It will not only keep the essence, but also can slightly promote the cultivation of both sides. If there is no will in either of the sides, it can block the essence. Surprisingly, it cost me 100 source points. Huh? Looking at this skill description now, it seems I don't have to worry about Ching Shinsi taking advantage of me in the future, hee <laughs> hee. It's worth it. Why is it getting hotter and hotter? I feel like I've realized something. I'm sure it's fate. F Sigh. What happened? Have you learned it? I've been looking at it for half a day, no inspiration at all. It seems that I have no chance with this secret method. All right, everyone, don't gather here. After I finish introducing all the exhibits of the master, you can come back to see the six styles of Joy Bronze statue. This group of mere mortals, they want to learn the secret method of the Great Rejoice sect? It is simply delusional. Our target has appeared, an amber bracelet with the corpse blood leech. How about trying to steal it right now? Too conspicuous, we can't do that. Indeed. On the surface, it seems that Su Min is drinking and having fun, but in reality, he has been paying attention to this side. Yin Ryu's skills have not yet reached the level of being able to make small movements under Su Min's nose. Half an hour later, Master Su always hang out in the talented people's world. He has seen and heard a lot of things beyond what we can achieve. I can't get enough of the six styles of Joy Bronze statue. I want to see more. In a year, many new treasures have been added. Haha, <laughs> the treasures are precious and should not be displayed for a long time. If you want to see more, please wait for next year's meeting. Puppet Beast Chuan Wu, follow my command. But the most shocking thing about this whole meeting is this gigantic puppet beast. I think Master C.S. poem is also impressive. This meeting was really worthy a trip. You're joking, which literary meeting isn't a worthwhile trip? Done, next, it depends on when Su Min will get out of the way. Don't worry, Master Xie, I have made arrangements. Master Su has opened our horizon again today. Haha, ha, it's actually not much. I really enjoyed today's literary meeting of Master Su. The last time I felt this way, it was 26 years ago during spring, when I first arrived here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's spring here at Yudu. Why don't we go out to the pavilion to cruise the river? Let's enjoy the scenery. What do you think? Master Zhang's proposal is a good one. Let's cruise the river, share delicious food, and enjoy. It's rare to see Master Zhang with such interest. I cannot let you down. Su Jio, I'm going out with a few old friends to enjoy the scenery of the river. I'll leave it to you to follow up with the food and banquet. Roger, Master. This prefect Zhang is very cooperative with you. He took Su Min away. I also have paid a great price, but you don't have to worry. He actually does not know what we want to do, not to mention your real identity. Then I will go and take a look of that puppet beast. Okay, bring my little girl with you too. As soon as the food was served, they went out alone to a quiet place. Damn, if I can be more talented. With your appearance, I'm afraid you are thinking too much. Your little girl can't hide from Su Jio and Si Yui Jing when you let her out, but I can help hide her ghostly aura. But if she's being released now, nonsense, who told you to let her out here, go around the corner to avoid their sight. Right here. Then I will go. If anyone asks, Master Xia will say that I just need some fresh air. Oh. Huh? Are my eyes misty? How come Miss Ryu is not present? Yes, yes. How come Master Xia is the only one left? The chef who came here is a famous chef in Yudu. How come Master Xia is not enjoying the food but standing here alone? Where is Miss Yen? 
Thank you for your concern, but I'm not hungry now so I am here to enjoy the wind, as for Ryu. People have three emergencies, she ate too much sweet potato before coming, so she is looking for a convenient place. There is a toilet downstairs around the corner, it seems that Miss Yen didn't go down from the stairs. Since when do fairies take the stairs, Ryu is used to flying. Not to mention, you can't be sure Ryu went downstairs to use the toilet, you know that she has diarrhea. How embarrassing would it be to be heard instantly popping sound by by the maidservant who also went to the toilet. I guess ah, uh, Ryu must be hiding to the surface of the river so that the noise can't heard, how comfortable. Ahem. I'm sorry to interrupt. How could this master Sia be so, so, so vulgar? A disgrace to civilization. Three minutes later. Master Sia. This tactical beast is truly great, no cracks at all, and the materials used are extremely special. Not only am I not able to sneak in, but Mei Lang and your little female ghost can't get in either. I have run out of ways, we can only use Su Jio. Do as planned, I will go to Sun Rong Rong now. The demon jade young master Xie is really incomprehensible, I couldn't tell whether he was vulgar or elegant. This person is really talented, but he dared to offer the master the poem frog chanting. His heart is estimated to have no respect for the master. Most likely he sees master as a joke. Alas, it is better to tell my father-in-law that we will not hold this meeting anymore, as every kind of people have come up. That's all the fun the master has, so please take it easy. Father-in-law has his own set of tastes, and it is too difficult to stop him. Forget it, let's see who is coming. I finally finished the account reconciliation. I'm tired. Thanks for your hard work. That's right. I have worked super hard. I need my husband to feed me. Okay, come on, open your mouth. In public, can you two be more restrained? Ah, uh, save your breath. You were no better than me when Miss was here, you know. H.M.? Wrong, wrong. What's wrong? Nothing. Why is young Master Sia standing there alone? Leave him alone. The meeting is over. You've worked hard all day, so let's eat something. How can that be? Young Master Xie Yin is a famous person in the Jianghu. We can't let it out that we didn't treat him well. Wait a moment. I will invite him to come and have dinner with us. Rong Rong? Ha ha. It's rare for me to see that accountant's son cares so much about people other than you. Moreover, Master Xie Yin is quite good looking. E uncle, don't you know what kind of character Rong Rong has? Stop making fun of me, eh? Why does Rong Rong seem to care about Xie Yin? Is it my delusion? Master Xie. Huh? Get source points appreciation 0.01 .01 point son Rong Rong. Get source points admire 0.01 .01 point son Rong Rong. Why are you standing here alone? Do you want to have some supper with me? Hey, accountant's son actually talked to Master Xie? Didn't she never talk to us? How could she treat this Master Xie differently? How can we be less than Master Xie? Look at Master Xie's face, then look at yours, wake up. Master Xie, try this wine-stuffed lake shrimp. This is Yudu's signature dish. You can't eat it anywhere else. Thank you, Mrs. Sun. I will try it. Master Xie, don't be polite. Try this roasted leg with wheat sauce again. The taste is also unparalleled. And this ate treasures duck. Chai Xian Perch Shan Town Mushroom. Rong Rong, don't be so enthusiastic. Master Xie will be uncomfortable. I am just treating guests normally. How can you say that about me? No, I didn't mean that. I mean you should not always stare at Master Xie. Master Xie is a guest. Isn't it rude if I don't look at him in the eyes? Husband, you are really strange. That was not what I meant. All right, don't argue with women. Xie Yin is really popular with women. Wait till everything's over and then discipline her well. Why did you change the place? I was searching for you. Miss Yin, you, ahem, you're back. Please excuse me for leaving you for a long time. Why is Master Yai looking at me like that? It's strange. Miss Yen is here, just in time. Let's have some supper together. Miss Yen, sit here. Okay. 
I can do it myself. Don't be polite, Miss Yen. Accountant Sun, don't be too busy. You should eat it too. Mrs. Sun, are you too enthusiastic for Master Xie? Since the master likes Master Xie's poems the most, as a servant, I have to entertain Master Xie well. Master Xie, try the Mandarin fish dish too. Thanks a lot. His wife has been courting me in front of his face, yet this guy can really bear it. Do I need to be more enthusiastic? Forget it, I am the one who suffers from my enthusiasm, so let's wait for Yen Ryu to continue. But then again, what kind of ecstasy did this Yen Ryu give to Sun Rongrong? Hey, don't be such a gentleman, your words are a bit ambiguous, it's better to have a glass of wine, and then touch her hands, hug her waist, and have some skin-to-skin -skin kisses, otherwise the stimulation to Su Jio will not be enough. Don't worry, I have just secretly played a trick on Sun Rongrong in the following, she is now full of good feelings for you, she will not refuse these small actions of yours. Damn, I thought this demon girl had some tricks, but in the end, I still have to rely on my own to sell my looks. No, I will use my own methods. The gods hate spirits. Steward Sue, let me tell you, your wife is so enthusiastic. Steward Sue has a wife like this, what more could a man ask for? The effectiveness of the gods hate spirits depends on the opponent's willpower. Su Jio's emotions have already been aroused, so I'll add something here. I'm not afraid that this guy is not targeting me. Get source points rage 0.01 point Sujio. Sujio is enraged? It seems that I have overestimated him. What are you doing, my husband? Do you want people to eat? Get out of the way. Husband? Steward Su, calm down, let's talk properly. Master, don't stop me. I just want to have a good chat with Master Xie. The more I think about it, the more I think it's wrong. Master Xie, let's not talk frankly. What is the intention of the poem frog chanting that you composed? What are you saying? Do you think that Vice Patriarch Su is not good enough for my poem? Puff, this guy is very determined, and he is not demented even when he is angry. I am the servant of the Master. Master Xie used your talent to tease the master like this. I really can't get over this hurdle. Fortunately, we might as well speak with the rules of martial arts and fight in a dignified manner and completely solve this matter. My husband, why are you mad? How can you treat Master Xie like that? Shut up. It's a matter of the master's reputation. What do you know, you woman? There is no room for you to talk here. Not sooner or later but at this time to ask Master Xie for an explanation. In my opinion, he simply can't stand seeing his wife with others. Shu, shut up. I am genuine. Steward Su insists that I don't have good intentions. Do you still think you have better vision and better taste than Vice Patriarch Su? Are you trying to hit Vice Patriarch Su in the face? If that's the case, then it's not a bad idea to accept this invitation to fight. You, you are too much of a bully. Master Xie, I know you definitely don't have any disrespectful thoughts towards Master Su. Just explain clearly to Steward Su. Don't agree. Very good. As long as Ge Huayu can successfully give Su Jio an ill-hearted seed in the competition, it will be easy to ask the mechanism of Xuan Wu from him afterwards. I can't bear it. This Su Jio insulted my admiration for Master Su. I must fight with him. This evil woman, she acts as if it is true. In private, she can't wait for us to fight. Forget it, you always have your own ideas, I can't persuade you, so I won't say anything, and if you go on, you'll get mad at me. Insulted? It's your heart that knows best whether it's an insult or not. Steward Sue, all right, let's fight and see. Although I don't know G.E. Huayu's methods, Ching'er's spell can be used. The spell will take effect on the innate experts. You have to beat the opponent half to death in order to take advantage of the weakness. So, a battle with Su Jio is inevitable. This coincides with Yen Ryu's plan. Master, please stop my husband and Master Xie. They don't kill Su Jio. Remember to admit defeat and resolve your grievances at the end. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you to have a reason to approach him alone. I know, cut the crap. 
It's a pity that, for the sake of the future plan, I can't really physically hurt Su Jio, making the scene too ugly. Therefore, I can only use my invisible spiritual attack methods to secretly weaken his spiritual will to the limit. This can be done by the period between one Buddha and the next difficulty when needed, except for the victim, no one would suspect a thing. However, using this trick to deal with innate masters consumes too much chi, so it is impossible to continuously cast it. And the cooldown time is extremely long, which means with its scraping power to innate masters, it is impossible to achieve satisfactory results in a battle. But since I have the Six Desires Golden Pill, everything is different. The existence of the Six Desires Golden Pill allows me to produce Buddha's aura at a maximum power consistently. But its effect on an innate expert is very low. Earlier I had asked Yen Ryu for a fight. It was to test the effects of this technique. The results were very good. Even Yen Ryu, an innate expert who specializes in soul cultivation, was entangled in me for a little more than half an hour. Her spirit was in a trance. If she hadn't noticed that something was wrong, she would have been reluctant to continue fighting with me, and if we fight for a little more than half an hour, I could even let Chinger cast a spell on her. So, I just have to keep fighting a little longer. Su Jiu's spiritual will is obviously not possible to compare with Yen Ryu, estimated that at most half an hour is enough. HM? Alright. Have you forgotten what this place is? This is the King's Pavilion. This is my father-in-law's meeting. You can't fight just because you want to. That's nonsense. The poem Frog Chanting is indeed a majestic poem with the power of an emperor. My father-in-law is indeed a wise and powerful man with an extraordinary appearance. But in the end, my father-in-law is still the vice patriarch of the M.O.X.I.N. sect and a citizen of the Han Empire, so this poem is too excessive and could be suspected by the higher-ups. Master Xie, you have the name of Master Xie of Jiangling. Why don't you know these things? I can't imagine that even Master Yai sees me in this way. In that case, I don't bother to argue. Since the poem has been done, whatever you think, I can only accept it. What is he thinking? Never mind. No matter what he is thinking, since Steward Su is in a difficult position, let's give him a lesson. You too, Steward Su. It is not wrong to dishonor a minister, but it is not decent to shout in front of many guests. It is true that right and wrong grudges should be resolved, but it also depends on the occasion. At this moment, since this is a literary meeting, we should deal with it in a literary way. So I propose. The two decide the winner with the flying flower order, which won't hurt the harmony. What do you two think? Flying flower order? Yes, when you write a poem in seven lines, the title must be used in each line, but you must not repeat the previous lines. Each player is limited to a maximum of three minutes. If you can T produce a poem or make a mistake, you will lose. Flying flower order? This proposal is very much in line with Master Yai's style. Stuart Su doesn't seem to be very good at it. The poetic talent of Xie Yin is obvious to everyone. Why would Master Yai ask Steward Su to compete with him in the flying flower order? I didn't expect Cui Jing would make such an outrageous suggestion. It was a mistake. I should have asked Prefect Zhang to stay here. Master Yai, are you sure you want Steward Su to compete with me? I know the flying flower order. I used to watch the show poetry conference on Earth. I only need to write the poem with the keyword on each line, not limited to the original. As long as the other party doesn't come up with two tricky keywords, it would be really easy. Damn, that's not it. This ruins all of my plans. How can I still cheat? Master, this. You two first hear me out. This purely cultural fight, indeed, is not quite in line with the identity of the two innate experts, so I have added a rule. In the process, the two can interfere with each other by casting techniques. Of course, this is the king's pavilion surrounded by ordinary people, so this method must not produce the slightest damage or impact on others and the surrounding environment. Otherwise, even if the poem is made, it will be determined as a defeat. Steward Su, if my memory is correct, your seven works of murder can confuse the mind, so it can be used. It is true, but master... Why do you want me to compete with him in the flying flower order? 
I only judged him on the level of the amateur. If it's a competition, I'm afraid I'll lose. According to the rumors, although Xie Yin has constant affairs, his strength should not be underestimated. In actual combat, he may have the level of an eight double layer. If you really fight with him, you will suffer. As for a literary competition, I can help you. You only need to concentrate on harassing your opponent with confusion and delusion, and you will naturally teach him a lesson. I see, it is the master who thinks far ahead. With your martial arts and literary skills, it is obvious that such a competition is not difficult for you, right? You can interfere by casting techniques, but shall not damage the surrounding environment. Yes, I accept. This is the kind of competition I want. Very good. The period between one Buddha and the next difficulty is a perfect fit for this, and Sujio still has to endure it. After all, in my plan, what happened here is to let GEE -E know, but if I used the finger of flowery swords in the fight with Sujio, it would be difficult to explain to GEE -E afterwards. Of course, I can forcefully say that the one who fought with Sujio was Xie Yin that was disguised by Qin Xingxi, but if she makes trouble in other places during this time, I will be doomed. I could also use Changqing Bakwan to fight Sujio, but this would inevitably lead to Su Min's doubts about Xie Yan's identity afterwards. So the previous plan has always had some hidden dangers. I had thought about dodging the whole process, not attacking, and trying not to expose the characteristics of the techniques, but it is very difficult to deal with the innate masters, and I might not have the energy to perform the period between one Buddha and the next difficulty. CUI Jing proposed this way of fighting, which just solved all my hidden dangers, how could I disagree? Since young master Xie also agreed, we will start according to my master's suggestion. Are you sure? Can you plant the demon to Su Jiu in this kind of fight? Also, CUI Jing has no good intentions, he will certainly help Su Jiu cheat, then he is responsible for the literature, Su Jiu is responsible for the martial arts, you won't turn over in the gutter. Don't worry, I'm prepared. That's right. This method of competition not only can determine the winner, but also do not have to dance with swords. Why not do it? Go and prepare the pen, ink, paper, and inkstone for Steward Sue and Master Xie. Roger. I have never seen such a form of flying flower order before. Me too, this has broadened my knowledge. Both are innate masters. I wonder whose techniques are more powerful. Spring River, Flowers, and Moonlight Night, the beginning of all things begins with spring. It is better to take spring as the title. Very well, it's not that hard, spring. There are many verses that start with spring. At the beginning of the line, the person who receives the order must recite a verse with the word spring, which must be in seven lines, and the position of the word spring should be next to what it was in the verse of the previous line, and so on. What the hell? Isn't it enough to just have the word spring in each line? What's with the shift? Master Sia, do you have any opinion? No comments. The poetry contest is wrong for me. It's not that simple. It's a problem this time. What's wrong with you? There's not really a problem, is there? No, they're just playing games. Damn, I can only go on. It's my fault for acting recklessly before. Anyway, I was going to admit defeat. I only hope to delay a little more time so that I'm out of words before weakening Sujio's spiritual will. Since Master Xia has no comments, you two can start. Remember, each of you have only three minutes to think. Master Xia, since this challenge was initiated by me, let me go first. No problem, please. Now that we've started, he is in for a fight. Eight difficulties demonic technique. This guy, he attacked so quickly. What kind of tactics is this? Quietly, without the slightest power, if I hadn't felt a slight thorn in my spirit, I would have hardly noticed that he had already made a move against me. Then Stuart Sue, please listen clearly, the first line of this poem is. Unfortunately, this effect is weaker than a mosquito bite. If this is all what he have, then I will win this time. It started. It started. I wonder what verse Stuart Sue will write. I mainly wanted to see what technique Stuart Sue would use to disturb Master Sia. 
My first sentence, spring breeze, peach, and plum blossoms. Look, in front of Steward Sue. What kind of monster's shadow is that? So scary. Confusing phantom killing. And in the autumn rain. When the sycamore leaves fall. In the spring breeze, the peach and plum blossoms bloom, and in the autumn rain, when the sycamore leaves fall. Master Sia is being haunted by that ghostly face. Why is there no reaction from Master Sia? What is the situation now? I can't understand it. For me to continue, the second word must be with spring, let me think. Master Sia, it's your turn. As expected from young Master Sia, he doesn't give any reactions. A glass of wine with peach, plum, and spring breeze, ah, uh, no. The spring breeze cannot pass through the jade gate, ah, uh, also not right. The time is three minutes, I still have time, I still have time, don't rush. My confusing phantom is a continuous erosion attack, if you're so arrogant that you're not taking the initiative to dispel it then it would be impossible for you to focus. The faint tingling sensation is still there, this guy, how dare he still attack me. Could it also be some kind of sustained attack? Got it. There. There. Master Sia has won too. This is less than ten breaths, being entangled by such a terrible ghost face, and he can still be so fast, worthy of the Jianglings Master Xie. Yes. Yes. I'd be pissing my pants. I wouldn't have time to think about poetry. Wait. There is no hurry, let's delay until the last few seconds, the longer I delay the better for me, not to mention that I also want to think about how to pick up after this. The next ones I want to pick up are from the 4th, 6th, 8th, 10th, 12th, 14th positions, let's see. Master Xie, you still have 2 minutes left, please pick up the next sentence as soon as possible. I know, thank you Master Yai for reminding me. What the hell is this guy thinking? His posture just now, he should already have figured something out. Could it be that he deliberately endured a few more seconds of my confusing phantom killing to show off his determination? That's right, that must be it. You're really arrogant, huh? You'll have to cry later. Could it be that Master Xie is still under the influence of that ghost face? Yes, otherwise he wouldn't delay his writing. The time is almost up. Stuart Sue's technique is very powerful, it has broadened my knowledge. It's almost time, if I delay any longer then I will really lose. The cold spring has just passed and the year is over, the guest has slept for a long time. This is the second verse I thought of. Master Xie, you can use any technique to disturb Stuart Sue. Sir, don't worry, I've already cast it. When? How come I didn't notice it at all? Huh? Master Xia has already done the work? How come I don't see anything? Yes. He obviously just wrote a simple line of poetry and read it out. What's the reaction from Steward Sue? There seems to be no response. Could it be that Master Xia actually doesn't know how to do anything like that, so he just didn't use it? You have a point, though. No mistake, this guy had already cast something, but even Master Yi couldn't see it. This move can plant a demon in the opponent's mind? Why do I feel like I've felt this before? Steward Sue, I couldn't tell if he was attacking or not. Are you okay? Fine. Xia Yin did attack me, but it was nothing to worry about. This method is very similar to pure will coercion, which is very useful for acquired martial artists and ordinary people, but it is too weak for the innate. He probably doesn't know much about spiritual attacks, so he is using such methods. He knew he couldn't fight back, so he planned to defend with all his might from the start, trying to wear me out. Not attacking, just defending and trying to kill me? Even if you are one of the five princes, you are still too arrogant. Master, go on. Listen up, the third sentence. I've practiced my confusing phantom killing to the point of perfection, so I'll see how long you can last. Sober up with the spring breeze. Hilltop slanted light. And yet they welcome each other. Two minutes, fifty seconds later. Do you think Master Xia was affected? He seems very calm on. But isn't he taking too long to think about it? Yeah, Steward Sue hardly hesitates. 
When did Stuart Sue become so perceptive? These two dead heads are quite cute. Unfortunately, I don't have too many fancy tricks, so I can only use poetry to make my point. Next is the fourth sentence of the poem, The grass and trees know that spring will soon return. All kinds of red and purple flowers are fragrant. Hum, it's really not that easy. Then come again. The fifth sentence. Confusing phantom killing. The seventh sentence. Confusing phantom willing. Stuart Sue is so good, he always comes out with the words without thinking. It feels so strange how Master Xie is responding. If you want to say he's good, he was completely beaten by Stuart Sue and couldn't fight back. But if you want to say he's weak, the eighth sentence reads, No one is around to see the flowers fall on the trees, and the birds are singing all the way in the spring hills. Shit, it's hard to think about the next. My brain cells are almost burned up. Why didn't I memorize a few more poems back then? He faced an endless barrage of attacks and was able to stay calm and still, always picking up the next sentence in the last few minutes. It's been a long time since I've been at full strength to perform the confusing phantom killing. How can I feel some strain this time? Could it be Xie Yan's interference? Impossible. That guy simply doesn't not have any good spiritual attacks. It's purely based on the innate pressure. How could it be able to affect me? Good. He's afraid to open his eyes. He's afraid to let me see how much he's been affected. Even the innate second level masters will be disturbed and confused. I will see what you will do next. Continue. The ninth sentence. The eleventh sentence. The thirteenth sentence. One incense stick later. The thirty-second sentence finally came to mind, but the next ones are completely out of reach. It's too difficult. If I had known it was so difficult, I wouldn't have agreed to CUI Jing's proposal to fight with Su Jio. However, this CUI Jing is really powerful, ah, he blurted out every sentence without thinking. No, it's impossible. I have already been continuously disturbing his spirit. How could he be able to answer in the last few moments every time? Hmm. Steward Sue? Steward Sue? Huh? This guy broke down on his own? The period between one Buddha and the next difficulty technique along with this guy's crazy skill consumed a lot of his energy. He finally collapsed off. S plus level fighter spiritual will, even if I do nothing, you can't disturb these deadhead Sujio. You will have to admit it this time. This situation means that his mental will is almost damaged to the foundation and it is already at the end of the shot. It is almost enough and I cannot wait for him to completely collapse. Next, it's time for the performance. The 32nd sentence. The river water flowing with spring to the end, the river lake moon falls in the west again. I am ashamed that I dared to disrespect Master Xie in my heart before. Today, when I saw the face of Master Xie, I realized how vulgar I was. Immortal. Master Xie must be an immortal. Very good. I received a lot of source points. Now let's continue the performance. Young Master Xie, you scared the hell out of me. Are you okay? I just pushed too hard. Don't worry. What the hell are you doing? Everything is under control. Just watch my show. Strange. Why do I just feel that Master Xie is the heavenly god, sacred and inviolable? So I'm not the only one who thinks so. What's going on here? Oh, what's wrong with Master Xie? Why is he looking so weak? Master, is Ron Ron all right? Huh, why do I have to kneel to Master Xie? What's going on? It's fine, it's just a slight mental fatigue. That's a relief. This guy just made a big noise, but look at his appearance now, it's strange. So my attack still took effect, but he held on strong the whole time. Xie Yan's technique seems to make ordinary people worship him fervently after being attacked, but it has little impact on me. Steward Su, you, master, don't underestimate him. Xie Yan's move is initially silent, but under the subtle influence, it has the power to penetrate the stone. I was careless. This kid is actually very good at the art of spiritual attacks. Master, can you consider this as a foul for disturbing others? 
it's possible, but he can defend himself by saying that the people are just respecting him. Also, if we force him to lose, in the view of the ordinary people, I'm afraid it will look like we are petty. Then forget it. Yes, I think his mental state is a bit worse than yours. Steward Sue, can you still hold on? Don't worry, I won't let him get away with it. Husband, how about forgetting about it? Your face is pale, I'm afraid something will happen to you. Rome, Rome, this is for the master, for the dignity of the battle, even if I die, I cannot retreat. But, Steward Sue, Master Yai, please listen to me. If young Master Xia wants to explain the accident just now, there is no need, let's go on to the next round. No Master Yai has misunderstood, and I don't intend to make excuses for the accident just now. What do you mean, Master Xia? I didn't expect Steward Su's literary skills and martial arts skills to be so strong. Not only did he resist my attack without affecting the others, but he also forced me to such a point. I have not learned my skills well, I have not controlled my martial arts, it's so humiliating. Master Xia, you are... I am ashamed to have caused trouble to you. According to the rules, I have lost. Master Xie, this is not allowed. I'm not injured. Why do you have to admit defeat? Yes, the only influence I received was to admire Master Xie more. But what does it matter? Master Xie is supposed to be admired. Master Xie, don't give up. You may not know. I am already at the end of my strength. I wanted to give it a try. But I did not expect that not only did I fail to defeat Steward Sue, but also affected the innocent people, instead of forcing it to continue. It's better to admit defeat in style and keep the last bit of face. In fact, as soon as Steward Sue raised the question, I realized that something was wrong. It's just that the beautiful moment and the beautiful scenery are intoxicating. The little frog appeared again at the right time, which inspired me. After all, I am the master of Jiangling Xie. Master Yai is also a poet and should be able to understand the thing called inspiration. Therefore, although this poem is a bit excessive, I still made it. Now in this situation, I am also considered to be responsible for it. Cough. Master Xie, you did not mean to offend the master's family. Vice Patriarch Su will forgive you. I see. That makes sense. I didn't expect Xie Yin to be so honest. It is normal for young people to be arrogant and proud of their talents, and if I really care, I was even crazier than him when I was young. What's more, he can afford to let go this quality is rare and valuable, it is worth a friendship. Enemies should be resolved rather than knotted, so take a step back. In this case, I declare that this match will be a draw. But it was a foul. It is true that young Master Xia affected others, but Steward Su was already lethargic before that, and he was temporarily unable to come up with the next sentence in time. A draw would be the most suitable. Good, a good draw. My husband, it hurts me to see you like this, so listen to me this time. Rong Rong, Rong Rong is just admiring him. It's really not the right time for me to be jealous. All right, I'll listen to my master. Now that's right. Xie Yin was able to last so long under my quadruple confusing phantom killing and almost defeated me. Not to mention that I had to rely on Master Yai to fight him on equal footing. It's good to end this way. Today, I have really opened my eyes. I didn't expect Steward Su to be so deep and hidden. I'm sorry. Master Xie under the strong attack of Steward Su can still last so long. It is already very powerful. When I kneeled at the feet of Master Xie, I felt very peaceful, perhaps, Master Xie is really the reincarnation of God. Steward Su, I am young and rash, I have been rude, please forgive me. Master Xie, I was too impulsive, it's my turn to apologize to you. Come on, you guys should stop complimenting each other. I see that you are very tired, why don't you just stay overnight and leave tomorrow? Since Master Yai said so, then. Moreover, I have a unique martial art called Wendijing, which allows me to introspect myself through the masterpieces of literature, which is most effective for spiritual grooming. Master Xie can be in the same room with me. Not only can we talk about poetry and the philosophy of life, but also restore energy too. Isn't it wonderful? Ah, this? Shit. 
Master Yai, it's not convenient. I'm with Master Xie. If you take him away, what will happen to me? Miss Yan, Master Xie is too tired to satisfy you. Why don't you give him to me, let me relieve him, and I guarantee that tomorrow he will recover. Ah, this. Hurry up and find a way to get rid of Cui Jing, or else the plan cannot be implemented. If it weren't for you being so high profile, how could Cui Jing fall in love with you? I couldn't think of a good idea. You can follow him first, and then find an opportunity to sneak out. Master Xie, what do you think? Master Yai's kindness, I took it from the bottom of my heart, and I'm, follow my ass. Yin Ruyu, you little grifter, let me think about how to reject him. All right, since young Master Xie is unwilling, don't force him. As soon as I left, there was such a big commotion, you guys really messed up. Damn, Su Min? Master Zhang, why are you back again? You guys were making too much noise, I really can't help. Don't worry, he'll be gone soon. Competing with the guest. How can you be like this? Su Jio, is this how you work? Master, please punish me. Father-in-law, don't be angry. Master, my husband didn't mean to do it, so please be gentle with the punishment. Humph, I'll talk to you later. My servant is rude. Please don't bother with him, Master Xie. No, no, I'm the one who offended you. Ha ha, Su Jio is only making a big fuss. I think the frog chanting is a very good poem and very compatible with me. I don't think it has overstepped my bounds. In fact, there is no such thing as overstepping in the Han Dynasty. Master Xie, if you have any more poems about frogs, please write them to me. Where did this lunatic get such a big face? Master Zhang, please drag Cui Jing away with you. This is not a difficult task, and when I have promised something, I will definitely do it. But being too close to Su Min, I have to reorganize the relationship between the various parts of the court. Go back and tell him not to look for me again in the near future. Vice Patriarch Su, since there's nothing here, let's go back and continue rafting. Scholar Sompa and Mr. Ikue are still waiting. Yes, I can't keep them waiting. Come with us, Mr. Yai. I have never seen Mr. Yai write a poem, and I am looking forward to it. Ha ha, then come with us, son-in-law. Does Master Xia want to join? Ahem, I'm very weak, so I don't want to spoil the fun. Then, Master Xia should rest well. Although Xia Yin has talent, but he is a deficient male, alas, no one is perfect odd. Su Jio, I will leave Master Xia to you. And you are also wounded, you get some rest as well. Yes, Master. Young Master Xia and Miss Yin should rest well. Steward Su, you go to work, don't worry about me and Master Xia. Finally gone. Wait. You are okay? Look at me, I'm alive and well, do I look like I'm in trouble? I thought since you have resisted Su Jio's mental attack technique for a long time, so you should really have some injuries, but I didn't expect. A mere Su Jio is not worthy to even scratch me. I think you should have already planted a demon in Su Jio's body, right? It was such a good time to be alone just now, why not just do it? I originally thought you were injured and needed to rest, but now it seems that there is no injury. I should wait for him to fall asleep. I'm not sure if I can do it directly while he is awake. After all, Su Jio is an innate. Although I temporarily thwarted his mental will to the lowest, but in order for Chinger's spell to take effect, it is best to wait for him to fall asleep before casting. You want to wait for Su Jio to go to sleep? There is still a lot of activity outside. When will he go to bed? And what if he stays up all night? Don't panic. Although he looks strong now, he's very weak. He'll be tired soon. Half an hour later. Then Steward Su will say goodbye too. Take care of yourselves. Phew, the guests are all gone. The meeting can be considered a perfect end. All right, you go rest quickly. Just leave it to me here. This Xie Yan's technique is quite amazing. When you are normally attacked by a spirit, you only need to survive the wave, but his attack continues even after the duel. I'm also feeling less strong. Let's go. 
I really need a break. Stuart Sue worked hard, let us take care of the rest. Wife, didn't you say you wanted to settle accounts with your husband, tonight? You bastard, you just complained of a headache, and now you are thinking about this thing. Give yourself a good rest, or I will not let you touch me. I also want to have sex with you, but you have been busy for the past two days for the meeting, and injured, when you are better, I will meet you. My wife really loves me, these days were really tough, then. Wife? You fell asleep so soon? It's also true that she is also working hard these days, and she was affected by Xie Yan's influence during the match. She does not know martial arts, it is normal that her mental condition is a little worse than mine. I'm getting sleepy, tonight. Inch Illusion Well, this time, if not suffer a fatal crisis, Su Jio should not wake up. But, this is the first time I've ever encountered someone who can work so well against an innate expert. I have already told you, Su Jio's willpower is a little stronger than that of ordinary people, and even not as good as a martial artist of the 8th or 9th level, just a little strong. Neither Su Min nor Si Yui Jing are here. Now there is no one in this building who can threaten us. Give me the goods. Here is the box and the amber. The amber is fine, but the box has cost me a lot of money to make it look like this, so take it gently and don't break it. You go out on guard. Master Xie, what do you mean by that? Are you still afraid that I will steal your skills? If you had dared to steal, you would not still be able to stand in front of me. I am worried about the underlings coming to Sujio. You need to improvise outside to lure people away. Keep a good watch and don't peek. What a nasty guy, only ordering me around. Do you really think that I won't peek just because you said so? How could I do that? Right. Master Xie, what else can I do for you? You must be lonely outside by yourself. I let this little kid accompany you. This guy. Well, now I'm relieved. If Yin Ryu's five elements are used to peep, I can't prevent it, so I'd better throw a ghost to monitor her. According to her plan, next I should impersonate Su Jio to go inside the machine Chuan Wu with this Shibei goods to swap the real thing out. With this, I'm sure Su Min will not find the truth for a long time. Unfortunately, I don't need this stuff for my plan. Well, let's destroy this. Next, start my plan. Turning into ashes. Chinger, let's go to work. When I ask some key information, let Chinger use the transformation spell to turn me into Su Jio's appearance. Unfortunately, the transformation spell is not perfect. A touch will be enough to break it, but I hope no one will dare to touch Su Jio's face. Ah, ah, today, Chinger has been thinking about this spell for a long time, and now I can finally do it. Half an incense stick later. Hmm? Ah, I've got it all figured out. I'll take care of the next. You go back to your room and wait for my message. Wow. Your face, what's wrong? Brother, you really look too much like Su Jio. It's hard to imagine that this is a temporary mask. Hey, you. Don't move, let me touch it. Snapped. Hands off. This face isn't something you can just touch. I just want to touch the mask, not to take advantage of you. It will make the mask dirty. Su Jio is sleeping so soundly, so no one is needed here. Also, for the sake of insurance, isn't it best for you to go back to your room and act like we're making out to create an alibi? I know, but can't you be more polite to me? But you know, to create a perfect act, I would also need some cooperation from you by giving your body to me. What are you thinking? I will never let you stain. My body. I just need a little bit of life to cast the ghost sound phantom art, you know. And it is not like I really want you. I just want some intimacy. This ghost has touched my hand. You can take it for a while. I'm going. You should get going too. Brother? I'm so nervous. Chinger won't reveal herself, right? This Yen Ryu is so weird. The more you treat her, the less she will doubt you even if there is suspicion. She would just keep it to herself. It will be fine. Chinger isn't afraid of her, sir. 
Can you not be nervous about entrusting such an important task to Chinger? Don't worry, I've been watching you. According to the information obtained from the Truth Mantra, only Su Jio's true chi can let us inside the beast Qian Wu. Now only you can help me. All right, I will try my best. I can't imitate Su Jio's true chi, so even with Su Jio's face, I can't enter the interior of the shell. Therefore, we can only rely on Qing'er to control Su Jio's physical movements. Fortunately, Su Jio's mental strength at this moment is at most comparable to the acquired martial artist of the 8th or Nineth level, which is just within the range that Qing'er can handle. I heard Qing'er say that Yen Ryu's female ghost called Mei Lang does not have that ability, so that's fine, she won't suspect anything. Shit. This girl Yen Ryu indeed came in, am I done for? How did senior brother rap Su Jio and his wife like this? Could it be that there is something that he doesn't want me to know about? Eh? Senior brother didn't even take off their coats, how careless. Forget it, if Su Jio woke up, it would be more troublesome. He shouldn't be able to wake up for a while, so let's go. Ah, uh, fortunately, I have long let Ching'er use the transformation spell to turn me into Su Jio's appearance. Ching'er's presence probably alerted her, but fortunately, although she sneaked into Peep, she didn't really touch my face. Ching'er, where are you? In fact, I'm not too worried about being suspected by Yin Ryu, because she is a smart person. As long as I go to Shilan Kingdom to break the oath, she will pretend not to know even if she knows everything. However, if you can play a role, you still have to play it. It's not good for both sides to choose too clearly. Gulyulu, I dived into the bottom of the water and saw that steel bastard Gulyulu. Sir, Gulyulu, can you see that? Chinger, Sujio can't swim like that. Change your posture. Gulului. Oh, oh, is Chinger really okay? But now I can only rely on her. Chinger, let me emphasize to you once again, Sujio is Su Min's most trusted steward. The guards in the body of this giant machine are all puppets. They won't suspect anything if you act like Sujio. The only thing you need to be careful of is the core of the puppet beast, the treasure vault and the puppet leader named Kuei Lu, he is saying. Chinger just needs to let it open according to the law, this, and then this. So dark. Don't panic, take your time, we're not in a hurry. According to Su Jio's description, to enter the treasury, one must first pass through the power room of the King Eight. From here, the defense inside will be pretty tight. Maybe you would even meet the puppet leader Kuei Lu. Hang on, Chinger, the next part of the road is the most difficult. Don't worry, my lord, I. This, my lord, how could this be? What's up with this, this room? Is this what's called a power room? How, how miserable. These chained people have their legs chopped off and they are in a state of dying. And Chinger can feel that their life force is constantly being absorbed. Could it be that this beast is being driven by human life force? Who? Lu Jiping, no, you've changed your name to Su Jio. I know it's you. You bastard. You still have the nerve to be here. I have treated you well in the past, but I never thought that you would be so ungrateful and betray your master. You traitor. My lord, what should I do with this? Su Jio, you traitor. Su Jio, give back my wife and children and the lives of my twenty-nine disciples. Sir, what should we do with this? Shall we take care of him? Ching'er, go and find out what happened to him. Don't worry about these puppets, you are Sujio now, and they won't hinder you. So, who are you? What is going on here? You are wrong, if you have a debt, you have to seek revenge on Sujio, don't seek me. Sujio, what are you pretending to be? 
your voice, your breath, even if you turn to ashes, I can recognize you. In order to get Su Min's favor, you betrayed all the brothers of the sect and designed to turn them into golden pills. As a teacher, my eyes are dim, and I could not see your tricks, and I was imprisoned here by you in the end, to be exploited day and night. Even your purpose is just to drive this machine puppet? How ridiculous, pathetic, and abominable this is. Sujio, you will go to hell after you die. You will fall into the 18 levels of hell and never be reborn. In other words, all the people here are captured by Su Min and Su Jio to supply food to the beasts. A living battery to be precise. And it seems that they should be deliberately maintained in this state where they can't survive and they can't die. Is this the style of the MOXI insect? I thought that Dehan and these demon sects would at most engage in the business of harvesting yang and replenishing yin like the MOCS sect, killing or burying them, but I didn't expect. Sir, it's so sad. Should we save him out? He has lost all meaning to live on. Even if I save him with nirvana at all costs, he will only embark on the road of revenge driven by anger until he burns everything he has. Woohoo! Kill me. Woohoo. Let me die. Woohoo. What's more, the Nirvana fingers can't recover from the severed limbs, and I have no ability to keep them under Su Men's eyelids. The best ending I can give them is to grant them liberation. Now let's do our thing. Steward Su? You shouldn't be here right now. The machine Chuanwu is now closed. What are you doing in here? Steward Su? Kue Lu, you are guilty of this. Guilty? This? I am stupid. Please tell me what my crime is. You are clearly responsible for guarding the key point of the core of the puppet beast, but you are not careful so that these people have spare energy to struggle. Fortunately, I was worried about the tricky beauty Ryu and Master M.O.E.U. doing something to the treasure and came to the library to investigate it and it didn't cause a big disaster. But if something goes wrong here, what are you to blame? I understand. Please punish me, Steward Su. Considering your loyalty to the Master, I can let it go. Now I'm going into the vault to check the treasures. You check these guys outside and don't let them make any more noise. Yes. That was close, my lord. How is Chinger's acting? Good. Chinger is getting more and more capable. So next. Xie Yin disguised as Su Jio. The most crucial moment has finally come. Following Yin Ryu's train of thought, I could indeed get the Shu Ji safely. But the core purpose of my trip has never been the Shu Ji. I want to use Yen Ryu's plan to steal the treasure to provoke a full-scale confrontation between Ge -E and Su Min and create a reasonable opportunity for myself to escape from the M.O.X.I. insect. Ah, uh, Mr. Xie. Ah, uh, Ryu. You are so beautiful. In Yen Ryu's plan, this steal should be silent, leaving no trace. But I can't do it. I must leave some movement pointing the finger at G.E. Huayu so that Su Min is sure that G.E. Huayu is making trouble. How? Are you happy with this? I know you were sent by G.E. Huayu to monitor me and will not hurt you. But G.E. Huayu wants you to accompany me to resolve loneliness, so it's okay for me to vent a little bit, right? It's so intense, damn, it's not enough to do this dirty deed. How dare you be so blatant and shout so loudly? No, I must watch carefully so I can criticize them later. Yen Ryu is really working hard. With such a big movement, no one will enter the room without knowing what to do, so I can let go of my worries. Next, Ching are disguised as Sujio. After dispatching Kuei Lu, Chinger was the only one in the treasure vault, and she could easily get her hands on the stuff. You can take someone to check the rest. I'll go back first. 
do some superfluous operations. This is not good. Purposely let them find something fishy and chase out. There's a problem with Steward Sue. Chase him. And I have already exchanged identities with Chinger, waiting here for a long time. See if I don't turn this place upside down. Such power, there is no trace of using Chi at all. I would have died just now. But why exactly? Why would Steward Sue do these things? Did he betray us? I must. This must be reported to the master. This aura. Damn the punch in the hallway just now was not his full strength. I should avoid that at any cost. What was the movement just now? Why is it raining suddenly? What a big rain. Huh. This thing is really hard, ah, uh, I'm convinced. Well, this should be enough. I just need to wait for someone to come over. The clothes can actually swell along with my muscles, otherwise, it would have been torn up if it had been normal clothes. Fortunately, as long as it is not impacted by innate true chi, it should be fine. It was a sudden rainstorm just now, and now there is a strong wind? Strange, what? Kind of weather is this? Haven't you seen it yet? This is because there are innate fighters fighting nearby, and their realm is definitely not low. The four demons of manifestation. The demon of exasperation. I didn't think there would be anyone who would dare to behave like this at my banquet. Sujio doesn't know this kind of kung fu. Who are you? Or maybe. How long have you been hiding from me? No matter what your intention is, since you have made such a choice, you will only end up. As expected of the vice patriarch of the M.O.X.I.N. sect, the fourth level of the innate, facing Su Min directly, I could only use physical means directly. I was fortunate to be able to fight head to head with the main world's innate fourth level, which is really exciting. You were able to save your life even with a single blow from this old man. Your martial arts are quite good, but unfortunately, um, when did this guy cover his face? Wait a minute. Why is he smiling? Could it be that? This. What is this feeling? So soothing, so relaxing, as if in a celestial wonderland. I have been suffering for too long. Just a moment of tranquility is fine. A momentary return of light is fine, even if it is just an illusion. Set me free. My Shuan Wu. How dare you? Nirvana technique. Humph, he escaped very fast. Master, just now. Needless to say, I already know everything. I didn't expect this guy to have such ability. No wonder he is so bold. Ah, such a heavy smell of mellow breath on the body. Do you really think I don't know who you are, G.E. Huayu? Are you okay, father-in-law? Who is the attacker? I'm fine with it, but it's a pity that I've accumulated those treasures over the years. As for the attacker, I know what I have in mind. Right, go find Sujio, and also, see where Yen Ryu and Xie Yen are now. How could anyone dare to provoke the master? Who the hell is this guy? What a big move just now. The sky is falling apart, and they are still continuing? But here, our master Xie, you are awesome this, maybe in the eyes of congenital masters, this is not a problem at all, right? Ah, my heart ah, baby this movement just now, is Su Min taking action? Who is fighting with him? Please don't tell me it's G.E. Huayu. Against Su Min, this guy has no chance. 
the most important thing is that he is likely to leave me behind and escape first. Men are really unreliable, but I trusted him so much. If he ran away, it is meaningless for me to stay here, but if we leave, it will definitely make Su Men suspicious. But if I continue to stay, then Su Men will come over to find Xie Yan, I will also be involved in. Hmm? Why did those servants outside suddenly stop talking? Yin Ruiyu What are you saying about me behind my back? Ge Huayu? The plan went well. Lian 11 Jade pinned it. As soon as I got out of Su Men's field of vision, I immediately came back with the Jade pendant. After Ching er finished her part, she took Su Jio's body back to his room. Su Men could only discover the clues I left him on purpose. As for the onlookers outside this room, they are just a group of servants with low martial arts skills. Ching er's hundred ghosts can easily make them turn a blind eye to my return. Thanks to me controlling all the people outside, otherwise your voice would go down and be exposed in minutes. You're still talking about me. I'm scared to death. What the hell did you do? Why did you make so much noise? Did you get the living corpse blood leech? Not me. Why would I do that? I got the living corpse blood leech. As for why there was such a commotion outside, I can answer you. I don't know where a reckless man popped up and blew up the Schwan Wu puppet. If it wasn't for that, I would have returned earlier. What? That loud noise was the puppet being blown up? Who blew it up? I was so busy hiding from Su Min, how could I stop to see who it was? There's no such thing as a coincidence. It's 80% likely that this guy did it. What the hell is he thinking? In short, I have nothing to do with the riots outside. Su Min did not catch the reckless man, and he may come around to see our situation. Drag away. My heart and soul baby you put away Mei Lang. Let's go to the bed and pretend, so as not to be caught by Su Min. Wait, Master Xie? Okay, you can go ahead and moan. What do you think? Su Min is a cunning man. How could he be so easily fooled? Are you looking down on him too much? Why can't he be fooled? Can he still get into our bed and watch? Master Xie, forging ordinary love is no problem, but you have fought with Su Jio and got injured ah. In the eyes of others, we must do double cultivation tonight, otherwise how can we explain the intense atmosphere created by me? The amount of help. Double cultivation? Yes, double cultivation. Su Min may not be able to see what we have done, but he can certainly see whether we have undergone double cultivation from our true chi, which I can't cover up with a couple of screams. I've only practiced it with the demon girl, I really didn't think much about it back then. But Yen Ryu is right, Su Min may really see the end. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to sell my body in the end. Alright, it's the last minute, it's not the time to be pretentious. Move yourself. Master Xie, your look hurts my self-esteem ah. Hurry up, I feel that Su Min will come soon. You only know to bully, what a bad man. But, you look so good, I do not care about your mileage. Hey, double cultivation, just double cultivation, don't do anything else. Then you can relax a little, you make me unable to do it. Look where your hand is before you speak. Alas, I never thought I would end up in this situation. Is this the destiny of a beautiful man? Hmm? Get up. The way Master Xia closed his eyes and didn't move was so cute that I mistook myself for an apprentice and was almost moved by it. But I am a clean woman. I will not get close to men. Then you still took advantage of me. Didn't you say we should do double cultivation for not to get caught? Is there any other way out? Isn't there a way to do it without much intimacy? So you were just teasing me? Woman, you're playing with fire, you know? I'm just joking. Now I will teach you how to do it now. This woman. It looks legit. It seems I don't have to worry about anything. True chi is passed on to each other, and it is included in the chi, Master Xie. Don't be stunned, and start quickly. True chi is passed on to each other, 
This woman is playing this trick. Does it mean that she still wants to test whether I am really G.E. Huayu? But it doesn't matter. Now that she got on my boat, it is impossible for her to get off. Hmm? Am I asleep? I was suddenly in a trance just now. Could it be that I was frightened by the power of the master? Have Master Xie and Miss Yen been in the room all this time? Master. In reply to the master's words, the two honored guests went in not long ago and started practicing and never came out. I didn't dare to get too close, but it seemed that there were many kinds of movements without stopping. The two have been doing it for a long time and think they can continue until dawn without interruption. It hasn't stopped? They didn't come out to take a look at such a big movement outside? Master, do you want to go straight in? No, it's too rude. Master Xie, Miss Yen, there was a commotion at the house just now. Did it affect you? Mr. Yai? Oh, it's Mr. Yai. We were having a good time, so we couldn't pay attention to what was going outside. Why are there so many people outside our room? Mr. Yai, if you need any help, you can ask to me directly. It seems that these two weren't aware of what happened outside. There were some small twists and turns in the house, but it has been dealt with. I just came here to check if the two of you were fine. Then there was no need for so many people to come here, knowing that me and Master Xia were in, I'm so ashamed. Apologies. Since you're fine, we will be heading out. Unexpectedly, it was C.U.I. Jing who came here. That's fine. C.U.I. Jing is much easier to be fooled than Su Min. Since we're cleared of any suspicion, shouldn't we hurry and leave? What are you thinking? It's more like showing that we're the culprits. Having said that, your acting was too rough. You got your dirt in my body. Can't you use the true chi of the six desires heart demon technique? Okay, we can sleep here then. But you're sleeping on the bed. Where should I sleep? Don't you have a brain? Sleep on the floor. Mr. Sia, you are too cruel. I am a delicate daughter. How dare you let me sleep in the dirt? I would like to share half of the bed, but I couldn't sleep well. You would not want to be attacked by my hands in the middle of the night. I think the heated couch outside would be fine for me. Good night, Mr. Sia. The amber has been obtained, and the reputation of Xie Yin has been spread more widely. Also, Su Min actually thinks that G.E. Huayu blew up his puppet. I even let Chinger take out the traces he hid inside me. Even if Su Min really suspected something and came here to search, I wouldn't be afraid. So, this time, the goal was successfully achieved. At the same time, I was disgraced this time in front of the two great scholars and Prefect Zhang. Father-in-law, I'm back. Well, how about Xie Yin and Yan Ruyu? Well, he had been cultivating with Yan Ruyu in his room, and there was no abnormality. Several servants were rude and lingered outside the house all the time, which inadvertently corroborated this incident. Have you seen the two with your own eyes? Does Xie Yin have any obvious injuries other than lack of energy? Or is there any injury on Yin Ryu? I have seen the two with my own eyes. Yin Ryu is full of energy. Xie Yin seems to have recovered half of his spirit. Not really. I just thought about it a little more. And did those two talk about leaving from here? No, they both seem to be planning to stay overnight until tomorrow. In that case, leave them alone. The power room of the Shuanwu puppet was blown up by a power comparable to an innate master. That thief actually brought such a powerful bomb into the interior of the puppet. Didn't you find it? Kue Lu? Master, at that time, Steward Su came in alone. We did not find him carrying traces of explosives. I didn't know what was going on. I trusted you so much. The Shuanwu puppet has suffered heavy losses, and you don't know anything in the end? Rubbish. Father-in-law, Kue Lu has been with you for so long, it would be too much to kill him like this. It's just a puppet, it's not a pity to kill it. There will always be others to top it off. And I don't need waste. My father-in-law is right, I am the one who is shallow. I didn't find anyone pretending to be me, I deserve to die, please punish me. Steward Su 
It's all my fault. Kill me, please. It's not like you're going to die. You're protecting me and you're injured. I am not so confused. The biggest mistake you made is that you shouldn't sleep so dead. If you keep walking outside, the thief who pretended to be you would have taken your presence into account and won't be so arrogant. The death penalty can be forgiven, but the living sin is inevitable. We must teach you a little lesson. I have planted a poisonous idemon on you, causing heart-piercing pain at noon every day, reminding you of what happened today. Ahem, thank you for your generosity. I'll leave it to you, son-in-law, to count the losses. I still have to go to send off the prefect Zhang and the two great scholars. Yes, father-in-law. Destroyed my Shuangwu puppet beast, I will remember this, but... Gee, why you shouldn't have the guts? Could it be that G.E.E. -E is behind it? But that G.E. Huayu may not be the real G.E. Huayu. If so, forget it. It doesn't matter if he is real or not. I must take this opportunity to pull G.E.E. -E down. The next day. Thank you for your hospitality yesterday. We will continue to travel, so we say goodbye and ask Mr. Yai to convey our gratitude to Vice Sec Master Su. As long as you are happy. There is no such thing as a banquet that doesn't come to an end. The green hills will never change. The green water will always flow. See you later. See you later. Finally. I was really scared. In the end, we really did it. You still have the nerve to say that. It was all thanks to me. I've been working very hard. And most of the accidents were clearly led by you, Mr. Sia. How can you blame it on my head? Do you blame me? I am the famous Jianling Xie Yan. How can it be my mistake? All right, all right. It's my fault. Isn't it okay for me to compensate Master Xie? In any case, we have achieved our goal, and we have taken the first step to dispel the oath. When I first ascended to the innate, it was extremely dangerous. I think it's the same case for Senior Brother Huayu as well. When it comes to cultivation, one cannot be careless. But I have to prepare for the big event in half a year. It requires a lot of time. In order to avoid collision between the two sides, the trip to Western Lawn is not urgent. I can wait for the end of the Nine Sex Conference and then make arrangements. Don't worry. I know what you're talking about. GEE wants to stay with me for half a year. Yin Ryu also mentioned that for half a year. What will happen after half a year? Nine Sex Conference? Should I talk to Yen Ryu? Forget it. Listening to her tone, this seems to be a well-known thing in the demon sect. All these questions seem to make me so naive. I know that the senior brother is reliable, but in order to avoid disputes between us, I still have to make it clear with the senior brother. What do you want to say? About Zhao Shi? The last stage of his practice of the black prison ghost head is to catch a purine woman and torture her in every possible way to make her turn into a ghost and raise it with the black prison ghost head after her death. And I just met Zhao Xiu's conditions. Although others felt that Zhao Xiu would not take action against me, the purine body is too rare. If Zhao Xiu sets his eyes on me, it would be my end. So you killed him first? And G.E. Huayu happens to be the one who takes the blame, so your little game is playing quite well. He is the son of the Taoist master. If the Taoist master knew that it was me, would my family still be alive? Therefore, it is really a last resort to frame the senior brother, and I can still get the senior brother out of this mess. Although I don't know why you used your true face to grab the Yin fruit, but this is also an excellent excuse. I told the Taoist master that a person who looked like G.E. Huayu killed people and seized treasures, but I was not sure if it was really G.E. Huayu. After all, G.E. Huayu is the son of a thousand faces. It does not make sense to grab the treasure with his real face. It is possible that other people pretend to be him. The Taoist master thinks it makes sense, so he sent me to investigate you. I see, that's simple. Then you go back and tell your master, Zhao Xiu was killed by me, G.E. Huayu, and there is no mistake in that. What are you saying, brother? Go back now and tell that Zhao Xiu was killed by me, G.E. Huayu, and ask the Taoist master to come to the M.O.X.I.N. sect to find me. 
Wait. This matter can be resolved easily. Why are you doing this? In fact, the Taoist master had already talked with your patriarch Yuan. However, the Taoist master still needs me to make the final judgment to believe. Now is the chance. The reason isn't important to you, so it's best not to ask. In short, do as I say, and then you will be less suspicious. Shit, I was wondering why GEE -E was so calm about Chong Ling Dao's visit. It turned out they already had a talk, and here I really thought he wasn't afraid of Chong Ling Dao. Senior brother, don't you believe in me? You are my first and foremost sister. How can I really be bothered with you? Let me help you bear this. Don't be too moved. Brother, let's be straight. If the MOXI insect is plotting something against the Taoist master, then I won't hold back either. Junior sister, you think too much. Your Taoist master will not be stupid enough to enter the mountain gate formation of my MOXI insect. Without the suppressing the mountain gate formation, what can we do to your Taoist master? Shit, this woman can really be thoughtful. I did not think of this. I am just worried. However, the Taoist master previously told Lord Yuan that he would come over to ask for clarification, but it's just a delaying tactic. Once it was confirmed that Zhao Xiu was killed by you, he would not come to the MOXI insect at all. Instead, he would use all means to kill you. So he never planned to come there? And, let me give you a suggestion. If you seek revenge on my GE family, just target me and my father, so as to not make the MOXI insect and Chong Ling Dao in full hostility. It's likely I won't use my original face, so you can't find me. As for father, he is a highly skilled martial arts expert. No matter what, just let Chong Ling Dao keep GE -E occupied. I will see if he still has time to search for me. Why is he going against is his own sect? Sister, what are you thinking about? I will do what you say. But we have made such a big move at the conference, the real Xia Yin won't find me along the way, right? Brother, have you thought about this? Don't worry, he won't find you. Brother, how are you so sure? If Xia Yin really wants to find us, then he will look for me first. Trust me, he won't, so just do what I say. All right, I'll do as you say. It's just as I thought, this guy is not G.E. Huayu. I originally thought that this guy had other things in his mind, but I didn't expect that he actually planned to admit it directly and even took the initiative to take this crime on him. Admitting the killing of Zhao Xu is absolutely impossible for the real G.E. Huayu to do. Selfishness is carved into his bones, and no matter what face he has, this will not change. No matter how much evidence there is to prove that he is G.E. Huayu, as long as he violates this rule, he must be a fake. He is really a powerful guy he can kill G.E. Huayu and even hide from G.E.E. -E and the M.O.X.I. insect. Who would he be, C.A. Yan? Neither the literary talent that impressed Master Yai nor the pleasant temperament could be imitated casually his performance was too perfect, just like the real C.A. Yan. If he was Xia Yin himself it would make sense, so he really doesn't care about the interests of the MOXI insect and deliberately seeks trouble for them. But do I have a choice? This guy has almost all of GE Huayu's abilities and the trip to Xilan country could have hardly be accomplished without him. That's also why I ignored it all. I really wanted to ignore all of the flaws he had, but this guy brought all of them to my attention. I couldn't ignore them. Regardless of whether he is Xia Yin or not, he must have had his purpose in disguising as G.E. Huayu to infiltrate the M.O.X.I. insect. Maybe I can use this to blackmail him. Sister, what are you thinking about? I'm thinking, Master Xia, you look so good it can be possible, but it is not necessary, at least it is not necessary for now. Master Xia, if I really tear his face off, it will make him kill me. I am not afraid that he can kill me, but why bother? Let's try this first. Where is the living corpse blood leech? After you stole it, I have not even looked at it. Here, see for yourself. Yes, it's the real thing. The guy did get his hands on it, he didn't deceive me. Give it to me. I thought we were going to the Shilan country in six months, what are we doing now? 
It is always important for me to be prepared first. What should I do if you elope with other people behind my back? It's better than worrying about you ditching me. We both carry a great oath. I will only be more anxious than you. And there are still chi source spirit stones in the Shilan treasure house. I must go there. So don't worry about the blood leech. You'll get it when we leave. Can't you trust me a little more? What's more, at that time, I'm afraid you won't dare to walk on the street with your own identity. So how can I find you? If I run into Xia Yin, what should I do? It is not impossible, but if you see Xia Yin, don't take the initiative to go up and talk. You may encounter the real Xia Yin. Remember that only I, the fake Xia Yin, will take the initiative to talk to you about the Xilan treasure house. You have a lot of stiff going on, but I can wait, otherwise I would have just ignored you. It's okay. Get off me. He he, I'm not playing with you anymore. I'm going back to the sect to see the Taoist master. The Chi Source Spirit Stone in Xilan Treasure House attracts him, and he is also willing to continue to play. Goodbye. Remember to tell your master that Zhao Xiu was killed by me, Ge Huayu. Then, come after me and my father, and try not to mess with other people of the MOXIN sect. I know. I'll do my job, don't worry, Master Xie. In that case, as long as he can accompany me to unlock the Great Oath of the Heart, it is not impossible for me to pretend to know nothing. It doesn't matter if he is Xie Yin or someone else. Thinking about it carefully, Yin Ryu's ability to advance in this situation is indeed powerful. Ching'er feel that Master has fooled her well. Silly Ching'er, do you really think she was fooled that easily? Huh? Isn't she? Then how could she leave so easily? Yin Ryu is very smart. She knows very well that some things are more beneficial to her than revealing me. As long as I am willing to cooperate, I will always be Ge Huayu for her. Oh. As long as the interests of both sides are the same, Yin Ryu will be the best partner, like this kind of high emotional intelligence, knowing how to read, willing to do low. Also, her martial arts is not low and her techniques are not that common in this high martial world. In front of Ching'er, this woman has a different face. Ching'er, what are you talking about? Ching'er is saying. Ching'er misses the patriarch sister. Master, when can we go back to the M.O. Ching sect? I also miss the patriarch sister. Don't worry, if everything goes well, we can go back soon. Really? Only if everything goes well. If it doesn't, then we may not be able to escape, but it doesn't matter, even if something comes up, I also have the means to deal with it. Ching'er can't understand. Now, this is the last and the most difficult step, to fool this fake father. M-O-X-I-N Sek -E Yi's residence. Lao Ji Yi, we have a long-term relationship, so I thought about it for several days, and still wanted to remind you. The chief elder of the branch of words of desire, Zhu Wu Chang. When Wai Yu came back, it seemed he has changed a lot. His temperament is also more and more unpredictable. With this kind of change, it will only cause trouble for you. You have to think about how to deal with him. He is like this because of his new technique. I have already thought about the countermeasures to deal with it, so don't worry. No matter what, he will always be my son. Ying Chi Communication Talisman, Huai Yu? Father, here. Huai Yu, what the hell are you doing? Why are you insisting on me going down the mountain? I have a good thing to report to you, Father. The matter is urgent, so I can only let Father take a trip. What? What's the matter? Why did you call me out secretly? I wanted to tell you something. Father, do you know about the country of Shilong? I remember it's a small country close to the Han Dynasty that doesn't have any contact with the outside world. Why did you suddenly mention this place? Yes, Xilan is a small country unknown to everyone, but what if I tell father that there are well-preserved Qi Source Spirit Stones in the Xilan Treasure House? Qi Source Spirit Stones? Why you? Did you say Qi Source Spirit Stones? Yes, I am talking about the Qi Source Spirit Stones. If you offer it to the sect to fuel the base of the mountain gate formation, then this achievement cannot be surpassed for a century. All right, this stuff really appeals him. 
Why you? How did you hear about it? Is this for real? It was Yin Ryu who told me about it. To be honest, I'm not sure if GEE -E is aware of his son's secrets. He should have no idea that Yin Ryu and GE Huayu are very close. Yin Ryu? Chun Ling Dao's Jade Beauty? When did you get involved with her? If not, he wouldn't be like this when I got the Yin Qian fruit. It's not me, it's Xia Yin and Yin Ryu who are related. I disguised as Xia Yin to take a break in Yudu, but I didn't expect to run into Yin Ryu. According to the information I got from interrogating Xia Yin, he and Yin Ryu are actually old acquaintances and have a common secret. It's a pity that this Xia Yin guy died before I could ask for the secret. Last time I met Yin Ryu, I couldn't do anything to her. This time she came here by herself, so I prepared a script to deal with her. After some investigation, I finally learned that the secret is about the Chi Source Spirit Stones in the treasury of the Xilan country. A few years ago, Xilan Way, Xilan Treasure House, Save Mother. The great oath of the MOXI in this story is basically what Yin Ryu told me, but with GE Huayu being replaced by Xia Yan. This is very strange. Didn't he belong to Qin Xinxi? He just started traveling the world two years ago. It's impossible for him to know Yin Ryu. Damn, I took half a day to fool him and he is concerned about this. Father has no idea. In fact, Xia Yin has been secretly trained by the patriarch of the M.O. Qing sect. If not, how could he become so powerful in a year or two? Fortunately, I had thought about these obvious problems. So that's how it is. By the way, did Xia Yin inform the M.O. Qing sect about the treasure house? Don't worry, father. He hasn't told this secret to anyone. The Xilan treasure house can only be opened by the blood of the royal family. In order to prevent the treasure house from being stolen, the blood of the members of the royal family will be exhausted after death. So Xia Yin and the two spent a lot of time trying to revive Eleven Lanwei's bloodline until Yin Ryu discovered a strange thing, a living corpse blood leech. According to the last generation of Man Tianxing's record of strange things, there is this thing called the living corpse blood leech which needs to drink blood to live. As long as enough blood is replenished, the living corpse blood leech will reproduce the host's blood. It will keep on producing it until it fills the host's body and makes it the living dead. Father, please look. This treasure has the living corpse blood leech sealed in it. It is rumored that the living corpse blood leech has long been extinct, but I did not expect that there are some still left in this world. In fact, this was actually one of Su Min's collection. It took me a lot of trouble to steal it. Su Min? You stole this from Su Min? Yes, it was thrilling, but it did work out. My son is really capable. You can even take this from Su Min's hands. I won't ask you how you did it, so as not to reveal too many of your secrets. What the hell? I have been preparing for so long just to make up a false statement, but this bastard didn't ask about it at all. If I had known that he trusted me so much, I shouldn't even have mentioned about Yen Ryu to him. You can keep the blood leech, and Eleven Lan Wei's body is still in Yin Ryu's hands. Since Yin Ryu has made the Great Oath, she should not dare to play any tricks. You will work with her to get the Spirit Stones on behalf of me. Don't worry, Father. Good, everything is going smooth. However, are you sure Su Min doesn't suspect you about the robbery? It is true that there were some flaws, but as long as I'm disguised, the problem is not big. If you don't ask me, I will tell you. The previous one doesn't matter, but this one must be told, otherwise I will run away in a reasonable way. How are you so sure? Father, in the end, Su Min found out about the robbery. Although I could escape from him with my disguise, I could feel that he have marked something in my body. I wanted to meet Father outside the sect because I'm afraid to be recognized by Su Min. Marking? How come I didn't see it? With my technique, I can sense even the slightest trace in my body. I will be forced to block the smell inside the body during the night, but now it cannot be blocked. I am now covered with this smell. If Su Min is here, he can certainly find me. Don't move. Let me have a closer look. Father, the smell is pretty intense here. 
I had to pay such a big price for this. This is. It was indeed Su Min's method, but I didn't expect that his olfactory support had been trained to such a level that the demonic breath would linger like a pox attached to the bone. If it wasn't for your skill, it would have been really confusing. Fortunately, you noticed it, otherwise, if you go back like this, Su Min will indeed find you. I have already extracted the aura, it should be fine now. Father, really, how do I feel that there is still this smell on my body, it's still there. Crap. This guy can really extract it. Fortunately, I was already prepared. I secretly locked a small trace of breath pretty deep inside, and it was not extracted. Is your skill this powerful? But after this, whether it will be regenerated or not is really not guaranteed. After all, that guy Su Min's martial arts skills are not weaker than mine, and his techniques are really not that easy to crack. Even father can't guarantee it, so what should we do now? Good, I don't think I need to let him continue. He himself gave a reason for brainstorming. Father, do you know this technique? Why not teach me? I'll see if I can crack it myself. This is a very profound technique. I don't know much about it. Even if you do learn it, still you can't break his technique with it. It's not necessary to use the complete technique. Just the basics would be enough. My divine skill is unique. Otherwise, it won't be able to temporarily suppress that mark. I just want to try to see if I can reach it. Somewhat reasonable, but... It's hard for me to reach the complete smell of Desire Branch Gong Fu. I've outlined some of its basic techniques. Have a look at it yourself. Really? That's great, Father. Let me see. I didn't expect it would work, but I actually got it. As long as there is a fragment of the six desires, I can use the system deduction function to complete it. After a cup of tea. Well, my demonic infuriating chi can be stored for about half a month. Before the infuriating energy dissipates, you can take a look. Take it. However, in a short period of time, it is impossible for you to fully understand this, and even if you master it, you may not be able to decipher Su Min's technique, you can only try it. I shouldn't have been impulsive enough to steal that corpse blood leech. What are you talking about? You stole it for the sake of the Chi Source Stones and to help me sit on the Patriarch's throne. Father, I know, now is a critical time for you. I cannot give Su Min leave a handle against you. My work here is done. The next is to run away. For now, I can only stay away from the MOXI insect and Su Min so that I'm not exposed. If in a short period of time I can't break Su Min's technique, wait until I get the Chi Source Spirit Stone and offer it to Father so that Father can completely surpass that old man Su Min and I will come back to you. Father, can you get the Chi Source Spirit Stone within six months? I will fight for it, but Yen Ryu said she would not go to Shilan country until half a year later due to the nine sex meeting. I am afraid that the time will just collide. I have no idea about this nine sex conference. Anyway, just let GEE -E give me an explanation. Indeed, the nine sex conference is more important to you. Okay. You can go to the M.O. Ching sect as Xie Yen first, and I will try my best to defeat Su Min within half a year. You don't have to worry about things over Chong Ling Daoha. Ying Chi Communication Talisman. Who's sending a message to G.E.E.? -E? Shit, won't I be able to get out of here? If I can't get away, I will give you a big news. Damn, do you really had to force me to it? Why you? You can't go now. The Patriarch called an emergency meeting for the Elders and asked me to bring you to it. M.O.X.I. Sect Sovereign Hall. That's how it happened. The Shuangwu puppet that this old man had just repaired was tragically destroyed by the thief in one night. But this bastard, he was not only great in deceiving everyone with his disguise, but also has great strength to escape my claws. Chief Elder of Desire to touch Branch Shenmingyu. Vice Sect Master Su. Are you talking about Huayu? Chief Elder of Desire to say Banch Zhu Wu Chang. Chief Elder of Desire to hear Branch Jiya. How could Ge Huayu do such a thing? Vice Sec Master Su, do you have any proof? Chief Elder of Desire to smell Branch Kuan Ling. 
Chief Elder of Desire to see Wan B.U.S.I. If that's so then how could the Vice Sec Master Su ask the Sec Master to invite us for a meeting? Fatty, I didn't ask you, why are you interrupting? It's obvious, why should you ask? Young Master of Waiyu, there is no reason, nor is it necessary for him to make such a move that violates the sect. He does not have the reason, nor the courage, but his father has. GEE, -E, this man is afraid that I will give the Shuanwu puppet to the sect, thereby overshadowing his popularity, so he let his son destroy my most important treasure. And if you don't believe me, I have left a mark in his palm. I will be able to draw it out for you. And when G. E. Y. U. suffered my attack, he must have been seriously injured. Let's see if he has any injuries. G. E. Y. U. wouldn't really have done this, would he? Then Vice Master Su wouldn't be so sure. Don't panic. Wait. Let the Vice Sec Master G. E. come. I have to tell this first. G. E. E. would never dare to bring G. E. Y. U. here. He might have either locked him up or let him escape. Vice Sec Master Su. These are all one-sided words. Let's wait for Vice Sec Master G.E. Then just wait and see. Everyone is here. Am I late? Vice Sec Master G.E. You are finally here. I already know about it from the Sec Master's talisman, and I deeply sympathize with it. But what does this have to do with my son Huayu? G.E.E. -E, don't pretend with me. Where is your son? Vice Sec Master Su doesn't need to be so aggressive, right? Vice Sec Master GE, it's nothing for us to make small troubles in private, but the Shuangwu puppet was originally a treasure dedicated to the sect by Vice Sec Master Su. Your son has been in a big trouble this time. If Vice Sec Master GE insists on covering him up, he may not be able to convince the public. Vice Sec Master GE hasn't spoken yet. Shut up, you fatty. I have good intention, Shen Mingyu, don't be ungrateful. If Vice Sec Master Ji e is not willing to hand over Ji e Huayu, then how can he convince the public? How to convince the big guys about the decision made by Vice Sec Master Ji e? So, so what? Why is there a quarrel? Am I not here at the right time? Ji e Huayu, Huayu, you are here. Haha, <laughs> what did you just say? Fatty, who does not know how to behave? Just as I expected. Use Xie Yan's identity to participate in the literary meeting. Pretending to be Su Jio. Seriously injured and fled. Temporarily block the demonic breath. Take the sacred medicine and clear the suspicions by having sex with Yen Ryu before I came. I had already explained everything to GEE -E in detail, and I just had to force Xie Yan's identity to add a setting that would also be simple and easy to understand, which was enough to explain why Yen Ryu didn't doubt that Xie Yan could also pretend to be Su Jio, and the rest would be okay. Just change a few small details, and it all becomes true. And about the serious injuries, I also made up my own concept of a unique healing medicine to deal with it. GEE -E is smart. As long as Su Min couldn't find a real evidence, he could be completely defeated in this matter. Since I can't leave for a while, I might as well stay and mess up the MOXI insect before leaving. What's going on? Is this man healed? Vice Sec Master Su, GEE Huayu He. It is absolutely impossible for him to recover in just one night. The most important thing is that the demonic breath has also disappeared. Could it be? GEE, -E, how dare you make a fake son to fool us? Isn't GEE Huayu best at finding a substitute to be himself? Huayu, show Vice Sec Master Su your only divine skill and let him see if you are real or not. Okay, Father. That slight residual demonic breath in my body has been locked up, and no one could find it. Vice Sec Master Su, my tyrannical body can't be replaced by anyone. Is this the only divine skill in the world? How can the power of pure flesh and blood be able to send out such a powerful aura? This feeling it's really the same GE Huayu from before? How is this possible? The breath of Bai Mao is definitely not wrong. It was definitely him who appeared last night. Now I cannot sense it. Could it be that G.E.E. -E has removed it? 
or was it a fake who discovered my breath of Bai Mao and deliberately sold a breakthrough, destroyed the Xian Wu puppet beast, triggering a dispute between Ji Yi -E and me? No, it's not. This fake can't be that great. Besides, if he really concealed before Ji Yi -E and made such a big deal, Ji Yi -E should have found the clues. It is not possible to speak for him now. All this can only be explained by G.E.E. -E, who is the mastermind behind the scenes. It must be this G.E. -E Huayu who was seriously injured and G.E.E. -E treated him. Only then did he discover the breath of my mouth that I planted and then removed it easily. Even if this G.E. -E Huayu is a fake, it is a fake that was played by G.E.E. -E. G.E.E. -E, very, very good. It must have cost a lot to cure G.E. Huayu in such a short time. But now I really can't bring the matter to G.E. Huayu's authenticity, otherwise, G.E.E. -E will take the opportunity to push the problem to the fake, and he will be unscathed, which is not in my interest. It's really troublesome. G.E.E. -E has dealt with two strong evidences in a row. I'm afraid it won't be so easy to convince the patriarch to dismiss G.E.E. -E. I don't understand what you are saying. If Vice Sec Master Su has suffered from hysteria, please ask the doctor to come to your home for treatment so as not to harm other people outside. I Fuck you. Your son was caught last night bombing my puppets and you have the nerve to say I am hysterical. You say it's why you who blew it up. Where's the proof? Don't argue. Vice Sec Master Su said there is a mark on the thief. Why you has now come. Can Vice Sec Master Su sense the mark? Not for the time being, but maybe it's G.E.E. -E who's up to no good. That's your proof? He can disguise himself as a powerful and brutal body and can freely enter and leave my puppet beast. Who else can be the one responsible? G.E.E., -E, how much longer do you want to be devious? It's really outrageous. If I haven't done anything. No matter how much plausible so-called evidence you come up with, you can't fabricate black and white. What's all this noise? Yuan Sheng finally came forward, this sick master Yuan, in fact, I was quite worried about him before. The quarrel cannot come to an end. But later, I inquired about this his reputation in the MOXI insect. He is a martial arts idiot, and he doesn't care about the management of the sect at all, otherwise he would not have established two vice sect masters so early, and also the entire sect is managed by GEE -E himself. Sick master, G.E.E. -E is too annoying, he doesn't want to admit anything. Su Min dared to accept the frog chanting, which means that he is not afraid of the sick master, or it's just that the sick master Yuan does not care about these. Sick master, why you has been in seclusion training, he has not done anything, how could I admit it? A sick master who does not want to care about anything, a vice sick master who is unforgiving, a vice sick master who has losses in his heart, I am looking forward to what this shit can become in the MOXI insect. Let me check Huayu's body and we will know. Shit, a surprise attack, but fortunately, I am prepared. Sick master. Apart from the broken Dantian, G.E. Huayu had no other internal or external injuries, nor did you have the so-called special mark of Vice Sick Master Su. His suspicions can be cleared. Thank you, Sick Master, for clearing Huayu of suspicion. If that's the case, then continue to investigate, and after finding out the real culprit, make a decision, and leave this matter to Vice Sick Master G.E. to arrange for you. As for the repair of the Shuangwu puppet beasts and the disaster-stricken Yudu, one or two can be made up by the internal library of the MOXI insect. Roger. Very good. This is the end of today's meeting. If you have no important business, don't disturb me. Vice Sec Master Su, Sec Master has left. I will arrange for someone to investigate the matter of your Shuangwu puppet being bombed. Stop pretending, let me tell you. It's not over yet. What the hell? This sec master Yuan is more sloppier than I thought. But this is fine. The biggest obstacle is gone, but the problem has not been solved yet. It is time for me to shine. Although the sec master has not been in charge of things recently, this time the decision was too hasty. Yes, the sec master was too hasty this time. 
Since the sick master intended to abdicate and let me and G.E.E. -E take turns to reign, I have been forgiving G.E.E. -E a lot, but the result is, he has injured all the disciples on my side and destroyed my puppet beast. Sure enough, evidences are missing, and I can't do anything to G.E.E. -E for the time being, then let's settle it with this. With your ability, how could it be possible to leave solid evidence? But with so much evidence, isn't it obvious enough? You have already taken advantage of the political affairs to suppress me. It's too much. In the future, when we compete with the Taishian sect, my puppet beast Chuanwu could have been a great power. How many good things for our MOXIN sect will be ruined? GEE. -E. You are not only shameless, but also short-sighted. In order to suppress me, you want to sacrifice so many of the MOXIN sect's interests. You are so selfish. Gentlemen, think about it. Can our MOXIN sect let a person like GEE -E hold the big picture? Does he really have the ability to run the MOXIN sect? Someone who just cares for himself and not the others. Su Min's trick is great. The sect master couldn't get through, so he played the emotional card, trying to split GEE's -E subordinates. The sect master has already come to the conclusion that this matter really has nothing to do with us. Don't be fooled by Su Min's acting. GEE, -E, you are thick-skinned. There is no point in arguing with you. I will ask your son now. GEE Huayu, although the sect master has checked your body, I said before that these two pieces of evidence have long been made up by GEE -E for a certain price. Look me in the eyes and tell me. Did you do it? Nope, not me. Damn, this guy Su Min has finally shifted to my side. However, I did not receive any source points, and this guy is still playing on the topic. Gee, why you, looking at your face, who would believe that you didn't do anything wrong? I didn't do it. Don't talk nonsense. Father, I shouldn't have come back. I neglected something very important. I didn't expect there are other constraints for my technique. I can't deny what I have done, or I will be backlashed. When I was with Yen Ryu in the past, no one would keep questioning me about what I had done, so I didn't realize that there was still such a constraint in the skill, and the current situation is not good. This statement may seem absurd, but it is consistent with my previous description of the everlasting fist. Father believed it before, no reason for him to not believe it here. Why you, if you have something to say in public, don't use voice transmission to communicate with Vice Sec Master GE so as not to cause suspicion. Damn, the chief elder of the desire to hear branch is so powerful. Even the voice transmission can be detected. But that's fine, it's more suitable for my needs. What are you transmitting to GEE? -E? Say it. Come on, zoom in. What are you doing to the younger generation? Huayu has been retreating and practicing recently, and his spirit is a little dazed. Just now, he also asked me how to deal with it through voice transmission. Moreover, as soon as he entered the door, it was difficult for you to speak viciously to the vice sect master Su, and he was inevitably a little nervous. Very good, I didn't receive any negative emotions from father, which means that he didn't doubt me, and I can play more exaggerated next time. Do you think I will believe it? This GE Huayu has such poor psychological endurance. Something is wrong, however, this is a breakthrough that must not be missed. GE Huayu, tell me, did you blow up my puppet? No, it's not me. Su Min, what are you doing to my son? Vice Sec Master GE, it was your son who did it, you must ask your son. And when I see him like that, he is clearly guilty of being a thief. Vice Sec Master GE, you should let Huayu speak out for himself. Elder G, Huayu is a little bit mentally. It's not me. It's not me. It's really not me. Why are you running? Come back. What do you want? Su Min. GE Huayu is guilty of being a thief. What are you anxious about, Vice Sec Master GE? Vice Sec Master GE, you better not interfere. Explain. Did you destroy my puppet? No. No. What is the situation? 
I didn't use any force, did I? Why you? Obtain source points pity, 0.01 GEE. Obtain source points pity, 0.01 GEE. Obtain source points pity, 0.01 GEE. Sue men, you old man. Get away from me. GEE, are you going to rebel? Why you, what happened to you? Father, I don't want to answer. Vice Sec Master Sue keeps pushing me. I may have been backfired. GEE, -E, you really dare to fight with me in the main hall of the Sec Master. GEE, why use madness and running are inexplicable. Fatty, you are blind. Can't you see that Huayu is seriously injured? Humph. Don't think you can get away with this. Elder Zhu, take care of Huayu for me. Yes, yes. My patience has reached its limit. If you hurt my child, I will teach you a lesson today, even if I have to be punished by the Sec Master. Alas, Vice Sec Master GE, what is the reason for this? It was because Vice Sec Master Su was rude. Finally a fight broke out, forcing myself to be seriously injured and triggering GEE -E was a great idea. I really didn't expect GEE's reaction to be so big. I even received a source of pity, which made me a little soft-hearted, but who told him to force me back, if I don't make a big deal with it, it will be a shame. Next, it will depend on when Sec Master Yuan will come to clean up the mess, the later the better. Skill Integration Success Skill Name, Six Desires Heart Demon Secret Arc Smell Desire Branch Remnant Skill Introduction, GE6 based on his own experience, summed up the Smell Desire Branch exercises. The great success of the practice can reveal the secrets of the Six Desires MOXIN technique of the Smell Desire branch current level, not entry. GEE -E copied the remnants of the Smell Desire branch for me. If I want to use the system to deduce the original, I need to spend 1,000 source points I now have completely insufficient on hand. I don't know if I can produce the entire Six Desires Heart Demon Secret Art, or is it just the Smell Desire branch? Unlike the Everlasting Fist, you have to learn all six branches before you combine it. That's bad, although I feel that the possibility is quite high. Master, Chinger has taken care of the corpse, buried it 100 meters underground. No one will find it. Hey! It's only a matter of time before it's discovered, but by then I'll have already run away. What happened has nothing to do with me. It's because Chinger is useless, it has nothing to do with you, it's because the MOXIN seal's prohibition is too powerful, the corpse should be disposed of. It has been three days since that day, GEE -E is really fierce, one against three, except for Su Min, there is no serious problem, the other two chief elders of Su Min's family were beaten by him. I heard they had to be bedridden for at least half a month to recover from it. I wonder what Master Yuan was doing. It took a little more than half an incense for him to get over here and stop the battle from spreading. The final disposal was what I expected. It was in line with Yuan Sheng's style. Each earned 50 big boards, and each side was responsible for the reconstruction of half of the sex buildings and the recovery costs of the disciples' injury, and then donated a wave to the inner treasury, and that's all. GEE -E continued to be in power, and Su Min continued to be unemployed, making him mad enough. Originally, I was going to run away that day, but I was stopped by GEE. -E. Even the Sec Master didn't find out that there was Su Min's demonic breath in my body, which made my father think that he had really pumped it out before, so he didn't want to let me run away. Fortunately, I always had reservations. After waiting for a while, I released a little bit of demonic breath for him and finally made him believe that Su Min's technique was really not cleaned and it would regenerate in my body after a while. I thought I would be able to run away this way, but GEE -E still asked me to wait for two more days. He seemed to want to study whether he could completely eradicate Su Min's technique. As long as I keep a little bit of residue locked in, GEE -E can't try to eradicate it by any means. Today is the deadline. It's time to let GEE -E give up completely. Father, I'm here. Why you? Don't get too close to me. 
the demonic breath of Su Min will explode from time to time, and be careful not to spread it to you. Father, are you all right? It's okay. That old man Su Min does have some tricks, but this mere poison breath cannot stop me. I will be able to completely eradicate it in another day. What about you? Has the injury from that day healed? It's almost healed, father, but... My body's demonic breath is back again. Just now when going out, I almost bumped into Su Min. It scared me. Sure enough, I still haven't studied enough about the smell branch. Father, I'd better go out for refuge. Although the demonic breath is regenerated, I can force it to save that Su Min later planted on me, but this can deceive others, not Su Min Ah. That old guy dared to treat me like this in the sect master's hall without any conclusive evidence that day. I'm really afraid that if I continue to stay here, he will catch me when he finds the demonic breath in my body. That's right, that old man has completely torn his mask, if he gets the chance. We have no other choices. Finally, GEE -E, let me leave the MOXI insect. Before saying goodbye, he promised me that he would kill or destroy Su Min as soon as possible. But I just hope they both get hurt and they don't bother me anymore. From this trip to the MOXI insect, I have acquired at least one powerful technique among the Six Desires Heart Demon Secret Art. The harvest is not bad. Why you? Why are you in such a hurry? What is Vice Sec Master Su doing in the way? Why you? What are you doing so far away from me? Are you afraid that I will eat you? Haha, ha, Vice Sec Master Su really knows how to joke. I am targeting the GE family. You are an imposter. What are you nervous about? What are you talking about, Vice Sec Master Su? No need to argue. I knew you were a fake when you first returned to the MOXI insect. I'm a fake. Vice Sec Master Su might as well ask my dad if I'm a fake. Ah, looking for GEE? -E? Little friend, you really don't have a clue. You can't even deceive me, yet you still want to deceive GEE? -E? Deceive GEE Huayu's father? You really are not afraid to find out some trouble for yourself. Think about it, GEE -E has never cared about your past. He will believe whatever you say, and even if someone dares to question you, he will 100% stand on your side and speak for you. Let me tell you, he has long known that you are an imposter, but he has other purposes not to expose you for the time being, and to use you. Of course, there is also a possibility that you were originally recruited by GEE -E to pretend to be his son. Your martial arts are much stronger than GE Huayu, but you are a useful tool. But no matter what kind of possibility, you must have a heart of disobedience to GEE, -E. otherwise, you wouldn't have revealed yourself in the Sect Master's Hall a few days ago. After that day, if you were found by him, he would definitely punish you. If you are wise and sent to the door yourself, then you have to be more careful. He punished you, but if he did not punish you, you better think carefully about what you have in yourself that is worthy of his conspiracy, and be careful not to be outsmarted without knowing it. Damn, this old fox has such a keen intuition that he even guessed that it was close to ten. However, GEE's -E -E behavior is indeed very strange, and I have always been puzzled, but... Vice Sec Master Su, Huai Yu is truly astonished by your ability to speak so freely. The system will not lie, and GEE -E has never provided me with a source of anger. If GEE -E really doubted me that I killed his son, he would be extremely angry. In fact, my goal during this time has always been GEE. -E. As long as he dies, I don't care about other things. I don't even care who you are and why you want to replace GEE -E Huayu. You just need to know that one day you will need to find a way to get rid of GEE, -E, and then you will have to find a helper too. Vice Sec Master Su, do you expect these few words to provoke the relationship between us? It seems that what my father said is not wrong at all. You are old and weak, soon to get hysteria. Ah. Uh, okay, let's say I have cancer. Don't you want to learn the Six Desires Heart Demon's secret art? GEE -E won't teach you, right? And you won't dare to ask GEE -E for advice, right? When you want to cooperate with me to get GEE, -E, 
you can come to the Hungwan Pavilion in Yudu to find me. It's not impossible for me to teach you the Six Desires Heart Demon Secret Art. Think about it, my door is open for you any time. That guy Su Min is even willing to take out the Six Desires Heart Demon Secret Art. Could it be that he really want to cooperate with me to get GEE? -E? If Su Min's words are true, regardless of why the system didn't receive the source of anger from GEE, -E, why would GEE -E act along with me? And he also let me go. Wouldn't he be afraid of me disappearing from the world? Could it be that he has cast some sort of control over me? Could it be the Six Desires Golden Elixir? But look at the system's description. This thing is not something bad art. Or is there something wrong with the remnants of the smell desire branch he gave me? Just like the ultimate demonic bliss technique, you will be controlled if you practice it. But the description does not look like that. Realm, Innate First Layer Mastery Skills, Expand Plus Source Point, 561.51347 Number of times to enter the small worlds, 6 end of cooling. Forget it, it's useless to think too much, since the small world's cool down is over, let's go through a small world first. Even if the tasks are really problematic, at least I can choose to give up the task and return. After I come back, I will consider whether I should go to Su Min to learn the Six Desires Heart Demon Secret Art. Anyway, I have a system, and I am not afraid that he will deceive me with fake products. Lord Aspy, the high-ranking mages who are stationed all over the country have been summoned to leave for the front line. The hollow rift on the front line is fluctuating smoothly, and the enemy is expected to appear in 13 solar hours. The big teleportation magic is ready. We can go any time. Good. You just wait by. I'll ask the servant who cleans the tower a few questions, and then we can leave. I praise you, my lord, for your goodness and generosity, shining like the sun on this miserable land and bringing me light. Please allow your servant to kiss your toes in devotion. No, step back and answer my question. How is Talialu's progress coming along? Has she found a way to fuse the holy artifact? In return, my great master, although I have tried my best to supervise it, but Miss Talulu sleeps for a long time every day because of the forbidden magic fruit, so that the research on the holy sword is progressing very slowly. A hybrid is a hybrid, really useless. I will be back in five days. Tell Talulu that if she still can't produce results after five days, just wait to bear the wrath from this Aspie. You are all selected high-class people with perfect appearance, not the same as ordinary dirty humans. It is your supreme honor to use your humble lives to offer good luck to Lord Aspy in his expedition. Go for it. How beautiful red, useless and fragile it is. It's really a good decoration. It seems that the human race has run out of it. Lord Aspy is here. Dirty, the smell of human blood really stinks. Lord Aspy, please forgive me, the taste of young female humans is already weak. Forget it, I'll clean up after I leave, and don't leave filth around the teleportation array. Alright, I do as you ask, and good luck to you. My great master, your servant will always pray for your victory and await your mercy again. Noble Lord Maze, thank you for allowing the humble me to witness my master's departure. If you weren't Lord Aspie's slave, I wouldn't have let an ugly male human come through. Get out of here and don't stain my eyes. Yes, yes, thank you for your kindness. I'll get out of your sight. Lord Aspie hates humans the most. Why would he accept a human slave? And let him step on the clean floor. How dirty. Human beings are simply inferior imitations of our noble existence, which itself is disgusting. So hungry, so hungry. If only I could become a sacrifice, I would be able to eat. I still don't want to die. Who can save me? I hope that the great Lord Aspie will forgive me for being a human being. Miss Talulu, how is it going today? It's you. I can't do it. I'm OSB's 18th generation ancestors. This O doesn't make you go away. 
Miss Talulu, my great master Aspie wants you to study the secret of the fusion of the holy artifact before he returns. Please cheer up. I'm still a kid. You should count on that bastard Aspie rather than me. Sleepy. Miss Talulu, you haven't eaten the forbidden magic fruit today. If the great master Aspie finds out, he will punish me. Forbidden Curse World, Human Slave Xie Yan, Soul Replacement Successful. Importing Memory. What the hell, the original owner of this world is a slave. That's too bad. Memory import is complete. Uh, it turns out that all human beings are slaves, which is even worse. The task is loading. In the Forbidden World, human beings are slaves and depend on elves to survive. Because the world's orbit intersects with another world, the dark elves of the other world often smuggle over to burn, kill, and loot, causing wars. At one point the elves were pushed into a corner. At the time of the crisis, the four sages of the elves were born, relying on the four sacred artifacts left by the god Shangji. Holy Crown, Holy Ring, Holy Shield, Holy Sword led the people to resist the invasion of the Dark Elves, and in a major battle, the great sage Talulu even combined the four holy artifacts to kill the Queen of the Dark Elves. The Elf Aspie was an ordinary elf who died of a stray bullet in the battle between the four sages of the Elves and the Queen of the Dark Elves, but he was reborn by accident after ten years. The final battle has not yet begun. Aspie did not expect to get the opportunity to start over and was determined to live a wonderful life that was different from his previous life. Relying on his previous life experience, Aspie has gone through bloody storms, killed countless heroes and seized his chance, and became the one in a million forbidden magician. Even the supremely powerful holy artifacts possessed by the four sages were all taken by Aspie. The four sages who have not yet prospered also died under the pressure of Aspie. Only the great sage in the previous life, the half-elf Talulu, was imprisoned on the high tower, searching about the art of fusion of the holy artifacts of the dark elf queen. Mission release, kill Aspie within three months, regain the gem on Aspie's necklace, and complete the system functions. After the task is completed, you can return with all the power obtained in this world, otherwise you will have nothing. The thing that made Aspie reborn turned out to be a system fragment. I don't know what new functions will be unlocked by the system this time. Will it also allow me to be reborn back to my old world? That's too awesome. Judging from the original owner's memory, the elf bloodline has their own magic power, which I can learn and cast various powerful magic. In contrast, humans in this world do not have special powers. Although their physical fitness is much stronger than that of ordinary humans in the small world I traveled through before, they are still beaten by elves. The body of the original owner is probably at the level of a C-class fighter in the Bakwan world, but aside from his strength and speed, his mental will is completely incomparable to the fighters in the Bakwan world. Realm, Innate First Level Mastery Skills, Expand Source Point, 61.51347 Huh? Why is it still Innate First Level? And I'm sure there's no Innate True Chi in this body, not even acquired True Chi. The innate realm of the main world is a permanent proof, and it is bound to the soul rather than the flesh. Sure enough, in the main world, I blew my dantian, and I can step in the sky, and there is no problem in this world, as long as my realm is maintained at the innate. This is some kind of powerful authority to pass through the heavens, and the innate realm of the main world is so awesome. Although I can only fly. Without infuriating energy, the finger of flowery swords can't be used. The good thing is that the eight difficulties demon technique is a technique rooted in the soul and can be used directly. The most important thing is the magical energy of the eight difficulties demon technique can be converted into flowery spirit energy with the adjustments of the system. It only takes a little effort to convert it. It is not impossible to even convert it into innate true chi and display the innate version of the flowery swords technique. Although it is not original, Really big moves cannot be used, but the destructive power will not lose to the general innate, and the sense of security will come up immediately. 
After all, although this small world only cost me 500 source points, according to the original owner's memory, there is also the existence of a lord who can level a mountain range with a wave of a hand, and the S rank fighter in the previous world is nothing more than that. This place is not fit for farming source points, so I can't stay here any longer. I don't think it's wise to confront Aspie in five days after his return. Anyway, the task requires three months, so it's best to use my time wisely. I should get going, huh? Damn. This sword is quite heavy. According to the original owner, Aspie swung this thing at the sky and split it in half. The power is really terrifying. Let me try it. Uh. Neither the innate true chi nor the eight difficulties demonic chi can drive it. Is it driven solely by elf magic? It seems that in my hands, this baby can only be used as an ordinary magic weapon. But forget it, a fool will leave what is good for the enemy. This little girl, the system describes her as a powerful character capable of defeating the queen of the dark elves. It's a shame that she's become like this now. As a half-elf, Perhaps she can help me better comprehend the common sense of magic that permeates this world. Chinger, come out. Cuckoo, Master, what do you need from me? Master, why are you holding this such a big sword? And who is this little girl? She has been poisoned and won't be able to wake up for a while. I'll tell you the details after I go out. When I get rid of the shackles on her body, you will possess and control her body to follow me. According to the original owner's memory, this time Aspie brought all the masters to the front line, and only two or three kittens were left behind here, so I don't have to worry about it. It's about time we start. The highest alarm left by Master Aspie was triggered? What happened? MS Maze, the highest alarm is on the top of the tower. Do you know what's inside there? The top floor of the tower, that's a restricted area set up by Lord Aspie. Usually, only a human slave will go in to clean it. I don't know what is inside. I'll go get that human slave. No, it can't be. How can humans have floating magic? The blood was not wiped clean. Also, this idiot elf wouldn't allow slaves to climb on Aspie's statue to do the cleaning. Floating magic. Humans can't learn magic. You must be a half-elf, vile bastard. I'll show you what happens when you offend Lord Aspie. Accept your destiny. Animal difficulty. Hungry spirits difficulty. Sanctions, my ass. I'm going to fall down. Humph, my face ah ah. Captain Tim. Arg. Gain source points shocked. 0.01 points Tim. Gain source points shocked, 0.01 points Jimmy. Gain source points shocked, 0.01 points Wilson. Gain source points shocked, 0.01 points Maze. Gain source points fear, 0.01 points Maze. According to the original owner's memory, except for the original owner, other humans in this castle were all sparred by the foolish elves for various reasons. Those girls were the last saved food. Although I plan to run away after a fight, this thing is still too disgusting. It disgusts me. Lord Asby. Whoosh, scumbag. Humans, hung, polluting noble blood, all be damned. You evil incarnation, heresy. Lord Asby won't let you go. Hell difficulty. Remember you elves have a custom. During a major event, it is necessary to use human beings as sacrifices for good luck. It just so happens that my hometown had a similar custom, but we don't like burning live ones. I think your culture is worth referring to. Come on, let me be the representative and have a cultural exchange with you. Hell difficulty. Let the flames from hell burn up the sins you have committed. Ten minutes later. They abuse humans all day long, even killing them for fun. Ching or possessed state. I feel sick looking at them. I might as well just burn them clean. Ching or hurry up. 
Who, who, this body is too weak, my master, wait for me. Master? How come there is an air wall on the periphery? Is it a protective enchantment? Wall? I don't see anything. Hell difficulty. Hell difficulty. Extinguished. No effect? Hungry spirits difficulty. Emo Zhuan Jin Chi Finger of Flowery Swords. Emo Zhuan Jin Chi Finger of Flowery Swords. Shit, even the condensation of the innate true chi of the finger of flowery swords failed to break this shield. Give me the holy sword, I'll try to see if I can break the wall. Hey! Spew pew. As expected of a holy weapon, it can only be used as a physical holy sword, and it can also cut through protective shields. Aspie, you son of a bitch, wait and see. I will come back sooner or later to blow your head off. As expected from the magical civilization, this fully automatic bath is really good. Nice. Master. Chinger, is Talulu awake? There is something strange in her body that is draining her vitality and mental strength, causing her to fall asleep for an extended period of time. But do not worry, Master, after falling asleep, she will gradually heal on her own. Having said that, it's a miracle that she was awake for a short while every day. In the past few days, I have accumulated a wave of source points I could use Nirvana Finger on her. 500 source points are needed for Nirvana Finger, and the source points are insufficient to replace the consumption of the Nirvana Finger. Do you wish to consume your lifespan? Holy crap! 500 source points? This forbidden magic fruit is that poisonous? Killing people and resurrecting them won't take this many points? Poverty makes people short-minded. Chinger, put a shape-shifting spell on me. Okay. Your Excellency, Kim Wajid Berasby. Gain source points admiration, 0.01 points Tina. Gain source points adoration, 0.01 points Catherine. Gain source points fear, 0.01 points Dory. Gain source points fear, 0.01 points Lily. Gain source points fear, 0.01 points Anna. Chinger transformation spell. Although Aspie is despised, this face is really easy to use, and every time he appears in front of people, he can brush a wave of source points. It's a pity that pretending to be someone else can only be used as a source, which is not a long-term solution. Lord Aspie, please believe that Cars Hire County, the largest human slave trading market, has always been your most loyal supporter. So can you tell me why Lays, the president of the Carl Chamber of Commerce, was punished? The Human Liberation Treaty introduced by Lord Mill was destroyed by Lays, but he was turned into a monster by your own hands the other day. Is it true that was really hard for him? How dare you express dissatisfaction with me? Poof. Hum, my face, hum, what happened? Lord Carl. Remember, punishments are my reward to my followers, just kneel and be thankful. Lord Carl. Monster ah ah ah. Gain source points fear, 0.01 points Carl. Gain source points fear, 0.01 points Jim. Gain source points ah, 0.01 points Dory. Gain source points love, 0.01 points Tabby. It's almost time, I'm going to continue my tour in Karshir. Get my travel tools ready. Or else, if I'm not happy, I don't know what I will do. Huh. Lord Aspie, please forgive my rudeness, humph. Lord Aspie finally went out. When he was here, the whole manor was afraid to come out. What magic did he cast, and Baron Carl couldn't recover? President Lace has nothing to do with those businessmen. After all, he is a commoner. Even if he dies, it is enough to change another wave. But Baron Carl is a nobleman, and Lord Aspie even attacked him. If Master Carlo knew, something big is bound to happen. Lord Aspie is not qualified to be an elector, and I am now starting to worry about what it will be like if he is in power. Why did you stop? 
Keep going, yes. Yes. OMG. Master Tom. The last management of the business association is gone. The trade association controls the largest human slave trade. Now that they are dead, what will happen to Cars Hire, which has lost its economic backbone? That weird flame, is it really magic? Gain source point sphere, 0.01 points Dave. Gain source point sphere, 0.01 points Jack. Gain source point sphere, 0.01 points Carl. Gain source point sphere, 0.01 points Moly. It's boring, let's go back. It's really cool to do whatever you want with Aspie's face on, and it's also thanks to the battle at the front lines. All the masters on the elf side are occupied, however, for days have passed, and the battle is almost over. I should be ready to leave, but I shouldn't be caught by Aspie. I can tell Baron Carl to prepare for my farewell party. Damn. Aspie, this hypocritical bastard, treated my father like this while I was away, and executed the big businessman who supported the economy of cars hire? How dare he do this to us? Master Carlo, please calm your anger. Aspie is not something we can afford to provoke. So what? My golden arrow is a forbidden spell level divine weapon. As long as I am given the opportunity, it is not impossible to kill him. Besides, Aspie's weird magic is not a good thing no matter how you look at it. Maybe he has been polluted by the dark elves. Maybe I am doing it for the heavens. Aspie has made too many enemies and is moody and eager to retaliate, so it's not a good choice to surrender at all. Only by killing him can we eliminate the problem and switch to other electors. This scum is still playing around in disobedience to the summoning order of the Forbidden Magician. Wait, I will finish him on the battlefield. You are still young, and you haven't realized how powerful Aspie is. Aspie is not only a forbidden magic mage, but also blessed by a holy artifact. Master Carlo, Lord Aspie is back. This time, the magic circle was teleported from the city. Well done. I'm finishing him now. Master Carlo, please calm down. The golden arrow is too powerful. Using it outside the battlefield will bring harm to innocent people, and Aspie has the blessing of the holy artifact. Couldn't care less. Lord Carlo, why does Cars Hire look so depressed? Is his business not working? What a waste. I gave it so many preferential treatment yet it could not be helped up. Hmm? Aspie, you son of the devil, go to hell. Wow, 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 wow. It can be compared to some small forbidden spell sneak attacks, but unfortunately it is meaningless. However, he was actually killed by his own weapon. Someone tried to assassinate me. You stay here to find Baron Carl and ask him what is going on. Roger. If it wasn't for the failure of the Manor's teleportation array, I could only pass it to the nearest place first, and I wouldn't have come to this dirty place. According to the previous owner, the time for the arrival of the Dark Elf Queen is about to come. Although I already have a way to deal with her, if I could just master the means of fusion of the holy artifact. Talulu, don't let me down. It's almost time for the Dark Elf Queen to be born. Since I'm far stronger than the Four Sages, it won't be so hard to kill the Queen, but there will definitely be a King if there is a Queen. I still need to master the art of fusion of the holy artifact before I can face the Dark Elf King who has never made an appearance before. He must be very strong, huh? What's going on? Where's my castle? Talulu is still in the castle. Who destroyed my castle while I was gone? Damn him, I'm going to cut him into pieces. Only that bastard can fuse the holy artifacts, and if she dies, I have absolutely no hope of merging the four holy artifacts. Damn, not only the people were killed, but even their souls are destroyed. Who did this? Elf Spell The time staying here, going back in time, allows me to see the truth that has been covered up. Magic Scene Rewind No, there is still a high possibility that she is alive, that room is full of all kinds of magical restrictions, the attacker will definitely be interested in her, as long as she is still alive, I can retake her. Hmm? Wait, isn't this a human? How did he fly? 
Is he also a half-elf? No, he is the human slave I arranged to take care of Talulu. He has no elf blood at all. What is going on? How does this bastard use magic? And it's a fire magic that can burn even the soul? Talulu? So it wasn't my political enemy who made a sneak attack, but her. He even ran away with Talulu and the Holy Sword. How can it be possible? How could that bastard use magic? No, it's not impossible. Talulu was able to research the fusion of the holy artifact in her previous life. After all, she has filthy human blood within her, so it's not surprising that she studies how magic is used by humans. Damn, I was betrayed by them, damn Talulu. Lord Asby, we, oh my god, where's the manor? After being attacked by the enemy, I have used the retrospective magic to see the appearance of the attacker. How's your investigation going? Strange things are going on in Kars Hire. Baron Carl has been transformed into a pig-like monster by a mysterious magic, and... They say that it was you, Lord Aspie, who came to Karshir with a girl with a great sword on her back. But during that time we were on the battlefield. Someone was impersonating you. A girl with a great sword? It must be them. I want to issue a nationwide killing order. Those who dare to despise this Aspie's dignity, I must make him pay. Hmm? This little stone really useful. Floating magic crystal presented by Karshir. Strange, why did Aspie suddenly think of me? Does he know that I was the one who made trouble for him? Gain source points shocked. 0.00001 points Aspie. Gain source points rage. 0.00001 points Aspie. No, I'm sure not a single one of them was left alive, and all the elves in that castle were burnt to ashes by me. Even if Aspie comes back and finds that his hometown is gone, he will only think that I was also killed by the enemy by the way. Could it be that he is angry? Such intense emotions, it is unlikely to be anger. He really recognized that I did it. Aspie is one of the few forbidden magicians who is proficient in almost all systems, so whether it is undead magic that captures souls or other systems, he should have a way to find out the truth. I'm curious, though, how did you know that Aspie found you? Judging by your emotions? Can you feel Aspie's emotions from this distance? Chinger? My lord, it's not me, Talulu has woken up. I don't know what you are, but I can sense that you have no ill will. I don't want to move, just stay in my body and help me walk, huh? Dad said that the life-saving grace should be reciprocated by the spring, and I will repay you for saving me from the clutches of that dead fool. Chinger, why is Talulu still conscious after you possessed her? What's going on? My lord, Talulu's spiritual level is actually very high, but she voluntarily let me possess, so there is no problem. It turned out to be so. It's not a big problem. It's better that Talulu wakes up. Talulu, I don't need your repayment. My goal is to kill Aspie. If only you could give me a little help in this regard. Although I've been in a drowsiness, I still have a slight sense of the outside world. You are completely different from before. It's shocking. Have you changed your soul? However, we have the same goal, and I won't get too deep into your secrets. You know so little about elf magic that you don't even know about retrospective magic, which is very detrimental to your actions. Indeed, can Miss Talulu answer my questions? Let me tell you some common sense first. Magic is inherent in the blood of the elf. As long as you have the blood of the elf, you can learn magic. And the forbidden spell is the most difficult to learn, so those who can cast it are really skilled. Standing is so tiring. Elf magic is divided into four levels, primary, intermediate, advanced, and forbidden spells. Aspie possessed the highest combat power in this world, the level of forbidden spells. Not to mention that this Aspie also has a holy artifact to assist. You should have seen the armed forces of Kars Hire. Now the battle is tight in the front, and the armed forces of the city and county in the rear are not strong. The intermediate mages are the best, and many of them are only junior mages. So don't feel like you can do whatever you want in the fairy kingdom. It's not good, the conversion efficiency of the innate true chi is too low, 
and there is no six desires golden elixir to continuously supply me with energy after crossing, the converted version of the flowery swords does not last long. It's not realistic enough to beat Aspie. Impersonating others can only gain me source points and expand my own popularity. With the identity of the original owner, it is easy to attract the attention of fools like Aspie and even besiege them. Can't cast a wide net to collect source points, it's not working. My lord, don't worry, there must be any other way. My magic power has been blocked by that idiot, so I can only provide theoretical support, but I see that you're not that bad yourself, it will be a great thing, come on. Chinger, you should come out of her body, now it looks like a schizophrenia. Oh, eh? Come back here. I am a fragile child. I need your help. Don't be fooled, you're just lazy to walk by yourself. Huh? Someone is coming. There is a human who dares to walk on the road alone, with treasures and a half-elf girl that are worth a lot of money, he must be a fugitive slave. Vile bastard, let me, Lord Harry, punish you on behalf of justice. I was worried that I might have to eat and sleep in the open air at night. But there are kind and well-meaning people to send warmth. The world is really full of love, truth, kindness, and beauty. What are you talking about? God, forgive me. I'm so vulgar to yell at you. I am guilty. Please forgive my sin, merciful God. Woohoo. Gain source points revered, 0.01 points Harry. Gain source points revered, 0.01 points Tom. Gain source points revered, 0.01 points Mike. Gain source points shocked, 0.01 points Talulu. Holy psychic magic? But why is there an evil vibe? No, no, it's not magic. Kind lord, that's how it is. I see. Chinger, take Talulu with you. We'll spend the night at this nobleman's place. Hey, hey, is it really okay? Yes. Why did I kneel before this human? That's strange. Master Harry, what's going on? We're not being controlled, are we? Are you afraid of these mere humans? Just follow my orders. Run. Did I ask you to move? Eight difficulties demonic technique. Animal difficulty. Monster ah ah ah. What the hell? Come back here. Hold on, don't come near me, go away. Please don't kill me, I'm rich, I have a lot of money. Do you think I am greedy for money and bloodthirsty? Your words hurt me too much. It takes too much demonic energy to use the period between one Buddha and the next difficulty for a long time, so I have to use other methods to make this guy honest and obedient. Eight difficulties demonic technique. Hungry spirits difficulty. Just let me and my weak sister stay at your place, okay? Gain source point fear 0.01 .01 points Harry. Is he really human and not a devil of some sort? All right. All right. Please don't kill me. How dare you talk badly about master? I'm gonna punch you. What are you talking about? Master is a human. He is just gifted and more powerful than ordinary people. He is indeed not an ordinary person. To be able to rescue me from Aspie and to destroy his castle, this is not something ordinary people can do at all. I'd say things like I don't care about his abnormality when I'm sleepy, but I can't just ignore it. Don't exaggerate so much, it's weird. Ah. Uh, hey. Even if he's really not human, I don't have a choice, so let's do it. Anyways, we have the same goal, as long as they can kill Aspie, it will be fine. God, what are those pig-headed monsters? It's so ugly. Why is Lord Harry leading the horse? The one sitting on the horse is... A human? What exactly is going on? Gain source points fear, 0.01 .01 points Harry. Gain source points rage, 0.01 .01 points Tom. Gain source points fear, 0.01 .01 points Shue Senator gain source points hate, 0.01 .01 points Mike. Don't be disrespectful to Lord C.A.N. Otherwise, I will chop off your heads. 
Don't bother with these foolish people. They have no culture and have no idea how powerful you are. Okay, keep going. Yes, yes. I shouldn't provoke him, or I'll be turned into a monster again. The masses are despising this guy. How can he still be very happy? Is he really some kind of a devil? I have already boarded his ship, so it's too late if he's a demon. So let's just get on with it. Honey, you're finally back. Wait, what happened to your clothes? Father, why are you leading a horse with a human sitting on it? Ah, what monster is that? So scary. Don't be rude. This is my most honorable guest, and you must treat him with the same respect as his majesty. Gain source points shock, 0.01 points Harlan. Gain source points shock, 0.01 points Harley. Gain source points shock, 0.01 points Lena. I will be staying here for a while, sorry to bother you. Don't provoke him, or the consequences will be serious. But he's just a human. Master, you must be tired from the trip. Please come to the guest room with me to rest. Okay. Wait, my dear. An emergency notification has been sent from the royal city. The chief knight has invited everyone here. They are waiting for you in the conference room. Let's leave it for now until I've served my guest well. What are you talking about? That's a notice from the royal city. Shut up. Just do as I say. Sounds like a big deal. Can I see it? This, this. Can't I? Yes, yes. Please follow me. Mother, what's going on? That's a human, right? Since we are having a meeting, you should change into some decent clothes first. Your orders are obeyed. My lord, this way. What are those monsters? Harry, you're back at last. How was the hunt? Emergency notifications rarely appear in the royal city, so you'd better open the contact crystal quickly. Are you not in a good mood, Master Harry? Yo, this conference room is quite stylish. What kind of a slave is that who dares trespass on the Lord's estate? Did they run away from the mine? No, a runaway slave would not run into Master Harry's estate. This male human is quite handsome. Master Harry might as well give him to me. Shut up. This is my distinguished guest, so show some respect. Master Harry, are you all right? Isn't this a human? Regardless of how good he looks, you are not interested in men, right? All right, hurry up and open the contact crystal for me. Okay, okay. I'll deal with you later. Surprisingly, it is a nationwide letter for the elves. In the twin months of the 32nd year of the Silver Moon calendar, His Excellency Kim Wajidber Ashby discovered that a human was alleged to have been transformed by a dark elf and to have mastered magic. This human slave has used magic to take on the appearance of His Excellency Ashby, causing several vicious and violent incidents. With the permission of His Excellency Ashby, full information about the human slave will be revealed to the nation. We hope that the people of the kingdom will pay more attention to the human slaves around them, and if you find their whereabouts, please report them to your lord as soon as possible. Anyone whose report is confirmed will be rewarded 1,000 gold coins. If you succeed in catching him, you will be rewarded 10,000 gold coins. This isn't this what Master Harry brought back. Attention, this human slave has extraordinary strength, mastered the fire magic that burns the soul, and can also turn the elves into pig-like monsters. Do not risk capturing this slave if you are less than an advanced magician. Please be careful. Conference Room Repeat, in the twin months of the 32nd year of the Silver Moon calendar, His Excellency Kim Wajidber Ashby discovered that a human was alleged to have been transformed by a dark elf and to have mastered magic. Ashby's movements are really fast, as expected of him. Thanks to him, the source points have finally begun to increase. Seven days later, Hal Manor. I've caught really few preys. I feel like I'm wasting my time. Master needs more of them, but they can't be chosen casually. After all, Master have said that there are good and bad elves, and the innocent ones shouldn't be caught. Spirits controlled by a hundred ghosts. Harry possessed by Quinger. 
Only catch bad elves who intentionally hurt humans, not bad. Send this batch over first, and then let's go further to catch the next bunch. Lord Harry, an investigator who is hunting down the human traitor, is here again. What? Well, I'll be right there as soon as I pack up. Hey! Deal with them, just like always. Be obedient, or you will be eaten. Can't see Ching. Talulu said that if there is a person who practices undead magic among the investigators, it is possible for them to see ghosts. I can't continue possessing his body. Yes. Yes. Rest assured, Lord Ghost. You must be Mr. Harry Hell. I am the investigator Isdell who was ordered to hunt down that human traitor. Please cooperate with me to help the investigation. Hale Manor welcomes you, Your Excellency. But I must tell you honestly, there have already been three investigations before you which have yielded no results. The human traitor has not been caught so far, and the vicinity of Hal Manor is the only place where half-humans, half-pig monsters are seen passing by, so this is the key area to search. It's just a routine investigation, don't be nervous. Also, there have been cases of elves disappearing in various places recently, and most of the victims are low-level nobles. Has this happened in Hale Manor? Missing? Sorry, I'm not aware of that, but Hale Manor is a small place, so that shouldn't be the case. That's unfortunate. So, tell me more about that human traitor while showing me around this place. Of course, of course, Mr. Investigator, please come with me. That day I went hunting with my attendants, and I met a human and a half-elf girl. This human turned my attendants into a monster and forced me to bring him to the manor. So begins the nightmare. There is a gold mine near this manor. It should not be so depressed. It seems to have been hit hard. Everyone couldn't believe what was happening in front of them. The old guys who ran the manor with me bravely rushed to save me, but they were all brutally murdered, and their desperate roars echoed the sky. He said such a tragic thing quite bluntly. But the magic that can transform people into monsters is truly frightening. It's really a painful memory, and I don't seem to get over with it. By the way, Mr. Investigator, when will the subsidy for the Hale Manor be implemented? You can wait and let the professional elves deal with the losses caused by this human. I see. Please come this way. After a while. I haven't found anything strange so far. I'm going to investigate elsewhere. If you think of any clues, you can use the magic crystal ball to contact the investigator's headquarters. Okay, okay. Good luck with your journey, and please help me rush for the grant. Breathe out, he has left, Lord Ghost, you can see that I am doing well. Ghostly bewilderment of the mind. Not bad, you did well in your task. There's nothing to do for you now, I will continue possessing you. All done, nothing to do for now, let's check if Master is back. A quarter of an hour ago, a hundred miles away. Kemal Estate. Are you the slave who was transformed by the Dark Elves? Break out of the ground. Necromancer. The dead are reborn. How dare you come to my place? Are you seeking death? Death rot. Die, human. Divine Zen of Impact. Demonic energy conversion to innate true chi, finger of flowery swords. You talk too much. He actually cut off my head? How is that possible? This guy is not something I can deal with. I have to let the forbidden magician to catch this heresy. The necromancer is very powerful. He is still alive despite having his head chopped off. If there is no origin point prompt, I will ignore it and think he is dead. What's this? So disgusting. Finger of Nirvana. Fade away. Spending 50 origin points as a substitute for this finger of Nirvana expenditure. Magic is so absurd. It's impossible to guard against it with the divine zen of impact alone. The continuous burning of the fire element, the spore parasitism of the wood element, the spreading of cold of the ice element, and the strange damage of the necromancer element. 
Once the magic reaches the advanced level, it's really troublesome to deal with it, and sometimes the origin point used in and after the fight for healing is more than the harvest obtained from their emotions. It is not worth it. I have practiced Divine Impact of Zen and Startling Rainbow Escape again in the past few days. With the eight difficulties demonic technique to deal with beginner and intermediate magicians, it is like chopping melons and vegetables, but when I encounter advanced magicians, I am a little powerless, and I have to rely on the conversion of demonic energy to innate flowery swords to achieve high damage. After all, I haven't encountered a forbidden magician yet. If I encounter an enemy with whom I can't inflicate damage to, with the fake version of the flower sword, I will have a headache, unfortunately, without the secret medicine like in Bakwan world there is no way for me to practice Chanching Bakwan either. As for the finger of flowery sword, let's not mention the requirement for getting started, the threshold of refining flowery spirit from LV4 to LV5 is a super big trouble, the most important thing is to get the pink chi from the right beauties. In such a human unfriendly world, it's almost impossible. It is a common concept in this world that humans are livestock. Even if 100 elves who mistreat human beings are killed, there will still be 101 elves that are full of malice towards human beings. I can't change this situation by myself. All I can do is to kill Ashby who has carried forward these beliefs and then put things right, push Talyalu to Ashby's place and start making changes from the top. One day, human beings will no longer be discriminated against and can have dignity and freedom. This is what Talyalu said, and I believe she can do it. Rest in peace. After getting acquainted with Talyalu, she told me a few things about herself. It was her experience that gave me a general idea. Talyalu's mother was an elf noblewoman, and her father was a human ranger from the Far East. Because of fate, they met and fell in love, and then they had Talyalu. For the sake of her lover and children, this elf woman had been committed in promoting human equality and also achieved good results, even promoting several humans as administrators. She has done many things that people can't even think of now, and she has succeeded. Because she was an elector of high status. It's a pity to meet the reborn Ashby. Both Talyalu's parents were killed by Ashby, and her mother's elector certificate was also taken away by his design. After a few years, there are not many people who remember Talyalu's mother, and the human's condition has fallen to the dust again. She chose the original owner to take care of her, just because the original owner is a human from the east like her father. Following me now, she also seek revenge against Ashby and continue to fulfill her parents' last wish. Fortunately, we have the same goal, and the child is already so miserable, I can only work hard and not let her down. Skill name, Mantra of the Inner Demons of the Six Desires, Desire for Smell Branch. Skill description, a technique based on GEE's experience. It was deduced by the system as a branch of the Mantra of the Inner Demons of the Six Desires, Desire for Smell. Although it's somewhat different from its original counterpart, such as of no consequence. When cultivated to a certain level, it can be employed to sense all kinds of unusual entities, refine their respective demonic essence, and place it at the practitioner's disposal. My two strongest fighting skills are either impossible or not easy to practice, but I have deduced the complete smell desire branch, although I don't know if this thing is authentic or not as I expected. It is not the whole chapter of the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires, but a separate branch. But judging from the skill description, there are no traps laid in it, and cultivation is possible. But the problem is that this practice method is useless for the current situation. RA it's neither an offensive nor a defensive technique as I had hoped it would be, and now I even have to figure out how to refine unusual entities. Heaven knows what the heck that's supposed to be. As is the case with the finger of flowery swords, this technique also has a requirement that needs to be met in order to reach its entry level. The practitioner has to seal himself inside a container with the sourness of decay, the fragrance of pleasant body odor, and the freshness of birth, and complete 18 greater and lesser energy circulation cycles without break. When the time comes to unseal the container, the practitioner will have successfully reached the entry level if there is no trace of any of those scents. 
In other words, this means finding an old man, a teenager as well as an infant, refining their sense and converting them into true energy. There's a slight twistedness to this approach, but that's what you'd expect from one of the fundamental techniques of the XINMO sect. I can't expect to achieve much, and the finger of flowery sword is also difficult. If you want to kill Ashby, there's a long way to go. If it really doesn't work, I just need to use this hard shell of a holy sword. Anyway, this holy sword can cut through anything. It doesn't seem to be impossible. What a headache. It is better to go back first. I'm back. Nothing happened, right? What can happen? These pig heads wouldn't resist. That's good. Work hard for me. Don't you have enough to eat? The second one in the third row. Do you want to be lazy? Pull him out and beat him up for me. Huh, don't. I'm innocent. Huh. You dare to argue? Beat him harder. Your origin point comes the slowest. How can I not beat you? This is the fate of disobeying Lord Cien. You can see it clearly. That's right. Only if you submit to the Lord can you get a new life. Do you want to talk too much? Go and dig for me. Humph. My lord, I'm obviously sincere to you, huh? I heard your bullshit. Really? Why didn't I receive any origin points for admiration? Liar. Work hard, or I will go crazy. Compared with the kind of remote origin points that is brought about by notoriety, it is really more refreshing to swipe the screen with this kind of sustainable and stimulating close origin points that is kept in captivity. Ashby or something, it's better to think about that headache later. Ma, Master. Chinger, you are here. Master, unlike the previous batches, this one has fewer elves. Chinger is useless. It's enough. It would be hard to control if there are too many. As soon as Ashby's notice came out, each day, over 500 origin points were generated by the whole country. But after a couple of days, there was a significant drop in the number which was unexpected. You can see clearly, our working environment is like this. But it makes sense if you think about it. In the modern world, the vast majority of ordinary people are very calm when they see the reward offered for the wanted criminal. Unless the wanted criminal runs in front of you to commit murder, it is difficult to have any persistent extreme emotions. 500 origin points are the emotions of 50 million people. Looking at it this way, Ashby is actually doing his best, but it would be great if his wanted notice is taking effect once a day. Damn, sadly the memory of people can't be reset each time. It's a safe bet. Do not miss this opportunity to become a lifetime contract worker. So during this period of time, I have to keep going out to do things and maintain my popularity for the origin points. But after all, the range of expansion is not as wide as the one made by Ashby, and the harvest is average. Now the biggest source of origin points is my own pig farm. Elves are indeed stronger than humans, and the origin point obtained from one elf is more than what a human can give, but over time, it will gradually decrease until it gets exhausted. Therefore, Chinger has been catching new elves in Baigue, so that I can continue to farm. Human, I'm Baron Ella of Dearth, you'd better let me go now, or I'll report you and have the guards chop off your head. Oh? It seems that you have already understood the assignment, so let's start directly. 8 Difficulties Demonic Technique Animal Difficulty All the old employees go inside. Give your seats to the new ones. Move quick. Humph. Help. Humph. Monster, I don't want to be a monster, huh? Talulu, what are you doing? Huh, huh, so tired. Talulu, you're so old. Why are you still snorting? It's so dirty. Are you stupid? I am forcing the magic power of the forbidden magic fruit out of the body, but unfortunately the effect is very small, only a little residue is forced out. Forbidden magic fruit? If it wasn't for the forbidden magic fruit, I wouldn't be what I am now. The magic power is completely blocked in my body, and I can't use any magic. Ashby, one day, I'll teach him a lesson 100 times. You mean, this residue of your snorting has the power of the forbidden magic fruit? What are you doing? Throw it away quickly, it's dirty. 
the smell desire branch can refine strange things to create the corresponding demonic breath. The residue of the forbidden magic fruit, can it not be considered a strange thing? If you can practice the breath of the forbidden magic fruit, wouldn't it be a 100% effective against mages? This snake nose is simply the nemesis of magic. Talulu, since you can force it out, don't waste it. I'll find you a pot to collect them. It'll be of great use for me. No way. Let me go. And Chinger, start preparing what I mentioned before. I want to start my practice. Oh? As long as the smell of desire branch can cultivate the power of the forbidden magic fruit, then I don't need to rework the finger of flowery sword, and I will directly take the forbidden magic fruit's breath. Will I then be afraid of Ashby while he can't use magic? I am so smart. Well, Chinger is actually ready and have all things prepared. In addition to the elves, there are animals to spare. Just wait for my lord to deal with them. But the way Master is going to practice this time is very strange. Chinger feels a little bit abnormal. As expected of my little girl, she always thinks about me. No matter how the method of practice is, as long as it works, other things does not matter. Speaking of which, the pot you mentioned earlier, I found something similar. Would you like to see it? It's great. Then I can use it directly after I pull out the three types of incense. Quickly take it out and let me see. The black pot with series of crucible lined up made of quartz and elephant bone, with balanced heating, normal magic control, with basic magic pattern of anti-spill and airtight, the best companion for novice potions magicians. While it's not the best pot, it should be more than enough to fulfill your requirements. Very good, I am very satisfied. Chinger, bring over all the old men and girls of the elves and those chickens, ducks, and goose eggs that are about to hatch. Next, I'm going to retreat and practice. Okay. What the hell are you practicing? That sounds weird. And you, Talulu, remember to collect the residue of the forbidden magic fruit that you force out and don't let it be thrown away. Chinger, you supervise her. Okay. What the hell are you trying to do by taking those? By the way, don't disturb me while I'm in seclusion, and don't uncover my pot when you hear any commotion. Fairmont Wilderness Time Rift The fluctuation of space magic power has become much stronger. It is expected that the enemy will pass through the space-time crack in the next few hours. We should be prepared to face them. Enemy trail found. Mage type is Black Armor Mage it's an army of forbidden spell level black armor mages. The whole army listens to my orders. Attack. Four hours later. Despicable invaders, you will pay the price for what you have done so far. Lord Ashby, as you expected, the enemy army was greatly weakened with the great sealing array, and all of them have been annihilated. Very well, inform the other electors that the rift in time and space will not get closed in three days. If they are still unwilling to take the risk, then this opportunity and achievement of completely destroying the enemy can only be enjoyed by me, Ashby. The whole army should rest and be ready to give it their all after three days. We will rush into the rift of time and space. Electors other than me don't know the Dark Elf Queen, and with just a little bit of manipulation, the two sides can fight to the death. I can take the opportunity to kill the Dark Elf after their fight and solve all my troubles. A senior necromancer at the Kemal Manor in the fertile territory of Lord Ashby was attacked and killed. After investigation, it is suspected that the human traitor slave you are concerned about has done it. This is the eighth one in recent days, but we've been unable to trace the hideout of the human traitor slave. Already the eighth? That's enough. You don't have to worry about this. I will send a forbidden magician to deal with it. Cien, ah Cien, if you did disappear, I wouldn't really be able to do anything about you. But you are so arrogant and dare to commit crimes everywhere. You are just trying to kill yourself. My prophecy magic has been cultivated to an advanced level. As long as there are enough things that this bastard makes and the impact on this world is large enough, I can predict his coordinates. Even if he runs to the ends of the earth, I can catch him. In a few days. 
Wapak off cough. Finally, I have reached the introductory level of the smell desire branch. The smell is so strong, I am like a small cucumber that has been pickled and lost its moisture. Let's upgrade it all the way in one go. Skill name, Mantra of the Inner Demons of the Six Desires. Desire of Smell Branch. Skill the practitioner amount of true energy and sensitivity to smell S total are greatly enhanced. It can be employed to sense all kinds of unusual entities, refine their respective demonic essence, and place it at the practitioner S disposal. Current Realm, LV4+. Sorry, not enough origin points to perform this upgrade. The origin points are not enough, but it only cost me about 800 origin points to upgrade to LV4. It seems that the mantra of the inner demons of the six desires, desire of smell alone, can't compare to the flower finger sword. Although I always feel that the smell desire branch deduced by the system is not very authentic. After practicing the smell desire branch, my entire sense of the outside world has changed in a wonderful way. Previously, the things I could notice first comes from seeing or hearing, but now the first thing I notice is the various scents in my surroundings. The scent of warm earth, the scent of heavy rocks, the scent of elves contaminated by my skill animal difficulty, the scent of ghosts, even the scent of the holy sword. No, no, not the scent of the holy sword, it is the scent of other objects stained on the holy sword. The holy sword itself does not have any scent. It's a pity, not to mention that the holy sword is not considered to be an exotic object judged by the smell desire branch. If you can't feel the breath at all, even if it's an exotic object, I can't refine it. Forget it, let's go back to the residue that Talulu had snorted. This thing is very special, it gives me a feeling that this breath is different from others. That's right, I sensed that, like a black hole, it kept devouring and dissolving some unknown substance in the air, annihilating that substance. Forbidden magic fruit residue This forbidden magic fruit is indeed a strange thing, and it can be refined by the smell desire branch. Interesting. Let me learn the power of forbidden magic fruit that even can suppress great sages. Desire of smell breath absorption. Is it here, the end point predicted by Lord Ashby? Finally arrived. Jaeger, I have a task for you. Walk in the direction where the sun sets, until you reach the end of the Abyss Mountains. The human trader slave is there. Kill him and bring back Talulu, or Talulu's soul, and the Holy Sword. I want to control the overall situation of that trader. I'm occupied here, and I can't leave at will. You are one of my most trusted subordinates, so you must not fail. That slave still has some skills. Don't melee him. Use forbidden spell magic to strike directly beyond the line of sight. If Talulu dies, use the soul bird to catch and bring back her soul. Jaeger, I have high hopes for you. I will never disappoint Lord Ashby. Just wait, only I can complete the mission. Go find that hideous bastard. Strange, how come there are so many undead in this manner? This is human? In the yard? It's disgusting to keep humans in the yard. Found it. Half-elf human slave. Lowly human, feel honored. I will use forbidden magic to grant you the greatest death. Elf spell. A spirit darker than twilight, a river redder than blood, appear in the torrent of time. In the name of Jaeger and Curtis, I call upon you to come to the world. Elf spell. With goat eggs, human flesh, and fills flowers as the medium. Elf spell. The souls of the heavenly fold and the bones of the dragon are sacrificed. Elf spell. I swear in the darkness to be faithful to the lord of the flame. Elf spell. Give them equal destruction to all the foolish things that stand in our way. Humph. Help. Help. Humph. 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 It's so hot. Woohoo. What's going on? Ugh. This aura. This coercion. Can't be wrong, it's a forbidden spell. Have we been found? Elf spell. Show your wrath and become an all-conquering spear of tyranny. It's a fire-type forbidden spell, the fall of the blazing sun. Humph. 
Ugh. Master, I am not competent enough, Chinger. That's it, is this the end? Until the last moment and I still can't do anything, damn it. I cannot accept this. I'm not dead. C.A.N.? Tell you, Lou, this is the legendary forbidden magic, right? The momentum of this destruction is quite intimidating. It's very strong, you can't even see where the enemy is, the damage range far exceeds the main world, and the absolute power is generally unmatched by the masters of the first level of innate realm. If I were using the normal version of Divine Zen of Impact without the breath of Forbidden Magic Fruit, it would have been shot red hundred times in couple seconds, and I wouldn't be able to save myself even with the Finger Nirvana. Let's try how far I can go with my Forbidden Demon's Breath on full fire. Engulfed Not bad, not only does it have the effect of silence, but the heat associated with it is also blocked. The breath of the Forbidden Magic Fruit is really magic nemesis. That is, the dosage is too large, it takes more than half of my energy to make a bubble with Divine Zen of Impact. What happened? Finger of Nirvana. Nothing, just creating a miracle by surviving under the forbidden spell. He didn't even say hello and attack directly. It was obviously coming at us. It's really strange. How did this guy find this place? Did you leave any trails when you went out? No. I have done a lot of other things in between each trip. Even if there was a backtracking magic, it's impossible to track me here. Moreover, if I was found, why wait until today? Let's not talk about this for now. I want to find out that guy and get rid of him. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to bear a second attack of the same level again. Breathing deeply. Smell desire branch seeking breath. The whole place smells of burning, carbonation, and is basically devoid of any odor associated with life. Further away, there is the smell of dry clouds, and... I smell sulfur, which is the source of that flame attack. Found it! Wait, you don't have the holy sword? You didn't run away after setting off that large-scale attack. Who gave you the courage to stand waiting here? Are you seeking death? Humph, the human slave is not dead, is it Talulu's space magic? Only you came here, it seems that the fall of the blazing sun that I used just now has consumed all her magic power. Demonic energy conversion to true chi finger of flowery sword. Ridiculous. Advanced magic without chanting? No wonder this human being is so arrogant. Passive defense magic? The acquired version of the fake finger of flowery sword can't break the defense. The forbidden magician is really not easy to fight. Demonic energy conversion to true chi innate version. Finger of flowery sword. Then let's try the innate version. Advanced magic without chanting is an instinct for forbidden magicians. I want to see how much magic power you have. Huh? What a powerful ray magic, unfortunately, you missed. The Wings of Phoenix, an advanced fire magic, was completely crushed. His attack was completely different from the previous one just now. What kind of magic did this guy use? Could it be that it is not advanced magic, but a forbidden spell? But the destructive power of forbidden spells is much higher than his attack, and it is impossible for forbidden spells not to be chanted. Bending and turning it as one pleases. What? That was close. Fortunately, I listened to Lord Ashby before I came and casted a forbidden spell level of the sun shield, otherwise I would be dead. This magic shield has no shortcoming. In addition, even with the innate version of the fake finger of flowery sword, which takes too much demonic energy, I can't break this shield. It's so tough, forget it. Try this. Smell desire branch. Forbidden magic fruit breath. Dissipate. Damn, the forbidden spell mage is too difficult to deal with. If there was no forbidden magic fruit breath, the fake version of finger of flowery sword can't even break the shield. It costs too much to use the breath of the forbidden magic fruit. More than half of the Forbidden Magic Fruit Breath was used to defend against the Forbidden Spell, and in order to break the opponent's defense, the remaining half was also consumed. 
the forbidden magic fruit breath refined by LV4 smell of desire branch can't be regenerated. I must rely on raw materials. Fortunately, Talulu is there, but although the quantity of forbidden magic fruit breath in her body is large, it is also limited. If it is to fight Ashby, it is estimated that the holy sword is still needed and the breath of the forbidden magic fruit can only be used to break Ashby's defense or defend against the forbidden spell of the opponent. Let's go, Talulu. How do you think this forbidden mage know we were here? This is indeed a problem. But I'm sure that I didn't leave any trails that leads to me. If it's not a problem on our end, then someone has deliberately targeted you. Woo, my lord, I died again. Finger of Nirvana. It's okay. Did Ashby really practice that magic? Do you have any idea? Talulu. Advanced prophecy magic system is locked by fate. The more you actively influence the fate of the people around you, the easier it is to be locked by that magic. Prophecy is difficult to practice, but other than this, I can't think of anything else. What the hell, this kind of magic exists? Aren't you doomed to be caught no matter how much you run? So if I had gone out and gotten into trouble, wouldn't I have been handing Ashby a rope to catch me? Don't worry, if he locks your coordinates once, fate will erase previous prophecies' traces, and he won't be able to catch you again unless you continue going out and screw around every day. There are always ways to uncover what is hidden. Tell you, Lou, I didn't ask you before, tell me about Ashby's sacred artifact. This is no secret at all, most people know about them. Ashby was already one of the first rate among the forbidden magicians, and with the blessing of the holy artifact, he could be said to be almost invincible in this world. The forbidden spell with extremely long time cooling is a normal attack in his hand. Sunfall spell like the one we were attacked by can be casted multiple times without cooling down time for Ashby. The holy sword was able to cut through the entire mana's shield without magic, and even Ashby thought it was a primitive and simple weapon, so he threw the sword in that tower and ended up not using it, which played in our favor, not to mention the other three artifacts that he found to be more useful than the holy sword. The holy shield can defend against all attacks, and can even be used as the eye of several large-scale defensive formations, expanding its own characteristics countless times, and has the reputation of being an insurmountable shield. The holy ring allows the magician to cast spells without chanting. No matter how long the incantation is, the forbidden magic can be cast instantaneously with the help of the holy ring, consuming very little of the caster's magic power and can automatically restore magic power. It is a never-ending spellcasting machine. The holy crown can give the magician a powerful body. Magicians have always been strong in spirit and weak in body, but the holy crown can convert spirit power into physical strength, completely making up for this defect. Thinking about it carefully, it is impossible for Ashby to be killed with him possessing the three holy artifact. I am so naive. Don't be discouraged, as the saying goes, there are no absolutes in the world, man will conquer the sky, and maybe a miracle will happen. Master, don't you think so? Infinite magic power, absolute defense, infinite forbidden spells, super strong physical body, this is simply being invincible. The destructive power of the forbidden spell is not inferior to the martial arts of the innateist or second level of the main world, and it may even be stronger. The disadvantage is that it requires chanting time and a long cool down. However, Ashby has the blessing of the holy artifact, thus not having these defects at all. Although I have the breath of forbidden magic fruit, but who knows whether it can break the defense of the holy shield. If it can't be broken, the breath of forbidden magic fruit can only be used to passively defend the opponent's forbidden spell. The total amount of forbidden breath is limited, while Ashby's magic power is almost infinite. Ha, wait. Chinger's spell taking off opponent weapon seems to be specially designed to deal with this situation. If I can get rid of the holy ring or the holy shield, I will not be afraid Ashby. However, the success rate of Chinger's spell is, otherwise I will need another battle of attrition. I need a lot of origin points, a lot of forbidden magic fruit breath. Children won't grow tall if they keep sighing all the time. Just leave it all to me, I already have a rough plan. 
Really? I practiced my martial arts before, and by the way, I managed to refine the bit of forbidden magic fruit residue that you discharged. I didn't expect it to be this effective. You can also see the effect. I can even defend against the forbidden spell. As long as Ashby can't cast spells, I will have a chance against him. However, all the forbidden magic fruit breath I refined was consumed in the fight with the forbidden magician. Do you know where I can get forbidden magic fruits? The forbidden magic fruit was found by Ashby. I've never heard of it before. Then I can only extract the forbidden magic fruit from your body and refine it. Although it's troublesome, but it's the only way available. Fortunately, I was reluctant to use the finger of Nirvana to save her before, otherwise where would I go to find the forbidden magic fruit now? Really? Can the forbidden magic fruit that has been digested in my body be extracted by you? So what are you waiting for? Get started. Okay, stand still. I'm going to start extracting it. Smell desire branch extracting root. Talulu. Talulu, are you all right? It's okay. It's just soreness in the bones. Just take it slow. But Talulu, you have to get used to this feeling. Most of the effects of the forbidden magic fruit are completely integrated with your body. It is very difficult to get it out completely, and it will take a long time to get rid of it. Ha ha ha. After five years, I finally felt the surging of the external magic elements again, although only a very faint trace, but... This feeling is so wonderful. 